My phone suddenly has a trillion subsidy shopping mall, with either luxury cars or villas inside, and all of them are only one cent for a second kill. I looked at the balance of 10 yuan in my bank card and fell into contemplation. I am so poor, how can you bear to deceive me? Doesn't your conscience hurt? Just as I was about to exit the app, I accidentally touched the purchase button, and the message of successful purchase popped up immediately. Congratulations on successfully purchasing the limited edition Porsche 911 GT1-98. The product is being delivered and is expected to arrive in 5 minutes. Please pay attention to check. I widened my eyes in disbelief. The bank account change message popped up again. Your debit card ending in 2222 successfully spent 0, 1 yuan, with a current balance of 9, 9 yuan. I haven't even entered my password yet. What's going on? Just as I was confused, I suddenly felt something in my pants pocket. I reached out and unexpectedly found a Porsche car key. I swallowed my saliva. Could it be real? I immediately took out my phone and looked at another product, which was a villa in East Suburb No. 1. Without any hesitation, my finger pressed down again. Congratulations on successfully purchasing a villa in East Suburb No. 1. The product has been sold out today. Please wait for restocking. Looking at this scene, I understand a little bit. This product is refreshed every day. I don't know how this villa will be delivered to me. Forget it, let's go and see my Porsche first. I clicked on the product positioning on the software, and it showed that the product is in the parking lot of the shopping mall next to the community. I ran all the way to the mall and saw a group of people discussing something. I saw the owner of a Mercedes-Benz car with a frustrated expression muttering to himself. It's over. I can't afford this car. The crowd looked puzzled and said, Isn't this car a Porsche? Your Mercedes-Benz is not worse than his. Why can't you afford it? The owner of the Mercedes-Benz cried with a sad face. You guys don't know. This is a limited edition Porsche. There's only one in the world. Starting at 80 million. Everyone looked at the Mercedes-Benz owner with sympathy. I squeezed into the crowd and found out that the Mercedes-Benz had scratched the rear of the Porsche, causing the paint on the Mercedes-Benz to come off. But the Porsche was completely fine. You don't have to compensate for the car. Just go, said the Mercedes-Benz owner, looking me up and down. Seeing that I was wearing cheap goods from a street stall, he smiled bitterly and shook his head. Brother, don't joke with me, this car is not yours. The people around also echoed. Yeah young man, if you're not the owner, don't cause trouble. Listening to everyone's words, I smiled and took out the car key from my pocket. Gently pressed the unlock button. The atmosphere lights in the car lit up with two beeps, and the whole scene fell silent, with everyone's faces filled with disbelief. I never thought this car would be mine, and the owner of the Mercedes gradually changed from being stunned to being delighted. Brother? No. Big brother. Your car. No problem. You don't have to compensate. Just move your car aside. The owner of the Mercedes-Benz quickly got into the car started the engine in one go, and ran faster than a rabbit. As I sat in the driver's seat, it felt so comfortable. Is this a Porsche? I am driving on the roads of the magic city, enjoying the excitement brought by speed. At this moment, my mood can only be described by the famous saying of Mr. Wang Duoyu, a well-known lucky person in this city. I wanted to interact with you as an ordinary person, but what I got was alienation. I'm done pretending. I'm coming clean. Suddenly, the phone rang and I answered it on speakerphone. Hello, sir. This is East Suburb No. 1 Sales Office. Your villa property certificate is ready. When would you be available to come and collect it? Listening to the sweet female voice, my mouth is harder to suppress than an AK rifle. Okay, I'm going over now. I opened the navigation and stepped on the accelerator pedal to go straight to the sales office. While on the other side, the sales lady at the suburban villa sales office had just hung up the phone with an excited look on her face. Manager. I have contacted Mr. Wang. With these words, all the property staff were in an uproar. My goodness, is Mr. Wang, who spent 600 million to buy the king of the building, finally coming? All the female salespeople were silently calculating how to leave a good impression on Mr. Wang, or even leave a contact information. The manager's office behind was also suddenly pushed open. Manager Song, Mr. Wang has been contacted. Manager Song looked nervous. After all, Mr. Wang was a person specially instructed by his superiors. He must not neglect or offend the other party. He must go to receive him with the highest courtesy. Manager Song looked at everyone and said, Be smart later. At this time, I will park the car and walk towards the sales department. A female salesperson with a smile on her face is coming towards me. Hello, sir, how can I assist you? I was about to speak when I was interrupted by a voice. Xiao Li, didn't I tell you that not everyone is received today? The speaker was a middle-aged woman with heavy makeup. She glanced at me and then contemptuously said, I'm sorry, 
if you're not here to buy a house, please leave immediately. Hearing this, my brows furrowed involuntarily. What do you mean? Can't I come in and have a look? Look at me daring to speak. The woman sneered. Not everyone can come and see here. With your poor appearance, even if you have ten lifetimes, you can't afford to buy a set. Looking at her submissive look with dog-like eyes, her furrowed brows deepened. Then, I shook my head lightly. Too lazy to continue wasting time with this guy. I took out my phone and dialed the number that had contacted me before. A sweet female voice came through. Sir, have you arrived? Hmm, I'm currently in the lobby. But it seems like your people don't welcome me. They even wanted me to leave. An incredulous voice came from the other end of the phone. How is that possible? Mr. Wang, please wait a moment. I and the manager will be right there. At this moment in the manager's office, Manager Song's face was as black as ink. He never expected that after reminding everyone, someone would still offend this mysterious Mr. Wang. As they spoke, the two of them ran towards the first floor lobby. The female supervisor looked at me with disdain after I hung up the phone. Kid, you're quite good at pretending. Let's see who you can bring down. At the same time, Manager Song, who rushed over, saw the scene and his anger erupted completely. Liao Yingying, what are you doing? Hearing this furious roar, Supervisor Liao suddenly shivered all over and immediately revealed a flattering smile to the incoming person. Manager Song, why did you come down? Does that mean Mr. Wang is about to arrive? Don't worry, I will immediately get rid of this troublesome guy. After saying that, Supervisor Liao immediately looked at me and shouted, Did you hear that? We have an important guest coming soon. Do you want to leave on your own or should I call the security to kick you out? As soon as these words fell, Manager Song was furious. How dare you? Who are you talking to? After a roar, Manager Song quickly came to me, crossing Supervisor Liao, and in the face of the shocked and astonished salespeople who were ready to watch the show, he bowed at a standard 90 degrees and said loudly, Mr. Wang, I'm extremely sorry for being late. I am the manager of the East Suburb Sales Department. You can call me Xiao Song. Just now, my subordinates were disrespectful to you. Please don't take it to heart. As soon as Manager Song's words fell, everyone fell into a daze. The young man in front of them turned out to be the mysterious tycoon mister. Wang, how could such a super tycoon dress so low-key? Looking at Supervisor Liao before, his body was trembling with fear. Mr. Song, are you kidding me? Mr. Song turned coldly and said, I have told you before, don't look down on any customer who walks in. Did you ignore what I said? Go to the HR department and handle your resignation procedures yourself. Supervisor Liao suddenly panicked and knelt down on the ground, loudly saying, Manager Song, I was wrong. Please give me another chance. I won't dare anymore. Manager Song didn't react at all. Just smiled and looked at me, saying, Mr. Wang, please come inside. I faintly replied with an um and walked inside. Manager Song couldn't help but feel amazed. He guessed that I must be a middle-aged person in my 30s or 40s, but he didn't expect me to be so young. Could it be that I am a scion of a hidden family? Mr. Wang, you are truly talented and promising. This eastern suburb no. One mansion, worth 600 million, has been on the market for so many years without anyone being able to afford it. It has become a headache for our chairman. This time, with your help, our chairman's headache is finally resolved. I was also a bit surprised. The villa I bought on the app is actually worth 600 million. This is simply a huge profit. I waved my hand casually and said, it didn't cost much. What I said was true, because I only spent one cent. But when manager Song heard it, it completely changed. He thought that the 6 billion I mentioned didn't cost much. After completing the procedures at this moment, Manager Song followed me to the entrance of the sales office. When he saw my limited edition Porsche, his eyes widened. As a sports car enthusiast, he is very familiar with this car, which is the only limited edition Porsche 911 GT1-9 in the world. He knows very well that to get this car, it takes more than just enough money, but also a certain status and background. With Manager Song's increasingly respectful gaze, I drove towards Villa No, one in the eastern suburbs. The villa I am in is located in the deepest part of the entire villa area, occupying the largest area and having the best location. I looked at the four-story villa, with fountain gardens and an outdoor swimming pool. At this moment, I finally understood that poverty really limited my imagination. Meanwhile, in the villa opposite me, a graceful woman was holding a cup of coffee and looking at the villa where I was. Uncle Sun, has villa number one been sold? Sun Fu nodded behind me and said, Yes, Miss, Villa Number One was bought by a young man surnamed Wang. I am still investigating the specific information. The girl said calmly, Don't investigate for now. If we can take down Villa No. 1. The person's identity and background must be extraordinary. 
he is likely a scion of a prestigious family. If we rashly investigate him, it may provoke his displeasure. Hearing this, Sun Fu quickly responded. I was impolite. Miss, the girl pondered in her heart. This person is so low-key. He casually moved in without any celebration. It feels like he doesn't care at all about this 600 million worth villain oh. One, she suddenly became interested in Mr. One, the mysterious man. Sun Shu, you should visit Mr. Wang tomorrow and bring a bottle of 90-year-old candy as a gift. On the other side, I sat on the sofa, looked up at the hanging crystal chandelier, shook my head with a bitter smile, feeling a bit dazed, driving a car worth 80 million, living in a villa worth 600 million, and only having 9, 8 yuan left in my bank account. To be honest, if it weren't for the property fee already paid, I probably wouldn't even be able to afford the property fee. I must find a way to make some money. It's 11.50 p.m., and I feel a bit nervous. I don't know what products the software will refresh today. As soon as it passed 12 o'clock, a new product was refreshed. Building 1, 120 sets of houses in Junyue Huoding community. Subsidized price of 1 cent. Looking at the goods in front of me, I took a breath. Isn't this the house I used to rent? More than 80% of this community are tenants. Because besides being close to the subway, the nearby area is a technology park. A house costs at least 5 million or more. Building 1, a total of 120 units, which amounts to 600 million. Damn it, bought it. The purchase success message popped up immediately. Purchase successful, goods are being delivered. Estimated delivery time is 15 minutes. Please pay attention to check. After 15 minutes, a dull sound rang out, and two cardboard boxes fell to the ground. Inside, all I could see were property deeds. I swallowed my saliva and stared blankly. Finally, it's done. I casually picked up one of the property deeds and opened it. The address was Junyue Huoding Community, Building 1, Room 101, with a usable area of 98, 3 square meters. The owner was Wang Xiahe. Looking at the simple words, I felt my mouth dry up. My name was on every property deed here. In a daze, I remembered a question on Jihu, how long does it take to go from being penniless to being worth billions? At this moment, I felt qualified to answer that question. Just 15 minutes. The Junyue Huoding community is still very popular among tenants. Even if it is shared, one room costs two or three thousand yuan. I roughly calculated that if all 120 units are rented out, even if I don't do anything for a year, the pure rental income alone would be several million yuan. The corners of my mouth are almost reaching my ears. Capital is truly evil. However, now I am the owner of this capital. With an excited mood, I lay in bed and gradually fell asleep. The next morning, after washing up, I frowned. Although the villa is large, there are not many daily necessities. I should move the things from the rental house here. Holding two boxes of property certificates, I drove straight to Junyue Hooding and parked across the street from the community at Linjia Real Estate. The attitude of the agent was very polite. He thought I was definitely a rich second generation. I have two houses to rent out. The agent's expression was slightly disappointed. He doesn't earn much commission from renting out houses. Two houses. Sir, do you have your property certificate with you? I pointed to the property certificates in those two boxes with my finger. And he instinctively opened them and took a deep breath. Could it be that both of these boxes are property certificates? Immediately, he instantly realized. Are you Mr. One who bought two buildings? This news has spread in the real estate agencies in this area since this morning. All the agencies want to contact this mysterious Mr. One, and this person is now right in front of him. I nodded gently and said, Yes, it's me. If all these houses are rented out, the commission will be a fortune. The agent thought excitedly. How long do I have to wait for all of them to be rented? The agent came back to his senses and said, Mr. One, your order is too big. I need to go and call our manager. As he spoke, he ran into the manager's office and shouted, Manager Zhou. Manager Zhou frowned slightly. What's the matter? Didn't you see me making a phone call? Manager Zhou. Mr. Wang is here. Mr. Wang? Mr. Li, it's just a small matter. I was about to scold him again when I suddenly remembered something. Mr. Wang, you are talking about the two buildings. Manager Zhou threw the phone and ran all the way to the front desk, looking at the two boxes of property certificates with a burning gaze. Mr. Wang, hello, I am the manager here. You can call me Xiao Zhou. I nodded and said, if these houses can be rented out as soon as possible, I can provide them exclusively to you. Manager Zhou immediately became energetic and patted his chest, saying that no one could be faster than them. Mr. Wang, would you like to have a meal together? I waved my hand and refused, saying that it's not necessary. I still need to move. 
Manager Joe was stunned and then said flatteringly, Leave it to us, Mr. Wang. When I arrived at the apartment complex where I live, I was shocked to find that all my belongings had been thrown out. The door to the room, your own clothes and bedding, all of them, were left at the door. Looking at what he was thrown out, Lin Mo's expression was cold. And also at this time, a sound came from among the hidden doors. M.S. John, let me tell you, just this house I'm renting out to you, the price is absolutely cheap. For one month, I'll only charge you 3,700 for this rent I'm offering you. You won't find a cheaper one in the whole neighborhood. And look at my room. It's still facing south. And the light is even better. Listen to this burst of sound. In the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there was a cold laugh. Then, pushing open the door to the room, he stepped inside. Just walked in. Then he saw a middle-aged woman with a bloated body. Standing right there. And on her side. Instead, he was followed by one. Dressed very cleanly and simply. The woman with the bunched hair in a professional outfit. Looking at Lin Mo who walked in, the landlady who was there, at once, just sneered, Yo, back in town, just in time, I've cleaned out your pile of crap, take all your stuff and get the hell out of here yourself, I'm not renting you that room of yours. This landlady, at this time, was full of scornful laughter. It was also very soothing after saying that. Last time, Lin Mo hid in his room and didn't open the door for her, so she was extraordinarily upset, and what's just right now is to let him know. What happens when you offend yourself? Hearing these words, Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. My stuff that you threw out? Ha! What? I threw it out. So what can you do to me? This landlady crossed her arms and sneered. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was there, calmly continuing. As I recall, it is now six days before the contract between us expires. Is it not? What he said. Lin Mo glanced at the professionally dressed woman who was there and said. That means our contract hasn't expired but you took my stuff and threw it all out, and bringing other tenants to see the house. You're blatantly breaking the contract. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this landlady was blissfully unafraid. Crossing his arms, he looked at Lin Mo and said loudly, I'll break the contract. So what's the catch? Don't bullshit with me here. Hurry up, pack up and get out. Hearing this, Lin Mo couldn't help but shake his head. This landlord of his own is really just an old legal blind man, isn't he? However, just at this point in time, a sound, Two, came through the door. Mr. Lin, what's wrong? Manager Cho walked in. Just now, he could only take the next trip because the elevator was full. But after coming up, I heard a quarrel here. And looking at Manager Chow who walked in, this landlady's face, however, changed. As for this Manager Zhou, at this time, he also noticed the landlady there. For a moment, something felt familiar. Whom, then, mused, rode, as I recall, your MS. Show, he still had some impression of this landlady. This landlady, the older woman, is also a customer of their lover's store. There are five houses in the hand. And, with their company, it's a full care agreement. What is referred to as a full trust agreement is the kind of agreement that belongs to the category, which is fully entrusted to them for sale. After signing, the tenant must go through their agent for the rental. The agency fees, on the other hand, will be slightly lower. Agu, manager Zhou, what brings you here? Look at manager Chow. On the landlady's face, an embarrassed smile appeared. After all, there is a full care agreement between yourself and the lovers. If you are found out and you are showing a property privately and are going to rent it out privately, then, one is paying a large sum of money for breach of contract. Manager Zhou, on the other hand, said calmly at this time, Oh, I've come to accompany Mr. Lin on his move. Mr. Lin, the landlady snorted. Manager Zhou, you're afraid you're not being fooled by this little Yakuza, right? This guy is just a small tenant. At once, there, manager Zhou's face went cold. Yakuza? Small tenants? This woman. I'm afraid she's not suffering from insanity. Looking at the landlady, she said coldly, M.S. Zhao, and please be polite when you speak. This mister. Lin in front of you is a big client of our love's family. In his hands, there are two buildings of Jun Yu Huateng. The whole lot. 120 properties. Boom. One moment. The landlady who was there was struck by lightning. Standing still. His face frozen. And next to her. The woman in the professional outfit. Her mouth dropped open. Looking at Lin Mo in front of him. The top of his small face was filled with dismay. The one in front of him. The handsome youth who looked to be the same age as himself. Hands. With two buildings. With a whole. 120 houses. This. A joke. This. Manager Zhou. You must be mistaken. How could he? With 120 houses? He was, before, 
on the verge of not being able to pay his rent. The landlady's demeanor was now getting more and more tense. Mistake? Of course it's impossible to get it wrong. Manager Joe immediately said, We previously checked Mr. Lin's information and signed an agreement to entrust the rental. When these words fell, the landlady who was there was a bit flustered. According to this, then Lin M.O. really does have 120 houses. Fully 120 houses. That's a lot of footage. Worth more than $400 million. For a moment, the landlady recalled what she had said earlier. As well as throwing out all of Lin Mo's things, his expression grew paler and paler. After all, the other party has more than a hundred properties in their hands. Just this asset, between it and himself, is not in the same order of magnitude at all. Immediately, he was apologizing to Lin Mo. Lin, Mr. Lin, what happened before was all a misunderstanding. All a misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Lin Mo sneered. Then, shaking his head, he said, Now, you're telling me it's a misunderstanding? Ha! The one who said that, glanced at manager Zhou who was there, gave a start to finish account of what happened before. As those words were finished, manager Zhou, who was there, narrowed his eyes slightly. If that's the case, then the house mister. Lin is renting has not yet expired. The right to use the house, therefore, belongs to mister. Lin, M.S. Zhao, you have no right to take back the room now, and your actions are a unilateral breach of contract. In this case, it is necessary to pay one month's rent as liquidated damages. And, you don't have the right to take a rented room and do a repossession. Lin M.O., who was listening to these words, instantly laughed. It was followed by, in addition, all my personal belongings, suffered damage. Regarding this matter, you are prepared to go to court to settle it. What? At once, the landlord was flustered. He himself was merely preparing to kick Lin M.O. out. But now, how did it evolve into this? I can't believe I'm going to court? This, the landlord went straight, poof, to the floor. Hurriedly, he said to Lin M.O., Xiao Lin, no, Mr. Lin, I was the one who had no eyes and offended you before. I still ask you to please be magnanimous. I, I'll make it up to you double. No, tenfold, please you must let me go. Ten times, do you think I'm short of money? Lin M.O. sneered, not to mention, he now has 120 houses in his hands and is not short of money. Even if, he is really short of money. That also remains the same and will not be charged 10 times the amount of compensation. After all, if one collects it, then one would, in turn, become disreputable. And as Lin Mo's words fell after that, the landlady there, at this time, was pale. Indeed, this Lin Mo, but the hands of more than a hundred sweets, worth hundreds of millions of dollars of super gods rich ah, people, you don't need that kind of money? I'm afraid, even if I give him all the money I have, to compensate him. It's all about not being able to get into each other's eyes, right? The moment. The look on this landlady's face gradually fell into despair. To this, Lin Mo glanced at manager Joe next to him and said, Manager Joe, this matter, I'm still bothering you to come and help solve it. Everything, how it should be handled, should be handled. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this manager of the week instantly nodded his head and exclaimed, Don't worry, Mr. Lin, I have experience in this matter. After all was said and done. This week's manager immediately felt out the phone. After calling the magistrate, in the presence of the magistrate, compensation was made and accountability was pursued. As for the breach of contract between this landlord's aunt and lover's store, manager Joe also reported it. After that, there were lawyers from the corporate side of the business, who came over to wrangle with her. Then the full care contract is terminated between the parties. This one, the landlady was full of despair and sat paralyzed on the ground. It's over. This time, he himself is completely finished. The idea was to kick Lin Ma out and then rent increase the price to rent and sell again. As a result, I didn't realize that not only did I double my own rent, now also facing high liquidated damages on the full trust contract. When that's taken care of, the time was already coming to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Lin Mo returned to Jun Yue Hua Ting. After packing up some of his things, it was straight away, back in the middle of the villa in the eastern suburb of 1. In the meantime, across the street in Villa 2, Looking at Lin Mo who drove his car and came back, in the middle of this villa too, Sun Fu, who had been keeping an eye on Villa 1, also picked up, long ago, the red wine, towards Villa 1, where Lin Mo was currently located. At this point, Lin Mo, who had just returned to the villa, it was standing in the middle of the kitchen, swiping my phone and contemplating what I should, tonight, eat, however, it was at this time, ding dong, a doorbell rang, Lin Mo's, at once, 
froze for a moment. What the hell? I've only just moved in. Why would someone come to my door? The heart carries doubts. Lin Imo walked to the front door, then opened the door to his villa. Just as soon as I opened the door, I saw one, dressed in a well-pressed, black casual suit. His hair was meticulously combed. The middle-aged man, who looked to be in his fifties, was standing there, in the man's hand. He was carrying a wrapped gift box. Hello? Lin Imo was a bit puzzled. Looking at the middle-aged man in front of him, his face was puzzled. Hello sir, I'm Sun Fu, the butler of Villa Number 2 across the street from your house. My young lady heard that Villa 1 has welcomed its owner and specially asked me to come and pay you a visit. Listen to this. Lin Imo pulled the gate open. He said, Mr. Sun, please come in. My name is Lin Imo. Your lady is really too polite. Sun Fu walked in smilingly. Then, holding the gift box with both hands, he handed it to Lin Imo and said, Mr. Lin, this is a small gift prepared by my young lady, here to congratulate you on your housewarming. Mr. Lin, hey, you're really too kind. Lin Imo shook his head helplessly, didn't bother to push anything back, just took the gift box. Afterwards, Lin Imo also greeted the other party with a cup of tea. After exchanging contact information, they just said goodbye and left. Looking at the departing Sun Fu, Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. The butler of Villa 2, kind of interesting. For this villa too to send someone to give himself a congratulatory gift. Lin Emo had some rough guesses in his heart. The reason for this was, in all probability, due to the fact that the other party could not fathom his own identity. After all, the no, one villa of this one eastern suburb is a king of the building. Manager song from the previous sales department. It was also made clear that the villa was a problem for their boss. And now that he had bought this villa for himself, how could the other party not be surprised? Even, one's own identity information is, presumably, now all, under constant prying eyes, but, I guess they will be skeptical by the end of the investigation, after all, how could one have any background, all of his own life history is nothing more than an ordinary family, meh, Lin Emo laughed lightly in his heart, then, looking to the gift box that lay on the coffee table, unwrapped this gift box, beautifully exposed sandalwood box, after pushing open the box, a bottle of red wine sleeping in the yellow silk was revealed, the label of this red wine is, by now, slightly yellowed, red wine, Lin Emo froze, then, glancing at the words on this label, Roman A. Conti, 1990, the moment he saw the words, Lin Emo was instantly jolted, I go, Roman A. Conti, or is it 1990, cold air was sucked out of his mouth, and Lin Emo hurriedly put the bottle of red wine back into the box, he still knows a little bit of information about red wine, Roman A. Conti, this is the king among red wines, the 90 Conti, as I recall, should cost $33 million. For a moment, Lin Imo shook his head with a bitter smile. The first time we met, you gave me over $300,000? At this moment, Lin Imo suddenly felt, perhaps, this is the rich man? What Lin Imo didn't know was that the first lady of this villa too, at this time has already regarded him, as a young master of a certain family, spend $300,000 or so to befriend a man of the world. It may not seem very worthwhile to an outsider, but in their eyes, this deal is a sure thing. A little bit of time passes. The night passed quickly. Soon it was 7 o'clock in the evening. Lin Emo was just about to play a game of king when his cell phone rang. Caller ID on your cell phone. Haraz, it was Fong Hong, the team leader inside the company. Who called? Fong Hong? Lin Emo was a bit puzzled. He has an average relationship with Fong Hong. It's just at work that you get a little bit of contact on a regular basis. After work, there's basically no contact. After the call was connected, Lin Emo spoke to Fong Hong. Hey, team leader, what's up? Lin M.O., why didn't you kid come to the office today? Oh, I had a little business today, so I didn't go. Lin M.O. said casually, okay, then don't even bother coming back. The company is officially closed today. This month's paycheck, too, is on top of your card as normal. Fong Hong was extremely helpless. After all, the company went out of business, but his next job is still up in the air, as it is now in the Magic City, trying to find a proper job. That's still a little difficult. So, Lin Mo's tone was casual. By the way, tomorrow at 11.30, our department is going to have a breakup dinner. So come down here too. Listening to Fong Hong's words, Lin Mo pondered for a while. What followed? Still said, okay, send me the address. After all, we've all known each other for at least a year as co-workers. There weren't many that mixed well, but there was at least some camaraderie. Now everyone is ready to break up. Then it's better to go down for this breakup dinner. Well, then tomorrow at 11.30 p.m., 
the rose room on the second floor of the Pujang Tang Court. I won't see you then, haha. -ha. Listening to these words, Lin Nimo exchanged a few more pleasantries. After that, the phone hangs up. Afterwards, play with the phone for a while. Then it came downstairs to the gym and worked out for over two hours. For a while, it was covered in sweat. Come into the middle of the bathroom and soak in the tub for a massaging soak. It was not until 10 o'clock at night that he went to bed. After two days of acclimatization, he was also too lazy to continue to wait for the zero second rush. Doesn't he smell good when he sleeps until the next morning and then buy something when he gets up? And so, the night passed. Day 2, 8 a.m. Lin Emo slept until he woke up naturally. After a bit of a wash, while eating his breakfast, this one's flipping through his cell phone. Tap the trillion dollar subsidy. Today's subsidized shipment is already on the top of the app's homepage. Roger Dubuis King Collection, Rodbex 0406. Subsidized price, $20. Cashback card. Subsidized price, $9. 9 inch. Looking at today's subsidized goods, Lin Emo was stunned. Roger Dubuis King Collection? A few moments of surprise swept across the bottom of his eyes. Roger Dubuis was a watch brand he knew. This brand, the supernova of the watch world. The factory was only built in 01. Although compared to Patek Philippe, Vacheron Constantin, these, often inherited a couple of hundred years of superb brands. It appears to be very young. But in terms of class and quality in comparison, Roger Dubuis, no less. And this King Collection is a premium line from Roger Dubuis. Copied down the trade name. Lin Emo went into his browser and searched. The moment I saw the picture of the watch, cold air poured out of his mouth. 45 millimeters watch diameter. 18K rose gold case and crown. And on top of that, it's full of nearly 14 carats of baguette cut diamonds. The overall look is understated, yet luxurious. As for the price of the watch, it's even higher at 4. 2 million Shenhua coins. Gulp. Swallowed. The bottom of Lin Mo's eyes were filled with dismay. The price. It's horrible. A smack in the face. Returned among the app. Lin Mo did not hesitate. And chose to buy. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 3 hours. Please wait for the receipt. 3 hours? Lin Mo looked at the time. The brow was, unavoidably, just slightly furrowed. That's a long time. A little long. Muttered under his breath. And the one after that, too, shook his head uncontrollably. All right. 3 hours is 3 hours. There was a slight sigh. Lin Emo just looked at another item. But what is this spending cashback card? What does it mean? The heart carries doubts. Lin Mo's gaze. It falls on top of the other one. The spending cashback card. Buy it first. Without much thought. Lin Mo's fingers. It's the spending cashback card that's landed on this one. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 30 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. 30 minutes? After mentally murmuring. He then just continued with his breakfast. However, it is also at this point in time. A text message banner popped up at the top of Lin Mo's cell phone screen. Your debit card. Tail number 9528. Earned 1. 120. 000 on April 22nd at 8.18 p.m. M. Balance after transaction. $1. 135. 981. 9. Look at the banner that suddenly popped up. Lin Mo was taken aback. And also at this time. The home-loving manager of the week was also sending himself a WeChat message. After a slight glance, Lin Mo also reacted. Turns out, it's the 120 houses that you own. A third of it was rented out yesterday afternoon. After all, it's April. At the end of spring recruiting, many new employees, in droves, are starting to come on board. And Lin Mo's house, again, is close to the subway entrance. Naturally, the rental is just very fast. And... Manager Chow was assuring himself, three days at the most, and the remaining third, all rented out for themselves. Look at the balance information on your cell phone. Lin Mo's mood was also a little trancy and complicated. Obviously he himself, yesterday, was worried about money. As a result, now, in a flash, he has over a million dollars in his own hands. That's a horrible rate of money making. Phew. After taking a deep breath, Lin Mo tapped on his PayPal. Then, it was to his old mom transferring over $200,000. Originally, Lin Mo was planning to turn halfway across, but sadly, the limit is up. Plus if one were to transfer half a million dollars to one's mom, all at once, that would probably scare her. Yet even so, still scares the hell out of mom. Just a short time past the transfer, Lin Mo's cell phone, then, just rang, looked at the caller ID, Haraz is his own mom. Hey, mom, answering the phone, Lin Emo thought of an excuse and opened his mouth. Hey, 
Son, why did you transfer 200? Zero 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 dollars to me all of a sudden? Where did you get so much money? Mom's somewhat anxious voice rang out. After all, two hundred dollars, zero zero zero, in their eyes, is still a large sum of money. Listen to this from mom. Lin Mo smiled and said, Mom, I started a small company with a friend of mine years ago. The two hundred dollars, zero zero zero, that's the dividend money I get from the company's profits. I've kept some of it for myself, and I'm transferring this two hundred. 000 to you and my dad, so you can take it to improve your lives. Listen to this. Mom was also relieved and then said, In this case, your father and I have money to spend. You this 200, 000 ah, uh, mom to save for you, the future to marry a daughter-in-law use. In this regard, Lin Mo was also somewhat helpless, and could only smile and continue talking to his own mother. And then the two of them talked for almost 20 minutes or so, the one after that, before hanging up, and also at this point in time. A prompt also appeared on Lin Mo's cell phone. The cashback card has been credited. Please refer to the item bar screen for details. Look at the two prompts in quick succession. Lin Mo was also unavoidably frozen. After that, you can click on the item bar of the app. With the entry afterward, it was then that he saw a black card inside. When you click on it, you are seeing the details. Spending rebate card. After using it, you will receive up to 10 times cashback on your next purchase. Looking at the card, Lin Mo's eyes lit up violently. Spend up to 10 times the cash back. This was undoubtedly of great use to the current Lin Mo. Subsequently, a little heartfelt contemplation. A quick glance at the clock and it was only just 8.30. It's still a long way to go until 11.30 at noon. Then, again, there was a look. At the clothes he was wearing. Lin Mo already had plans in his heart. Let's go buy a couple outfits first. Lin Mo wasn't the type to be stingy. Besides, he himself is now rich since he has money. Then buy a couple better outfits. No doubt about it. It is of necessity. And necessary. Whether you wear it yourself. Or is it the future to attend some. More important occasions. This outfit. All of it. Is a must. Drove out the door. All the way to IFC Plaza. IFC Plaza. This is. Arguably. One of the top shopping centers in Magic City. It's filled with all kinds of high-end luxury brands. There aren't many people in the middle of this IFC Plaza. After walking around. Lin Mo's eyes landed on the Armani brand. Armani is, arguably, one of the few luxury goods with the biggest reputation. After entering inside the store, a slightly brief look, Lin Mo's eyes, too, were brightened. Armani's clothes are kinda to his liking. After Lin Mo steps into Armani, a very beautifully dressed sales, then just walked over. Hello sir, are you here to see the ready to wear or are you planning to do a customization? Although, the clothes that Lin Mo was wearing, looked relatively cheap. The Armani sales staff, however, Maintained a serviceable attitude as it should be. Look at the ready to wear. Lin Mo said indifferently. After all, with customized clothing, it takes at least three months to get started. He didn't have the patience to wait. Besides, Armani's ready to wear is kind of nice. Yes sir. And what level of ready to wear are you prepared to look at? Armani's clothes are divided into six classes. Respectively, Super Tier 1 GA. AC on the front line. Quasi first line EA. AJ Armani jeans on the second line. EA7 and A-X Armani exchange for the third line. These six levels. The GA collection is among the finest men's ready-to-wear. The AC collection is Armani's business ready-to-wear line that focuses on business style. For the EA series, that's in the fashion style. The fabric is inferior to AC, but it's also relatively speaking cheaper. And Armani as a whole, that's really the only three levels you can buy. A few grades of ready-to-wear further down the line. It's just plain circling the drain. If you really go for it, you'll be buying a brand name at best. And for Lin Mo now, money's no big deal. The immediate thing was to speak. Let's go check out the GA level clothes first. Yes sir, please follow me. Said. Then he just took Lin Mo and walked towards the GA super tier 1 level area. And at this point, after entering the GA area, there were a few other guests inside. Everyone just glanced at Lin Mo before ignoring it. Continuing the process of picking out the dress of your choice. As for not far off to the side. A greasy middle-aged man with a thumb-thick gold chain around his neck and some shaving. As well as a somewhat acerbic young girl beside him. After glancing at Lin Mo, pinching his nose, with a look of contempt on his face, he said, How do you do things at Armani? You let this kid in dress like a floor walker? And on the sidelines, the greasy middle-aged man. Then he laughed out loud and said, Ha ha, baby, you have to understand. Some people just like to puff up their faces. Obviously you can't afford Armani and you have to come in and look around. If you accidentally soil a certain piece of clothing, 
It's a different matter whether you can afford to pay for it or not. But if you listen to me, brother Zhao, and keep me company happily, I'll make sure you eat and drink without worry. Yeah, brother Zhao, what are you talking about? I'll definitely listen to you, brother Zhao. Ha ha, good. In that case, then when I'm done with this dress, I'll take you bag shopping later. You're the best. Cho, this greasy middle-aged man who called himself Zhao, letting out a laugh there. On his face, there was even more arrogance written all over it. At the same time, there, in a lofty manner, he constantly belittled Lin M.O. and spoke without the slightest restraint, so that everyone around was hearing it. And this is what triggered a lot of other customers. However, after glancing at Lin M.O., he didn't say anything. Honestly, they were disgruntled despite their faces, which showed it. But in his heart, he agreed with the middle-aged man's words. After all, in their opinion, how can a kid in his skimpy clothes afford our money? Or do you buy high-end clothing like GA that can cost $100,000 a set? That's impossible when you think about it. And the saleswoman beside Lin M.O. At this time, it was also a bit awkward. And then, in a hurry, he said, Don't worry, sir, we at Armani are true to our hearts for every guest. Lin M.O. On the other hand, narrowed his eyes slightly. There was an anger bubbling up in the bottom of his heart. This fat guy, is he sick? Coldly glancing at the fat man there, Lin M.O. opened his mouth. What are some of the staples of this season? At your GA level? After these words fell, the saleswoman just said in a hurry, Sir, that's a coincidence. These seven pieces in front of you have just arrived in our store. This season's new Armani staple. These seven pieces are designed in the style of. Before the saleswoman could finish her sentence, Lin Mo then just waved his hand and said, Okay, stop it. Wrap it up. I'll take it all. After a sentence fell, everyone, at once, froze. All of them were somewhat stunned, looking at Lin Mo in front of them. The saleswoman, too, swallowed a mouthful of water and said, First, sir, are you sure? The total price of the seven dresses here is around $810. 000, 000, 810. 000. Lin Mo froze, and then there was a sinking feeling in the back of his mind. One should have about 930. 000, 000 left on their current card. That is, after buying the seven dresses, in his own card, is still more than $100,000 left over. In that case, one is able to buy two more pairs of shoes. Thinking of this, Lin Mo then just opened his mouth. In that case, it's good to wait a bit first. With the moment those words fell, the faces of the crowd there were also, at once, a few disdainful looks surfaced, especially with the greasy middle-aged man there. At this point it was a snicker. Ha, that's quite a deep entry. Do you really think you're a god? How come when it comes to money, you're afraid to pull out your card and pay? As for the snarky woman on the side, at this time, a few moments of contempt was also written on his face. Even if you are poor, you have the cheek to talk big. As for Lin M.O., he was completely ignoring the words of these two. Just pulled out his cell phone, tapped the multiplier card in the mobile app. Then, pointing to the two pairs of black leather shoes that were laying there, speaking flatly, tell you what, bag me two more pairs of shoes there. It's not proper to buy clothes without shoes. With that, he took out his bank card and said, swipe it. Looking at Lin Mo's casual movements, the saleswoman was dumbfounded. A straight swipe? This, she heard Lin Mo say at first that she would have to wait a little bit. Thought it was too expensive for that, but what I didn't expect was, other people actually are of the opinion that it's not appropriate to just buy clothes without shoes. After asking for two more pairs of shoes, I can't believe I'm just going to buy all seven outfits and two pairs of shoes. To know, that's a price tag of $810, 000 for seven outfits alone, plus two pairs of shoes. So the total price, that could be towards $900, 000 dollars. But now, Lin M.O., however, was ready to swipe his card for it without blinking an eye? This, just how posh does it have to be? As for the other customers, they were also a bit dismayed at this point. This unimpressive looking kid, is it really ready to buy? To no, they, though, are said to have the spending power to buy clothes here. But in one fell swoop, buy seven of this season's staples and fill in two pairs of $40, 000, 000 to $50, 000, 000 shoes, they, really, can't do it yet. And the greasy middle-aged man, and the mean woman next to him, snorted. Ha, swollen face, big words for anyone. If you don't have the money to pay later, I'd like to see what you're going to do. This middle-aged man's face was filled with a teasing look at this moment, looking at Lin M.O. with a playful expression. As for the saleswoman, she spoke in a whisper. Sir, let me check with you again. Are you sure you want seven of this season's staple new items, and two pairs of leather shoes? The total amount you need to purchase these items, 
is $913,000. Lin Mo frowned slightly and said, Well, hurry up. The card's been in my hand for half a minute. After Lin Mo's words fell, the saleswoman who was there, in a hurry, was a jolt. Immediately, he was the one who spoke in a hurry. Yes sir, you wait a moment. With that said, the saleswoman quickly brought the POS machine. Watching the scene, the crowd also gazed at the place. The banter on that greasy middle-aged man's face intensified. Ha, I'd like to see how you're going to keep pretending. And just the moment those words fell, the card in Lin Mo's hand was already scratched on the POS. Subsequent ones, the password was entered. With the crowd watching, POS after a soft thud, a slip slid out slowly. Quiet, unparalleled silence. Everyone was staring at this scene in stupefaction. The mind was wildly appalled. I can't believe the payment really worked. For a while, the sound of sucking in cold air rose and fell. Now, they are all understood. The one in front of him, the youth who looked like he was wearing a ground-up suit. People, they are really rich. It's one of those things where you can spend a million dollars on clothes without batting an eye. As for the pair of dogs, they were already in a daze at this point. This, especially greasy middle-aged men, the look of the moment. It was as awkward as it was going to get. After all, just now, it was the two of them who screamed the loudest. Even more so, he was constantly questioning, Lin Mo's purchasing power. Think that the other side is just pretending there. But what's the result? As it turns out, the other side is still really good. This fact was like a slap in the face. A heavy blow to their faces. To know, that's a mouthful of $910.000 to pay for a couple of outfits. This is something that even he doesn't have the ability to do and dare to do. But, the youth in front of me. Yet that is what was done. That means that the youth in front of us. Identity. Only. One moment. This greasy middle-aged man mentally panicked. At the same time, it was thinking of earlier. When he was so. Mocking the other party here. Shasta. Cold sweat flowed down his back. One after another. And the moment the order is completed. That female salesperson's heart. At this point. Has long been happy. A big $910.000 bill. That's over $10,000 in commission when it comes to your own hands, and other sales in the distance. Eyes are red at this point. The bottom of his heart could be jealous beyond measure. More than that, I regretted it. Why? This order wasn't received on its own. As for Lin M.O., at this time, on his cell phone, there was also a prompt that popped up. Congratulations, you've got six times cash back. With the moment the queue dropped, the message from the bank then just pops up. Your debit card, tail number 9528, earned 5, 478, 000 on April 22nd at 9.11 a.m. M, balance after transaction, $5, 500, 981, 9 inch, look at this arrival message, Lin Mo's mood, immediately, was one of excitement, 6 times the cash back, over $5 million in cash back, that is to say, this consumption of one's own, nonetheless, is not a loss. Instead, it netted over $4 million, swallowed. At this moment, Lin Mo's mood could be described as excited. Spin. Then he just glanced at the greasy middle-aged man who was there, his eyes narrowing slightly, and feeling Lin Mo's gaze. This greasy middle-aged guy, all of a sudden, cold sweat after cold sweat, flowed down, feeling Lin Mo's gaze. There's the middle-aged greasy fat guy there. At this time, all over his body, it was an ice cold. The legs, too, could not stop. Trembling, looking at Lin Mo who was there, the smile on his face was worse than crying. After all, in just a moment, one could almost say that one had offended Lin Mo to death. In this moment, his heart could be filled with despair, as well as regret. Why did he himself, just now, have to be so, to demean Lin Mo? With a bitter smile, this middle-aged greasy man trotted to Lin Mo's side and said, This friend, just now, before he could finish, Lin Mo just waved his hand and said in a conspiratorial manner, Hey, don't, how can a poor man with no money like me afford to be friends with you? A sentence fell. This middle-aged greasy man's face immediately turned red. Poor people with no money? Poor people with no money. People say this, obviously not willing to forgive himself. What about burying himself again? And just as he was about to say something else, a voice, however, came from not far away. Ha, huh? Mr. Lin? Hearing this voice, Lin Mo also looked up. Mr. Son. Lin Mo had a smile on his face. Look at the visitor. This visitor was not someone else. It was Sun Fu of Villa 2, whom he had met only yesterday afternoon. And at this time, Sun Fu was also a bit surprised. He hadn't thought of that. He himself was actually here, meeting Lin Mo. Mr. 
Lin is here to buy clothes? Well, just in time to buy myself a couple of sets, a change of clothes for the weekdays. What he said, Lin Imo was pointing at the clothes and shoes that were being packed there, and after Sun Fu took a look at it, the corners of his mouth also twitched hard. With his eyesight, he was able to tell at a glance, this is packing clothes, without a doubt. It's these Armani sets that are this season's staples. The price of each piece is in the 100, 000, 000 direction. As a result, in Lin Mo's mouth, it became a few sets of change of clothes. That's even if it's the lady of the house. You wouldn't dare do that, would you? But on second thought, it doesn't seem to be a problem. After all, the man before his own eyes. But he was willing to spend $600 million on a villa. Not bad for the Lord. Think about it. This Sun Fu was just relieved. And at this point in time, the middle-aged greasy man next to him, however, had a sharp light in front of his eyes, said, Brother Sun, Brother Sun, listen to this. Sun Fu also twisted his head and glanced at the middle-aged greasy man. Thoughtfully, he said, You are, Mr. Zhao, this middle-aged greasy man, he still recognized, it's a supplier to his company. Mr. Sun, is this an acquaintance of yours? Hmm, listen to this. Sun Fu glanced at Lin M.O. Only Lin Mo's face carried a few smiles of playfulness. The first thing that happened was a reaction. I'm just afraid. This Zhao Ming, he had just offended Lin Mo ah. Immediately, it was a jolt to say. Not familiar. I don't know him well at all. Said. This gentleman. Who are you? Don't yell. Okay. No. Mr. Sun. I'm Zhao Ming. The Zhao Ming of Fu Ming Cement. We've met before at your company's partner reception. Listen to this. Sun Fu was harboring a fire in his heart. This guy, is he stupid? Immediately, Sun Fu said coldly, What farm and cement? Sorry, I haven't heard of it, but what kind of cats and dogs can become our company's partners now? Then it seems that after returning to the company this time, I'm going to properly order the people below me to severely investigate the company's partners. When he finished speaking, he just looked at Lin Mo with a smile and said, Mr. Lin, please don't misunderstand, between me and this person, we really don't know each other well. In response, Lin Mo just smiled. Come on, this is your company's business, not mine. I've got other things on my side, so I'll leave you to it. After all was said and done, Lin Mo was just about ready to leave. As for your own shopping bag, this Armani is also sent to help carry himself to the car. As Lin Mo left, Sun Fu then had a cold face. Looking behind him, Zhao Ming said, Even Mr. Lin dares to offend. I think you're impatient with life. Yourself. Now be good. A sentence fell. Sun Fu left without looking back. Only Zhao Ming was left alone, in place as if he had fallen into an ice cellar. His body cold. Look at Sun Fu's attitude. The youth in front of him was in existence that even Sun Fu didn't dare to mess with. Instead, he, himself, invoked it. This moment of understanding came to him. Yourself. Done. The woman who was dressed as an alluring woman on the side was also flustered at this time. Hurriedly, he came up. Zhao. What now? Zhao Ming. On the other hand, was distracted. Looking at this enchanting woman, his heart grew hateful. If it wasn't for her, how would she have offended Lin M.O.? Instantly, a slap was thrown up. Roll, you bitch, if it wasn't you, how could I have offended Mr. Lin? And the others who watched the whole thing from the sidelines. At this point, one by one, they were already in a state of shock. They were totally unexpected. The young man they considered poor just now. Identity. Actually so horrible. Sun Fu and the others know each other. The other party, but the vice president of the Ding Shang Group in Magic City. Ding Shang Group, in the Magic City that can be ranked in the top 10 super large companies. And, with such a high status, Sun Fu, when facing Lin Mo, they all had to be respectful. Then the youth just now. What, exactly, is the identity? A moment. A number of people here began to speculate in the back of their minds. As for Lin Mo, he was completely unaware of all this at this point in his life, just own shopping bag, stuffed inside the front trunk, thens, again, inside the IFC, bought a little cologne, two collar braces, after that, it was a kick of the gas, straight to the eastern suburbs of the one, there's still plenty of time, going straight to the tangle court would obviously not be the best plan, back home, after taking a shower, where your hair and a grown up look can change into a dapper suit, hidden deep under the collar are gold collar braces, time passes, he had finally become one of those men, with a collar lined with gold. After organizing, looking at my cell phone, it was about time. It was only then that he drove the car and headed straight for the Pujang Tang Court. Half an hour later, Tangle Court parking lot, 
Looking at the driving Porsche 911 GT1-98, the security guard had a jolt. Being a security guard at an upscale restaurant, despite not knowing the car, look at the shape. He knew the car was uncommonly expensive. Hastily, he came up to guide Lin M.O., pulled into a parking space against the inside. Then, respectfully, he helped open the car door. And also at this time, not far outside this parking lot, two skimpily dressed women, two, took note of the place. One of them, spoke up. Lily, look there. Listening to this, a nearby one with a lightly painted face and a pleated skirt. The young girl, who looked fresh out of college, craned her head to look up. This is, a few moments of astonishment surfaced in Chien Lily's eyes, unexpectedly. Rimmer? Yeah, but I remember. I think he came from the countryside, but I just saw him, getting out of that Porsche. Zhao Simon spoke in a hurry. Hey, you say, this Lin Mo wouldn't have been adopted by a rich woman, right? After all, this Lin Mo's appearance is very good. Listen to this. This Chien Lily's gaze then just landed on that Porsche. The heart was just overwhelmed with dismay. Then, shaking his head, he said, don't be ridiculous, maybe it's just that they've always kept a low profile. She wasn't an ordinary girl like Zhao Simon, who didn't have much insight. Naturally, he could tell that this Porsche beside Lin Mo was not simple. Judging by the styling, it's anything but a regular version of a Porsche. Most likely, it's some limited edition. Besides, if anything, she was right. The set on Lin Mo now, it should be a new seasonal staple at Armani GA level. This suit, it's a hundred thousand dollars to start with and a limited edition Porsche, plus a set that starts at $100, 000, 000, Armani GA level new seasonal staples, is this going to be a package deal from a rich woman, what kind of rich woman can be so rich, and also as a result, it was only then that she thought that when she was before, Lin Mo was actually laying low, but now the company is bankrupt, no more pretending, showdown, he's actually a rich kid, for a moment, Chien Lily's heart grew more and more curious, the corners of his mouth, too, were upturned for a moment, kind of interesting, mentally muttering, ruffling the ends of her hair, she said, Siobhan, let's go up first, aha, uh -huh. with that, these two headed upstairs, and at this moment, Lindemo also took out a few large red bills from his pocket and stuffed them to the security guard, watch the car for me, don't let anyone scratch it, yes, sir, take the bill, the security guard said with a smile piled on his face, this was followed by a wave of nods and winks, Looking at Lin Mo's figure walking away, this security guard also counted the bills. At once, it was cold air that was sucked backwards. Boy, rich people are rich people. It's $1,500 a shot. That's almost a week's salary. So generous. He deserves to be able to drive a Porsche. Muttering under his breath, the bottom of the security guard's eyes as he looked at Lin Mo became more and more envious. Then, it was here, looking seriously at the Porsche. At this time, Lin Mo, too, walked to the entrance of the tank pavilion, just walked in, the cell phone rang instead, pulled it out and looked at it, it was an unfamiliar number, after it was connected, a respectful voice rang out, Roger Dubuis Boutique, may I ask if you are Mr. Limmerling? Uh, yeah, I am, Lin Mo nodded, hello Mr. Lin, I'm Roger Dubuis store manager, Joe Syming, your order, the Roger Dubuis King collection Rodbex 0406 has arrived, on the other end of the phone, Joe Syming's tone, a few points more respectful, do you see where you are now, I'll send it to you now, I'm at the Tang Court restaurant in Pujang, on the second floor, in the Rose Room, okay, it's not far from our store, I can be there in 10 minutes, well, then I'll trouble store manager Joe, it's no trouble, it's what we do, as some words fell, the phone hung up with it, and at that moment, the elevator arrived just in time, get on the elevator and go straight to the Rose Room on the second floor, Rose Hall, by now the people were pretty much there. Yo, Lin Mo is here. Fong Hong, the leader of the group there, spoke. Everyone's here pretty early. As for Lin Mo, at this point, he was also smiling lightly, greeting everyone. And as Lin Mo was seated, this restaurant started to serve the food. With the start of serving, the door to the private room, however, was once again pushed open. A young man with a greasy haircut walked in at a brisk pace, just walked in and was just loud. Aya. Yes and sorry, brothers, I'm sorry ha, huh? the road is a bit stuck in traffic. A side note, the youth found a seat on one side of the room and sat down, and then, dropping a BMW key in his hand, he dropped it on the desktop. The whole thing had a big grin and a smile on his face. Yo, manager's son changed his car. At this point, all eyes. It's also focused on the BMW keys, 
Hi, don't mention it. No, just got a position as Associate Director of Finance at Greentown Group. So yeah, reward yourself with a BMW X7. Sun Xiao, who was here, said with a bashful look on his face, and the words fell. All the people there, in succession, were just sucking in cold air. Green City Group, this is a big company in our magic city. Boy, Sun Jing, no, Superintendent Sun actually managed to apply for the position of Deputy Superintendent. Awesome, and you even brought up a BMW X7. Brother Sun, here's to you. In an instant, a number of people started complimenting and toasting, and Sun Xiao was also full of pride. Loudly, ha ha, thanks everyone ha ha. Hey, honestly, this Deputy Director, it's not easy to be, and, is really not much money. What he said, he purposely pushed his sleeve up. Inside, a novelty-shaped watch leaked out. Ha, son, this is Roger Dubuis on your wrist, right? At once, that is, there are people with sharp eyes. Recognize the watch. All of a sudden, everyone was just in a flurry, and their eyes fell on this Roger Dubuis. Son is really low-key, this Roger Dubuis. I almost haven't noticed it yet. I go, Roger Dubuis, I'm afraid this watch, brother son, must cost a lot of money, right? In response, on Sun Zhao's face, a smile piled up, said, Hey, it's not worth much, I've got this Roger Dubuis, it's also the entry-level model in the King series, and it only costs about $100.000. As these words fell, it immediately drew a wave of envious voices. I go, brother son, this is loaded by you. This is still not a few dollars, more than 100, 000 AI, envious, I'd have to go a year without eating or drinking to afford this, I'm envious, son actually bought it, so easily, for a while, many people had, just cast envious gazes, as for this son Zhao's face, it was filled with arrogance, but still, he pretended to be on cloud 9, hi, this is nothing for me, I'm telling you guys, I'm familiar with a store clerk who follows Roger Dubuis and he told me last night, there's a mysterious tycoon in their store who recently ordered a watch that's worth a fortune. The moment the words fell, all of a sudden, everyone's ears were perked up to listen. This mysterious tycoon, it is said, ordered a four, two million dollar watch. After that, there was a rush of cold air from the scene. Four, two million for a watch. Boy, how long do I have to go without food and drink to buy this? Hey, rich people are really rich. Buy a watch. It's over four million dollars. But sun isn't so bad. He's now an associate director. And it probably won't take long to get rid of the sub word either. Wouldn't it be easy to buy a piece when the time comes? Listening to the bragging, Sun Xiao laughed out loud. At the same time, there was a glance at Chin Lily. Who was there? He made such a big move. Mainly, or hopefully, it would pique Kian Lili's interest. After all, Chin Lily is their company, a first class beauty. However, when he looked at Chin Lily, and yet, he realized that Chin Lily had completely failed to notice himself. Instead, he cast his gaze, on Lin M.O., who was across from him, the moment of the moment, this Sun Zhao's face just clouded over, another look at Lin Mo's handsome face, at that moment, for no reason at all, his heart grew more and more jealous, this guy, isn't he just a little more handsome and taller than me, what makes you, so attractive to women, immediately said, hey, Xiao Lin Ah, I remember that your business skills are quite good, or you graduated from a famous university, how's it going? Have you found a suitable new job yet? Thanks to manager Sun's concern, I haven't found anything yet. Lin Mo said very bashfully, and as Lin Mo's words fell after that, Sun Xiao, who was there, but the corners of his mouth were hooked up, a sneer appeared. He said, oh, so ah, uh, young people, do not overambitious. Let's do it this way. Our Greentown group is now short of a few security guards. What about a young lad like you? That would be quite suitable. Why don't you go as a pawn? Mockery. Naked mockery and it was also the moment when a number of people, beside him, quieted down, watching the scene with a teasing look on his face, as for Chen Lily who knew Lin Mo's true situation, and it was with interest, watching the scene, as for being in Lin Mo's face, at this moment, his complexion, on the other hand, was bland, just spoke very calmly, no, I still have some free money in my hand and I'm going to try a little business of my own, honestly, in the eyes of Lin Mo now, this Sun Xiao is nothing but a clown, if it wasn't for his ex-colleagues, he would have already been lifting the table and walking away. But this son Xiao, for these words of Lin Mo, that was a snicker. Been a co-worker with Lin Mo for a year. How could he not be aware of Lin Mo's financial situation? Still have some money to spare for a small business? Oh, yet just then, this son Xiao's gaze was however condensed. Hmm, at this point, 
he was also noticing, the clothes Lin Mo was wearing were actually a set of our money. This Lin Mo can afford our money? Sun Xiao was all but unconvinced. It must be a fake. Immediately, the Yin and Yang said, Yo, Lin Mo, this set of our money on you. It's quite real. Where did you get such a high fashion fake? Fake? At once, the others froze. Then, in unison, he looked at the clothes on Lin Mo's body. People really didn't notice Lin Mo's dress before. After all, everyone had been under the impression that Lin Mo wore clothes. It's either a pieces of yum yum, or some kind of treasure model. But now, with Sun Zhao's mention, the others also took notice. Instantly, the look that looked at Lin Mo was odd and contemptuous. After all, if you can't afford to wear a brand name, you can just not wear it and no one will laugh at you. But wearing fakes, ha! As for Lin Mo, his heart was also on fire. It's true that you don't get angry when you're provoked by an ant once, but over and over again, they are provoked. If he didn't return the favor, it would truly, no longer be in his character. And just as he was about to say something, a snort of laughter came out of nowhere. Everyone looked away as well. Joe Simone, what are you laughing at? Sun Xiao asked with a frown. Ouch, I can't, I can't really hold it in any longer. What am I laughing at? I'm laughing at your ignorance. Why would Lin Mo wear a fake? He's at least a rich kid who can afford to drive a Porsche and wear fake stuff. What do you think? This Zhao Simon burst into a fit of unrestrained laughter. And after the words fell, the whole booth, however, was a silence. Everyone was confused. A few moments of shock surfaced amongst the looks. Lin Mo, is it a rich kid? Can you afford a Porsche? This, it's a lie, isn't it? A rich kid who can afford to drive a Porsche can work in their company? And warn to work every day? Or is it one of those spelling Eve T's, some kind of cheapy? This, how is that possible? As for Sun Xiao, he was also a bit dumbfounded. The gaze that looked at Lin Mo brought with it a bit of incredulity. And then, just gritting his teeth, he said, No way, it's definitely a fake. You've definitely been tricked by this kid. How can he afford a Porsche? Rented, definitely rented. Speaking of which, this Sun Xiao's heart. There was also a gradual conviction that he had found this reason. Ha, I didn't realize that you're actually such a hypocrite. Lin Mo. Even if you're wearing a guy's Armani, you rented a Porsche? Oh, it looks like you really, just spent a lot of money. Listening to these words, the gazes of these two, Chen Lily and Zhao Simon, became more and more odd. As for Lin Mo, he also shook his head for a while, a soft heartfelt sigh escaped. Just when he was about to poke the son Zhao's words, mercilessly, the door to the private room, however, was pushed open. Then, Roger Duby was a store manager, Simon Zhou, walked in with a bag. The crowd looked at this Joe Simon and froze. As for Sun Xiao, his eyes also lit up, then even stood up and greeted him with a smile. Store manager Zhou, what brings you here? Looking at Sun Xiao who stood up, this Joe Simon didn't care too much about it and just blandly said, Oh, I'm here to deliver watches to our store's VIP customers. VIP clients? Sun Xiao froze. Roger dubious VIP clients. He still knows it well. This is something that, at the very least, requires the purchase of a million dollar watch to become a VIP customer. But can anyone in this crowd afford a million dollar watch? Store manager Zhou, are you going the wrong way? We are here. Nobody can afford that. A million dollar watch? Going the wrong way? Ha! Zhou Siming shook his head and smiled. Then, in three or two steps, he walked to Lin Mo. Respectfully, he handed over the paper bag in his hand. Mr. Lin, your watch is here. Quiet. Deadly silence. Everyone, at this point, was filled with stagnation, incredulous, looking at Lin Mo who was there, Roger Dubuis VIP clients, I can't believe, Rimmer, this is no mistake, isn't he a, even wear clothes, only wear spell ee -E -E some treasure goods poor bastard, how is it, Roger Dubuis VIP client, in the moment, Zhao Simon, who was there, had her mouth opened wide into an O shape, at the bottom of Qian Lily's heart, there were also a few moments of interest at this time, as for Sun Xiao, and under his breath, he murmured incoherently, it can't be, it's fake, it has to be, he's the one who wears clothes that are high fashion Armani stuff, how is it possible, to be a VIP client of Roger Dubuis, mistake, this must be a mistake, and after the words fell, Zhou Siming, who was there, had a cold face, immediately, he looked at Sun Xiao and said, this gentleman, are you questioning the ability of our store, Mr. Lin is indeed a valued VIP client of ours, Roger Dubuis, and even more so, we are Roger Dubuis' top VIP clients. The watch he ordered is the $4. 2 million King Series Rodbex 0406. Boom. A sentence fell. It was like a gust of thunder exploding. 4. 
2 million, Roger Dugiwas Rodbex 0406, two messages put together. This son Shao looked at Lin Mo with an incomparably stunned expression. As for Lin Mo, he was under the gaze of everyone, taking the watch out of the beautifully wrapped box without slowing down. Then he opened it and slipped the wristwatch that lay inside. Onto his wrist. Look at the huge wristwatch. The Sun Zhao's face could be said to be in fiery pain. It was as if it had been slapped hard a few times. Memories of earlier, where he was bragging about it. The mysterious tycoon who purchased a $4, 2 million watch, as well as his own earlier appearance in front of Lin M.O., flaunting his Roger Dubuis most lowly wristwatch. He then felt as if he were a jumped-up clown, ridiculous to the core. And next to them at that moment, there was a gasp of surprise. Wait, a $4, 2 million watch. I remember Mr. Sun. Sun Xiao was not talking before. Did a mysterious tycoon buy a $4, 2 million watch? Could it be that the mysterious rich man is? Hiss, my goodness, does that mean that watch is this one of Ringo's? It's still really unobtrusive. Unlike some people who get a VP job in a new car and show off all kinds of things. Look at my brother Lin. He bought a $4 million watch and didn't even show off his wealth. One word down. Sun Xiao, who was there, was already somewhat groundless at this point. As far as being there for Lily Qian. At this moment, he took a sip of juice and then smiled. Right, manager son, you said before that Lin Mo's Armani was a fake. Actually, right, people this is the real deal. This set of clothes then, is Armani's highest level of the instant main new models, worth $100,000. As for your claim that his Porsche is a rental, that's even more nonsense. Lin Ma's Porsche, which I happened to see on the way up, that's a limited edition Porsche supercar. And I can't really think of anyone who rents out a limited edition sports car. A word fell. Sun Xiao, who was there, was already dumbfounded. On his face, it was even more fiery and painful. At this point, he was in a state of disgrace. At this moment, he also understood. Why did he mention Lin Ma himself? This Qian Lily, would look at herself with the kind of gaze as if she was looking at a fool. The original. People are totally just watching themselves get screwed. As for, the store manager there. Mr. Chow. At this time, cold air was also sucked backwards from his mouth. A limited edition Porsche. With what he knows. A limited edition Porsche. This is all at least 10 million dollars. And, you don't just have to have money to get it. At once, his importance to Lin M.O. was also a few points higher. As for Lin M.O., he was also a bit surprised. He hadn't thought of that. When he drove himself here, he was actually seen by Chin Lily. But to that, Lin M.O. also just laughed. Spinning around, he looked at Joe Syming and said, Store manager Joe, I'm tired of you making a special trip for me. If I ever want to buy a watch again in the future, I'll still come to you. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this week's store manager, all of a sudden for the great joy, hectic, that is, said, no trouble, no trouble, it's an honor to serve you, Mr. Lin, then I won't continue to bother on my end. After bowing and speaking, the store manager just left quickly this week, with the departure of store manager Chow. Inside this restaurant, the atmosphere got weirder and weirder. Sun Zhao's face was burning with pain. A final word about not feeling well. Just immediately, he took the car keys and quickly left. After all, he really had no face to continue to stay here. And as soon as Sun Xiao left, the original co-workers who surrounded Sun Xiao, at this time, they were all in succession, coming to compliment Lin M.O. Looking at these people, Lin M.O. smiled and shook his head for a while in his heart. This man nah, is really real. Before, when he didn't show that he was rich, these people were in love with him. Now what? As soon as they saw that they had money, they immediately came up with compliments. A little push and pull. The breakup dinner was also finished. A meal is finished. After settling the bill, Lin Imo then walked towards the parking lot. After arriving at the parking lot, instead, he was in trouble. I was a little drunk myself, and now it looked like there was no way to drive home, and just own the car. I guess there's no way to call a valet. After all, an $80 million Porsche. Even if you call a chauffeur yourself, that chauffeur wouldn't dare drive. Never mind. Just leave the car here for now and come by tomorrow to pick it up. Shaking his head, Lin Mo's heart made a decision. And at this point in time, a voice, however, sounded behind Lin Mo. Rimmer. Hearing the voice, Lin Mo turned his head back, only to see Chin Lily was walking in a graceful manner. And then, with a smile, she said, Hmm, what is it that the great beauty Chien wants to see me about? Chien Lily blushed slightly and pouted, oily mouth. With that, she glanced at Lin Mo's Porsche and said, I thought I saw you were too drunk to drive, why don't you take my car? Listen to this. Lin Mo froze, then smiled, 
since Qian Damsel has kindly invited me, I'll oblige. Qian Lily rolled her eyes and whirled around, saying, the car isn't as nice as the one you have, so don't mind. After saying that, this Qian Lily was leading Lin Mo to a Maserati president, pulled the car door open and said, get in the car. Listening to these words, Lin Mo's heart was secretly shocked. When I was in the company before, I didn't notice it much. So, this Qian Lily, she's still a little rich, get in the car. Lin Mo then realized that on the passenger side, there was another person sitting there. He he, Lin Mo is coming up. On the passenger side, Zhao Simon looked at Lin Mo with a smile. After that, she just glanced at Qian Lily and said, Lily why don't I get out of the car and leave you two alone? Listening to the words Qian Lily, his face flushed, and he said, don't talk nonsense. For her part, Zhou Ziman burst into a fit of unbridled laughter. And there's Lily Qian. At this moment, he asked Lin Mo. By the way, Lin Mo, where does your family live? Oh, one east suburban one. Lin Mo, who was seated in the back row, opened his mouth. And listening to Lin Mo's words, Zhao Simon opened her mouth in surprise. Wow, it's actually one east suburb? That's the most expensive villa area in Magic City. Ha ha, that's about it. Lin Mo smiled and said. As for Qian Lily beside her, her heart was a bit stunned. Through the rearview mirror, he glanced at Lin Mo with a shocked gaze. She's different from Lily Qian. She was well aware of what a building in this one eastern suburb represented. Although, within the upper class circles of Magic City, at this time about a building in the eastern suburbs of one, moved into a new family this matter, is already spread. But who exactly is living there? This is something that no one knows. And to Qian Lili's surprise, the one who bought a villa at one east suburb is actually Lin Mo. And there, Joe Simon, continued the question. Hey, by the way, I see your sports car is a Porsche? What model? The car, the 911 GT1-98, just a car for transportation. Smiling, Lin Mo waved his hand and said, listening to Lin Mo's words, Zhao Simon searched on her cell phone while casually asking, what model is this, how much is it? Lin Mo smiled, and after a little reminiscing, said, it's not a lot of money, it's only about 80 million dollars. Snap, at once, Zhao Simon's cell phone, fell from her hand. Afterwards, he looked at Lin Mo with a face full of confusion. Not much money? Mobility scooter? Even Qian Lily, who was next to her, had a hard twitch in her eye. Is this Versailles? At once, these two, Qian Lily and Zhao Simon, just didn't want to speak. After 20 or so minutes, the entrance to the one east suburb villa area, arrived. Not going in to sit down? Lin Mo smiled and opened his mouth. This, Qian Lily mused. As for Zhao Simon, she was smiling. He he, Lily San, why don't we just go in and sit down for a while? Qian Lily, who was listening to this, just nodded her head, said, then I'm sorry to bother you. Having said that, the vehicle is just entering inside the villa area, all the way forward. Soon enough, it was in front of the door of Villa 1. Look at the villa in front of you. Zhao Simon suddenly brightened up. Wow, Lin Mo, this villa of yours is so big. That's a lot of money if you buy it, isn't it? Well, I remember the villa, which was spoken of as $600 million, I think. Listen to this. Zhao Simon, who was here, was directly shocked with her mouth wide open, close enough to be, well, stuffed into the mouth of a pulsating bottle. And then, with eyes blazing, he looked at Lin Mo and belabored in his heart, the capital of all evil, Qian Lily who was next to her, although she had known for a long time that the villa was worth a lot of money, but in seeing it in the flesh, the heart still can't help but feel for it, 600 million dollars for this villa, no loss, in response, Lin Mo secretly smiled, indeed, this villa is not a loss no matter what, after all, you bought it yourself for a dime, spinning, the three men entered the house, after entering the house, tea was served to each of them, and then, this Zhao Simon was the one who said, he he, Lin Mo, Lily and I, we'll explore your villa first. Uh, okay, by the way, did you guys get enough for lunch? Lin Mo nodded and asked. Honestly, at noon Lin Mo really just didn't have enough to eat. Tangle Court is, after all, a top-notch restaurant. In the case of this type of restaurant, the main characteristics are simply expensive and small portions, plus being surrounded by a bunch of people toasting at noon. This resulted in Lin Mo not eating a few bites of food at noon, but drinking a lot of wine. Qian Lily said, well, it's true that I didn't eat much for lunch, alright then, you and Simon go ahead and explore, I'll give you some down there later, listening to Lin Mo's words, this Qian Lily's, at once, blushed scarlet, 
Hmm, what's wrong? What are you blushing about? Is it too hot? Lin Mo was dumbfounded. And then he just picked up the air conditioner remote control. Then I'll turn down the air conditioning. Saying that, it was to lower the temperature of the central air conditioner to 20 degrees. At the same time, it's also the continued word. In advance haha, I don't have much food prepared at home. In the fridge now, it's basically just hanging noodles. Also, for drinks there's only cold ones, can I have one? Ha, huh? as Lin Mo's words fell. This Qian Lily then reacted. Like, it's just a case of thinking the wrong way. Hastily, then he just nodded his head and whispered. Well, can. That's good. Rimmer walked towards the kitchen. As for Zhao Simon, she was holding Chen Lily and strolling around the villa excitedly. To call it an adventure would be an exaggeration. Still, little surprises pop up from time to time. A small library filled with books. A comfortable and luxurious movie screening room. Spacious piano room. Top sound KTV room. As the adventure begins. These two women just keep on feeling for it. A little bit of time passed. Twenty or so minutes later. Yikes. A shriek rang out. Listen to the screams. Lin Mo instantly turned off the fire on the stove. Then, running towards the backyard. All the way to the backyard. Lin Mo then saw the excited Zhao Simon and listened to Lin Mo's footsteps. Zhao Simon also looked back at Lin Mo with a face full of excitement and said, Lin Mo, this outdoor pool at your house is so big. Hearing this, Lin Mo's mouth twitched and said, scared the hell out of me, thought something had happened to you guys, all right, the noodles are ready, so hurry over and eat them while they're hot, the three of them finished their noodles together, after shoving all the dishes and pots and pans into the dishwasher, only then did Lin Mo take the two of them and tour the house for a while, and it wasn't until after 5 p.m., only then did the two women leave separately, after sending off the two women, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was nestled in his house playing a game, by the time I finished my evening workout, it was 12 o'clock sharp. That's when he took out his cell phone and started checking it. With the app open. On it. The merchandise is also officially refreshed. Second generation De Honpo 3 Caddy. Subsidized price. 9. 9. Look at this merchandise. Lin Mo's breath stopped for it. The second generation of the big red robe. Look at this item in front of you. Lin Mo's breath. Was shortened. This thing. Lin Mo naturally knew. The so-called second generation De Honpo. It refers to the three mother trees from the big red robe, leaves from a second generation de Honpo tree grafted down, and now, the tea leaves from the mother tree, are already not harvested, and the mother tree is protected, and that's exactly why, the price of this second generation leaf is reaching sky high prices, one gram, then, is more than ten dollars, zero zero zero, that translates to three pounds of second generation de Honpo, that's, fifteen million dollars, great stuff, Lin Mo muttered under his breath, Buy it. Think about it. Without the slightest hesitation. Lin Mo. Directly. Was purchasing it. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time. 6 hours. Please wait for the receipt. Look at the alert on this cell phone. Lin Mo nodded. Solely. He turned off his cell phone and began to sleep. One night passed. Soon it was 8.30 the next morning. Lin Mo stretched. Get up. Put the water on. Just got to the first floor. Then I saw it on the coffee table. A large, cardboard shell box, laid out. Looking at the paper box, Lin Mo was first stunned. Then as if thinking of something, he walked quickly to the coffee table. As soon as it opens, inside this was a small tin full of tea. Take it all out. Heck, it was 30-50 gram cans of De Honpo tea. After unwrapping a tin, a strong aroma of tea instantly hits your nose. Not bad for a second generation big red robe. Heartfelt sentiments. After making himself a cup, he took a gentle sip. Lin Mo's eyes lit up violently. Good tea. Mouth lamented. And after that, a fresh box of tea was picked out. He was going to be ready later. To deliver it to Villa 2. After all, the owner of this second villa has sent himself a $330.00090 conti. One can't accept a gift from someone and not give them a gift back. Right? After removing a box, Lin Ma kept a box for himself to use for entertaining people. The rest, all of them, were received in the storage room. Wait until 9 o'clock. Only then did Lin Mo carry the tea and arrived in front of the door of the second villa. Rang the doorbell. The door to this villa was opened. Sun Fu, who was inside, saw Lin Mo. There was a lot of smiling. Immediately, it was then a rush of words. Yikes, Mr. Lin, what brings you here? Come on in. Enter the house. Lin Mo set the tea on the table. Smiling, he said, the ones from Mr. Sun are just fine. I like them a lot. As it happens, I've just had a bit of good tea arrive here. I was thinking of bringing you some. 
and I don't know if Mr. Sun drinks tea. Hearing Lin Mo's words, Sun Fu hurriedly nodded his head. Drink tea, of course I'll have tea, ha ha. With that, he also walked over with two cups of tea, and as it was being put down, the red tea canister was also seen there. The moment he saw the tea canister, his eyes widened. Then, trembling, he exclaimed, Mr. Lin, this tea of yours is the second. Second generation de Hong Pao? Yes, the second generation big red robe. Lin Mo nodded his head bashfully, and looking at this bland appearance of Lin Mo, Sun Fu's heart was stunned beyond measure. He was a tea lover. Naturally, I know the value of the second generation big red robe. This tea, although the market price is $10,000 a gram, but it can't resist the limited production. So, in fact, within the tea market, it has long been speculated to be close to $15,000 a gram. In other words, this jar of Lin Mo's is worth at least $750,000 now. And it was for that reason that he was alarmed. Lin Mo would actually take out this kind of tea in return and acted as if they were giving away a worthless trinket. This Lin Mo, what exactly is his identity? It's such a masterstroke. Looked at the tea can and rolled his throat. Sun Fu shook his head and spoke. Mr. Lin. This tea of yours is really too expensive for me to accept. It's not a good thing. And besides, we're all neighbors. So just take it. Lin Mo smiled and opened his mouth. The eyes of Sun Fu, who was listening to these words, trembled fiercely. God is not good. $700.000 to $800.000 worth of tea. You call that not a good thing? If Lin Mo's identity wasn't there, it is estimated that this Sun Fu has long since cursed his mother. But, he still smiled. Hey, Mr. Lin, you're really too polite, but this second generation of Di Hong Pao, after all, is up to 15,000 a gram. If, say, Mr. Lin, you're willing to part with it, I can buy it. Listen to this. Lin Mo was also slightly surprised. He had only thought that the big red robe was 10,000 grams. As a result, unintended, it actually went up to 15, 000 000 a gram. That means the box is 750. Zero 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 dollars, and this grade of tea, he still has twenty eight unopened boxes at home. Hiss, Lin Mo's heart violently sucked in cold air. That is to say, the twenty eight boxes in your own home are worth at least twenty one million dollars. Lin Mo's mind electrified, and in his mind, another thought popped up. This was followed by a look as if nothing had happened. There it was blandly said, "Hey, don't be polite, Mister Son. That's all it is. I still have several boxes at home." I can't drink it and I can't get rid of it. I'm all worried about whether I'm going to take this tea and make tea eggs. Lin Mo's face was full of casualness as he waved his hand and opened his mouth. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Sun Fu's mind was wildly shaken. This, do people talk? Take the second generation of Di Hong Pao, to cook tea eggs? Not knowing how to use it sparingly. That's just a waste. Took a deep breath. This Sun Fu's eyes blazed as he looked at Lin Mo, swallowing hard. He said, Mr. Lin, May I ask, how many boxes of this second generation of Dahompo do you still have in your possession? Hearing this, Lin Mo pondered slightly. Subsequently, Dao, can't really remember, but at least 10 boxes are there. At least 10 boxes. Sun Fu swallowed his saliva. The heart shook wildly. That's something he has indeed seen a lot of good things in his position. But the second generation Dahompo thing is so rare. Even he hadn't seen it a few times. But now, in Lin Mo's hand, there were at least 10 boxes. That is, at least a pound or more. This directly, was what made even Sun Fu freeze for a moment. However, he was also not the slightest bit skeptical about the truth or falsehood of Lin Mo's words. After all, in his opinion, Lin Mo this is the existence of driving a luxury car and living in a villa. Totally, there's no need to lie about that little thing. Spin. This Sun Fu looked at Lin Mo and carefully said, Then I wonder if Mr. Lin, is he willing to sell these second generation big red robes? Hearing this, Lin Mo's heart was happy. Here we go. The fish is hooked. At this moment, Lin Mo's heart was in joy. However, it was the same expressionless look, feigning a look of disinterest. He waved his hand and said, Hi, what to buy? I was all set to use it to cook tea eggs. This thing, if you like it, just go straight to my place and get it. It's not worth a few bucks anyway. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Sun Fu who was there was on the verge of vomiting. God prepares boiled tea eggs. And, with 10 cans, that's more than seven million dollars, to say the least. You call that not worth a few bucks? Is this the big dog house? Spit it out. However, for Lin Mo to say to go directly to get it, this Sun Fu was completely unprepared and really went to get it directly. After all, 
Where in the world is there a free lunch? One size fits all. Immediately, Sun Fu shook his head and said, If Mr. Lin is willing to make an offer, my side is really willing to purchase a few jars. Listen to the words. Lin Nemo still looked indifferent. Shrugging his shoulders, he opened his mouth. Well, so, a chat, and after, with a bit of conversation under his belt. Not for a moment. That's how the purchase was finalized between the two. For each tin of tea, make a purchase of 10 tins of tea for 750, 000 dollars. As for this Sun Fu, he went upstairs and went to report to someone afterward. The two of them then traveled to Lin Mo's home. 10 canisters of tea lined up in order on the table. Looking at the 10 cans of tea, Sun Fu took a deep breath. And after that, the word, Mr. Lin, if there's no problem, let's sign the contract. Picked up the contract and glanced at it a little. Wait, there's something wrong with this contract. Problems? Sun Fu was stunned. And then, it was listening to Lin Mo, pointing to this contract. The amount here, there's a bit of a problem. Hearing this, Sun Fu's smile stiffened. What do you mean? Can it be that this Lin Mo is planning to raise the price temporarily? But, if the other side is really ready to raise prices, then one seems, there's really not much one can do about it. Mr. Lin, the price. What's the problem? Lin Mo, who was listening to this, just smiled and said, You've got 11 cans written on here, and I actually sold you only 10 cans, so the price here, it's high. Listening to Lin Mo's words, their son Fu froze, a free can? This, Sun Fu was a bit stunned, and then, it was a laugh of admiration. Mr. Lin has a pattern, this matter is considered an advantage for my old son, if you need anything in the future, just let me know. Brother son is polite, we're all neighbors, what's there to take advantage of? Right, neighbors, good neighbors. The two men burst out laughing, immediately, the contract was slightly modified and Lin Mo directly signed it. This Sun Fu did not drag his feet and transferred money immediately. 7. 5 million. In just half a minute, it was in the account. After Sun Fu climbed into conversation with Lin Mo a few more times, it was with 10 cans of tea that he returned to the middle of his villa. Just got back inside the villa. It was the woman who saw, and sat down on the couch. Miss. At once, Sun Fu's face was respectful. The young girl nodded slightly and said, Did the deal go well? Smoothly. This mister. Lin casually strikes out with 11 boxes of superb second generation de Hongpo. Listen to this. The young girl nodded, her eyes twinkling. What about the identity of the other party? Have you gotten a glimpse or two? Sun Fu shook his head. I'm ashamed to say that I only know that the other party is from Luzhou, and judging from his behavior, I'm only afraid that his identity is even more uncomplicated than we thought. Then we thought. All I said was that I was a housekeeper, and the other guy all put me on the same level as him. And... After charging us $300,000 for a bottle of wine, he returned a gift of $750,000 for tea. This kind of atmospheric demeanor is by no means something that an ordinary family can possess. Sun Fu immediately spoke out his insight. The young girl who heard this did not speak. Knowledge sat and took a soft sip of tea. The ensuing one, the corners of his mouth ticked up. It's a bit interesting. It seems that this Lin Mo is a dragon who has crossed the river. A light laugh followed as he looked at the tea in front of him said, send a little to some of our partners, also, leave three boxes, I'm going to send some to the old man on his 70th birthday in a while, hear this, Sun Fu gently nodded his head and said, yes ma'am, well, besides, take a box for yourself, at once, Sun Fu's eyes lit up, the corners of his mouth widened with it, said, thank you, miss, for the villa two thing, Lin Emil was completely unaware at this time, at the moment, he was staring at the balanced text message in his cell phone, 13 million, a full 13 million dollar balance, yourself, that makes you a millionaire? Lin Mo was a bit confused, he was completely out of his mind, himself originally, he just wanted to go and return the favor, as a result, when you return a gift, you can still earn 7 and a half million dollars backhandedly, let the balance on his bank card, skyrocket to 13 million dollars, and all this, just did it myself for 9, 9, for 3 pounds of second generation de Hongpo. This comes to money quickly and profitably. It's almost more outrageous than robbing a bank. Besides, not to mention, there are still 18 boxes sitting in their own storage. These 18 boxes. It's not that Lin Mo doesn't want to sell them. Rather, they can't be sold. It's one. Things are expensive because they are rare. The second generation of Dahompo was originally in short supply on the market. Out of 10 boxes can basically be considered the limit. If one sells the remaining 18 boxes together, then you can make money but the price will never stay at 15,000 a gram. 
2. He himself is now among the upper class. Whether you are entertaining guests in the future or visiting friends and family, you have to carry something, right? This second generation big red robe, for one thing, will hold up face. 2. Makes it easier for yourself if you ask someone to do something. The third, it's because tea is something that his own old man likes to drink. This third point is the most important point. Now, for a short time money is not lacking at all. Wait a while for the full funding of the rental property to arrive. The balance on my card. I guess it can go up a little more. Lin Mo laughed lightly in his heart. But this Sun Fu's identity. I'm afraid it's not just as simple as a housekeeper ah. Cupping his chin, Lin Mo began to ponder. The reason he sent a box out. One is to return the favor. The second is to cement relationships. And at the same time, he also sensed that this Sun Fu's identity was not simple. Whether it was the middle-aged greasy fat man, who was sucking up to Sun Fu when he was in the Armani store yesterday. Still today, this Sun Fu dominated a seven and a half million dollar business. Both were revealing that the other, by no means, was as simple as a housekeeper. Forget it, what's the point of thinking so much? Who cares what he is? There are trillions of subsidized apps out there. In the future, no matter what his status is, he can't be my opponent. Shake your head. Lin Mo didn't continue to think about it. Let's go get the car first. Pujiang Tonga. Lin Mo took a taxi and arrived at the door. The security guard at the door is still the same as yesterday. After seeing Lin Mo arrive, he was greeted with a smile on his face. Mr. Lin, you're here. Come, come, your way. Lin Mo nodded. What followed was following this little security guard. All the way. He came to Lin Mo's parking space. I'm looking after your car for you. Make sure no one approaches. At this point, on either side of the rear of Lin Ma's car, it's all open to a parking space. Watch this scene. Lin Mo was in a pleasant mood. Well done. Nod. A few more tips were slipped in as they went along. And then, it was time to open the door and get in the car. Drive the supercar all the way out. After leaving the Tang Court restaurant, Lin Mo then drove to the traffic control department. He had been using temporary plates on his car. Now it's time to come to the traffic department for the official license plate. I don't know how app does it either. He was a little shocked himself this morning when the traffic control department sent him a message. And the speed efficiency of the traffic control department in general is slower. But I don't know. Was his car just too expensive or what? Anyway, it was a very fast process for him. But in 20 minutes or so, the process was complete. After installing the license plate, Lin Mo then drove away. There are a lot of colleges in the magic city. Even the university town has eight of them. And at this time, Lin Mo was also driving through a university town. All of a sudden, the cool supercars just attracted the attention of many young people. Well, we're still a little low on stuff in the fridge at home. So let's buy some stuff to bring home. Looked across the road at a supermarket. Lin Mo parked his car on the side of the road. While walking into the supermarket. About 20 or so minutes later. It was only then that he walked out of the supermarket with a shopping bag and a cup of Yangji Mana in his hand. Get back to the car. Lin Mo. However, realized that there were quite a few people gathered in front of the car. And at that moment, there was a young girl, taking pictures, looked up and down. The young girl was wearing a white Pooh Bear t-shirt and a pair of denim super shorts, too long, snow white thighs were bare, without a trace of fat, the face is quite pleasant to look at, melon face with very delicate features, especially a pair of Dan Fang eyes, which looked very charming, ooh, that's a face value that starts at 90 points, and it's the all natural kind, nothing too much foundation, Lin Mo's eyes lit up, smiling, Lin Mo walked straight, towards the supercar, right at this point in time. A woman dressed alluringly and smeared with heavy foundation immediately pulled Lin Mo with a hand and said, Hey hey, what's wrong with you people? Can't you see there's a line? Why are you cutting in line? The other person next to him spoke up. That's it. Grasshopper man has no quality at all. Can't you see they're all lined up here? And they're moving up. And you, are you done yet? What's the point of being so slow? The beautiful woman who was taking pictures there. At this point, it was a little awkward and whispered. A little. Just a little bit. I'll be done in a minute. Dawdling. You'd better hurry up. Otherwise when the owner comes back later, no one will be able to shoot. As these words fell, another person next to him also spoke. Xian Xian. Am I okay with my makeup? Will the owner of this car, later on, be able to look at us? Listen to this. The one known as Xian Xian, the heavily made up woman, immediately said, Don't worry about it. With our looks, wouldn't it be easy to take down this car owner? Listen to this. Lin Mo's expression was odd. Looked up and down. These two figures were as thin as bamboo poles, without a single bit of meat. And their faces were still heavily made up with two women. Inevitably, 
It was a shake of the head. Can you look at her to yourself? I really don't know where these two get their confidence. And seeing Lin Mo shaking his head for a while, that Xin Xin, on the other hand, immediately raised her willow eyebrows and said, What are you shaking your head for? Do you think you're the owner of the car? In response, Lin Mo only felt amused. Then, from his pocket, he pulled out the car keys. Drip. Car keys held down. The Porsche's headlights flashed with a soft thud. With that, the car door opened. Lin M.O., on the other hand, swept a glance at the two women and faintly said, I'm sorry, but this car is really mine. Said, put the shopping bag inside the trunk of the car. At the same time, looking at the young girl who was taking pictures there, he raised an eyebrow and said, Do you want to go in and take some pictures in this heat? At once, this young girl blushed. Then after looking at the beautifully decorated interior of the car, he sat down on the passenger side, and Lin M.O. got into the car, spinning around, the car door closed, as for the outside of the car, the other two women, at this point, his face was already red, the bottom of his heart was even more appalled and confused, this car, I can't believe it's really his, think of your earlier taunts, for a while, the two were so ashamed that they could not wait to find a crack in the ground, subsequently, Xian Xian just hurriedly came over to the car window and knocked on it, the windows are down, something wrong, Lin Mo calmly asked, Ya yeah, little brother, I'm hot too, can we get in the car and take a few pictures? This Han Han bent over. While saying that, she wiggled her ass. The simultaneous pulled the collar down. And Lin Mo only felt a wave of nausea at this. A sneer followed. Oh, I'm sorry, but only humans are welcome up here in my car. Having said that, car windows closed. Lin Mo blasted his foot on the gas and the vehicle drove straight away. You, looking at the faraway Porsche. This Han Han was furious for a while. What did Lin Mo mean by that? Calling her inhuman? Looking at the distant Porsche, this Xian Xian cursed under his breath. It's just a broken Porsche. What's there to be proud of? I don't care to sit down. There are plenty of Ferraris and Lamborghinis to carry the old lady. Who cares about your crappy Porsche? Listen to this. On the curb, one of the boys, at once, just snorted out a laugh. And a Lamborghini Ferrari? Ha ha ha. That was a Porsche 911 GT1-98 just now. That's a, like, 80 million dollar supercar. Boom. One moment. This Xian Xian was completely dumbfounded. She totally just didn't expect it. The Porsche that drove away just now was actually a super god car worth 80 million dollars. Then, she was looking at the other woman. The first thing that happened was a screaming yell. It's all your fault. If it wasn't for you, you stinking bitch, how could I miss? Old me. That little brother just now. Who are you calling a bitch? One moment. Plastic sisters break up. The two wrestled and scratched. The scene, brutal as it was. And on the side. Many of the boys watching the battle, there was a smack of their lips, there was also nothing but a chorus of shouts in his mouth that the shrew was bullish, and for all that, Lin Mo didn't know that, at this time, he was driving his sister, driving around the university town, car, the ultra short girl's face was scarlet, sitting on the passenger side, he looked a little rushed, looking at this young girl, Lin Mo immediately burst into a light laugh, then the, said, what are you nervous about, saying that, Lin M.O. just glanced at this young girl and said, My name is Lin M.O. I just graduated last year. How about you? Listening to Lin M.O.'s words, this young girl, at this time, also opened her mouth daintily. I'm Xie Yuma, a sophomore at the Magic Theater next door. She said, playing with her fingers and whispering, That, brother, I'm really sorry just now. If it wasn't for me, brother, you wouldn't have been mocked by those two sisters just now. After all was said and done. This Xie Yuma is just a pathetic look. Looking at Lin M.O. who was there. A pair of clear eyes were filled with a pathetic look. Lin M.O. who was listening to these words. Immediately just sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Nice guy. Straight up good guy. However, Lin M.O. smiled. Then said. It's fine. Don't you want to take pictures? Then take the picture. Driving slowly down the road. Lin M.O. said with a burst of light laughter. Listen to the words. Xie Yuma, who was here. Nodded. Spinning around, he pulled out his cell phone, the knees of his legs closing slightly. After picking an angle, inside the Xie Yuma's cell phone screen, a pair of long white legs took up most of the screen, and within the blank area, Herculean, encapsulated and contained, Lin Mo's wristwatch wearing hand, as well as, a steering wheel that happens to reveal the Porsche badge. Look at this well taken picture. Lin Mo raised an eyebrow. Oh nice tea ceremony. Are you girls? All of you, possessed of excellent photo taking skills? Lin Mo looked at Xie Yuma in front of him. There was also a soft burst of upturned eyebrows. Teasingly, listen to this. Xie Yuma, 
On the other hand, was there, slowly, neither did. What makes you think that, little brother? Listening to this Lin M.O. on his face since this time, he also revealed a few points of playfulness. Then, speaking, I've heard that you, the magic theater, have quite a few beautiful women. Why don't you be my tour guide and go around your school? Lin M.O. at this time, it could be said that for Xia Yuma, the tea master, was coming to a few points of interest. No problem. Xia Yuma nodded happily. A few random shots of the view out the car window followed. Then with the picture together, it is sent to the circle of friends. And with the circle of friends update, this Xia Yuma's friend circle below, the rows and rows of messages just exploded. Wow, Portia hey, I'm envious. Silent beauty, begging for an introduction. Hiss, silence, you've got a godly man on your side. It's only a Porsche, but it's not a cheap watch. This watch is supposed to be a high-end Roger Dubuis model, worth at least $4 million. Good, eating alone behind our backs, slash knife knife. A series of comments directly exploded Xia Yuma's circle of friends, and some good friends who know something about watches. Even more directly, he recognized the style of Lin Mo's watch. As for the car, as there is not much detail in the pictures, plus there isn't a lot of information about the GT1-98 on the web, hence the, that is, not being recognized. Meanwhile, on the other side, this Xia Yuma also saw the comments of the others. Can't help it. Just smacking my lips over it. She hadn't really studied much about the watch thing. But now look at other people's comments. Also noticed the Roger Dubuis piece. It was the watch she had noticed earlier in the day. At the time, she just assumed that it was just a slightly better watch. But only now. This watch. It actually costs $4 million. This price. The real one was a hard surprise to her. What followed, unavoidably, was a sigh of relief. Brother is so rich. In response, Lin Mo just smiled and opened his mouth. It's okay. After saying that, Lin Mo looked at both sides of the street, a lot of beautiful women, and said, the magic theater really lives up to its name. This number of beautiful women is just huge. Hearing these words, this Xia Yuma's face, too, stiffened. Yet just then, Lin Mo's words, on the other hand, took a turn for the worse. The corners of his mouth hooked up as he spoke. But the prettiest, in my opinion, is you. No. Xia Yuma blushed slightly. Keep driving. Wandering around this campus. And just after some loitering, Lin Mo also glanced at this Xia Yuma and said, Want to go to lunch together? Listen to the words. Xia Yuma's eyes lit up. But then, still feigning hesitation and reserve. At the end of the day, though, there was a gentle nod of the head. Saying, This, okay. Listening to this Lin M.O., the corners of his mouth were also upturned for a while. Then let's go. Having said that, Lin M.O. turned around in front of him and drove towards the outside of the campus. Thirty or so minutes later, inside a mall, the two of them, Lin M.O. and Siayuma, it was casual at this point, too, finding an affordable cafeteria to eat at. And Siayuma, who was there, laughed lightly and said, I didn't expect you, brother, to come to this kind of affordable restaurant to eat. Hearing this, Lin Mo also laughed lightly and said, You can get tired of eating too much of something from a good restaurant. Besides, that kind of restaurant is basically a reservation mechanism. Besides, there are very few restaurants that would choose to do lunch. Lin Mo shrugged helplessly and said, Listening to these words, this Xia Yun Ma at this point in time, couldn't help but, just for a moment, laugh lightly over it. So that's it? Of course, and the bottom line is, a whole lot of etiquette goes out the window when you eat at a restaurant like that. The biggest headache is that the portions of food served are never more than a fraction of what they should be. Every time you eat it, you have to go home and cook yourself another bowl of instant noodles. With that sentence trailing off, Xia Yuma, who was there, couldn't help but snort. After that, the two of them just grabbed what they were going to eat and headed towards their seats. Meanwhile, upstairs in this mall, inside a hot pot restaurant, a young man, full of chagrin, hung his head, and across from him, a fat man with a bloated body was there to comfort at that moment. Hey, brother Mora, don't look so downcast. Isn't it just a missed opportunity to bond? What's so demoralizing about that? Listen to this. The youth who was there, however, was furious. Immediately, it was the word that continued. You fat fuck. You know shit. People drive a Porsche 911 GT1-98. Do you have any idea what this car represents? This car, in the whole world, is one of a kind. Being able to get this car means that the other party is not only rich, but also the powerful kind. If last time, I had to compensate the other party, then I was on the line with them. A little bit of favor might trickle out of the other guy's fingers if he's friendly with him. That would be enough for you and me to climb four or five more floors upwards. However, 
Such an opportunity was given to me to miss ah. At this time, eating here. It's the rich kid who drove the big G that crashed Lin Mo's Porsche last time. Although, last time, Lin Mo didn't ask him to compensate. He did get away with it when he got home. But on the next day, after he had calmed down, and yet it was found. This is a $100 million loss for myself. He was just too nervous and anxious at that time. Totally out of the blue. The man who can get his hands on this fabulous car that only exists in legend. Could it be a regular guy? Himself though, he hit his car. But one should take the opportunity and climb up the ladder with others. And he himself was, at the time, actually stupid enough to run away. Thinking about my actions at the time now. He was totally hating it and giving himself a couple of slaps. Hearing this, another tall and thin youth, then skinned his mouth and said, Okay, there's nothing to be angry about. Our circle in Magic City is so big, there will always be a chance to meet in the future. All right, hurry up and eat. After dinner, let's go to Old Wang's place for a drink. I've heard that at Old Wang's place, a few beautiful women have been coming over a lot lately. As those words fell, the youth could only sigh and said, Hey, okay, having said that, this youthful few just sped up and finished their lunch. After the checkout, the group just headed outside. And at this point, a cry of alarm suddenly rang out. Murako? Hmm. Wang Chun twisted his head to look, only to see a youth with dyed yellow hair and a large gold chain looking at himself with a face full of excitement. You are? Shoshone was puzzled in his mind. Murako, it's me. I'm Jiang Chen, little Tatsuwa. The two of us, we met in Young Wang's bar before. Listen to this. Shoshone recalled a little. It seems like there really is such a person. This guy is a rich man. His family originally has a few houses in Magic City. After the demolition, tens of millions of dollars were distributed. Then it was with myself at a cocktail party. Because of his special ability to lick, he is able to lick all kinds of dog licking words. Took him under his wing himself. Oh, Tatsu, why are you here too? Hey, hey, I'm not just with Mazi. In the side of the Jade restaurant to eat dinner well. Village brother you this is the party? Zhang Chen said smilingly, well, get ready to go to Old King's for a drink later. A few people were talking as they walked in the direction of the elevator. And the other side, a lunch is finished. Lin Emo went ahead and checked out. As for Xia Yuma, he went outside first and waited for himself. After settling the bill, Lin Emo left the restaurant. Just after leaving the restaurant, he saw, Xia Yuma was being pestered. Opposite this Xia Yuma, a girl with heavy makeup and an LV bag was there in the shade. Yo. Isn't this the school beauty of our magic theater? How come a hallowed schoolgirl still comes to this kind of cheap restaurant to eat? Jiang Qian, looking at Jiang Qian in front of him, Xia Yuma's face, wasn't very pretty. This Jiang Qian, between her and her, is a classmate. Only, between the two men, there is a plain contradiction. At this moment, Jiang Qian's head was held high and her face carried a look of disgust and contempt as she snorted. I didn't realize you could eat at a place like this where only poor people come to eat. Listen to this. The look on Xia Yuma's face there, looked a little indignant. And just then, Lin Emo walked over and said, Yummer, what's going on? Before Xia Yuma could speak, Jiang Qian, who was there, took the lead. Yo, Yuma, is this your boyfriend? Good looking, but unfortunately, a poor bastard. I can only take you to this kind of cafeteria, where only poor people come to eat. Listen to this. Lin Mo's face was slightly cold. Then, he swept a glance at Jiang Qian who was there. The first thing that happened was a sneer, and a laugh. So it looks like you just got out of a fancy restaurant? Hearing this, Zhang Qian was instantly filled with pride. Angling his head, he said, That's natural, I just came from the Emerald with my boyfriend. After a fancy steak, Emerald restaurant. It's a fancy western restaurant. Average per capita spending, at least a thousand dollars. In response, Lin Emo nodded and said, Then it seems your boyfriend has quite an appetite. Hmm, Xia Yuma and Zhang Qian. The two of them were a bit confused for a while. Aren't we talking about the restaurant? This Lin M.O. Why all of a sudden? Is he concerned about Jiang Qian's boyfriend? And just then, Lin M.O. On the other hand, looked at Jiang Qian with contempt and said, If you have a bad appetite, how can you possibly get down if you're all grown up like this? Aren't you afraid of stuffing your teeth? What's wrong with you? Stuffed? Jiang Qian froze in her tracks. Xia Yuma, on the other hand, suddenly snorted a laugh. Goddamn stuffed teeth. It's obvious that this is undermining Jiang Qian. As for Jiang Qian, she also reacted. One moment, the face was a shade of green and purple. Bent in time, it was just angry. Looking at Lin Mo. You, what, am I wrong? Lin Mo looked at Jiang Qian's face in front of him, which had gone under the knife. 
Anyone who can go down on you in this mold is really a warrior who isn't afraid of stuffing his teeth. In one sentence, Zhang Qian was so infuriated that she was trembling, and it's at this point in time, she was also seen not far away. A group of people is coming along. One of them, a yellow-haired man with a large gold chain, stood out. This Jiang Qian's eyes lit up. Subsequently, Dao, you wait. After saying that, it was to the yellow hair that was there, shouting loudly, Hubby this guy scolded me. Come over and help me teach him a lesson. Listen to this. The crowd here, too, froze. Then, looking toward there, the moment he saw Lin Imo, this Shoshone's body, the moment of the moment is to tremble for it. On his face, an indescribable excitement just flooded his heart. It's him, the owner of that Porsche 911 GT1-98, Zhao Village's face, at this point, was agitated. He was completely surprised that he could, in fact, meet Lin Mo here, and next to the yellow-haired Jiang Chen. All of a sudden, the face was just pitch black. Among the expressions that stared at Lin Mo were filled with irritation. Immediately, there was cursing. Looking at Lin Mo who was there, in three or two steps, he rushed up, pointing at Lin Mo. He just cursed angrily. You don't want to be a gangster, do you? How dare you mess with my horse? And at the moment the words fell. Zhao Village's face, suddenly just changed. Looking at this yellow hair, the anger in his heart, suddenly erupted. With three steps, he came directly to yellow hair's side. This was followed by a fierce kick. All of a sudden, this yellow hair stumbled and fell to the ground. At the same time, this Jiang Chen's furious words rang out. Who gave you permission? to talk to this gentleman, like that, this yellow hair was kicked, hard, to the ground, the entire person was also confused at this point, and in the next moment, this yellow haired whole person, but it was a sudden, icy chill, all the while, slightly dumbfounded, watching what was happening, between there's the village of Zhao, at this moment, he was looking at Lin Mo in front of him with an exuberant and excited expression, he said, brother, I didn't expect to actually meet you here, you are? Looking at the Zhao village in front of him, Lin Mo was a bit puzzled. The youth in front of him did look somewhat familiar to himself, but for a moment, it was impossible to remember exactly where they had met. You are? Brother, it's me. We met in the parking lot before. I was driving a big G at the time. This Zhao village's tone was a bit agitated. Hastily, it was the opening of the mouth that spoke. And listening to these words, Lin Mo also came to a realization. Immediately, on the spot, it was then that he spoke. So it was you, the one who was crying and saying that you would be beaten to death by mom and dad when you went back? This one, Lin Mo finally recalled. This is the owner of the big G who, last time, crashed his Porsche. And after Lin Mo's words fell, the Zhao village there, looked slightly embarrassed. Scratching his head, he said, Brother, it's me, my name is Zhao village. You can just call me Xiao Zhao. This Zhao village's attitude is as humble as it gets. Well, my name is Lin Mo, but, the yellow hair there, but in his head, was already exploding. The whole person, plunged into deep despair, looking at Lin Mo who was there. The mind roared with frantic fury. How could this be? What the hell is going on here? Why? Even brother Mora has to call this guy brother? This guy? What the hell is he? And there's Jiang Qian. At this point it was gradually, falling into deep despair. As for this moment, Lin Mo's eyes, too, fell on the yellow hair next to him. This guy? You know? A sentence fell. The attention of the crowd, also once again, fell on this yellow hair. At once, this yellow hair poofed and fell to his knees. Hurriedly, he then just opened his mouth. Brother, brother, you spare me. I was wrong. I know it's wrong. I really didn't mean it just now. Meh. Lin Mo sneered and didn't say anything. And next to the village of Zhao, immediately, it was the word. Get out of here yet. Don't let me see you again from now on. Since Zhao village was already preparing to please Lin Mo. Then for this matter, the natural thing is to give Lin Mo a satisfactory explanation. And the moment the words fell, this yellow hair at once, just panicked. Hastily, he crawled to Zhao village and hugged Zhao village's thigh, saying, Brother Mora, Brother Mora, I was wrong, I'm really wrong ah, please, give me another chance. Zhao village, among the rich second generation of Magic City, is still a small reputation. If anything, once he was blacklisted by Zhao village, then in the future, one could say that one could not move an inch in the magic city. Shashon, on the other hand, frowned, and then violently just kicked the yellow hair out of the way. Fuck off, don't make me say it a third time. Having said that, this yellow hair was the one who looked at Lin Mo and said, Mo, shall we go? Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo nodded. The ensuing group headed toward the elevator. 
As for this yellow hair, he was deeply in despair, spinning around, a furious slap was thrown out. You bitch, it's all because of you. When I met you, I had the worst luck in my life. If it wasn't for this Jiang Qian, how could he have offended Lin Mo? And how could it lead to himself being hated by Zhao Village? As for being on the other side, inside the elevator, Zhao Village looked at Xie Yuma next to him and said, This is your sister-in-law, right? She's really pretty. As the words fell, this Xie Yuma's face flushed, keeping his head down. He fiddled with the corners of his coat there. And for that, Lin Mo just smiled. Then, looking at the group of second generation people next to him, he said, These, are your friends? Hearing Lin Mo's words, Zhao Village reacted and hurriedly said, Oh, right, brother Mo, let me introduce you haha, this fat guy is Wu Yong, a good buddy of mine, the family runs a foreign trade company, with some introductions, the plate there, Wu Yong, was the one who nodded his head at Lin Mo and said, Hello Mo, Lin Mo responded to this, this guy is Zhang Yang, the words of the family is open, a round of introductions, Lin Mo did recognize it, and, also at this point in time, Zhou Village, who was there, instead smiled at Lin Mo, by the way Mo, I have a favor to ask, hmm, what's going on, hey, I was telling this group of brothers of mine earlier, about that Porsche of yours, my gang of brothers, all sports car enthusiasts, wanted to see an eye opener, so say, look, can you, listen to this, Lin Mo froze, spinning around, he snorted and shook his head, just this, I thought it was something big, as it happens, I'm driving that Porsche today, so I'll show you guys around, as those words fell, the crowd that was there looked agitated by it, the heart, however, was, at the same time, somewhat appalled, to know, cars like the Porsche 911 GT1-98, the vast majority of people don't drive them after they buy them, the big probability, that are kept at home as a collector's item, after all, so much for the 80 million dollars for this car, the bottom line is, this car, but there is only one in the world, this could really cry out if it was scratched, and now, Lin Mo actually drove this car out, and there, Joe Village, trembled, Mo, you took that car, out, Shashon swallowed hard, looking at Zhao Village who was in front of him, Lin Mo spoke blandly, or what, leave it there for decoration, isn't the purpose of buying a car, this thing, to drive it, otherwise, what's the point of buying it, hiss, a sentence fell, everyone sucked in cold air, right, that's right, Mo is so aware, yes, yes, the car was bought to be driven, it's our narrow eyesight, one moment, they're a kind of second generation, at once, just began to concur, this scene also made Zhao Village, for a while, stumped by it, and soon, the crowd also made their way to the underground garage, under Lin Mo's guidance, a group of people, too, came to a pure white Porsche, looking in front of him, the exaggeratedly styled white Porsche, the crowd there, too, was in a flurry, staggered by it, boy, this car is awesome, although in photos, I've seen it quite a few times, but seeing it in the flesh, it's still mind-blowing, brother Emma was a cow, you can even take down this car, yeah, this car is less, that's got to be 80 million dollars, as the words fell after that, Xia Yuma, who was there, was stunned, 80 million, the number, it still shook Xia Yuma fiercely, original, she was informed that this watch of Lin Mo's was going to cost four million dollars. She was still shocked. But now, after learning about the car, it's going to be eighty million dollars. In this moment, Xia Yuma felt that his worldview was all turned upside down. Four million dollar watch, an eighty million dollar sports car. Here's Xia Yuma. The first thing that happened was that there was a staggering for it. The heart was full of astonishment. Brother is so awesome. So young to be able to afford an eighty million dollar supercar. Xia Yuma who was there, daintily opened her mouth, it's okay, it's not an expensive car, Lin Mo smiled, shook his head, and said, he's telling the truth, after all, this car, when you buy it yourself, you're spending a dime, however, for this matter, others are unaware, listening to Lin Mo's words, the first thing that happened was a twitch at the corner of his mouth, especially with the group of rich kids there, at this time, there was even a burst of cursing in his heart, after all, is this talking about people? An 80 million dollar sports car. You call that inexpensive? Spit it out and spit it out. This car is not expensive if you want to be considered. Then they these buy a 4 to 5 million dollar sports car. What's a second generation that has to hesitate for half a month? One moment. These second generation guys just feel, well, a little self-absorbed. As for Xia Yuma who was there, his eyes grew brighter and brighter. And just then, 
Joe Village, who was there, then spoke, right M.O., do you want to go to KTV together later? We'll get ready later and go inside an acquaintance's KTV to have some fun. Listen to this. Lin M.O. then glanced at Xie Yuma, who was at his side, and said, together? This, yeah, Xie Yuma, who was here, hesitated slightly. Then, still nodding, listen to this. Lin M.O. just responded in kind. All right then, let's go to KTV together later. There was nothing to do in the afternoon itself anyway. Why don't we just, just go to a KTV and sing, drink or something? Okay. Shashon had a smile on his face. That's fine. M.O., just follow our car. After all was said and done, a few people just got into their cars separately. This Jiao village didn't drive that big G from last time today. Instead, he drove one, a yellow Lamborghini Maverick. A couple of sports cars hit the road. Watching this one sports car, whizzing through the streets, quite a few other vehicles on the road. Watching this scene, they also started to avoid it. When they reached the intersection, the fleet of supercars braked in droves. At the back of this caravan, an empty space, there were no vehicles that dared to go near. I'll go. So many sports cars? So many sports cars? Which second generation is this coming out to blow up the streets? The cheapest supercars here are going for more than a million dollars ah. Uh, if this rubs against the touch, won't it cost us a fortune? After the green light, Lin Mo lightly blasted the gas. Soon, it was through the intersection, and with the convoy passed, these other car owners, before they dared to start. Soon, Golden Earth KTV. The supercars were pulling into the parking lot in droves. And after entering, KTV's boss, Wang Bin, was already early, waiting on the parking lot. And after seeing the row of supercars pull in, on his face, there were a few smiles. And when Lin Mo's Porsche, after driving in, the ice ton then were instantly captivated. This is, Porsche's 911 GT1-98. This Wang Bin's eyes, at this moment, is straight. Looking at this Porsche of Lin Mo's, in his mouth, cold air was sucked backwards. He's also a supercar enthusiast. For all types of supercars, it's even more all-knowing. And also as a result of that, the moment this car pulled in, he just got excited. Who is it? Who the hell is it? I can't believe I can take this car. The heart carries doubts. The circle of Magic City playing supercars is that big. So basically, whichever second generation bought a new supercar, everyone is actually able to know. Not to mention, it's something like the Porsche 911 GT1-98, the only top-of-the-line supercar in the world anymore. Whoever buys it, he would definitely be the first to know. But, it's amazing that there was no news before this. It was also deeply, puzzling to his mind. And also at this point in time, the car door was opened. Lin Mo stepped down from the car, looking at Lin Mo who came out. This Wang Bin froze at once. Who's this? Haven't seen it. The Magic City Circle is that big. So, basically, the top two generations know each other, even if they don't know each other better than that, but also the presence of the other side is known. However, the face in front of me, Wang Bin dares to say that he has never seen it before. In a moment, this Wang Bin's brows, just slightly wrinkled, and at the same time, Shoshon stepped down in the car, with a smile on his face, he walked over, laughing out loud, ha ha, old Wang, here we come, Shoshon smiled and laughed, and Wang Bin, who was there, nodded at that moment, but then, it's just looking at Rimmer who's there, slightly puzzled, he asked, Mora, this is, oh, I forgot to introduce you, Shoshon introduced himself in a hurry, this one, my brother M.O., Lin M.O., with that, he was looking at Lin M.O. and smilingly said, Brother M.O., introduction, this is my brother and also the boss of this Golden Earth KTV, Wang Bin, listen to this, Lin M.O. nodded, Boss Wang, hey, you're out of place, M.O., since you're a friend of Brother Village, you can just call me Old Wang directly, Wang Bin was puzzled despite his heart, but still, he smiled, Brother Mora, I've reserved your private room for you, I'll take you there now, after saying that, the crowd went all the way, towards the private rooms inside the KTV, Lin M.O., on the other hand, was with Xie Yuma, walking unhurriedly at the back of the group, in front, this Wang Bin was asking with Zhao Village, brother Village, this Lin M.O., what's the story, I remember there's only one rich man with a surname Lin in Magic City, right, but that Lin family, there's only one little princess in the current generation, isn't there, this Lin M.O., where did he come from, Zhao Village, who was listening to these words, looked deeply at him with an intriguing gaze and said, Old Wang, the water in Magic City is deeper than you think, so it's better that you don't delve into these things. The fact that people, M.O., K. 
can get a Porsche 911 GT1-98 represents the strength of the other party. So does it even matter what exactly people are coming from? A word fell. Wang Bin, who was there, also stopped continuing to speak. Indeed, the strength of people is already there. So does it matter what exactly is coming? Inside KTV, the crowd drank and sang. A little bit of time passed. It wasn't much longer. That is, until just after 6 o'clock in the evening, a few people together after dinner, because of the drinking. So others, too, just flocked got a room in a nearby hotel and went to bed. At this point, inside one of the hotel suites, Lin Mo was soaking in the bathtub, turning on the massage system and playing with his cell phone. He was giving Xie Yuma, a separate suite, worthy of being a five-star hotel, this configuration in all aspects, just complete nah. For a moment, Lin Mo's heart sighed for it, and just then, the doorbell, however, rang out of nowhere. Whom, looking at the door of the room, Lin Mo's heart was a little puzzled. And at this time, a sound from outside the door rang out for it. Are you asleep, brother? Hearing this voice, Lin Mo sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Then, get up from the tub. Changing into a set of bathrobes, he said, You ma, what's the matter? Walked to the door, opened the door and spoke. Upon seeing Xie Yuma outside the door, cold air poured out of Lin Mo's mouth. At this time, Xie Yuma was wearing a wide white bathrobe. The neckline of the bathrobe appeared to be very loose. Looking at such a Xie Yuma, Lin Mo only felt his mouth dry, in the bottom of his heart, he was also cursing secretly, goblins, and this Xie Yuma, on the other hand, showed a look of, well, pity, and said, brother, I'm a bit scared if I'm alone and live in a big room, so I don't know, can I stay in the same room with brother, tonight, listen to this, Lin Mo cursed angrily in his heart, the goblin, eyes narrowed slightly, in the next moment, Lin Mo took hold of, this Xie Yuma's white slender hand, then, a handful of them pulled her in. Boo! A muffled sound. Lin Mo heaved, closing the door to this room. Subsequently, against the door, looking at this Xie Yuma with a smile. One time, Xie Yuma's heartbeat thumped faster. Brother. Ha! Lin Mo didn't hesitate in the slightest. A slight bow of the head and a direct print. Just kidding. This Xie Yuma has cleaned himself and sent him to the door. How can you, yourself, not have a reaction? This night. It was overcast and rainy. Lin Mo was also hollowed out, waiting for the second day. After Lin Mo woke up early, after the shower, gently patting Xie Yuma awake next to him, boing, a calling. Xie Yuma opened his eyes with difficulty, looking at Lin Mo who was there. His expression was slightly sultry. Brother, there was a breathless cry. Listen to this. Lin Mo said blandly, get up, or the others will be up later. Yikes. Xie Yuma hurriedly climbed up. Afterward. Under the blush of her face, she quickly put on her bathrobe. All right, go back and shower and change first. I'll wait for you in the cafeteria. Xie Yuma nodded, and then, shyly glanced at Lin Mo. Immediately, she stepped on her slippers and left Lin Mo's room with a d d d d As for Lin Mo, instead, he changed, grabbed his cell phone, and headed straight for the hotel restaurant. After entering the restaurant and choosing your breakfast, he did see, instead, Jokin who was seated inside the restaurant. Yo, up so early? Carrying a dinner plate and gently patting down this Zhao village, Lin Mo lightly smiled, listening to Lin Mo's words. Kamura turned back. His face was a little tired, and there were two heavy dark circles under his eyes. I'll go. Looking at this Zhao village, Lin Mo was also taken aback. He said, what did you do last night? You've got to be in moderation. Listen to this. Zhao village, who was there, looked more and more sultry. In the end, all that could be done was to sigh and say, nothing, just listen to a duet all night last night. It was until the latter part of the night that I fell asleep. The soundproofing in this hotel, it's really bad. Listen to this. Lin Mo was, at once, a little embarrassed. All one could do was cough there for a while, trying to hide the embarrassment on his face. After all, at this time, Lin Mo, on the contrary, understood. Why at this time the Zhao village, will be this appearance. After eating breakfast, after sending Xie Yuma back to school, the two of them added WeChat to each other's. Only then did Lin Mo return to the middle of the villa. Back at home, Lin Mo then had the time to pull out his cell phone, start checking out the new products that went live today among the trillions of subsidies, and after opening the app, the two items, also at once, appeared in Lin Mo's line of sight. Subsidized price of Rolls-Royce Cullinan, 6, 6 inch. Subsidized price of Iapen Tower, $108. Look at these two items. Lin Mo's heart. At this point in time, there were also a few moments of surprise. 
Rolls-Royce Cullinan. It's a four-seat SUV under the Rolls-Royce name. Price words. It's basically just around seven or eight million dollars. As for the words of the IM building at the Circle Trade Center, that's one of the, kinda, more well-known high-end international plazas in Magic City. The overall is by is a large-scale mixed-use project that combines grade-A offices, retail, and high-level apartments. The project consists of a 120, 000 square meter premium shopping mall, two office towers and two luxury residential towers with a total of 64 units, with a total gross floor area of 380, 000 square meters, and, moreover, it is located in Suway, the kind of place where every inch of land is expensive. I didn't realize that these two were actually refreshed? Lin Emil was a little surprised in the bottom of his heart, and after that, there was no hesitation. Solely, it was the purchase of both items. With the purchase completed, both items, on the other hand, were delivered five minutes later. After sitting on the couch and waiting for five minutes, in front of Lin M.O., two file bags, all of a sudden, just appeared on a table in front of Lin M.O. Here it is. Lin Mo's instantly had a jolt. Then, hurriedly, the two file bags were opened. After opening it, in one of the bags were the keys to Cullinan's car and the driver's license. As for the other bag, it contained a red book. After opening it again and looking at it, Cold air poured out of Lin Mo's mouth. Because, in this red book, heck, it's the real estate title for the IAM building at the Circle Trade, and the names of everyone on it. It is just like yourself. It's actually a property right. In Lin Mo's heart, at this time, vaguely, there were a few points of excitement. After all, it's important to realize, this Ring Trade IAM building is a $10 billion mall building, a mall building of this value, and himself, got it for just a hundred bucks or so, one time. Lin Mo's heart was delighted by this, I had thought that it would be for a floor or two of my building. As a result, I didn't expect that this entire China World Trade Center I am, actually became my property. Lin Mo swallowed his saliva, at the bottom of his heart. A few points of horror were also set off at this time. Now that's really hairy. A pang of emotion ran through his heart. On Lin Mo's face, a few smiles also appeared at this time. Well, I'm a little hungry, so let's go out for a meal later. When we're done eating. We'll go shopping at this China World Trade Center IAM. After mentally murmuring, Lin Mo's cell phone, however, vibrated, took out his cell phone and looked at the person who had sent him a message. He fell a little frozen. The person who sent the message to himself. Heck, it was Lily Chen. Money Lily? What's he doing sending me a message? The heart carries a few moments of confusion. Lin Mo's final, still clicked open. This Chen Lily sent WeChat. Chen Lily, Lin Mo, can you make a trip here to Chen Yuan CBD? Watch the message from Lily Chen. This Lin Mo also froze. He hadn't expected that the message Chen Lily had sent herself was actually this. Make yourself a trip to Chen Yuan CBD. Lin Mo pondered slightly. This Chen Yuan CBD, from their own home, is actually not far. It's also in is like 5 kilometers. It's only like 7 or 8 minutes at most if you drive there. And he himself is now, just in time, getting ready to go out to dinner. After a little thought, Lin Mo just replied. Okay, no problem. Finish sending the message. Lin Mo grabbed the keys to Cullinan's car and just walked inside the garage. After starting the vehicle. Then it is toward this Chen Yuan CBD. All the way traveling. Other side. Chen Lily looked at Lin Mo's reply on her cell phone. The bottom of his heart was relieved at this point. At this moment, Chen Lily was wearing a small black suit. Her hair was ably tied back behind her head in a ponytail. In terms of dress, it appears to be very formal. The whole person's temperament was also very different from the previous gathering. She's here today for an interview. Her Maserati, however, was not driven out today. And because of that, it was the HR director of this company that she was pestered by during her interview just now. Said he wanted to have lunch with her. Together. For the sake of that, I hope to be able to talk a little further and get to know Lily Chien. But Chien Lily was not the least bit interested in the further understanding of what this entailed. And at the same time, her first thought was Lin M.O. That's why a message was sent to Lin M.O. After seeing Lin Mo's reply, he was also finally relieved. However, it was also at this time, a sound of footsteps, coming from the rear. At the same time, a voice rang out. M.S. Chien, why are you leaving so quickly? Hearing this voice, Chien Lily's brows furrowed slightly, but on his face, it was the same, heaped with smiles, and said, Superintendent Zhou, what's the matter with you? There was Superintendent Chow, wearing a suit and a pair of gold-rimmed glasses, slightly built, he looked to be in his mid-forties. At this point, with a smile on his face, he said, M.S. Chien, didn't I say so? I think you are very suitable for our company. 
but in order to decide whether to hire you or not, it's still important to get to know you better, and I happen to know that there is a pretty good western restaurant in the neighborhood, the two of us, we could be in a western restaurant, eating and talking at the same time, the smile on the superintendent's face this week grew even wider, at the same time, it was also moving towards Chen Lily, a few points closer, to be honest, he just couldn't take his eyes off of Chen Lily a bit when he saw her just now, beauty, it's just so beautiful, it was because of this that he had been pretending to understand, the one who wanted to invite Chen Lily to join him, to have lunch, Listening to the words Chen Lily, the first thing he did was to shake his head. Thanks for your kind words, Director Zhou, but I have an appointment at noon, and my boyfriend will be here soon. At that moment, the smile on Director Zhou's face, for a moment, but the next moment, it's just a laugh, shaking his head, and saying, hey, it's okay, I think he'll understand if you have lunch with me for the sake of your future. Saying that, this Director Zhou pulled out the car keys in his pocket, after the press, on the side of the road a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, its lights flashed at once, here's the superintendent of the week, showing off here on purpose, this Mercedes he has, it's a top-of-the-line S-Class, the price is around $2 million, and, at the bottom of his heart, was thinking that the chin lily in front of him, was not much money, as for boyfriends, in his opinion, it was completely made up by chin lily, which, even if true, so what, this money lily graduated from college less than a year ago, even if she did have a boyfriend, he was about her age and couldn't possibly have any money, and yourself, but it was the director of personnel, drives a $2 million Mercedes S-Class, the difference between the two, that's a world of difference, and if he wanted to pick up this Chen Lily, wouldn't he be able to do it? Looking at the scene Chen Lily, it was a roll of the eyes, however, it was not a good idea to have a seizure, after all, this superintendent Chow, is the director of personnel, this kind of character, his connections and contacts in Magic City are still quite deep, if we really tear into him, I guess, one's future interviews will only be made difficult, hey, I hope that when Lin Mo comes later, he can help himself to drive this guy away, a mental sigh, Chien Lily's look of helplessness was extreme, and just then, in the distance, a Rolls Royce Cullinan, slowly drove by, what followed was a stop not far in front of the two, after the car door was opened, Lin Mo walked down from the car, watch this scene, Superintendent Joe, who was next to him, had some envy on his face, boy, so young and you can afford to drive a Rolls Royce Cullinan, which rich kid is this, and just as he was surprised, Chien Lily, who was at the side, was also stunned at this time, she was originally, still looking for Lin Mo's Porsche 911 GT1-98, but it didn't work out, Lin Mo, actually came in a Rolls Royce, also with the same time, Lin Mo also walked up to Chien Lily, with a few smiles on his face, and said, let's go, seeing this, Chien Lily nodded her head in a hurry and let out um, looking at the scene in front of him, Superintendent Cho here, straight away, it's just completely dumbfounded, he hadn't thought of it even in his dreams, this Rolls Royce actually belonged to Chien Lily's boyfriend, immediately, the mouth also just exclaimed in shock, this, this Rolls Royce, is it your boyfriend's, listen to this, Chien Lily who was there, while her face at this time, was a little scarlet, as for Lin Mo, he froze, boyfriend? After glancing at this Chen Lily, the corner of Lin Mo's mouth rose slightly, a, seemingly, playful smile appeared, immediately, he gently took hold of this Chen Lily's waist, taking it into his arms, he wrapped it around him, as for Chen Lily's body, it was a bit stiff, tried to break free, but couldn't, Lin Mo also spoke at this time, yeah, that's right, the car is mine, what's the problem, listening to Lin Mo's tone, Superintendent Zhou, who was there, looked even more embarrassed, just now, he was still thinking in the back of his mind that this Chin Lily's boyfriend didn't have much money. He was also thinking that when Lin Mo came, he would show off a bit to make him know what to do. But I didn't expect it. This Chin Lily's boyfriend drove a Rolls Royce Cullinan worth $8 million. Such a young age. Drive a Cullinan. This, properly, is the top rich kid. And one has to show off one's wealth to others? Show off my ass. I'm just afraid that my salary for a year is not as much as someone's pocket money for a month. Awkward unparalleled embarrassment, this week's director, for a moment, just didn't know, what he should say, in the end, it was all that could be said with a harumph, ha ha, since ms, Chien's boyfriend is here, I won't bother you anymore, hurriedly saying a sentence, this week's superintendent was fleeing from here in a hurry, he was really afraid if he continued to stand here, you'll end up embarrassing yourself, snapping out a three-room apartment with your toes on the bottom of your shoes, 
Looking at the departing director Chow, at the corner of Lin Mo's mouth, a slight playful smile appeared. Looking at this money Lily, said, you told him I was your boyfriend? This Qian Lily ruffled her hair as a way to hide her embarrassment and said, don't get any ideas, I, I just because, I just made up a random excuse to lie to him because he was pestering me. Qian Lili's heartbeat continued to accelerate. The whole person even looked, somewhat incoherent. In response, Lin Mo's face, however, was smiling even more. Said, yes, said, the two just walked over to the car. Why don't you get in the car and go to lunch together? This, it's exactly noon anyway, so we'll just have dinner together. Hesitating, Qian Lily finally, God forbid, nodded her head and got in the car. Going to eat what? You pick the address. Glancing at Qian Lily who was sitting on the passenger side, Lin Mo casually said, Well, let's go for some honky tonk food. It just so happens I know a good restaurant here. I'll treat you at lunch, as a hard earned fee for helping me. Hearing this, Lin Mo lightly laughed. Then, with an air of interest, he asked, You invited me to dinner, so I can take that to mean that you're offering to ask me out? A sentence fell. Qian Lily's heartbeat accelerated. Her face flushed scarlet, and she stammered, You, what are you babbling about? Who, who initiated a date with you? I just don't like owing people favors. Oh, yeah. The corners of his mouth rose as Lin Mo looked at this Chin Lily, then, leaned over to this Chin Lily. A male odor came to the forefront. It made this Chin Lily, at this time, a little misty-eyed. He, what does he want? Is it hard to force a kiss? Chin Lily was flustered and at a loss. If, say, he does try to force a kiss on me, should I resist? At this moment, Chin Lily's heart was incomparably confused and her brain was buzzing. And just as she was confused, Lin Mo, on the other hand, pulled out the seatbelt on the side. Then, crossing her taut body, he fastened the buttons. Get in the car and remember to buckle up. Rubbing ears and temples. It made this money Lily float. More than a little confused. I, what's going on here? Touching his cheeks, which were a little hot. Chien Lily's heart, couldn't help but murmur. Why do you look like you're looking forward to something when you're just buckling your seatbelt? All right, we're off now. Cullen and launched. Under Chien Lily's guidance, the two of them fell into a place in a restaurant of local cuisine. After looking up the address of the place a little, Lin Mo did manage to figure out a specific location here, 10 kilometers from the restaurant in this local cuisine. That's the IPAM building. It's not too far for that. It's pretty easy to drive there. Well, then it is possible to drop by later on. The mind was made up. Lin Mo was also the one who followed Qian Lily. Together, they stepped into the middle of this restaurant. The restaurant that Qian Lily picked is still very classy. From the environment alone, the dining room as a whole is a darker sort of place, except for a chandelier above the dining table. Inside the restaurant, there would be no other source of light, and the overall pattern, it's more of a, well, petit bourgeois kind of thing, a meal, not a fast eater. Soon, it was an hour that passed. How about going to the mall with me later? Just in time, I'm going to stock my house, with something. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Chen Lily hesitated. The one that followed, still shaking his head, said, Nah, I've got a couple more interviews if I'm in the afternoon. Interview? Lin Mo froze, then said, The company's just gone out of business here. Aren't you going to take some time off first? Qian Lily, who was listening to these words, unavoidably smiled bitterly. The final one, with a sigh and a shrug. Hey, it can't be helped. I can't compare to a rich guy like you. I'm just an ordinary citizen if I don't work. I won't have anything to eat. In response to this, Lin Mo snorted. Said the man, ordinary citizens can't afford a Maserati. In response, Chin Lily just smiled and didn't say anything more. Okay, so later on, why don't you send me the address where you're going to be interviewed and I'll drive you there. Chien Lily nodded. That would be a pleasure. The two settled the fight quickly and finished their lunch. And then, Lin Mo just followed the navigation and went straight to the location where Chien Lily was interviewing. But after it was delivered, his face, however, was a bit odd. Because, this Qian Lily's interview place is not any other place. Just like that, it is the university town where Xie Yuma is located. Looking at this scene, Lin Mo pondered slightly. Well, it's better to ask her to come out and go to the mall with me. Think about it. Lin Mo tapped on WeChat. Then, is to give this Xie Yuma, sent a WeChat past. Devil's play. Among the girls' dormitories, Xie Yuma was chatting amongst a few of her girlfriends. And also at this time. Instead, her cell phone vibrated. Picking up the cell phone and taking a look, this Xia Yuma was immediately a jolt. Yikes, Xia Yuma hastily tapped on WeChat. Looking at such a move, 
A couple of girlfriends who were there also spoke up. You ma, why are you so excited? That's right. It's not like you're talking to someone, is it? Don't be quick and recite quickly. All of a sudden, the group of girlfriends who were there had anti smiles on their faces and listened to the words. On Xia Yuma's face there, a few moments of scarlet redness just surfaced. Spinning around, he opened his mouth. No, don't speculate. It's the little brother I met yesterday. He sent me a message, said he was going to call me out and go to the mall with him. After the sentence fell, a bunch of girlfriends there. The eyes were straight. Oh my god, that little brother from yesterday? Oh my god, is that the Porsche guy? Hiss, you mo, your luck is too good. Not only did she meet a godly man, but now she's going to be asked out to the mall. Oh, it's just too envious, right? So have you gotten back to people yet? Xia Yuma, who was there, shook his head and said, Not yet. I'm not sure if I should say yes here. My god, what's this hesitation you're having? Sister, are you being silly? People are taking the initiative to ask you out. So you should definitely say yes. Yeah, people are probably looking at you for this. This is a blessing for you. He's a great man of God. I'm not saying you can marry him. Even if you become his lover, it would be a blessing of eight lifetimes for you. That's right. This kind of godly man serves people comfortably. From now on, you'll have nothing to worry about. If you're still planning to enter the entertainment industry, won't you get your hands on resources? One moment. A kind of BFF there. Egged on in droves. Listen to this. Xia Yuma mused, and then just hurriedly replied. I have time brother. Looking at this Xia Yuma's reply, Lin Mo then blandly said. Alright then, come here to the gate then. I'll meet you outside your school. After saying this, Lin Mo just didn't continue to pay attention to this Xia Yuma's news. Instead, he opened the B station and started swiping through the young lady's videos inside the dormitory. Xia Yuma, on the other hand, hurriedly began to make up her makeup and change her clothes. At the same time, it was asking, what do you guys think? Which set would look good on me? You're already in good shape. You can just pick any outfit and change into it. Yeah, don't dwell on it. Hurry over there. Hey, you ma, you can't hide such a great godly man, can you? When we go over to meet up later, why don't you take us over there to meet up as well? Gee, what's the rush? Under this flurry, a handful of changes of clothes and makeup, this CI you ma eventually changed into a light blue dress. The face, too, was painted with light makeup. What followed was a line of people that went all the way, looking towards the school gates, and as Xia Yuma arrived at the school entrance, instead, it attracted the attention of many people on this roadside. Ha, huh, look guys, it's Goddess Yuma, it's really the goddess coming out hey, it's not just Goddess Yuma, you guys look at the others next to the goddess, they're all so beautiful. It's said that the few roommates who share the same dormitory as Yuma are all acting department flower level beauties. These, I guess, are the ones in the same dormitory as Yuma, the other few beauties, right? And just as the crowd, beside him, was talking, this Xia Yuma and the others, too, stood on the side of the road at the entrance of the school. One of the sisters was looking around, at the same time, also opened his mouth to ask, Yuma, where's that little Porsche brother you were talking about? Yeah, how come we don't see anyone? There was a flurry of chatter from the crowd. Even Xia Yuma, too, was a bit puzzled. Just now when Lin Mo sent him a message, he's already at the door of the dormitory, isn't he? But now, how come you didn't see that Porsche of his yourself? You guys wait a little bit, I'll ask my little brother. Xia Yuma's heart carried doubts, redirected, scratched the Microsoft, sent a message to Lin Ma. Little brother, I've arrived at the entrance of our school, where are you? The message went out. It was but a few seconds before a blast of car horn sounded, with the car horn blaring. Xia Yuma, who was there? as well as a bunch of other people in the congregation, were also taken aback. At the same time, it was also noticed that the Rolls-Royce Cullinan that had pulled over to the side of the road. At this point in time, the power windows slowly came down, revealing Limo who was inside. Get in the car. After Lin Mo's words fell, a smile also appeared on his face. I'll get in the car first. Xia Yuma, who had said this, jogged all the way to the door of Cullinan's car, under the gaze of a crowd of teenage boys and girls, opened the door and got in. And then, Lin Mo kicked the gas, and Cullen Ann straight out. All that was left was a crowd of teenage boys, full of heartbreak. Whoops, the goddess has gone off with someone. It's just a broken car. What's the big deal? When I'm rich, I'll buy a car to pick up girls here too. Ha, huh? waiting for you to get rich? Know what kind of car that was? That's a Rolls Royce Cullen Ann, an $8 million luxury car. Hiss, 8 million, my god, does it mean that just because you have money, 
you can do whatever you want, sorry, but with money, you can really do whatever you want, cam, in an instant, a lot of young men, have just sour, and their Xia Yuma's group of girlfriends, their faces also revealed a stun look, other side, inside the Cullinan car, Lin Emo drove his car, carrying the Xia Yuma, and went straight to the IPAM building, ergo the Xia Yuma was a bit puzzled, looking at Lin Emo, saying, brother, why aren't you driving that Porsche today, I see you have this car, it's a Rolls Royce, isn't it, oh, there's too little room in that car for that, Lin Emo said casually, I was going to go to the mall later to pick up a few things, and it's not convenient to bring goods with me if I'm out in that car, this car, if it's going to be a van later, is going to hold a lot more stuff, a sentence fell, Xia Yuma, who was there, was filled with confusion at this time, the Porsche has too little room for stuff, is the Rolls Royce roomy enough for the right stuff, this, spit it out and spit it out, taking a Rolls Royce for a van, this is simply trenchant, car, Xia Yuma spat out his tongue, spinning around, he asked, brother, where are we going to play now, IPAM ITC, Lin Emo spoke calmly, spinning around, he also continued his question, if you see anything you like later, just buy it, for this Xia Yuma, Lin Emo had a very clear perception, Xia Yuma is going to get what he wants on his own, and yourself, it is also natural that one will get what one wants, the other side wants nothing more than money, but for Lin Emo, the thing about money is that it is among the cheapest and least necessary for oneself, pay up, then it pays too, and listening to Lin Mo's words, Xia Yuma's eyes were suddenly brightened, spin, with a dainty look, he said, thank you brother, the vehicle soon, is to come to the underground parking lot of the International Trade Mart, afterwards, Lin Emo was the one who held hands and walked inside this mall, in the mall, a variety of high-end luxury goods, can be said to see this Xia Yuma dazzled, surrounded by all kinds of big brand clothing bags, are looking at let him incomparably moved, hear all kinds of big brands, looking at his Xia Yuma want to buy, she held back, though, she's a smart one, although just now, Lin Emo did say that he could pick whatever he wanted, but in the back of her mind she actually had this yardstick, no, where is the one degree that you can claim, final, this Xia Yuma, is in a Gucci store, bought a white printed t-shirt, a plaid tweed overskirt, and a pair of black low heels, very nice, looking at Xia Yuma who walked out wearing this, Lin Mo's eyes couldn't help but light up, this Xia Yuma herself was studying acting, and her body itself was very good and moist, now that it was paired with such a set, it was even more so that its delicate figure was completely emphasized, especially the pair of long, white and straight legs were mesmerizing, well, that's nice, how about this, and with this bag, after all was said and done, Lin Emo casually picked up a black and white checkered handbag, the bag isn't that expensive anyway, it's only $10,000, but it is what makes the Xia Yuma's eyes light up, among the looks, the excitement was incomparable, hectic, that is, the word, thank you brother, the set cost just over $20, 000, 000 overall, and after this, Xia Yuma just didn't take the initiative, to ask for things from Lin Emo, this was also what caused his recognition of this Xia Yuma to increase by a few points, the two of them wandered so far along, unconsciously, it is back to the gate of this IPAM international trade, this IPAM ITC is still very big, and, the main part is also divided into two pieces, one of them is this IPAM mall, and the other piece is in the office building that's above the sixth floor of this mall, Lin Emo swept around this mall, spinning around, his eyes fell on the Starbucks next to him, would you like a cup of coffee, whom, good, said, the two walked inside Starbucks, Lin Emo would either have an iced Americano, while Xia Yuma ordered a Frappuccino, the two were then separate again and asked for a cupcake, after coming to the seat, Xia Yuma was taking a few quick pictures, ruffling the ends of her hair, she swirled, taking a bite of the cupcake in front of her, whom, a few moments of enjoyment showed on his face, and then, it was to look at Lin Emo and said, brother, would you like a bite of my cupcake, it's delicious, said the, this Xia Yuma just used a spoon and dug a spoonful of his own cupcake, then, it was handed to Lin Emo, the bright eyes were full of anticipation and innocence, in this regard, Lin Emo was not surprised, after all, Xia Yuma has always been a good girl who only cares about Gaijai, after eating it with an open mouth, he nodded, well, it tastes good, he he, there was a smile on his face, then I'll try a bite of my brother's too, after saying that, Xia Yuma was the one who immediately, dug a spoonful of Lin Mo's cupcake, a sweet smile appeared, it's delicious, smell the air, the strong smell of tea, Lin Mo's eyebrows shot up for a moment, the two of them left Starbucks after their coffee and cake, and also at this point in time, a delivery boy, 
who was rushing towards the mall at the entrance, but at this point, one of the security guards who was there, on the other hand, stopped it in a hurry. I'm sorry, but we don't allow takeout or delivery in our mall. Listen to this. The delivery boy was also in a hurry. Hectic. That is, the word. Brother, you can be more accommodating. I have five minutes left in my order and I'm going to exceed the time limit. Please let me in. Listen to this. This security guard was all but unfazed, saying, No, that's our mall rule. If I let you up there today, I'm going to get my paycheck docked. No, big brother. I'm this order is sent upstairs to the 17th floor. Ah, big brother you just accommodate once. The delivery boy who was there was on his knees at this point. This order he was to deliver to the 17th floor. There are only a few minutes left until timeout. And he was also aware that this IPAM building was not allowed for takeaway boys to enter. Called the client's phone number when he was at the door earlier. Ready for him to come down and take it off. But after calling several times in a row, he couldn't get through. And as we watched, the order was about to go over time. The heart of the delivery boy was just as anxious for it. So it was thought, could we send it in? But, now it is being blocked. This made the takeaway boy, anxious to cry out. And at this point, Lin Imo also walked over and opened his mouth to ask, what's going on here? Hearing these words, the takeaway boy there, however, was instantly anxious. This little brother, I just wanted to go up and deliver a takeout, but they wouldn't let me in. The security guard was also in a hurry. It's not that I'm not allowed to, it's mainly because that's the way it's written up there. No takeouts or deliveries are allowed in there. I'm just a part-timer here. I wouldn't dare violate the rules above. Hearing these words, Lin Mo's heart came to life. What kind of bullshit rule is that? No takeouts or deliveries allowed in? That's a rule that's practically discriminating in the industry. It seemed that he himself, later on, would need to knock this property company around a bit. But look at the anxious look of this delivery boy. Lin Mo also hurriedly said, Bro, you go in first. I'll take care of this side. Listen to this. This takeout boy is the one who said in a hurry. Thank you little brother. Thanks. After all was said and done, he was just about ready to head inside. And at that moment, an arrogant voice was violently resounding. Stop that delivery guy for me. Who told you to let him in? Listen to the voice. Lin Mo's brows, too, were slightly furrowed. And then, it was to turn his head and look toward the rear. Only a man dressed in a well-tailored suit and dressed like a man walked over. The security guard saw the situation and hurriedly stopped the delivery boy. At the same time, it was loud. Manager Chue, you're here. This manager Trey took it in stride. At the same time, it was loud. Who let you in? Don't you know that letting these guys in tarnishes the image of our mall? Hearing these words, Lin Mo's immediately opened his mouth. Tarnish the image of the mall? Ha! It's a joke. As Lin Mo's words fell after this, manager Chue, who was there, also noticed Lin Mo. Immediately, frowning, he opened his mouth. What are you? What do you care who I am? I just want to know who gave you the right. Can you keep the delivery boys and couriers? Inside the mall, there's manager Choi there. At once, it was cold, and opened his mouth. This is a decision that our company's board of directors, after much discussion, has come to. Besides, this is, in itself, for the image of our mall. Besides, what kind of person are you that you dare to dictate our company's decisions? Me? Lin Mo sneered. And then the one after that was the one who spoke indifferently. I'm the owner of this IPAM building. Who do you think I am? After a sentence fell, there was manager Choi and others there. All of a sudden, it's just dumbfounded. The owner of the IPAM building? This, as for this Siayuma, his mouth was also wide open. On his face, consternation could be written all over it at this point. Lin Mo He, actually, is the owner of the IPAM building? Just kidding. In the meantime, manager Choi, who was there? had a sudden poof of laughter. On his face, he also revealed, a few moments of a sneering smile, the owner of the IPAM building? Ha! Just you? If you're the owner of the IPAM building, then I'm still the richest man in Mordor. Gee whiz, saying you're the owner of the IPAM building is really SB. On this manager Chui's face, the sense of mockery was a few points thicker. Listen to this, Lin M.O., who was here, didn't say much, just calmly pulled out his cell phone, then, dialed a cell phone number. Other side, on the top floor of this building, IPAM Mall Properties, Inc., inside the conference room, more than a dozen executive directors of this property company. At this point in time, it is gathering here. For the first, it's the chairman of this property company, He T. Anning. At that moment, it was there, full of solemnity. Gentlemen, I'm sure you all know about this matter of the IPAM building changing ownership. What exactly the new owner, Mr. Lin, is like? 
We have no idea until now, and we don't know when this new boss, when he's going to visit the building. So I hope, you can restrain your men and make sure to give Mr. Lin, a good impression, so as to be able to successfully, between this Mr. Lin, renew the contract. Listen to this. One of the people at the bottom, at this point, also nodded his head and said, yeah, the property work of this IPAM building is taking up 40% of our company's net income. If this contract renewal doesn't work out, it could be a very serious blow to our company. Don't worry, after we go back this time, we will definitely discipline our subordinates properly. No matter what, make sure to do as much as possible to leave a good impression on Mr. Lin, a group of executive directors, one after another, just open their mouths. And also at this time of the year, he Tianing who was there, but his cell phone suddenly rang, listening to the ringing cell phone. This he Tianing's brows furrowed, and his heart was somewhat annoyed. He's in the middle of a meeting himself. Before the meeting, he or she was in the circle of friends. By all rights, no one should be calling themselves at this hour. But who, exactly, would be so ungrateful, calling yourself at this hour? For a moment, in the bottom of this he Tianing's heart, he could be said to be somewhat annoyed. Subsequent, then it was just a matter of picking up the cell phone. After seeing the incoming call displayed on his cell phone moments later, this he Tianing's face changed. Spinning around, it was a jerk to stand up. Then, respectfully, he put the phone through and carefully said, Hello Mr. Lin, why are you calling me? A sentence fell. All the directors who were there, one after another, just looked this way. Mr. Lin, the new owner of this IPAM building, Mr. Lin, actually called. For a moment, everyone was quiet, looking at He Tianing who was there. His expression looked tense, and also at this time, Lin Mo's cold and icy voice also rang out on the phone. You have three minutes to get to gate D of the mall immediately. Otherwise, there will be consequences, with the words falling afterward. Lin Mo was also straightforward, hanging up the cell phone call. I heard a beep, beep, beep on the other end. He Tianing, who was here, also had a somewhat pale complexion, and others in the room. At this time the body, too, looked a little soft, through the voice on the phone, they could clearly feel it, on the other end of the phone, Lin M.O., now, is extraordinarily angry, and he Tianing, who was there, reacted violently, immediately, it was a loud chorus, what are you waiting for, why don't you hurry over and take a look, who, exactly, has messed with Mr. Lin, after saying that, this he Tianing was the first to rush out of the room, thens, all the way up towards the first floor, and the directors, who were in the back of the room, were also in a flurry, following in their footsteps. At this time, mall entrance, looking at Lin Mo who hung up the phone, manager Chui, who was there, was also a bit stunned at this time, but what followed was a proof of laughter. He said, oh, pretending is pretty much the same thing, if you don't know, you'd think you're really the owner of this IPAM. Hearing this, Lin Mo just coldly glanced at this manager Chui, not speaking. Manager Chui, on the other hand, looked at Xie Yuma who was on the sidelines and said, Beauty, I'm telling you ah, you don't want to be fooled by such people. I've seen a lot of bluffers like this one. This kind of people, they look like they don't have any money, and they are pretending to be big spenders here. And I can tell you very responsibly that this guy, in no way, is the owner of any IPAM. After all, my uncle, that's a director of the property company. Even more so, with my own eyes, I've seen the owner of this IPAM building so if he is or isn't, I'm still not sure. Manager Chui, who was somewhere in the area, immediately said in a loud voice, and also at this time, this manager Chui, too, heard a burst of footsteps, sounding in the distance, hearing the commotion. He also raised his head and looked towards a short distance away. Upon seeing the crowds of people coming in, he was also momentarily confused. Immediately, trembling, he said, he, he don't, why are you here? This manager Chui, at this time, was trembling for it, looking at the chairman of the board, He Tianing, who had suddenly hurriedly walked over, as well as a host of executive directors. Manager Chui was pale as a sheet for a moment. He Tianing, who was there, didn't even look at Manager Chui. In a hurry, he just walked up to Lin Mo. He said, Lin, Mr. Lin, why did you come all of a sudden, without even informing me in advance, and watch the scene? This Manager Chui, on the other hand, was a bit confused. Then, in a hurry, he came up to one of the executive directors and said, Uncle Sam, then what's going on? This kid, isn't he just a brat? He don't he has the need, so respectful to each other? Listen to this. At that moment, 
That third uncle just glared at this manager Chui and said, You shut up, I can warn you, this man in front of me, that's the new boss of our IPAM building, people's rent alone is more than a billion dollars a year, more than that, our company, the biggest customer, if people are brats, then what am I? A sentence fell, manager Chui, who was there, was also a bit flustered, looking at Lin Mo who was standing in front of him, this manager Chui, was as cold as an ice cellar, he knows, he's finished, he's completely screwed, the man in front of me, actually, it really is the owner of this IPAM building, and himself just a few moments ago, I can't believe I went so far as to taunt the other side, this one, this manager Chui appeared, a little hexed up, and there was Lin Ma, and there was a sneer, immediately, he opened his mouth coldly, oh, I really wouldn't have known if I hadn't come, you guys have taken my mall building and managed it so well, it seems that for this building of mine, the matter of whether or not to renew the lease with you or not, I really do need to, on and on and on, to think about it, Lin Mo's cold words fell, he t awning, who was there, couldn't stop his body, just trembling for it, on his forehead, there was constantly a fine sweat that flowed for it, immediately, it was the one who, in a hurry, opened his mouth and said, Lin, Mr. Lin, please also enlighten Mr. Lin, I wonder, which son of a bitch has provoked you, listen to this, Lin Mo just sneered and opened his mouth, oh, but I've heard that there's this rule in the IPAM building, anyone who is a delivery boy or courier is not allowed to enter the IPAM building, is that correct, as the words fell after that, there's E.T. awning there, the first thing that happened was that it froze, but what followed was a sharp look behind him, looking at one of the directors who was there, a dry and thin director, he snapped angrily, director Choi, what's going on here, building security, you're in charge, I'm asking you what the hell is going on here, as the words fell after that, Choi Jianue, who was there, was in a cold sweat, spinning around, it was to turn around violently, a slap, directly and violently is thrown out, pow, a crisp sound rang out, this Chui Jianue, gritting his teeth, unrelenting burst of punches and kicks, under his breath, he was even cursing, he said, I'll beat you to death, a thing that can't make things happen and can't make things happen, who told you to take the liberty of making such rules, ah, there's Chui Jianue, frantically punching and kicking, in response, Lin Mo was laughing coldly for a while, and then, that is, slowly, ha, huh, that's alright, there's no point in continuing this bitter trick, saying that, Lin Mo looked at the takeaway boy beside him and said, let me ask you, little brother, how long has this rule of no takeout workers been in place, listen to this, the delivery boy who was there, da, almost half a year, in response, Lin Mo just nodded, then indifferently looked at the uncle and nephew Chui Janue who were there, he said, this rule, it was not set for a day or two, but for a full six months, half a year, I really don't believe that this rule, you, as an uncle, can be unknown, said, Lin Mo just coldly, glanced at He Tianing and said, Dong He, for these two people, I don't want to see anymore, otherwise, I have a property company in this building, it's necessary for me, too, to think it over, along with Lin Mo's words fell, He Tianing, who was there, hurriedly just nodded his head, Yes, yes, yes. I understand. I understand. Don't worry about this, Mr. Lin. I will certainly give you a satisfactory solution. There was a burst of nodding and bowing to Lin Mo. Then, there was the turnaround. Looking at the crowd in the back, his face was cold. Road, gentlemen, I feel that it is somewhat no longer appropriate for Director Chui Jianue to continue to be the executive director of our company. I suggest that Chui Jianue be stripped of his executive director status and kicked off the board. As for this security manager, Ken Choi, he will be, fired from the company and never hired, after the words fell, this Choi Jianue's face changed abruptly, in a hurry, it was a loud voice, don't, he dong, please don't deprive me of my status as an executive director, please, high heaven, spare me, listen to this, there's he tianing there, shaking his head, he sneered, ha, looks like you still don't get it, who, exactly, have you offended, having said that, he Tianing just said loudly, now, let's have a show of hands, the words are gone, a bunch of executive directors there, the one thing that has come up is a show of hands, more than a dozen executive directors, without exception, raise their hands, after all, what this Chui Jianue did, it can already be said that it is completely, touched their bottom line, it's destroying them now, now take this Chui Jianue, kicked off the board and stripped of executive director status, in this way, to appease Lin Mo. Undoubtedly, the least expensive decision, and look at the results so far, 
There, Chui Janaway stumbled over his feet. With a pale face, he dropped to the ground. Desperate, a deep sense of despair. At the moment, it was also as much as it could be. Surfacing in Chui Janaway's mind, as for manager Chui who was there, he also looked like he was in a six-pack. Then, it was to look at his third uncle, Chui Janaway, who was beside him, said, Uncle Sam, we are, now, listening to this manager Chui. Chui Janaway's face was dark and cold. Immediately, the eyes were crimson. It was a hard slap, a hard whip, pow. It was accompanied by a crisp sound. This Chui Janaway, too, could no longer hold back, roared angrily. Why do I have you as a pitted uncle's damned nephew? If it wasn't for you assholes, how would I have been removed from my post? I, I'll whip you to death. You, accomplished asshole. A moment of miserable, miserable screams. It was at the front door of this mall that it rang out. Not for a moment. The two men here were just thrown out by security. With the two being thrown out by security afterward, he t awning, who was there, just smiled and walked up to Lin Mo. He said, Mr. Lin, these two tumors have already been liquidated by me. And, I also assure you that such ridiculous rules will never be repeated. So with that said, look, the renewal of the contract between you and our property company. This he Tianning smiled fawningly. Turning to Lin Mo, he said with a smile, Lin Mo listened to this. That is to say, calmly, the contract renewal thing, naturally, it's just that I don't want it to happen again. Like today, if it happens again, when the time comes, just terminate the contract. I, yes, he Tianning, who was there, hurriedly answered. Then, just grinning, he continued. Then, on our side, we won't continue, bothering you, Mr. Lin, have fun at the mall, and if you need anything, just ask. Aha, uh -huh. watch this he Tianning leave. Xia Yuma, who was there, just smiled and said, I didn't realize it. Brother you're actually, still the owner of this IPAM building. Listening to the words of this Xia Yuma, there's Lin Ma there. Also smiling, he opened his mouth. What, surprised? After finishing with a light smile, Lin Mo, that is, continued, to this Xia Yuma, asked, want to get together later, and go to Pleasantville? Pleasantville? At once, Xia Yuma's eyes lit up. Afterwards, it was natural to just hug Lin Mo's arm. In Lin Mo's mouth, there was also a mouthful of cold air that was violently sucked backwards, and there was Xia Yuma. A few moments of expectation also surfaced amongst a pair of clear pupils. Looking at Lin Mo, he said, Yeah, I want to experience it too. What about those exciting programs? Before that, people have been afraid to go alone. Listen to this. Lin Mo also smiled. And then, it was looking out, said, But it's just after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a bit of a hot sun out here. We'll have to get some protective gear for that. Said the, Lin Mo was the one who brought Xie Yuma, and the two of them were within this mall. Bought two sun hats, as well as some Anaro's sunscreen, and two pairs of sunglasses. The stuff is small though, but, it also cost Lin Mo six or seven thousand dollars. Subsequently, Lin Mo was the one who drove the car and went straight to Pleasant Valley. And along the way, Lin Mo was also holding the steering wheel with one hand. The right hand, too, was placed on this Xia Yuma's big white leg. Gently, just touching. For a moment, Xia Yuma's face was slightly red, but yet she didn't push Lin Mo's hand away. It didn't take long. The two then made their way to Pleasant Valley right then and there. After applying sunscreen, bought two tickets. The two of them just walked all the way. Two, inside Pleasant Valley. How about we go play with the sledgehammer first? Looking at the sledgehammer in front of him, Lin Mo lightly smiled. Aha, yeah, Xia Yuma had some expectations. Then, pulling Lin Mo's hand. He quickly ran towards the big pendulum. It didn't take long before the two were the ones sitting on the sledgehammer. Sitting on it, Lin Mo held Xia Yuma's hand and said, What? Nervous? Xia Yuma blushed slightly. Then, after a soft hmm, just a nod. If you're scared later, yell out. Aha! Not for long. The great pendulum began to turn, as it spins faster and faster. Lin Mo, too, felt it. Xia Yuma's grip on his hand was also getting tighter. And her breathing, too, slowed down a few moments, and also at this point in time, the big pendulum was also rising to a height of almost 90 degrees, subsequently, it was a downward spiral, ah, Xia Yuma couldn't hold back any longer and violently just screamed out, quite a few of the girls next to me, likewise, subsequently, as the sledgehammer continues to swing, Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled, and then, just gently, Xi Yu Mo, to gently embrace, in an instant, the color of Xie Yuma's face was reddened. Soon, 
the great pendulum, in turn, ended its rotation, slowly, stopping there, with down the sledgehammer, next to Siayuma, his legs were already weak, eyes, looking lost, look at you, your legs are weak, shaking his head, he helped him fix his hair, Siayuma, who was there, blinked, the depths of his eyes were even more intense, and the aftermath, the two were playing a few more programs, almost every project, this Siayuma, are scared to death, especially when playing jumpers, Siayuma's small face was miserable, the whole person hid in Lin Mo's arms, and the screams were close to piercing Lin Mo's eardrums, it was also something that made Lin Mo think, bringing her to play in Pleasantville on her own was purely a bad decision, hey, you really are, Lin Mo shook his head helplessly, subsequently, Dao, so gutsy, and you had to come inside Pleasantville to play, listen to this, Siayuma, on the other hand, spat out her tongue and said, I didn't know that the facilities in Happy Valley were so exciting. Listen to this. Lin Mo looked helpless, and then, that is, pointing down, at a cold drink store there, said, All right, let's go over to the cold drink store over there and take a break. Then we'll head back later. Whom? Nodding gently. Here's Xie Yuma. It was to follow Lin Mo and walk to the cold drink store not far away. Separately, after buying a cold drink, Xie Yuma, on the other hand, took out his cell phone and snapped a few pictures. Then, it's braided into a nine-pack. Even with all the fear in your heart, you still feel safe in a warm embrace. One paragraph, plus nine frames. After sending it to a friend, it's almost the equivalent of an official announcement. Moreover, this Siayuma was still special, highlighting the set of clothes he was wearing. After all, it's a whole set of international brands. Naturally, one has to flaunt it hard in front of one's group of girlfriends. In response, Lin Imo only smiled gently. This was Siayuma's character and habits. Naturally, he wouldn't bother to say anything. Besides, it's a trip down to Pleasantville. This Siayuma was, on the contrary, more dependent on him. And this time, Lin Mo had finally figured it out. In the world, there is no such thing as green tea. Some of them are just good sisters who only heart Gigi. And also at this point in time, a well-dressed middle-aged man. It also came in front of Siayuma. With a smile on his face, he handed out a business card in his hand. Then, opening his mouth, Hello, I'm a talent scout for 91 Entertainment on my side. Excuse me, you too, are you interested in being stars? Jiang Siwei feels lucky. Today originally, he came to this happy valley, bringing his wife and children over to play. But then I didn't expect to run into two of them. In his opinion, the sample condition is extremely good. A diamond in the rough that can debut as an idol with just a few months of tutoring. To this, Lin M.O., who was there, looked odd. Dig yourself up to debut as a star? One wouldn't choose to go out and become a star unless one had cerebral palsy. Ah, subsequently, Lin Mo just glanced at Siayuma, who was there, and smiled. Well, are you interested to go out and become a big star? Don't want to. Immediately, this Siayuma was shaking his head repeatedly. After all, she was at least a student of the magic theater. Even if it's true and wants to come out as a star, that wouldn't be foolish to run to such a small, disreputable company. And again, he himself was now on the side of a big gold master like Lin M.O., the most prioritized option, surely, is to serve your own gold master ah, debut as a star? Ha! Looking at Xie Yuma's reaction, Lin M.O. just smiled, said, this gentleman, as you can see, we're not really interested in becoming some kind of star, you should find someone else. Having said that, Lin M.O. was the one who held this Xie Yuma and walked towards the outside. See this, Zhang Siwei was also in a hurry. Hectic, that is, said, too, the two of you should consider it, although we, 91 Entertainment, are a newly established company, we have strong capital behind us, and is currently set to launch a couple of staple shows, I can guarantee that, given the conditions of the two of you, as long as the two of you come to our company, we can push the two of you to the top stream in a year, no, six months, when that time comes, I can guarantee that the two of you will earn no less than 10 million dollars a year. With these words falling after, a number of people in the neighborhood just noticed it. They were also going to look at it. Here's how these two were going to respond. As for the two of them, Lin Mo and Xie Yuma, they didn't pay too much attention to this Jiang Siwei. At this point in time, the two men came out onto the parking lot, then pulled out his car keys, pressed gently, drip. At once, the lights of the parked Rolls Royce Cullinan were just a flash. The two of them, Lin Mo and Xie Yuma, sat inside the car. Subsequently, a foot on the gas, with a roar, it was soon dusty, and in place, Jiang Siwei, the business card in his hand, 
fell to the ground. The face was a little red. It only felt that the promise he had just made, that was a joke. After all, so young to be driving an $8 million Rolls Royce Cullinan, that's obviously a super rich kid. He's a super rich kid. Does he need to go into showbiz and work his ass off? And making $10 million a year. People, they simply don't care. And the others who were there, looking at the Rolls Royce's taillights was also utterly dumbfounding. I'll go, a Rolls Royce Cullinan? Hiss, no wonder people don't care about being a star. People want $8 million for a car. Why tire yourself out and become a star again? That's right. I didn't expect ah, that little brother, actually still a rich second generation. For a moment, the crowd, for a moment, was staggered. As for Lin Mo's side, the two, in the afternoon, go hiking and play video games together. Wait for the night. Lin Mo then looked at this Xie Yuma and said, Tonight, how about staying out? Xie Yuma's face was a slight blush as she listened to this. But then, it was just a whisper. Why don't you do it in a few days? One of these days, I'm going to be in a theater performance by then. If you stay out tonight, when the time comes, you won't be able to attend the play. Listen to this. Lin Mo just nodded. Uh, okay, a couple days then. By the way, remember to contact me when you're performing. When the time comes, I'll be there to cheer you on. Aha! Uh -huh. Xia Yuma nodded his head repeatedly. Then as soon as he pounced, he gave Lin Mo a kiss on the cheek. To this, Lin Mo also just smiled. And then, hooked the Xia Yuma's chin. Spinning around, he then just printed on it. It wasn't long before there was a noise in the car, munching on a lollipop. A full half hour later, it was only then that Xie Yuma reddened her face and sat there with her head lowered, not daring to speak. In response, Lin Mo just smiled, tidying up his clothes. He sent Xie Yuma back to school. Looks like it's going to be a one-man night. Laughed softly, spinning around, it was to take the car and drive towards home. It came with the territory on the way home, at the supermarket down the road. I bought some snacks and drinks. No way. The refrigerator in the house is just too empty. Plus, Lin Ma is just home alone. He didn't bother to cook anything. Big head. Drove back to the house. In the bottom of Lin Mo's heart. He was also sighing helplessly at this moment. It seems necessary to hire yourself. A butler. Looking at the empty huge villa. The heart murmured. In the bottom of Lin Mo's heart. He had made up his mind. The villa is too empty. And. It needs to be cleaned on weekdays for hygiene and stuff. A few days before that, there wasn't much to it. But now take a look. It does need to be done. Well, get the butler tomorrow. Putting things away. Just as Lin Mo was about to start cooking the noodles. Instead, the doorbell rang. Some doubt. Lin Mo opened this gate. Only to see that the one standing outside the door was none other than Villa 2 Sun Fu. Butler Sun? Somewhat surprised. Lin Mo looked at Sun Fu and said. And Sun Fu, who was there? said with a smile on his face, Mr. Lin, our young lady, would like to invite you, to dinner, dinner, Lin Mo couldn't help but freeze, then, just nodding his head, he said, well, if that's the case, then I'll respectfully disagree, after all was said and done, the two of them also just walked all the way, inside the second villa, among the villas, the servants are serving food there, as for being on the second floor, a young girl in a floral dress was standing there, Looking at Lin Mo who walked in, the young girl shifted uncomfortably. So handsome. Looking at Lin Mo from a distance, her mind murmured. But then, it was all the way downstairs, with a smile on his face. He said, Hello, Mr. Lin, extending his hand. The two shook gently. This young girl was also the one who continued. I am the owner of this second villa. Mu Nanji, Rimmer, said it succinctly. Mu Nanji was the one who greeted Lin Mo and sat down. Soon the dinner was served. After a brief bite to eat, after a bit of heavenly chatter, Lin Mo put down the cutlery, wiped his mouth, and calmly looked at Mu Nanji, saying, I think, M.S. Mu, inviting me to this dinner today is not just as simple as wanting to meet me, right? As Lin Mo's voice fell, there's Mu Nanji there, also put down the cutlery in his hands, and then, it was to look at Lin Mo who was there. A light chuckle went up, and said, Indeed, this time, Mr. Lin was invited as a guest. Actually, it's that there's another thing that I need to ask of Mr. Lin. Oh, what is it? Raised an eyebrow. Lin M.O. Somewhat curious. Looked towards Nguyen and Ji who was there. It's like this. I hope. I can buy some more second generation de Hanpo from you. Listen to this. Lin M.O. Who was there? Looked a little stunned. Buy some more? Well, yeah. It's like this. Actually, wasn't Sun Fu at your place a few days ago? Buying some second generation de Hompo? Speaking of this, 
Lin Emil froze slightly, spinning around, that is, nodding his head, he said, yes, that's right, Butler's son did, some time ago, by some second generation de Hompo from me, Munanji smiled awkwardly, and then it was, there, slowly, it's like this, a few days ago when my old man celebrated his 70th birthday, at that time, I was using your second generation big red robe and gave it as a gift, I didn't realize that my old man was a million times happier and wanted to buy some more, so, I am also hoping that you, Mr. Lin, will be able to cut me some slack and sell me some more, listen to this, Lin Emil was also enlightened, then, that is, he smiled, and said, so that's how it is, but since the old master likes it, then I'll just give some away, consider this, my gift to congratulate the old man, on his 70th birthday, listen to this, Mu Nan Ji, who was there, instantly just froze, this, what, it's my gift to the old man, what's wrong with it, seeing Lin Emil say that, the Mu Nan Ji there, in the end, could only give a bitter smile and said, since you said so, Mr. Lin, then I won't push it, in this matter, it is our Mu family that has taken advantage of you, talking and laughing, Lin Emil was also the one who sent a serving of tea, out, and then, looking at Munanji who was there, he said, right, ms, Mu, hearing these words, Mu Nanji's immediately said, hey, Mr. Lin, don't call me Miss Mu either, just call me Nanji directly, Lin Emo nodded, then, Nanji, you can just call me Lin Emo, I actually have something I was hoping to ask you guys to get off, you say, well, on my end, I just came to Mordor not long ago, so for this side of the magic city, but also not very familiar with time, however what about my villa, it's too busy to clean and stuff if I live alone, so I was also hoping to ask you guys a favor and introduce me to a housekeeper sitter or something, Lin Emo said awkwardly, indeed, it is true that one is not very familiar with these, if you go looking for it on your own then whether you can find a good one or not doesn't matter, that's a big question mark in terms of nanny credibility alone, no, and with it, it would be better, then, to have Mu Nanashi and the others help look for it, listening to Lin Mo's words, Mu Nanji and the others had a moment's stupefaction, the next moment, it was a smile, and he spoke, hi, I thought it was something, so Lin Mo, you want a housekeeper, don't worry about this, I'll arrange for Uncle Fu to take care of it for you tomorrow. Thanks a lot then, after a bit of conversation. After drinking and eating, Lin Emo returned to his house, and inside the while no. Villa. For her part, Munanji's eyes flickered. The whirlwind is the word. It seems that this Lin Emo, his identity is not simple nah. Uncle Fu, do you think we should bring him in on the East China Sea project? Sun Fu, there, was all of a sudden, brooding over it. The project in the East China Sea is worth more than $3 billion. This Mr. Lin looks quite a bit like he's from somewhere, I think, and it's possible. Only, it's the wood source group side. It's not easy to get. Listen to this. This Mu Nanji's brow furrowed. Has the gift arrived? On my side, I did meet the wood source group. Chairman Jiang Hai's wife. Only she completely refused to let go. A moment in time. Mu Nanji was silent for it. At the bottom of his heart, he was a little annoyed. On the other side, at this time, Lin Emo was nestled in the sofa, brushing up on his dramas. It was oblivious to Mu Nanji's plan for them. A little bit of time passed. It wasn't long, which meant it was 12 o'clock at night. Hmm, it's 12 o'clock again? Under Lin Mo's eyes, a few moments of excitement also swept over. Spin, just took out his cell phone. Strengthening potion, subsidized price, 23. 3. Charm max card, subsidized price, 19. 9. Look at these $2 trillion subsidized commodities. Lin Emo was a bit confused. What the hell is all this? The heart carried a few moments of confusion. But then of all things, Lin Mo's finger still landed on the screen. Chose to take both. And made the purchase. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 5 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. 5 minute delivery? Then wait. The heart murmurs. Lin Emo just sat down on the sofa and waited quietly. About 5 minutes later. On the cell phone, but once again, there is a prompt emerged. Your purchased item has been delivered. Please go to the item bar to receive it. Hmm. Lin Emo froze. Immediately, that is, he tapped on the item bar interface. After entering the item bar screen, Lin Emo was also the one who saw that the two items were hefty. Lying inside. Body strengthening potion. After taking it, it can greatly improve the user's physique. And the user has to dig it out by himself for subsequent enhancement. Charm Max Card, after using this card, the user's charm value will be increased to the peak, 
and the user can control whether or not to emit charm. Look at these two items. Lin Mo could not help but just froze on the couch. That's kind of interesting, mentally muttering. Subsequently, Lin Mo was also the one who used both in droves, and after the body strengthening potion was taken, a strong sense of tiredness suddenly struck Lin Mo's mind. Yawning deeply, Lin Mo directly passed out. I don't know how much time has passed. Only then did Lin Mo slowly open his eyes, just see the sky outside, already lit up, and himself, still, lying on the couch. This feels, just woke up, Lin Mo immediately clear, sensing a terrifying power contained within his own body. Is this the effect of the strengthening potion? Squeezing his fist, Lin Mo only felt that his punch, I'm afraid it can reach the effect of a top boxer. A full blow, try it, I'm in shape now, think about it. Lin Mo was just walking towards, the downstairs gym, an hour later, downstairs in the gym, Lin Ma is still on the treadmill, at an even pace, running on the treadmill, the treadmill's gear, however, is still, at this point, in the highest gear, however, Lin Mo is still the same, breath is smooth and even, it went on for a few more minutes, only then did Lin Mo end his run, a heartfelt murmur, it's definitely, not the pinnacle of what I'm physically capable of tapping into, when I was on the treadmill just now, it was obvious to me, I was being gradual, tapping into the potential of the stronger potions there, but now it looks like you can't continue to tap into the potential if you just keep running, Lin Mo murmured in his heart, after all, for an hour just now, Lin Mo, however, had taken the treadmill, adjusted it to the highest grade, and ran for a full hour, and the result, one is still swimming in it, not enough gym equipment at home, looks like I'll have to try the gym after all, Lin Mo had a decision in his heart, then, got out his cell phone and searched it. Heck, it's the discovery of a high-end fitness center not far from your own home. Liga Fitness Center? Look at the name of this gym. Rimmer did a navigation. The gym is not far from your own place. It's only about 10 minutes if you drive there. Afterwards, went upstairs and took a shower first. Spinning around, he followed the navigation and drove to this gym. The gym, which is more upscale, is decorated with largely logs, and the environment is very elegant. The interior is very well equipped with fitness equipment and is equipped with a pool, jacuzzi, sauna and steam room. In general terms, instead of this being a gym, how about a fitness club? With a walk to the front desk, where the front desk clerk, immediately, a smile appeared on his face and he enthusiastically said, Hello sir, are you here to work out? Uh, yeah. Lin Mo nodded his head, then continued, but I need a private tutor on my side. Lin Ma comes to the gym. One of them is the desire to borrow gym equipment. The second is the desire to find a private tutor so that you can maximize and unlock your potential. Yes sir. This way then. The waiter led Lin Mo inside the gym. And at this point, a voice but suddenly rang out. Rimmer? Hearing the voice, Lin Mo looked back. Only Mu Nanji was coming from downstairs. At this point in time, Mu Nanji was wearing a bunch of ponytails. And on was wearing a tight white tracksuit. The slender figure appeared to be front and center under the confines of her gym clothes, and there wasn't the slightest bit of flab on the exposed belly. Snow white skin, more blown out. Nani, why are you here? Lin Mo's voice rang out. Hearing Lin Mo's voice, Niu Nin Ji, who was there, was instantly flustered by it. The look on his face, he looked a little disoriented, staring at Lin Mo's cheeks. It was difficult to move away. Somehow, as soon as she saw Lin Mo today, this Mu Nan Ji only found it hard to move her eyes away as if, it was drawn to him, and even more so, he felt that today's Lin Mo, compared to last night, was a few points more handsome, see so, Lin Mo frowned slightly, then, it was said, Nani, what's wrong, hearing Lin Mo's words, this Mu Nanji hurriedly, came back to her senses, he said in a hurry, oh, nothing much, Rimmer are you here to work out too, well, come over here and get a gym card, Lin Mo smiled, so, Mu Nanji nodded, afterwards, it was to that waiter beside Lin Mo that he said, you go back first, I'll take Mr. Lin inside and experience it first for good, waiter on the sidelines, then, just nodding his head, he said, okay ms, Mu. after saying that, this waiter hurriedly just ran away, I didn't think that I would actually be able to run into you, here, Mu Nanji laughed, after searching around the house, this is the only gym in the neighborhood that's relatively close, shrugging his shoulders, Lin Mo blandly said, Nani since you work out here then I wonder if there is a familiar personal trainer that you can recommend? Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Mu Nan she pondered, and after that, the word, tell you what, 
I happen to have one private lesson experience spot left here. Why don't you try it? That. Good thing too. Well, why don't you go change first then? This gym does provide workout clothes. Lin Mo nodded, then grabbed a gym outfit. After changing into it, it was to follow Moon and Ji into the gym. Soon, Lin Mo was the one who saw Moon and Ji's private tutor. After Moon and Ji said the situation, that private tutor was the one who came in front of Lin Mo. Then, Mr. Lin, I'll test to see how your physical strength is. After that, the three of them came to an apparatus. This is a flat bench press rack, mainly used for strength training. The area that is worked on is the overall pectoralis major, triceps brachii. Mr. Lin you lie down on it and just hold the barbell and push up. Lin Mo nodded his head, then it was just lying on top. After the explanation, the workout began. And because he was after drinking the strengthening potion, the quality aspect of his body was terrifying. So, the overall movement is very easy to do. Looking at Lin Mo's relaxed appearance, this private tutor was a bit surprised. And then it was. I'll add the weight on my side. After adding weight, it was still very easy. Keep adding. Lin Mo still had a casual demeanor. Looking at this scene, the two of them, the private tutor and Mu Nanji, were both a little stunned in the bottom of their eyes. Plus, continue to, after increasing the weight several times in succession. The weight of this barbell is a very impressive one. Lin Mo, however, remained relaxed and cozy. Looking at the scene, the two of them, the private tutor and Mu Nanji, were already a bit nonplussed, and nearby, the rest of the crowd that was working out noticed something different about the place. At this time, it was also gathered around. Upon seeing the barbell figures in Lin Mo's hand, there was also some shock in his expression. To know, at this time, Lin Mo's bench press data was already 100 kilograms. That number, so to speak, it's already at, well, a more shocking point. But looking at Lin Mo's appearance, it was obvious that he still hadn't reached the limit point. And at this point, Next to him, a youth, whose body was full of swollen muscles, also walked over at this moment. What are you all gathered here for? Listen to the voice. The surrounding crowd, too, parted. Coach Wu, you're here. Coach Wu, listening to the voices around him, the youth nodded. This youth was among the top personal trainers in their gym. He is also a former champion of world-class bodybuilding competitions. It's the town treasure of this Liga Fitness Center. So to speak, Mu Nanji's private tutor. At this time, also ran over and said, Teacher Wu, it's like this. What followed was a recounting of what had happened. Hearing this, a few moments of interest surfaced on Wu Jia's face. Oh, immediately, it was to look at Lin Mo who was there. A few moments of interest came under his eyes. Kind of interesting. Muttering under his breath. I'd like to see his limit. Where it is. The weight of the barbell. Then, also continued to start increasing. 110 kilograms. 120 kilograms. 130 kilograms. The data keeps growing. It was only for three minutes. Lin Mo's barbell stats just reached a terrifying 180 kilograms. Look at this horrible, horrible data. The two people there, Nunan Ji and the private tutor, were both scared silly at this point. The personal trainers, in particular, were swallowing hard. Looking at Nunan Ji who was there, he said, Ms. Mu, your friend's body physique. Pervert, it's really perverted. Mu Nanji was already shocked and speechless. At this time, the mouth also cannot help. A murmur in the midst of its demeanor. It was even more full of consternation. After all, this performance of Lin Mo's was truly astonishing. As for the crowd beside them, they were all exclaiming over it. Is this one a pervert? This stamina, it's horrible, isn't it? This is 180 kilograms. Obviously on his body. Can't see any two prominent muscles? There's Wuja there. At this time, the mouth was also a staggering for it. Road. This physical strength. It's really a bit scary. 180 kilograms. Pushing it is actually so easy. Hmm. Teacher Wu. What's wrong? Isn't this only 180 kilograms? Yes sect Wu. This is terrifying. But it's not so terrifying that you're even surprised. Right? That's right. This 180 kilograms. You can do it even if you teach Wu. Right? For this statement. Wu Jia couldn't help but. Just shake his head for a while. Then, it was just a slow way of saying, 180 kilograms, I can indeed do it, but I could never do it with such ease and comfort. The look on his face, as I see it, is clearly just very casual, and it's obvious that this is far from his limit. A sentence fell. Everyone also noticed Lin Mo's expression. Indeed, Lin Mo's expression looked very casual and natural. It's as if, instead of lifting a 180 kilogram barbell, he's lifting a 180 kilogram barbell. Instead, 
It's an 18 kilogram dumbbell in general. For a moment, many people looked moved. Wu Jia, who was there, continued to speak at this time. You go ahead and try raising it. First to 200. Listen to this. The personal trainer nodded and then informed Lin Mo that it was time to continue the weight increase. The weight increases to 200. Lin Mo remained casual. And after that, the weight continued to increase. With the addition of two more times after that, in Lin Mo's hand, the movement was a beat. Looking at this scene, the crowd there was a bit confused. The private tutor there, in particular, looked at Lin Mo and asked, Mr. Lin, what's wrong? The others were also a little curious. After all, just now, Lin Mo was, obviously, just a tour de force. What was the sudden pause intended for? Just as they were wondering, Lin Mo then opened his mouth and asked, How much do I weigh now? 260 kilograms. Well, Lin Mo mused, said, It's a little light. Try raising it to 300 for me. A sentence fell. Everyone on the side. For a moment, everyone was on their knees. Speak of the caller's words. 260 kilos. Is that called a bit light? And add up to 300 kilograms? This, the faces of all the people were frozen. And Wu Jia, who was there, came over at that moment and said, Increase it to 300, are you sure? Mr. Lin, to know, Lin Mo's current weight, is has reached 260 kilograms ah, bench press without equipment. The weight, already, is terrifying. Add it, I want to try and see where my limits are. Lin Mo calmly said, after all, himself is totally just very relaxed right now. And if you can't let yourself feel the pressure, then the effects of the body strengthening potion just can't be energized. Okay, Mr. Lin, Wu Jia nodded his head. Subsequently, start adding weight. Soon, the barbell reaches 300 kilograms. Many people swallowed their saliva. Lin Mo, however, remained relaxed. Lin Mo frowned and said, add 15 kilograms. A sentence fell, causing everyone around them, to have their hearts jump for it. Good, good. Even Wu Jia was trembling a bit at this point. Then, carefully, add weight. As for the Moon Nanji next to her, she doesn't know very much about bench press, though she knew that the weight was very scary. But still, puzzled, he turned to his personal trainer and asked, Coach, this weight, is it scary? The private tutor glanced at Moon Nanji and then said, Let me just put it this way, the newest world record in the world for 2019. Unequipped bench press that can reach up to 337 kilograms, and the world's top 5 record, which is at 322, 5 kilograms. In other words, Mr. Lin is approaching the world record if he increases to 315 kilograms. A sentence fell. Nunanji was appalled by this. Subsequently, the gaze that looked at Lin Mo was even more complicated. After increasing to 315 kilograms, Lin Mo raised an eyebrow. This weight, Lin Mo vaguely felt was already on the verge of touching his limit. But, there's still upside. Increase. Wu Jia nodded. Don't dare hesitate for a second. The weight is increasing a little bit. 320 kilograms. 321 kilograms. 5 kilograms under 5 kilograms of increase. The crowd around them looked a little agitated. Some people even took out their cell phones and started shooting video. Wu Jia's breathing was also shortened for it. 336 kilograms. 337 kilograms. 338 kilograms, with an increase to 338 kilograms instantly. Everyone who was there was just cheering. World record broken. The world record for the unarmed bench press. Broken. For a moment, inside the gym, there was a buzz. Under this burst of cheering, even the crowds that were in the other fitness areas were attracted to it. After all, 338 kilograms. Unequipped bench press. It may be said that this data is meaningless to the unusual, but for people like them, who are into fitness and bodybuilding, but it's an almost faith-based existence. And at this point, Wuja despite the excitement, but still, he drank loudly, quiet, he could clearly see it. 338 kilograms was not Lin Mo's limit. Next moment, the weight continues to increase, all the way up to 343 kilograms. The weight, only then, stopped continuing to increase. 343 kilograms, Lin Mo was able to continue though, with the bench press but already, it is felt, is a bit strained. This, then, was the extreme degree of his arm strength. In this moment, in the middle of the gym, all the fitness enthusiasts, their faces were filled with excitement. Because, in the moment, they know, a brand new world record has emerged in the unequipped bench press, 343 kilograms. This record, compared to the original world record, it was a straight-up pull of as much as 6 kilos. And, 
Most importantly, this level of weight was created by their god, the Chinese, to know. Before that, Shenhua has never had a person, unequipped to bench press, reach the figure of 300 kilograms. For a moment, the whole place was a buzz. Brother, from now on, you're my big brother. From 180 kilograms in the beginning, all the way up the weight, it climbed to 343 kilograms. Nima, brother, no, dad, grandpa. This moment in the gym, everyone looked at Lin Mo with a different expression. All of them were very clear at this point. Right in front of this, not much of a muscular looking youth. Inside the body, was contained a, unparalleled and terrifying power. And Lin Mo was also a bit pleased. Honestly, even he was not expecting it. The strengthening potion could actually be so terrifying for the physical aspect of his body. One reinforcement. Straight away, he let him break, the world record in the unarmed bench press. That, if anything, subsequent to that one can continue to explore one's potential. His own body, again, could be strengthened to, what kind of a point? One time, in the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, he was vaguely looking forward to it. Next to Wuja at this point, looking at Lin Mo's face, he also looked a little excited. Mr. Lin, congratulations on breaking the world record for the unarmed bench press. To this, Lin Mo just smiled, said, hey, it's not worth it, and besides, it's not like I'm doing this bench press at a competition. Waving his hand, Lin Mo's face, just wore a few light smiles. Hearing Lin Mo's words, Wu Jia just smiled, but in his heart he understood. Lin Mo was just being modest. Even if it does make it to the IPF bench press championships, Lin Nemo was still easily capable of breaking another world record. As for the Moon Nanji next to him, she walked over with a sly grudge. He said, Lin Mo, with your physical fitness, what are you talking about coming to the gym? Being able to bench press 343 kilograms of barbells is completely unnecessary for you to work out, okay? To this, Lin Mo just smiled gently and said, that's for the average person. I still need to keep working out. Listen to this. Mu Nanji only thought that Lin Mo was joking. It was followed by an involuntary roll of the eyes. Said, TCH, ghost letter. Lin Mo lightly laughed. Then, said, I'll be training with you guys from now on. Take me to get a card? A sentence fell. Wu Jia there said in a hurry. No need. No need. Since Mr. Lin intends to work out at our gym then this can be considered an honor. In that case, I'll take it upon myself to give you, Mr. Lin, a black and gold VIP card. From now on, everything Mr. Lin spends in our gym, all of it will be free. Wu Jia, who was here, hurriedly said, he's one of the shareholders of this Liga Fitness Center. The right to give away a VIP card is still there. Moreover, Lin Mo's behavior of breaking the world record just now was still visible to him. In this, it is actually profitable. This, then, is much appreciated. Lin Mo quickly, also figured out this Wu Jia's intentions, just smiled and took the VIP card. Then, that's when it was time to start experimenting with, well, other fitness programs, and soon enough, it was the afternoon that passed. Wait until about 5 in the afternoon. Lin Mo spent the whole day in the middle of the gym. That's what brought us back home. In the meantime, a video is also on Weibo, gradually starting to catch fire. That's exactly what just happened. Lin Mo performs a bench press barbell, and at this point, the video, too, quickly began to skyrocket, but it's in a day's time. It just has a full 300, 000 likes, and, even more, there are 50, 000 comments, and the comments section, it's blowing up now too, I'll go, is this for real, a guy pushed up 343 kilograms, seriously, broke the world record, that's the divine wa power, this little brother, bull, I remember before, the world record was 337 kilograms, right, Ha, huh, this is absolutely fake. How can someone so skinny have so much strength? Disgusting. How about a little common sense in counterfeiting? Our best record in Shenhua is 235 kilograms by Mao Chengyu. And internationally, it's all Europeans and Americans who can bench press 300 kilograms. That's it. This counterfeiting is so disgusting, isn't it? Besides, if you look at the way people are powering up, it's all wrong all right? Nima, is it really just a bunch of sheepdogs? What? We Xinhua people can't show up and be able to push out 300 kilograms? Twitter fitness experts per capita? At this point in time, within the Twitter platform, the comment section can be described as a state of extremely strong polarization. Many people are in a state of doubt about the authenticity of this video, and the heat of this tweet has skyrocketed like crazy, from 48th place at the start, all the way up to number 6, officially, breaking into the top 10. Meanwhile, within the province of Dongshan, 
a stocky young man, is pushing up a barbell, and just then, instead, his cell phone rang with a burst, after placing the barbell, the youth's cell phone picked up, Sung Wu, did you read the tweets yet? After the connection, an excited, anxious voice rang out, I haven't looked yet, is something happening? Mao Cheng Yu asked into the other end of the phone, on the other end of the phone, also a friend who plays fitness named Yu Yang, check it out, someone on Twitter exposed the video and said, in man breaks world record for unequipped bench press. What, Lao Yang? You're not kidding me, are you? Mao Cheng Yu's face was filled with shock. I'm not kidding, it's true. Yu Yang's tone was serious. Really? Who broke it? A godly Chinese man in Mordor who bench presses up to 343 kilograms. How? Shasta. This Mao Cheng Yu stood up. The expression was filled with shock and dismay. He's the Asian champion of the bench press, so he knows better than anyone. An Asian, a Shenhua man wants to bench press a weight of 300 kilograms or more. This is difficult. Just how difficult it is. Just hurry up and look on Weibo. The heat of that video is now at the fourth of the hot searches. Listen to this. Mao Cheng Yu hurriedly opened his cell phone microblogging. Just opened it and it was a series of ads. Didn't care for any of that. He was direct. Clicking on the hot list. Then it started to look like a video on Twitter. The look on his face. Serious as can be. I can't believe. It's true. There is no suspicion of cheating judging by the power-ups. Sit in the chair. Mao Cheng Yu there had a slightly dazed look on his face. And what followed? Just thrilled by it. 343 kilograms. This is a brand new record. Though, that said, the record was not produced at the IPF championships. But still, there was no denying the strength of the other side. At that moment, he just picked up his cell phone, opened his microblog and knocked down a text. Mao Cheng Yu, congratulations to Mr. Lin for setting a brand new world record of 343 kilograms, the moment the tweet went out, the comment section below Mao Chung Yu exploded, the hairy big guy showed up, bull, that's a gross bigot, ha ha, where are those spammers, where did they go, where are the jets who say people are faking, now that big brother Mao has spoken out, you guys keep on coming out and spraying, big brother Mao endorsed that video, so you can see that big brother's accomplishments are definitely not fake, with Mao Chung Yu's tweet. Lin Mo's popularity of this video, which was already hot in itself, was surging even more crazily at this time, and for all that, Lin Mo, however, didn't know the slightest thing about it, at this time, he was at home playing a game, also, waiting for 12 o'clock, and also at this point in time, instead, there was a WeChat banner pop-up that appeared, just like that, it was a message from Munanji's, opened it and looked at it, Munan Banch, you're on fire, looking at the message, Lin Mo froze and immediately replied, I'm on fire? What the hell? Moonanji, microblogging hot search, you are now number one. For the words of this Moonanji, Lin Mo was now filled with confusion. Immediately, is opened the microblogging, full of doubt and began to check. And after opening up Twitter, the entire person, at this point, was also frozen. At this point, the number one hot search on this microblog is, quite literally, his own, unequipped bench press world record set. Nice guy, after breaking the world record, and incidentally, send me a Twitter hit? Lin Mo was stumped for a moment. On his face, there was also a few moments of consternation. And what came after, was a smile, while gently shaking his head. A little bit of a look at what's going on on Twitter. Lin Mo, who was here, also looked calm. The time was fast and it was also 12 o'clock sharp. Closed the tweet. Immediately, Lin Mo opened the trillion dollar subsidy app, refreshed the interface. Today's item, which is what appears on the app's interface. Prestige punch list subsidy price, 18, 80. Subsidized price of have a say spray, 9, 99. Look at these two items. Lin Mo raised an eyebrow, and the ones that followed were decisively purchased. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 15 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Look at the alert on your cell phone. Lin Mo's eyebrows, gently raised for one, under his breath. He couldn't help but murmur as well. A quarter of an hour? Eyes flashing. What followed, then, was the closing of the app, laid back on the couch, ready for a tense and exciting game of king. Fifteen minutes passed quickly, looking at the victory logo that appeared, on his cell phone. Lin Mo's eyebrows rose gently, the corners of his mouth, too, ticked up with it. Nice, pleasant mood. The next step is to reopen the trillion dollar subsidy app. Fifteen minutes is about right, and the stuff, if anything, should be arriving. Mentally, he muttered, after tapping the app. Sure enough, it's in the item bar. There were already two items that were being placed in the item bar. Prestige punch list, for everyone. 
000000 prestige reached, a reward will be randomly awarded, and the prestige punch list will automatically disappear after three rewards have been received. Tell one spray, after using the spray on a specific person, the person will tell the truth for the next five minutes, and the spray will disappear automatically after use. Look at these two items. Lin Mo couldn't help but be, just staggered. These two things. For a moment, Lin Mo cried and laughed a little. Immediately, the finger then just landed on the prestige punch list, and after the finger falls, a pop-up window, all of a sudden, just popped up. It is detected that the user's reputation has reached the standard. Will he, she receive the first stage reward? Reputation up to scratch? At this moment, Lin Mo was somewhat puzzled. This, my reputation. How come I'm up to par? Scratching his head, Lin Mo's expression was puzzled. Could it be, all of a sudden, in the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, in a vague way, there were a few guesses, spinning around, that is, tapping on Twitter. Looking at that hanging in the microblogging hot search first topic at this time of the heart, is also for it. Sure enough, eyes flashing. At this moment, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth gently rose. I didn't realize that this microblogging hot search, actually gave me a direct, First stage reward for this prestige punch list card. Rubbing his hands together gently. Lin Mo had some expectations for the rewards of this prestige playing card. Pick up. Fingers fall. The queue resurfaces. Stage 1 reward. Claim successfully. Obtains. Pagani Windjammer Emola Asterisk 1. After the system prompt fell. Lin Mo only felt that his pockets were heavy. And then. There was the pulling out of a. Very differently shaped car key. Car keys to get started. Lin Mo was still a bit confused about this car. Subsequently, then just started searching on my phone. When saw the information about the car for a moment. Lin Ma's mouth. The cold air was sucked backwards. Pagani Wind got Imola. The car. It is a limited edition model worldwide. All over the world. There are only five of them. And the asking price in the EU is a terrifying 5 million euros. Converted into Shenhua coins. That's. 3,934. 35 million. This kind of sky-high price is even enough to buy two houses in the center of Magic City. Not to mention, it's still one of only five super luxury cars in the world. That's a value. Then, that can't be measured in money. $39 million supercar. Lin Mo was at this point. A burst of just being staggered by it. I didn't realize that going to the gym to get fit could actually backfire and make almost $40 million. A light chuckle underneath. App. The eyes. Two. Narrowed slightly. The rewards of the first stage are just so horrible. Then the next two stages of rewards. One time, Lin Mo's mood, looked a little excited. Fingers, spinning, also fell again. Have not yet met the requirements for the second stage of collection. Current progress, $1. 83 million slash dollar 5 million inch. Stage 2, requiring 5 million in prestige? Looking at the scene, Lin Mo's heart was also sinking for it. What does it take, to reach, the second stage of the prestige value? Cupping his chin. Lin Mo's brows were also furrowed by this. At the same time, he opened his mouth and asked, This reputation value, how exactly is it judged? As the words fell, the cell phone screen, heck, a row of messages appeared. The reputation value is determined after an event that is formed because of a user's behavior has been noticed by other people. This results in effective feedback, which is the corresponding prestige value. Listen to this. Lin Mo's brows furrowed, like this? And what is effective feedback? Other people are liking and commenting on it. This one, Lin Mo did understand. But then, the heart sank slightly. After all, if anything, the rule for the prestige value judged by this prestige punch list is something like this. 5 million reputation values were still a pain in the ass to achieve. It seems that next, this second stage of prestige value acquisition, we have to think of a more direct way out. Cupping his chin, Lin Mo's heart sank for it. At the same time, the fingers are aimless, swiping randomly across the screen. And just then, his gaze, however, suddenly, landed on the fighting shark app that was there. Hmm, live shark fight? Lin Mo pondered in his heart. Perhaps. Eyes flickered after a while. His finger, too, tapped into the app. And then, it was also a smooth click into A, the live room of the female anchor that he had been following. The anchor woman's name is Faye is not a rabbit. At this time, there's a live outdoor broadcast going on. In his mouth, he also spoke. Hello fellow water friends ah. Faye is now doing an outdoor live broadcast. Next, let's play a game together. I'm in Magic City. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is. Feel free to snipe at me for the next hour. I'll send my micro signal if everyone snipes me within the hour. As the words fell, in the middle of this Faye's live broadcast, the pop-ups were also finally abundant. I'll go, 
Seriously? Then I'll go snipe you right now. I happen to be in Magic City. Woohoo! Is this the start of a whole job for Faye? Giving away micro signals? That's the equivalent of an overfire. For a moment. Quite a few people in the Magic City of Water Friends, one after another is ready to snipe this fair, and Lin Mo's eyebrows were raised lightly. Sniping to send a micro signal? That's kind of interesting. But, look at the background inside this Phil's live room. Lin Mo only felt that something looked familiar. This was followed by a soft eep under his breath. This looks like, at this moment, he only felt that the background of this fair's live broadcast room appeared somewhat familiar. With some careful identification, Lin Mo poured out a laugh. Ha! Hey, that's a distance, not far. At this point, he did recognize it. This fill is located. It should be their own one east suburb villa, not far behind a square. Want to go sniping? Cupping his chin. Lin Mo had some pensive moments afterward. Anyway, it's so close. Just go over and take a look. Think about it. Then he just walked out of the villa, because it's not far. Therefore, there was no driving. A few minutes later, he just came to the square not far from here. One side of the show was watching the live stream and doing the searching at the same time. And with some searching, Lin Mo also laughed at once. At the moment, at a distance of less than a hundred meters in front of him, just like that, there is a young girl who is broadcasting live there. This person was none other than Faye in the middle of the live broadcast. At this time, she was wearing a white dress. Under the illumination of the street lamp, the features are very delicate. I can't believe it's not a beauty monster. Lin Mo was surprised in his heart. At this moment, she was amazed by the true face value of this fair. To know, most of the anchors these days, most that are beauty monsters, but this fill, even the real face value, that belongs to, a very capable group. Not to say it's 100% similar, but at the very least it's at 99%. The remaining 1% is a matter of hitting the light. Phil, Lin Mo opened his mouth, as Lin Mo's words fell. Faye, who was still there live, just froze. Then, it was just a matter of looking up, looking at Lin Mo who was there, at that moment was a bit dumbfounded. You, are here to snipe the waterbenders? Glanced at the time on his cell phone. It had only been 10 minutes since he had spoken out and had someone snipe at him offline. As a result, this was sniped at? This, it wasn't just Faye who was confused. Inside the live broadcast room, a group of water users were also confused. This, sniping? Snipe a hammer O. Oh. Spit it out. I just analyzed it. Where this fill might be ready to go over. And you're telling me that someone sniped it? Spit it out and spit it out. This is definitely ATO, isn't it? In this moment, inside the live broadcast room, a bar of pop-ups quickly crossed from the screen. Quite a few people were spouting off at this point. Some people were even suspecting that Lin Mo might be ATO. After all, this is just too fast. Even Faye was looking a little unnatural. Said, little brother, this speed of yours, isn't it too fast? Oh, I just happened to be in the neighborhood, and I felt that there was something familiar about this outdoor scene of fairs, so I came over to take a look, Lin M.O., who was here, smiled and opened his mouth, a sentence fell, Fei was a little confused, blinking his eyes, he looked a little confused, just around the corner, this Chin fair was very clear about, this square where he is now is in a rich neighborhood, in this neighborhood, there are basically some rich businessmen, and the water boy in front of us. How dare you say that you were in the neighborhood before? This, could it be that? And before this Chin Fair could think more, Lin Mo's voice, however, sounded once again. I had thought that Fei was a beauty guru, and that the real person offline was actually Her Highness Joe, but I didn't realize that the actual real person was actually no different than in the live room, at all. After a sentence fell, inside the live feed, everyone just sputtered at once. Ha ha, this little brother is so funny that he can actually think that Fei is a tank? Put, look guys, Fei's face is black, ha ha ha, really laughed my ass off, there it is, Sheen Fair. at this point it was pink fists clenched, then, a burst of gnashing of teeth, a pair of beautiful eyes stared at Lin Mo with a deadly stare, his highness Joe, you're your highness Joe, it's your whole family that's his highness Joe, she's a real beauty queen, okay, this one, was exasperated with a wild heave of the heart, silver teeth clenched, looking at Lin Mo in front of him, the young girl looked a little indignant. The mind is even more of a single thought. The little brother in front of me was obviously so good looking. But alas, how come it's just off the charts and not a dud? Subsequently, took a deep breath, trying hard to pile on a smile. He said, since I let you find me, then according to the rules just now, I'll add your WeChat. Good. Lin Mo nodded his head, and then the cell phone was handed out. After scanning the code plus WeChat, Chin Fair waved her hand towards Lin Mo and said, 
then I'll go ahead on my end. I have a PK later at 12.30. TSK, still PK, your monthly water flow is less than a thousand dollars. Go up to PK that is not looking for abuse? Lin M.O. said casually. The words fell. Sheen Fair's eyes widened. Looking at Lin M.O., he almost didn't spurt out a mouthful of old blood. Inside the live broadcast room, inside and outside at this time was filled with a cheerful atmosphere. Ha ha ha, Fay this is disliked. 666. That spit. Put. All that talk. Phil, I don't want a feisty. Ha ha ha, laughing my ass off. This little brother is a talent. And also at this time, Linemo casually took his cell phone and tapped on the app, asking in his mind, if I make a gift swipe to cause a stir while I'm live streaming, can it be counted as prestige value? With the thoughts falling afterward, the dialogue box appears. Count. Watching gave an affirmative answer. An idea, too, was gradually taking shape in Lin Mo's heart. Forget it, look at you poorly, I'll send you to the first later. A sentence fell. Sheen Fair's momentary stupefaction. There was also a moment of silence from the water users in the live room. Sheen Fair, who was here, was asking with a few moments of doubt. Little brother, what's your fighting shark account number? Oh, a white John number. A sentence fell. The corner of Chin Fair's mouth twitched. He said, forget it, little brother. Don't make fun of me. Now first place is a complete no-brainer for me. And a win would be nice. Obviously, Chin Fair didn't take Lin Mo's words seriously. Spinning around, he waved his hand and left on that note. And in response, Lin Mo just shrugged his shoulders without explaining anything. It was just slow and easy. Back home. After a shower at home. That's when he picked up his cell phone and looked at it. At this point, it's already 12.30 p.m. Inside the live feed, Sheen Fair is already PK. Hello miss, the first round is for the two of us PK. And please be a little bit lighter yet. The other side of the screen, a female anchor dressed in a cool, alluring outfit, said in a pitiful manner there. Hello Hope, I've lost so many games in a row. Just please, Hope San, don't let me lose too badly. This Sheen Fair's expression looked somewhat bitter. With a somewhat helpless smile, he said, just now she was looking at the data of the opposite anchor, not at all comparable to myself. The other party's live room has more than a hundred VIPs. The first big brother on the list has, this month, swiped more than 10,000. And on your own side? The VIPs were scattered about a dozen or so. The flow of the first big brother on the list is only about a hundred dollars. The bleakness of this comparison is evident. Subsequently, PK starts. Linemo saw the other party's anchor and straight away started a burst of hot dancing. Cool dress. Hot dance. Such performances do make one. Indeed. Seem a little topsy-turvy. And on Sheen Fair's side? Instead, they simply sang. Other than that, nothing more fancy. A PK is 10 minutes. Wait until the 7th minute. PK bars can be crushing. The gifts Hope had received were already up to $800. As for Sheen Fair's side? Just under 30 bucks. It would be weird to win this. Lin Nemo rolled his eyes, just as he was about to charge up. A duke's account, named Solo Love Little Hope, entered the live stream. I'll take this hand. Thanks for the support Missy. A message was sent, followed by a swipe of a hundred dollars worth of airplanes. But then, he just went back over to Hope and swiped a five hundred dollar rocket. Watch this scene. Lin Nemo frowned slightly. Who is humiliated by this dismissal of callers? Sheen Fair's face was also a bit dark. After all, this behavior is so humiliating. Inside the live feed, a lot of the water boys were also pissed off. Where's the humiliation? Can you do whatever you want with money? Looking at the comments in the live broadcast room, the only love little Yuan Yuan is directly said. Ha, being rich means you can do whatever you want. You don't like it? If you have the guts, you can do it too. This one's too loaded. Didn't that roadie waterbender from before say he was going to send Fair to number one? Where is the person? Come on, you really expect the other guy to brush it off? It's obviously a mouthful. Inside the live feed, quite a few people, at this time, were in a state of righteous indignation. And at the moment, Lin M.O., on the other hand, is still recharging his shark fins in the background. Let's charge a hundred thousand to start the bottom. Soon, the recharge was successful. One hundred thousand shark fins arrived. Subsequent, Lin M.O. was also the one who returned to the live broadcast. Immediately, Lin M.O. was the one who sent five rounds of ultra fire at Gene Fair. Five rounds of super fire delivered. What PK just happens to be is officially over. Sheen Fair, the winner, inside the live broadcast room, it just exploded. Five rounds of super fire? Which big brother is this, to actually give away 10, 000 dollars directly in such a generous manner? Hiss, five rounds of ultra fire, and the level of this godhawk. It's actually so low? Up here is a gift of five rounds of super fire. 
and the gift has gone straight back up. Faye's met a hidden bigot here? As for this Chin Fair, at this time, she also hurriedly said, Thank you to the crouching dynasty big guy for the five rounds of super fire. Chin Fair looked at the five rounds of ultra fire that appeared on the screen. At this moment, his expression also looked a bit stunned. But then, it was the opening of the mouth in a hurry that thanked him. She had all thought that she was going to lose this round. But I didn't expect it. In the live broadcast room, such a superstar actually appeared all of a sudden. Without a word, it's a five-shot superfire brush. And on the other side of the live feed, at this point everyone was already blowing up. Especially the anchor. Hope. The whole person is now. In a trance-like state. She hadn't even dreamed of it. It's amazing how dramatic the end is. Original. On my own side. I should say the situation is great. But who would have thought? The last few seconds. A hidden godly man actually appeared in the other side's live room. Out of the gate was a five-shot swipe of ultra fire. The whole thing flopped right out of the gate. This. How is this possible? Hope looked at the PK failure prompt. The whole thing seemed to be in a trance. But then. This Hope was the one who hastily piled on a smile and said, Yeah, I didn't realize that Missy's family actually has such a great god. We've been beaten up by your big brother. I wonder if Crouching Dynasty big brother, can you pay some medical bills? Hope is really in too much pain. Hope, who was here, was instantly petulant. There was a flurry of the whole thing. Two, scratching their heads. After all, medical bills are real money. So why not? And to this, Lin Mo responded directly. Sorry, not in the habit of dispatching callers. Looking at Lin Mo's response, this Chin Fair instantly just sprayed. Subsequently, that is, without the slightest euphemism. Immediately, it was a response. Miss Yuan Yuan, our big brother said that he's not in the habit of dispatching callers. A sentence fell. Here's hope with a stiff, ugly face. Yet, it was not good to have a seizure. Now she was the one who had lost. And even if she wasn't convinced, then she had to hold it in. And in the middle of Qin Fei's live broadcast, many people were saying, Bull, Crouching Dynasty Big Brother is awesome. Ha ha, there is no habit of sending out callers, lying towards the Big Brother just a batch. I haven't been able to come back from it until now for that matter. Those last few seconds were the ultimate save. Come and worship, the five-shot superfire godly bigot. I just came in and saw such a wonderful scene. I must get a card. I can't whore myself out for nothing. At this point, inside the live feed, not only do we have old water friends, but we have a lot of them. A new audience of waterbenders attracted through five rounds of superfire. And anchor Philip Chin, now also smiling. He he he, thanks to brother crouching dynasty. I'm just so excited about these five rounds of ultra fire limit saving. I just don't know. Is there anything that brother crouching dynasty has, that he wishes Faye to do? Looking at Chin Fair's words, Lin Mo mused. What followed was on the screen, typing, the word. Well, it's nothing special. Do you know how to dance on your side? Is Crouching Dynasty Big Brother hoping for Faye to dance? This Faye isn't very good at it, but she can still dance. Well, in that case, why don't you do a radio gymnastic dance? Lin Mo was there, casually sending out messages. After the sentence fell, many of the people there were confused at this point. What the hell? Five rounds over just to watch a radio drill? This, Big Brother Capricious, is that how the big boys play anymore? Five rounds of super fire just to watch a radio gymnastic exercise? My people are already stupid. This radio gymnastics, could it be some kind of code word? Even Chin Fair, who was there, was a bit confused at this point. Then, without being able to help it, it was inquired. This, brother, are you kidding me? No, just radio gymnastics. Lin Mo casually sent the message. Begin. A simple sentence fell. Chin Fair is somewhat helpless. But considering that, after all, Lin Mo had swiped five ultra flames, worth $10,000. You, yourself, have to fulfill this request, right? Well, since Big Brother Crouching Dynasty wants to see it, then, the eighth set of radio gymnastics, arrange it. When Sheen Fair began to dance the radio gymnastics, Rimmer was completely, not bothering to pay attention, at this point in his life, was checking out the data on the app, have not yet met the requirements for the second stage of collection, current progress, too. 72 million slash 5 million inch. Look at the data on the app. Lin Mo's eyebrows, too, were gently raised. Is it up that much after winning the first game? That seems to send the little anchor to the number one spot. Should be able to collect this second stage reward. Lin Mo's heart. Unavoidably, there was just a murmur. And in the middle of the broadcast, many people were swallowing their saliva at this moment. I finally understand why Big Brother God Ho has to watch jumping radio gymnastics. The city will play. 
Type with both hands to show your innocence. I think, I can do it. The poor monk has no such worldly desires? The poor monk is going to return to the world today to subdue the demons. Even Buddha can't stop it. I can't, not a drop left. Inside the live feed, quite a few people watched on the live video. That's it. Constantly, just swallowing. Who can handle it? And a radio gymnastic jump is over. This Chin Fei'er wiped the fragrant sweat on the corner of her forehead and said, Brother Crouching Dynasty, still there? Because, a radio gymnastic end. This second round of PKs, that is, is about to begin. However, with one call after the other, Lin M.O., however, did not respond in the slightest. The moment of the moment. Chin Fei'er was just a bit anxious. Hectic, that is, shouted, Is Brother Crouching Dynasty not here? She looked at Lin Mo's account and it was clear that she was still in the VIP seat, but there was no response to the questioning. Could it be that? Is it hanging? That own second inning. Just as Chin Fei'er's mind was tense, Lin Nimo also paddled back to the fighting shark app, said, So soon? I just took a sip of water and haven't looked at it yet. A sentence that instantly made everyone in the live broadcast room. Spray. Does this man speak? Show. Ten Shu. A bigot is a bigot. Ordering radio gymnastics and turning around to get a drink. Even Chin Fei'er, was choked by these words. This is really sure. A smile stiffened his face. Spinning around, it was the continuation of the word. So, brother crouching dynasty, our second game. What do we say? Lin Mo typed calmly. Go on. Didn't I tell you? I'll send you to number one tonight. A sentence fell. There was a brief window of silence in the live room. Even Chin Fei'er was shocked by these words. Spinning around, it was the same thought that had come to mind earlier in the day. The one you met yourself, sniping at your own water friends. At the time, he said he was in the neighborhood, which is why he came so quickly. And in the square, one didn't think much of it. It was only assumed that the other party had come to play in the square as well. But, actually, the other side, really, is the godhawk? The moment. Sheen Fair was shocked, swallowing her saliva. Sheen Fair said with some disbelief, crouching, crouching dynasty big brother, are you the little brother who sniped me just now? Yeah, it's me, Lin Mo said succinctly. A sentence fell. The comments section. Boiling. That water boy at the time. Wasn't joking? Hiss. This luck of Fayer's. It's too fierce. I didn't realize that the one who sniped Fayer just now was really a big shot. I was wrong. I apologize. I even taunted the crouching dynasty big man earlier. Thinking that the big man was mouthing off. Kneeling. Crouching dynasty big brother bull. One moment. Inside the live feed. Countless people were shocked. At the same time, there were even more people with fiery pain on their faces. And also at this time, an emperor from one of the other live streams popped up as well. I'm on my knees. This is an awesome move. First go offline to meet the anchor and confirm before swiping the gift. Hey, indeed. Why didn't I ever think of that one? At that moment, another diving emperor, too, emerged. However, since the reclining dynasty bigwigs have confirmed it, I'll give a little gift as well. After saying that, these two emperors sent a shot of ultra fire from each of them. After all, one has to give some face, right? Watch this scene. After Qin Fei'er thanked the two emperors, the mind is also alive for it. Weekdays, super fire this pricey gift. On your own, that's unthinkable. But now, how long has it been? Received seven rounds of super fire myself, even, and a whole bunch of swag, and how it all came about. Qin Fei'er knew very well. It's because of Lin Ma. If it weren't for his words, himself, I'm just afraid. It's just ready to quit the live broadcasting world. Right? Think about it. Chin Fei'er was also in a hurry, opening her WeChat. Then, found Lin Ma's chat. Thank you for the gift and support from Big Brother Crouching Dynasty. Fei'er didn't know just now that it was Big Brother Crouching Dynasty that she met. Sorry ha. Huh? After whoring around for so long, you have to support it. Don't you? Lin Mo smiled and said. Well, get ready and send you to number one tonight. Looking at Lin Mo's words. The gaze underneath this Chin Fei'er's eyes gradually became firm. Then, it was sending an address over. Building 7. Shincheng Garden. Mordor. Look at the message. Lin Mo instantly laughed. At the bottom of his eyes, a few moments of playful light also surfaced. Everyone is an adult. Would he not understand what this Chin Fei'er meant? And how could she not understand what she was planning by sending her position? But, so what? After all, why wouldn't you have that intention yourself? What you give, you get. It's nothing more than an exchange of equals. Since he himself said that he would send her to the first of the list, is it realistic for the other side not to give something? Don't worry. This first place is yours today. No one can take it away. Lin Mo said one sentence. 
It made this Chin Fair's heart feel great. Soon, the second PK begins. The picture is split in two. The opposite side is still a young lady. Hello Miss Fair. I'm Blue Cloud Guild's anchor Xiaojiao. I'm glad to be able to connect with Miss. A side note. This Xiaojiao was the one who covered her mouth and said with some surprise. Wow. Miss. You this list a big brother a bit fierce ah. Uh, newcomer number direct weekly list of 10. 000. Hello Miss Cow. Our big brother just swiped it a while ago. As the sentence fell, the eyes of Xiaojiao, who was on the opposite side of the room, lit up. Wow. Miss your family's big brother is so fierce ah. Uh, lying towards the big brother I am Xiaojiao. If you're free in the future, you can come and play in my live room ah. Uh. Listen to this. Sheen Fair was a bit upset, but her heart was also a bit worried. And just then, Lin Mo's message also surfaced. Tell me more. Let's just get right to the PK first. A sentence fell. Sheen Fair breathed a sigh of relief. And then, started piking. And just click start for a moment. Without hesitation, Lin Mo slammed down 5 rounds of ultra fire. Let's start with 5 rounds of super fire to warm up the field. And as for the opposite side, to follow or not to follow? A plain sentence but it caused everyone to be stunned. Five rounds of super fire to warm up first? I'm afraid you're not here not to warm up the field, but to burn it. Five rounds of super fire. Ten thousand dollars. Who's the anchor's big brother? Warming up the house is so warm. The moment. Everyone is straight up squirting. Bullshit. Five rounds of super fire to warm up the field. Is this the way the gods play? Spit it out spit it out. This kind of operation. Learn to waste learn to waste. Holy shit. Burning ten. 000 bucks to warm up? Big brother operation. Simply invincible. You wouldn't dare to burn like this even if you have a mine at home. For a moment, everyone was given a knee. And across the street in the live room, the big brother who was preparing to swipe the gift, then the corner of his mouth just jerked hard. What followed was a private chat with messages. Xiao Jio. Let's give up this one. We can't fight the opposite side. Let's wait for the resurrection round. This big brother also did prepare more than 10 rounds of super fire. If you meet some, they are still considered normal opponents. A dozen rounds of superfire, that would indeed be enough. But, it's not normal to be on the other side of this bias. Starts with 5 shots of superfire slammed down. Who dares to follow this? Even if your family has a mine, you can't afford to keep up. So the, this little nine live in the room. Big brother directly conceded. Xiao Jiu was also filled with helplessness in his heart. But what can be done? All that could be done was to squeeze in a smile and say, Okay, soon. The second round of PKs ended, because of the 5 shot super fire. The second round was a crushing victory. A simple victory. Lin Mo was tasteless, but Qin Fair was excited. In this regard, Lin Mo didn't care too much, and the netizens are up in arms. Prepare for Qin Fair, to do radio gymnastics again. As for Qin Fair, she also opened her mouth. Crouching Chow Big Brother, what are you going to let people do? In response, Lin Mo spoke casually. Well, have a lollipop. After these words fell, the crowd in the live room was still a bit confused. I don't understand why Lin Mo wants Chin Fair to eat lollipops. But then, as Chin Fair started eating, everyone was however boiling over. So it's here? Hiss. This wave of brother Shinhao. It's in the atmosphere. 666. So that's what eating a lollipop means. Is that it? On your knees. And at this time Lin Mo. Instead, he came. Inside his own underground garage. Looking at this Pagani Windjammer Amora in front of him, his eyebrows raised gently. Frosted silver gray body with a tall tail fin. It gives a strong sense of the future. For active spoilers on the front and rear of the body. Front end splitter. Side skirt deflectors. Back splitter fins. And a huge, huge rear diffuser. None of it is making this whole car less wind pressurized. A masterpiece. Lin Mo lamented in his heart. Then it's just a little bit of navigation. The corners of his mouth turned up slightly. The location of the Xincheng Jiayuan 7 building is not far from his own place. Plus it's in the middle of the night again. Driving there on your own would take you 7 or 8 minutes at most. Just right. Now it's time for another break from live PK. Himself completely. There is just enough time to go over. Think about it. Lin Mo then got into the car. As the furious roar of the supercar echoed. In a flash. The whole car just leapt out. Inside the live feed. One lollipop finished. Chin Fair at the moment. Taking a sip of water. He opened his mouth. All right, the lollipop is finished. What else does brother Crouching Chow want to see? And at the fall of those words, this Chin Fei's cell phone was suddenly ringing. Pick it up. It was clearly a message from Lin Mo. Your house is a couple zeros in building 7. Look at the message. Chin Fei, obviously, hadn't been able to react. Subconsciously, it was the reply. 
Building 7, 1803, just reply to the past. The news of Lin M.O. also came again. Prepare to open the door. This one. Sheen Fair came back to her senses. The heartbeat, all of a sudden, just started to speed up. The whole thing was a little flustered. She didn't expect that Lin M.O. would actually come right at this time. Original. She thought that no matter what, Lin M.O. would come after she went off the air. But what she didn't expect was this. I can't believe he came while he was still on the air. So it was that she rushed and spoke. Hold on a second everyone. I'm going to go to the bathroom and pour some water by the ways. After all was said and done. Hurriedly, with a glass of water in hand, he just left the live zone. Come to the door. A deep breath was all it took to open the door to the room. Hello again. Lin Mo had a few light smiles on his face. Looking at Lin Mo standing in the doorway, this Chin Fair's heartbeat accelerated. The face, too, was somewhat scarlet. Crouching, crouching dynasty big brother. Chin Fair whispered. The whole thing was slightly tense. After all, before that, Lin Mo and her were nothing more than the relationship between an anchor and a water friend. But it's different now. Lin Mo is his gold master. I'm not that old. Just call me Lin Mo. At this moment, Sheen Fair didn't know how to deal with this. Inside my head, I'm still a little confused. Just subconsciously nodding his head. Lin Mo. On the other hand, casually, walked inside the room and closed the door. Sweeping down the one bedroom. Zero bathroom rental. Then, a few playful smiles tugged at the corners of his mouth. Casually, he pressed it against the wall and said. After helping you through two rounds, don't you have to show something? Listen to this. Plus the fact that Lin Mo was plastered so close to himself. This Chin Fair's eyes were mesmerized. Breathing, too, was rapid. And then, quickly was kissing on Lin Mo's lips. Although the speed was extremely fast, like a dragonfly pointing at water. However, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth rose for a moment. At the same time, let go of this Chin Fair. Anyway, the night was long and he had plenty of time for himself. Come on. If you don't go back, the water boys are going to get curious. Aha. Uh -huh. Chin Fair organized herself, then flew back into the broadcast room. Sitting in front of the camera, the live stream continued. As for Lin Mo, he was casually, sitting on the opposite side of the sofa. Looking at the screen in the live room, he laughed softly at the bottom of his heart. And after that, it's just continued piking. Soon after, in the third and fourth rounds, Lin Mo consumed ten or so ultra flames and brought the hole through peacefully. For rounds of PKs down, Lin Mo's reputation value, too, had reached 4, 89 million. Looking at the prestige value which was not far from 5 million, Lin Mo's eyes, too, flickered for a while. As long as we take this final round of the finals, this 5 million prestige value will be officially reached. Lin Mo's heart murmured. The mood, too, was somewhat agitated. And also at this time, the final, it's officially here, with the final connected. Opposite. A young girl dressed in an old-fashioned Chinese dress appeared in the middle of the camera. Hello ah, uh, Miss Fair. I'm the anchor of the One Leaf City Guild. Lulu. The other man took the lead in the greeting. The rookie anchor who came out of nowhere and made it all the way to the final round. She had noticed it earlier in the day. Didn't put too much stock in it. But ultimately, you have to be careful. And that's why this Lulu was the first to greet. And on Sheen Fair's face at that moment, there were also a few smiles on her face. Then, just smiling, he spoke. Miss Lulu, how are you? Please be gentle when you PK later. Ha ha, Faye you're joking. Still need to ask you guys to go a little lighter. And just then, a King's account from the other side's live broadcast also entered the live broadcast room at this time. Immediately, it was sending a message. Sorry for this round, but I'm going to ask for your number. And I'm going to take Lulu to the championship today. This was followed by a rocket of reward. The provocative intent of this is self-evident. And sitting there was Lean Ma. The I see so. The bottom of his eyes were also vague and icy. Immediately, it was just straightforward. And said, Yeah, you're going to bail Lulu out? Then excuse me. I am. Today, prepare to bail on Phil. Rocket back to you guys. PK later. Just go straight to the line. Having said that, Ringmo went back and returned a rocket. At the same time, silently tapped on the recharge screen. After all, this one is the final. If you're not a little prepared yourself, there's also a real possibility that it could roll over. After a slight pause, Lin Mo just went along for the ride and rushed $600,000 in. $600,000 should be enough to help this Faye to the title. After all, it's not like this is a big PK event. Across the street from Lulu's VIP table, that's only about 500 people. The first big brother of the list, the weekly list is just brushing 100, 000 or so, and the other side, inside Lulu's livestream, 
Quite a few water users had also noticed Lin Mo's words. At once, that is, they began to taunt. Ha ha, the little white ship comes to call the shots too? Laughing my ass off. I suggest you take a look at the stats of our family's list one big brother. The weekly list was brushed with a hundred thousand or so. It can't be a little white number like you that can come and clamor? That is, how dare the little white ship come? Why don't you get the hell out of here? One rocket is probably four or five days worth of your living expenses. Ha ha ha, a moment. Inside this Lulu's live room, a number of people spoke up in mockery. As for this, Lin Mo had a bland expression on his face. With a heartfelt contemptuous laugh, he just shook his head. Without paying too much attention to the taunting words, he just spoke calmly. So, start, as Lin Mo's message went out. Both sides instantly, just started piking. And the moment the PK starts, in the middle of Lulu's live broadcast, more than a dozen superfires were instantly swiped. Under a series of superfire swipes, the PK strip just crushed it straight away. As for being on Phil's side, yet there were only a few scattered gifts swiped. Occasionally there can be an airplane or two, but simply, powerless to resist. Look at this situation in front of you. Inside Lulu's live stream, the arrogance was louder now. Ha ha, where's that little white number? Brush it instead. That's just it, you're still guaranteeing Faye the title? Don't even look at yourself. Put, a little white number in the district. And you're still so arrogant? Among the pop-ups, there was contempt. And just then, a scrolling pop-up screen, however, suddenly appeared above all the live broadcasts. Congratulations to Crouching Dynasty for opening Super Emperor in Faye is not a rabbit s live room. Click to enter the live room. A message popped up, both in Lulu's live room and in Faye's live room. Everyone, for one, was quiet. Open the Emperor. To know, it's 180. Zero 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 dollars for the first opening of one of Dushark's emperors. Even with a 120, zero 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 voucher rebate, that's a 60 dollars, zero 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 cash drop. Two, before the crowd could be surprised. At this time, there were several messages that were continuously swiped on the screen. Congratulations to Crouching Dynasty for renewing Super Emperor Asterisk 1 on Fay is not a rabbit s livestream. Such a message. Four in a row. This one. The whole shark fighting platform. A boil. Countless water friends who are still online, one after another, just flooded into Fayer's live broadcast room. After all, renewals are not as expensive as opening though, but that's still $120, 000 for a month's worth of renewals. After the fact, despite the $120, 000 voucher rebate, but the 120, 000, after all, can't be withdrawn, not to mention, Linemo opened it once before, that is to say, in this short minute, Lin Mo was already swiping out 660, 000, the moment, fighting sharks boiling, as for Lulu's live stream, the emperor's five in a row, this, it's over the top, what a joke, the Kahaku helicoptered the emperor, what the fuck is this play, Neil, I was wrong, don't you go look at your opponent's weekly list before picking on them, even though this little white number is a little white number, the weekly charts are swiped with the presence of tens of thousands, Lulu, who was there, was also in the wind at this point. Honestly, she had thought that the wave was 10 to 1, even if there's a dirtbag bottom on the other side. So what? The other guy, a dirtbag, just swiped a few tens of thousands of dollars. And on your own side? The top 5 on the weekly charts are all swiped for tens of thousands of dollars. The first big brother of the list, but also brushed 100, 000 or so. This disparity in volume is not something a tycoon can fight against. But who would have thought? The opposing tycoon, turning his hand, Open the emperor five times. A wave of 660. 000 swiped right out. Is this still going on? Continue a hammer oh. This wave, Lulu went straight to her knees. And on the other side, Lin Emil was also smooth and swiped all of the vouchers that Fighting Shark had given away. Subsequently, that is, he ran into Lulu's live stream and opened his mouth to ask. Continue? Two simple words. But with boundless dominance. Inside Lulu's live stream, everyone also saw the message. On his face, humiliation could be written all over it. The look on anchor Lulu's face was also a bit bitter. As for this Lulu's rank 1 big brother, at this time, he was also sending messages and chatting privately with Lulu. Lulu, let's forget about this one and just build up our strength for the next one. No way. This list of big brothers, despite the money, but there is no money to, can brush hundreds of thousands of dollars without blinking ah. And again, his rank of nobility up to this point is also king or one that was only renewed once, and the other side? That's five emperors at the drop of a hat. Is this a level? It's not at all. One is a bite-sized drive, and the other? That's only played by godly men who don't think of money as money. 
That's totally, arguably, a descending blow. Lulu was also aware of the situation and could only smile bitterly, saying, This time, we admit defeat. With the admission of defeat on Lulu's part, on the air, at this point, the heat was even more boiling. Invincible. 666. I would call this operation of the crouching dynasty big brother the strongest. Hiss. Directly opened the emperor five times at once. This operation. There's no one else. Okay. Catechism. Five superfires that are unbeatable. Inside the live stream. Quite a few people belong to the catechism at this time. After all. Open the emperor five times at once. How can one not be appalled by such an operation? And. Continuous unable emperors continuous scrolling. Even more so up and down the fighting sharks. Many of the water friends who were still online at this time. All flocked in with a brain. And there was Chin Fair. Then there was a pang. For which the trance. This is what I. Winning? Chin Fair's mood was extraordinarily complicated. I'm laying down a win here? Become number one. Become a champion? For a moment. Chin Fair's mood could be described as overwhelming. Previously. First such thing. They are not even thinking about it. But now what? She did. At the same time, this Chin Fair was also very clear. You can take first place yourself. All by Rimmer. And, as long as one listens to Lin M.O., pleasing Lin M.O., that's not to mention a PK for first place, even if it's the annual fan fest and gets first place in PKs. Hinging, too, is not in the cards. And this opportunity, it's right in front of your own eyes. Whether or not you can take it yourself depends on tonight. Immediately, this Chin Fair was the one who turned to the camera and opened her mouth. Well, that's it for today's broadcast. Everyone remember to take an early rest. I'll go down first. Take an early break. Lin Emil was also posting pop-ups. And look at the biggest gold digger of all. Who has sent word to take an early night. Everyone at this point. Naturally. That means there's nothing to say. The live feed on the cell phone screen then just came to a screeching halt. Lin Emil also. In this regard. Withdrew from the shark fight. Ended the broadcast. Looking at Chin Fair who was there. Lin Emil smiled. How's it feel to be number one? Without hesitation, Sheen Fair just nodded her head and said, Very good. In response, Lin Emo just laughed lightly for a while and said, Behave, and if you satisfy me, from now on, I'll make sure you're always number one. Lin Emo laughed lightly and said, A sentence fell. This Sheen Fair's eyes were filled with light. Spinning around, he nodded his head heavily and said, Aha, I'll do as I'm told. Watching the scene, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth rose, said, Okay, go take a shower. This Chin Fair blushed. Then, grabbing a change of pajamas, he just walked to the bathroom. As for Lin Ma, on the other hand, it didn't matter too much. At this time, he was clicking on the Trillion Subsidies app, started checking out his rewards. As the finger falls, the reward is instantly. Then it is a successful claim. Stage 2 reward. Claim successfully. Get, reward 1, 10% of the shares of Fighting Shark Network Technology Company reward 2. Triple the amount of consumption cashback card asterisk 1. Shares will be credited within 12 hours triple spending cashback card has been credited. As several prompts appeared in quick succession, Lin Mo's expression, on the contrary, had a few moments of dismay. This time, it actually gave two direct rewards? A stagger underneath. Lin Mo's expression, too, looked a little surprised. And, one of the rewards is actually 10% of the shares of the Fighting Shark Network Technology Company? To know, do shark live in the country? is considered to be one of the super big companies. The platform is valued. Moreover, at 2, 388 billion Mikan, 10% of the shares, that's 238 million Mikan, converted into Shenhua dollars, that's 1, 61 billion. Lin Emo swallowed his saliva, he hadn't even dreamed of it. This second stage of the reward, it would actually be straightforward. A gift of such magnitude, I didn't expect it to cost $700,000. In return, it was actually more than a billion dollars in share awards. The rewards of the second stage are already so terrifying. And what will be the reward for the third stage? For a moment, Lin Emo was a little curious at this point. Also, checking out, another reward. Triple spending amount cashback card, after using the card. You can get a cashback of triple spending amount once, with a maximum amount of one million dollars. Look at this cashback card. Lin Mo's demeanor, appeared to be a bit casual. If anything, not without that Fighting Sharks 10% share bonus up front. Maybe this card, for Lin Ma, might be okay. But the jewels are there. This spending cashback card, too, just seems to have fallen flat on its face. After all, spend a million dollars, and it's only three million dollars back. Menning two million dollars at best for myself. A mere two million. It's so fragrant. 
Regardless, netting $2 million still smells real good. And at this point, Sheen Fair also finished her shower, came out in this bathroom wearing loose white pajamas. There were still droplets of water dripping from the wet ends of his hair. Can I get you a drink? Sheen Fair opened her mouth daintily. Words were full of tension in between. Listen to this. Linemo just laughed lightly over it for a while. Spinning around, he opened his mouth. Just have some random ones. One hour later, the couch. Linemo sat there, holding the beer in front of him and drinking it. Sheen Fair was, at this moment, taking a shower in the middle of the bathroom. Meanwhile, looking around the small, dimly lit room, a frown was unavoidable. This room is just too small. Moving around, that's all but inconvenient. And at this point in time, in the middle of the bathroom, Sheen Fair also walked out. Just now, again, I was sweating profusely. Looking at Lin M.O. who was sitting there, this Sheen Fair's face, too, was unavoidably, scarlet for it. It was hard work just now. The corner of Lin Mo's mouth, with a playful smile, said, Hoof. This Chin Fei recalled everything that had just happened and hummed softly under her breath, then wrapped in a bath towel. He just trotted over to the bed and plopped right down. Blushing red, he said, You're getting people's pajamas shredded. To this, Lin Mo just laughed lightly, said, Sleeping? What pajamas? With that said, Lin Mo was also lying beside this Chin Fei, looking at the room. Dao, but this house of yours, it's really just a little too small. Listen to this. Chin Fair was also in a state of panic. Then, with eyes a little darker, he said, Actually, I rented this rental house. It was supposed to be because of the company I work for, which is in the neighborhood. Then after leaving, there was no option to change. It's just been, like, rented until now. Listening to the words of this Chin Fair, Lin Emil was a bit curious. Then, it was to ask, If that's the case, what made you think that you'd quit your job to become an anchor? At the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there were still a few doubts. After all, how much competitive pressure is there to be an anchor these days, since you have a stable job? So why, again, did you choose to quit your job to anchor? Listening to Lin Mo's words, Sheen Fair there, her face looked just a little bit bitter. After a sigh, shaking his head, he said, To be honest, it wasn't really that I quit my job to be an anchor, it was that I was fired. The words fell. Lin Mo did come to be a bit more interested. Fired? With Lin Mo's inquiry, Sheen Fair, who was there, sighed in return. Then, it was the experience of being fired that was told. In a nutshell, it's when Sheen Fair is working. It was discovered that the company's CFO was embezzling money, ready to report it to the company's old man. But it is crashed through the old director of his own company and the chief financial officer. Some unspeakable secrets between them. From there, it's just being fired. Results. The wages and N plus 1 compensation that the company should have paid have been in arrears, and, he or she has been shut down by the industry. There is no choice but to become an anchor to earn a living. But who would have thought that the anchor industry is no good? Unemployed for 2 months. If I hadn't signed myself up with the platform and had a guaranteed $600 paycheck, I'm afraid, I would have starved to death a long time ago. And even then, this Chin Fair, too, had previously planned to leave Mordor and return home. As a result, I didn't expect to run into Lin M.O. In your case, Lin Mo's expression was slightly helpless. That's really bad luck. Shaking his head, Lin M.O. was at a loss for words. Tell you what, tomorrow you'll move inside one of my empty houses. How hard it would be to live in a small place like this. Immediately, Lin M.O. also said, his own rental house in Grand Hyatt is now more than 90% rented out, but there are still a few sets. The larger area is not so good to rent, since it's not very rentable. So why not? Then, just give this Chin Fair a set to live in yourself. Whether it's time for a larger house with a larger area, it's easier to exercise at night and there are more scenarios. Or do you want the colors to fly in the future and everyone to live in harmony? It's all about needing a few extra houses. That's all it takes for a perfect time management. And Chin Fair was taken aback. Hurriedly, he just looked at Lin Mo with excitement and said, Really? Of course it's true. Lin Mo nodded with a smile. Listen to this. Chin Fair also gave Lin Mo a kiss on the cheek. Lin M.O., on the other hand, smiled gently. Thens, the two just continued the exchange. This is a night that will end with a high song. 12.30 the next morning, the two of them, Lin M.O. and Chin Fair, woke up. After all, Lin Mo's body had been strengthened by a body-strengthening potion. Physical qualities that had long since reached the peak of ordinary people, totally capable of tamping down their clear skies. And Chin Fair was different. It's completely mortal. Therefore, it is still in a state of exhaustion. Watch this scene. Lin Mo looked at Chin Fair and said, Why don't we move tomorrow? 
Listen to this. Sheen Fair instantly shook her head and said, It's okay. I can do it. That's fine. You get up first. Saying that, Lin Mo just dialed the phone number of his lover, Zhou Wan Kai. After explaining the situation to him, Lin Mo then shuffled around a bit. And then, the two of them just went out the door together. Get in the car. Lin Mo took out the Pagani's car key and pressed it. The headlights flashed on for a moment. Subsequently, the seagull gate rises automatically. Look at this cool silver gray supercar. Sheen Fair, who was here? Her eyes also lit up violently. That was followed by getting into the passenger side. Look at the leather interior and the circle of ambient lighting around it. The mind is full of excitement. With her palms touching the body of this car, Sheen Fair, at this time, could be said to be greatly satisfied. And after that, the word, wow, brother, this sports car of yours, it's not cheap, is it? Lin Ma lit the fire. Spinning around, that is, casually, it's not bad, it's just over 39 million, less than 40 million. A simple sentence, but it was straightforward, and it made this Chin Fair scared silly. 39 million, less than 40 million dollars. That said, it's almost like, this car isn't 39 million dollars. Instead, it's as random as 3,900 dollars. As for Chin Fair who was here, she was also looking a bit restrained at this time. Sitting in the car, not daring to move. Let's get some lunch first. It's 12.30 now. After we eat, I'll take you shopping for a set of clothes and then we'll move. Listen to this. Chin Fair nodded and said, Yes. Immediately, this Chin Fair also just rolled her eyes and said, He he, brother, why don't I do a live stream then? Lin Mo, who was listening to these words, pondered in his heart. Spinning around, that is to say, that's fine. Then when we get there later, you'll be on the air. Lin Ma looked at it last night too. If you want to get the stage 3 reward yourself, that's 8 million reputation points needed. 8 million prestige values. Owners are now 5 million dollars. Make another 3 million. For Lin Mo, then this was simply not a matter. Yes, the supercar went all the way. It didn't take long for the two of them to arrive at IPAM's underground parking lot as well, with the vehicle at a standstill. At this time, this Chin Fair also started a live broadcast. Last night's live broadcast made her fan following was breaking half a million. With the opening, then there were a few thousand fans, all of a sudden pouring into the live broadcast room. Sheen Fair had a smile on her face as she held the head, saying, Hello everyone ah, my live broadcast today is to bring you to the world. A sentence fell. Many of the water friends in the live broadcast room also started laughing and scolding one after another. Yeah, I haven't seen you overnight. The anchor has swelled up quite a bit. With the crouching dynasty big man at the back supporting him, the little anchor is directly inflated ha. Huh? That's right, how dare you even call us out for not having seen the world. Listen to this. Sheen Fair, who was there, was in a state of nonchalance, with a smile still on his face. He said, come on, wait till I show you guys, crouching dynasty big brother's sports car. After all was said and done, this Sheen Fair is also the one who rotated the head, aimed the camera of the head, at running the car there, with the sports car in the picture. Once again, the live broadcast room just exploded, inside the car. Lin Mo was oblivious to what was happening in the live broadcast room. At this point in time, he was following up on a phone call. Hello, hello, are you Mr. Lin Mo? On the other side of the phone, a middle-aged man's voice rang out. The voice on the other end of the phone seemed to be very cautious. Yes, I am. Who are you? For this unfamiliar caller, Lin Mo at this time, could be said to be very puzzled. Hello Mr. Lin, I'm the CEO of Fighting Shark Live, Chen Jie. Chen Jie listened to Lin Mo's words. At this point it appeared to be much more tense. After all, just a moment ago, he got the message out of the blue. It said that someone had acquired, from the market, 10% of the total equity of their fighting sharks, and raised his hand to become the majority shareholder of their fighting sharks live. To know, as the CEO and founder of Du Shark, among the fighting sharks, that is, it occupies 14, 8% of the equity. And now, it was a Lin Mo that had suddenly appeared. Without a word, they acquired 10% of their fighting sharks. In one fell swoop, it became the second largest natural person shareholder of fighting sharks. More so, the ability to question slash investigate slash prosecute slash liquidate slash dissolve a company. How's this for not being confused and careful? And after that, and urgently, a shareholders meeting was called. In the end, it was decided to give Lin Mo a call, probing Lin Mo's mouth, wanting to see what exactly he was planning to do. And Lin Mo listened to this the moment of the moment. It was also understood that this Chin Jie gave himself the meaning of this call. Immediately, that is, smiling, said, 
Ha ha, so it's Dong Chen, long time no see. I wonder if Dong Chen, who gave me this call today, has something to do? Despite stepping on this Chen Jie's coming, Lin Emil was still pretending to look puzzled. Mr. Lin, it's like this. Our company saw that you acquired 10% of our company's shares on the stock market. Does this matter ring a bell? 10% of the shares. Lin Emil feigned contemplation. And then, Dao. Oh, yes, there is indeed such a thing. What is the matter? Pretending to be contemplative. Lin Emil was here, asking very calmly. It's like this Mr. Lin, your acquisition of 10% of the shares is prepared. After the words fell, Lin Emil also laughed. Sure enough, immediately, it was there. Very casually, that he said. Hey, it's nothing, just a random acquisition of shares for fun. The other thing is, I have a woman that's live at your place, to avoid being bullied. I just bought some shares in passing and kept them on hand. Quiet, deadly silence. As the words fell after that, everyone who was there was dumbfounded by it. For a moment, I didn't know what to say. Lin M.O. On the other hand, said calmly, So, anything else? Nope, nope. Chen Jie swallowed his saliva and said, Okay then, I'll hang up now. Remember to put it on my card when you get your dividend. After all was said and done, the phone hung up. Inside the conference room of fighting sharks, a group of shareholders sat there, listening to the beeping sound that came from Chen Jie's cell phone. Everyone is, in a state of limbo. They just, what do you hear? Acquiring a 10% stake just for fun? It's the fear, that your woman, will be bullied while on air? This TM, it's too much bullshit. To know, that's 10% of fighting shark, shares worth $1, 61 billion, and the reason for acquiring so many shares turned out to be, this one, one time, all the shareholders, are at a loss as to what to say, inside the conference room, more so, a pin drop, until half a day later, Chen Jie, the chairman of the board, which broke the silence, that, everyone, I'm sure you heard what Mr. Lin said just now, I wonder if you all, have any thoughts on Mr. Lin's words, listening to Chen Jie's words, a minor shareholder there, at this time, it was also a bit unable to hold back, and said, that's a reason, TM is teasing, that's an outrageous reason for him, okay, and at this point, one of the shareholders sitting close to the front of the room, on the other hand, knocked on his desk and said, I think, I guess, that what this Mr. Lin said is not all true though, but the bit about his woman in his mouth is still worthy of our attention. We don't have any specific information about Mr. Lin at this time. That's why we have to, to find the woman he says is his. Then, for the other side, and enabling, to show our attitude towards Mr. Lin and to avoid making enemies with him, regardless of the identity of the other party. Someone who can acquire 10% of the shares in a quiet manner. This person, is by no means any ordinary person, and by no means an existence that we, can be at war with. After these words fell, inside the conference room, there was silence, and then, Chen Jie nodded his head and said, Old Zhang is right, we must, immediately, find out the identity of the other party. Alright, dismissed, other side, inside the live feed. At this point it can make a big wave of proclamation. I'm going? Awesome, this supercar is so damn handsome. There's something about this car. If you look at the license plate, it's a Pagani? This is supposed to be a Pagani windjammer, but I've seen a Pagani windjammer before. There's one in the Magic City's Zhao Village Duke. But how come I haven't seen this wind god of brother, Crouching Dynasty? Indeed, I just searched. Pagani's Windjammer. At the right grid at the back of the car. It's supposed to have a string of Huayra letters. But this car doesn't. Ha! Huh? It can't be an imitation. Can it? The words came out. Inside the live broadcast room. There was a moment of silence. And Qin Fair, who was there, looked at the words at that moment. He was also panicked. Then, too. There was a rush of words. Don't talk nonsense, okay? This sports car of Crouching Dynasty S Big Brother costs $39 million. How can it be an imitation? As these words of Qing Fairs fell, the crowd of waterbenders who were there were first quieted by it. And then, that's when it erupted, into a much more violent discussion. A Pagani windjammer for $39 million? No, Fei, you're definitely being tricked here. I just checked, and the price of the Pagani windjammer is at $25 million? And the most expensive is $29 million. A $39 million Pagani wind god? Fair. You're definitely being tricked by someone. A word fell. Sheen Fair froze. At this moment, the whole person was also confused for a while. For a moment, she didn't know what to do. Lin M.O. Is this Pagani wind god a fake? This. At this moment, Sheen Fair's mind was a mess. And. 
Just at this time of year, the parking lot was filled with the sound of yet another supercar. For that matter, and among the sports cars that came, leading the way, was a Pagani Windjammer. With this Pagani Windjammer, Jean Fayer also turned the camera, and took this Pagani Wind God, into the middle of the shot, with the vehicle in the frame. In this live broadcast, there was a burst of, for which there were exclamations of surprise. Another Pagani? The license plate number of this Pagani is the car of Mr. Zhao of Magic City. Mr. Zhao, is that the Zhao village? I didn't expect the anchor to actually be here and run into Zhao village. Wait, what Mr. Zhao drove today, was also a Pagani. Ha ha, now there's a show, real or fake Pagani. For a moment, inside the live room, there was a gasp of surprise, and at the moment, Jockens Pagani, at this point, is parked upside down, and behind Zhao village's vehicle, in turn, followed two supercars. At this point, there was also a flurry of stops, and then, the two of them, Zhao Village and Wu Yong, walked down in this car, and beside the two, there was still one, a youth wearing a large gold chain. After the three of them got off the bus, they were just talking and laughing, ready to walk towards the elevator room not far away. And at this point in time, here in Wu Yong, the gaze was sudden. It landed on the one Lin Ma had, the Pagani Imola. At that moment, this Wu Yong also just came to a few points of interest and said, Mora, look, there's a Pagani over there too hey. Hmm, listen to the words, Shashon, at this point in time, also saw, the Pagani parked there, the moment this Pagani body was seen, Zhao village's body, unable to help it, just started to tremble for it, this, this car, the next moment, Zhao village was just taking quick steps, approaching towards this side, looking at the scene, Wu Yong was a bit confused, as for many water friends in the live broadcast room, at this time, they are in succession, began to rise up for it, woohoo, interesting, ha ha, it seems that Mr. Zhao, this is the high fashion car that he noticed, TSK, 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 here comes the fun, I guess later on, the car is just going to be demolished, I did not expect ah, this list a big brother, obviously can brush a few hundred thousand a night, it turned out to be driving a car that was actually a high fashion fake, in an instant, within this live broadcast, a sigh rang out for it, as for Qin Fei'er who was there, she was a bit terrified at this time, not knowing what to say, one can only point the camera, at Kimura who was there, and Shoshon was coming to, the rear of Lin Ma's Pagani, the whole look of the person appeared to be somewhat agitated, palms gently, touching the tail of this Pagani, as well as the bodywork, breathing, it seemed heavy, and after looking around, it was when he noticed Qin Fei'er, excitedly, Miss, may I ask who owns this car, and could you introduce me? The moment those words fell, Sheen Fair, who was there, froze, the water friends in the live room, too, froze, this situation, seemingly, something is not quite right, this Shoshone, shouldn't he be acting angry right now, but now how, but a look of excitement, as if he had seen a rare car, this, everyone froze, after all, it's not like the promised script, and also at this time, Wu Yong there also came over and said, what's wrong with you, mister? Village, isn't this car similar to your Pagani Wind God? Why are you so excited? Listening to Wu Yan's words, Zhao Village was, at once, just thrilled. Then, loudly, he spoke. Don't compare my junker, to this godly car. That piece of crap Windsor of mine isn't even worthy of this car's shoes. A sentence fell. Everyone was confused at this point. Qin Fair and everyone in the live broadcast room were all a bit dumbfounded at this point. This, what's going on? You don't even deserve a shoe? This is a joke. Wu Yang was also confused at this point, looking at the parked Pagani, Dao, brother village, you, are you kidding me, do you think it looks like it, Shashon shook his head, then, pointing to the Pagani Windjammer Imola that was there, said, this car, it's the Pagani Windjammer Imola, in the world, there are only five of the top supercars, this is a car that belongs to the ultimate version of the Windjammer, when it was released in the EU, the price was 5 million euros, and this wind god of mine, which is the regular version, in front of this Imola, oh, that's a brother, a word fell, everyone on the scene, the flurry of them was just swallowing, there was also a rare empty screen in the live room, fully, after 4 or 5 seconds, that's what made the waves, on your knees, where's the person who said that this car was a high fashion imitation of the big guy before, why don't you hurry up and get out and give thanks, I review, I thank you, just now, it was me who said it was a high fashion model, I just did a thousand degrees and the Pagani Windjammer, indeed, has a newest model is called the Imola, this model, if you will, 
is a new model that came out in 20. The moment, the live feed was also in an uproar, and a few people who said earlier that Lean Ma's car was a high fashion imitation. By now, his face was on fire. As for Chin Fair who was there, at this moment, she was also completely dumbfounded. Looking at Imola's bodywork was a bit of a panic. As for Wu Yong on the side, the eyes also lit up. The mouth, at that moment, also murmured for a while. Boy, this car, is it actually an Imola? I didn't realize that this car was in the country and that someone had gotten their hands on it. I just don't know. This Imola, whose car it will be again. And after some words fell, in Zhou Village's heart, there was some anticipation at this time. And it's at this point in time. There the Gull Gate. On the other hand, rises slowly, as the Seagull Gate rose, Zhao Village and Wu Yong, both of them, now looked away at once, and under the watchful eyes of these two, Lin Mo's figure, too, got off in this car, the moment Lin Mo appeared, two people here, at once, it just froze, Zhao Shon's eyes widened, somewhat incredulously, he looked at Lin Mo who was there, in his mouth, at this time, he also exclaimed for it, Mo, hmm, Lin Mo froze, the whirlwind, that is, saw, there, Zhao Village and Wu Yong, and with the fall of Jokin's epithet, the water friends in the live room were, once again, viciously shocked, what the hell, Mr. Zhao actually called Big Brother Brother, that's a little scary, as I recall, Mr. Zhao belongs to the top tier rich second generation in Magic City, right, and if Big Brother can be made a brother by Zhao Gongzi, then his identity, in this moment, all the water friends at this time is also a burst of, the heart and mind for the shock, as for Qin Fei'er, she was also ruthlessly surprised at this time. At this time, Wu Yong, too, greeted him. He said, I didn't expect that this car would actually be Moza. I was wondering who would own one of these top-of-the-line luxury cars that are rare in the world. I didn't expect that it would actually be you again. M.O. Wu Yong was on the sidelines, smilingly. Then, glancing at Qin Fei'er who was there, he said, You're diligent enough to change it at this rate. M.O. Listen to this. Lin Emo just laughed. Then, looking at the two men here, said, What brings you here? Listen to this. The Zhao village who was there in a hurry, then just said, Oh yeah, well, we came here to do some shopping in the grocery store. If you're going to be there later, go inside the Magic City Raceway and take a couple laps. Speaking of which, Zhao village also glanced at the Pagani Wind God Imola that was parked there. The bottom of his eyes also held a few moments of envy, as well as a longing gaze, said, M.O., do you want to go for two laps together? Well, never mind. Things got a little hectic today. You guys have fun and we'll run together next time. Lin Mo thought about it. It was followed by a bout of head shaking. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Zhao Village also glanced at Qin Fei'er who was there. A look of I understand appeared on his face. Spinning around, he then said, All right, then I won't continue. I'll bother you here brother Mo. Have fun brother Mo. After saying this, these two, Zhao Village and Wu Yong, were the same two who brought another rich kid with them, leaving the parking lot, Lin M.O., on the other hand, smiled and looked towards Qin Fei'er who was there and had long been in a state of confusion, said, all right, let's go in, oh, um, smiled, Lin M.O. was the one holding this Qin Fei'er's hand, then, towards the mall, entering the mall, all kinds of big brands are appearing in this Qin Fei'er's eyes, for a while, it made this Qin Fei'er, feel a bit dazzled, Lin M.O., on the other hand, was here and said rather casually, let's go shopping for two outfits later, otherwise, just this set on you, I'm afraid that later, you won't even be able to get into the restaurant, as the words fell, Sheen Fair, who was there, appeared to be slightly embarrassed for a few moments, taking Sheen Fair with him, he casually strolled around this mall, Lin Mo's cell phone was also suddenly ringing at this moment, took out his cell phone and looked at it, it was Sun Fu who called himself, I'm going to take a call while you go inside Hermes, if you see anything you like, just take it, and I'll check out later. After speaking to Qin Fei'er, Lin Nemo just took the cell phone, walked to the side of the fire escape, and picked up the phone, and after those words fell, inside the live broadcast room, many water users were also sending out pop-ups. I'll go, that's such a bossy thing to say. Take whatever you fancy straight away and come and check out later. Is this really going to be Hermes shopping? Sure it's not Hermes? With that statement, Hermes feels to me like a $20 address roadside stand. However, it seems that the other lying dynasty big brother really has the qualification to say this slash laugh and cry. It was supposed to be a hot live room. At this point, it's more pop-ups all over the place. As for Qin Fei'er at this time, she was also walking towards the Hermes store. As for this moment, a new clerk in front of Hermes 
looking at Chin Fair, who was holding a head in her hand and wearing a set of affordable clothes. Immediately, that's when it was stopped. Then there was a serious look that said, I'm sorry ma'am, inside our Hermes store, live streaming is not allowed, please also put away your cell phone. This, at this moment, Chin Fair looked embarrassed. For a moment, it was not clear what to do. At the same time, she was glancing at the live feed on her phone. At this point in the broadcast, the heat is already at 2 million. This kind of high heat, you have to turn off the live feed and go back in yourself? Then one really is a fool. Woohoo! Straight up rollover. Ha ha, the anchor store intercepted it. But honestly, this is normal. After all, Hermes is one of the top luxury stores, and it's understandable that live streaming is not allowed. Now, I wonder what the anchor is going to do with this one. This moment was also filled with a fastidious atmosphere in the live room, and Chin Fei'er mentally hesitated. Afterwards, it was still ready to wait until Lin Mo had finished his call. Other side. At this moment, Lin Mo picked up Sun Fu's phone. Butler Sun, what can I do for you? Lin Mo smiled. Mr. Lin, it's like this. The housekeeper and nanny you entrusted to our lady, to help you find. On our side, we are already looking for you. The other party's specific information was also sent to you via WeChat from my side. Listen to this. Lin Mo's face, too, showed a few moments of joy. And after that, it was just a rush of words. Ha ha, so it's this matter. Butler son, thank you so much for this. You also say thank you to Nani. For me, listening to Lin Mo's words, Sun Fu, who was there, just laughed lightly and said, You're welcome, Mr. Lin. It's just our honor to help Mr. Lin. Hey. That's saying something. Then I won't continue on my end and bother you. Mr. Lin. Okay. Bye. After saying this, Lin Mo just hung up his cell phone as well. And then, opened his WeChat. At this time, among the Microsoft, what Sun Fu heckled, was sending himself five documents. After receiving it, what followed was Lin Mo opening it up. Inside the resume, it was a 30-year-old woman. Lin Mo briefly looked at the resume. The woman's name is Hope Wong and she has always worked as a housekeeper, for education, it's also a bachelor's degree, when I was in college, I read management, this butler is, basically, there to take care of the management and assign the nannies below, as well as going to help with some of Lin Ma's interpersonal things, after reading it, Lin Mo then nodded his head in satisfaction, and a couple other resumes, instead, there are three nannies and a florist, after all, the villa that he owns is with more than 700 square feet, and it comes with a front and backyard, it definitely needs a florist. The three ants, on the other hand, are there because the daily is so much needed. Otherwise, it's simply too busy. Nice. Looked at the resumes. Lin Mo nodded in satisfaction. Subsequently, that is, according to the contact information given by, Sun Fu, contacted the guys. Tell them to come to work tomorrow and sign the contract. Subsequently, that is, towards the Hermes store. When came to the front of the store, Lin Mo was also puzzled and looked at Chin Fair, who was standing outside the door, and said, Why are you out here and not going in? As Lin Mo's voice fell, There it is, Chin Fair, looking at Lin Mo who was walking towards him, his expression looked a little awkward, said, I, I was stopped by people, people stores, no one is allowed to go in with a cell phone and live stream. Listening to Chin Fair's words, Lin Mo, for a moment, was a bit teary eyed, he didn't really think about it. This Chin Fair, would actually be stopped by the store because of such a trivial matter. The first thing that happened was a helpless shake of the head. Spinning around, he opened his mouth and spoke. Tell you what, just follow me and I'll lead you in. After all was said and done, Lin Mo held Chin Fair's hand and just walked towards the Hermes store. And where's the clerk? Looking at Lin Mo, who was walking over, he immediately frowned and then opened his mouth. Why are you here again? Didn't I tell you? Our store. This time, however, before he could finish his sentence, a passing tall dressed female store manager also noticed Lin Mo, as well as holding and holding Chin Fair's hand. Immediately, the face just changed. In a hurry, he came over in three or two steps. One pulled the clerk behind him. A smile came to his face and he bowed. Mr. Lin, are you bringing your friend over to buy clothes? Lin Mo nodded. Well, you guys are in charge of making her. Beautiful. As the words fell after that, the female store manager who was there, immediately was, in a hurry. Ha ha, good, don't worry, Mr. Lin, we promise to make your friend, beautifully dressed. After saying this, this female store manager was the one who looked at Chin Fair next to her. In the bottom of his eyes, there were a few glances of envy, and then it was with all due respect, opening his mouth. This lady, 
Just now, when our interns were abrupt with you, please bear with me, after all was said and done, it was to the clerk behind her, who had long been a bit confused, that she looked, hurry up and apologize to the lady, listen to this, this clerk had a jolt, hastily, that is, to Chin Fair, he bowed and apologized, I'm really sorry, I'm sorry for the many offenses just now, looking at the scene, Chin Fair was a bit confused, for a moment, it was hard to know what to say, and seeing both Chin Fair and Lin Mo, neither of them said anything at this time, the female store manager there, at this time, also clenched her teeth and said, Mr. Lin, this lady, to show our apologies, I'll give you both 20% discount on your purchases in this store today, plus, I'm taking it upon myself to give away a new to the store satchel to the lady, a word fell, Lin Mo was also a bit surprised, he hadn't expected that this female store manager, would actually make this kind of decision, as for Chin Fair, her small mouth was slightly open, her mind stunned, that attitude change, it's like a 180, and it's all because, Lin Mo's appearance, at this moment, Chin Fair's heart set off a wave of shock, at this moment, Lin Mo who was there then looked at Chin Fair and said, what do you think, ha, huh? Chin Fair froze, then, with a quick nod of his head, he said, can, can, listen to the words, Lin Mo also looked at the female store manager and said, well, that's that then, looking at Lin Mo agreed, the female store manager here, at this point, was also finally, relieved, then, it was with a smile that he looked at Chin Fair and said, this way, then, ma'am, after all was said and done, the two of them, Lin Mo and Chin Fair, then just entered the store, inside the live feed, the waterbenders who witnessed this were dumbfounded at this point, this, bull, my people are already stupid, I've thrown up, the anchor tried to go in earlier and was stopped, as a result, when the lying dynasty big brother came, this immediately piled up a smiling face, and then obediently get out of the way, and by the way, a 20% discount on a new bag, spit it out and spit it out, is this the power of the god ho, is this really a case of having money and being able to do whatever you want, in this moment of time, the water boys were all completely brought to their knees, so to speak, Lin M.O., on the other hand, smiled and glanced at Chin Fair and said, just take whatever you see, and I'll help you live, after saying that, Lin Mo was the one who took over the head, then wandering around the store, and even if he was just wandering around, there was still a sales that followed Lin Mo around, turning to Lin Mo, he kept explaining the designs of the clothes in this store, along with the explanation, a lot of the female watermen are a bit of a heartbreaker at this point, but after looking at the prices, they all hit the goodbye button on the public screen in droves, on the other side, doorway, the female store manager was always relieved, the clerk who was there, at this point, was extraordinarily perplexed and puzzled, looking at the female store manager who was on the sidelines, she just asked, store manager, according to the rules, isn't it not allowed in our store, for someone to go in and broadcast live inside, listen to the words, this female store manager's face was complicated, then, shaking his head, he said, you're right, it is indeed not allowed if you follow the rules, but rules are made by people, so surely they need to be flexible, that Mr. Lin just now, do you know what he is, the clerk shook his head and said, I don't know, our store, this I am building we're in now, is owned by that Mr. Lin just now, a simple sentence, straight away, it just made this clerk giggle, I up my whole building, surprisingly, that Mr. Lin's just now, Ming, the other guy looks so young, and, it was about the same age as him, but to actually be the owner of this 10 billion dollars I am building, this, the clerk had mixed feelings, at the same time, the heart was afraid for the aftermath, if only he hadn't been stopped by the store manager earlier, wouldn't he, then, have already offended such a great Buddha, then at that time, even if the other party didn't take this matter, to the heart, he himself is from now on, don't want to continue to mix in the magic city, as for being on the other side, at this moment, Lin Mo returned to Chin Fair's side, and at this point, Chin Fair, who was also just in time, stepped out of the fitting room on the side, at this moment, on his body, was wearing a beige dress, tall figure, after wearing this dress, this Chin Fair's temperament, all of a sudden, was just highlighted, nice, under Lin Mo's eyes, a hint of amazement swept through, no wonder, people say that if you look beautiful, you look good in anything, now it really seems to be the case, besides, Chin Fair had a great body, now so look, this Chin Fair, completely is walking clothes rack, inside the live feed, many people were all, at this time, sucking in cold air, this outfit, it fits face so well, doesn't it, 
It's beautiful. For a while, there were countless pop-ups for it. The female store manager, who was on the sidelines, also spoke up at this time. This dress, it really suits the young lady perfectly. This dress is a seasonal favorite at Hermes. At the moment, if you look at it, the asking price is $23,000. After a sentence fell, pop-ups in cell phones. In an instant, at this point, it was just quiet. A few breaths later, a series of pop-ups, of the moment, appeared on the screen. I go, a dress for $23,000? This, price is a bit scary. $23,000 for a dress is worth 5 months of my salary. On your knees, and Chin Fair, who was there, was now also directly dumbfounded. After hesitating, said, or, let's just forget about it. Listen to this. Lin Emo smiled. Then, snapping his fingers, he looked to the store manager who was there and said, wrap it up. A sentence fell. The store manager hastily just nodded his head and said, okay, Mr. Lin, and there was Chin Fair. At this point it was looking, with a few moments of nervousness, and said, this, Lin Emo smiled and said, it's only $20,000, it's not worth much, a simple sentence, but it was straightforward, for the crowd in the middle of the broadcast, all choking at this point, totally, don't know how to give it a go, but a $20,000 dress, does that speak like a human being, okay, let's look at the rest, subsequently, the two of them then just continued, looking around the store, started picking away, and it didn't take long, Lin Emo just helped Chin Fair, pick out a few other pieces of clothing jewelry, it didn't take long, that's all in all, to buy three dresses, two pairs of heels, and three silk scarves, plus some accessories, Mr. Lin, the total is $183,000, Lin Emo listened to the amount, as for the specific list, it is not even a glance, solely, straight away, he pulled out his cell phone, and then of that is using up the triple spend cashback card, after doing this, that's what started the payment, Chin Fair, on the other hand, was holding the list and looking at it, the water friends in the live room were also shown a detailed list, I'll go, those high heels, they actually cost $38,000, that bustle in the back, it's actually $19,000, hiss, a silk scarf just costs $5,000, wait a minute, the bracelet that was bought in the back, it wasn't cheap, a bracelet cost $33,000, this is really, burning money, for a moment, all the watermen were appalled by it, and what's more, a straightforward screenshot of the list was taken and shared, and with the screenshots of the list sent out, the heat in the live broadcast room was also a burst of crazy soaring. It didn't take long to break through 4 million. At this moment, Sheen Fair froze, the whole thing froze in a trance. Once geometry, she was also the one who used to fantasize about coming inside a store like this to buy clothes and jewelry after making money. However, even fantasy, she is also limited to just, well, buying tens of thousands of dollars worth of stuff. As for this kind of throwaway money and buy more than 100, 000 dollars of luxury goods in one day in one breath. Instead, she couldn't even think about it. However, now, it's the real thing that's happening. What's wrong? Glancing at Chin Fair, Lin Mo looked puzzled. This, is it too much to buy? Chin Fair said with a nervous expression. Much, it's okay, if I don't dress you up. I'm afraid that if you stay, you won't even be able to get into the dining room where you eat. As the words fell after that. Sheen Fair, who was there, looked embarrassed. Inside the live room, a number of waterbenders. At this point it was a burst of laughter. Ha ha, I'm afraid I won't be able to get into the restaurant where we'll eat later. That's so true, ha ha ha. As for Lin Mo at this time, looking at these things in front of him, then, he pondered slightly. Your own triple spend cashback card, which is currently still open. Currently one is spending $180,000. As for myself, I still have $820. 000, 000 left in cashback. This card is valid for what? 24 hours? Watch the countdown on your cell phone. In the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, he also began to think, how in the world is one supposed to spend the remaining 820? 000 dollars? Never mind. Let's eat first, and afterward, we'll think about all this. Shaking his head, Lin Mo put his cell phone away. Immediately, he then just turned to Chin Fair and said, let's go to lunch. Aha, uh -huh, said the the two were the ones who took the shopping bags in their hands and returned them to the car afterward. Then, the walking ones went outside the mall, and under Lin Mo's leadership, came to the back of this Iatin building, in a restaurant called Latelier. Looking at this restaurant, Lin Mo also spoke calmly. This restaurant, it's a two-star Michelin restaurant. The main focus inside, is creative French food. Listen to the words. Inside the live room, 
many people came to have a few moments of interest. After all, two Michelin stars, it is still very attractive to many people. And at this point, the two also walked into the restaurant. The red color scheme of the dining room is very visually appealing. Welcome to Latelier, do you two have a reservation? No. Lin Imo shook his head and said, Okay, then both of you please choose your seats for dining. The waiter who was there, handed over a tablet. Above that is a diagram of the seating layout of the restaurant, as well as the price of the marked meal. With this flatbed in the picture, inside the live feed, you want more money for the dining room? People are stupid. The price of a table in the lobby, it actually costs 1, 888 a head? This is outrageous. This, and there's a bar, and the bar seats, they need to be reserved and are 5888 a person? The moment. A lot of water boys have just been straight up dumbfounded. Lin M.O. On the other hand, didn't care about this. Just casually, he chose a seat against the inside of the restaurant. Then, led by the waiter, he came to sit behind the dining table. Then he flipped it open and set the flip menu on the table. And with this menu turned over, Sheen Fair looked at the price on it. And then, with a burst of shock, it's not just her. Everyone in the live room, too, saw what was on it. This menu, it's not mislabeled up there, is it? A salad 998? Is this watermelon juice spiked with gold? It actually costs 298? I'm humanly stupid. A gumbo 648 for that price. Hiss, the steak actually costs 2800? The moment. Everyone was just completely dumbfounded at this moment. After all, at these prices, I'm afraid that even if the Michelin chef made it himself, it would still be a bit too expensive, right? Soon, Lin Imo and the two of them just started ordering. And with Lin Imo under a series of orders, Chin Fair was getting more and more alarmed. Two pastas, bread, two steaks, gumbo, and two drinks. The stuff isn't much though, but just a little something. The total consumption, surprisingly, is just up to 12, 000, plus a 10% service charge. In other words, this was a meal alone that ate up $13, 200, and that's without ordering a drink. If you order a wine pairing, I'm just afraid the price of the meal is going to be tens of thousands of dollars higher. And this, however, it is also a lot of water friends in the live broadcast room. Watching is for the staggering, soon, and the meal just started to come on. Chin Fair also didn't continue the live broadcast. For the time being, the choice was made to go off air. With the aftermath of the off air broadcast, Chin Fair was also relieved. Afterwards, the whole person also just patted his chest and said, Take a break. Being in front of the camera on my end all morning is really wearing me out. To this, Lin Imo also just smiled, just opened his phone app and checked the prestige punch list. Look at the numbers on this prestige punch list. Under Lin Mo's eyes, there were also a few moments of astonishment. This has been on for less than an hour alone. His own reputation value was actually raised by more than a million. Eight million from the third stage of the reward. Instead, there's still less than two million left to go. Then it seems that an afternoon today should be all it takes to obtain. This third stage of rewards. The heart murmurs. Chao Ching Shen, who was here, also had a few flashes of light in the bottom of his eyes. And there was Qin Fair. At this point, on the other hand, they are ready to eat. The whole thing was in a good mood. And it looked great. Too. Watching the scene, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth, in turn, rose slightly. Soon, however, the good mood of the two was gone. Right at this point in time. A rather shrill voice. Behind them, it slammed. Yo, isn't this manager Chin? It seems that Mordor is really small enough. Lin Mo frowned as he looked. A tall woman wearing a white dress and a LV bag was seen standing at the back of the room. The woman's arm, on the other hand, was holding a fat man in his fifties who was slightly overweight. Chin Fair looked at the visitor in front of her, and her face was not very pretty. Ginger One, this Jiang One, then, is the financial director of his former company, and this CFO embezzlement notwithstanding, and also with the company's old director, has an incestuous relationship. After the company fired itself, it even went so far as to shut itself down. In the industry, thinking of this, Chin Fair just became more and more irritated. As for being around this Jiang Wan, the old man in his fifties, as it were, was the former chairman of the company, the old director of the wood source group, Jiang Hai. This Jiang Wan swept a glance at Lin Mo. Then, it was with a cold smile, that he said, he he, it seems that manager Qin, this is the second generation that has fallen for the second generation. Even the clothes have been changed into the latest Hermes models. Listen to this. Qin Fair, who was there, immediately laughed scornfully and said, I'm not like some people who won't go around some old man, and after evening out, it's still about embezzlement. A sentence fell. 
Jiang Wan, here, was instantly anxious, looking angrily at Qin Fei who was there. You, and next to Jiang Hai. At this time, he also said coldly, Ms. Qin, I advise you to pay attention when you speak. Everything you yourself say right now, that's all about evidence. We, Mu Yuan group, are a big group anyhow. You'll be held responsible if you make empty promises and talk nonsense here. Honestly, at this time, Jiang Hai's heart was also a bit flustered. The hand holding Jiang Wen next to her was also quietly drawn out. No way. The relationship between himself and Jiang Wen was, after all, unseen. And that relationship, once it's been brought out into the open, that tigress in her own house, one thought, he just couldn't stop it, and winced, but verbal, still there with the threat. Miss Qin, if you ever dare to make such empty promises and talk nonsense again, then we, the Wood Source Group, have no choice but to, well, send out our legal department. Bottom line, at that moment, Qin Fair was just clenching her teeth for a while, and Lin Mo stood up at that moment. Afterwards, he walked up to this Jiang Hai, said, Jiang Hai, right, I think that we need to go aside and have a chat. This Jiang Hai listened to this, he just froze, and then just as he was about to say something, Lin Mo, however, had already held his hand. Then, a huge force came, the whole thing was straightforward, just yanked and dragged from its place the immense power coming from his wrist. It pinched him even more, grimacing in pain. And the two there, Qin Fei and Jiang Mao, there is not much attention paid to these subtleties. In their eyes, it was this Jiang Hai and Lin Mo, leaving together. And Ginger and snorted at that moment, saying, Oh, it seems that the person you've fallen for isn't very good either. After meeting Chairman Jiang, don't you still have to be honest? Qin Fei didn't say anything, just a slight frown. She always felt that there was. Well, Something weird about this, but for a moment, it was impossible to say what was so strange about it. And at this point in time, Lin Mo was already dragging this Jiang Hai into the middle of the bathroom. Throw it out randomly. Jiang Hai's entire person, all of a sudden, just crashed into the wall. As for Lin Mo, he backhanded, closing the door of this bathroom. And, by the way, also locked the bathroom door. Jiang Hai who was left inside the bathroom. At this point there was also panic but then just regained his composure. Threateningly, kid, I'm warning you, this is a society of law and order now. You definitely won't be able to run away if you mess up. And do you know who I am? I'm Jiang, of the Wood Source Group. Before this Jiang Hai could finish his sentence, Lin Mo just slammed his fist on this Jiang Hai's stomach. At once, this Jiang Hai was in pain, trying to scream out. He was covered by Lin Mo. Fundamental, unable to vocalize. What a lot of crap. Letting go. He casually dropped it in the corner. Lin Mo pulled out his cell phone, tapped on the app and took out the have a say spray. Try it. Raised an eyebrow. After shaking the can, Lin Mo just sprayed it directly at this river and sea. And after spraying, the bottles and cans simply disappear. As for this Jiang Hai, his eyes were gradually losing focus. Sitting there, looking at Lin Mo as if he were a puppet. Lin Mo, on the other hand, tapped the camera on his cell phone and recorded a video. Simultaneous. Da. Next, I ask, you answer. Five minutes later, Lin Mo's face was odd as he looked at Jiang Hai in front of him. Have to say, this Jiang Hai is really fucking talented. He doesn't just have this ginger end as a lover. There are actually three more out there. And here's the kicker, this grated ginger. Pregnant. Now, it's been a couple months. Jiang Hai is already 55 years old this year. He was childless. The reason, on the other hand, is that the wife of the family is not giving birth. And after learning that Ginger End is pregnant, he was also trying to get her to help him give birth to the child. So he had been giving her what she wanted. Even if you know, this Ginger End secretly misappropriated the company's public funds. Only did not bother Ginger End what? And again, he was aware of it. You can't let your wife know about this. His company, after all, is as big as it is today. Behind the scenes is the support of the wife's family. Herself. If this gets out to his own wife, Jiang Hai dared to guarantee it. In time. It's not just his own company that's gone. Fear only yourself. That's also going to be the end of the line. Oh, Boss Jiang, it's still really powerful. I have to clap my hands at this red flag in the house and colorful flag flying outside. Listen to this. There was a talk of a spray effect that faded. And Jiang Hai, who was there, reacted. Yourself just now. What was all said? All at once, Jiang Hai's pupils dilated. On his face, he was filled with despair. Cold sweat, like a tidal wave continuously flowed out behind his back. Then, this Jiang Hai bitterly looked towards Lin Mo who was there and said, You, are you a human or a demon? 
Lin Mo didn't answer, just scared twice, playing with the phone in his hand, and said, Boss Jiang, I think, you don't want it either, this video I have in my hands, it got into your wife's hands, didn't it? A sentence fell, Zhang Hai, who was there, stared at Lin Mo and said in a deep voice, what do you want, money, or something else? This video, under no circumstances, should get into the hands of his own wife, and Lin Mo just laughed, shook his head, and said, money, do I look, to you, like I'm short of money? The corners of Lin Mo's mouth rose slightly, with a few, playful smiles, a sentence fell, this Jiang Hai's face was even more unsightly, my request is very simple, from now on, I don't want to, again, continue to see Ginger end in Magic City, that's it, it's that simple, after Lin Mo finished saying this, the eyes, too, narrowed slightly, then casually, he just gripped the faucet and twisted it hard, click, this faucet was screwed right off, water spurts out, Lin Mo, on the other hand, threw the faucet in his hand, which was already being held into a ball, onto the ground, saying, a word to the wise, don't think of anything wrong, or else you'll suffer the consequences, after saying that, Lin Mo shut the valve on the side and just turned around and left, and Zhang Hai who was there, his pants were already soaked at this point, looking at the one in front of him, it was already a screwed up balled up faucet, and his body couldn't stop trembling, afterwards, he looked at Lin Mo's back, in the bottom of his eyes, he was filled with awe, inside the restaurant, Zhang Mo sat down and looked at Qin Fei proudly, in his mouth, he was constantly sneering, and the face, at this point, was filled with a look of, well, complacency, for her part, Qin Fei remained silent and restrained, the words of this ginger end fell on deaf ears, and at this point, Lin Mo then returned to the dining table, look at this ginger end, sitting in his seat, and his brow was furrowed in disbelief, subsequently, Dao, get out of the way, listen to this, ginger end, on the other hand, was unimpressed, looking at Lin Mo, he just said, yo, you're back, still tugging at this place, I tell you too, if you two make me happy today, when our chairman Jiang comes back later, maybe I can get him to let you off the hook, otherwise, later on, ha, huh, there's absolutely no good fruit for you guys, Ginger N had a haughty look on his face, Lin Mo's eyes, on the other hand, narrowed slightly, and just as he was about to say something, this Ginger N's eyes, however, brightened violently, afterward, in three or two steps, he was walking to Jiang Hai's side, he said, Jiang Dong, why did you just come back, and got covered in water, she didn't notice, at this moment, Zhang Hai, with his head lowered, had a strong look of fear under his eyes, just continued to wax eloquent there, Zhang Dong you don't worry, this little bitch over here, I am already taken care of, I, before she could say anything further, pow, a crisp sound rang out, Zhang Hai fiercely, is a slap thrown out, the scene, directly, Qin Fei who was there was taken aback, the whole thing was already dumbfounded, Ginger N's face, at this point, was high and swollen, teeth, all of them, were thrown off a few, the whole person, at this time, had a dumbfounded look, and did not dare to speak there, you shut up, Zhang Hai let out a roar, the heart was already cursing, it's all about this woman, all day long, flailing around, there you go, offended the wrong person and still here all unaware of it, even more nearly, letting himself be destroyed, and now, even if you didn't destroy it yourself, a handle that big is in someone else's hands, to own it completely, is to be subject to it, the moment, Zhang Hai's heart was incomparably indignant, but when you think about it, the other person is still pregnant, and there's just nothing you can do about it, and at this point, this Zhang Hai, on the other hand, took a quick step and came to Lin Mo and Xin Fair, saying, Ms. Xin, I was wrong about what happened before, I hereby apologize to you, I also hope you will be magnanimous, as for the compensation owed to you before, my side will also call you as soon as possible. A word fell. This Qin Fei was dumbfounded. This, what's the situation? This Jiang Hai, how come all of a sudden, there was this degree of attitude change? And, in front of yourself, apologizing to yourself? This Jiang Hai he knew well, himself in that period of time in the wood source group. It has always been the others who have begged him. Has he ever been seen to stoop so low to the level of a man? And, this Jiang Hai's character suddenly changed. Looks like, it was after leaving with Lin Ma that it happened. So what happened during the time away? Qin Fei was a bit puzzled. Afterwards, it was to look at, there, Lin Mo, but only to see, at this moment, Lin Mo, was there casually cutting the steak? As if all this, and he has absolutely nothing to do with seemingly, 
seemingly cloudy and light, and hear the voices here. The store manager who is on his way, looking at this scene, he was also dumbfounded at this point. He does know Jiang Hai, knowing the other party's identity, he was the boss of the top group in Magic City. It was a character who belonged to the category that, when he stomped his foot, the Magic City business community would tremble three times. And now, this kind of character actually to these two youths, so lowly, this, for a moment, this store manager, was completely confused. It was more than a little skeptical. The moment, the store manager stood silent, but, his gaze as he looked at Lin Mo was a flickering one. I don't know, thinking about something here. And then, it was to beckon a waiter to the side. After a few instructions, this waiter just left in a hurry, before the dinner table. Jiang Hai, on the other hand, was vicious, glared at Ginger End, who was on the sidelines. Then, the mouth just roared. Asshole, why don't you hurry over and apologize to Miss Chin? At this point, Ginger End was already dumbfounded. Being yelled at like that, the body shuddered a few times. Then, walked up to this Chin Fair, biting her lower lip still. M.S. Chin, I'm sorry, but please forgive me. To this, Chin Fair just shook her head and said, I have, right now, only one request. I don't want to see you again, in my life. After these words fell, Jiang Hai, who was there, instantly swore, you can rest assured on that point, M.S. Chin, I'll arrange a plane tonight and send her away. The words came out. Here Ginger N's face was pale. In a hurry, it was a poof of paralysis. The look, the loss of soul, the meaning of this statement is already obvious. Himself, in the second half of his life, he may never be able to return to Xinhua. Yourself, done. And then, she was the one who grabbed this Jiang Hai's pants leg and said in a hurry. No, Jiang Hai, you can't do this, I have, in my stomach. Before she could finish her sentence, Jiang Hai, who was there, changed his face, you shut the fuck up, you bitch. At this moment, Jiang Hai couldn't wait to strangle this ginger end. One was absolutely blind in the first place, only then would they look at a, make it or break it asshole like her. Doesn't she have any idea what's going on right now? And you're going to use the baby in your belly, to threaten yourself? And think of this, he just straightened up and drew his leg out hard. At the same time, he roared angrily at this ginger end. After shutting it up, it was just careful, looking at Lin Mo who was there, apprehensively, he said, Mr. Lin, do you think it's okay if I handle it this way? Lin Mo nodded and said, not bad, Jiang Dong is a character, even he, too, hadn't been able to think that this Jiang Hai, would actually make it to this point, he himself was originally just thinking of letting Jiang Mu leave the magic city, as a result, I didn't expect this Jiang Hai, it was actually prepared, to send it straight to the EU, and there's Jiang Hai, it was a relief to see that, immediately, that is, he rushed out of here, and before he left, he said something to the store manager, who was there, that's what makes the store manager, at this point, it was a few moments more surprised, as for Lin Mo, the bottom of his eyes also became more and more solemn, with the departure of Jiang Hai, inside the restaurant, once again, there was silence, and Lin Mo obviously, was somewhat aware that there was something wrong with the atmosphere around him, at this hour, the restaurant is not crowded though, but there are still a few customers, plus everything that had just happened, the commotion that had been caused, again, was so great, naturally, it will raise quite a few eyebrows, at this moment, these people were looking at Lin Mo with curiosity in their eyes, they are nonetheless at this point, curiosity arose about Lin Mo's identity, after all, chairman of the wood source group, this identity still had a few points of weight in Magic City, and the mediocre teenager in front of him. I can actually get the other guy, to bow and apologize to himself. How, can this not make the crowd here, curiosity about who the other person is? As for Chin Fair who was across from Lin Mo, at this moment, he was looking at, in a daze, Lin Mo who was here, out of the corner of his mouth, he couldn't help but ask, Mr. Lin, what exactly happened between you and Jiang Hai? Listen to this. Lin Mo just smiled and said, nothing, just a friendly exchange with him, in the bathroom, the other side also just decided to change their ways and apologize to us, for Lin Mo's words, Xin Fei are naturally wouldn't believe it, after all, after a few words, the other person changed their ways and decided to apologize, I'm afraid a three year old wouldn't believe it if I said it, the two were in the bathroom and something definitely happened, and, Lin Mo had definitely grabbed the other party's handle and made the person throw in the towel, forget it, Chin Fair bristled, then it was on with the steak, and after less than a minute, this Chin Fair's cell phone, however, suddenly rang a beep, somewhat puzzled, 
he picked up his cell phone. Upon seeing the message above instantly, this Chin Fei'er, her mouth grew in disbelief. The look, moreover, seemed to be in a trance for a few moments. What's wrong? Jiang, Jiang Hai He, transferred three million dollars to me. To this, Lin Imo raised an eyebrow. The next moment, it was also figured out. This Jiang Hai at this time, was truly afraid of himself. That's three million. It's just something you do to please yourself. Immediately, that is, he smiled and said, it seems that this Jiang Hai is still quite fast, and Qin Fei'er was unaware of this, just a little hesitant, Dao, but I was just fired from the company, isn't this transfer of 3 million dollars too much, it's only 3 million, it's not that big of a number, since Jiang Hai transferred it to you, just take it, if you don't take it, this Jiang Hai will still continue to harass you in the back, Lin Mo said calmly, after all, he was very aware of it, this money today, Jiang Hai seems to be transferred to Qin Fei'er, but the real target is himself. If Qin Fei'er doesn't take it, then Jiang Hai would definitely be worried if he didn't let her take it. After that, it's only going to be endless. It's kind of normal. After all, a handle as big as Jiang Hai's was held in his own hands. It's natural to panic. This, in response, Qin Fei'er was a bit hesitant, but the next moments, still nodding, said, okay then. And at this point, the store manager, at this point, was also coming around again. Behind him followed a young waiter. The waiter was carrying a silver tray covered with a red cloth. Mr. Lin, I'm disturbing your meal. The store manager bowed slightly to Lin M.O. The tone seemed respectful. Lin M.O. put down the knife and fork in his hand. Then, rather curiously, he looked at the store manager. And this store manager clapped his hands. And the young waiter who was there, handed over the tray. Uncover the red cloth. It's on this tray. Herculean. It's a wooden wine box. As well, a black card. Watch this scene. Lin Mo also froze in disbelief. And then, that is, he opened his mouth and asked, It is? Listening to Lin Mo's words, the store manager, who was there, was smiling at this time, and said, Mr. Lin, this card is the store's black card. You hold this card in any latelier in the world. You can permanently 20% off. Reservation-free service treatment of the highest level. The store manager held up this black card. Then, respectfully, he just handed it to Lin Mo. Lin Mo nodded. Immediately, he just picked up the card. Thanks a lot. And quite a few other customers on the side. At this time, all the cold air was sucked backward in the mouth. Hiss. Looking at the black card that was handed out by the store manager. The crowd was in shock. L-A-T-L-I-E-R's black card. This, the Latelier restaurant, is the highest level of membership card. Globally, the number of customers who have this card can be said to be no more than a hundred. And now, this mediocre looking youth actually received one. How's this? Can they not be shocked? As for the waiter on the sidelines. At this point, the wooden wine box was picked up. Immediately, it was sliding the lid of the box open. And the manager of the store removed. Lying in it, the bottle of wine. It's a solid black bottle. On it, there are no labels. And no other decorations. It's just simple and very plain. And the moment the bottle was removed. A number of people who were here were also attracted to the black bottle and there were a few of them, the moment they saw the bottle, at the bottom of his eyes, he also swept over a not so small amount of surprise, what kind of wine is this, black bottle of wine, don't recognize it, a few tables of customers not far away, looked at the black bottle of wine with suspicion in their eyes, and at this point in time, the store manager also spoke up, Mr. Lin, this bottle of wine was given to you by Mr. Jiang, allow me to introduce you to this bottle, with that said, the store manager placed the bottle of wine in his hand, on the table, spinning around, he said slowly, this bottle of wine is called the Silent Ship 1907, currently on the market, there are only no more than two, zero 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 bottles of snow white champagne in existence, and the last auction price, on the other hand, reached one, 88 million, but that auction was a long time ago, and judging from the current market value, this bottle should have cost more than two million dollars, as the words fell, Everyone who was there had cold air sucked out of their mouths. Jean Fayer looked at the unimpressive black bottle of champagne, and her face went into shock. A bottle of wine. It's worth two million. All of a sudden, Jean Fayer felt that she had three million dollars in her card. Seemingly, not much actually. The others nearby, on the other hand, looked at Lin Mo with some surprise. The color of his face, too, grew more and more solemn. This youth. Who the hell is that? Not only could he make the chairman of such a top-notch conglomerate as Jiang Hai grovel to him, and it was even a gift of a bottle, the black bottle of champagne, the ship of silence, 1907, one time, 
Many people looked at Lin Mo, their minds pondering. Yes, Lin Mo let out a light laugh. This Jiang Hai, there are quite a lot of flowers? Lin Mo at this moment, unavoidably shook his head. At the same time, it was also remembering the time before when this Jiang Hai had slapped Jiang Mu. The whole thing just didn't take into account that the other person was pregnant. A playful smile tugged at the corners of his mouth as he toyed with the black card in his hand. Finally, the road. Okay, load it up for me and put it here. Okay, mister. Lin, after all was said and done, the wine was refilled and placed on the table, and he excused himself, and with the departure of this store manager, Lin Mo and Qin Fair, who had also eaten almost enough, were just about ready to leave. This time, the guests at the other tables, too, couldn't sit still. Quite a number of guests, immediately as to come over to send business cards. Lin Mo was also somewhat speechless at this scene, but there was nothing to be done about it, but to take it. After all, quite a few of the people here had relatively extraordinary identities. Basically, all the customers here are either rich or rich. A couple of promises were made. Then, it was time to take the wine and go back to the car. After setting things up, Qin Fei also let out a sigh of relief and spat out her tongue, saying, I didn't realize that this bottle of wine would cost over two million dollars. In response, Lin Mo lightly laughed. It was followed by a shake of the head, saying, no matter how exorbitant the price of this wine is, it's always just a bottle of wine. The value of this wine, more than anything else, should be that story behind this wine. Stories? Sheen Fair, who was here, had a few moments of curiosity in her expression. Well, the champagne was produced in 1907 and was destined for Tsarist Russia, but was sunk by German ships in Finland Bay. It lay dormant at the bottom of the ocean for 90 years, and it wasn't until 1997 that it was salvaged and then went into the auction. So the champagne, to be honest, is just a bottle of champagne that's a little bit older. Lin Mo shrugged, not a care in the world about that, and Qin Fair smacked her lips for a while. Then looking at the bottle, he said, Boy, I didn't realize that the wine had this story? It seems, then, that it's really not easy for this wine to be savored by us now. To this, Lin Mo just laughed and didn't care too much. Well, by the way, why don't you accompany me to buy two watches? Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Qin Fair was stunned. Buy a watch? Spinning around, it was also a bit sour. What? For another little girl? Lin Mo didn't hide it too much, and casually said just that. Well, for one of my little sisters. After a while, she had a theater performance. This watch is even a congratulatory gift for her. Lin Mo bought this watch after some consideration. Own cash back amount. 820. 000 left. That's 820. 000. The fastest way to spend an afternoon. If you want to spend it, is undoubtedly to buy a watch. And just in time, it would be possible to buy a piece for Xia Yuma, as a gift for appearing in a drama performance. As for the other piece, this goes to Qin Fair. After all, it's gotta rain, right? Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Qin Fair was in a complicated mood. However, she was still somewhat unprepared for Lin Mo's candor. And at the same time, she was prepared for this situation. After all, she had known for a long time that it was absolutely impossible for Lin Mo to have only her as a woman. Uh, okay, so can I go live later? Listen to this. Lin Mo mused. Owners are now close to the third stage of the reward. There's less than 2 million prestige values left. Then, still nodding, he said, no problem, just broadcasted live. After saying that, Lin Mo did a navigation after that. The two men fastened their seatbelts. A foot on the gas followed. The whole car was swept out at once, straight to the Patek Philippe store. The two of them chatted along the way. It didn't take long for them to arrive at the Patek Philippe residence, Patek Philippe, which belongs to the leaders of the watch industry, among the ranks of the world's top 10 watches. More than anything, it belongs to the top of the world. Arrived, the vehicle pulled into the Patek Philippe residence. Originally, parking was not allowed at this Patek Philippe source residence, but after seeing Lin Mo's car, a Pagani wind got Imola. This does not allow parking, which just becomes an empty phrase. No way, those who can afford to drive such luxury cars, then there is no doubt that all belong to the VIPs, against the honored guests. Naturally, it is not to be confused with other ordinary customers, with other ordinary customers. In the car, Lin Mo packed up his things and said, go live. Sheen Fair nodded her head. Afterwards, opening the cell phone cloud, it was the start of a live broadcast. With the start of the live broadcast, a group of water friends who had been waiting for a long time instantly flooded into the live broadcast room. The Du Shark official, at this time, also found Sheen Fair's live room. It's confirmed. This is what Lin Mo was talking about. His woman's live room. 
Immediately, it was all sorts of referral positions, resources arranged on, with this increase in exposure. This Chin Fair's live broadcast room, the heat was insanely high, and looking at this scene, Chin Fair was also a bit surprised. The mood, too, was somewhat excited, said, I'm on the open screen pop-up recommendation, oh, listening to these words, Lin Mo froze, but then, it was understood, at that moment, it was a smile and said, that's moving, pretty fast, listening to Lin Mo's words, Chin Fair immediately froze and looked at Lin Mo with a curious expression, okay, get out of the car, after saying that, Lin Mo just got out of the car, Chin Fair also suppressed the doubts in her heart, then, opened the car door and, at the same time, said to the live feed, hello, everyone, the anchor is now in the Patek Philippe source residence in Magic City, what's next, will be live streaming the purchase of a Patek Philippe watch, as the sentence fell, Chin Fair also got out of the sports car, all of a sudden this small, detached building of Patek Philippe source residence is into the live broadcast, for a moment, in the middle of the live broadcast, quite a few people have been there, it just started to boil over, crap, straight up buying a Patek Philippe watch, hiss, Patek Philippe, that piece of watch, at least a hundred thousand dollars, on your knees, on your knees, hiss, this is the Patek Philippe residence, a small detached building, NB, at this time, there are also two sales clerks wearing straight and neat suits, came to the car, looking at Lin Mo and Chin Fair who walked down from the car, immediately, they just greeted them, sir, ma'am, welcome to the Patek Philippe source residence, well, I was hoping to pick out a couple of watches, Lin Mo spoke with a smile on his face, with the words that followed the fall, within the live broadcast room, many people were completely dumbfounded at this time, wait, what did I hear, buy a couple pieces, woj, the crouching dynasty big brother said a few dollars, I'm afraid it's not the kind that hits the bottom in the hundreds of thousands, Patek Philippe watches, even if I don't eat or drink for a whole year, that's not affordable. But now, the crouching dynasty big man is actually planning to buy a few pieces? That's a bigot? Kneel down kneel down. And the saleswoman there, listening to that, the smile on his face grew even wider. As for the back, on the air, Fei Chin, then she is totally unconcerned. After all, Lin Mo's words, coupled with that supercar that started at 10 million dollars, representing the other side, today's spending is nothing less than a million dollars. Driving out customers with that kind of spending power because of a live broadcast? Then she is really stupid. Immediately, that is, he laughed. Yes sir. So is this side for men's or women's? Well, let's look at the men's first. Lin Mo was also prepared to buy himself a wristwatch, although he has a Roger Dubuis. But how can you be a man and only have a wristwatch? Plus this watch from Roger Dubuis is on the younger side. It is indeed fine to wear it on a daily basis during the week, but attend some solemn and dignified occasions. It's a little out of place if you wear it. Therefore, Lin Mo was ready to give himself another Patek Philippe. Yes sir, then please follow me. Walked inside the Patek Philippe store. Inside the store, there were other customers in at the moment. And after Lin Mo entered, he froze, only to see that in here. A middle-aged man was there picking out a wristwatch. After seeing Lin Mo, he then just said with some surprise, Mr. Lin, butler's son? Lin Mo was a bit surprised. He was not expecting that he could actually be here and run into Sun Fu. Ha ha, what a coincidence. I didn't expect to actually be here and run into Mr. Lin. Said. He just looked behind him and said. Shopkeeper Chien. This is the one I mentioned to you. That Mr. Lin. As these words fell. At the back. Chien Yong Kong instantly. His eyes lit up. He's the store manager here at Patek Philippe. Originally. He had come to receive the Sun Fu. And just now. Instead. He was listening to Sun Fu mentioning Lin Mo, and even more so, I learned that, Lin Mo bought that building, the one east suburbs king of the building worth 600 million dollars, for this reason, he had a desire to make friends with Lin Mo, and to no one's surprise, after he'd entertained that thought, Lin Mo actually came to their Patek Philippe source residence, at once, Chien Yong Kong's eyes lit up, then, in a hurry, he just ran to Lin Mo's front and said cordially, Mr. Lin, hello there. I'm the store manager of Patek Philippe Source Residence, Chien Yong Kong, watching the scene, a bunch of salesmen there, at this point there are a flurry of them, just eyeballs, what's with the excitement of your own store manager, to know, own store manager, weekdays are no stranger to hosting the bigwigs of the magic city, but then, how has the store manager ever been seen to act so excited, just as they were curious, but he saw Chien Yong Kong who was there and smiled, Mr. Lin, is this to buy yourself a wristwatch, well, 
Let's start with a piece for myself. Listen to the words. The store manager there, too, had a toned face, showing a few smiles. He said, Ha ha, that's really a coincidence. Mr. Lin, on our side, a wristwatch just arrived yesterday. It's guaranteed that Mr. Lin, you'll love it after looking at it, said, he was the one who led Lin M.O. to the center of this store. Here, a standalone booth was set up, and, equipped with high-strength bulletproof glass, Mr. Lin, the watch that just arrived in our store yesterday is exactly the one in front of you, Patek Philippe Grande Complication Timepiece Collection, 5270-1 or 001 watch, listen to the words, Lin M.O. also looked towards, the wristwatch that was placed here, the 18K rose gold bracelet is paired with a solid black dial, understated, yet luxurious, under the illumination of the booth fluorescent lights, the rose gold body of this watch blazes, as for the live feed, a large number of watermen, at this time, also saw the real appearance of this watch, and after seeing it, the crowd here was also in a flurry, stumped by it, simultaneous, a look of emotion also spread across his face, is this the top of the line watch? Awesome, worthy of a Patek Philippe watch, this is a work of art, this watch, it's outrageous, okay, and at this point, this Qian Yong Kong, too, said respectfully to Lin M.O., Mr. Lin, this 5270-1 or 001 watch, it is currently one of the top watches in our store, and it has an 18K rose gold bracelet, and the dial layout of the watch, in continuation of the classic Patek Philippe perpetual calendar chronograph pattern, a day slash night display was added, along with a leap year cycle display, it can be said that the appreciation of this watch, is still very big, Lin Mo listened to these words, just nodded calmly, then, it was, not bad, Qian Yong Kong, on the other hand, smiled, Mr. Lin can try wearing it if he likes it. After saying that, Qian Yong Kong was pulling out the key, opened the bulletproof glass cover. It's just carefully, taking this watch, out in the booth, and look at the movements of the money man, one of the sales in the back. On the other hand, frowned, whispered, shopkeeper this is not in line with the rules, is it? This watch should only be available to diamond VIPs, who are eligible to make purchases, right? After all, this watch, in their store are belong to the town treasure level of watches, so unless one is a diamond VIP member, otherwise, there is no way to qualify for this watch, the man in front of him, on the other hand, was not even a VIP of their Patek Philippe, can this qualify, to buy this watch, listening to these words, a sales on the side was shaking his head and said, you saw that sports car outside earlier, didn't you, see, what's wrong, the male salesman was still a bit puzzled and wondered, if a sports car, it's not like it's rare in Magic City. So you can't sell a watch that's limited to diamond VIP purchases just because the other party came in a sports car, right? As the words fell after that, the other sale, at once, was a snort of laughter, and said, Ha, if it's a normal generic sports car, then it's indeed ineligible. But the car that people drive, that's only five Pagani Winjamarimola in the world. The price of the car, moreover, is a staggering $39 million. What? As the words fell, the male salesman there looked horrified, looking towards Lin M.O. who was there, his face changed slightly, and in the meantime, the salesman then continued to speak, also, let me remind you of what I heard just now, it's said that this Mr. Lin, living or the no, one villa of one east suburb, at that moment, the male salesman's face changed for a while, one one villa in the eastern suburbs, that 600 million dollar property king, yes, that's the villa, after the words fell, here in the male sales, mouth unavoidable, cold air pouring in, so yeah, does it really matter if people are diamond members or not, besides, even if he really wasn't a diamond member, what could he do, as long as he buys the watch, won't he still be able to become a diamond member, rules, it has always been formulated for the common man, for the rich and famous, rules that never mattered, after Lin Mo put on the watch, the temperament of the business elite, the sudden highlights undoubtedly, after looking in the mirror at the watch on his wrist, Lin M.O. also nodded with satisfaction and said, Very nice, that's it. Saying that, Lin M.O. just casually asked, What is the current selling price of this watch? If it is available? Listening to Lin Mo's inquiry, Qian Yong Kang, who was here, also said respectfully, The watch, the current asking price, is one, sixty-five million dollars. Uh, okay, swipe your card. Lin M.O. pulled out his bank card, without batting an eye. It was a straight swipe for the bill. Watch this scene. A few of the clerks there were stumped for a while. No hesitation. Just swipe your card. It's literally turning their viewpoints upside down. As for Qin Fei'er, 
She was also dumbfounded at this time. She did know that Lin Mo was rich. The operation, however, is simply outrageous. Easily won. $65 million for a wristwatch. It's as if, at his expense, it's not won. $65 million. It's just 165 bucks. And the live broadcast room was also directly detonated at this time. Some of the emperors, kings who dive in to watch the live stream. At this point, they started sending out pop-ups and making bounties. Gave a knee. Directly give a knee. This operation of Big Brother is really something that people can't help but admire. 1. 65 million for a top-of-the-line Patek Philippe watch. Bought it without a moment's hesitation. I'm ashamed of myself for this spunky temperament. People are stupid. Compared to the crouching dynasty bigwigs. What is this wealth of mine? And with these rich people swiping gifts. Most of the people in the live broadcast room. At this time. Were also all feeling that some eye opening up. With so many swipes of the gift. The heat was also climbing in Chin Fair's live broadcast room. Gradually. It reached the 6 million mark. And watched the scene. At this moment. Chin Fair also revealed a look of surprise. After all. This was the first time he had done so. Without Lin Mo swiping his gift, the heat of the live stream reached 6 million. And that heat is still going. Knuckle dragging. As for Lin Mo, he didn't care too much about all this. At this point, after signing the contract, he was the one who calmly said, Oh yes, and a lady's wristwatch. For a gift, he also had to buy a piece for Xieyuma as a gift to celebrate the drama performance. And listening to Lin Mo's words, Xian Yong Kang, who was there, was smiling. If we're talking about a lady's watch and it's meant to be a gift, this is the one I'd recommend. One of our store's better sellers. The Complicated Functions Timepieces Collection 4947G001 Watch. Jian Yong Kong led Lin Mo to the counter. Then, out of it came a sky blue watch. The 18K white gold case is accented with a circle of diamonds. The whole watch appears to be very light. Look at this watch. Lin Mo also nodded, said, that's it. Wrap it up for me. After all was said and done, Lin Mo was the one who looked towards Qin Fei'er who was there and said, Why don't you pick a piece too? Lin Mo looked at Qin Fei'er who was there and smiled, After all, it's got to be even. And Qin Fei'er, who was there, listened to Lin Mo's words. At this point there was also a blink. What followed was a shake of the head, saying, It's, uh, not good, is it? Listen to this. Here's Fei Qin. The first thing that happened was that he opened his mouth. It's fine. Just buy whatever you want and take whichever one you fancy straight away. Lin Mo waved his big hand and blandly just said, Listen to this. Here, Qin Fei's mind was beginning to come alive, glancing at the wristwatch on Lin Mo's wrist, then another look around at the booths, after hesitating, said, How about this one? Lin Mo also looked in the direction of this Qin Fei's finger. What this Qin Fei is pointing at is a rose gold colored Nautilus sports style watch. And, if only with a cursory glance, it was easy to put this Nautilus and Lin Mo now on the wrist, wearing this watch, as a couple model, sure about this one? Looking at the Nautilus that Qin Yongkang took out, Lin Mo asked, Qin Fei'er, on the other hand, put it on her wrist and nodded, saying, well, I think this one is pretty, that's fine, buy the bill, Lin Mo swiped his card once again, and Qin Yongkang, who was there, nodded his head at that moment, saying, okay, Mr. Lin, this 4947G001 watch of yours is 370, 000 dollars. As for this Nautilus, it's 250 dollars, 000, for a total of 620 dollars, 000, with these words falling after. In the middle of the live broadcast, many people are just a burst of, for the staggering, holy shit, 620, 000 dollars? Ghostbusters, worthy of a lying dynasty bigot, a 620 dollars, 000 watch, that's a gift, comparing it to the crouching dynasty big guy, I suddenly think, my hundred thousand dollars for a green water ghost, counting a hammer oh, for a while, on the air, quite a few people were showing envious gazes at this moment, and at this point, inside the live broadcast room, a lot of water friends, also found a problem, hey, wait, you guys look at the watch on the anchor's wrist, it's the same as the crouching dynasty big man's watch, woohoo, these two watches, if you look at them from a distance, there's not much difference at all. TSK, that's a careful maneuver. And after buying two watches, Lin Mo was also paying attention to the heat of the live broadcast. At this point, the heat is already at 8 million. Watch the heat. Lin Mo's heart murmured over it as well. 8 million hits. For that amount of heat, my mission 3 should be complete, right? As this thought of Lin Mo's fell, turning to Qian Yongkang who was there, he asked for the location of the bathroom afterward. 
Then it was all the way, to the middle of the bathroom. Then, opened his cell phone and began to check it out. At this time among the props bar, the triple cashback card is already billable. After the settlement was made, $3 million, coming in fast. However, Lin Mo didn't care about the $3 million. Make him really care. It's the reward for this third stage. And then the finger just fell. Stage 3 reward. Claim successfully. Get. Reward 1, cash prize of 50 million Xinhua coins. Reward 2, skill, divine cooking. Incentive 3, 10% of the shares of Tianhe Group. The moment the three rewards appeared, cold air poured out of Lin Mo's mouth. The face, too, looked a little stunned. The first two, on the contrary, didn't shock Lin Mo too much. Mainly, it's this third bonus, 10% of Trina's shares. This Trina group is no small company. The fighting shark technology that Lin Mo had previously acquired, that could be considered a large company. But, in front of this Trina group, do shark technologies? It was just a brother. This Trina group in the country. That belongs to a number of super large group. It is even involved in four major industries, real estate, film and television, tourism and finance, and even more so in the real estate and tourism sectors, which are among the leaders. 10% of the shares, although it doesn't seem like much, but at least, it's a tens of billions of dollars share. That was a truly huge amount of wealth for Lin Mo. At this moment, Lin Mo was truly excited. This wave by itself, totally just used millions. That's tens of billions of dollars back. The annual dividend, though, may not amount to tens of billions of dollars, but at the very least, billions exist. A wave of fat, a staggering. Lin Mo was in an excited mood. Then, taking a deep breath, he tried hard to calm himself down. The corners of Lin Mo's mouth, who was here, also rose for a while, tidied up his shirt and hair. Only then did Lin Mo leave the bathroom. After returning outside, after giving Qin Fei a wink, this Qin Fei just ended the live broadcast with eight million. Almost 9 million hot takes, the choice was made to go off the air. This could almost be said to be the craziest thing Qin Fei had ever done. But, after all, it was Lin Mo's intention. She also just didn't have the slightest hesitation and absolutely just chose to obey. Immediately, following the two of them, Qian Yong Kong and Sun Fu, after some pleasantries, this is leaving the Patek Philippe source residence. Okay, so next, it's time to take you to the move. After all was said and done. Lin Mo just stomped on the gas and went straight to the Grand Hyatt residence. After coming across the street to the lover's store, the manager of this home-loving family, Mr. Zhou, was the one who hastily greeted up, turning to Lin Mo. He hurriedly said, Mr. Lin, you're here. This week's manager had a smile on his face at the moment. Afterwards, it was to Lin Mo, reporting on the work. Mr. Lin, the 120 houses in your building are currently 90% leased. At the moment, if I'm on my side, I'm organizing it for you. Three empty houses, respectively, 1703 on the 17th floor, which, if this house, is slightly smaller, with two households on the first floor, the other two, a large flat at 3101, and another is a large flat at 3002. Both of these two large bungalows are part of the 240 square foot area. As for 3101, it has a small second floor storage room. Listening to the words of this lover's manager, Jean Fair, who was there, was confused again, what do you mean, a whole building, three empty houses, this, the moment, Jean Fair looked at Lin Mo and was a bit dumbfounded, opened his mouth, his throat a little dry, finally, somewhat incredulously, he said to Lin Mo, you, you have a building here, in Junyue Huoding, Lin Mo nodded his head bashfully, said, yes, what's the problem, no, no, Jean Fair was in a hurry, just shaking her head, as for the heart, it began to calculate, this one building, exactly how much it costs, and at this point in time, Lin Mo then smiled and said, tell you what, just give me the key to 3101, subsequently, after settling this Qin Fair down, Lin Mo just drove off, too, in the past two days, he had been working himself almost night and day, and he had to rest a little, back inside the villa at one eastern suburbs, take out the bottle of wine that Zhang Hai had given himself, after putting it in the cellar, then it was time to turn around and go inside the gym next door. Very quickly, the night passes. Wait until the next morning. Lin Mo was woken up by a phone call. The caller was none other than the gatekeeper's office at the entrance to this villa complex. Hey, after answering the phone, yawning, Lin Mo lazily said, Mr. Lin, I'm sorry to wake you up at this hour. I'm calling because there's a lady at the door named Hope Huang. Says he's your housekeeper and is here for his posting today. So he's calling you to confirm. Hope Wong? 
Lin Emil was slightly stunned, but then, it was a reaction, nodded, yes, that's right, she is indeed my housekeeper, for the record of your property department, there will be some babysitters and florists coming over if you're in the back, these people, when you get there, just check with Hope Huang, okay mister, Lin, confirmed, this property was just released with it, when this Huang Wan arrives, that's what Lin Emil met with, this Huang Yuan has a very slender figure, and, the likeness is young and beautiful, Looking at Huang Yuan in front of him, Lin Emil was a bit curious and opened his mouth. I see MS. Huang, who is only 30 years old and is also a graduate of the NPC. Why don't you go to some big corporations after graduation and work as an administrator? Instead, it was a plunge into the housekeeping profession for so many years? As Lin Mo's words fell after these words, this Huang Yuan, on the contrary, was stunned. Then, it was a bitter smile, shaking his head. I'm not ashamed to say, Mr. Lin, when I started out, I did work in the administration industry. Only later, due to some family factors, I had to turn to the housekeeping profession. After all, if you're in this industry, the annual salary is quite a bit higher than in administration. Listen to this. Lin Mo also nodded. Then, there is the continuing word. Okay, I get it. I see that the intended annual salary on your side is $1 million, right? Yes. Listen to this. Lin Mo nodded his head calmly and continued, All right, since there's no problem, then I'll trouble you for the follow-up. With these words, after the fall, Huang Wan was just exactly as busy. As for Lin Ma, instead, he went back inside the den, then, started checking out the app and what new items were on the shelves today. With the opening of the after, Lin Mo did see the goods that were in there. Skill, divine driving, subsidized price, 188. Looking at the goods among them all. Lin Emo was also a bit depressed. It's actually a skill? In this moment, Lin Emo really didn't know what he should say. The final one was just a sigh. Never mind. Something is better than nothing. A helpless sigh escaped his heart. And the afterward, Lin Emo just purchased it. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 40 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Watch this delivery time. Lin Emo didn't care too much. Just turned on the computer. Then, a funding card for family use was prepared. After a million dollars was transferred inside. Feel free to swipe through the B site and start waiting. And after 40 minutes. This is the skill of divine driving. Which is also in the account. Almost instantly. Lin Mo only felt that a whole lot more information had come out of his mind. A full 5 or 6 minutes passed before the pile of news. Was completely digested. Phew. Lin Mo exhaled. Inexplicably. There was just an impulse at the bottom of his heart. Want to take your car and try out this godly driving ability. And at this point, there was also a knock on the door of the study room. Next moment, Huang Wan's voice, for that matter, rang out. Boss, it's time for breakfast. Okay, I got it. Out the door and down the stairs. Lin Mo then just saw it. Several nanny ants, and a florist in this first floor hall. Hello boss, these several nanny ants, one after another, just bowed to Lin Mo. To this, Lin Mo also just nodded and said, Okay, everyone sit down and eat together. Listen to this. One of the ants there. Just laughed. No need boss. We ate when we got here. See this. Lin Mo just didn't say anything. Sitting down in the chair. The ensuing one, touching out a bank card. Said, by the way, Butler Wong, there's a million dollars in this card for the family's activities. You can take it and use it first. And if you don't have enough money behind you you can tell me and I'll call the card again. Listening to Lin Mo's words. Wong ones, two was stunned. A million dollars? She didn't expect that Lin Mo would actually come out with a million dollars. Aren't you afraid she'll run away with the money? But then, this Wang Wan just came back to her senses. People can afford to live in the know. One villa of one east suburb. Where's the fear that you'll run away with the money? When she thought of this, she just nodded her head and said, okay. Immediately, this Huang Yuan was also the one who asked, by the way boss, about the family grocery cart. You see? Well, Lin Mo mused. Then, it was just to open his mouth. Tell you what then, out of the one million dollars, you can take half a million and get a grocery cart. After saying this, a sentence fell. Huang Wan was also confused. Take half a million dollars and buy a car for groceries? This, isn't that a bit, well, extravagant? She was originally thinking that this grocery cart would cost two or three hundred thousand dollars, which is about right. But what a thought. The boss of his own family, actually directly start his half a million dollars of funding. Take to buy grocery carts? After swallowing, Huang Wan, here, was also a bit curious. How ho-hum is this? 
Exactly. From your own boss. And the group of nannies next to him were stumped by it at this point. They, too, have worked as nannies in the homes of many wealthy people. But like Lin Imo is so bold. It's the first time I've seen it. Half a million dollars for a grocery car. That's just a bit. Terror. Very quickly, Lin Imo was also finishing an early breakfast. Then, after giving instructions to Wang Wan, that is, walking inside the garage. And then, it was a ride in the Pagani. Moments after sitting in the cab, the skill of divine driving was instantly activated. The whole person's temperament was changed by a few points. With the engine roaring, Lin Imo instantly had a judgment about the sound of the engine. And then, the whole car, quickly leapt out. The vehicle leapt out quickly. After extracting the divine level vehicle skill, Lin Imo also felt it clearly. One's mastery of this Pagani windjammer Imola is at a peak. Together with himself, his body was the one that had already been strengthened by the body strengthening potion. For the divine car skills were also performed to the extreme. Though at the moment, it's just a drive on a normal highway. But, Lin Mo's speed was still extremely fast and incomparable. 30 or so minutes later, Lin Imo was also tired of playing. At this time, his vehicle was in the business district. On the opposite side of the road is a building called Moose Group. Well, go down and get a drink, looked down the road, a milk tea store that was open there, Lin Mo got out of the car and entered it to buy milk tea, at this point, the top floor of the Mu group, inside the president's office, Nunanji sat there, across from it, Jung Hai sipped his tea with a very casual look, however, it was this casual demeanor that made Mu Nanji grit her teeth, the two of them, from 8.30 in the morning, started talking about cooperation, but the result, this talk went on for almost two hours, and still no deal, and this Jiang Hai, is completely like an oil and salt, the whole thing is to make Moon Anji, difficult to the extreme, at the same time, the heart was hidden, anxious for it, it couldn't be helped that the project in East China Sea was worth a full 3 billion dollars, but if you want to take the project in the East China Sea, one of the pieces of land in the hands of the wood source group is just a must have, think about it, Moon Anji is also the direct way, Jiang Dong, regarding your company's land issue on the East China Sea side, do you see what you think? Listening to the words of Nunanji, Jiang Hai's instantly just laughed, sitting there, still with a nonchalant demeanor. Bland is what was said. Regarding this piece of land, we don't need to rush for the time being. Instead, it's now this time of day, and it's almost noon. In my opinion, why don't we go to lunch and talk about it while we eat? As those words fell, Mu Nanji, who was there, was instantly just about to explode with anger. Lunch, eat a hammer and eat it. Immediate. Mu Nanji who was here, then just slammed the table. The subsequent, with a few moments of annoyance in his heart, said, Jiang Dong, don't you go too far. We have been negotiating for almost three months between our two companies about this piece of land. During these three months, we, the Mu Group, have gone as far as possible to show sincerity. However, your wood source group has never shown enough sincerity. Looking at this annoyed look of Mu Nanji, on Jiang Hai's face, there was a bland smile. With that, it was calm and opened his mouth. Mr. Mu, what's the hurry, regarding this matter, within our Mu UN group, it's already been discussed in the board of directors. As for the specific cooperation program, our wood source group has also drawn up a corresponding contract. After saying this, Jiang Hai was the one who looked at the secretary behind him and said, here, bring me the contract. The secretary took the contract out. Immediately, it was handed to Jiang Hai who was there. Please ask Mr. Mu to take a look. For this situation, Mu Nanji was a bit confused, and subsequently, still, he took this contract and began to look through it. As the contract goes through, Mu Nanji's heart was also gradually burning with anger. Eventually, then just a little huffed and put the contract down heavily, said Jiang Dong, "This contract of yours, it's a bit excessive. You guys actually asked for one three billion dollars for that land in the East China Sea and demanded a one-time payment for the price you're asking." It's a full 30% premium over the current market price. Mu Nanji's heart was infuriated. The look on his face was more than a little ugly. After all, the project in the East China Sea, the profit is just around $3 billion. Now this Jiang Hai sells land at a 30% premium. That, completely, is what makes the profits on your side. Hundreds of millions of dollars lower. And here's the kicker. It's a deal that still has to be made. After all, if the project in the East China Sea is successful, it will only make a profit of $3 billion though. However, it is the ability to get involved with the officials. The profits that follow are far more than the $3 billion. As for Jiang Hai who was there, he was in a nonchalant manner. Still looking calm, he said, what's the rush for Mr. Mu, 
it's a 30% premium. Compare that to the profit that Mr. Mu can make from this one deal. What's a 30% premium in the district? Zhang Hai lightly tapped the desktop face with a few light smiles. You guys, at this moment, Mu Nanji also reacted. At the same time, the mind was clear for a few moments. This Zhang Hai, I'm afraid that I know about the project in the East China Sea, and that's why it looks like, well, it's totally eating itself. And today, from the very beginning, the other party was doing it on purpose, hanging himself. Mu Nan Ji, who thought clearly about this matter, also had a dark face throughout. But Jiang Hai there, on the other hand, smiled faintly and said, This matter, you take your time to consider it, Mr. Mu. Anyway, we, the Wood Source Group, have all the time in the world. Let's sign the contract when you've thought about it. There's no rush. Only, I need to remind Mr. Mu, how much of a premium is that next time you sign a contract? It's not necessarily 30%. After all, this land I'm holding is quite popular these days. After all was said and done, Jiang Hai got up and left. One step, two steps, three steps. Jiang Dong stay back. Just as this Jiang Hai was about to pull open the office door, behind them, Munin Ji's voice rang out. Ha, hooked. The corners of Jiang Hai's mouth rose. The look on his face was full of contempt. This Mu Nanji is indeed a strong woman in the business world of Magic City. Just a shame. Too young. Sex. Easily rushed. Ten minutes or so later, the gate of the MU group. Jiang Hai looked as if he had a spring breeze. Smiling, he spoke. Ha ha, it's been a very pleasant cooperation with Mr. Mu this time. I hope that in the future, the cooperation between both of us will remain the same as it is today. On the opposite side, Munin Ji's face was ironic. Gritting his teeth, he then just opened his mouth. Ha, definitely, definitely. Then, Jiang Dong, I won't continue delivering on my side. With the words falling afterward, this Jiang Hai is just ready to leave. However, right at this point in time, a somewhat surprised voice suddenly sounded from the side. Ha, Nani, why are you here? As the voice fell after that, Mu Nan Ji, who was there, twisted her head to look towards the back. What followed was the sight of Lin Mo, who was standing there, holding milk tea in his hand. The look on his face, too, was stunned by it. Rimmer, and there's Jiang Hai. The moment he saw Lin Mo, the face, however, was white. It was followed by a shudder that went through the word. Lin, Mr. Lin, at this moment, Jiang Hai was trembling. The legs, even more so, winced. Jiang Hai was completely unprepared. By himself, he could actually be here and meet this fatalist. Lin M.O. Hmm, Jiang Hai, why are you here? At this time, Lin M.O. also noticed this Jiang Hai with a puzzled expression. Jiang Hai, who was here, had a sarcastic smile on his face. Road, came over here to talk about something, didn't expect to meet you here. Arching his back, Jiang Hai was all smiles, and there was Nunanji. At this point it was dumbfounded. This Jiang Hai, actually knows Lin M.O.? And, to actually treat Lin M.O., or this respectful look? This, at once, Mu Nanji was just a little curious, looking at Lin M.O., Lin M.O., you know boss Jiang Him? Listen to this, Lin M.O., who was here, then just calmly said, that's right, it's kind of like having a one-sided relationship, but it's kind of like getting to know each other. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Jiang Hai, who was here, was also relieved, honestly, he was truly afraid that Lin M.O. would shake him out. As for Mu Nanji who was there, she was a bit puzzled at this time. One side of the story? This TM, can you call it a one-sided relationship? Just the humble appearance of this river and sea. How can that be? Just one side of the story? And at this point in time, this Jiang Hai also reacted suddenly. Mr. Lin, between you and Mr. Mu, you also know each other? Just now, if one remembers correctly, this Mu Nanji was directly calling Lin Mo by name. This relationship, between South Branch and I, we belong to the opposite neighbors and our relationship is quite good, Lin M.O., who was here, casually said, a sentence fell, this Jiang Hai, his face went white, neighbors across the street, relationships are pretty good, call each other by their first names, this moment, this Jiang Hai as a whole, only felt his legs go weak, himself just now when, at the time of signing the contract, but it's not like I've ever had to play the bully, and, now it is being told, between this Mu Nanji and Lin M.O., the relationship is quite good. This, Jiang Hai's mind was suddenly filled with thoughts. If after the fact, this Mu Nanji talked to Lin Mo, bad mouthing herself and spitting out her bitterness, resulting, Lin Mo for his own poor impression of the words. Think about it. 
Jiang Hai's face gradually turned white. Looking at the scene, Mu Nanji's eyebrows burst, just wrinkled up for it. In the bottom of his heart, he was also greatly puzzled about this Jiang Hai situation. Jiang Dong, are you not feeling well? And just as Mu Nanji said these words, in the moment after the question, Jiang Hai there, however, took a deep breath. Then, looking towards Mu Nanji who was there, a smile was written all over his face. The whirlwind then was to speak. Ha ha, Mr. Mu, I've thought about it. The contract we just signed. Why don't we just void it and redraft the contract? The moment those words fell, Mu Nanji froze, and then, it was the way. Jiang Dong, what do you mean? You mustn't misunderstand, Mr. Mu, I do think that the contract just now is a bit unreasonable. I think it's fair to say that we should lower the price we signed by 50%, and there's no need to be in such a hurry when it comes to payment. It can be made in installments within a year, said the, Jiang Hai pulled out, the contract he had signed earlier. Then, it's just torn to shreds, tossed it in a sidewalk trash can. Immediately, a fawning smile appeared on this Jiang Hai's face. Turning to Mu Nanji, he just said respectfully, the other thing is, when I was in the office just now, I may have been a bit offended in my words, please, Mr. Mu, don't take it personally. Looking at the Jiang Hai with this appearance, Mu Nanji was shocked. Just now, this Jiang Hai completely, is a look of asking for money. But now, what's with the sudden change of temper? I can't believe you're going to cut the price you signed by 50%? That's, like, 20% below market price. And that's not to mention agreeing to pay in installments on your side? And the secretary who was there was, at that moment, anxious, hectic, that is, said, Jiang Dong, this, before his own secretary could finish his sentence. Jiang Hai, who was there, then just coldly said, what's the matter, my right to change a contract is still gone? No, Jiang Dong, it's just that if this is done, the board sighed, listen to this, Jiang Hai coldly snorted and said, the board of directors are dissatisfied over there, let them come to me, I'm the chairman of this Mu Yuan group, Jiang Hai here, coldly said, that said, this contract is on the market price, reduced by 20%, but one still earns it, only makes slightly less, and despite saying so, one does offend the old men on the board by doing so, but these board guys, if you offend yourself, you are offended, but, if it offends Lin Ma, that's a lot of trouble, one reckons one can lose one's person, think about it, Jiang Hai didn't dare to delay, immediately it was the word, Mr. Mu, hurry up, let's go and re-sign the contract right now, this Jiang Hai began to urge at this point, I'll have the contract redrawn immediately, Mu Nanji didn't hesitate and started calling right away, at this point, she was also figuring it out. This Jiang Hai has a big shift in nature. There is absolutely no way to get out of this with Lin Mo. Although he didn't quite understand why Jiang Hai after meeting Lin Mo, the attitude would become so respectful. But she didn't bother to think anything through. Just waiting for someone to deliver the contract. Dao, Jiang Dong, this new contract, you see if there is no problem. We will sign? No need to look. Just sign it. After all was said and done. This Jiang Hai didn't even look at it. He got right down on the car and signed his name with a swish. Smoothly, in the secretary's bag, he pulled out the company's official seal. Straightforward. Changed on top. This, Jiang Dong. The secretary had been utterly petrified and dumbfounded. This TM. The contract doesn't even look. The chairman of our own family. What kind of stimulus is this? Surprisingly, signing a contract. So casually? And, with this cover, that's hundreds of millions less on profit. Even Mu Nanji who was there, was dumbfounded at this point, it's really too metaphysical, after signing and stamping it yourself, the whole thing, capped, and looking at this scene, Jiang Hai was relieved, then, to this Lin Mo was to carefully say, look, Mr. Lin, if you have no other orders, then I'll take the first step to leave on my side and not disturb you and Mr. Mu, looking at Jiang Hai in this state, Mu Nan Ji, completely dumbfounded, Mu Nan Ji at this moment, completely was dumbfounded, Looking at this Jiang Hai who was in front of him, he was then filled with confusion. This, is it really the Jiang Hai he knows? How? Attitude gets so mean? And, even to leave, you need to ask Lin Mo for permission? At this moment in time, Mu Nanji's face was a million times more odd. As for Lin Mo, he said casually, Uh, okay, nothing to ask you to do. Then I will retire on my side. Jiang Hai was respectful, bowed and bent away. Mu Nanji, on the other hand, had an odd face and looked at Lin Mo. Pantomime said, Your, I'm afraid, not just with him, are having a go at it? Lin Mo, who heard these words, smiled bashfully, 
said, it's kind of one-sided, Mu Nanji didn't have too much, care about this matter, just with that, to Lin Mo, why don't you go up and have a seat, Lin Mo nodded and said, well, just as well, the two went upstairs, within a short time, it was to come inside this Mu Nanji's office, the large office was empty, on the east wall, a picture of the purple breath hanging there, sitting on the sofa, Lin Mo's sitting position was casual, in his hand, he held a cup of big red robe, at the same time, he also laughed softly and said, this office of yours, it's quite nice, overrated, Mu Nanji also smiled gently, at the same time, it was emotional, I have to thank you, Lin Mo, for this today, if I hadn't run into you, I would have only lost hundreds of millions of dollars, and, in the long run, I'm going to get even more out of this one, so, this time, it's me who owes you a favor, here's Mu Nanji, turning to Lin Mo, he said with great sincerity, that's an understatement, I'm just doing a little bit of lifting, Lin Mo burst into a light laughter, spinning around and taking a sip of tea, he just shook his head and said, listening to Lin Mo's words, Mu Nanji could only smile bitterly down, for Lin Mo, this might be a show of hands, but for them, it's not a show of hands for what it's all about, and at this point, this Munin branch, all of a sudden, just said, by the way, are you free tomorrow? Lin Mo gently raised his eyebrows and said, what, are you going to date me? A sentence fell, Mu Nanji's, at once, face was scarlet, the whole man, there too, could not help but say, you, what are you babbling about? At this time, Mu Nanji, spoke in a voice that was also much smaller, the whole person was flushed scarlet, and her hand was a little unsure of where to put it, looking embarrassed, but then, it was a deep breath that said, didn't I tell you last time that my grandfather he wanted to meet you? So I wanted to ask you if you're free for tomorrow. Tomorrow is just right. My grandfather is at the Golden Foothill Hotel, preparing a banquet. If you're free, I'd like to invite you to come over and join us. So, Lin Mo mused. Subsequently, Dao, that's fine. Then I'll join down tomorrow. After the words fell, the Lin Mo here, that is, turned around and left. Looking at Lin Mo, after leaving, the Munin branch here, too, took a deep breath, the heart murmured for it, Lin Ma, as for Lin Mo, after leaving this Mu Nanji here, that is, get in the car and head straight to the gym, what followed was a dip in the gym, it took until 4 p.m., m, which is when I returned home, and after returning home, Lin Mo's eyes were also brightened, the courtyard of the villa was cleaned up and the lawn was re-manicured and neatly trimmed, the greenery is even more carefully trimmed to give a very comfortable look, as for inside the garage, at this point was an extra BMW 5 Series that was parked. Looking at this scene, Lin Mo also smiled. This Wang one is quite fast at her work. Lin Mo smiled, then pushed open the garage door and walked inside the villa. With the moment Lin Mo entered, the housekeeper, Huang Yuan, that is, greeted them. With a smile on his face, he said, Boss, welcome home, please change your shoes. As Lin Mo began to change his shoes, this Wang one, that is, began to report on the work. Boss, as per your orders, I spent $392,700 on a BMW 5 Series as a grocery car for the family, and am also helping you, today, with the villa as a whole, with a cleaning, listen to the words. Lin Mo also nodded his head in satisfaction and said, well, that's good, you guys worked hard today. Boss, do you want to take a bath first, or eat first? Let's eat, Lin Mo casually said, okay boss, then you can rest first. And in 10 minutes, we will open the meal. Listen to this. Lin Mo sat down on the sofa, and his heart was emotional over it. This is just great to come back to after hiring a housekeeper. A heartfelt sigh of relief. He's just sitting there, casually, brushing up on the drama here. A little bit of time passed. Soon enough, that is, by 11.50 late at night. At this time, Lin Mo was lying on the bed, waiting for the app to refresh. 10 minutes passed and Lin Mo pulled his finger down. The home page of the app was refreshed successfully. 1955 gold covered out of print spear table asterisk 30 subsidized price, $9. 9 inch. Subsidized price of 30% of shares of Jean Lu Hotel, $8. 8 inch. Look at these two items. Lin Mo froze. And then, it was just murmuring. Jean Lu Hotel? I remember. What Mu Nanji said. The address of the banquet is this Golden Foothill Grand Hotel. Right? Lin Mo at this time. The corners of his mouth also rose gently for a moment. Interesting. Under its breath. After murmuring. Lin Mo was also the one looking at the other item. 1955 golden cap out of print spearmint? Spearmint? 
This thing shouldn't drop in value if you take it out and give it away tomorrow, should it? Tomorrow is for the banquet though, but he himself, after all, was going to meet Grandpa Munanchi, so, that's certainly not going to go empty-handed, in any case, that's a gift to bring, and now, along comes this 1955 gold-capped spear platform, then soothsaying, just bring it tomorrow, think about it, Linimo just bought these two things, together, purchase successful, the product is in the process of delivery, estimated delivery time, 8 hours, please wait for the receipt, 8 hours, look at the timing of this delivery, at that instant, Linemo was just stunned, then, in the back of his mind, a few moments of curiosity also surfaced, I just don't know if that's going to be 8 hours, how are you going to get these two items to yourself tomorrow morning, day 2, 8.30, Linemo was woken up by Huang Yuan, after you get up, after a bit of washing up, the clothes were changed, spinning around, it was time to go to the dining room and eat breakfast, took a sip of milk that cost less than $5 and ate a dollar egg, Lin M.O., sitting at the dining table, swiped his cell phone, at the same time, the mind was muttering unavoidably, gee, I can't understand how some people, think that eating an egg and drinking milk for a day's meal 650 can't be enough, at this time, Huang Yuan, who was there, also said to Lin M.O., boss, you had two deliveries arrive about half an hour ago, I did sign for you on my side, and, put it in the study, uh, okay, I got it, Lin M.O. calmly nodded his head, at the bottom of his heart, he was a little surprised, I didn't realize that it was actually delivered by courier, the original, Lin M.O. was still wondering how he was going to get the items he purchased today delivered to him, this, Huang Yuan, is already receiving the goods, and, it was by way of express delivery, without any further hesitation, Lin M.O. quickly finished his breakfast, what followed, that is, all the way, went inside the study on the second floor, at this moment, inside the study, a large paper box, was sitting on the floor, and on the tabletop next to it, instead, a paper bag was laid out, without bothering with the paper box laying on the ground, Lin Emo just opened this file bag, subsequently, the Golden Foothills Hotel, the 30% share book, is what landed on the table, while looking at the 30% shares, Lin Emo nodded his head bashfully, the face, too, looked very frank, this Jean Lu Hotel, at least, is a 5-star hotel, 30% of the shares, well, that should be worth a couple million, Lin Emo nodded his head in satisfaction, immediately, it was the equity book, casually, it was just dropped on the desktop and left untouched, next, it's these 30 bottles of white wine, Lin Emo looked at this paper box in front of him and took the nail clippers next to him, then, using the runt, cut the tape on the cardboard box, with the tape scratched back, neatly, 30 bottles of Mutai wine, just lay inside, two bottles were casually removed, this is an old spear table from the 50s, not the same as a backwoods spear platform, spear table from the 50s, it's an alabaster bottle, corked, this alabaster bottle of speleothems is still in perfect condition, the label attached to the outside is somewhat broken and yellowed at this point, but the red star and the wheat ears in the upper left corner, yet it is still, clearly visible and appears brightly colored, if Lin Mo didn't know, where this wine came from, one would also really think that the two bottles of 1955 outstanding gold mutai are modern counterfeits. Well, after a little thought, Lin M.O. mused, and then immediately he was looking for a handbag, carefully, put the two bottles away, and then the one after that was sitting in the middle of the study, playing with his cell phone. Soon, that is, it came to 10.30 in the morning. At this point in time, Munanji did send himself a message. At this time, Munanji, however, was ready said to drive herself there, her driver was on vacation today, watch the message from Munanji, Lin Emo also just raised his eyebrows, then, it was time to take the document and walk downstairs, Butler Wong, hearing Lin Mo's words, this Wong Yuan also just walked over, her face respectful, boss, what can I do for you, well, you can drive, can't you, Huang Wan nodded her head and said, will do, boss, that's fine, then, you drive me in MS. Munanzi from across the street, to the Golden Foothills Hotel together, also, when we get to the hotel, you take my equity book, take a trip to the general manager's office of this hotel, and go and do a handover with the general manager of the other side, to do a handover, listening to Lin Mo's words, Huang Wan, who was there, just froze for a moment, but then, it was a nod of the head, saying, okay boss, okay then, you can just take my Rolls Royce Cullinan, casually, he grabbed the keys to the Rolls Royce that had been set aside, okay boss, took over the car keys and the equity book, 
Hope Wong is just heading to the garage. As for Lin M.O., he had changed into a decent outfit. Vens, which went out the door. Curbside. Cullinan waited there. After putting the thatch in the trunk. That's what knocked on Munanji's door. Getting in the car. The three of them went all the way. Straight to the hotel. Hotel entrance. Lin M.O. carried the wine and headed to the banquet hall with Munanji. This banquet today. All the people in it are basically acquaintances. For example, it's between us and our MU group. Some partners or something. But really, everyone is treating this. Like, my grandfather's second birthday dinner. After all, the one before that, my grandfather's birthday party, was in the form of a family dinner, and no one was invited. Listen to the words. Lin M.O. nodded. Soon, it came before a large-sized private room. This Nunan branch is also the way. Why don't you go in first, and I'll go yell for my grandfather. Uh, yeah, after all was said and done. Lin M.O. just pushed the door in. As Lin M.O. came in, inside this restaurant, the crowd that had long ago settled into a circle, there were also a flurry of them, landing their gazes on Lin M.O.'s body. At this time, the other side, inside the general manager's office, Zhao Qian, the general manager, was in his office, pacing for a while. Just now, he was getting a call from his own chairman. Say, it's a 30% stake in the hotel that's been acquired by a young man named Lin M.O., and all the information about this Lin M.O., as well as his character. That's a complete, blanket statement. This new major shareholder. What, exactly, is this character? I can't believe I managed to acquire 30% of the hotel's shares quietly and lifelessly. And just as this Zhao Qian, was puzzled in his mind, the landline on the desk, too, rang at that moment. Hello. After picking up, Zhao Qian's tone, appeared a bit anxious. On the other end of the line, his assistant's voice rang out. Mr. Zhao, there is a, a lady outside the door who claims to be Lin Mo's housekeeper, saying she wants to see you. No, Zhao Qian sounded impatient, before he could finish his sentence. However, the remaining half of his sentence froze and he swallowed it back. Whose did you say, Mr. Lin's? This Zhao Qian's heartbeat accelerated wildly and his face was horrified. He remembered that the new major shareholder was called Lin M.O. Could it be that the visitor was the steward of the new major shareholder? Thinking of this Zhao Qian just took a deep breath and said, Quickly, hurry up and invite people in. The other party is an honored guest. Don't neglect them. After that, the phone hung up, and this Zhao Qian's face changed color for a while, and finally felt that something was wrong. Hastily, he himself ran towards the outside. Three minutes later, inside the general manager's office, Zhao Qian looked at the shareholder's certificate in front of him, said, Yes, it's confirmed. This is indeed our certificate of equity for the Golden Foothills Hotel. Looking at Huang Wen who was there, Zhao Qian, who was here, was also respectful. That is, he said, Butler Huang, I wonder if you're here today. Is it Mr. Lin he has any instructions? Huang Wen who was listening to this, just sipping tea here, calmly, my boss, him, is down there at a party. After a sentence fell, this Xiao Qian at this time, also between the moment, is the expression of excitement. Hurriedly, he then just opened his mouth. Then Butler Huang, I wonder Mr. Lin, which private room is he in right now? Other side, Jean Fu Manchu private room. As the crowd looked at Lin Mo, who walked in, there was nothing in the bottom of their hearts, but a few moments of doubt and curiosity surfaced. Who is this young man in front of me? The circle of top tycoons in Magic City is that big. Basically, Everyone knows each other as well. But, this Lin M.O. in front of me, the crowd here, however, was unrecognizable. Is it possible that this is the son of one of the big families who has recently returned to the country? For those stares, Lin M.O., on the other hand, was through and through, just choosing to ignore it. Just casually, he walked over to an empty seat and sat down. Then, placing the bag in his hand, he set it aside. And at the same time, the door of this private room was opened again. A young man in a suit, in a hurry, just walked in, at the same time, with an apology. Sorry, sorry, uncles and uncles, I'm the one who's late. There was some traffic on the road, and after the words fell, the youth who was here, however, also noticed, Lin Mo who was there. Immediately, it was a frown that said, Rimmer, listen to the words. Lin Mo did notice the youth, but the whole person was slightly stunned. The man in front of him was his college classmate, Li Dongwei. This Li Dongwei, with his own relationship in the university, is just a little bit not quite right. The reason for this is because, when he was in college himself, it's also very good because of the decent face value and its own accomplishments, so it's just more appealing to girls. But this Li Dongwei, in the university when, 
is notorious rich second generation, personality is more dude. Once, this Li Dongwei confessed to the girl, rejected him, turned to confess to Lin Mo. Naturally, it's a knot. But then, it's not like we've seen much of each other. And after graduation, the interactions between the two just got even less. As a result, I didn't expect to actually be here, but to meet again. As for Li Dongwei, he looked at Lin Mo and frowned slightly. At the same time, it was noted. The other person was sitting in a seat that should have been his own. The first thing that happened was that his heart was getting more and more upset. Immediately, he said, Lin Ma, what are you doing here? This is not a place where people like you can come. As the words fell after that, a bloated and obese old boss there. Then he looked at Li Dongwei and said, Mr. Li, this person, you recognize? Li Dongwei laughed and whirled around. Recognize, of course I know him. This guy is a college buddy of mine. Where are the parents of the family? They are in a small county, running a grocery store. With these words falling after, many of the people around them froze at this moment. Immediately, among the eyes that looked at Lin Mo, at once, it was a few moments of contempt that surfaced. They originally thought, Lin Mo is the son of a big family in the magic city, who has just returned to China. Results, turns out the family was just a, a, uh, grocery store in the country. For a moment, the bottom of the crowd's eyes were filled with contempt and disdain. And at this point, this Li Dongwei, also with his head held high, walked up to Lin Mo, scanning up and down Lin Mo's clothes, snorted a laugh and said, Oh, this outfit on you, it cost a lot of money to rent it, didn't it? I don't care now, how you got mixed up, but this is never, ever a place where you can come and make trouble. You immediately, get the hell out of here. For this Li Dongwei's words, Lin Mo just swept his opponent up and down. Immediately, he then just shook his head and said, It's been so long since you graduated, and you still have this personality. You really have no brain. Between Lin Mo's words, he was full of mockery at this time. You, a sentence fell. Li Dongwei was also a bit fried. And then, still turning to Lin Mo, he angrily said, I'm going to give you three last seconds to get the hell out of here right now. Otherwise, do you believe I'll immediately call security over and throw you out? For this Li Dongwei's words, Lin Mo just shook his head and laughed coldly in his heart. And this Li Dongwei, in the bottom of his heart, was also annoyed by it. Humph, it seems like you really are a toast. In that case, I'll just have to have security throw you out. With a cold snort in his mouth, this Li Dongwei was planning to call security, but just at this point in time, at the back, a voice that was somewhat harboring annoyance also sounded for it at this time. Li Dongwei, a sentence fell. This Li Dongwei then just turned back, looking at Nunanji who was there. The first thing that came to mind was a few smiles on his face. Hurriedly, he said, Nanji, you've come at the right time. I see that our grandfather's group is at the banquet. There's a poor boy mixed in who's come to Hobnob, and I'm getting ready to throw him out. Listen to the words. There's Munanji there. In a moment's time, a willow eyebrow was raised. The heart grew more and more irritated. Originally she had planned to come down with her own grandfather. Together. But she was suddenly remembering. Lin Nimo and the people who were here. That were all unrecognizable. To avoid a confrontation. So it's a step down. But I didn't expect it. As soon as I came down. I saw the situation. And then, it was a stern voice. Poor boy who dabbles in food? Li Dongwei, have you lost your head? This Lin Mo, he's an honored guest I invited. Grandpa he also agreed. You're actually going to kick someone out now? Li Dongwei, how much do you mean? A sentence fell. This Li Dongwei was completely confused. Afterwards, it was with some incredulity. Looking at Lin Mo, who had sat there. The look of dismay. He, it's actually Mu Nanji who invited them? And, the old man actually agreed? This is a joke. Li Dongwei was clueless at this point. For all of this, it just feels, well, a little bit outlandish. Mu Nanji just coldly, glanced at this Li Dongwei. Then, very quickly, he arrived in front of Lin Mo, said, I'm really sorry, I forgot to introduce you to everyone. It's okay. Lin Mo waved his hand, not caring. By the way, I told my grandfather you were here. This Mu Nanji who said that, came to the position located above. Then, continuing, my grandfather said for you to sit by his side, which is the same position. After the words fell, everyone present was wide-eyed. On their faces, all of them wore a stunned, dumbfounded look. The moment, everyone was dumbfounded. Let Lin Mo, sit next to the old man? This, on what grounds? To know, this banquet today was hosted by the old man. And, the old man was also the protagonist of the day, with the highest status. And, such an old man, actually let this poor kid, 
sit beside him? On what grounds? At this point, everyone here was somewhat unconvinced about Lin Mo's heart. But, it was, after all, the old man's idea. Even if they had some grievances, they could only hold them in. Even if it has always been a bit cerebral. Li Dongwei, at this moment, he could only be there, with a defiant gaze under his eyes, looking at Lin Mo. And at this point, Lin Mo, on the other hand, sat there with a silent expression, with Lin Mo sitting down. After about five or six minutes, the door of this private room was also pushed open at this time. A crane-haired, rosy-cheeked old man walked in. This old man was not someone else. It was none other than this Mu Nanji's grandfather, the contemporary head of the Mu family, the old man of the Mu family, Mu Jiangwo, and along with that, the arrival of this Mu Jianguo. All the people here, too, have risen for it, saying, Grandpa, Elder Mu, listen to this. Mu Jiangwo just smiled. Then, waving his hand, said, Ha ha, sit, everyone sit, no need to be polite. As he snapped, the crowd then, in droves, resumed their seats. And at this point, this Mu Jiangwo was also smiling, and came to Lin Mo's side. After sitting down, surveying Lin Mo, he said, I believe that little friend is the little friend Lin Mo that Nanji mentioned to me, Elder Mu, it is none other than me. Lin Mo said with a smile on his face, See so, this Mu Jiangwo also nodded. With a few moments of appreciation and satisfaction under his eyes, he said, Not bad, not bad. And then when it's all said and done, a slightly overbuilt man there, one hung around his neck. It was about the middle-aged man with a large, thumb-thin gold chain. Then he just smiled and opened his mouth. Elder Mu, the last time you celebrated your birthday, my juniors weren't able to be there to congratulate you. Please accept this meager birthday gift from me. After all was said and done, this middle-aged man, right from the back, held out a box. After opening the box carefully, inside, a longevity peach carved out of sheep's white jade. Then it was slowly, within the box, held out. Thens, handed it to Mu Jiangwo who was there. Look at the birthday peach. Mu Jiangwo here played with it and then said with a smile. You've got a heart. A gosher. Ha ha, it should be. And at that moment, the others, too, began to give gifts. As one by one the gifts were given. This Mu Jiangwo behind the counter. At this time is more than 10 pieces of birthday gifts. Meanwhile, there's Li Dong Wai. At this point in time, it also stood up. From a side pocket, he pulled out a wooden box. Then have opened this wooden box. In the middle of this wooden box, at this moment was a bottle of exquisite red wine. I've heard that Mulao is good at wine. I'm not a trustee. I've plucked a bottle of 90-year-old Conti for you from the EU. I hope Mulao doesn't mind. With the advent of this 90-year-old Conti, many of the people here had a look of dismay on their faces. And 90 Conti? The Lee family has, this time, put their blood on the line. Yes, the 90 Conti. That's a rare and good wine that once fetched three. Four million dollars a bottle. And Mu Jiangwo, who was there, was also a bit surprised at this time. Taking the bottle of candy, he held it in his hand and watched it carefully. In his mouth, he also kept praising. Not bad, not bad. This wine is indeed a 90 Conti. Have a heart. Dong Wei. This time you guys really have a heart. I'll take this bottle. Old man. Looking at Mu Jiangwo in such a manner. On the side are those rich business owners. Looking at this Li Dong Wei at this time. There was also a flurry of them and they began to flatter. I didn't realize that Dong Wei could actually get this kind of good wine. As soon as Dong Wei's bottle of wine came out, it immediately compared our gifts. All of them, ah, the corners of this Li Dong Wei's mouth. Also gently, a burst of for it to rise. The heart can be very excited. It seems, the three million, it wasn't wasted. At the same time, this Li Dong Wei also looked at Lin Imo. With a few cold smiles on his lips, he muttered mentally, Ha, hey, isn't it just that you're being looked at by Mu Nanji? It's just a little white boy. Let's see how I'll make a fool out of you. Think about it. This Li Dongwei. Then is smilingly said. Ha ha, you're welcome, uncles and uncles. But that's what we, as juniors, should do. Besides, it's just a bottle of wine. Which is nothing. But that said, everyone, this time, had come to see the old man. More or less. They all bring gifts. There's no one. Who comes empty-handed? Is there? The words came out. All eyes were focused on. Lin M.O., who was sitting in the upper seat. See this. The Munin branched their frown slightly. And the heart sank. At this point, she, too, could see it. Lin M.O. and this Li Dongwei don't deal with each other. At this moment, Li Dongwei was clearly turning on Lin M.O. And before, though, she saw it, Lin M.O. did, indeed, walk in carrying a black paper bag. 
but she didn't care too much about what the gift Lin Imo was carrying was, and one only told Lin Ma yesterday, the gift he was carrying was probably not going to be anything too good, and if something is too average, inevitably, it will be given the opportunity to be mocked by Li Dongwei. The moment, Niu Nanji's mind sank, some trouble, as for Lin Imo, he smiled calmly. Subsequently, Dao, I came in a bit of a hurry, so I just brought some thin gifts, so I hope that Elder Mu will not be offended. Mu Jiangwo laughed and said, No blame, Shaolin you can come. Ah, it's the best gift to the old man me. And at this point, Lin Imo also took out the two bottles of spear platforms that were placed in a black paper bag. Two alabaster bottles. Didn't prepare anything nice? Just brought two bottles of white wine. With this alabaster bottle the spear platform was removed. Everyone on the scene was frozen. These two bottles of spearmint looked to be of some vintage. But the alabaster bottle one was the first time most of the people in the room had seen it. While Mu Jiangwo looked at the two bottles of wine. At the bottom of his heart, he was somewhat appalled. Spin. It's just holding it in your hand and looking at it carefully. As for Li Dongwei, looking at the two bottles of wine, the corners of his mouth, however, emerged with a few moments of teasing and disdain. Ha, huh, those two random bottles of worthless old wine over here? Who are you shaming? And a spear table in an alabaster bottle? I've never seen it before. This isn't a $5 bottle from the sidewalk, is it? In the middle of this Li Dongwei's tone, it was full of mockery. The words just fell. Then a few moments of annoyance surfaced on Mu Jiangwo's face. You shut up. With a roar. Here's Donovan Lee. The first thing that happened was that they were taken aback. Immediately, that is, he looked at Mu Jiangwo who was there. At this moment, Mu Jiangwo had a few moments of sulking on his face, and a slightly older middle-aged man next to him. At this time is also looking at this bottle of alabaster bottle of spear table. The heart also has a few moments of clarity. Purple sand bottle with cork. It's obviously an old bottle of wine from the 50s. This middle-aged man's heart beat for it. Then, he swept a glance at Li Dongwei who was there. Slowly, he just opened his mouth. Humph, young man, don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. This little friend brought wine that was $5 a bottle on the side of the road? Oh, this wine if you can get it for $5. I'll acquire as much as you can get. After these words fell. Here, Li Dongwei, his face reddened, and a bunch of other old bosses next to him. Although they don't recognize this 1955 alabaster bottle spear table. But look at the two in this look. They also reacted. The bottle of spear platform in front of me, I'm only afraid, is of great origin. One of them, at this time, also opened his mouth and asked, Elder Mu, Dong Qian, could it be that this spear platform, has some origin? With those words, at that time, the middle-aged man who was known as Qian Dong had an agitated look on his face. Road, this bottle of spear platform is no ordinary spear platform, but has a great deal of history. Alabaster bottle-bodied spear platforms do exist, except, that is, only in the, well, 50s, as the words fell after that. The crowd of veterans at the scene were instantly dumbfounded. Looking at the bottle of spear platform in the hands of Mu Jiangwo, his face was shocked. What, a 50s spear table? I did hear about the 50s spear table, but never saw it in real life. I didn't expect to see it here today. I remember a bottle of 58 spearmint in the Goethe auction of 10 years. At that time, the auction came out at a straight $1, 12 million. And that bottle has not been preserved in the same taste and appearance as this one. Fizz, boy, that bottle of wine. The moment, everyone was in a flurry. It was looking towards, in the hands of Mu Jiangwo this bottle of 5-star spear platform. Face all changed. As for Mu Jiangwo who was there, it was still, a calm look. Then, sweeping a glance at the middle-aged man, he said, money was right, but not quite. A sentence fell. Everyone froze. And this Qin Dong was also a bit confused. Not quite right? This, what do you mean? Just as the crowd was confused, there's Mu Jianguo there. Also continued, languidly, this bottle of spearmint, from 1955, and, is labeled golden wheel. A simple sentence fell. The crowd was a little confused. Not quite sure what that means. And that Chen Dong's face changed when he heard this figure. His eyes were round. His expression was stunned. And his breathing was ragged. Golden wheel marker. It's the golden wheel marker's spear platform? Qin Dong was a bit out of sorts. The whole person was a bit unable to sit still. Looking at Qin Dong who looked so out of sorts, the others froze. Unable to help himself, he just opened his mouth and asked, Dong Qian, what's wrong? What happened to the golden wheel spear table? This money Dong took two deep breaths. With an effort, he kept himself calm. Dao, the spearmint logo as we know it now has a five star sign and a flying sign. But it was different in the 50s, where the five star was an inside sales spear table. And in this era, 
The Spear platform for export is this Golden Wheel brand. The Golden Wheel brand of Speleothems is relatively scarce for export and, in the opinion of the collecting community, the collector's value of this type of Speleothem far exceeds that of the Five Star brand. As I recall, there was a bottle of 57 Golden Wheel Spearmint that was once auctioned for $2.53 million, and this bottle of 55 looks to me to be in far better condition than the original one. I predict that the auction price of this wine will never be lower than $2.8 million. A sentence fell. Everyone at the scene, cold air was sucked in. A bottle of Mao Tai. Worth $2.8 million. This, literally, is sky high. As for going skeptical about these words from Qian Dong, then, naturally, no one would doubt it. After all, this Qian Dong's family runs an auction house. It's not the main wine category, but it's not too far off if you ask him to value it. And at this moment, Lin Imo was all confused. Looking at the 55-year-old golden will spear table that was held in the heart of Mu Jiangwo's hand as if it were a treasure. The look is bizarre. So, this thing is worth that much? And there are 28 bottles of this wine still sitting in the den of your own home. A moment in time. Lin Mo's expression could be described as odd. And Mu Jiangwo couldn't get enough of this bottle. Immediately, it was cold. Glancing at Li Dongwei who was there. And said, Young man, this world is far. Far more vast than you can imagine. For this bottle alone. It's a lot more precious than whatever 90-year-old Conti you have. After all was said and done, he was just casually, setting a 90 Conti, which was lying on the side, on the table. Casually, he turned to Li Dongwei. Coldly, he grunted, get your Conti and get yourself out. This stuff, old man, I don't care for. A sentence fell. The crowd beside this Li Dongwei. There was a flurry of them, just a rush to avoid them. It was as if this Li Dongwei, was a plague, fear of avoidance and Li Dongwei's face was pale at that moment. The whole thing was completely off the hook. Done. It's completely over. In the bottom of his heart, he was even more regretful. Just now, why did he say something to Lin Imo to mock him? If one didn't go for the taunting, how did it come to this? Then, he was the one who, in a hurry, opened his mouth. Lin Mo, Mo, I was wrong. I was really wrong. Please, for the sake of you and me, being classmates, help me plead with Elder Mu. In response, Lin Mo was indifferent. Just one look at him was all it took. I'm sorry, there's really no way around this. How can it be possible that Elder Mu's decisions are something that a little person like me can go and sway? A simple sentence fell. On the other hand, it was complete, leaving Li Dongwei in despair. And Elder Mu, who was there, snorted coldly at that moment. Get the hell out of here. Hearing this, Li Dongwei could only turn away with a lost look. With the departure of Li Dongwei, inside the booth, the atmosphere was strange. As for Mu Jiangwo, he said with a smile, this gift, little friend Lin, is really a bit expensive. The 55 golden wheel spearmint, and also two bottles at once. Old man I'm, really, a bit, well, ashamed of it. Listening to that from Mu Jiangwo, Lin Emo just laughed. Spinning around, he shook his head. The wine itself isn't anything too expensive. I was in a bit of a hurry to get here today, so I casually stopped by the house and pulled out two bottles as a gift. When I came here, I was worried that Mu Lao wouldn't like it. Now, since Elder Mu likes it, then Elder Mu will just accept it. Lin Mo, who was here, said with a smile, but after that sentence fell, the surrounding crowd, however, were dumbfounded. 2. 8 million a bottle of spearmint. It's called not something too expensive? Also, what do you mean? You smoked two bottles at home as a gift? Is it possible that there are more of these 55-year-old spear tables in your house? With that thought just falling. The voice of Lin Mo, who was there, then just sounded again. That's all it is, I've got a ton of it at home and it's completely undrinkable. Lin Mo spoke blandly, as the words fell after that. The people there were all sucking in cold air at this time. At home, there are really several bottles? For a moment, many people were so shocked that they didn't know what to say. After all, spear platforms of this level are hard to see on a regular basis. But when it comes to Lin Mo, but there are a whole lot of them? This, for a moment, a lot of people have been, and are, just staggered by it, and also at this point in time, the door to this private room, however, was also knocked on, everyone, at once, was looking towards the door, with the gaze cast afterward, the door to this room was also pushed open, then the general manager of this golden foot hotel, Zhao Qian, walked in, behind him, he was followed by two waitresses dressed in Chong Sam's, in the hands of the two men was a tray, whom, Mr. Zhao, what brings you here? Looking at Zhao Qian who had come, everyone was stunned. Listen to this. Zhao Qian just smiled faintly. 
Then said, I heard that Mr. Lin, the director of our Golden Foothills Hotel, is dining here with Elder Mu, specially, I came over to give you all, a gift from our hotel. After the words fell, everyone on the scene, froze, sitting there is the money director, without being able to help it, it was just the way it was, Mr. Lin, Mr. Zhao, the Mr. Lin you're talking about, could it be, as the words fell after that, Zhao Qian, who was there, then just nodded his head and said, yes, that's Mr. Lin M.O. Lin, Mr. Lin is the second largest shareholder of our hotel, after all was said and done, this Zhao Qian also walked up to Lin M.O. and bowed, Mr. Lin, I didn't know you were here, and I wasn't able to greet you earlier, it's okay, Lin M.O. waved his hand and said, I was just invited here today, so I didn't inform you in advance, hearing Lin Mo's words, this Zhao Qian also wiped the sweat from his forehead, spinning around, it was said, Mr. Lin, Elder Mu, I ordered the kitchen from my side, made a palace dish, hundred birds, as well as a bottle of flying spearmint, having said that, clap your hands, tray down, inside, the flying spear platform and the hundred birds of prey were then just placed on the tabletop, I will not continue to intrude here, so I will take my leave, having said that, this Zhao Qian turned around and left with him, with this Zhao Qian's departure, the people who were here were somewhat stunned at this moment, looking at Lin Mo in front of them, Lin Mo was actually the second largest shareholder of this Golden Foothills Hotel, this, for a moment, everyone was a little stunned, this Golden Foot Hotel, in the entire magic city, belonged to a prestigious existence, although it was said that the annual net profit of this Golden Foot Hotel was probably just around 100 million dollars, however, it can't withstand the fact that this Golden Foothill Hotel's connections are horrible enough, all over Mordor, all kinds of business banquets, basically, it's all going to be at the Golden Foothills Hotel, the network of contacts formed behind this is not insignificant, and, Lin M.O. was actually, the second largest shareholder of this Golden Foothills Hotel, the moment, everyone's gazes as they looked at Lin M.O. changed a little, at the same time, there was some speculation, this Lin M.O., what kind of person is he, after all, the magic city circle is that big, however, such a number one character, before, they actually hadn't even heard of him, that's a little weird, as for Mu Nanji who was there, she was also a bit stunned at this time, the look on his face as he looked at Lin Mo appeared a little strange, she was all over the place, too, and didn't think about it, Lin Mo, would actually be the second largest shareholder of this Golden Foot Hotel, it's just, a little bit, unbelievable, Lin Mo was somewhat helpless at this, Originally, he hadn't wanted to expose this double identity. As a result, it's still given away now. Feeling the gazes of the crowd around him, Lin Mo touched his nose. Then, it was after picking up the bottle of wine that was there and unscrewing the cap. First, he poured a glass for Elder Mu. Spinning around, the word, let's all just stop standing around and eat our food and drink our wine. This hundred birds dish won't taste as good when it gets cold later. As those words fell, it was only at the table that the atmosphere came back to life. After three rounds of wine, the food is over. At the table, gradually, there were just scraps of food left. Elder Mu, who was there, looked at Lin Mo and said, Little friend Lin, is this just returning to the magic city? In response, Lin Mo smiled and said, That's not true. I used to be just a normal student. It's only in the recent past that these things have been taken over. So many aspects may be a bit unintelligible. So I hope that all of you, seniors, will be able to bear with me a bit. Lin Mo wasn't telling lies with this statement. After all, one does have recent, recent exposure to these things. All of these things are obtained by relying on the trillion dollar subsidy app. But, the words fell on the ears of these men. It's something else. Everyone at this time, for Lin Mo was more and more solemn. In their opinion, the family power behind Lin Mo was definitely very large and terrifying. Before, Lin Mo didn't have much of a reputation. Purely, because the family was honing, exercising him. Now, the family ban is lifted. The period of several years has expired. It's starting to be gradual. Giving him these resources, and this Golden Foothills Hotel. It's too, to be able to give him a, a way to gain a network of contacts. And this is something that has made a number of people here. Solemn. After all, one shot is one. Five-star hotels with hundreds of millions of dollars in annual net profits to practice and gain a network of contacts. And, still, it makes it, the second largest shareholder in the hotel at least palm shares, in the 30% or so kind of way, how terrifying was the family power behind this Lin M.O., this was, definitely, an, extremely large and terrifying family, 
As for Elder Mu and Mu Nanji who knew part of Lin Mo's information, it was also a hard shock at this point. Looking at Lin Mo in front of him, it just felt like the fog on him was getting thicker and thicker. Half an hour later, the main entrance to the hotel. The crowd is gathered here at this time. There was a flurry of them saying goodbye to each other. Not much longer. That is, only Lin Mo and the two from the Mu family were left. On the sidelines, Zhao Qian and a group of hotel executives standing there, not daring to come forward. Meanwhile, Hope Wong came over as well. Boss, with a bow to Lin Mo, this Huang Yuan's face was respectful. Lin Mo then nodded casually and said, Okay, drive over. After saying that, Lin Mo was looking at the two Mu family members next to him and said, Elder Mu, Nan Ji, want to go together? Listening to Lin Mo's words, Elder Mu, who was next to him, pondered. Then he just nodded his head and said, Good, let's go together then. Said, This Mu Lao was also, looking at the several servants behind him. You guys go ahead and go back. Yes, without further ado, a few people carried their things and turned to leave. And at that moment, Huang Wan came in her car. A few people just got in the car. The group of executives behind him bowed 90 degrees in unison. Take care, Mr. Lin. Take care, Elder Mu. One moment. The sound is great in the extreme. So much so, that aside, some of the other customers who had just finished their meals and were ready to leave. At this moment, they were all ruthlessly surprised by this vast sound. What do you mean by rehearsal? This. It's called a platoon. Lin Mo just smiled at this. Then, helplessly, he shook his head. This messed up. A helpless smile. Lin Mo also didn't pay any more attention to it. The vehicle started. All the way. To one eastern suburbs. One eastern suburbs. Inside the villa. With tea served. The three of them. Lin Mo. Mu Lao and Mu Nan Ji. Were sitting on this sofa. Elder Mu. Who was there. After taking a sip of tea. On his face. He also showed a few smiles and said. This second generation of big red robe. It just tastes different. In response. Lin Mo gently smiled. Then it just said, if Elder Mu likes it, he can still come to me to get it when he runs out later. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Elder Mu was also a bit stunned. He didn't expect such a precious second generation big red robe. There was actually more in Lin Mo's hands. And although it was said, he was extremely hopeful that it would be promised. But, there were still just a couple of light chuckles. In a whirlwind, he just opened his mouth. Ha ha, that's not necessary. Taking a sip of tea, the Mu Lao who was here. Then he just slowly said, Little friend Lin, I don't know, are you aware of the East Sea Project in Magic City? Listening to Elder Mu's words, Lin Mo was, at once, just stunned. There were also a few moments of doubt in the bottom of his heart. And he said, the Tokai Project? Yes, the East Coast Project. Elder Mu nodded his head. And then, immediately, he just continued. Currently, our Mu group, is preparing to build a resort, next to the East Sea. And the conservative estimate of the profit of this project, if it is completed, is around $3 billion. Resort? Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. Then, slowly, Mu Lao now, tell me about this project. Could it be that you're planning to drag me, too, into this program of yours? Hearing Lin Mo's words, Elder Mu here, on the other hand, smiled faintly. Afterwards, it was to look at Lin Mo, just flatly sipping his tea without speaking. And Lin Mo, in the bottom of his heart, weighed the situation, said, what do I need to put in, if anything, if I join your program, as these words from Lin Mo fell, Elder Mu, who was there, shook his head bashfully, spinning around, he then just opened his mouth and spoke, Mr. Lin doesn't need to put anything in, all you have to do is, on our program, put up a name, after the project is completed, we, on our side, will give you a 10% profit sharing, a word fell, however, it caused both Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji to be stunned. At the bottom of his heart, he was also a bit perplexed. What doesn't need to be invested? Just hang on to your name? And give yourself a 10% cut when the program is over? This, it simply gives the impression that you are giving away money. One time, Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. It only felt that what this old man Mu said. It's really a bit puzzling and puzzling for people. For that matter, looking at Lin Mo's puzzled gaze, Elder Mu, who was here, also laughed at once and said, Ha ha, Mr. Lin doesn't need to worry about anything, I don't need Mr. Lin to give anything, the main reason is that, before, our family, Naimi, was in trouble, at that time, you had stepped in to help the South Branch, and it was our profit from this project that increased substantially, so what I'm doing now is just to repay your favor, listen to this explanation, 
Lin Imel was also not in a good position to continue, to say something, one could only nod and say, if that's the case, then I won't push it. These words fell. Elder Mu, who was here, also revealed a few smiles and said, ha ha, little friend is refreshing, then since it is so, are you going to the project banquet tomorrow night, little friend? Lin Imel pondered a little, you're not doing anything anyway, so you might as well go over there and mix it up. Still nodding at the thought, he said, if that's the case, then I'll just go ahead and take a look. Then tomorrow, I'll have Manji come over to pick up little friend. Saying that, this old man Mu took the tea in his cup and drank it all in one go. Saying, if that's the case, I won't continue with my ranting. At that instant, the two of them, this Mu Lao and Mu Nanji, just turned around and left. Lin Emo sent the two out of the villa. Then it was time to head to the underground gym and work out. Inside villa 2, the look on Mu Nanji's face at this time appeared to be very puzzled. Opened his mouth and asked. Grandpa, why did you just? Elder Mu, who was sitting there, spoke calmly. You want to ask why I don't want that Lin Ma to put in some of the money? Mu Nanji nodded his head. In response, this old man Mu only smiled gently. Then shaking his head, he said, You, you're still too young for this Lin Mo. It's definitely far more terrifying than you or I could ever imagine. We, the Mu family, are an outsider family. The roots in Mordor are not particularly secure. And this project in the East China Sea can bring so much benefit that many people covet it. It can't be easily swallowed by our Mu group alone. So, at this point in time, it's important to tie up a big guy. Only in this way could those who coveted it not dare to act recklessly. And in my opinion, this Lin Mo should be a male son of some big family out for a trial. If he befriended him at this time, after he returned within the family, as long as he could remember this fragrant love, at that time, won't we get more benefits than this measly few hundred million? As for Lin Ma, though, it was not quite clear what this Mu Lao was thinking. However, at this time, he had guessed it. However, Lin Mo didn't care too much about these. After all, whatever the other side is playing at, but one's own cards are laid out here. There was no fear of what the other side might do to them. To themselves, on the treadmill, after about half an hour or so of running, Rimmer turned into the pool. The time before that, the pool in Lin Moore was, essentially, uncleaned, but after coming to the babysitter, here every day, too, the pool water is changed with fresh water, a little bit of time passed, soon, the time is also coming to midnight in the evening, on Lin Ma's cell phone app, at this time, there are also new goods on the shelves, after refreshing it, Lin Mo was also, at once, stunned, the color of his face, too, was a bit odd, surprisingly, shares in Trina group again, and, for once, it's actually a 15% stake? Lin Mo's face looked strange. He remembered, from earlier, passing the prestige punch list, himself used to be the one who got a 10% share, and this time, he himself actually swiped 15% of the shares of this Trina group in the app. This is really some. Buy it. Without the slightest hesitation, Lin Mo's finger fell. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 15 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. I can't believe it only takes 15 minutes? Lin Mo was a bit surprised. But then, that's what it was for. After all, this 15% share of the Skyhopper group was asking for a full $188 of his own money. That's a reasonable 15 minute delivery. Then wait. Lin Mo thought so in his heart. At the same time, it was the same time that he clicked on Do Shark and watched Qin Fei's live broadcast. 15 minutes passed quickly. And at this moment, on the nightstand next to Lin Mo's bed, a bag of papers, that's what landed on it. Take it in your hands and open it. Inside this file bag, the document also fell on the hand at this time. And this one document. Heck, it's this Trina group amount of equity book. Not bad. It's exactly 15% of Trina's shares. The corners of Lin Mo's mouth rose. And in the meantime, capital. Inside an opulent villa, an old man who looked nearly 70 years old with gray temples, was seated at the mahogany desk in the study, working on the paperwork at hand. A layer of silver gray ash lay among the ashtrays beside them. Phew. Exhaling, the old man breathed a sigh of relief, glanced at the clock, pinched his brow, and was just about to continue working on the paperwork. The cell phone on the side was suddenly ringing. Looking at the caller ID, it was his own secretary. After connecting, this old man said, Hey, Song, what's up? Chairman, it's quite presumptuous to disturb you at this time. But a moment ago, there was a major change in the company's shareholding. As these words fell, the old man Wang Yingjia looked solemn. What's the situation? Tell me in detail. To know, this recent period, within their company, has not been stable. 
especially on the board of directors. At this point in time, it's in the midst of a power grab. Several other shareholders are voting at this point, trying to squeeze themselves out. Hence the, how can he not be nervous when a major equity change has occurred? Just a minute ago, Mr. Lin M.O., who acquired 10% of our shares in the Trina Group last time, made another move. This time, it's a direct one, acquiring our Trina Group, a full 15% stake. That is to say, at this time in the hands of Mr. Lin M.O., has 25% of the shares, became our company, the second largest shareholder. The moment, Wang Yingjia, who was here, had a somewhat solemn expression on his face, 25% of the equity. To know, he is the chairman and founder of this Trina group. Hands down so far, it's only holding only 37, 8% of the shares. Two, and, now a guy from nowhere. I can't believe I'm in control of the company. A full 25% of the shares. This, after a slight change in his face, this Wang Yingjia also calmed down. He said, this Lin Mo's information, do you have it so far? We do have some of the information so far, and it's been sent to your email. Wang Yingjia who was listening to these words, quickly, too, he opened his email, started checking it out. With this view, this Wang Yingjia also shook his head and said, all of this information, basically, is at the surface. It looks like it's all about what the other side wants you guys to find out. It could even be argued that the information is still tinkered with. Looking at the information on the computer screen, this Wang Yingjia for a while, then just shook his head. At this point, in front of it this resume of information, Herculean, it's Lin Ma's resume. On it, is clearly written, Lin Mo is a, from a small town in Ontario, a child of an ordinary family. But, for this kind of information, Wang Yingjia that was absolutely not believable. A kid from an average small town family? How is this possible? It wasn't that he, Wang Yingjia, didn't believe it, but it was just too much of a stretch. An ordinary kid from an ordinary family. Is it possible to swallow 25% of his shares of Trina Group without a word? Even if it's possible. And where did he get such a large sum of money? So, there is only one possibility, and that is that this information is whitewashed. Kind of funny. The corners of Wang Yingjia's mouth rose. He said, all right, you don't need to continue checking this Lin Mo's information. You shouldn't be able to find out any more information if you're on your side. Yes. With that, the phone hung up. This Wang Yingjia, looking at the information in front of him, his eyes narrowed slightly. Fingers, too, were on the tabletop, tapping softly in bursts. Kind of interesting. Is the man in Mordor? After murmuring under his breath, this Wang Yingjia then dialed his son's phone. Magic City. Hotel Bulgari. Song Wang is in a hotel, doing late night games. Under his breath, he was even cursing. Phone Yen, what are you standing there for? Why don't you hurry up and seal the smoke? With a burst of cursing, the computer screen was, at once, gray, slamming the mouse. Wang Sonsong's face was filled with indignation and annoyance. Also at this time, Wang Sonsong's cell phone, however, suddenly rang. He didn't look at the caller ID either. It was instantly connected, somewhat impatiently. Hello, who? There was a silence on the other end of the line. Then a cold voice rang out. Me. At that moment, Wang Sonsong broke out in a cold sweat. Ha ha, pops ah, you're still up this late? Humph. Wang Yingjia snorted coldly under his breath and said, I have business to arrange for you here. If you are in Magic City now, give me as soon as possible. Go to see a person. Specific information I sent you mailbox. Listen to this. Wang Tsongtsong opened his computer mailbox. Looking inside, the information his old man had sent him. Wang Tsongtsong looked at Lin Mo's information and said with some confusion. No, pops, isn't this just a regular guy? You're asking me to meet him? What's the point? Listening to Wang Tsongtsong's words, this Wang Yingjia instantly, his heart burst into a sneer and said, Ordinary people? Ha! Then what if I tell you that this person's hand, holds 25% of the shares of the Trina group, and is now our group, the second largest shareholder? As these words fell, this Wang Tsongtsong suddenly, his pupils contracted for a while, he's not your average second generation dude. Naturally, he understood what was represented behind his own father's words. What? How is this possible? Wang Tsongtsong lost his voice and exclaimed, 25% of the shares of Trina Group, in the hands of this average kid with a resume that looks bland. This, then, is very much against the grain. After swallowing, this Wang Tsongtsong, too, took a deep breath and said, I know, I'll find him as soon as I can. You'd better be respectful to the other party. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm now, in the capital and can't get away, I would have gone over to see him myself. After saying that, he just hung up the phone. After the phone hangs up, 
Wang Son Son's entire body, paralyzed in his chair. There were a few moments of panic, looking at the picture of Lin Mo on the computer screen in front of him. Lin Mo, 25% stake, second largest shareholder of Trina Group, muttering under his breath. This Wang Son Son's heart was shaken. From the information, the other person was a few years younger than himself. But, that's the one. In his hands, he actually held 25% of the shares of the Trina Group. The shares that he holds are almost as big as his own old man's. The moment, Wang Song Song was stunned and lost in thought. In the heat of the moment, it's even more difficult to know what to go on about. He must be found as soon as possible. Such characters should never be messed with. The heart murmurs. Wang Song Song didn't dare to delay. Hurriedly, that is, started, messaging his friends in Mordor to ask. And Lin M.O., the rightful owner who caused all this. For all that, it was total ignorance. Now he is. After watching the session live, after sending a message to Qin Fei and Xia Yuma, respectively, he went to sleep. Recently Xia Yuma is about to arrive at the time of the drama performance. So, the time when you can be free to talk to yourself is just getting shorter and shorter. The night passed quickly. Day 2, Lin Mo, on the other hand, ran to the gym, soaked it in, and worked out for the rest of the day. After a day's workout, the body strengthening potion is tapped for a few more moments of potential. It made his body, once again, be strengthened quite a bit. It's also much more terrifying, especially in terms of stamina, feeling inside his body, that terrifying endurance. Lin Mo's heart also sighed with emotion. This stamina, could it be that next time, you're going to call out Qin Fei and Xia Yuma together? Of course, for this kind of thought, Lin Mo only thought about it. After all, only a child would choose to have it all, and adults know they can't stand it, waiting to get back to the villa. Lin Mo changed into a dinner suit after taking a shower. Then, Nunanji came knocking on the door as well. Only then did Lin Mo get into Nunanji's Bentley, straight to the venue for tonight's dinner. Magic City Hotel. Ten or so minutes later, in front of the Magic City Hotel, many of the guests, at this point, were meeting at the main entrance. Ha ha, Mr. Jun, I didn't expect you to come too? Yo, Mr. Pang, ha ha ha, it's been a long time since we last met. Hey, isn't this Jun Dong? Nice to meet you. Quite a few old bosses who know each other. There was a flurry of them, just chilling out with each other here. A few pleasantries were exchanged. The crowd here had smiles piled on their faces. And also at this point in time, it was also someone who, in the distance, saw the stretch Bentley Molson that was slowly approaching. Look guys, the Mu family is here. This Molson, I remember it's the car of the president of the Mu group. Mu Nanji, Mu Nanji is here, with a burst of chatter from everyone. This Bentley Molson, at this time, was also slowly parked at the entrance of the Magic City Hotel, and as the vehicle came to a stop, everyone quieted down, the whirlwind of it all was looking at the car, silent, John Hai, who was there, was looking at the car at this time, and his heart was also a little apprehensive, in the car, the driver, Sun Fu, also got out of the car, went around to the back and pulled open the door, slender, large white legs, the first to take a step, immediately, Mu Nan Ji, who was wearing an evening dress, walked down from the car, and what followed, in the midst of everyone, that stunned gaze, Lin Mo's figure appeared, and along with Lin Mo, stepped down in this Mu Nan Ji's car, at once, everyone here just froze, this person, who is it, why had it never been seen before in the previous time, and, he still walks off in this Mu Nan Ji's car, in the heat of the moment, all of them, just a bit frozen, looking at Lin Mo who was there, under his eyes, he was full of doubts, and as for Jiang Hai who was there, his face was also changing for a while at this moment, but the next moment, it was still a quick walk, Mr. Mu, Jiang Dong, the two men gently shook hands, then, in the midst of everyone's, dismayed gazes, this Jiang Hai still came in front of Lin Mo, turning to Lin Mo, he then just bowed and said, Mr. Lin, everyone looked at this Jiang Hai's appearance, the first thing that happened was that they were just dumbfounded, what is this, this, who is this youth? First, he got off in Munanzi's car, and now he's able to make Zhang Dong bow and curtsy? Hiss, it seems that the identity of this youth is not trivial. In a moment, many of the people here had cold air pouring out of their mouths, looking at Lin Mo who was here. His face was stunned. For a moment, many people's eyes changed as they looked at Lin Mo. In the bottom of his heart, he began to pay attention to Lin Mo. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was crying and laughing a little at all this. This Jiang Hai is really... Lin Mo reached out his hand and helped this Jiang Hai up, saying, Jiang Dong, we're all friends, 
Let's just consider that incident from before as it's in the past. Yes, 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 it's all friends, it's all friends. Jun Hai didn't dare to take it seriously, hastily, that is, respectfully. But, still, the heart seems to be in the right place. Mu Nanji also smiled and said, Then, John Dong, inside please, inside, please, inside. After all was said and done, Mu Nanji was just obedient, holding Lin Mo's wrist, simultaneous. Da, how about, Mr. Lin acts as my male companion on the red carpet? Lin Mo smiled slightly and said, Could be. Having said that, the two just walked towards the hotel. The two walked down the aisle and made their way towards the banquet hall. Along the way, the people they encountered were all respectful. At the same time, he was also surprised at Lin Mo's identity. What is this man's origin? He was actually able to act as Nunanji's male companion. Soon, the two were entering the banquet hall. And at this point, on the second floor of the banquet hall, at a table by the parapet, a handsome man was sitting there drinking a glass of wine, and across from it sat a young man who was spitting out bitter water at the moment. Old Chen, you don't know, last night, my old man called me in the middle of the night and asked me to find someone. I'd been looking for it all day. The person my old man asked me to look for is nowhere to be found. Listen to this. Chen Wan, who was there, laughed lightly. Then, picking up his wine and taking a gentle sip, he said, Ha ha, don't worry about it, Brother Tsong. This dinner party today is organized by the Mu family in Magic City. Basically, all the dignitaries of Magic City came. Since you said, you are looking for someone then, then it should be found at this banquet tonight. Well, hopefully. After saying that, this Wang Tsong Tsong was also a bit depressed and took a sip of wine. As for Chen Wan who was there, he was also a bit curious at this time. But brother Wang, I'm quite curious. What kind of person are you looking for here? To actually make uncle, call you overnight, so that you can find him in Mordor? Chen Wan was still very clear about the identity of this brother Wang in front of him. The male son of the country's top conglomerate. The Wanha group. Status and position. Extremely proud. And what kind of big shot could he be looking for? Listen to this. Wang Song Song, who was here, shook his head and said, It's a really big one, and I can't, for the time being, reveal it to you. But here's what I can tell you now. If it wasn't for my dad, who can't get away these days, it would have been on its own. What? A sentence fell. Chen Wan, who was here, was appalled in his heart. In the middle of his gaze, there was clearly a slight sense of shock. One time, Chen Wan's heart was also, with a few moments of gravity sweeping through. After all, he was all but surprised. It was supposed to come. It's actually that big shot from the Wang family. Then this time, who is this Wang Tsong Tsong? The person he's looking for? When, in Mordor, there is still such a great man? One moment. This Chen Wan's mind was like electricity, and a series of questions surfaced. Then, lifting his glass, he took a gentle sip of wine, and at this point in time, this Chen Wan's gaze, also subconsciously, looked towards the doorway below. At that moment, it was the sight of Mu Nanji who walked in, and Lin Mo, who was held by Mu Nanji's arm and acted very intimate. For a moment, the face was a bit grim and ugly. Hmm, old Chen, what's wrong with you? Wang Song Song also noticed this Chen Wan, some ugly face, listening to Wang Song Song call out to himself. In a hurry, Chen Wan just turned his head back, then, smiling, saw an acquaintance. Brother Wang you sit here for a while, I'll go down and say hello to someone. Uh, okay, go ahead and say hello. Wang Song Song didn't care too much and just waved his hand. Below, the two walked inside the ballroom. Mu Nan she spat out her tongue and said, Lin Mo, thank you La for walking me down this red carpet. It's okay. Lin Mo also smiled and didn't say anything more. However, just at this point in time, behind the two, a grim voice rang out. Nani, I didn't think you'd actually come. Mu Nanji froze, then her face changed and she turned her head to look. Looking at Chen Wan there, his face was icy cold, with a few moments of disgust under his eyes. Chen Wan, I didn't expect that the representative from the Chen family would actually be you. To this, Chen Wan didn't say anything. Just with a coldness on his face, he looked towards Lin Mo who was at the side. Ha, huh, no wonder I've been avoiding me. So this is yourself, with a compatible man, said the, the bottom of this Chen Wan's eyes as he looked at Lin Mo was still filled with jealousy. He's been courting this Nunanji for over a year now. And, for herself, Nunanji had always been unwilling to pay attention. But now what? She actually came on the arm of another man. How can this not make him furious about it? And listening to the words of this Chen Wan, Mu Nanji blushed slightly between moments, but then, in a whirlwind,
there was a somewhat mortified and angry shout. Chan Wan, don't you give me any nonsense here. Nonsense? Chen Wan sneered. Did I talk nonsense? The process of you coming in with this wild man of unknown origin was witnessed by everyone. Like your behavior if you spread out. Then for your Mu group's reputation. I'm afraid, the impact is not very good, right? A sentence fell. The atmosphere dropped to freezing point. Quite a few people in the surroundings were noticing this place at this time. Yes, this man that Mr. Mu is holding. Who exactly is he? I don't recognize it. Is this the son of someone's family in Mordor? Never seen it. Mu Nanji bit her lower lip and said, Chan Wan, this is a private matter between you and me. You better not go too far. Hearing this, Chen Wan smiled. Then, with a raised eyebrow, he said, Ha, since it's a private matter between you and me, shouldn't we, then, find a private occasion to talk? With a playful smile, this Chen Wan stretched out his hand and was grabbing at Mu Nanji. And just then, a hand that stretched out behind Mu Nanji. With one hand, it was a dead giveaway, grabbing this Chen Wan's wrist. The next moment, Lin Emo took a step and blocked in front of this Mu Nanji. Then, shook off this Chen Wan's wrist. Coldly, you're going a little overboard with this handshake, aren't you? A simple sentence fell. All the people around were all a bit stunned. As for Moon Nanji's heart, a few moments of security grew. The face, too, was somewhat flushed. This feeling of being protected made Moon Nanji's heartbeat thumping faster. As for Chen Wan who was there, his heart was also shocked at this moment by Lin Mo, who suddenly leapt out. He was startled. After all, under the effect of the body strengthening potion, Lin Mo, who was already 1 meter 85 in height. Lately, it's been growing a few centimeters taller again. It reached 1 meter 88 up and down, already close to 1 meter 9, together with Lin Mo's recent gradual bulging muscles. It can be said that the whole person is still very much possessed of a sense of oppression. As for Chen Wan, after being startled again, he gradually came back to his senses, then sized up Lin Mo. Under his breath, he just cursed. CTM, you stinking loser. You're still going to learn how to save a beauty from a hero. Listen to this. Lin Mo frowned, but in the way of this scene tonight, it was formed by the Mu group. Just a slightly cooler tone. Said, watch what you say, or else don't blame me for being rude. Regarding Lin Mo's threat, this Chen Wan completely just didn't care. Just a couple of cold laughs followed. And then, said, ha, huh, you're not polite? I'd like to see how you can be nonchalant with me. Threaten me? For a loser like you, I can crush you with one finger. Listening to the words of this Chen Wan, Mu Nan Ji, who was on the side, had a slight change of color. Then, the face just looked compassionate, shaking his head slightly, and Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. Staring at this Chen Wan, patiently, he said, I'll give you one last chance, here, to apologize to me, and I'll let this go. Apologize? It was as if Chen Wan had heard the world's funniest joke, laughing out loud here. You're asking me to apologize? Ha ha ha, a loser like you is qualified to ask me to apologize to you? Oh, yeah, good. I'll fucking kill you first and then I'll apologize. After all was said and done, this Chen Wan was aiming at Lin Mo, and it was a direct punch that slammed out. And looking at Chen Wan who made a move, Nyu Ji's face changed and said, Don't. Listening to the words of Nyu Ji, this Chen Wan was even more irritated in his heart. It's that time of year, and you're still defending this stinking loser. And, what he doesn't know is this. Mu Nanji's words were for Lin Mo to slightly restrain his strength and not to kill the person. After all, the scene of Lin Mo breaking the world record in the bench press before was still fresh in her mind. The other people around them looked at Chen Wan who made a move. The faces have also changed a bit. To know, this Chen Wan has been practicing martial arts since he was a child. Unusual people can't get into him at all. Now he makes a move against this Lin Mo. This Lin Mo, then, could be said to be somewhat dangerous. However, before their thoughts could fall, on everyone's face, a stunned look appeared. Only Lin Mo grabbed this Chen Wan's wrist with one hand and then twisted it with a slight force. This Chen Wan's arm is showing a 90 degree bend. Bones that snapped right into sections. As for Lin Mo, from the beginning to the end, his feet didn't even move. Ah! This Chen Wan screamed miserably. The look on his face, twisted together. Sweat was constantly on his forehead, dripping down. But in his mouth, he was still roaring. You, do you know who I am, dare to do this to? Yet before he could finish his sentence, Lin M.O., however, was direct, with several slaps being drawn out one after another. Snap, a series of crunching sounds. Several slaps were drawn. This Jin Wan's cheek was swollen high, a mouth full of teeth. Moreover, mixed with blood, all of which were spat out. Lin M.O., on the other hand, casually, 
threw it on the ground. After straightening his suit, he said slowly, Didn't anyone in your family teach you to speak properly? Is it so hard to apologize to me? It has to be violence. And I, for one, have never liked violence. A simple sentence. But it made everyone here, shiver. Looking at Chen Wan, who was there with his cheeks swollen high, he swallowed. You call that you don't like violence? And right at this moment, at the back of this place, there was a voice that rang out. Here, what happened? Hearing the voice, everyone looked towards the back. As for the fearful Chen Wan, his eyes lit up, as a voice rang out. Everyone was looking toward the back. Only one, a young man with a vertical center parted hairstyle, was walking quickly, face, with a few moments of contained annoyance. Who is this man? I don't recognize it. I don't think it's someone from Magic City. Wait a minute, you guys don't recognize this guy? He's the young proprietor of the Trina group. Wang Song Song. He's Wang Song Song? That young master of the Trina group? Hiss. It's actually him. I had heard that Wang Song Song had run away to the Magic City. I didn't expect to see it here. Interesting. This is really interesting. In an instant, quite a few people here. All of them were showing a look of. Ready to watch a good show. After all, this is a behemoth of a group. Trina. In the earlier years, the Trina group started out as a real estate company, and a variety of large shopping centers have been built. Owns the real estate industry, so to speak, is spread throughout the first and second tier cities of the entire Xinhua, and it has even made a series of investments overseas in the past few years. The whole point is to make a lot of money. Looking at the appearing Wang Song Song, the Mu Nanji who was there, at this time, frowned slightly. At the bottom of his heart, there was a bad feeling that began to grow. Meanwhile, this Chan Wan staggered, rising from the ground, came to this Wang Tsung Tsung's side, wailing, he opened his mouth, brother Wang Ah, you can definitely, do it for me. At this time, Chen Wan's speech was a bit vague and leaky, looking at the wretched Chen Wan, this Wang Tsung Tsung's heart was somewhat annoyed, what was immediate was the word, who moved it, although it was said that between this Chen Wan and him, the relationship was just average, but this Chen Wan was now, after all, with himself, however, now this Chen Wan was beaten, if you don't step up yourself, in the future, in this second generation circle, one just doesn't have the face to mix, listening to this Wang Song Song's words, Chen Wan's eyes were immediately brightened, then, pointing at Lin Mo, who was there, he hastily said, brother Wang, it's him, it's him, it's him, this is the guy that did this to me, this guy is way out of line, it was just a couple of verbal altercations, he was direct and came up and gave me a couple of slaps, my teeth were knocked out by him. Brother Wang, you must do something for me. The tone of this Chen Wan's voice appeared to be very aggrieved. A word fell. Wang Song Song, who was there, also frowned at this time. After that, it was to look at Lin Mo. However, the moment he saw Lin Mo, the whole person's heart, at once, just trembled. Is he? In a hurry, Wang Song Song just pulled out his cell phone, found the picture that my own dad sent to me yesterday, carefully after a couple of looks. This Wang Tsung Tsung's heartbeat, thumping faster. That's right, that's him. The man in front of me is the same one from last night, the one his own old man sent to him. Currently their family, the second largest shareholder of the Trina group, Lin Ma. The moment, Wang Tsung Tsung looked agitated, and after that, this Wang Tsung Tsung was just walking quickly, towards Lin Mo, watching Wang Tsung Tsung's movements. Mu Nanji's entire heart was in her throat, although, he knew that Lin Mo's identity was very mysterious. But, now on the opposite side of the room, not someone to be messed with. Instead, it was the young proprietor of the Trina group, Wang Song Song, Lin Mo He. At this moment, Mu Nanji's heart was filled with worry. At the same time, it was also pulling out a cell phone and sending a text message to his own grandfather. She could only hope, now, that her own grandfather would make it over. And then, bailing out Lin Ma. After all, this is something that started because of himself. The crowd beside him sighed at this point. Hey, this lad, it's over. Who would have thought that this Chen Wan actually knows Wang Song Song? Yeah, as for that, there's Chen Wan there. At this time, it was also incomparably arrogant. Son of a bitch, you stinking loser. How dare you hit me? Let's see how you can continue to be arrogant now. Chen Wan pointed at Lin Mo and just arrogantly shouted. However, the moment the words fell, Wang Song Song, who was there, was instantly enraged. Turning around, the direct one was a kick, ruthlessly kicking this Chen Wan's stomach. Boo! A kick out. This Chen Wan directly, just fell to the ground. The whole thing was even more painful and on the verge of crying. Say it again for me. Who are you cursing? Mister. Lin is also someone you can scold? 
While saying that, this Wang Song Song was still a bit unrelieved. After kicking at this Chen Wan a few more times, with quick steps, he just walked up to Lin Mo. This was followed by a fierce bow, saying, Mr. Lin, I'm sorry that I didn't recognize you just now. I'm much offended. I hope you'll bear with me. A sentence fell. Others around here. At this time, there was no one who was not sucking in cold air. What is this? The young proprietor of this Trina group, Wang Song Song, to actually treat this Lin Mo with such respect? This is simply, just a little bit unbelievable. The moment, everyone around was dumbfounded, and there, in pain, his body curled up into a prawn, Chen Wan, at this time, the mind was also set off by a monstrous wave, in the back of his mind, at this time, an even more, almost ridiculous idea surfaced, could it be that, this Lin Mo is what Wang mentioned before, that big shot? How is this possible? There are only a few second generation people with the surname Lin in the entire Magic City. This man, in the circles of Magic City, has never been seen before. In this moment, a layer of fear climbed onto Chen Wan's face. And, deep despair. As for that Mu Nan Ji, she was even more confused at this time. Looking at this, Wang Song Song who was respectful to Lin Mo. His throat, slightly dry. What's going on here? This Lin Mo. What kind of person is he? Can you actually make Wang Tsong Tsong are so respectful? Mu Nan Ji only felt that at the bottom of her heart, it was a million times more unbelievable, just when her mind was suspicious. Instead, there was, from the side, a cacophony of voices. Make way, Elder Mu is here. At once, the crowd here just moved out of the way. What followed was Mu Jiangwo's hurried arrival. In just a few moments ago, he was the one who received a tweet from his granddaughter. It said that there was a bit of a conflict between Lin Mo and Wang Tsong Tsong of the Trina group. The conflict started because of his own granddaughter. This made Mu Lao instantly. Just couldn't sit still. Hurriedly, he was just rushing towards this place. At the bottom of his heart, he was even calculating how he was going to solve this matter. After all, he couldn't afford to offend either side of this conflict. One is the youngest son of the Trina group. One was Lin Mo, who came from a mysterious source. It was also a headache for him. At this time, he also came here. Hastily, he smiled and said, Ha ha, Mr. Wang, what brings you to? The words were not finished. Elder Mu was the one who saw. There, towards Lin Mo, the respectful Wang Tsong Tsong. The whole thing was just confused. Maleo, who am I? Where am I? What happened here? At this moment, Elder Mu was completely dumbfounded. Looking at the scene in front of him, the entire person fell into a state of confusion. Here, is that what happened? Didn't you say that between Lin Mo and Wang Tsong Tsong, there was a conflict? But the scene before us, the three people who were here, at this time, also noticed Elder Mu who was walking towards them. Yunanji quickly greeted them. Grandpa, Lin Mo also nodded his head at Elder Mu and said, Elder Mu, Wang Tsong Tsong, who was next to him, looked at the old man who walked over, and at this time, he also respectfully said, Master, this old man, Wang Tsong Tsong still does not dare to offend. Although the Mu group, is just a new up and coming enterprise, but the momentum over the years has been terrifying. Not to mention, behind this master Mu, the family power is still quite powerful. Look at this Wang Chung Chung. Elder Mu also laughed and said, Mr. Wang, between you this and little friend Lin, you know each other? I didn't really know each other before, only that I've heard of Mr. Lin's great name for a long time. Mu Lao, who was listening to this, was even more confused, and before Elder Mu could say anything, this Wang Tsong Tsong, again, continued to speak. To be honest, this time I'm also here to meet Mr. Lin in place of my father. This time if my father hadn't been unavailable, he would have just come to meet Mr. Lin in person. The words came out. The two who were there, Elder Mu and Mu Nanji. The moment was even more confusing. This, who the hell is Lin Mo? It actually managed to make this Wang Tsong Tsong's father. Wang Yingjia, the chairman of the Tianhe group. Are they all planning to meet in person? Elder Mu, at this moment, was also a bit puzzled and opened his mouth. Mr. Wang, what the hell is this? Listening to Elder Mu's inquiry, Wang Tsong Tsong did not speak, just looking at Lin Mo, with a questioning look on his face. Lin Mo, on the other hand, waved his hand and said, It's okay, go ahead. Lin Mo didn't think of hiding anything about this matter. After all, one holds 25% of the shares of this Trina group. This thing is very huge. I'm afraid it won't take long to trigger an industry shakeup. So, might as well be honest about it. Okay. Wang Song Song nodded, then explained respectfully. Mr. Lin acquired 25% of our shares in the Trina group. Currently, 
The shareholding within the group is second only to my father. It's our Trina group, the second largest natural person shareholder. Boom. A sentence fell. All over the room. There was horror. Everyone was stunned. 25% shareholding? Or is it Trina? This. One sentence fell. And everyone, dumbfounded. Jung Hai was completely confused at this moment. Lin Mo was actually, Trina's second largest shareholder? This. Are you sure you're not kidding? So what one has been? Is dealing with people like this? Jung Hai for a split second. His thoughts electrified. At the same time, secretly, a decision was made. So what if you're caught in the act? Since there is a handle, one is with others, there is a relationship. Then, it would be necessary to find a way to deepen that relationship, hold on to each other's thighs. Both of them, Elder Mu and Mu Nanji, could not help but swallow a mouthful of saliva. They had, before, thought of many possibilities. The only thing is, it just didn't occur to me that this was a possibility. After all, the possibility of that is, well, outrageous. It's more like a little, ridiculous. 25% of the shares of Trina Group, second largest shareholder. This is simply astounding. And there's Chun Wan. It was desperate at this point. It was more than a little dizzying. Even though he had guessed that the big shot that this Wang Song Song was talking about was Lin Mo. But after hearing the identity of the other party, it still felt desperate. Run before they notice me. Run. Think about it. This Chen Wan just endured the pain in his abdomen. Rise from the ground. Then, towards the outside. Just ready to run out. And just then, this Wang Tsong Tsong glanced over. Chen Wan, who was there, coldly said just that. Ha, huh, want to run? Do you think you can run? A simple sentence fell. This Chen Wan's body, at once, just stiffened there. And at this moment in time, Mu Lao's eyes were also slightly narrowed as he looked at this Chen Wan. At the bottom of his heart, there was also a gradual realization. Immediately, he was sneering, and said, The Chen family's kid? Oh, Hu Jio, master. Behind Elder Mu, an old man with a mustache and dressed in a proper suit walked over. For the Chen family's male son, prepare a separate room for him to rest in. I'm going to personally take the Chen family home later. By the way, have some tea with the Chen family head. It's been a long time since I've seen old Chen, but I miss it. Yes, this Ujio walked to Chen Wan and smiled. Young Master Chen, this way please. One moment. Chen Wan's face was pale and his mind was desperate. And Elder Mu looked at Lin Mo and said, Little friend Lin, Mr. Wang, this isn't the place to talk, let's talk somewhere else. Uh, yeah, dozens of minutes later, second floor, inside a private room, the two of them, Lin Mo and Wang Tsong Tsong, had a very cheerful conversation. As for Elder Mu and Mu Nanji, they had long since left, and with some chatting, Wang Tsong Tsong had also figured out Lin Mo's character. At that moment, was there laughing and saying, but that said, there is one thing that has been bothering me for a while. I'm still bold here, asking for advice from you, brother Lin. Listening to Wang Tsong Tsong's words, Lin Mo said after taking a sip of tea, is young Wang asking why I want to acquire 25% of Trina's shares? He was interested in what this Wang Tsong Tsong wanted to ask next. It's long been a guess. Hearing Lin Mo's words, Wang Tsong Tsong heatedly smiled, touched his nose, and nodded his head. Yeah, hey, Ringo sure is smart. Lin Mo just laughed lightly. Then, it was just blandly said. The reason is very simple. I have confidence in Trina Group and think that Trina Group can make money. I don't have much ambition as a person. I just want to go get some money and make myself rich. After all, right, I'm a person whose family doesn't have much money. Just an ordinary family. Poor and scared. Lin Mo's words could be described as casual, but falling into this Wang Song Song's ears, it made the corners of his mouth tug. God's ordinary family. An ordinary family that can quietly, and quietly, Acquire 25% of their shares in the Trina group? That's a hell of a thing to say. Wang Tsong Tsong mentally spat. But still, he nodded his head and said, Ha ha, so it is. Then I don't know. Mr. Lin for the inside of the Trina group. What do you think about the recent clamor to change the chairman of the board? Change the chairman? For this Wang Tsong Tsong's words, Lin Imo was full of confusion at this moment. Lin Imo was completely unaware of this matter. And listening to Lin Mo's words, at this time, Wang Song Song also froze. This thing, Lin Mo doesn't know? With doubts in the bottom of his heart, Wang Song Song here, still opened his mouth. Currently within the group, several shareholders with palms of around 10%. Discussions are underway to impeach my father and force a change of stockholders. Listen to this. Lin Mo's brows were also slightly furrowed. After some pondering in the bottom of his heart, he immediately said, And this? This matter? You don't know about it, Ringo? Lin Mo shook his head and said, 
It is true that I did not know, at the time, about all this, did not pay much attention, thought it wasn't too expensive and just gave it a whirl. Lin Mo's tone was very casual, he didn't lie, though, after all, this Tianha Group's shares were indeed not a high price for Lin Mo. 10% of this is gained through prestige value, the latter 15% of the shares were bought off the app for 100 bucks on their own. However, these words fell on Wang Song Song's ears, but it made Wang Song Song's heart, a few moments of consternation. A 25% stake in Trina is not expensive? This, how rich does one have to be to say something like that? It was true that the market capitalization of their Trina group had not reached the trillion degree, but that also has, like, a full 500 billion or so, 25% of the shares, acquired down the line. It's going to cost over 100 billion dollars, to say the least, and over 100 billion, in Lin Mo's mouth, is, not expensive? At this moment, Wang Song Song was truly, shocked by Lin Mo's words, over 100 billion dollars is not expensive. This Lin Mo, what is his origin? How much equity does the family, in fact, have? The heart carried a few shocks. This Wang Song Song swallowed his saliva, and in the meantime, Lin Mo also smiled and said, all right, this share in my hand, your family is still at ease, I, for one, just want to make a little money quietly, nothing more, as long as your Trina group is still making money, I'm not going to mess around with anything, a simple sentence, but it made this Wang Song Song's heart greatly stabilized, the whole person, completely relieved, after all, Lin Mo's words were something that had already made his own position clear, on his face at this time, a few smiles also surfaced, saying, then I'm here to thank Ringo for his support in advance, to this, Lin Mo just smiled faintly, and after, and that's where the two of them were, continuing their small talk, a bit of small talk ensued, a full half hour later, the two men, at that moment, also walked out from within this room, and on their faces, they all wore smiles, the relationship between the two was as if they had known each other for, well, more than a decade, and after the two came out, inside this banquet hall, many people were also quickly greeted in this direction, one after another. They handed their business cards to Lin Mo, even though, Lin Mo was a dozen or twenty years younger than all of them, but one by one, they were still very respectful, addressing Mr. Lin, after all, Lin Mo's status and position was placed there, smaller than them, so what, and after that, a few people just broke up for it too, in front of the Magic City Hotel, Wang Song Song smiled and said to Lin Mo, brother Lin, I'll be going ahead on my end, come out together in a few days if you're free, uh, Okay, so come out and play in a couple days. A single greeting was given to Wang Song Song. This Wang Song Song also just got into the car and quickly left the place. After all, what happened here? He also had to report, as soon as possible, to his own father, Lin Mo. On the other hand, looked at Mu Nanji next to him and said, Elder Mu is gone? Well, Grandpa he went to see an old friend. Listen to this. Lin Mo didn't say anything either. Just nodded. And then, the two of them just got into the Bentley and drove towards the villa, all the way to the neighborhood of one eastern suburbs. The two of them got out of the car at the entrance, while Sun Fu drove and went back to the villa first. As for the two of them, Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji, they were walking on the side of the road. Not long after, it was to the central lake of the one eastern suburb villa area. The two sat down on the bench. Before, in the hotel. Thank you, Mu Nan Ji exhaled. The body trembled slightly and looked up into the sky. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was quiet, looking at the sight of this Mu Nanji's face, illuminated by the moonlight of the silver moon. The sight of Mu Nanji's face was covered with a layer of light. It appears to be very white and holy. Honestly, I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't held it off for me. The Chen family behind the Chen Wan is actually comparable in terms of power than between my family. So even though I've always rejected him, he can still, with impunity, pester me. Speaking of which, Mu Nanji looked towards Lin Mo with a smile on her face. The two men looked at each other in all directions. But from now on, I won't have to keep worrying that he'll come and haunt me. So, for once, thank you. Looking at such a Mu Nanji, Lin Mo panicked over it. He hadn't been able to think that this Mu Nanji, who was called a businesswoman by outsiders. Surprisingly, there will be this kind of, like, little woman moment. And also at this time, this Mu Nanji suddenly, just came up. A touch of warmth appeared on his lips illuminated by the silver-white moonlight. Rimmer is obvious, just visible. That Mu Nanji's eyelashes, here for a while, tremble for it. The moment, Lin Mo, completely confused. Other side, Nine Halls Villa, Chen Family Villa. In the middle of the hall, Elder Mu was there drinking tea. Next to it, 
Chen Tianhe, the head of the Chen family, sat on the side, in the seat below him, this Chen Wan's father, Chen Shaji, on the other hand, had a gloomy face, looking at Chen Wan who was standing in the hall, covered in wounds, Chen Tianhe, who was there, then slowly said, Brother Zhang Wo, aren't you going a bit overboard here? What great mistake did this grandson of mine make to be beaten to this state? Chen Tianhe was a bit annoyed. This Chen Wan is their Chen family, the only child of the third generation. On weekdays, he spoiled him more than he could handle. Now, it's actually been given a beating. How could this not make Chen Tianhe feel annoyed? And here's the old man Mu. On the other hand, he was unperturbed and gently took a sip of tea. Spinning around, he said blandly, Excessive? Looks like you still don't know. Tan Ha. This precious grandson of yours? What a good job he did at our Mu family's banquet today. A sentence fell. The two who were here, Chen Tianhe and Chen Shiji, for a moment, all of them were stunned. At this old Mu's words, his heart was filled with puzzlement and doubt. And Chen Wan below, after listening to Elder Mu's words, the body was instantly shaken, face, looking a little pale. Done. This was the only thought this Chen Wan, at the moment, had. After all, if you let your dad and grandpa, knowing that he was offending the second largest shareholder of the Trina group, then tonight is probably the night. The father sees that the son is not dead and draws seven wolves. The stick in master sees hand. The stick strikes a bludgeon. By then, the least he could do this night was to lose a layer of skin, and to be on the safe side. You'd better book an ICU room yourself. And their Chen Shiji looked at his own son like this. A frown creased his brow. He said, Uncle, this canine son of mine, is he causing trouble again? Here's the mulligan. Just a slight smile. Then, holding the teacup, gently just took a sip. Spinning bashfully, he spoke. In this case, you'd better ask your son yourself what he's done. Listening to Elder Mu's words, the two people here, Chen Tianhe and Chen Shiji, at this time, the bottom of the heart, all of a sudden is for a sinking. They know, this Chen Wan, has definitely messed with an unimaginable character. Chen Shiji, on the other hand, was cold, looking at Chen Wan, who was standing below, and angrily scolded. Asshole, you say, what the hell did you do? With a chorus, this Chen Wan's legs instantly went limp. With a flutter, he fell to his knees. Say, Chen Tianhe also grimaced, slapping the desktop and roaring angrily. The shivering Chen Wan there, trembling, just opened his mouth. I, I offended the second largest shareholder of Trina Group. And Wang Tsong Tsong, boom, a sentence fell. These two, Chen Tianhe and Chen Shiji, it was like, like a lightning strike. Face color at this time, it is even more pale. Despite their speculations, Chen Wan had offended someone he shouldn't have. But I didn't expect it. I can't believe it would be such a character. Trina Group, this is one of the top big companies in the country. They, the Chen family, were the groundlings of the magic city though. But compared to Trina, that's completely, not an existence that belongs to the same order of magnitude. On a normal day, when faced with such a character, it would be too late to bow to him. And this Chen Wan, it actually offended the second largest shareholder of this Trina group, and the young lord. One time, the two of them, Chen Tianhe and Chen Shiji, sat down limply on their chairs. The look of despair. You, you, retrograde son, retrograde son. The Chen Tianhe here, with his mouth constantly, was roaring in anger. On his face, he was even more filled with annoyance at this point. Chen Shiji also stared angrily at Chen Wan. At this point, if not for the fact that Elder Mu was still around, he really wanted to take this rebellious son and hang him. As for Elder Mu, he was smiling, drinking the tea in his cup. And then, Dao, it's getting late, old man, so I won't bother. Chen Shiji stood up and pulled the corner of his mouth, saying, Then, Elder Mu, I apologize for not seeing you off. No harm, no foul. Elder Mu smiled and just walked towards the outside. And just then, that Chen Tianhe's voice, too, rang out for it. Brother Jiang Wo, please still stay. Elder Mu said with a step in his footsteps, Anything else? Chen Tianhe gritted his teeth and said, Please also ask Brother Jiang Wo to save our Chen family. Please tell me the address of this second largest shareholder. I'll wait so that we can make amends at the door first thing in the morning. Listen to this. Elder Mu laughed softly and said, One Eastern Suburbs, Villa 1. Eight simple words fell. However, it caused this Chen Tianhe and Chen Shiji duo to freeze in place at this moment. At the bottom of his heart, waves of shock were set off. One Eastern Suburbs, Villa 1. This villa, they know it. It is the king of the building that belongs to the whole magic city famous. It was rumored some time ago that it had been bought out. At the time they were still curious. Who? Exactly. 
would throw away so much money, bought the $600 million super mansion, but now, they know, it's this Lin M.O., the second largest shareholder of Trina Group, he was the only one, who had the strength, to be able to throw his money around so much, while the mind was wildly appalled, this elder Chen also turned to elder Mu, slightly clasping his fists and bowing once, and said, thanks a lot, after all was said and done, this Mu Lao at this time, also left with him, and the moment Mu Lao had just left the villa's gate, behind him, a mournful scream followed, and, the sound of angry curses, also rang out, I told you to fucking cause trouble for me all day long, I'll whip you to death, you unfilial son, the thing that accomplishes nothing and loses everything, give me the old me to whip this unfilial grandson to death, a snarl underneath, elder Mu also shook his head, got into his car, and left the place, leaving behind, in vain, the roars, and screams that echoed in this air, and this night, after all, it was destined that within the Chen family villa, there would be no stability, meanwhile, on the other side, inside the 1-1 villa in the eastern suburbs, laid down in the jacuzzi, Lin Mo recalled the touch of warmth at the edge of the lake, the whole group looked at the ceiling, their minds in a daze, he really didn't expect that this Mu Nanji would actually be so proactive, came up and gave himself a kiss, this was something that was really out of Lin Mo's expectation, after all, the two hadn't really spent much time with each other, however, this new Nanzi would actually take such initiative, the moment, the faces of both Xie Yuma and Qin Fei were also drilled into Lin Mo's mind, although Lin Mo said that he knew that he had the potential to be a scumbag, ever since he had obtained the Charm Max card earlier, he was just very aware of that, but honestly, he's still a little hesitant, it's a matter of whether to come clean or not, after all, it would be impossible to hide this matter if one wanted to, even if one wants to slag, one has to slag openly and honestly, otherwise, the faggot is up and can't stand himself, and if open and honest, Qin Fei was kind of relieved herself, Xie Yuma's words were not much of a problem, but the point is, how was he going to deal with it himself, with Niu Nanji, this was the point that Lin Mo was most entangled in, and for that reason, Lin Mo's thoughts were disorganized at this time, Sinning O, oh, a deep sigh escaped, at this time, Lin Mo's mood was complicated, never mind, what's the point of thinking about it now, shook his head, Lin Mo stood up from within this jacuzzi, after drying off, put on your bathrobe, everything, just go with the flow, the heart murmurs, Lin Mo, decisively, was heading towards the bedroom, then, laid down on the bed, anyway, the ship is in the right place, we'll talk about that when the time comes, in the meantime, Lin Mo's cell phone, in turn, was shaken, picked up his cell phone and looked at it, it was Xie Yuma who sent himself a message, brother tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll be performing a play in the school's auditorium, why don't you come and see me when you have time, okay, I'll be at the school then, cheering you on, he had originally promised Xie Yuma that he would go to the school to cheer him on then, now that it's ready to start, then, naturally, Lin Imo was just ready to go over and take a look, aha, then I'll be waiting for my brother when the time comes oh, after all, I haven't seen my brother for a long time either, and I've missed him to death. Looking at this Xie Yuma's words, cold air poured out of Lin Mo's mouth. Goblin, when the show is over tomorrow, it has to be served with sticks, I'm going to show you what you're made of. One time, in the bottom of this Lin Mo's heart, there was just a burst of angry curses. Then, just as smoothly, closed the chat screen, chatting with Qin Fair for a while, and then the rest was a deep sleep. The night passed, early the next morning. Lin Mo practiced for half an hour in the morning, then showered and ate breakfast. After breakfast, Lin Mo was also on his phone, and started checking out today's subsidies, with the app open. He is also officially, seeing the merchandise that is in here. Hmm, three items? Look at these three items. Lin Mo's eyes, at this moment, also froze. Squirrel grape tea set Gu Jingzhou. Subsidized price, 99. 9. Golden rosewood tea tray. Subsidized price, 88. 8. Lycoming supercars. Subsidized price, 55. 5. Look at these three items. Lin M.O. At this moment, was also stunned. These three. After a slight meditation in his heart, Lin M.O. did not hesitate too much. Straightforward. That is, by all three items, all of them. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 10 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. And then, just sat down on the couch and continued to play with his cell phone. Although, he didn't know the exact price of the squirrel grape tea set, but goldenrod and lycoming supercars, he still knew, both of these items are of great value, and this squirrel grape tea set, since it can be judged, is more expensive than these two items, 
then it is also an indication. This tea set is absolutely extraordinary. Ten minutes later, with the doorbell ringing at the door, the housekeeper, Huang Yuan, went forward to open the door. Then the courier signed off. Boss, you have three deliveries. Listen to this. Lin Mo nodded slightly, put it there, pointing to the coffee table in front of him. Lin Mo casually said, Okay boss. Immediately, Huang Yuan then just put these three things, all of it, laid out on the coffee table. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was, after playing a game, only then did he set his cell phone aside casually. Pulling out the key, he unpacked the three deliveries. The package was unwrapped and three items appeared. At the top was a file bag. It contained Lin Mo's car keys and driver's license and license book. Follow the app's prompts. That leak in supercar should be parked now on the curb outside the villa area. And the other two, just like that, it is that, a huge tea tray of gold nanmu wood. And it's not just, well, ordinary goldenrod. Instead, it's a piece of fuchsia red, gold colored, shady wood. On top of this tea tray, the floral carvings were lifelike. On this wood, there was even a carving of two dragons playing pearls. Boy, this tea tray is something. A moment of staggering, Lin Mo's heart was dumbfounded, with some heartfelt emotion. Lin Mo followed suit and looked at the third item that was there. This is the squirrel grape 10 head tea set made by Gu Jingzhou. It looks like a mediocre set of purple sand tea set. The texture of that squirrel grape, though, gives it a pretty realistic look. TSK, this set of purple sand teapots is quite average. Lin Mo's at once, was a burst of head shaking, and then the word, Butler Wong, boss, Huang Yuan, who was in the living room, directing the servants, instantly just walked over. Bend over and keep your ears open. You have this tea set cleaned. There's also the tea tray, which gets a little bit of a wash. Use this set for laters and make me some tea. Okay, old. The words were not yet finished. This Huang Yuan just smelled an ethereal fragrance. Immediately, his eyes fell on the huge tea tray of gold nanny gloomy wood. The whole look on his face was, all of a sudden, just a little stiff. The golden shaded wood. It's still such a big chunk. Hope Wong's throat rolled. Slightly. Golden seal which is a very valuable plant. And in the ancient times of Xinhua, that was a symbol of the imperial court. And placed in modern times, she'd seen a lot of goldenrod. But the piece in front of us is different. It's a golden shaded wood. And, by the looks of it, the best of the best. Plus the pattern and carving on this tea tray. Definitely from a master. Such a large piece of tea tray in gilt shaded wood. Positioned in the auction. That at least can be auctioned to 50 to 60 million ah. Totally. It's just the ultimate collector's item. And just now, what did the owner of the house say? Let yourself take it to the cleaners, and then use the set to make some tea? This, in an instant, Huang Wan only felt that her heart stopped halfway. Two deep breaths followed. Looking over at his boss, he asked in some disbelief, Boss, are you, sure, what's wrong? Lin Mo glanced at this Huang Yuan with a bland expression, and looking at such Lin Mo, at this moment, Huang Yuan, too, was instantly stunned, a heartfelt reaction. How can you not know the price of this tea tray when you are your own boss? Since the boss has told himself to clean it, then took it to make tea. It's pretty obvious that just doesn't care about the shady wood tea tray. Immediately, he then just nodded his head. Okay boss, I'm on my way to do something. After saying that, he carefully packed the tea set on the tea tray and walked towards the kitchen. And then a bit of cleaning began. A little bit of time passes. In a little over 10 minutes, the doorbell of the villa was rung once again. Huang Yuan came to the door of this villa and opened the door to the room. Outside the door, an old man stood there with a respectful expression, and then behind it, followed by a middle-aged man, and beside the middle-aged man, there was a youth who followed one. This youth's face, at this time, was high and swollen, and his body was even more green and purple. The old man in the lead, on the other hand, asked cautiously, Excuse me, is this Mr. Lin Mo Lin's home? You are? Looking at the three people in front of him, at the bottom of Huang Yuan's heart, she carried a few moments of doubt, looking at Huang Wan in front of him, this Chen Tianha didn't dare to be the slightest bit disrespectful, although, the other guy was just a butler, but it can't be resisted, the other side's master is horrible, after all, it is still necessary to beat the dog to see the master, who is the owner of this Huang Wan, Lin Moa, not to mention that he himself, today, had come here to make amends, and that's exactly why. This Huang Yuan even if she is just a housekeeper. That is also something one should never offend. Old me. Is Chen Tianha of the Chen family? And this is my son. Chen Shiji. Speaking of which. This Chen Tianha also gritted his teeth and looked towards Chen Wan who was there. Saying. 
As for this one, he is my untalented grandson, Chen Wan. Listen to this. Huang Yuan, who was here, was instantly astonished. She spent many years in Mordor, also been a housekeeper for quite a few years. There was still some hearing about the reputation of this Chen Tianha and Chen Shiji. This is just like, one of the several big snakes in Magic City, and such a big man. I can't believe you came to pay a visit to your own boss today, and by the looks of it, Huang Yuan glanced at the gift that Chen Shiji was carrying in his hands behind him, as well as, a bruised and swollen Chen Wan. A few guesses were made in the back of his mind. Feeling Huang Yuan's gaze, this Chen Tianha smiled awkwardly and said, that, yesterday at the dinner party, my no good grandson, for Mr. Lin, it was more than a little offended. I've come today with this grandson of mine, to give Mr. Lin, an apology. Listen to this. Huang Yuan was even more surprised by a few points in her heart. Sure enough, it's true. This was indeed guessed correctly by myself. Just, at this moment, in the bottom of this Huang Yuan's heart, it could be said that it was a shocking wave. This boss of his own, what kind of status is he? I can't believe, could make this the giant of the magic city, the head of the Chen family, and the next generation of family heads, come to the door and apologize. The heart carried a few shocks. This Huang Yuan took a deep breath and said, you guys hold on a second, I need to report to the boss, okay, afterwards, Huang Yuan's room door was hidden, and she was the one who returned to the hall and said a few words to this Lin Mo, in response to this, Lin Mo faintly just froze, but the whirlwind of it, still nodding, said, let them in, yes, having said that, Hope Wong just went back to the door, a notice was given to the three members of the Chen family, just walked in the door, this Chen Tianha was just facing Lin Mo, with a deep bow, he said, Mr. Lin, last night, this incompetent grandson of mine was much too abrupt to you, please, Mr. Lin, forgive me, I hear, on behalf of this Chen family, apologize deeply to you, as this Chen Tianha bowed, Chen Shaji, who was behind him, also bowed obediently, Lin Mo didn't say anything, just here, calmly playing with my cell phone, and at this point, this Chen Tianha then gritted his teeth and glanced at Chen Wan who was there. It was a sharp kick up the ass. Sinful thing, why don't you hurry up and apologize to Mr. Lin on your knees? Listen to this. Chen Wan's face changed and he was just about to say something. But then he met his own grandfather's angry gaze. He could only suppress the thoughts in his mind, gritted his teeth, and fell to his knees. Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry. Last night, my youngest didn't know any better and offended you. Listen to this. Lin Mo raised his eyes and said, Now, can you speak human? Chen Wan, who was listening to these words, looked very embarrassed. As for Lin Mo's mouth, he let out a cold snort. I'll tell you one more thing now. That Mu Nanji, is my friend. In response, Chen Wan said repeatedly, Yes yes yes, I will never, from now on, appear in the same place as Ms. Mu, in the same place. Hear this. Lin Mo also just blandly said, Aha. Then, looking to the side, Huang Yuan, who had long been dumbfounded, said, have the servants serve tea? Yes. Hope Wang nodded and left. Okay, you guys get up and all sit down. The moment. Chen Tianha let out a sigh of relief. Then, sat down across from Lin Mo. And also at this point in time, the tea tray was brought up and set on the coffee table. Then when Chen Tianha just wanted to say something, the corners of his mouth were hard. When he looked at this huge golden brocade gloomy wood tea tray, his heart was also taken aback. How rich does one have to be to be so deranged? Such a piece of gold nanny gloomy wood tea tray. Get it nonetheless not properly preserved. And bring it, really, as a tea tray. That's if other collectors know about it. I guess I can be anxious and red-eyed. And just come at Lin Mo with a beating. This tea tray, Mr. Lin, is nice. Chen Tianha snorted. With a few moments of embarrassment between his words. Average. It's just an ordinary tea tray. Not worth a few dollars. Lin Mo. Who was there? Calmly said. And at this point. This purple sand teapot was also picked up by Huang Wan. Separately, four cups of tea were made. Lin Mo, on the other hand, blandly served it up and said, Tea, at this moment, Chen Tianha's expression was somewhat stiffened. Subconsciously, he nodded. Then, picking up the teacup, he just gently took a sip. And just as he was about to put the teacup down, the whole person froze. His eyes fell on the squirrel and grape figure of this purple sand tea light. This squirrel and grapes figure is carved to life. As for the handle of this teacup, then it is like a grapevine. Look at this teacup. Chen Tianha's pupils gradually began to dilate. Then, his eyes fell on the alabaster tea set. The whole person's breathing, gradually, 
began to be heavy. Lin, Mr. Lin, this tea set of yours, is it from the hand of Master Gu Jingzhou? Chen Tianhe, who was here, swallowed his saliva. In a hurry, he asked. Nice. Lin Mo calmly responded. A sentence fell. This Chen Tianhe was already dumbfounded. The hand holding the teacup trembled slightly. Then, carefully, he set this teacup on the cup holder. It's like, it's putting in a treasure. The bottom of his heart even set off a huge wave. He had originally thought that Lin Mo was already being outrageous when he used the gold nanny gloomy wood as a tea tray. However, he was all but surprised. This tea set is much more outrageous. A whole set of tea set actually can be Master Gu Jingzhou's Squirrel Grape 10 headset. To know, this tea set was featured in a special transfer of the Tasho Autumn Auction dedication in Kyoto in 15. At the time, this tea set was the one that was auctioned off at a sky-high price of 92 million Xinhua coins. Now, six years have passed after this tea set appreciated in value, which is not unlikely to break the billion-dollar mark. This thing is, like, totally precious. And here's the kicker. Lin Mo completely disregarded this thing as a treasure, and took it, using it as a teapot. This, for a while, Chen Tianhe could no longer remain calm. Tea tray made of gold nanny shade wood, Master Gu Jingzhou's squirrel grape ten head set tea set, this Lin Mo's identity. I'm afraid that it's not just the second largest shareholder of the Trina group. So simple, figure that one out. This Chen Tianhe's heart, the heart is growing more and more resentful of his grandson. At this point, there can be a flurry of teeth. If it wasn't for the fact that this was in Lin Mo's house, he really wanted to hold this grandson of his down on the ground and give him another hard chop. However, even so, in the back of his mind, too, an idea grew. When we get back this time, this Chen Wan will be grounded at home for three months. But, before that, this Chen Tianhe's face was bitter. At the bottom of his heart, he was also terrified. After all, he had originally prepared a reparation gift, that is, an antique piece valued at a million dollars or so. Originally, he thought this antique came as a gift of reparation. Actually, that's about right. But, after seeing Lin Mo put hundreds of millions of dollars worth of squirrel grapes tea set, all in proper treasure casual use, giving away a million dollar antique yourself? Who is this burying? His own antique of a mere million dollars is probably in people's eyes. It's just like garbage, isn't it? For a moment, at the bottom of Chen Tianhe's heart, he was just a little apprehensive. At the same time, the mind was like an electric whirlwind. And in the next moment, still gritting my teeth, he said, Mr. Lin, this is a meet and greet gift we came to give you this time. The value of this gift is not high, but please take it anyway, said. This Chen Tianhe was the one who took out the box that was set aside. It was laid out on the coffee table and pushed it to Rimmer. Lin Mo didn't say anything, just opened the wooden box and swept it open. Within this box lay a high-footed cup of celadone porcelain. The green blaze on it looks thickly inked and clumsy, with a touch of ancient flavor. Chen Tianhe, who was there, also smiled at this time. This is a blue and white dark dragon pattern high-footed cup from the Yuan dynasty. A small gift from the district. No honor. Listen to this. On the sidelines, Huang Yuan. On the other hand, the corners of her mouth twitched fiercely. This Yuan blue and white dark dragon pattern high-footed cup. According to the auction sale price, it was once auctioned for a high price of 1, 540. 000 Shenhua coins at the Fukagawa's 17th year of the Royal Tripod International Spring Auction. That is to say, this goblet, that's a million dollar collection. However, this in the mouth of Chen Tianhe, but became a small gift in the district. It's just puke. Do these rich people, with their little gifts in their mouths, mean things worth millions? Lin Mo, on the other hand, nodded blandly and said, well, it was okay. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Chen Tianhe's heart sank. Then, that is, through gritted teeth, he said. Also, Mr. Lin, this card has 50 million dollars in it. Please also accept it. 50 million dollars, of course, is not much, but that's 50 million dollars to take out. However, it also caused Chen Tianhe to have a burst of flesh pain. Don't look at their Chen family. They are the local snake in Magic City, but their family mainly operates in the financial sector. The debt ratio of the business, which is at 80%, Suffice it to say that the business has very little liquidity at its disposal. And in their Chen family's hands, the cash they can get out. That's only four or five hundred million dollars. So, this fifty million dollars was also a very huge amount for the Chun family. But for Lin Mo, it was also something that brought joy to his heart. Fifty million dollars is a lot of money for him. Too, despite the fact that he has a ton of shares on hand. But the distance, this dividend per business. And yet it's still a long time coming. 
So, $50 million is still a very sweet smell to him. Aha! A few smiles appeared on Lin Mo's face. Immediately, it was to take the card, casually. Okay, have some tea. Yes, listening to Lin Mo's words, this Chen Tianha, his mouth was also relieved. A cup of tea is finished. This Chen Tianha then said, Mr. Lin, we won't continue to bother on our side. After saying that, he turned around and just left. Lin Mo didn't bother to stay and directly asked Huang Yuan to send off the guests. After the three of them left the villa, Chen Tianha was sort of relieved. And here's Chen Shiji, the Tao. Father, you took out $50 million. Isn't that a bit too much? Much? Chen Tianha glanced at Chen Shiji and said, The sum is not much at all. You'd think A could take hundreds of millions of dollars of treasure and use it as a tea set. Would someone who can use a piece of gold ribbon? Shady Wood as a tea tray be just an ordinary shareholder? Listen to this. At this time, Chen Shiji also had a fine cold sweat on his forehead, flowing down. At once, he just figured it out. So ah, uh, 50 million if we can make this Mr. Lin, no longer continue to pursue our family. Then don't say it's 50 million dollars, even if it's 500 million. I'm willing, Chen Tianha sighed. But then, it was also to look at Chen Wan who was there and said, Go back and get grounded for three months and freeze the funds you're holding for three years. In addition, the 50 million dollars that this compensation goes out, deduct it from your hand. A word fell. Chen Wan only felt that it was a thunderbolt. Being grounded for three months is nothing to him. Freezing of funds for three years, and a deduction of 50 million dollars. That was what made Chen Wan the most desperate. This is arguably, even if the grounding is due. Himself, too, remains, inch by inch. As for going to borrow money to spend with those friends of yours, I guess they ran faster than anyone else when they heard that their funds were frozen. The moment, Chen Wan's heart could be described as deep despair. Other side, Lin M.O. On the other hand, asked Huang Yuan to put away this blue and white porcelain goblet. Then, it was to transfer the $50 million from the bank card to his account. For a moment, the heart can be filled with joy. Soon, without realizing it, the time came to 11 a.m. At this time, Mu Nanji was also carrying a small pot and came inside the villa, sitting down at the table. After Mu Nanji uncovered the pot, inside this pot, on the other hand, was a pile of black liquid. Lin M.O. Thank you for last night, for helping me these few times. That's why I made a special pot of black chicken ginseng and seahorse soup for you this morning. Lin M.O. Who was listening to these words, instantly just froze in his chair, looking at the pot of, unidentified, black liquid, the expression froze. Next to them, Huang Yuan and a few servants were also looking out at this time, swallowing a mouthful of water. Lin Mo trembled. That, this stuff, is chicken soup? That's for sure. This Munanzi held her head high with a proud face and said, I'd been up all morning with this stuff. The crow's nest inside was flown in from Wushan last night by someone I asked. And then the quail eggs inside. They're French giant quail eggs that were just laid this morning. And I put in so many valuable herbs to make it. I guarantee that if you take a sip of this, you'll definitely be toned in years younger. Listening to this Lin M.O. Inevitably, it's a stiffening of the demeanor. One sip of this and you're years younger? I'm afraid it's not. One sip and you'll go straight to hell. The moment. Lin M.O. looked at the pot of black chicken soup. The corners of his mouth tugged slightly. Said, this soup of yours, has anyone tasted it? Not yet. I was going to ask Uncle Sun to try. As a result, Uncle Sun said he had a stomachache. So I didn't let him drink it. Mu Nanji shook her head and said. In response, Lin Mo just pulled at the corner of his mouth. Tummy ache? This TM ghost believe. Sun Fu absolutely because dare not drink. Excuse stomach ache. Then, that is, he took a deep breath and said. Nanji, in fact, cooking is something that, at least, requires talent. Besides, there's no point in making things too difficult for yourself in this art. The words came out. Mu Nanji froze at first. And then it was just a reaction. The whole thing puffing up a bit. Said, do you think, the soup I made is awful? Lin Mo's face looked strange. Afterward, said, at the very least, you have some self-awareness. You, at that moment, this Mu Nanji was just a bit speechless with anger. And then, stomped his foot. Said, okay, then don't grab a drink later. After all was said and done, this Mu Nanji took a spoon, scooped up a spoonful of soup, and took a big gulp violently. Entrance for a moment. Mu Nanji's small face went white. And then, covering his mouth, he rushed to the bathroom and threw up in one gulp. Then, white-faced and holding onto the wall, he walked out of the bathroom. I, this Mu Nanji looked at the small pot that was there with a palpitating look. This soup, it's a real killer. 
In response, Lin Nemo shook his head bashfully. Okay, why don't you just sit here and rest for a while and have lunch together later? Well, Mernin Ji nodded her head indistinctly. Next to her, Huang Yuan, also said, So boss, I'll have the maid start cooking? No need. Waving his hand, Lin Nemo put his cell phone away and stood up. I'm, today, cooking a meal myself. Saying that, Lin Nemo took off his jacket and skillfully rolled up the mouth of his sleeves. Mu Nan Ji, who was listening to these words, was also stunned and looked towards Lin Nemo curiously. And you can cook? A little bit. Mu Nan Ji skimmed her lips and said, Mm, yes? Lin Nemo smiled and didn't say anything. What he did, in the old days, was that he couldn't cook. However, after obtaining the divine cuisine through the prestige table, the cooking thing is just a no-brainer. It was only that the previous time, because there were a bunch of maids like Huang Yuan, I'm just too lazy to cook myself. However, today, since Mao and Ji, ready to stay for a lunch, then why not try cooking it yourself? How awesome is this divine cooking? After all was said and done, Lin Nemo just walked inside the kitchen and started frying vegetables. Mu Nan Ji, on the other hand, sat down on the sofa and opened her cell phone to look at the recipes, a face full of puzzlement. I shouldn't. I just added a couple of ingredients to this recipe. Ah, how can you make soup that tastes so bad? Listen to this. Huang Yuan glanced at the recipe on Mu Nan Ji's phone. This is a black chicken and ginseng soup. If you follow the normal recipe, it is indeed fine. But, this Mu Nan Ji is. However, adding a bunch of tonics to it. I'll be damned if this isn't a problem. A little bit of time passed. Wait a half hour or so. The kitchen door was opened. All at once. A rich, wafting aroma filled the air from within the kitchen. And the servants were starting to pass out food at that moment. Mu Nanji sniffed his nose. And then turned his head to look. The eyes were glowing and the mouth was watering. Stir-fried lamb with scallions. Pan-fried yellowtail. Kung Pao chicken. Not for long. A dish was just served up one after another. Each of the five courses in total can be described as colorful and flavorful. It makes you smell and just salivate a little. Swallowed. Somewhat incredulously. Mu Nanji looked at Lin Mo and said. Lin. Lin Mo. All these dishes. You made them? Or what? Lin Mo was bland and opened his mouth. A sentence fell. This Mu Nanji was already surprised and somewhat unable to speak. All right. Hurry up and get ready for dinner. Otherwise the food will get cold later and it won't be good. Aha. This Mu Nanji was already a bit impatient. Hectic. That is. Ran to the table. Sat down and started feasting. After half an hour, this Munanji was paralyzed in his chair. Rubbing his stomach, he lost the slightest bit of his image. Lin M.O. This dish you cook less is really delicious. You're totally, not what's called a little bit of knowledge. The Munanzi there was filled with a grumpy look. To this, Lin M.O. just smiled slightly. And at this point, this Munanzi suddenly, as if she had thought of something, looking at Lin M.O., he opened his mouth and said, Right, Lin M.O., since you're such a good cook, can you teach me how to cook? Honestly, she was still a little disconcerted. Still kind of wanting that. To make a pot of yugali soup for Lin Ma. Listen to this. At this time, Lin Mo also gave a slight pause and said. That's fine. If you want to learn, I can teach you by hand and promise to pour my heart out to you. Lin Mo's tone was sincere. Really? For a moment, Mu Nan Ji's eyes were brightened. Naturally. If you're free in the future, just call and let me know. Well, can we do it today? Here in Munanji, there was a bit of a leap of faith. I'm afraid I can't if it's today. I have to go out a little later at 3 in the afternoon. Oh, as for Mu Nanji, she was also a bit lost. But if you don't mind, you can learn from Sister Wu, whose craftsmanship is still very good. Hearing Lin Mo's words, a middle-aged woman behind her, nodded slightly at Mu Nanji. At the same time, he said, M.S. Mu, if you don't mind, I can teach you a little. Though my handiwork, compared to the bosses, that's a bit far. Munanji was not very excited, but nodded anyway. A lunch that was finished, after swimming two laps in the pool to kill some food, the time fell to about 2.30 in the afternoon. After changing into a set of clothes, Linimo then took Lakin's car keys and headed outside. Arriving at the door, the security guard here looked at Lin M.O. The moments was to stand up straight. A look of respect. Mr. Lin. Aha. Nodding, Lin M.O. looked around. Then, the gaze just fell on. Near the entrance of this villa area, a fiery red supercar. As he approached, he opened the door and got in. Looking at the supercar, the security guard looked a little puzzled. What kind of car is this? Never seen one before? All the while, he was snapping pictures, ready to check them out later. And at that moment, Lin Nemo also stepped on the gas. 
The supercar took off at once with a catapulting start and quickly departed. As for the security guard, he was ready to check online to see what kind of car Lin Mo was, and at this point, the security chief who had gone out to patrol the area was also walking back at this time. Looking at the security guard who was playing with his cell phone, the frown of the moment. Cho Hyun, what are you doing? This security guard had a jolt and hurriedly said, Captain, I just watched Mr. Lin drive off in a supercar I didn't recognize. I thought I'd check to see what it was. As he spoke, the guard handed out his cell phone. Once the security chief heard that it was Lin Mo, he was just patient and took the cell phone. After all, Lin Mo is a big customer of theirs. It's about Lin Mo, so it must be a special case. Besides, he was a little curious, like a big shot like Lin Mo and what new car he drove out. And in the moment of seeing this leakin, eyes were straightened. This car is a Lycoming supercar? Lycoming supercar? Captain, what kind of car is this? Never heard of it. The security chief was also confused at this point, somewhat bemused. He looked at his own captain, and the security chief who was there was dumbfounded at this point. The security chief's throat, at this moment, was rolling uncontrollably and lost his voice. This, this car is a top-of-the-line supercar of which there are only seven in the world. It's worth a whopping $66 million, and there was only one of this car in the country before this. A sentence fell. The security guards who were there were also dumbfounded, limited to seven units worldwide. Domestic selling price, up to $66 million. There was only one in the country before this. A smack in the face. The security guard looked at the vehicle in his cell phone with what could be described as a look of envy. Worthy of Mr. Lin, getting a car like this. Other side. Lin M.O. at this time. Also to the outside of this large auditorium. After parking the car in a side lot. Only then did Lin M.O. walk towards the large auditorium. Just as soon as he entered. Lin M.O. was the one who saw it. A camera set up there. The camera is labeled Shark Fight Live. A live shark fighting machine? At this moment, Lin Mo's heart carried a few moments of astonishment, and at this point in time, a voice, however, sounded behind Lin Mo. Ha, Mo. Hearing this voice, Lin Mo however, looked back. Only a youth was seen at that moment, walking towards this side. The person who came was not someone else. It's that Zhao village. At this moment, on this Zhao village's face, there were a few delighted smiles. Beside Sha Shon, there stood one, a young man in a suit looking to be about 30 years old. Zhao village? Lin Mo's expression was somewhat stunned. He didn't really think about it. He, himself, was actually able to be here, and meet Shoshon. Ha ha, brother Mo. I didn't expect to actually run into you here. Zhao village, who was here, immediately hemmed in hot and said. As for Lin Mo, he glanced at the youth who was beside Zhao village, somewhat puzzled. And this is? As Lin Mo's words fell after, in the village of Zhao there, then it is the road. Oh, look at my memory. I forgot the introduction. This is the vice president of Du Shark Technology. Mr. Wu Zheng. This magic theater got fighting shark technology to co-stream today's show. Listen to this. At the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, a few moments of strangeness swept through. He hadn't thought of that. The co-stream of this show today is actually on the fighting sharks platform. And there, Wu Zheng looked at Zhao Village who was doing so to Lin Mo. The look was also a little puzzled. Just for some reason. He always felt that Lin Mo looked a little familiar. And at this point in time, this Xiao village also spoke up. President Wu, this is my good brother, Lin Mo. Wu Zheng subconsciously said, Lin Xian. However, before he could finish his sentence, this Wu Zheng instantly, froze in place with some stiffness. Spinning around, he looked at Zhao village there. His expression dismayed beyond measure. What did you say the gentleman's name was? Rimmer Ah, what's wrong? Zhao village's words fell. Wu Zheng here was dumbfounded all of a sudden, looking at Lin Mo in front of him, the memories in his mind, all of a sudden, just surfaced, the moment, he finally realized why he, himself, felt that Lin Mo looked familiar, because the other day, it took the chairman of his own family to issue a copy, information form about their fighting shark technology, the newly emerged second largest director, above, it was with a picture of Lin Mo, the moment. The Lin Mo in front of him was exactly the same as the photo on the information sheet. And, the name makes no difference. At this moment, Wu Zheng's body began to tremble. Turning to Lin Mo, he then just opened his mouth. You, you are Lin Dong? As Wu Zheng's words fell, the Zhao village there, at that moment, also froze. Subconsciously, it was the question. President Wu, what Lin Dong? Wu Zheng swallowed and said, Mr. Zhao, Mr. Lin Mo is the second largest director of our fighting shark technology. As the words fell away, Wu Zheng, who was there,
could be said to be completely dumbfounded at this moment. The whole person even looked confused. Looking toward Lin M.O., his expression was incredulous. Then, it was the word. M.O., brother M.O., you're still the director of this fighting shark technology? In response, Lin M.O. just nodded his head casually and said, Well, some time ago, a little bit of shares were acquired at random. Not a lot. A sentence fell. The two who are here are Wu Zhang and Zhao Village. The corners of his mouth were twitching. That's just so Versailles, the second largest director of Du Shark Technologies. That, at least, is also the acquisition of a 10% stake in Du Shark Technologies. And that 10% share, that's worth one, five or six billion dollars in existence. But, on the existence of this value, in Lin Mo's mouth, but became not worth a few dollars. There was a heartfelt sputter of helplessness. And then, just as this Wu Zhang was about to say something, a somewhat surprised voice. However, it sounded behind Lin M.O. Ringo, you're here too? Hearing this voice, Lin M.O. in turn looked behind him, only to see that behind Lin M.O., Wang Song Song was, at this moment, walking towards this side. Wang Song Song? A few moments of surprise swept across the bottom of his eyes as Lin M.O. opened his mouth. As for the two people next to him, they also greeted Wang Song Song. Shoshone Halt is also a road. Brother M.O., you still know Mr. Wang? In response, Lin M.O. just nodded his head calmly. Well, sort of. What he said was that he looked at Wang Tsong Tsong with some curiosity and asked, What brings you to this magic theater today? This Wang Tsong Tsong hemmed and hawed and said, Hey, the sponsor of this drama performance of the magic theater today is our Trina group. Originally this magic theater was for me to be a judge, but now if you're actually here, Lin, then, compared to me, it's still you, brother Lin, who is more qualified to represent our Trina group. A simple sentence fell. However, it aroused the curiosity of both Wu Zhang and Zhao Village. Young Master Wang, what do you mean by that? After all, Wang Song Song is the youngest son of the Trina Group, and it is even holding 1% of the shares of Trina Group. This kind of status, there is no doubt that it is the one that can represent the Trina Group. But now, instead, he said Lin Mo was more qualified to represent Trina. How can this not be puzzling and depressing? And Wang Song Song listened to this Zhao Village's questioning. The gods were also confused. Somewhat dismayed, he looked at the two, curious, Murphy, don't you know, Mr. Lin, he, but he's the second largest shareholder of the Trina group, holding 25% of our Trina group's shares in your hands, boom, a comment fell, the two people here, Wu Zhang and Zhao village, were completely dumbfounded, then, looking at Lin Mo who was there, unable to help it, he swallowed, the second largest shareholder of Trina group, 25% shareholding, this, what a horrible, horrible identity? And what an asset it is. Again, after all, this Trina group is a giant company with a market capitalization of five to six hundred billion dollars. The moment, the two here are confused. Then, it was remembering what Lin Mo had said earlier. Acquiring a little bit of fighting Sharko shares off the cuff doesn't count for a lot in this sentence. At the time, they thought that Lin Mo was pretending to be in Versailles. But now it seems, a lot of what they think, in the eyes of others, probably, really just a little bit, not a lot, after all, the other party is the one holding hundreds of billions of shares, a district of over a billion dollars, for the other side, that's just a drop in the bucket, for a moment, the bottom of the two men's eyes as they looked at Lin Mo were filled with shock and consternation, in response, Lin Mo just laughed, spinning around, he looked at In Wang Song Song and shook his head, there's no need for that, since on the side of the magic theater, it's you who's invited, then you'll be the judge of this, Besides, it would be inappropriate for me to be the judge. After all, this time, I came to see one of my sisters perform. As the words fell, Wu Zhang, who was there, suddenly had a jolt, and said, Oh, I wonder, then, which player exactly? It just so happens that I'm also a judge, so when the time comes, I can shine a little light on the performance. Regarding Lin Mo's words, Wu Zhang naturally understood what they meant. And, he was still worried that there was no place to kiss Lin Mo's ass. And now this is the thing that just happens to be delivered. How could he let it get away? In response, Lin Mo faintly smiled and said, Okay, it's a little girl named Xia Yuma. When the time comes, I'll trouble Mr. Wu. You'll help take care of one or two things. When this Wu Zhang heard Lin Mo's words, he was instantly jolted and said, No trouble, no trouble. It's my honor to help Mr. Lin. Wang Song Song, who was on the side, also said in a hurry, Don't worry brother Lin. With me here. I definitely won't let sister-in-law suffer. Seeing that both of them had said so, 
Lin Mo just smiled faintly and didn't continue to say anything. Subsequently, these two just walked backstage as well. Only Zhao Village remained, still accompanying Lin Mo. It was just that at this moment, Zhao Village was clearly more cautious and restrained than before. Inside the auditorium, after waiting for seven or eight minutes, Lin Mo also saw Xie Yuma enter the auditorium. After looking around for a while, he found Lin Mo and hurriedly ran over with a smile. Sweetly, she said, Brother you're here. Rubbed Xie Yuma's hair. Lin Mo smiled and said, How about that? Any confidence that you can take first place? As Lin Mo's words fell, this Xie Yuma's face, at this time, was also piled with a sweet smile as she nodded her head. Definitely day. In response, Lin Mo smiled faintly, just about ready to say something. At the back, a sneer, however, suddenly rang out. Ch, just you, you still want to take first place? Lin Mo, who was listening to this voice, then frowned slightly and then turned his head to look. Only a girl was walking this way. A few sneers tugged at the corners of his mouth. Wang Yali, what do you mean? Xia Yuma frowned slightly and said, This Wang Yali, has always been her biggest competitor. The two have always been neck and neck in terms of scores and acting classes. Ha, to tell you the truth, you'll never get the title this time. Listen to this. Xia Yuma, on the other hand, thought of something and his face changed. Said, do you? Lin Mo's eyes also narrowed slightly. Then it was, and opened his mouth. Don't worry about it. Later, the title is definitely yours. As those words fell, Xia Yuma nodded his head slightly. As for Arya Wang who was there, then he swept a glance at Lin Mo, who was beside the Xia Yuma, the bottom of his eyes, at once, flashed with a few moments of jealousy. She is quite fond of luxuries on weekdays. Naturally, he could tell that the set of clothes Lin Mo was wearing was not cheap, and at the same time, it's looking out. The watch on Lin Mo's wrist was a Patek Philippe, a watch like a Patek Philippe, even the cheapest one, that's worth a lot of money. This shows that this Lin Mo is definitely a rich second generation, and this rich kid, but it was on the side, looking at Xie Yuma. Subsequently, this Wang Yali was thinking back, the one who had bagged himself, the 50-something, fat-headed real estate owner. There was just a pang at the bottom of his heart, a flood of nausea, and in a moment's time, this Wang Yali at this time, was also getting more and more unbalanced. Then we'll see. Gritting her teeth, Wang Yali just left the place. As Wang Yali left, Lin Mo also asked, What's going on here? Xia Yuma's face was complicated as he said, This Wang Yali has always been at odds with me, and this time, with the drama performance, it's the same thing. As for some time ago, I heard that she was adopted by the boss of a real estate company, and that old boss, I heard, is also a judge for this competition. I always thought the rumor was false, but now I'm afraid it's true. So, Lin Mo's eyes glittered. Spinning around, he said, So how many judges do you have for this competition? There are five in total. Three partner judges and two professional dance judges. Hearing this, Lin Mo also nodded his head slightly. It seems that this drama show is rated for logic, or quite for professionalism. With two professional judges, it's a guarantee of professionalism in the competition. As for the three partner judges, then it's clear that this organizer is trying to make some money back. In response, Lin Mo smiled and said, Okay, don't worry about that guy. Put on a good show and you won't run away with the title this time. If you take first place, I'll have a reward for you then. Good. Xia Yuma revealed a smile. Listening to Lin Mo's words, his heart was also greatly settled. And it didn't take long for the drama show, too, to begin in earnest. One by one, the actors began to take the stage and perform. After a show, that's when the rounds of elimination begin. Then regroup and choose a script to perform. After another round, the tournament is also official. Going into the third round, in the middle of this round, there's only one show, and only the last five remain. As the play began to be performed, the auditorium, once again, fell silent. All eyes were glued to the stage. Wang Yali has a lot of pizzazz. Just like that, it's a winning position. As for Xia Yuma, who was on the sidelines, he gave a moderate performance, a total textbook performance. As the performance ended, the five took a slight bow with the bottom, with a host of guest judges below. After the review, then it was time to start scoring. The moderator also began to read. Okay, our number one judge is already making his assessment. Wang Yali, 98 points. Xia Yuma, 97 points. Ning Xian, judge number two also scored his own. Yali Wang, 97 points. Yuma Xia, 98 points. Soon, the two professional judges, who were the ones who had, gave their scores, and with that rating out of the way, a lot of people on the scene were a little nervous. As for this Wang Yali, 
She also looked at the third judge with a pitiful look, the one sitting there, the big-bellied real estate developer, the middle-aged man looking at the scene. There was also a smirk on his face, staring at this Wang Yali, unable to take her eyes off, spinning around, that is, giving their ratings. Judge number three, Wang Yali, 100 points. Xia Yuma, 70 points? For a moment, the hosts can be confused. After all, this rating is a little bit surprising. I can't believe I only gave Xia Yuma 70 points. The scene was also a bit noisy. There was a flurry of them, and they began to talk about it. And Xia Yuma's face, at this moment, went white. At this point, she, too, understood. This number three judge is probably that Wang Yali's gold master. With this rating, he's clearly doing it on purpose. And this time, the difference in scoring between the two was 30 minutes straight up. It's hopeless. Muttering under his breath, Xia Yuma looked bitter. As for Wang Yali on the side, at this moment, she was like an old mother hen that had won the fight. There it was, looking high and mighty. A glance at Xia Yuma, followed by another glance, at Lin Imo below. Under his eyes, there was contempt and disdain. Lin Imo was the only one who remained calm and collected, sitting there with the corners of his mouth turned up. Next, there's a good show, next to Zhao Village. The situation was also clarified at this time. Some godly pity, looking at that Wang Yali, shaking her head for a while. Immediately, he looked towards the fat man who was there, his eyes narrowing slightly. The judge's table, the two professional judges, at this point, looked incredulous. As for the duo of Wang Tsongtsong and Wu Zhang at the back, but they looked at each other and realized what was going on. Immediately, it was time to write down his rating. Then light up, look at the ratings of the two men. The host was confused, but it was read out anyway. Judge number 4, Yali Wang, 60 points. Yuma Se, 100 points. Judge number 5, Yali Wang, 60 points. Yuma Se, 100 points. Boom! This rating is like a strike of flat lightning. Straight away, it blew up on the scene. The two judges, at the same time, gave Wang Yali a low score. Then again, the same full marks were given to Xia Yuma. It's just, it's a little bit outlandish. And Wang Yali, who was there, was also confused at this time. The entire person's eyes widened in disbelief as they watched this scene. These last two, to give yourself, like, a 60, and then, giving Xia Yuma a score of 100? This, what the hell is going on? Taking two steps backwards, Wang Yali's finally, forcefully braced herself. Keep yourself from falling down and making a fool of yourself on stage. The judge's table, the fat judge there, too, froze at that moment. For this situation, he was totally surprised. But then, on the forehead of the entire person, there was just some fine cold sweat flowing down. At the bottom of his heart, there was an unpleasant premonition that arose. If it wasn't still being recorded, he really wanted to ask at the two what was going on. And the host, above, was in a hurry. In this competition, the winner is Xia Yuma. The total score is 465 points. The winner, Xia Yuma, will be directed by Chin Kai, citing opportunities for the latest movie he directed, The Legend of the Demon Cat. A word fell. There was also a cheer from the crowd. In the midst of this cheering, it was all over. The scene is starting to break up. Immediately after Wang Yali finished, she just ran away from the stage. Xia Yuma, on the other hand, was so excited that he hurriedly ran to Lin Mo's side and said excitedly, Nienii I won first place. Lin Mo just smiled blandly and said, Nice. Want to go get something to eat later? Well, brother decides. Okay. Lin Mo nodded his head. And just as she, was about to say something, not far, the duo of Wang Tsong Tsong and Wu Zhang also walked over at this time, Xia Yuma looked confused, looking at the two, he then just opened his mouth, two judges, the two nodded at Xia Yuma and then it was the way, Mr. Lin, Lin Mo, on the other hand, nodded his head calmly and said, thanks to the two of you for earlier, no, 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 no. Besides, sister-in-law, she, too, deserves the title. Wang Tsongtsong hurriedly said, and as those words fell, this Xie Yuma's face, too, was slightly red for a while. At the same time, the heart was completely clear. Why? Just now, these last two judges, it would come out of nowhere and give itself full credit, and, gave that Arya Wang 60 points original, all because of Lin Mo. However, just at this time of the year, the obese middle-aged man not far away, it also brought Wang Yali and quickly rushed over, nodding his head, he said, 
Mr. Wang, Mr. Wu, why did you two just? Before he could finish his sentence, this middle-aged man, who had also seen it, stood at Lin Mo's side. Xia Yuma who was blocked just now. A moment, the middle-aged man here was a little pale. The dismalness in his heart was also getting stronger and stronger. As for Wang Yali's heart, it also sank to the bottom at once. However, subsequently, this middle-aged man, also tentatively, opened his mouth and asked, Wang, Mr. Wang, Mr. Wu, this gentleman is, Wang Song Song, who was there, instantly just sneered and said, this, this is Mr. Lin, the second largest director of fighting shark technology, and the second largest director of our Trina group, poof, the words just fell, this middle-aged man, his legs softened and he fell to his knees, the moment, this middle-aged fat man was truly and completely stunned, he sat down on his knees, both his eyes glazed over, he all but missed it, Lin Mo's identity was actually so terrifying and horrifying, the second largest shareholder of Du Shark Technology and Trina Group, yourself, I can't believe I offended such a great man, despair, deep despair surfaced at this point, and on the side of Wang Yali, at this time is also completely, panicked, looking at Lin Mo and Xie Yuma who were there, the whole person was like falling into hell, opened his mouth to say something, and yet, completely, no words came out, as for the middle-aged fat man, he also spoke in a hurry, brother, brother, please, 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 I was wrong, I was really wrong, just now I really didn't know that this ms, sia, is your person, how dare I do that if I knew, the middle-aged fat man knelt there, begging for mercy, after all, though he was, indeed, considered a number one in Mordor, but in front of an existence of Lin Mo's status, that, is nothing more than a mole cricket, if one offended the other party, even the other party could get himself killed without even having to make a move, Lin Mo, on the other hand, indifferently swept a glance at this middle-aged fatty, the immediate thing was to speak, don't, don't you dare say that, I don't have a little brother like you, next to Wang Tsong Tsong, at this time is also instantly the road, now, you get the hell out of here right now, and your company, it's Kai Young Construction, right? I remember this company of yours. There should be a few cooperative projects between you and my family. I'll have a word with my father about this. The words fell next to the village of Zhao. At this point also said, Kai Young Construction? I remember that my family, some time ago, should have also contracted out a project to this company, but now it seems that this cooperation needs to be reconsidered. As the two men's two sentences fell, that middle-aged man at this time, was also all of a sudden, like falling into an ice cellar. Honestly, recently, the benefits of their company are, in fact, not good. So if we lose those programs, his company, then, is not far from bankruptcy. At this moment, this middle-aged man was truly flustered. Hurriedly, he just said, Young Master Wang, Young Master Zhao, I beg you two to give me another chance. I was wrong. I was really wrong before. To this, these two, Wang Song Song and Zhao Village, it can be described as the slightest bit unforgiving. After all, they were, right now, still preparing to hold on to, Lin Mo's big thick leg. Scram, I hope I won't have to say it a third time. Wang Song Song said coldly, seeing this, the middle-aged man's heart, too, was in complete despair. There were a few moments of remorse in the bottom of his eyes. Looking behind him, Wang Yali, if it wasn't for her, how would she have offended Xia Yuma and Lin Mo? How could you, yourself, have been reduced to such a state? Immediately, he stood up and walked over to Wang Yali, a slap thrown out hard. You bitch, it's bad luck for me to run into you. With a roar, this Wang Yali was completely confused. The middle-aged man, on the other hand, was like a street rat and quickly left the spot. Only that Wang Yali was left, and at this time it was like a lost dog. After returning to his senses, he hurriedly came to Xia Yuma and said, Yummer, yummer, aren't we good sisters? Please, help me. I know I'm wrong. In response, Xia Yuma mentally sighed, then shook his head. I'm sorry, there's not much I can do to help you yet. At this moment, Xia Yuma's heart was even happier. She knows, from now on, on campus, this Wang Yali is no longer able to raise her head, and all this, all because of Lin Mo. The moment, Xia Yuma's arm around Lin Mo was again a few points tighter. As for Wang Yali, she ran to Lin Mo and begged for mercy. Lin Mo, however, didn't even look at it and said to Xia Yuma, let's go, let's go to lunch, whom, as those words fell, 
the Shoshone there then hemmed and hawed and said, Then M.O., I know this neighborhood, there's a restaurant that's very good, I recommend it to you, uh, okay. Saying that, this Xiao village was pushing the restaurant, immediately, he intended to say goodbye, brother M.O., then I won't disturb you and your sister-in-law's two-person world, so I'll leave first ha, huh? hey, wait a minute, let's go out to dinner together, I still have to be nice and go thank you three for what just happened, that's not very nice, is it? Wang Sonson looked at Lin M.O. and Xie Yuma and said, there's nothing wrong with it, hey, let's go, with that, Lin M.O. was the first to step out, the other three couldn't argue, so they followed along, all the way, onto the parking lot, Lin M.O. took out his car key and gently pressed it, the one that was parked in the corner of the parking lot, the fiery red Lycoming supercar just lights up, the opposite door, too, lifted slowly and automatically, Wang Song Song was stunned as he looked at the supercar, brother Lin, awesome, you can even get your hands on this car, I've been lusting after this Lycan supercar for a long time but I can't get one, I didn't expect that you, Lin, would actually, manage to get your hands on this car, at this moment, Wang Song Song's tone, appeared to be somewhat envious, ha ha, it was just a fluke, Lin M.O. laughed, but this is something that Wang Song Song that is absolutely not believed, a fluke, how could this be a fluke, after all, seven of the Lycoming supercars worldwide, anyone who can get their hands on it is either rich or famous, even if he was the young son of the Trina group, that was useless, so, this car has been, he's all but eyeballing it, however, Lin M.O. had gotten his hands on it, the significance represented behind this is absolutely extraordinary. As for Zhao Village and Wu Zhang who were there, the two men also smacked their lips for a moment. Zhao Village also spoke at this time. Boy, M.O., you're changing cars too fast, aren't you? And each one, a world-class luxury car. This statement was made. Wang Tsongsong asked in a hurry. Could it be that this isn't the only top-of-the-line supercar in Brother Lin's hands? That's not true? Shoshone's tone perked up. As far as I know, M.O. has, in his hands right now, a Porsche 911 GT1-98. There's also a supercar, the Pagani Windjammer Imola. These two cars, they are both in the same class of top supercars as this Lycoming supercar. After the words fell, Wang Songsong can be described as straightforward. A mouthful of cool air sucked backwards, looking to Rimmer who was there. At this moment, he just wanted to shout out that Ringo was awesome. After all, every supercar reported by Shoshone. Which one doesn't require great status and wealth to get? However, Lin M.O. had collected all of them. To his hand, 20 or so minutes later, the five sat in a private room in a restaurant. At this point, there was also a flurry of, well, pushing and shoving. Lin M.O. sat in the main seat. The three of them, Wang Song Song, gave Lin M.O. a flurry of toasts. After three rounds of wine, the food is over. But in an hour, the three of them were also eating. Wang Song Song's three people were also very sensible and left one by one. As for the two of them, Lin Mo and Xie Yuma, they were walking down the street at this time. The restaurant where a few people ate earlier, is located in the business district. And now, it's 7 o'clock in the evening again. Therefore, the surrounding area is also extraordinarily prosperous. And at this point, the two also came around the parking lot. Lin Mo also thought about it. The one that was placed in the car, the wristwatch that he was going to give to Xie Yuma. Immediately, it was said, right, you wait a little bit, Lin M.O. opened his mouth, after saying that, Lin M.O. set out the car keys and opened the front trunk, spinning around, the watch box inside was removed, after opening, a piece of exquisite Patek Philippe, displayed in front of the eyes of the Xie Yuma. looking at this Patek Philippe, there was Xie Yuma. the entire person covered her small mouth, and the look on her face showed all the joy and shock, and more than that, a wave of overwhelm, then oh, then just a little nervously opened his mouth to ask, Brother, this watch is. Lin Mo faintly smiled and said, How about a gift for you to take the title? How do you like it? At that moment, Xia Yuma's expression looked extraordinarily excited. Nodding his head in a hurry, he said, Aha, very much so. In response, Lin Mo smiled blandly and said, Then try it on. Good, said the. This Xia Yuma was just very pleased and put the wristwatch on his wrist. The navy blue dial and band are coupled with an 18k white gold case. It was worn on Xia Yuma's white wrist. It seems to be an extraordinarily good fit. The circle of crushed diamonds around the body of the watch is illuminated by the lights around the mall. It also looked dazzling in the darkness of the night. Not bad. It fits perfectly. Lin Mo nodded his head. Satisfied. Xia Yuma's cheeks, which were also slightly red at this time, said, Thank you brother. And then, this Xia Yuma also patted his toes. Flying quickly. 
he pecked Lin Mo's lips. In response, Lin Mo was also stunned, and the latter, mentally, sputtered. These girls, are they also fond of sneak attacks? Think about it. Lin Mo cupped the Xie Yuma's snow white cheeks, and after that, it was a direct plug. Well, a full minute had passed. The two men then separated. Xie Yuma, on the other hand, was gasping for air, her cheeks flushed, pouting. Brother, do you want to suffocate me? In response, Lin Mo just snorted coldly, an eye for an eye. Who let you sneak up on me first? While saying that, Lin Mo's was pulling out his cell phone, said, It's so late tonight, why don't we spend the night outside? Hearing this, Xia Yuma's heart was also a bit flustered. Then, hands gripped the corners of his coat, but then, still nodding his head, he gave a soft hmm. While listening to these words, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth burst, for a moment, upward. At the same time, by the way is to open a, not far from this business district, five-star hotel, and then the two of them were heading towards the hotel, all the way, a few hours later, Lin Mo was satisfied and lay down on the bed, while swiping his cell phone, he held Xie Yuma in his arms, have to say, Xie Yuma is worthy of studying acting, in terms of the softness of the body, it was much better than Qin Fei'er, and, physical strength is also very abundant, and at this point in time, Lin Mo then spoke, by the way, if it's in two days, I'll buy you a house, near your school, after all, if you don't have a house, you'll have to come to the hotel room every time you want to communicate in the future, it's just a bit of a pain in the ass, really, while Xia Yuma's eyes were a little moist in the middle of his eyes at this time, thank you brother, honestly, Xia Yuma was really not expecting it, Lin Mo, would actually treat him so well, and even buy him a house, the moment, this Xia Yuma's heart was filled with happiness, lying in Lin Mo's arms, this Xie Yuma held her cell phone in her hand, editing her friend's circle, I'm so happy to see my brother again today, one paragraph of text, nine photos, it has scenes of eating in the hotel, photos of the hotel, and, the Patek Philippe that Lin Mo gave her, with the photo sent, this Xie Yuma's circle of friends, again, was directly exploded, oh, I'm envious, good IUMO, sneaking around and following your little brother to a high-end restaurant to eat, looking for a fight, Seems like the focus isn't the restaurant, rather, it's the wristwatch that little brother gave to Yuma. The watch is supposed to be a Patek Philippe, worth $370,000, almost $400,000, holy shit, a $370,000 watch, that's enough for a down payment on a house in some small cities, right? Hiss, I'm envious. In an instant, the circle of friends can be blown up, and as Xie Yuma looked at the replies, his heart grew more and more surprised, despite, she knew that the watch Lin Mo had given her, a Patek Philippe, was probably not cheap, but after knowing the details of the price, Xia Yumo remained, was viciously shocked, a wristwatch, 370, 000, the moment, in the bottom of Xia Yuma's heart, it was also getting more and more complicated, and then the two were under a bit more, that's what it took to go to sleep, the night passed, wait until early the next morning, after having an early dinner with Xie Yuma in the restaurant, it was only then that he drove the car and drove it back to the school. Afterwards, Lin Mo was in no hurry to go home, just sat in the car and had the app open to check out today's subsidized items. After a slight refresh, Lin Mo was also the one who saw the goods inside. 100% of the shares of Magic City Oriental Sports Center Management Company. Subsidized price, 9. 9. Look at this merchandise. Lin Mo was also a bit confused. This, what does it mean? The Magic City Stadium, Lin Mo is aware of it. It's a large stadium with a capacity of over 10, 000 people. On weekdays, it also undertakes a lot of commercial performances, celebrity concerts and so on. But this management company? What's that supposed to mean? Lin Mo carried curiosity in his heart and then went to check. That's how I figured it out. The Magic City Oriental Sports Center is owned by the authorities. That is to say, it cannot be privately owned. However, it is not the authorities that specifically manage this Eastern Sports Center. Instead, it's this management company. And this Eastern Sports Center management company, it still has the right to host events, shows, conferences, annual meetings and a host of other activities. And also as a result, the annual profits behind this, too, are huge. Look at that 9. 9 price. Lin Mo didn't hesitate in the slightest. Fingers pressed decisively. Buy it. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 15 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Watch this for 15 minutes. Lin Mo's eyebrows rose slightly. And then the one after that. Then is the smooth hand. 
clicked on their WeChat friend circle. While swiping through friends, the one thing that is waiting, not a moment too soon, 15 minutes passed, the time had just passed, on Lean Ma's co-pilot, a bunch of papers all of a sudden just appeared out of thin air, a little rummaging around, just like that, there are various documents related to the Magic City Oriental Sports Center, just in time to go over there, in passing, Lin Mo was also tapping on the navigation, then set up the lower end position, looking at the navigated route, Lin Mo also had a momentary pause, whom, passing by the Grand Hyatt, at the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, it carried a few moments of astonishment, that's just right, go over and check on Sheen Fair, a light laugh, subsequently, Lin Mo also just stepped on the gas, first toward the Grand Hyatt residence, all the way driving, it's now after 9 in the morning, at this point in the magic city, the roads aren't exactly jammed with traffic, therefore, it was only after 10 minutes or so, Lin Mo's car, that is, arrived at the entrance of the Junyue Huoding neighborhood, when the security guard saw that the owner of the car was Lin Mo, he just let it go immediately, after all, it's the existence of a whole building bought outright, so Lin Mo's face had long been memorized by all the security guards, in their hearts, come downstairs, Lin Mo didn't choose to go upstairs, instead, he sat in the car and first clicked on the Fighting Shark Live app, app among others, Fruity, Fei Chin is on the air, watching the scene, Lin Mo chose to stealthily enter the live broadcast room, after the last PK, the entire backstage of the Fighting Sharks was aware of it, this Chin Fei is a person who is a major shareholder of her own family, therefore, there is no end to the variety of referrals, and so it is, the heat is just all the time, high and dry, now even though it's after 9 in the morning, but still, in the live broadcast, is with more than 1 million heat, Lin M.O., who had dived in stealthily, didn't cause a stir, just peace and quiet, sat down and watched the broadcast, Philip Chin is singing now, with the end of the song, only then did Lin M.O. click on the gift button, straight up, it's 10 rounds of super fire slamming out, then, on the public screen, messages were being sent, downstairs, 10 rounds of super fire smashed out of Lin Mo's two words, the direct top in the middle of the live broadcast, it's also this moment, the live broadcast room was instantly abuzz, woohoo, the crouching dynasty bigwigs are actually here, 10 rounds of super fire just to post two words, big brother is awesome, looks like the anchor, is this another meeting with the crouching dynasty big brother, in an instant, the live broadcast was abuzz, upstairs, Chin Fei's face instantly reddened as she looked at the two words that suddenly floated out, then, quickly running away from the camera to the window, looked toward the downstairs, at once, that is, he saw, standing beside a fire red supercar, Lin M.O., the whole person's heartbeat, even more thump 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 began to accelerate, spin, then just a little flustered, back in front of the camera, said, that, that's the end of today's live broadcast, the anchor still has some things to do, so he'll go off the air first, after all was said and done, this is to no longer continue to ignore, the water friends who are up in arms in the live room, straight away, a handful of them closed their live feeds, yikes, why is he here at this hour, at this moment, Sheen Fair's heartbeat accelerated, the ensuing one picked up the vanity mirror that was set aside, a careful look at the makeup on her face, since it's only been on for less than an hour, the delicate makeup hasn't worn off, okay, okay, tapped his chest, then ran to his room and changed into a set of clothes, once that was done, it was time to take the bag and put the keys and cell phone away, all the way, it's just down the stairs, just as soon as she exited the lobby of the unit building, this Chin Fair was all smiles, coming to Lin M.O., he said, why are you free to come today, moreover, you're directly in the live broadcasting room, calling me down, in response, Lin M.O. laughed lightly and said, happened to be passing your way, so I stopped by to check on you, after saying that, Lin M.O. opened the car door, get in the car and go play some tennis with me, ah uh, this, but I'm not wearing a sweatshirt, Chin Fair froze, now, the set of clothes that was on him was a dress, it's a little inconvenient to go play badminton here, as for Lin M.O., he said calmly, I'll just buy you a set when we get to the place, Chin Fair, who was listening to this, hesitated slightly, then he just nodded his head and said, okay then, spin, the two just drove all the way to the Eastern Sports Center, the location of the Oriental Sports Center is near the foreshore, it's in the heart of the Magic City, the drive all the way was but 15 or 16 minutes, this is getting to the location, parked the car in the parking lot next to the sports center, the eastern sports center is as divided into four buildings, these are the gymnasium, the swimming pool, the diving pool and the sports building, of these, the sports building is classified as office space, all the way to the gym, 
Lin Mo didn't show his identity, he just bought two tickets first, then he looked around, then his eyes fell on the fruit tea store not far away, said, you go ahead and pick out a set of gym clothes, and I'll get two cups of fruit tea, uh, yeah, nod, the two then just parted ways, Chin Fei'er walked into the sportswear store next door, and just as she was, she started picking out her gym clothes, a surprised voice followed, yeah, Phil, while listening to the voice, Chin Fei'er twisted her head, just a woman with a ponytail and an incredibly cool outfit, at this moment, was looking over with a surprised face, looking at this ponytailed woman, Chin Fei'er was first stunned, then, it was just a tentative way of saying, you are, Shui Ran, this Shui Ran, if he remembered correctly, should be his classmate when he was in college, I didn't realize that Fei was a college bully, which still remembers me, in response, Chin Fei'er smiled, I didn't expect to run into you here, I'm here to keep my husband company and come over to play ball, by the way, Fei hasn't seen you in so long, what are you doing now, Shui Ran asked casually, Chin Fei'er didn't hide it and said, been doing live streaming lately, the moment these words came out, this Shui Ran's tone, just seemed disdainful, hey, I didn't expect you, Fei'er, to actually start doing live broadcasts, ha, huh? these days, if you are doing a live broadcast without a gold master, you can't get up, Phil, why don't we do this, I'll introduce you to two rich gold masters, at these words, Chin Fei'er frowned and said, no, I have a boyfriend, after these words fell, Shui Ran was also stunned, then, in a hurry, he said, got a boyfriend, handsome, rich, how old, this Shui Ran's heart has already, is an idea, if this Chin Fei'er's boyfriend, is a handsome man, he or she will have to snatch him or her regardless, but if it's a poor bastard, then naturally, one is in for some cynicism, for this Shui Ran's idea, Chin Fei'er naturally couldn't be clearer, the heart of the moment was a continuous sneer, saying, whether this boyfriend of mine has money or not, it seems that between you and me, it doesn't have much to do with it, does it? One sentence fell, directly causing this Shui Ran to choke, she hadn't expected that Chin Fei'er would actually say that, the face stiffened slightly, subsequently, then he just smiled, Aya, Fei, I'm just worried about you, think about it, there are so many crooks in society now aren't there, if you're cheated out of your money and your body, how worthless is that, look at this bag I'm holding, my husband bought it for me, this is the latest Gucci model, it's worth $38,000, and look at this watch of mine, that's also a Cartier blue balloon, worth $58,000, and ah, uh, my husband also said that he is going to buy me an 80 square feet single apartment recently, this Shui ran at this point, that is all, is a show off look, as for Chin Fei'er who was there, she had an odd expression on her face, $38,000 for a bag, is this expensive, she remembered that Lin Mo was direct at that time, bought myself a bunch of them, the latest from Hermes, right, at the time, it was over a hundred thousand dollars spent on myself, and then also gave himself a, a Patek Philippe watch, Chin Fei'er mentally shook her head and laughed lightly, but didn't point it out, just calmly saying there, wow, that's really something to congratulate you on, all about to have a suite in the magic city, that's not true, in an instant, this Shui Ran's heart became more and more condescending, there was also more disdain for Chin Fei'er, a school teacher, what's the point, after graduation, she still became a small anchor, immediately, this Shui Ran was in a fluttering state, the whole man put on a come hither look and said, so, Fei, it's not that sis says you know, right, we women, the most precious thing is these years, there's no need to spend these most precious years on that kind of, not much money, smelly man, you see sister me, that's with the right person, it's only been a year and there's so much good stuff, aha, uh -huh, you're right, Chin Fei'er was at once, responding in succession, she was completely unconcerned about this Shui Ran's words, at the same time, it is also a feeling that one is blessed and lucky in a million ways, luckily, what one encounters, is Lin Mo, it was really much better than the husband that Shui Ran was working for, think about it, Chin Fei'er's heart was just full of emotions, and just then, a voice rang out not far away, Ren, I saw a man with a dry and thin figure, but with gray hair on his temples, the middle-aged man, who appeared to be nearly 50 years old, was walking over from a short distance away, and Shui Ran came up quickly, petulant, yay hubby, why are you out, look at the look, Chin Fei'er, who was there, at this time was a burst of, revolting for it, she hadn't thought of that, this Shui Ran said, the so-called husband, I can't believe it could be a middle-aged man, and look at the age, and a husband, just being Shui Ran's father would be more than enough, this middle-aged uncle, on the other hand, laughed, then, a pair of small eyes, landed on Chin Fei'er's body, 
a burst of it, just looking up and down, said, this is your friend, not going to introduce me? Shui Ran who listened to these words, the first thing that happened was a heartfelt curse, I've had two abortions for you, as soon as I saw a woman prettier than my old lady, I moved on and forgot myself, there's also this slutty fox Chin Fei'er too, what's the point of pretending to be so good looking, though the heart is raging, but on Shui Ran's face, there was still a smile, saying, this is someone's college classmate, called Chin Fei'er, the middle-aged uncle laughed, then, looking at Chin Fei'er, he just said, so it's Miss Chin, I'm Li Chiotao, it's the vice president of the management company of this eastern sports center, is MS, Chin here to play ball, do you want to, together, go in and play, the middle-aged man said with a smile, listen to this, Chin Fei'er here, on the other hand, frowned slightly, looking at him his heart filled with displeasure, immediately, that is, he said coldly, that won't be necessary, I'm here with my boyfriend, after a sentence fell, Li Chiotao's face, at that moment, was also a stiffness, and just then, Lin Imo also bought a drink and came over towards this side, as soon as he came over, he was able to see the two people who were wrapped around Chin Fei'er, unable to help, is the question, Phil, what's going on, Lin Mo, you're back, saying that, this Chin Fei'er was a handful, hugging Lin Mo's arm, nothing much, just ran into my old classmate and his husband, this Chin Fei'er said the word husband, it was also deliberate and aggravating, and it was also an instantaneous second for Lin Mo to understand, at the same time, the face, too, looked a bit odd, said, so, and with Lin Mo's appearance, Shui Ran, who was there, had his eyes rounded, looking at Lin Mo, he kept swallowing his saliva, cool, it's just too handsome, honestly, if she hadn't still maintained her sanity and the fact that Li Chiotao was right next to her, by now Shui Ran had all but posted it, stealing a man from Qin Fei'er, while Li Chiotao at this time, the bottom of his eyes was a little jealous, in his opinion, a superb beauty like Qin Fei'er, only his kind, successful people deserve it, and why is the other party throwing herself at Lin Mo? just because the other guy is better looking than you? But, what's the use of that? Handsome for dinner? Think about it. This Li Chiotao looked Lin Mo up and down, seeing what Lin Mo was wearing. It was a whole set of high-grade sportswear. It was to Lin Mo. Oh, hello young man, I'm the deputy general manager of this Eastern Sports Center management company. Li Chiotao, you and your girlfriend, you came to hang out with us here at the Eastern Sports Center today? Well, sort of. At this moment, Lin Mo's heart was even more wonderful, he didn't expect that this Li Chiotao was actually still the deputy general manager of this, the Oriental Sports Center Management Company, now, then, that's really something, at the same time, in the back of his mind, he was secretly determined, I hope this Li Chiotao, can be a little bit more sensible, otherwise, one doesn't mind, giving the other a little credit, and Li Chiotao laughed, he said, in that case, then I wish, in advance, that the two of you have a good time, while saying that, this Li Chiotao side, is opening his mouth to ask, right, why don't I get you two a VIP card, I wonder where you, little brother, are working now, that was his main purpose, after all, Lin Imo was wearing a whole set of sportswear, it is one of the pieces that belongs to a piece that reaches thousands of dollars of beginning bird sportswear, therefore, he was prepared to probe Lin Mo's bottom first, with the fall of this Li Chiotao's words, Lin Imo who was there, on the other hand, had a continuous cold smile in his heart, how can he go back to not knowing, what this Li Chiotao was thinking, but still, he answered casually, me, just a hobo, hobo, a sentence fell, Li Chiotao, who was here, was instantly stunned, if anything, it's a hobo, and how can this be worn, the beginner's bird, the heart carries confusion, this Li Chiotao continued, so, little brother, I wonder, little brother, what does the family do, family, my parents are just a normal family, a small business in a small, rural county, this Lin Mo's tone, at this time, seemed extraordinarily casual, and as the words fell after that, Li Chiotao also had a rough judgment in his heart about Lin Mo, this Lin Mo, it is estimated that the family, has a few million of the kind of small rich second generation, a moment in time, he was just muddy for Lin Mo, no more fear, with a heartfelt sneer, he said, in that case, little brother, I'm just going to be straight with you here, I've got my eye on your girlfriend, how much are you willing to leave her for, this Li Chiotao's words are very direct, there's no beating around the bush, after all, in Li Chiotao's opinion, Lin Mo is one of those little rich kids, for this kind of little rich kid, you can just take the money and hit it yourself, Lin Mo's face, on the other hand, was slightly cold, 
eyes narrowed slightly as he said, Say that again? On this Li Chiotao's face, there was still a bland smile at this time. For Lin Mo this reaction, he was, naturally, anticipating it. It was just there, still looking unruffled. Calmly, he spoke, Let's do it this way. I'll give you half a million dollars. By the way I can also win. Within the Oriental Sports Center Management Company, arrange a job for you with a monthly salary of $10,000. How is it? This condition is already not bad. Li Chiotao there, between the words is full of a look. The winning look. As for Shuiran, who was at the side at this time, his face was a bit ironic and ugly. He's been serving this old thing for a year and a half. The old thing had invested no more than 200,000 or so dollars in himself. But now, this old thing, would actually smash out half a million dollars for Qin Fei'er, who hadn't gotten her hands on her yet. How could this not make her jealous and indignant? As for Qin Fei'er's face, at this moment, it was exceptionally wonderful and bizarre. Looking at Li Chiotao in front of him, it was as if he was looking at an idiot. After all, Qin Fei'er was aware of Lin Mo's family background. To be able to casually, give yourself a reward of 500, 000 to 600, 000 dollars. The cars they drive are top of the line supercars in the tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars. A being who buys a multi-million dollar watch and doesn't even blink an eye, wouldn't you care? What this Li Chiodao said about half a million dollars, and a job that pays over ten thousand dollars a month? It was also for this reason that at this point in time Qin Fei'er, is not the least bit nervous, just standing there, just like, ready to watch a good show. As for Lin Ma, but the face was a million times more odd, and said, can you give me within the management company of this eastern sports center, a random job that pays over ten thousand dollars a month? There's Li Chiotao there. At this time, he had a proud look on his face and said, Naturally, I am the vice president of this company. Wouldn't it be easy for me to arrange a job for you that pays over $10,000 a month? Between the words of this Li Chiotao, at this point it can be described as, full of condescension, vice president, right? Lin Mo spoke faintly. Well then, from now on, you're not, a plain sentence. But it made this Li Chiotao, full of confusion. What? I mean, you're no longer the VP of the company from now on. You're fired. Lin Mo spoke with a single word. As the words fell after that, Li Chiotao, who was there, looked as if he had heard a big joke. With a sneer on his face, he opened his mouth with a wide grin. Ha ha ha, who do you think you are, and fire me? Who am I? You'll find out soon enough. Said, Lin Mo just pulled out his cell phone and dialed a cell phone number. On the other end of the phone, after two rings, it was picked up quickly. Hello Chairman Lin, what can I do for you? Inside the sports building, in the middle of the chairman's office, general manager of this eastern sports center management company, was looking terrified, and proceeded to the phone. Five minutes ago, the board above gave themselves a call. Says the company's shareholding has changed. Someone bought the company, 100%. In other words, the chairman of the company, changed, and the new chairman is a young man called Lin Mo. The other party's cell phone number was sent to himself from the company. He had just saved himself ready to make a call and say hello. The cell phone just rang. The caller ID. Heck, it was Lin Mo. And that's exactly why. It was with such trepidation that he picked up the phone. The call just came through. Lin Mo's cold and indifferent voice just rang out. I'm going to give you five minutes to come to the entrance of the first floor of the gym. Immediately. Right now. I'm here at the gym. The store that sells sportswear here. Having said that. He was just straight up. Hanging up. And after that. Lin Mo just stopped talking. As those words fell. That Li Chiotao. On the other hand. Smiled coldly and said. Ha. Huh, and five minutes to get someone over to see you? Well. I'd like to see who you can call. When no one comes in five minutes. I'd like to see how you're going to end it. Li Chiotao's face was filled with a sneer. At this moment. He completely just thought that Lin Mo was a liar. However. Lin Mo. However. Had a face that was. Well. Cloudy. Then, in passing, he handed a cup of fruit tea in his hand, to Qin Fei'er. Here the two are, drinking and picking out sports, looking at Lin Mo in this casual and relaxed manner, in the bottom of Li Chiotao's heart, but vaguely, breeding a few points of uneasiness. As for inside the sportswear store, Lin Mo, are you the owner of this eastern sports center? Qin Fei'er said with a face full of curiosity. Well, this company, just bought it this morning. Ha, huh? bought it for fun. The playing field at home is too small. There's no place in the gym if you're able to play tennis or anything like that. Solely, just buy an eastern sports center for fun. At once, the corners of this Qin Fei's mouth twitched. You call that human? You don't have a place to play tennis. So you buy an eastern sports center for fun? Look at that. 
That said, and it's at this point in time, not far away, the sound of footsteps rang out, just outside the gates of this gym. A group of people are trotting all the way here. Li Chiotao, who was here, looked at the man in the lead. It was a moment of confusion. The pupils of his eyes, moreover, contracted for a while. Then he looked at Lin Mo with an incredulous face. Face, white, does it say, at once, in the bottom of this Li Chiotao's heart, the sense of impropriety was also getting stronger and stronger. There were a few moments of trepidation on his face. This Li Chiotao at this point, also looking at the visitor, he opened his mouth trembling. Lu, Mr. Lu, what brings you here? However, this general manager Lu did not even look at Li Chiotao. Hectic, that is to say. Lin, Chairman Lin, I'm really sorry that I'm late. Mr. Lu gasped and took out a handkerchief to wipe the sweat from the corners of his forehead. At the same time, a burst of it was just a succession of bows towards Lin Mo. He, actually, really is the owner of the company. At this moment, that Li Chiotao was confused. The bottom of the entire person's eyes, even more so, carried a few moments of astonishment and shock. What followed was a chill down his back and a sense of despair. It's over. Yourself. It's really over. Yourself just now. How dare you scream at your own new boss. The moment. A deep despair welled up in his heart. Li Chiotao was even more hateful. And directly gave himself two slaps. Not too late. Got there in five minutes at the very least. Ha ha. By the way. Chairman. Let me introduce you here. I'm Lu Quan the general manager of this Oriental Sports Center management company. These, behind me, are the heads of the company's various venues, with the words falling afterward. Several people in the back, one after another, just bowed, and said, Hello boss, these several people were all respectful. No way, after all, Lin Mo belonged, directly parachuted down. They didn't know anything about Lin Mo's information or temperament, in case, they were not careful and offended Lin Mo. That's really bad luck. As for Lu Quan who was there, he was also carefully looking at Lin Mo's gloomy face at this moment. The heart was not free from a pang, speculating over it. At the same time, the mouth opened cautiously. Chairman, may I ask, did something happen here just now? What happened? Lin Mo sneered in his heart. Then, it was also to look at. There, Li Chiotao, coldly speaking, he said, Oh, Vice President Li, do you still want me to say it for you? After a sentence fell, everyone here. The first thing that happened was that he looked at, there, Li Chiotao, general manager Lu Quan's heart, at this time, also understood, definitely, this Lu Quan has offended the new chairman. Instantly, the bottom of Lu Quan's eyes, is to bring a few points of icy cold chill, mouth drink to, Li Chiotao, what good have you done, speak, this Li Chiotao stammered for half a day, in the end, it was better to give a full account of what had happened, with the fall of the last word, this Li Chiotao face, has been like a dead gray. Lu Quan, on the other hand, was gritting his teeth for a while. The bottom of his heart was even more irritated. Now, he really wanted to strangle this Li Chiotao. On weekdays this Li Chiotao, a little trickery is even. But, now he's actually playing the bully, to the chairman's head. This, it's simply a death wish. And, it dragged everyone, everyone, down with it. Lu Quan was furious in his heart. Li Chiotao, you, this Lu Quan instantly, was cursing. And before he could curse his words out, Lin Mo just slowly spoke. Come on, it's still in the gym here. What a shame. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Lu Quan immediately, his heart and mind were frozen. In a hurry, he said, yes, chairman, it's better to just fire assholes like this. BTW, give me a full checkup on him before firing. If there's a discrepancy in the account somewhere, where it's been reported, uniformly, give me a full head to toe inspection. If you find out the problem, you should call the police and prosecute. If you dare to harbor and have even one spot that you didn't check out. Lin Mo sneered and looked at Lu Quan. Then Lu Quan, there are plenty of people who want to sit in this general manager position of yours. A word fell. Lu Quan can be described as having cold hands and feet. And, the hatred for this Li Chiotao reached its peak. As for the rest of the group of executives, they also had goosebumps at this time. And there's Li Chiotao. At that moment, they fell to their knees with a poof. Eyes gradually lost in thought, Li Chiotao knew that he, himself, was completely finished, if it's just expulsion that's fine, after all, he had accumulated a lot of wealth over the years, but this approach by Lin Ma, it's obvious to get yourself, in a million pieces, after all, over the years, he had done unseemly things, and it wasn't as simple as one or two, if it's really a thorough investigation, dumping your own money is light, more likely, 
it's to squat for 5 to 10 years, and Shweran, who was not far away, was already confused at this point, for everything that happened here, it was completely given a dumbfounded look, and what shocked her even more, then it was the identity of Lin M.O., Lin M.O., I can't believe it would be the owner of this sports center, this really shook Shweran up, at the same time, recalling himself, the bragging he had done to Qin Fair earlier, it also felt like a fiery pain in the face, but then, in his eyes, a look of delight appeared, young, rich, and handsome, if one can flatter the other, on this Shui Ran's face, all of a sudden, a fawning smile just surfaced, then, it was that he came to Lin Imo and said, yeah, little brother, so you're the boss of this eastern sports center, what was said was that he was ready to hug Lin Mo's arm, however just at this point in time, Qin Fair, who was next to her, was the one who pulled Lin Imo away, blocking in front of this Shui Ran, he said, Shui Ran, is there anything else you want? Looking at Qin Fair with this appearance, Shui Ran's expression, on the other hand, appeared to have so many points of embarrassment, but then, it was a light laugh, and said, Yeah, Fei, what are you so nervous about? I don't want to get to know your boyfriend a little bit. With these words fell, Qin Fair, on the other hand, remained the same, blocking Lin Mo's face and coldly said, Getting acquainted would not be necessary. We have to go in and play tennis on our side in a minute. A sentence fell. This Shui Ran's face, more and more was just awkward, and she was about to say something else when she did. Lin Mo's voice, in turn, rang out. Right Lu Quan, go ahead, chairman. I don't want to continue to see anything related to this Li Chiotao inside the gym. So something, throw it out. A sentence fell. This Lu Quan understood at once, and then, it was to block in front of that Shui Ran. This lady, please also show me your ticket. As those words fell, Shui Ran was instantly confused, before she came in through Lu Quan, where is the ticket? Just as he was about to say something, Lu Quan's voice rang out again, if you don't have a ticket, please leave immediately, otherwise, I'm going to call security on my end and throw you out. A word fell, Shui Ran stomped her foot, what's wrong with you, man? Lu Quan was still standing there, ripple, face, always, with a light smile, see this, Shui Ran gritted his teeth, and what followed was still a gray departure. After all, that's if, in the end, one is thrown out. Then it's true. It's a disgrace. This is just a blip on the radar for Shirin. Lin Mo quickly, was buying a whole set of sportswear for Qin Fair, with the sweatshirt on after. This Qin Fair's figure, in turn, was perfectly emphasized by this sportswear. The two entered the middle of the VIP exclusive, separate tennis court. What followed? Lin Mo just started. One-sided abuse and the process of watching the game. It was until 20 minutes or so later. Boo! With a snap, the tennis ball heaved, just landed on the floor with a dull thud, and here was Qin Fair, who was also panting heavily at that moment. At the same time, among the eyes that looked at Lin Mo, it could be described as a slow resentment. After all, it had just been 10 minutes or so, she was either serving or on her way to picking up the ball. Then, throwing the tennis racket in his hand, just to the side, he said, no more games, no more games, this body part of mine is just too heavy and in the way. Lin Mo's mouth also tugged. This Qin Fair said the truth. After all, the weight is there. That's fine. Then, why don't we go play some video games? He remembered, when he navigated earlier, next to this sports center, there is an arcade with an arcade inside. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Qin Fair, who was there, instantly had her eyes light up, spinning around, that is, nodding his head repeatedly. He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing this, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth then rose for a while. Leave the tennis court. Just as soon as he left the gates of the stadium, Lin Mo was the one who saw it. A group of company executives stood guard. At once, Lin Mo was stunned. Lu Quan greeted him at this time and said, Chairman, are you leaving? Well, it's you guys. Why are you still here until now? That's right, Chairman. This is our business report for this quarter. We need to ask you to take a look at it. Hearing this, Lin Mo picked up the business report. After carefully checking it out, Lin Mo did understand. This entire quarter, the swimming pool is rented out. It's been given to the officials as a training ground for the swim team. As for the big head of revenue sources, they are the admission fees and the rental fees of the building. And that's a flip down. This sports center is also generating more than $50 million in overall revenue for a quarter. Look at the $50 million or so in overall revenue for the sports center. Lin Mo was also ruthlessly taken aback. He had thought, a quarterly revenue from this sports center would be good for 20 or 30 million. The results were not expected. 
It's actually $50 million straight up. This, without a doubt, was what caused Lin Mo's heart to be stunned. Chairman, our sports center, total earnings for the quarter are at $55.07 million. After labor, arena maintenance, and the officials cut, the remaining net profit is $30.17 million. Hearing these words, Lin Mo's heart was also startled. Net profit amounted to $30.17 million. That's a net profit. That's a bit high. To know, something like Eastern Sports Center Management, a company in the service industry, the typical profit margin, is between 30% and 50%, but now, total revenue was $55.07 million and profit was $30.17 million. That is to say, that's a net profit margin of a staggering 54.7%. This, without a doubt, also shocked Lin Imo fiercely. Very nice. Lin Imo took the document in his hand and looked it over carefully. At the same time, there was a burst of nodding. Listening to Lin Mo's words, a smile also appeared on this Lu Quan's face. The spinning one, that is, spoke. Then please also ask the chairman to sign. After signing, this quarter's earnings distribution will be wired to your card. Aha. Uh -huh. Nodding, Lin Mo took the pen. Then it was just a matter of signing the report. Signing his name. Very well done. Good job. Patting this Lu Quan's shoulder, Lin Mo opened his mouth and instructed. Immediately, Lin Mo also just left the place and walked towards the outside, waiting to get in the car. This amount of over $30 million was the same amount that was credited into Lin Mo's bank card. However, Lin Mo didn't particularly care about the $30 million or so, just started the vehicle and quickly left the area. And then the two played for hours in the arcade at the mall. That's when they found a restaurant and started eating their lunch. This Chin Fair at this point in time, also began to swipe her cell phone. Yikes. Suddenly, the movement of Chin Fair's hand was also for a beat. On his face, a bit of astonishment also surfaced. Lin Mo glanced at Chin Fair and couldn't help but ask. What's wrong? One of my girlfriends is getting married the day after tomorrow. She's inviting me over now, to be her maid of honor. Saying that, Chin Fair was the one who took her cell phone and handed it to Lin Mo. On his face, it was obvious that there were a few moments of elation. This girlfriend of mine and I have known each other since college. This boyfriend, it is said, he met at his first job. At the time, bar two people, they were living in a rented house. I didn't realize it's only been a year or so and I'm ready to get married. Lin Mo glanced at this Chin Fair cell phone screen. A few moments of surprise also appeared on his face, saying, you're getting married early enough, you bosom friend. After all, Chin Fair was about the same age as himself. That is, only 23 or 4. Yeah but getting married early is actually pretty good. It's just that I haven't seen much of it, and I don't know how it's going to be with this best friend of mine's male side. Sheen Fair, who was here, had a few moments of emotion floating on her face. Meanwhile, look at the avatar on the chat screen of your best friend in a wedding dress. In the bottom of his eyes, it was obvious that he had brought a little bit of longing. Lin M.O., on the other hand, was faint and spoke. You're going to be a bridesmaid then anyway, so won't you get to meet then? Listen to the words. Their Chin Fair, cocking her head in thought. Then, it was a nod of the head, saying, Well, that's true. With that said, she was the one who sent a message back to her best friend on the other end. And what came after, was turning off the phone. At this point in time, the meals that the two had ordered were also coming up at this time. The two were also on the same side, eating and chatting, and on the verge of finishing it. A table directly in front of the two men's seats was at that moment getting up, ready to leave. One of these three men, at this point in time, at a glance, he saw Chin Fair, who was sitting opposite Lin M.O. I'll go, boss, look at this girl, she's hot. As the words fell away, the other two, in turn, saw Chin Fair who was there. In an instant, these three people, without fail, had their eyes glazed over. It's just too decent. For a moment, the three of them looked reckless, and this burst of unbridled, up and down glances. In turn, it caused Chin Fair's brows to furrow for a while at the bottom of his heart, with a few moments of irritation, immediately, he just glared back and shouted angrily, what are you looking at, this voice of Chin Fair's was tremendous, instantly, it was attracting a lot of attention, the gazes from all around, also caused the other customers, among the restaurant, to cast their gazes, as for these three people, they were also a bit weak at this time, immediately, it was a swift departure, Chin Fair, at this moment, looked at the three people who had left, the look on Chin Fair's face here was also somewhat indignant. Said, these guys, they're really annoying. In response, Lin Mo just smiled and said, there's no need to pay too much attention to such people. After a couple of drinks, 
you don't know who you are, listen to this. Sheen Fair was certainly depressed, but there was nothing she could do. One can only be indignant, eating the dishes amongst one's plate. It didn't take long for the two to finish their meal as well, and went forward to settle the bill. The checkout was completed, which led to an elevator ride, arriving inside the underground parking garage. Because it's mealtime time, plus the location of this mall is extraordinarily busy. Therefore, there are still quite a few people in the underground parking lot of the mall at this point. Just stepped out of the elevator lobby, Lin Mo felt his pockets. Hmm, what's wrong? Chin Fair looked at Lin Mo and asked curiously. I left my car keys in the restaurant, so go wait for me by the car and I'll go up and get them. Uh, yeah. Chin Fair nodded her head, and then she was walking towards the front. As for Lin Mo, he walked back into the elevator and went up. And just as Chin Fair walked towards Lin Mo's parking space, not far away was a big black Mercedes-Benz G-car. The three youths that Lin Mo and his team had met earlier in the restaurant were sitting in the car in a depressed state. That chick I saw earlier was really positive. There was a murmur, and these three youths, all of a sudden, were staggered. And just then, sat the youth on the passenger side. Instead, he caught sight of Chin Fair, who was walking alone, towards the parking space. The hasty one is the way. Boss, look at that, that chick, the youth in the driver's seat with a soft center in his mouth, twisted his head just to look. Instantly, that is, he saw, there was Chin Fair who was walking towards the parking space. In an instant, the eyes were all straight too. The next moment, a foot on the gas and drove away from the parking space. Toward Chin Fair was a fast drive. Before long, it was stopping on Chin Fair's left side. After rolling down the window, this youth in the driver's seat, just smiled wistfully and said, Beauty, get in the car, brother I'll take you out. Listen to this. Sheen Fair's face darkened. Roll, bunch of assholes. You who, being scolded like this, these three youths became even more joyful. One of them was even whistling. The little bitch is quite violent, but I like it. Ha ha, it is. Isn't there a saying that if you want to ride, ride the strongest horse? Ha 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 ha. For a moment, these three people could be laughing. Sheen Fair's face, on the other hand, was now gloomy to the freezing point. The next moment, stooping to take off one of the heels she had called on, then, walked up to this Big Ben's car, it's a slamming down of the heel of a shoe, boom, with a muffled thud, one of the headlights of this Big Ben, all of a sudden, was just smashed, me, the youth with the cigarette in his mouth was just dumbfounded, the cigarette held in his mouth fell right off, it landed directly on his thigh, but this youth, however, couldn't care less about that, hurriedly, he got out of the car, walked over to the front hood of the car here, Looking at the front hood of the car that shattered open, this youth's heart, for a moment, dripped blood. He's only had this big Ben for less than a week. He hadn't even warmed up his ass yet, and the headlight was smashed out of a hole. For a moment, the youth's heart was seething with anger. Immediately, he opened his mouth in an angry voice and cursed. What do you mean? How dare you smash my headlights? I'm telling you you bitch. You're not leaving today. The other two youths in the car, at this time, also stepped out of the car. Looking at the headlights of the car that had been smashed out of the crater, he was annoyed. Immediately, it was the way. You're giving it a face, aren't you? I can tell you, my brother has had this car for less than a week. If you don't compensate a hundred thousand dollars or so for this smash, you won't be able to leave today. And just then, the other person next to him, hemmed and hawed, or, you come with us and make us comfortable. The matter of losing money, that's in the past. A word fell. The faces of the three people there were all filled with lewd smiles. As for Chin Fair, her face was also a bit cold as she looked at these three people. Humph. A cold grunt from his mouth followed. The heels in his hands, on the other hand, slammed down again. Boom boom boom. Several sounds in quick succession. On top of the hood of this car. The first thing that happened was that there were several more craters. Hiss. In the mouths of these three people. Cold air was also sucked backwards. You. The man sitting in the passenger seat. Then. Immediately, he walked towards this Chin Fair, and, right then and there, next to some of them, watching the action here, then it was the immediate opening of the mouth. Hey no, you're still going to make a move on the little girl, aren't you? You few big old men, exporting and molesting people's little girls. What? Are you going to do it now? I can warn you, I've got it all on tape here. Ha, this car, it should be smashed. Well done. Smashing well? I do think this little girl is too impulsive. This car is a big G from Mercedes. Just a couple of these. Can't be solved without a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars. Hey, it's still ill-considered. Just as the crowd was speaking in righteous indignation, a lilting voice came from the rear. Phil, 
What's going on here? As Lin Imo walked over, the youth who was sitting in the driver's seat before, at a glance was recognizing Lin Imo, said, You boys are with her, aren't you? I'm telling you, your horse's son smashed up my car. If you don't compensate a hundred thousand or eighty thousand dollars today, you won't be able to leave. The youth there, screamed with an arrogant face. As for Qin Fair at this moment, she also walked to Lin Mo's side and said, They molested me and I smashed this car. Listen to this. Lin Mo was unimpressed and glanced at this big G do. Smash it. Then, it's just a big G. It's not worth much. A simple sentence that seemed to be on cloud nine, and the crowd beside him was stumped. I'm going? That's saying something. It's just a big G? This is a big G. The whole car costs a million. Five or six hundred thousand dollars. Right? It's called not worth a few dollars? This kid looks like he just got out of college and hasn't been working long. Right? Hey. What a tragedy. Just getting out of work and having such a mess. A red face is a scourge. If this strength can't keep up, that's a good thing. You can't get a woman who's too good looking. For a moment. Quite a few people here. Here is a burst of it. Lamenting over it. The three youths who were there were also laughing coldly at this time. Ha, huh, it's not worth much, kid. It's easy to get tongue-tied when you talk big. My big G is top of the line. And that's over two million dollars for the whole package. Why? Do you want me to show you the invoice? Kid, since you say it's not worth a few bucks, pay up. Your horse put a few holes in our boss's car. You'll have to pay two hundred and fifty, zero 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 dollars at the very least. Listen to the words. Lin Mo's between moments, just laughed. Sweeping a glance at this big G, he also just opened his mouth. Compensation? Why don't we just do this? You bought this car for two million dollars, right? So how about I just go straight, smash it all up for you and give you two million dollars? One sentence fell after that. The youth here, at heart, was just a little annoyed. Immediately, he cursed, you're treating me like a monkey. Taking a deep breath, this youth was also viciously, looking at Lin Mo. Ro, you kid has guts, let's do it this way. I'm not short of your money. You can either bring your car here today and let me smash it. When I'm finished, this account will be cancelled. It couldn't be helped that there were more and more people around. Now, so what this youth was thinking about, was to get this over with, as quickly as possible. Otherwise, it would be a really bad ending later. And Lin M.O., who was listening to this, had an odd expression on his face. Are you sure? What? I don't suppose you don't have a car? Lin M.O. laughed and said, No, no, no. I'm just worried that you won't dare smash it when I get the car here. At this moment, the three youths who were there, all of a sudden just laughed. I dare not smash? Ha! It's simply a joke. You even drove in today. It was a Porsche. Lamborghini. What I still have today, is smashing as usual. The boss of the three youths there. The tone at this moment could be described as incomparably arrogant. Looking at Lin Mo who was here, he then said, to this, the corner of Lin Mo's mouth, also brought up a few playful smiles and said, Okay, then if you don't dare to smash it later, you're a grandson. And on the face of the youth there, there was a few moments of sardonic laughter. If I don't smash it, I'll fall on my knees and call you grandpa. Remember this about yourself. After saying that, Lin Imo was looking towards, Sheen Fair, who was there with a strange face, and said, You wait here for me, I'll get the car. Aha. Uh -huh. Sheen Fair, on the other hand, took pity, glanced at the three people there, and then nodded. Honestly. Sheen Fair had really never seen anything like it, actively rushing and going to call someone's grandpa's. As for Lin M.O., he walked towards the parking space, ready to drive over. Five or six minutes later, the cigarettes in the hands of several of these youths were all about to finish one. The entire person was, at this point, out of patience. Looking at Sheen Fair who was there, he said, Hey, where's your man? Why isn't he here yet? It shouldn't be your man. Who knows he can't solve this? Left you alone and ran off on your own didn't you? Ha ha ha. For a split second, the other two laughed out loud. The face was full of mockery. The onlookers next to him were also saying at this time, it can't really be running away, can it? That's right. I think that kid, at most, drives a few tens of thousands of dollars. There's no way to fix this. Hey, then you should at least let your girlfriend run first and stay behind to block it yourself, right? What kind of a man is it to leave a woman here like that and run off on her own? That's it. Forget it. Let's just watch the fun. For these words, Sheen Fair, on the other hand, was unimpressed. At this moment, her heart was laughing coldly in succession. These guys, now that's so. Waiting for Lin Mo to come, he wanted to see what kind of face these guys had again. Buzz, buzz. And just then, a furious supercar engine sounded. In a hurry, the crowd here just looked behind them. 
I'm going, supercar, hiss, what brand of supercar is this, really handsome, boy, that supercar look is really pulling its weight, hey, in my life, if I can afford a supercar, that would be no regret, the crowd was overwhelmed with emotion, looking at this Lakin supercar of Lin Mo's, a look of envy flowed out from the bottom of his eyes, and right in the middle of everyone's envious gazes, the fiery red Lycoming supercar, on the other hand, was parked in front of the big G, the door then lifted backward, Lin Mo stepped down from the car, upon seeing, Lin Mo who stepped down from the car, all around, a deathly silence fell, everyone was frozen, supercars, this seemingly, unimpressive young man was actually driving a supercar, everyone was dumbfounded, as for Lin Mo, he took out a baseball bat from the front trunk, then, walked up to the three youths, hand out the baseball bat, come on, smash, I'm afraid you don't have something to smash, I bought a baseball bat for you by the way, I, the youth's face reddened, he never dreamed that what Lin Mo drove, would actually be a supercar ah, uh, what, don't dare, then hurry up, kneel down and call your grandpa, Lin Mo sneered and said, the moment these words came out, there was anger that began to grow in the bottom of this youth's heart, isn't it just a broken supercar, what can I do even if I smash it, with that, he just copied the baseball bat and raised it high in the air ready to smash it down, but just then, the other youth next to him, pulled him back, cold sweat pouring out of him, big brother, you can't smash it, don't stop me, you kid, it's just a supercar, smashed is smashed, it's not like I can't afford it, brother, I really can't afford it, this car is a Lakin supercar, there are only 7 of them in the world, the domestic sold for 66 million dollars at first, now it's gone up to 100 million dollars less, at least a hundred million, as the words fell, all around, it was plunged into a deathly silence, clunk, a crisp sound rang out, the youth holding the baseball bat, the baseball bat in his hand, also fell to the ground at this moment, the whole person, was completely stunned, swallowing hard, he looked at the red supercar in front of him, under his eyes, there were a few moments of fear, how much did you, did you say, one hundred million, this other youth, once again, spoke, the number of these Lycoming supercars is beyond rare, there was only one in the country before, so I didn't recognize it just now, after these words fell, the other youth, at this point in time, had his eyes filled with panic, the crowd beside him, on the other hand, was in an uproar, my god, 100 million dollars, hiss, 100 million dollars for a top of the line supercar, boy, if this cuts and scrapes, won't we have to pay out a few million dollars, real people don't show their faces, this young man, before, looked ordinary, but who would have thought that people actually drive hundreds of millions of dollars of supercars wow, yeah, it's really hard to tell, listen to the people around you blowing up, Lin M.O., on the other hand, was still, indifferent, just glanced at the man who was there and said, are you still smashing, if you don't dare to smash it, just hurry up and make good on your promise to get down on your knees and call out to your grandfather, you, me, for a while, the youth's face, too, was a shade of blue and suffocated, after all, his entire being, right now, was completely riding the fence, eventually, still only able to redden his face, he said, let's forgive the people where we can, kid, I advise you not to bully people too much, deception, Lin Mo laughed, I'll bully you, what can you do to me, molesting my woman, who gave you this nerve, Lin Mo, who was here, was full of coldness between his words, you, this youth gritted his teeth, his expression shifting for a while, last five seconds for you, call it or not, saying that, Lin Mo picked up the baseball bat on the ground, seeing this, the faces of the three people here, at this moment, did change, boss, how about a willingness to bet, yes, this time it was us who provoked them first, listen to this, the youth who was there, still upset, said, if I do get down on my knees and call out to his grandfather, how am I going to continue, in the future, in the magic city, but boss, it's not just anyone who can afford to drive a car like this. This kind of person is definitely not something we can mess with. The other side just needs to move their hands. That's how they can destroy us all. It might even involve mom and dad and the rest of them, or it might be better to simply, with these words falling after. This youth, too, was suddenly absent. Indeed, that's true. A character who can afford to drive a limited edition top of the line sports car. Background identity. That's definitely top of the line. If you don't call it yourself, perhaps, with a bit of a struggle, the color of this youth's face was not a very good one, but, the final one, still knelt in front of Lin Mo, shouting, Grandpa, seeing this, Lin Mo just glanced at him, 
Remember to open your eyes in the future. Not everyone can be offended. Yes, yes, yes. You taught me a lesson. Definitely change. We will correct it. The other two, in a hurry, just opened their mouths. Listen to this. Linimo took Chin Fei to the car in the midst of several people's pleasing and fearful eyes. The next thing you know, it's turn around and head off. As Lin Ma's taillights disappeared, the crowd here, at this moment, all had envious looks under their eyes. I thought it was a bronze, but who knew he was actually a king? Yeah, no wonder it's such a big deal. I'm envious. I want to sit on this supercar too. Oh, just the way you look? Forget it. Are you any better than the woman next to him? In a burst of emotion, the crowd gradually dispersed. Car, Jean Fair, at this moment, was full of admiration, looking at Lin M.O. He said, wow, Lin M.O., just now you were just too handsome, just a basic operation. Lin Ma drove the supercar single-handedly. The other hand, on the other hand, was placed on Jean Fair's thigh. This Jean Fair's face, on the other hand, was slightly flushed, but did not move. What do you want to do if it's afternoon? Jean Fair, who was here, said with a slightly reddened face, Lin M.O., on the other hand, swept his eyes over the two large mountains and said, for the afternoon, how about a hike? Climbing? Jean Fair failed to react. Yeah, climbing and diving. This time, Jean Fair was even more confused. In the case of Mordor, it looks like there's only one Shishan, right? As for going scuba diving, there's no place for that. Yes? Lin Emo gave a faint smile while his eyes swept over this Jean Fair. Shasta. Jean Fair's face was incomparably red. Unavoidably, there was a burst of muttering under his breath. Badass. Ha ha. A burst of laughter over it. Lin Ma's car speeds up. Not long after, it was back to the Grand Hyatt residence. Once the two returned home, it was hours that passed. Six o'clock in the evening, Lin Emo sat down on the edge of the bed. Inside the room, the smell of rouge permeated the room. Lin Emo, on the other hand, looked satisfied. Nice. The corners of his mouth turned up slightly. After Chin Fair cleaned herself up, Lin Emo also took a shower. Then of, it was with Chin Fair, who went downstairs to have some dinner. Spinning around, it was all the way, back home, and upon returning home, Lin Mo's expression was also guilty. The garage of his villa, which was now full of parked cars, owned this Lycoming supercar. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to try to park in again. Let's park it outside the door for now, and have Hope Wong, in the next couple days, help me expand the garage. Not long after, Lin Mo also just made his intentions. Directly after getting out of the car and opening the door to the room, he also saw Huang Yuan. Boss, you're back. Huang Yuan bowed slightly and said, Uh, Butler Wong, what's the boss's order? This Huang Yuan opened her mouth to Lin Mo and asked, In the next two days, you help me expand my villa garage. Some of my cars are going to be out of place. As Lin Mo's words fell after this, the corners of Huang Wan's mouth, in turn, tugged. She was the one who saw it when Lin Mo came back just now. Lin Mo was back with a brand new supercar, together with the two in the garage. It now has three supercars and one SUV. How can you park in a garage with this look? How is that possible? After mentally sputtering, this Huang Yuan still nodded her head slightly and said, Okay boss, Kapotol, Wang family villa. Wang Yingjia listened to his son's report. A cigarette in his hand finished. After pressing out the butt, this Wang Yingjia's eyes narrowed slightly. After that, it was just a slow statement. So Lin Mo, that's what he said? Yes. Wang Tsongtsong nodded his head. Somewhat interesting, this Lin Mo's identity, it seems to be extraordinary. At this moment, a few smiles just appeared on Wang Yingjia's face. Then, it was just a slow way of saying, Son, remember, our Wang family is indeed considered to be one of the big families up and down the country, but this is only, only on the surface. The waters of Xinhua are deep in this dark place. It's not like there aren't any clans that have been passed down for a thousand years. Wang Yingjia, who was sitting here, slowly spoke, between its words, it was full of ice and cold, and Wang Tsong Tsong, who was listening to these words, nodded his head, face, with a few moments of deference, I understand, father, so, son, keep one thing in mind, an existence like Lin Mo's, we mustn't mess with it, since the other party has no intention of seizing power then we need to find a way, to befriend them, hearing these words Wang Tsong Tsong, at this point in time, there was a lot of contemplation, immediately, he then just opened his mouth and said, if we're talking about fellowship, I have an idea on my side. I'm in this one. The Magic Theater won for the drama show. It was discovered that Rimmer he had a female companion who won the Magic Theater drama show. And he qualified and was able to go to the new movie directed by Chen Kai. 
How about we, the Trina Group, invest in this movie? This movie directed by Chen Kai is only tentatively scheduled for a female and male lead at this point. The rest of the characters, at the moment, are the ones that are still in the sight class stage, after the words fell. Wang Yingjia then just nodded and said, Well, in that case, let's invest a hundred million dollars in him first. Yes, Wang Song Song, who was here, immediately nodded his head and said, But just then, Wang Song Song, however, said with a burst of contemplation, However, Dad, it seems that this Mr. Lin has an unusual relationship with Mu Nanji. Mu Nani? For a moment, Wang Yingjia failed to react, and this Wang Song Song, at this time, also continued. It's the eldest Miss Mu family from the Magic City side, the Mudu family? At this moment, Wang Yingjia looked stunned. Spinning around, the corners of his mouth just went up, murmured, it's a bit interesting. As I recall, the relationship between the Mordor Mu family and the Sunan Mu family is not very good. If Mr. Lin and the eldest Miss Mu family in Magic City have a very shallow relationship, Wang Yingjia smiled and said, in this matter, you should stay out of it for the time being. Yes, Wang Tsong Tsong nodded his head, and then, it was the beginning, contacting director Chen Kai, after indicating a willingness to invest, and a specific amount, in the face of this Chen Kai director, the first thing that came out was a delighted smile, after all, the amount of 100 million, for this movie of his, that's totally a very huge number, and with this Wang Tsong Tsong, after putting forward the request, Chen Kai also agreed straight away, after all, it's just a matter of planting a character. Can't get to myself by then. Set her up with a female third. And that's the end of it. A female third in exchange for a 100 million dollar investment. It is without a doubt well worth it. But, this Chen Kai still secretly. The name Xia Yuma. Keep in mind. After all. Could get the Trina group. To invest a 100 million dollars in for her. This is definitely. An existence that cannot be messed with. But. For the Wang family to do all this. Lin M.O. However didn't know anything about it. At the moment, he was running around the gym, waiting until 11.30 p.m. M., which was the end of the exercise, he soaked in the bath and went to bed. One night passed. Early the next morning, Lin Mo woke up early. I woke up in the morning and opened my cell phone to look at it. On his own WeChat, he did have a few unread messages. Whom, at this moment, Su Shan, his classmate from college, was sending himself a message. Su Shan? This Sushan was on very good terms with himself, in college, was roommates with myself, he is also a more righteous person in his day-to-day -day life, plus with myself both from Hui province, so, the relationship between the two, it was better, he remembered when he was in college, one time while playing, he got himself beat up, it was Sushan who helped himself out at that time, only, the two were after graduation, because of work, contact gradually is less, why did he, today, send me a message? With a few moments of curiosity in his heart, Lin Mo tapped on this Su Shan's voice. On the other end of the phone, Su Shan's excited voice also rang out. Lindsay, I'm getting married tomorrow. Are you free to be the best man? Listen to this Su Shan's voice. Lin Mo. At this moment, all of a sudden, just froze over it. Married? There were a few moments of dismay under his eyes. He was if he remembered correctly. Qin Fei's best friend is also getting married tomorrow, right? Could it be that tomorrow was some kind of auspicious day? Without caring too much about that, Lin Mo smiled and opened his mouth to reply. Okay, then I'll come and be your best man tomorrow. But your kid got married and didn't say anything in advance? Why don't you when I come out for lunch today? Less than half a minute after the voice was sent. That's what Su Shan's message replied. That's fine, I'll see you at noon at the usual place? Okay. The old place in question was a small fry store in front of Lin Mo's university. Because both of them were from Hui province. They started out at the very beginning. There's just something about the local food on this side of the magic city that I'm not used to. And fortunately, there is a restaurant in front of the school, Lu and Xiaojiao, and it makes a small fry that's kind of authentic. Therefore, the two of them just go here to eat regularly. Over time, the two just took this small fry restaurant and used it as a place to get together. And after graduation, Lin Imo also had a year. Haven't been to this store to eat anymore. Now that I say that, I still miss it a bit. Well, Check the app first, if there's anything new on it, mentally muttering. Lin Mo then just clicked on trillion dollar subsidy, subsidized price of 10% of shares of Wingtad Holdings Group, 77 new Taiwan dollars. Hmm, what kind of company is this? Lin Mo carried a few moments of doubt in his heart. Wingtad Holdings? With doubts in his heart, Lin Mo still bought the item first. The delivery time for this Wingtad Holding Group is half an hour, and after that, 
It was a little bit of googling. That's what completely figured out the nature of this company. Wingtad Holding Group. This is a local business in the magic city. The main thing to do is industry, domestic and foreign trade and services in one of the group type enterprise. There are 58 wholly owned, controlling, equity participation and Sino-Foreign equity joint ventures and cooperative enterprises. It mainly operates in the industries of automobile sales and service, real estate development, transportation facilities, and investment management. And among them, it is the automobile sales industry. Its name is an agent for BMW, Audi, Infiniti, Porsche, and a host of other brands. It can be said that it is one of the best in the country. The group of companies in the automobile sales industry and the market capitalization is also at $27 billion. In other words, this 10% of your own shares, that's 2, 7 billion Shangjiang dollars. Good boy. 2, 7 billion Shangjiang dollars. That's not much of a difference when converted into Shenhua dollars. Lin Mo was stumped for a moment. 2, 7 billion. Even for the present day Lin Mo. Still a, not to be underestimated amount. But in terms of dividends, it shouldn't be that much. But in a year, it is estimated that there can be 1 or 200 million dollars in dividends. Lin Mo's heart murmured. Uh, get up. Spinning around. That is, getting up and eating breakfast, all the time, waiting until 11 p.m. Only then did Lynn Missouri drive his own Rolls Royce Cullinan and head to Magic City University. However on the way, he was, however, suddenly, remembering something. That is, one is driving out today. If you're going to have dinner with Sushan later, it's unavoidable to drink. Trouble. Lynn Mo's brows furrowed slightly. The heart is also guilty of this. Well, never mind, or I'd rather not drink it later. There was a slight sigh, and then of that, which is driving, arrived on the parking lot in front of the school. The packages around Magic City University are still very much in place. At the west gate of the school, there are exactly three squares here. This is the so-called Black Street of the University of Magic City. After all, there is a new century university village here, in addition to Hong K Plaza, pulled into a street parking space. Lin Mo looked at the door of Magic City University in front of him. His expression was full of emotions. It's back to school after a year's absence. The heart murmurs. Subsequently, Lin Mo was skillful. Walked inside a fly shop on the side of the road. Sitting in the doorway. Lin Mo was also in the habit of ordering a few dishes. After all, between himself and Su Shan, he had spent four years together. He still knows better what flavors he eats himself. Take a seat and wait a few minutes. The glass door of this small fry restaurant, too, was pulled open. Dressed in a casual outfit, Su Shan also walked in at this time. Yamako, coming, Lin Mo smiled and stood up, saying, and this Su Shan, at this time, also looked at the clothes on Lin Mo, with a vague look of dismay, he said, I go, you kid this year, is rich ah, the clothes you're wearing, this is a whole set of name brands now, for work, ha ha, Lin Mo, who was here, smiled gently, come on, I've ordered all the food, sit down and eat, okay, with that said, the two of them just sat down, started eating and talking, but that being said, it was something I really didn't expect, college students nowadays, they're all so rich, what, Lin Mo glanced at this Sushan and opened his mouth to ask, oh, while riding over, I saw one, parked on the side of the road, a Rolls Royce Cullinan, saying that, this Sushan's face was full of envy, a Rolls Royce Cullinan, that's a car worth 10 million dollars, if you can afford to drive a car like this, how rich must your family be, I'm so envious, and I don't know if in my life, I'll ever have the chance to sit on one, listen to this, Lin Mo's at once, just smiled and said, there will be opportunities, saying that, Lin Mo was also quick and started to change the topic, but why are you, all of a sudden, just getting married, it's only been a year since you graduated, right, and you're dating someone so soon, and you're already talking about marriage, hear this, Su Shan hemmed and hawed, hey, hey, I met you at work, originally did not plan to get married so early, this is not the woman's family mentioned it, saying that, this Sushan just touched his nose, and then, it just says, here, let me show you, this is my date, after all was said and done, Sushan opened his phone and pulled up a group photo, saying, Lin Mo took Sushan's cell phone and looked at the picture on it, when the picture was seen, the whole thing looked odd, look familiar, it's just too familiar, after all, the person in this photo at this time, just like that, it was the photo that Qin Fei'er had, yesterday, shown herself, how was it, pretty, ha, huh? Su Shan here, with a few moments of excitement on his face, said, nice, hey, this object of mine, his family is local to Mordor, 
Hands in the Magic City side, also has three suites, so instead of asking me for a car or house or anything, I was prepared to give half a million dollars for a wedding fund. With that said, Su Shan's face was filled with a smile. Lin M.O., who was listening to these words, was also unable to help it, and looked at Su Shan with some surprise, said, I'll go, your old man can do it. Hey, hey, it's all luck, so how many students did you invite? Tomorrow? Well, counting the other four in the dormitory, it's almost twenty or so full. Tomorrow, if it's Sunday, more or less, more than half of everyone will be able to come, right? So you're making quite a big deal out of this wedding reception. Then, while talking, the two were just eating their meals. Twenty or so minutes later, the meal was just about done, right at this point in time. This Su Shan's cell phone, however, suddenly rang. Why don't you take the call and I'll go check out? Saying that, Lin Mo just went forward to settle the bill. It wasn't an expensive meal, just 50 bucks or so. It's mainly two dishes that are more expensive. Su Shan didn't argue, and after glancing at the caller ID, he just picked up the phone. After the call was answered, a voice rang out for it on the other end of the phone. Excuse me, are you Mr. Su Shan Su? Yes, I am. Mr. Su, our side is from the Tian Quan car dealership. The 8 Audi A6 S you reserved for tomorrow are temporarily unavailable. I'm really sorry. As the words fell, Su Shan, directly, was confused, spinning around, and with some annoyance in his heart, he said, No, you Tian Quan car dealership. What's the meaning of this? I'm getting married and welcoming my bride tomorrow. And you're suddenly telling me there's no more? How are you all planning to get me? To meet the bride? I'm really sorry sir. It happened all of a sudden. Why don't we tell you what? We have 12 Santanas in the store at the moment. Would that be okay with you? As those words came out, Su Shan's eyes went wide. You let me use Santana? The moment. Su Shan was truly furious. Santana as a wedding car? Who is this looking down on? Booked myself. That's a top of the line Audi A6S. It was a couple of days of negotiation with the woman's family before it was finalized. Mainly, the price of eight Audi A6S is within their reach. And when welcoming the bride, it will not make the woman lose face in front of her relatives and neighbors. Results now. The Audi A6 is suddenly gone. And this dealership lets itself be converted to Santana? If you really use it yourself, that would, without a doubt, be a slap in his face. Slap the woman's family in the face. And, presumably, the scene will be made. Tomorrow. Incredibly stiff. Nah, I should have told your dealership I was using it for a wedding car. How can you be like this? Telling me no the day before the wedding? I'm really sorry Mr. Sue, there's nothing we can do on our side. Since you don't want to use the Santana you will have to return your deposit. Have a nice life and goodbye. After that, the phone hung up. Su Shan was so annoyed that he threw his cell phone hard on the desktop. But then, it was full of despondency. A long sigh. At this time, Lin M.O. 2. Had finished paying. Walked back and said. What's wrong? Don't mention it. There's a problem with the wedding car tomorrow. I had originally booked earlier. 8 Audi A6S gone. I'm now depressed about how to find a replacement wedding car. Besides, even if we find it, the color won't always be the same. Su Shan here. His face was full of helplessness at this time. So, Lin Mo pondered slightly. Then, it was to speak. It's okay. I'll take care of your wedding car problem for you. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Su Shan, who was there, had a moment's stupefaction. And then, Dao, Lin Zi, are you sure? I'll take at least 8 Audi A6S if tomorrow. In response, Lin Mo just smiled and opened his mouth. Don't worry about it. I'll make a call first. Said, Lin Mo just pulled out his cell phone. After looking for contact information, then he dialed the number of the general manager of Yangda Holding Group. Yangda Holding Group General Manager's Office. Kai Wan, the secretary of general manager Zhang Yaohua, was organizing the documents at the moment, and he was ready to take Zhang Yaohua's cell phone, together, to the conference room. Just three minutes ago, Zhang Yaohua convened a meeting of the group's senior management. He said he was going to announce the change of equity within the group. A few hours earlier, there had been a major change in the group's shareholding. Someone on the stock market, acquiring 10% of the retail shares, became a major shareholder in the company. But after the meeting started, Zhang Yaohua, however, realized that he had forgotten to take his cell phone and part of his documents. Just have Kai Wen come back and pick it up. Just then, Kai Wen, who was about to walk out of the office, had the general manager's cell phone in his hand, but it suddenly rang. Hmm, strange number? Kai Wen froze. On weekdays, the self-same GM gets the call. It's either from a certain general manager or a certain president. 
Whatever happened to, uh, unfamiliar numbers? Subconsciously, Kaiwan thought about whether to hang up the phone. But, whirling around, he thought, which, perhaps, is the important call? Thinking about it, Kaiwan just picked it up as she walked. Hello, Yangda Holding Group. Mr. Jang is in a meeting right now. I'm his secretary Kai Wan. May I ask what you're looking for Mr. Jang? Lin Mo said blandly. Oh, I was trying to get him to help me prepare some cars that I'm going to use as a wedding car tomorrow. The words just fell. Kai Wan, on the other end of the phone, instantly darkened his face. Excuse me, this is the number for the general manager of Wingtad Holdings. If you are in need of a rental service, please call the group's customer service line. We don't handle rentals on our end. After all was said and done, Kaiwan just hung up decisively. I really don't know how I got Mr. Jang's cell phone number, and I'm still looking for Mr. Jung to rent a car? Who do you think you are? With that, Kaiwan was all the way, trotting towards the conference room, on the other end of the phone, hearing the busy tone. Lin Mo's face darkened. My phone got hung up on? As for Su Shan who was sitting there, at this moment, he said, Linzi, what's wrong? It's okay, just wait a little. Immediately, it was once again, dialing this Yuwa's cell phone number. Inside the conference room, Kaiwan walked in, holding the papers and her cell phone. At this point in the meeting, the just said the identity of the new shareholders. On the tablet in front of everyone, there was clearly a brief profile of Lin Mo. It contained, among other things, Lin Mo's cell phone number. Mr. Jang, your, before Kaiwan could finish her sentence, the cell phone rang again. Kaiwan glanced at the incoming caller, and heck, it was the same cell phone number from before. With an instant frown, he just hung up. Looking at Kai Wen who hung up the phone smoothly, Zhang Yaowa's heart was a bit annoyed. Anyone who can give themselves a call is basically a big shot. And his own secretary, who actually hung up in front of him. But now, after all, it's a meeting. This Yaowa was not in a good position to have a seizure, and could only slowly say, Kai, how could you do that? The phone doesn't even pick up for a second. It just hangs up? Hearing this, Kai Wen, who was here, spoke in a hurry. Mr. Jang, it's like this. A person got your number from somewhere. Said he wanted to rent a car from you and I told him to call the customer service line and hung up. As a result, I didn't realize that this person had, once again, called you. Zhang Yaowa nodded. This time, the face softened a bit. However, the whirlwind was realizing that something was wrong. Getting your own rental car? This, it's not right. There are only a few people who know their cell phone number. Who calls for their own rental car? With that thought, he just unlocked his phone and tapped on his contacts. And after seeing the caller ID, this Yao Hua, at once, had his pupils shrink. It was then repeated and confirmed several times with the number in the resume on the tablet. After making sure it was the same number, the entire person, his face changed wildly. At this moment, in the bottom of his heart, there was even a wave of anger that rose up. And then, it was too late to say anything. It's just a quick call back. On the other end of the phone, listening to the earpiece, a busy tone came from Lin Mo. The face, too, was as black as ink. This was the first time he had encountered such a situation. He went to the general manager in the company himself, and made two consecutive phone calls. The first one, just after the first word, was hung up on. The second one, before he could speak himself, was hung up on again. In a moment's time, the anger in Lin Mo's heart rose. Very good, very good. Lin Mo glanced at Su Shan and said, Tell you what, Yamako, come with me to the office. Seeing that Lin Mo was hung up twice, Su Shan also hesitated and said, Why don't we just forget about it, Lin Zi, and I'll think of something else on my end. Listen to this. Lin Mo was just about to say something when he did. The cell phone, however, rang violently, and the caller ID was the same cell phone number that Lin Mo had dialed earlier. Looking at the cell phone number that was called back, Lin Mo's face was slightly cold. And after that, not much more. Decidedly, that's when the call was answered. Hello. The phone just picked up. Lin Mo's indifferent voice then sounded for it. Lin. Lin Dong. I'm really sorry. My secretary didn't know that this was your call. I'm so sorry. In response, Lin Mo coldly snorted and said, HM, I'm going to need some vehicles to use as wedding cars tomorrow. Get yourself ready. I'll be at the office in 20 minutes for inspection. Okay Lin Dong. After saying that, Lin Mo just hung up the phone. And, looking at this operation of Lin Mo's, Su Shan, who was there, was straight up mesmerized. Lin Mo's words gave the impression that it was not like borrowing a car at all. Instead, same as ordering your subordinates to prepare a vehicle for you. At this moment, 
Su Shan also just froze and said, Linzi, what are you? Oh, I'll have someone prepare you. Okay, let's go to the office now. Although this Su Shan was still a bit puzzled, he still followed behind Lin Mo. Before long, the two were outside the restaurant. How are we going to get there now? Take the subway? Su Shan turned to Lin Mo and opened his mouth to ask, No, I drove here. A sentence fell. At once, this Su Shan was stunned, and then he just smiled. I'll go, Linzi, you're doing well now. You've bought a car? What kind of car did you buy? In response, Lin Mo just smiled without saying anything. Then, it was time to take the car key and press it gently. Tick tock. In an instant, the lights of the Rolls Royce Cullinan, which was parked on the side of the road, just lit up instantly. Su Shan. The moment. Su Shan was completely confused. This Rolls Royce Cullinan. Is it Lin Mo's? He himself had just been spitting on Lin Ma in the restaurant, said college students. Nowadays, are too rich. I can't believe someone who can afford to drive a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Results. Lin Mo backhandedly escaped with the keys to this Cullinan. This, at this moment, Su Shan was a bit dumbfounded, looking at Lin Mo who was there and said, I'll go, Lin Zi, this Cullinan, it's yours? Yeah, Lin Mo smiled, get in the car. After saying that, Lin Mo was the one who took the lead and got into the driver's seat. As for Su Shan at this moment, he was also a bit confused, pulled the door open and sat on the passenger side. Then, somewhat stiffly, looking around the interior space of this Cullinan's car, spinning and swallowing, he said, Lin, Lin Zi, this Cullinan, or top of the line, that's natural. Gollum, swallowing his saliva, this Su Shan suddenly, as if he had figured something out, smiled, you kid can ah, this is to work inside the rental car company? This car can't be your company car, and you're not afraid of scratching this car up. At this time, Su Shan was of the opinion that Lin Mo was probably going to work inside a car rental company, said earlier that he could help himself to the car. It is presumably because, where one's business convenience lies. Hearing this, Lin Mo just smiled and didn't say anything more. After all, what this Su Shan said was quite right. Only, instead of a car rental company, this company sells cars, he or she is not going to work, but is a shareholder in the company. So some rounding down, Su Shan said, but also no problem. Afterwards, Lin Mo then just skillfully, started the vehicle and went straight to the company. Other side, Wing Tat holding group, inside the conference room, Zhang Yahua, who hung up the phone, was also relieved at this moment. Phew, fortunately, Lin Dong didn't get angry, and the moment Zhang Yahua breathed a sigh of relief, Kai Wan, the secretary next to him, was already panicking at this point, for what had just happened, Kai Wan had seen it all. At this moment, Kai Wan all but, just tensed up. There were a few moments of trepidation in the look. Just now, the call you hung up on yourself was actually from the company's newest major shareholder? This, he was simply unlucky in his own life. As for Zhang Yahua who was there, a few moments of huffing and puffing surfaced on his face, looking towards Kai Wen who was there, he then just roared, Kai Wen, do you realize, what kind of big mess did you just make, Zhang, Mr. Zhang, this is my fault, I really didn't expect that he would actually be Lin Dong, listen to this, Zhang Yahua's face was still incredibly cold, you, are fired, go check yourself out, the words fell, Kai Wen was utterly flustered, you know, she has gotten to this point in her life, totally just because, one is the secretary of the general manager of this, Wing Tat holding group, the presence of half a million dollars a year, and, it fired, then, one is completely finished, after all, being fired from a company is, without a doubt, a major blemish on your resume, what's more, it was fired by Wing Tat Holdings, such a big company, don't make me tell you twice, at this moment, Zhang Yaowa's heart was incomparably angry, if only it wasn't for the fact that I looked at the cell phone number myself. This thing, then, can be a real and complete mess. At that time, I'm afraid it's just myself that will have to finish the job. Yes, at this moment, Kai Wen could also only, somewhat despairingly, walk out of the door of the conference room, with Tsai Wen's departure. Zhang Yaowa didn't dwell on it much either. Just full of nerves, he opened his mouth. Then the next thing we have to deal with is what Mr. Lin ordered. The wedding car. With that, they just looked at the crowd below and said, since it's Mr. Lin who needs a wedding car, then we must go and mobilize, as soon as possible, all the resources in the city. Presidently, how many Rolls Royce Phantoms are currently available in our area of Mordor? This, the Rolls Royce Phantom is small in number, almost six. Hearing this, Zhang Yaowa frowned and said, not enough, you help me as soon as possible. 
Transfer from Sunan and Zhejiang Province. 18 must be made up before 12 o'clock this evening. Yes, with an order. This President Li did not dare to delay. Immediately, the dialing began. And Zhang Yaowa glanced at his cell phone and said, All right, the rest of you, follow me downstairs and greet Lin Don's arrival. Yes, soon. 20 minutes passed. The entrance to Wingtat holding group. The group's group of middle and high level executives were all waiting downstairs at this time. And with a, Rolls Royce Cullinan arriving moments later, this Yao Hua hurriedly ran over and helped pull open the car door. And then, this crowd of middle and high level people were the ones who bowed to Lin Mo, saying, Welcome to Lin Don's inspection. Listen to the words. Su Shan, who had just gotten off the bus, was directly confused. Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled here. Subsequently, Dao, you guys, it's really, Lin Mo, who was here, smiled and couldn't help but shake his head, and there's the general manager, Sheng Yuwa, then he rubbed his hands together and said, Dong Lin, I've already started preparing what you asked me to prepare, have a car transferred from the provinces, overnight, aha, uh -huh. Lin Mo nodded his head, as for this Yao Hua, at this moment, he also looked towards Su Shan, who was at the side, Lin Dong, this is, Zhang Yaowa revealed an inquiring expression and said to Lin Mo, This Su Shan just now, was sitting on Lin Mo's co-pilot. Hence the, this Yaowa was also completely, not daring to ignore the other party. Oh, this, is my brother, Su Shan. The wedding car I want is for him to use tomorrow. Mr. Su, Zhang Yaowa said in a hurry. Lin Dong, Mr. Su, the two of you please also come inside. Subsequently, under the leadership of this Yuwa, the crowd also entered the group building. In a short while, it was sitting in the middle of the general manager's office, with the entry inside the office. Zhang Yaohua, who is here, is then the Tao. Lin Dong, the wedding car you need. I'm going to fetch the appropriate materials for you. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo nodded his head. Afterwards, this Yuwa just left. Lin Mo, who was here, was calmly sipping his tea. Only Su Shan, who was on the sidelines, remained in a dumbfounded state. This, What's the situation? Welcome, Mr. Lin came to inspect? This college friend of his, Lin M.O., does it mean that it's not an employee of this company? But now, what is this, an inspection? This Su Shan, after rolling his throat, then he just looked at Lin M.O. and said, Lin, Linzi, this, I forgot to tell you, I'm a shareholder in this company. Lin M.O. had a light smile on his face. At this moment, Su Shan was truly and completely dumbfounded. Lin M.O., I can't believe I'm a shareholder in this group. This was really somewhat subversive to Su Shan's perception. Lin Zi, how did you become a shareholder of this company? Then we, when we came here just now, drove that car. Yeah, that's me. Lin Mo was very calm, nodding his head. A word fell. Cold air poured out of the Su Shan's mouth. That $10 million Cullinan is owned by this brother of his. This, what the hell is going on? This brother of his, how is it that after a year of graduation, the whole person, suddenly so rich, he remembers being in college. What Limoko has always been, is a work study. There was a time when I had no money, but I ate white bread with pickles. Then I had to drag him to eat it myself, which got me through that time. But now, turning around and driving a multi-million dollar luxury car? Lin M.O., who was here, then smiled. After graduation, I think, one of my second oldest passed away. It's a legacy that my second oldest, left me. Second master? Su Shan was a bit confused. He hadn't heard that Lin Mo had any second masters when he was in college either. Yes, from Taishima. I didn't know that before. I didn't know that until after the death. When the inheritance came in, the second oldest of mine has no children on his knees, so I'll have to be the one to inherit it. Lin Mo nodded his head and said, along with the fall of these words, Su Shan here. His face was filled with envy. Turning to Lin Mo, he opened his mouth. Lin Zi, you're really getting rich now. All at once. With such a large inheritance, no longer do you have to worry that you can't afford to buy a house or raise a child. And even all the way around, having a third child out of it ah. In response, Lin Mo just smiled and didn't say anything. And at this point, the door to the office here, too, was pushed open once more. Zhang Yaowu walked in. In his hand was a stack of information. He said, Lin Dong, Mr. Su, this is the specific information about tomorrow's wedding car. Lin Mo took the information and looked at it casually. Zhang Yaowu also continued, We are, at the moment, preparing 18 Black Rolls Royce Phantoms. With the fall of this Su Shan's words, Su Shan, who was there, could be said to be completely confused. 10, 
18 Rolls Royce Phantoms? At this moment in time, this Sushan looked shocked. Originally, what he was thinking about was that he could get 8 or 9 Audi as 6S, and that would be fine. But, who knew that Lin Mo had made this move? And that was 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms? This car, where can you afford to rent it yourself? This multi-million dollar luxury car rental for a day then. That's, at least, tens of thousands of dollars. Not to mention this rental, which is 18 cars. At this moment, Su Shan, in a hurry, was saying to Lin Mo, Linzi, I can't afford to rent this car either. You just get me 8 Audi A6S, or any other car in the same class as the Audi A6 will do. Hearing this, Zhang Yahua, who was there, then smiled. Mr. Su, you don't need to worry about the matter of car rental fees, since you are Lin Dong's brother and tomorrow is your wedding. Then these 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, will give them to you for free as wedding cars. Free? Free? At this moment, Zhang Yahua was, at once, shocked. Yes, Zhang Yahua here also had a few smiles on his face. So there's absolutely no need for you to worry about this wedding car. Also, the flowers and ribbons for the wedding car dress up are all ready for you from our side. All you need to do is to tell our side about tomorrow's traveling route. Listen to the words. Sushan was also relieved. What followed was to look at Lin Mo. There were a few moments of gratitude under his eyes. He knows. One can get these 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms as wedding cars. And the other party doesn't have to, by itself, pay a dime of rent. This is completely, all because of Lin Mo. Without Lin Mo, not to mention 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, it'll be a question of whether or not I'll be able to have a wedding car tomorrow when I go to meet the bride myself. And at that moment, Lin Mo's voice, too, sounded once again. Oh yeah, one more thing. Zhang Yahua immediately just perked up his ears and leaned his body forward slightly. About the driver of the wedding car tomorrow, prepare your side as well. As for the driver of the headliner, there's no need for you to prepare. After all, it's my brother's wedding and I'll drive the head car myself. A simple sentence, but it made Zhang Yaowa's expression look solemn, hastily, that is to say, the word, Lin Dong, don't worry about this, I will definitely do it properly. Next to him, Su Shan, who was also somewhat grateful, said, Lin Zi, thank you, hey, it's okay, we're all brothers, you're welcome, just buy me a drink tonight. Lin Mo waved his hand and said, definitely, tonight for sure, 7.30 p.m. M. Inside the restaurant, Lin Mo and Su Shan were pushing their cups together. On the ground to one side were half a dozen empty beer bottles. Tomorrow, Yamako, you're getting married. I didn't realize that there were six of us in the dormitory. The first one to get married was actually you. When you were in the dormitory, you were clearly a bore. As it turned out, I didn't realize that the earliest one to tie the knot could be you. This Lin Mo was slightly drunk. The whole mouth of the man was not free from emotion. Hey, hey. It's just luck, but I'm sure Linzi, you'll be getting married soon too. Ha ha, okay, the food is almost done. I'll call a chauffeur and send you back? This, a bit of a pain in the ass, isn't it? Su Shan, who was here, looked a little hesitant. Hi, what's the trouble with that? It's just as well that I don't have a car. Let's go. That's fine. Su Shan didn't push back and decisively just agreed. And Lin Mo was also smooth. On the cell phone app, placed in order. Not a moment later. The neighborhood, that is, with a chauffeur took the order. After the two checked out, they just waited on the curb. After about five or six minutes, the valet on a scooter, then just ran over. Tic tac chow at your service. Boss, which car is yours? After stowing the scooter, the uniformed driver, was the one who asked Lin Mo, Lo, the car. Lin Mo took out the car key and pressed it afterward. Cullinan parked in an off-street parking space. The headlights were, at once, just bright. Yes boss, please, this driver hadn't finished his sentence, it's just notice the little gold man that rises up from the front of the car, the smile on his face immediately stiffened, and then, Dao, boss, you have this car, Cullinan, what's wrong, the costume driver's body trembled slightly, then, the road, that boss, why don't you get another valet, your car is just too expensive for me to take, after saying that, the driver of this chauffeured car, just hastily cancelled the order, then dropped the scooter and took off in a huff. Just kidding. This is a Rolls Royce Cullinan. And with the top of the line version of the little golden man. When you drive yourself. If you accidentally cut yourself off. Then one's whole year is a complete waste of time. Look at the fallen valet driver. Lin Emil was also somewhat silent. This. Feelings. Driving a luxury car. And having this trouble. Is it still inconvenient to call a chauffeur? For a moment. Lin Mo's expression. Appeared to be just a little awkward. 
As for Su Shan, who was on the side, he was also a bit dumbfounded at this moment. The whirlwind was the sound of laughter. Said, ha ha, Linzi, you're calling this a chauffeur. So it seems like it's still a bit difficult. Ha, huh? okay, I don't need you to give me a ride. I'll just take a cab back myself. With that, Su Shan then just reached out and stopped a cab. All right then, I won't see you off ha. Huh? And Lin Mo, who was also quite embarrassed, opened his mouth. Okay, I'm off ha ha. Well, remember to send a message about it when you get home. Okay. After that, the cab pulled away. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was full of eggheads, looking at Cullinan, who was parked on the side of the road. What? To call a valet? Why don't you listen here and come over and get it the day after tomorrow? At this moment, Lin Mo's expression was filled with depression. After all, one is going to a wedding tomorrow. At 6 or 7 in the morning, one has to get up. By then, that's definitely no time to come over and get the car. In the moment, in the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, he also sighed over it. And at this point in time, not far away, a voice. The poor was also behind Lin Mo, for which it rang out. Whom, Lin Mo? Hearing this voice, Lin Mo also looked behind him, only to see Mu Nanji at this moment, while right behind him in a building, walked out. Nani, why are you here? Oh, I just happened to be here to talk about a project and just signed a contract. This Mu Nanji said, and that was when she walked into Lin Mo. Just as he approached, it was a strong smell of alcohol. At once, this Mu Nanji's brow is wrinkled, said, why are you drinking so much? Listening to the words of Mu Nanji, Lin Mo hemmed and hawed and said, hey, hey, don't we have a buddy who's getting married tomorrow? So we went out for a drink with him. Listening to these words, at the bottom of Mu Nanji's eyes, a few moments of yearning vaguely swept through, but he still only nodded his head, saying, so, with that, she was glancing at, and stopping aside, Cullinan, saying, that's just as well, I'll drive you back in this car, and I'll let Uncle Sun not have to come over to pick me up, you have a driver's license? Lin Mo froze and said, crap, rolling her eyes, Mu Nanji glanced at Lin Mo and said, car keys, here, after receiving the car keys, Munanji opened the door of this Cullinan's car. Smoothly, he threw his bag in the back seat of the car. Lin Mo was also sitting on the passenger side. After buckling up, the navigation was turned on. This Munanji is also driving the car. Toward the eastern suburbs of one. I don't know, if it's because of the alcohol. Sitting on the passenger side. Not long after, Lin Mo just fell asleep. Looking at Lin Mo who had fallen asleep on the passenger side, Munanji's expression was complicated. Then, languidly, a sigh, there should be a chance, to talk to him about it, the first reason for being here today, myself, it's with a company that has a partnership contract, and, the second reason, then it was because, as my own grandfather told himself, the Sunanmu family is preparing to organize a marriage, this Sunanmu family is the original family of the Mu family in Magic City, though, say, 30 years ago, the two families split up, but the Mu family's home base is still in Sunan, and this union, himself if he didn't want to get caught up in it, that was a must, to develop the industry of the Mu family in Mordor as soon as possible, and for all of this, Lin Mo was completely unaware, slept in the car for almost 40 minutes or so, the vehicle finally, was pulling inside one eastern suburbs, waiting for the car to be parked in the garage, only then did Mu Nanji call out to wake up Lin Mo, Lin Mo, wake up, you're home, whom, keep quiet, at this moment, Lin Mo was clearly in a sleepy state, just waved his hand, and then on the passenger side, shifted his ass, Munanji, for a moment, Munanji really didn't know, what she should say, this guy, really, the corners of his mouth tugged, here in Munanji, then, is the word, really, feelings I still have to send you in, the mouth said helplessly, Munanji got out of the driver's seat first, then, called out Hope Wong and a couple of nannies, afterwards, Several people were the ones who came together and sent Lin Mo to sleep in the bedroom on the second floor. After entertaining Mu Nanji, it was only then that this Mu Nanji left. Five in the morning, Lin Mo was woken up by his alarm clock. Got a little high on my own last night. There was still some pain in my head at this point. Rubbing his head, Lin Mo looked around the house. The whole thing was a bit of a daze. I, how did this come back? Murmuring in his heart, Lin Mo sat down and carefully recalled after a while, the corners of his mouth. On the contrary, revealed a few bitter smiles. So, I was carried up here, though there is no memory of what happened after. You got in the car. But at this point, he had a few guesses. After shaking his head helplessly, Linimo just took his cell phone and started checking it out. In the last night, 
Zhang Yahua sent himself, that planner for today. Follow the plan on the sheet. The car left the office at 6.30 this morning. First, we arrived at the man's house. After receiving the man, the relative welcome supplies are prepared. Then of, then pick up at the woman's house. The process is over. And that's estimated to be by 8.30. By the time we got to the hotel, it would be after 9. Well, it should be about the same. A little mental judgment. Lin Mo just walked inside the bathroom and took a shower in the bathroom. After a bit of a wash, standing in front of the mirror, he tied the knot of his red tie, combed his hair into a grown-up look, and changed into a dapper suit. Nice, nodding his head in satisfaction. Lin Mo just went downstairs as well. Just as soon as he came downstairs, Lin Mo was the one who saw it. The maids in Huang Wan who are eating their breakfast. At once, a few points were made for each other. Boss, why are you up so early today? Huang Wan was a bit confused. Oh, I'm going to help pick up the bride, so you guys go ahead and eat. With that, Lin Mo was looking at Huang Yuan and said, Butler Huang, later on, you drive and take me to Yang Da Holdings. Huang Wan nodded her head and said, Okay boss. With that, this Huang Yuan just put down the dishes and started to get ready. Just arrived downstairs at the office. It was the sight of, Zhang Yahua who was waiting there early, and 17 other drivers. The company's parking lot was a waterfall of 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms. As much as possible, it just stopped there. And, the cars in each one are, well, little gold. Everyone here, that's top of the line. Top of the line Rolls Royce Phantom. Nice. Lin Mo nodded his head in satisfaction and said, have a heart. At once, Zhang Yahua was terrified by it and spoke in a hurry. It should be. It should be. The two men were in the company after some tidying up. A lecture was given to the driver. Then, Zhang Yahua then just looked at Lin Mo and said, Then, Dong Lin, we're leaving now? Well, go. Saying that, Lin Mo was the one who got into the head car, straight to Sio San's house. It was 6.30 in the morning. The traffic on the road, which wasn't too much, wasn't too congested. Only, the location where this Su Shan lives is still far from Yang Da Holdings, with a windy ride all the way. The final one reached Su Shan's neighborhood at around 6.50, with 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms arriving in the neighborhood. Next to this, many old men and women who woke up early to buy breakfast also started pointing, and one by one, their faces were filled with envy, and compliments. After all, a brand like Rolls Royce, the old men and women still recognize, even those who didn't recognize it were bluffed by the luxurious appearance of the car. As the vehicle arrived at the downstairs where Su Shan was, Lin Mo then just went and made a call to Su Shan. Hey Yamako, I'm downstairs at your house. What floor are you on? Linzi, so soon? I'm in 702. Just come up on the elevator. The door is ajar. So you just push it. There was chaos on the other end of the phone. After asking for the address, Lin Mo spoke to these drivers afterward. Himself is up the stairs. Upstairs. 702. The room is being set up. And, preparing gifts to welcome the family. Pastries. Cigarettes. The table, at this point, was full of these things. It was covered with a layer of red paper and red cloth. Su Shan's mom and dad, at this time, were also busy there. The older two are authentic small towners. For the son's marriage, this kind of big happy event, or very nervous and happy. On the sidelines, several of Su Shan's co-workers and relatives, it was all there, too, acting as best man. As for the innermost part, the photographer was sitting there drinking tea. Hanging up, Su Shan said to his parents, Dad, Mom, my buddy is here and the wedding car is already downstairs. Hey, hurry up then, you'll get it. Mom, who was sitting there, glanced at the wall clock and said, The scheduled departure time is 7.08. It's still about 20 minutes away. As for a couple of the best men next to him, they were also donning. Check that you don't have anything missing in your hand. Hand bouquets and all. Sushan also arrived at the door. Just after arriving, he saw Lin Mo, who came up in the elevator. Linzi, coming. Ha ha, congratulations. Lin Mo laughed out loud. So let's get our stuff and get it in the car. Okay. With that, Sushan just shouted towards the room. Immediately, he was carrying the welcome gifts and started to go downstairs, along with the best man and others. After arriving on the first floor, looking at the 18 Rolls Royces parked there, he was instantly just confused. Brother Sue, this fleet of cars of yours? Didn't you kids say that it was 8 Audi A6S? It's a Rolls Royce Phantom. Hiss, Brother Sue, this convoy of yours, it's excessive. Rolls Royce Phantom, or just 18 of them? In this moment, a bunch of the groomsmen were just straight up dumbfounded. Afterwards, they all looked at Sushan who was there with a shocked expression. Sushan also smiled sarcastically and said, 
Hey, mostly yesterday I guess, that dealership told me I lost my Audi A6, which my brother found for me. The car is suddenly gone? No, brother Sue, this car dealership of yours is a bit of a trap. Yes, it's time to welcome the bride and the car is gone, but you're bleeding money here. For 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, there was a lot of chatter from the crowd, and Su Shan touched the bridge of his nose and said, that, I didn't pay for this car, my brother gave it to me for free. As soon as these words came out, the crowd froze, looking a bit puzzled. As for Lin Mo, at this time, he also said, this car is my company car. A simple sentence fell, everyone here, cold air poured out of their mouths, company car. This, what kind of company, can own 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms? After all, 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, that's worth over a hundred million dollars. The average company would be lucky to have one. Results now. Lin Mo here directly got out 18 of them. One time. Everyone's eyes changed as they looked at Lin Mo. Lin Mo also coughed and said, All right, let's all hurry up and move our things, lest we miss the hour later. Hey, okay. Said, the crowd is just a flurry of people. Toward the car. Moving the welcome gift. Wait until 7.08 a.m. The caravan to welcome the bride. That is, the official start of the departure. Firecrackers and gongs. Su Shan's mom and dad. On the other hand, were there distributing wedding candies and cigarettes to the grandparents on both sides of the road. And with the distribution of this joyful candy and smoke, these Monkler outlet online women, too, were full of praise for Su Shan. Something about having a good life or having a good son or something like that. That's what made Su Shan's mom and dad. Two old men from a small town with smiles on their faces. As the vehicle entered the road, there were quite a few passers-by on either side of this. There was also a flurry of them, noticing the whole caravan. Holy shit, this is a Rolls-Royce wedding car fleet, and a whole 18 of them? Just kidding, 18 Mirage welcoming convoys. Which tycoon is this? Wait a minute, isn't the key thing these license plates? Shanghai A00520, Shanghai A01314, Shanghai A88888. I'm really sore. At this moment, Su Shan, who was sitting in the car, also had a smile on his face. Su Shan's subject, Tian Tian's home, is located on the Minhang side, but the distance wasn't terribly far. The car drove for about half an hour, that is, until it reached the entrance to the neighborhood. It's an old neighborhood, just arrived at the entrance to the neighborhood. There were just a lot of people around who noticed. I'll go, is that a wedding car? Boy, I looked it up and it's a Rolls Royce Phantom Aya. That's $9. 2 million for one car. That's 10 million dollars. Hiss, how wonderful it would be if my daughters, when they get married, had this kind of poker face, whose family is getting married oh, the cards are so big? As I recall, I think it's the old Tian family from building 17 that's getting married today, isn't it? These 18 cars, are they the wedding cars that came to pick up old Tian's daughter? The old Tian family? That's a good son-in-law to have found. One moment, many of the onlookers were in awe. As for Lin Mo and the others, they also drove their cars into the neighborhood. The security guard watched the car's taillights disappear before he dared to lower the railing. Again, at this time, the woman's home. Every level of the barricade is being prepared at this point. Inside the room, the three nuns, and all the bridesmaids, also in droves, just ready to be here. Beside her, Sheen Fayer also spoke. Sweets, there's nothing to be nervous about. It's just a wedding. Besides, I've seen the other guy's picture. And isn't he quite handsome? Yes. Yes, brother-in-law is not bad looking. Listening to these words, Tian Tian, who was there, rolled her eyes at her and said, Really, that's easy for you to say, but after all, you're not the one getting married, so of course you're not nervous. When you get married, then you'll know. In response, Sheen Fayer's face slightly reddened as she said, Don't be ridiculous, the marriage thing. Sheen Fayer stammered. It wasn't that she hadn't thought about the whole marriage thing, but she knew that the likelihood of her getting married. That was basically zero. Looking at such Chin Fair, Tian Tian just smiled and said, Okay, okay, I won't tease you, but what time is it? It's 7.29. Well, that's almost time. As the words fell after that, downstairs, there was a burst of firecrackers. The man's welcoming party, at this time, also arrived. All of a sudden, these bridesmaids were just buzzing. Yikes, coming coming, sisters hurry and get ready. Hurry, Fei hurry. Looking at her group of little sisters, Tian Tian was somewhat helpless and said, You guys don't play too much ah, Su Shan he is more shy and introverted. Yo, sugar you haven't even passed through the door yet and you're already helping people out? A moment in time, there was a lot of sardonic laughter from the crowd, and at this point, a puzzled voice, however, suddenly rang out. 
That's not right. Sister Sweets, is anyone else's family in your building getting married today? With these words falling after, inside the room, everyone was silent. Tian 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 also looked at her old mom who was there. No. Mom thought for a moment and said, So what's up with this bride welcoming car? Sweetie, didn't you say it was 8 Audi A6S? But now, look what's coming downstairs. You guys, it's not an Audi A6. With the moment those words fell, everyone was stunned. Not an Audi A6? What's the situation? Tian Tian Tian's heart sank slightly. And there was mom, her face darkening. 8 Audi A6. This is between themselves and the man. Discussed for half a month, before settling on a model. It's not undignified, but not too expensive and within the man's reach. But now it's not actually an Audi A6 that's coming? That's a couple of things. Is it possible that the man is not even willing to spend this much money in order to marry his own daughter? Just when this old mom's heart was in the right place, she was a little annoyed. One of the girlfriends who had come over to the table was all of a sudden, out of breath, shouting, I'm going, sugar, is this object of yours this crazy? This welcoming car would actually be, what, 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms? What, Rolls Royce Phantom, or 18 of them? My god, that's less than $200,000 a day to rent. In that moment, the room exploded. Tian Tian was dumbfounded in place, and her heart was more than a little anxious. 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms. This Sushan is crazy. This loser, let's see what I'll do to you when the wedding is over. Mom was also a little dumbfounded. The boy his own daughter is marrying. She knew in her heart how many pounds the other party had. How is it possible to be rich enough to rent 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms? Wow, the driver of this first car, so handsome. Suddenly, another scream rang out. I can do it, I can do this driver. Oh, I'm craving it. I want this little brother's WeChat. This little brother is definitely mine later. Humph, just your airfield? That must be mine. For a moment, a number of people just opened their mouths. And it's at this point in time. Sheen Fair, who was at the back, also saw, Lin M.O., who got down from the car. And the heart fluttered. Lin M.O., how come he's coming to be the best man? This, oh my god. Sheen Fair's face flushed. The heartbeat was also thumping faster. And then, looking at the group of sisters arguing, Sheen Fair sneered in her heart. Humph, just you little bitches. You still want to get into Lin Mo's eyes? Sister, I, ah, have long been a step ahead of you. You are here, slowly to fight. Thinking of this, in the bottom of Qin Fei's heart, there were still a few small moments of pride, and at this point in time, there was also a knock on the front door. Su Shan's voice also rang out. Father-in-law and mother-in-law, son-in-law Su Shan has come to marry Tian Tian. Listening to Su Shan's words, this mother-in-law's face, filled with a smile, said, Okay, okay, but ah, uh, this door is blocked by Sugar's sisters. If you want to open the door, you'll have to go through this first. At this time, the mother-in-law, although for the 18 Rolls Royce Phantom, the heart is a little puzzled. The smile on his face, however, was undiminished and not in the least bit fake. After all, a full 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, this is a face that is thoroughly given. And after the mother-in-law's words fell, the bridesmaids who were blocking the door, on the other hand, were instant, and opened their mouths. Well, there's one thing if you do what you're told, we'll open the door and let you in. In response, Sushan also just rushed, saying, whatever you guys want, I'll do it. We see that you have a very handsome little brother inside your driver. As long as you can take this little brother's micro signal and get it for us, this is us right away. Open the door and let you in. As the words fell after that, everyone's gazes, all of a sudden, focused on Lin Mo's body. The look on his face, on the other hand, seemed a bit odd. And inside the house, Sheen Fair, who was there, was shocked at the bottom of her heart. Nice guy, how dare you take this way to beat up on your own little brother. Immediately, Sheen Fair just squeezed her way to the front, then quickly, opened the door to the room. ka -ching. as the door to the room was opened, the best man swarmed in. At this moment, all the bridesmaids in the room, were confused, and then some liturgy went by. Sweets are served, and tea is offered in honor of the ancestors. After the process was completed, this Sushan was carrying Tian Tian downstairs and entered the head car. And after Sushan and Tian Tian, respectively, got into the car, the other bridesmaids, on the other hand, began to jostle for one of the last spots. However, just as they were scrambling, Sheen Fair, however, went all the way straight through the crowd. Then, pulling open the back door, he dug right in. This scene directly made all the bridesmaids, completely dumbfounded, inside the car. Su Shan, on the other hand, smiled. Lindsay, this is, no need for introductions. 
Lin Mo smiled and said, I know, Philip Chin. Saying that, Lin Mo looked in the rearview mirror and said, I didn't realize that your best friend, who you're marrying today, would be a sister-in-law. As those words fell, Sushan and Tian Tian were also frozen. You know each other? Well, recognizing, Qin Fei'er blushed and nodded her head. And that, too, was something that made Tian Tian, in the back row, ponder, said, Fei, it wouldn't. Tian 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 revealed a hint of a bad smile and said, and in response, Tian Tian, here, was instantly on the road. Don't, don't be ridiculous. After saying that, she was the one who hastily changed the topic, saying, Lin M.O., what brings you to drive? Oh, here are 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, all of which I loaned to Lindsay. So, what's wrong with me? By the way, coming to drive this first car? A sentence fell. The back of the Mirage was straight up quiet. They, what did you just hear? 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms here. All, his, this, Chin Fair looked shocked, though that said, she was aware of it. Lin Imo was very hoity-toity, but it didn't occur to me that he could actually be this hoity-toity ah, and Tian Tian's heart, even more so, set off monstrous waves, among the looks on his face, he was filled with dismay. At first, she was puzzled. Where did this Sushan get the money to be able to go and rent so many phantoms? But now it seems, this problem is already solved. This car, it's Lin Ma's. It was his classmate, who lent it to him. But, when did this Sushan, have such a rustic classmate? And it was at this time. Vehicles are also starting to leave. All the way forward. Soon enough, it was to the hotel. The scene of this wedding was set up by the woman. So pick a hotel that's not too bad of a class. With the arrival of this caravan, early as the guests who arrived at the scene. It was also a bit of a shock at this point. In droves, they reached for their cell phones and started filming. As for Su Shan, he was holding his bride and just entered the hotel. The bride was sent backstage to clean up and put on her makeup. Then it was time to run to the front room and start greeting all the guests. As for Lin Mo and the others, they went to park the car. Once the car was parked, that's when it started to go upstairs. After Su Shan had settled the group of drivers, he was the one who ran to Lin Mo's side. Linzi, if you're going to sit at the table of your classmates inside later, I just looked and all the other students are pretty much there too. Okay. Lin Mo nodded his head. Then he just pulled out a red envelope and said, Happy wedding. Looking at Lin Mo's red envelope, this Su Shan was first stunned, and then he just hurriedly said, Don't. I can't accept this accompanying gift of yours. You're out of 18 cars. I've taken such a huge advantage of you. It would be a bit inappropriate to accept another gift from your entourage. Listen to this. Lin Mo smiled. Then it was a nod of the head, saying, That's fine. Then I won't follow the gift. So you keep busy. Okay. Saying that, Lin Mo also just walked towards the inside, sitting down, in the seat at the table of this classmate. At this time, this table, is already sitting down a lot of people. Most of them, too, are old school friends they know, greeted everyone and exchanged pleasantries. Lin Mo just took out his phone, ready to see on the trillion subsidies, there is no new. However, before Lin Mo could even begin to check it out, a voice, however, suddenly rang out. Yo, everyone's here. With that voice, everyone then just looked up. Only a young man in a straight suit with a slightly rounded figure was walking over. Yo, isn't this the eldest class president? Why are you free today? Ha ha, Wang Rue, I haven't seen you since graduation. Squad leader Wang, long time no see. This suit you're wearing today, it's nice. One moment. Many of the students here, in succession, stood up and flattered. This Wang Rue, was their class president in college? The kind where the family has a little bit of spare cash. After graduation, it was into the family's company as a manager. It's just that the relationship between the two has always been a bit of a bad one, so the crossover would not be very deep. With the flattery of the crowd, Wang Rue took his seat, and at this moment, this Wang Rue also noticed Lin Mo, said, Ha, Lin Mo is here too. It's true, between you and Su Shan, after all, the relationship is quite good, said, this Wang Rue just asked casually, Hey by the way, after graduating from college, there is no news from you, where are you now to make a fortune? As Wang Rui's words fell, many people on the scene, one after another, just looked at Lin Mo. Yeah, the college bully from our class. Where is he working now? That's right, the college bully couldn't have gotten rich somewhere and kept it from us. Could he? For a moment, the crowd was also, in turn, up in arms over it. Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled calmly and said, No, the company I worked for just went bankrupt and closed down a while ago. I am, if I am now. 
homebound and purely an idle member of society. Every day is just going to have to be, like, a game at home to get by. Lin Mo did this and chuckled softly, with the words falling afterward. Many of the people here were stunned. On Wang Rui's face, a smile also appeared and said, Lin Mo, you can't do this. It's only been a year since you graduated and you're a social loafer. There's no way you can live in Magic City if you're like this. As those words fell, the others, too, chimed in for the occasion. While on the side, a LV Tonshue looked at Lin Mo and said, It's fine, with your education and ability, Mo, it's going to be easy to find a job. That's still easy. Listen to this. Lin Mo smiled and nodded. And at this point, that Wang Rui's voice, on the other hand, sounded once again. Hey, right, Lin Mo, how about this? Under my company, I'm still short of an errand boy these days. $4,000 a month base salary. I'll introduce you then? With that statement, many of the people at the scene all had playful smiles on their faces. A high school graduate from Mordor University. Go out and run a business for $4,000 a month. That's totally, like, taunting people. As for LV Tongshue, who was by Lin Mo's side, he was a bit annoyed. He was just about to say something, but Lin Mo pulled him back. Then, calmly sweeping a glance at Wang Rue, he then indifferently said, No, I'm getting by just fine. A sentence fell. The atmosphere was a bit awkward, and this LV Tongshue, on the other hand, was saying, No, you just put up with it? Hearing this, Lin Mo smiled and said, Follow the congregation, and make no comparison. Now, this LV Tongshue is also not good to continue, to say something. Meanwhile, one of the students then spoke up. By the way, if you guys are going to give gifts later, how much do you want to give? How about we all standardize our gifts? On my side, it's inside the red envelope, ready for $800. In my case, I was prepared to accompany the gift with $1,000. By the way, class president how much did you pay for this entourage? On my side, I didn't really give much in the way of gifts. It's only $2,000 my day's pay, Wang Rue said with a careless look, though it seemed that it was talking about the amount of money that this Wang Rue himself had accompanied the gift, but one of the things that was a small brag about was his own paycheck, Fruity, the others, in succession, then just spoke with envy, wow $2,000 for a day's pay for you, class president, I'm envious, boy, it's only been a year since you graduated, right, you're making 60, 000 dollars a month, class president, I'm afraid the best development in the class right now is the class president. Squad leader I drink to you. One moment. Quite a few people here. One after another. Just showing an envious expression. After all. Only one year after graduation. Wang Rue is a monthly salary of 60. 000 yuan. This in the eyes of many people that can be said. Is a very huge wealth. Ha ha. That's about all I've developed. But if this is the share of the gift. It's better for you. Lin Mo. To say it. You and Sushan were close in college, and at that time, right, Sushan also helped you a lot, right? How much are you going to give as a gift for your visit to his wedding? One moment, everyone's gaze, too, shifted to Lin Mo, but honestly, Lin Mo, you don't want to give too many gifts, you don't have a job now do you? If you give too many gifts, you'll be drinking the northwest wind next month. I'm afraid, after a few words fell, the scene could be characterized by a burst of laughter. This Wang Rui was unmoving and shifted his attention to Lin Mo's body. And, incidentally, secretly stepped on Lin Mo. After all, in this case, the amount of money Lin Mo accompanied the gift if too low. That's wholly inappropriate. Three to five hundred would be next month's drinking. This Wang Rui can still be incidental at that time, before he borrows Lin Mo to elevate himself. As for the three or four thousand, that was Lin Mo himself deliberately pretending to embarrass the other students. Anyway, no matter how you do it, this Wang Rue's knife, it can be stuck in hard. However, at this moment, Lin Mo had a leisurely face. He said, I don't intend to get involved in this matter. You guys can just discuss it among yourselves. This time I am out of the car. A simple sentence fell, but it made a lot of people here. At once, just for the sake of it, for this situation, they were all but missing the point. But then, this Wang Rue just snorted, feeling like you have a car here. Ha, you don't give gifts when you get out of your car, you think this is the 80s. As he remembers, out of the car as a gift of such things, that is only in the 1980s. After all, there were fewer cars in those days, but nowadays, who's short of money for a car? At once, many other students at this table looked at Lin Mo with some contempt. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was too lazy to explain anything about it. As for the Lutong study there, and it was a direct, somewhat disgruntled dislike. 
No, Wang Rui how many times do you mean, when you were in college, it's okay that you didn't get along with Lin Imo, it's been over a year since I graduated from college, you've just met Rimmer with all kinds of cynicism, now you're going to bury people in the name of being nice and helping them find a job, what do you mean, bitchy or not, after a few words fell, the atmosphere here, looking a little awkward, dropped to freezing point, but just at this time, Sheen Fair, however, jogged all the way over, Lin M.O., the bride's hand bouquet for later, it's left in your car, you go with me to get it, okay, then I'll walk you down to get it now, Lin M.O. nodded his head, then it was to follow Sheen Fair and leave the table, once the bouquet is retrieved, the wedding is official, one way through the process, this bride and groom, is the beginning of the feast guests toast, soon, it was to Lin Mo's table, after the toast, Sushan just smiled, looked at Lin Mo and said, Linzi, I still have to thank you for today, if you hadn't helped get the wedding car, I really wouldn't have been able to make this wedding happen today, as Sushan's words fell, everyone at the table, however, was stunned, what does that mean, there's no way to have a wedding without Lin Mo's car, at once, there were students, wondering, Sushan, what do you mean by that, you couldn't have gotten married without Lin Mo, isn't it just a car, if you're short, just rent one, Sushan froze and said, a car, what, didn't Lin Mo tell you guys, my 18 Rolls Royce Phantom wedding car today was paid for by Lin Mo, quiet, deadly silence, everyone in the moment, all of them were quietly looking at Sushan, their faces stiff and incomparable, the young girl who sat next to Lin Mo before, the throat, slightly dry at this point, said, Sean, Sean, you're not kidding, right, Lin Mo he, look at the expressions on the faces of a bunch of old classmates here, Su Shan was stunned, then, just a little surprised, said, don't you guys know, my wedding car today is all paid for by Lin Mo his company, company, at this moment, Wang Rue, on the other hand, had a few moments of curiosity and opened his mouth, that means the car isn't in Lin Mo's name, right, nodding his head, Su Shan didn't retort, and the words fell, everyone was also relieved, then, with a renewed, disdainful expression on his face, looking at Lin Mo who was there, he said, ch, I thought that all these 18 cars were his Lin Mo's, ha, just, Yamako, next time you speak, be more specific, but come to think of it, where does he, Lin Mo, a poor boy, get the money to afford 18 mirages, hey, but Yamako, what about the company you were talking about, I remember, just now this Lin Mo didn't say, the company he worked for just went out of business, and now he's a hobo, so, what's this so-called company, then, with that statement, all at once, their eyes were drawn to it, Su Shan's face at this time, also became more and more odd, looks like Lin Mo didn't say anything to these guys, ha, huh? under a strange face, the Su Shan here, then, means the word, it's true that the car isn't his, it's his company's, after all, Lin Mo is a shareholder in that company, so it would be correct to say that Lin Mo is a hobo, a word fell, everyone froze, sitting quietly, the air seemed to freeze, everyone, at this point, was a bit confused and dismayed, the car belongs to the company, and Lin Mo belongs to the company's shareholders, then in disguise, this car, too, does belong to Lin Mo, this, for a moment, everyone was at a loss for words, as for Wang Rui up there, and the few people who had taunted Lin Mo before, at this time, his face, even more red, the look on his face was as awkward as it could be, one by one at this point, it's a matter of finding a hole in the ground and going straight in, after all, before, one by one, they were still mocking and saying that Lin Mo was a poor boy, as a result of turning around, people actually became shareholders of the company, this, in this moment, the crowd here just felt a little dizzy, despite, they don't know Lin Mo's company, what kind of company it is, but the other side, since they could spare 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, it's pretty obvious that the assets of this company are definitely at the tens of billions level, even if Lin Mo is a minority shareholder, that's worth tens of millions of dollars. Not to mention, people can still be free, mobilizing out 18 mirages, that can have such rights within a company with a market capitalization of tens of billions of dollars, and how can it be a small shareholder, and just now, they, to actually be there, to Lin Mo, sneering, the moment, in the bottom of everyone's heart, it could be said that they regretted it, subsequently, that is, they all flocked, and began to turn to Lin Mo, and said, ha ha, brother Mo, you remember me, don't you, we used to eat together all the time when we were in school, come, this cup of wine, brother Mo, I toast you, Murgo Murgo, with Su Shan's introduction just now, 
The crowd here. In this moment. All of a sudden it was to Lin Imo. Taking turns to toast. Only Wang Rui there. On the other hand. Excused himself as having a physical ailment and quickly left the banquet. For this situation. Lin Imo also just smiled gently. These classmates of his own are really snobbish. One ignored himself when he was acting ordinary before. Now his own identity. After being exposed by Su Shan. One was just instantaneous. Coming towards his side. To himself. A round of toasts. Mentally scornful laughter. At this point. The one sitting next to Lin Mo. LV Tong Xiu A. Then looked at Lin Mo awkwardly and said. Lin Mo. When did you get so rich? I was saying that before. Really? Listen to this. Lin Mo. Who was sitting here. Smiled faintly and said. I'm not exactly rich here. Lin Mo's tone. Appeared to be very casual. But let the Lutong there learn. A staccato. Said. Boy. If you're not rich. What is? In response. Lin Mo just smiled and didn't say anything. Soon. A wedding reception is over. After the wedding banquet. Su Shan had other things to do in the afternoon. It is needed to entertain the relatives of the woman's family. Sheen Fair. On the other hand. Needed to go back to mixing the hours of live broadcasting. So the two of them just separated. Lin Mo drove his car and returned to the group. After sending the car back, Huang Yuan was the one who came over and picked up Lin Mo back home. Phew. Lying down on the couch, Lin Mo sat paralyzed. This happy meal was a bit exhausting. Holding his cell phone, Lin Mo swiped through WeChat circle of friends. And it's at this point in time. Xia Yuma also sent a friend circle. He he. Successfully took the second female role in director Chen Kai's Legend of the Demon Cat. Thanks to director Chen Kai for giving me this opportunity. And I'm even more grateful to the people who have supported me along the way. This also caused Lin Mo to be a bit surprised. Though it was said that Xie Yuma was in the magic theater drama show and took the title. Her acting, however, is just in the middle of the pack. And it turned out to be able to take the role of the second female lead? This point, really, was a bit of a surprise to Lin Mo. After all, a movie by a famous director of the caliber of director Chen Kai. The second female role requires more than just acting skills. It also takes a certain amount of fame. Hmm. Just then, Lin Mo suddenly noticed Wang Tsong Song's circle of friends below. This is a poster. Put this poster in the enlargement. Lin Mo's face looked a bit odd. The Legend of the Demon Cat, a new film by director Chen Kai, produced by Trina Film and Media, Beaver Media. At this point, underneath this poster of the Demon Cat Saga, the first of the investment producers, Hershey's is the film and media company under the Sky Team Group. Lin Mo didn't even have to think about it. This was definitely an idea that Wang Song Song came up with to curry favor with himself. This one, really convinced. At this time, Lin Mo, in his heart, also guessed it out. Why is it that a newcomer like Xie Yuma, who doesn't have much of a reputation, it's time to take the second female role in such a, big production movie. It's totally about bringing money into the group. And by the looks of things, that funding is not low. Under Xie Yuma's circle of friends, after replying at congratulations, Xie Yuma was just as quick, giving himself a WeChat call. He he, brother, what's wrong? It's nothing. I'm just thinking of you after all. This time the movie, after the start of shooting, there's no telling when it will be over. Xie Yuma was here, opening his mouth and speaking, with a few moments of despondency between his words. Looking at Xie Yuma's words, Lin Mo smiled and said, It's fine. I'll visit you on the set if I'm free after filming starts. Hearing Lin Mo's words, this Xie Yuma's eyes immediately lit up. Said, Really? Xie Yuma was a little excited. That's for sure. But you're really congratulated for taking the second female spot. As the words fell after that, Xie Yuma, who was here, also smiled cheekily and said, Aha, and hey, it's like I'm a newcomer with not much of a reputation. It's really unbelievable that this one actually managed to take the second female role in a group of actresses, yay. And I'm the second female lead, or director Chin Kai, a mouthful of admiring down. At a previous time, this second female role was given by the assistant director to an actress, Fan Lei. Then director Chin Kai happened to pass by. After watching my performance, straight away, it's giving me the second female role. It says that I'm much more suited to the role than Van Ray. Speaking of this, Xia Yuma's expression carried a few moments of excitement amongst him. But having said that, Xia Yuma was also a bit hesitant and said, But brother, do you think I'll be hated by Fan Lei if this happens? After all, this Fan Lei, though, does seem to be a bit of a has-been, but for better or worse, they're a first-tier big shot, and I'm just a fledgling newcomer. Listen to this. Lin Mo just smiled gently and said, Don't worry about it, isn't it just a passing actress? Since other director Chen has hand-picked you, 
what do you have to be afraid of here? Said Rimmer here, then it was just a continuation of that, opening his mouth. Okay, when are you going to be in the cast? As those words fell, it's probably in a couple of days, but tonight, a couple of girlfriends from our dormitory, they said they're going to hold a celebration party for me, so are you going to come by then, little brother? When Xie Yuma said this, there was a bit of flirtation between her words. This also caused Lin Mo, at once, to have his evil fire rise up. The entire mouth of the person was also in a pause. Cold air was sucked backwards. Goblin, at once, in the bottom of this Lin Mo's heart, there was a burst of cursing. When I see you, I'll make sure you're on the ground screaming for your daddy, mentally muttering. Lin Mo's mouth was also full of promises. Well then, I'll send you the address oh, tonight at 6 o'clock. I won't see you then. With that said, the address was sent over. And then the two of them chatted for a while. Subsequently, Lin Mo just hung up the phone. Immediately, this opened his trillion dollar subsidy app and began to check out today's new arrivals. With this app being opened after, Lin Mo did see that the items amongst the app. Whom? At this time, the item in the middle of this app. But there is only one. The magic hands. Subsidized price, 99. 9. A divine magician? Look at this item. Lin Mo appeared to be somewhat stunned. Skill-based items? And at such a high price? At this moment, Lin Mo's eyes flashed with a few colors of anticipation. Before that, godly driving and godly cooking. Already, it was making Lin Mo, for skill-based goods, a few points of interest. At this point, another divine magician. How could Lin Mo not be excited by this? With a slight tinge of excitement. Here Lin Mo's finger. Then it just landed on the app. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 15 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Sitting down on the couch, Lin Mo waited for 15 minutes after. Lin Mo just felt it in his head. There was a cloud of memories and information that began to surface. This bunch of information, just like that, is related to magic. And with that pile of magic information and memories, after surging into Lin Mo's mind, Lin Mo's fingers, at this time, had also become very dexterous. For a moment, Lin Mo's heart was also playful. Looking at the deck of playing cards that lay inside the belly of the coffee table table in front of him, Lin Mo took it out, and then casually, started cutting and shuffling the cards. The entire deck of playing cards, as if by magic, in Lin Mo's hands, it flowed randomly, as if it had turned into a long dragon. Watch this scene. Lin Mo's eyes lit up in front of him. As for Huang Yuan, who was preparing to come over and pour tea for Lin Mo, she was already looking dumbfounded at this moment. Looking at his boss's dashing and casual movements, his eyes froze. As for Lin Mo, when he saw this, he smiled slightly. Feel free to just put the playing cards away. Okay. Lin Mo smiled. Pour the tea. Oh, okay. At this moment, Huang Wan finally, was back to her senses. Boss, this hand you just pulled is really superb. Yes? Lin Mo smiled. The heart murmured as well. It seems that this divine magic hand is really suitable for tricking girls. As this thought fell, Lin Mo suddenly realized something. With the equipment he has now, he still needs to cheat with this hand? Drive a random Cullinan to a college town and set up a pulsing bottle. At this moment, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth then just burst out, rising for it. However, it's not useless. At the very least it's good for pretending. Shaking his head, he laughed softly. Simultaneous. This Lin Mo was also more excited about the future. What good things app could refresh? Sitting at home Lin Mo played with his cell phone. Waiting until 5.30 in the evening. This is towards Xia Yuma. Sent himself that address. Ran all the way. By the time Lin Mo arrived at the barbecue city. Inside a private room in this barbecue city, the few sisters within Xie Yuma's dorm room were already sitting at this time. After seeing Lin Mo arrive, the faces of these girls also carried a few moments of excitement. And then the celebrations began exactly as they should. A little bit of time passed. When the food was almost gone, one of the girls was out using the restroom as well. When it came back, it was followed by four men. As these four people entered, Lin Mo also looked up. While looking up, Lin Mo's face, however, was a bit brilliant. Within these four people, there was this one person that herself recognized. And, at noon today, just met. It is just like the Wang Rui who ran away in grey at the wedding banquet. However, it was obvious that Wang Rui was nothing more than a follower now. In front of it, there was a man. The man was covered in designer labels and had a bit of arrogance on his face. Xia Yuma's face, after seeing him, was also a little less than pretty. Darkening his face, Xia Yuma gritted his teeth and said, Xin Hao. Why are you here? Listen to this. The condescending youth at the head of the group, on the other hand, laughed lightly and said, 
I didn't just happen to be passing by and run into Ray. Ray told us that you guys are here, having a celebration party? So, this is me coming uninvited and together to give you a mo you come to celebrate? After a few words fell, Sia Yuma's face, at this time, was also becoming more and more ugly, but the bias was such that it was not good for her to lash out. After all, they said, they came over to help celebrate themselves. If you're going to make a scene yourself, that's really, really offending people here. All that could be done was to blacken his face and laugh. Since we're all here, let's sit down. As the words fell after that, this Chin Hao immediately, then, just sat down. Then, smiling there, he opened his mouth. First of all, congratulations, of course, Yuma on your one-two punch this time, took the second female role in the movie, directed by Chen Kai. Chin Hao glanced at the tabletop, which was basically all drinks. Then, it was the opening of the mouth. What kind of drink? Since we're out celebrating, we must be happy, right? With that said, this Chin Hao was the one who continued, come on, drink straight. After saying that, he was just straight, carrying out a mention of beer from the side. In passing, it was to open it and pour two cups full. At the same time, he handed one of the cups to Xie Yuma, who was there, and said, here, Yuma, here's to you. The first time she appeared in a movie, she was the female second in a movie directed by Chen Kai. Yuma this future of yours, that's something that can't be limited. This Chin Hao's face was full of smiles, as the words fell out of his mouth. Xie Yuma's face remained the same, was a little less than pretty. Looking at the glass of wine that was handed over he then just opened his mouth. I'm really sorry, I don't feel like drinking today. A line of who falls. This Chin Hao's face was, vaguely, just a bit ugly. And on the side, the best friend who had brought Chin Hao and the others in earlier. At this time, it was also whispered. Yu Ma, what are you doing? This is young master Chin toasting you hey. Why don't you hurry up and drink it? How can you refuse? If you drink and follow young master Chin in the future, then where is the need to mix with the entertainment industry ah? This BFF and Xia Yuma are not in the same dormitory. Therefore, some things about Xia Yuma were not very clear. Though, she was aware that Xia Yuma had recently run into a rich second generation. But the rich kid, in her opinion, was just a guy in a sports car. Specific strength, compared to Chin Hao, that totally, can't be in the same league and the other, dorm mate girlfriends who know the truth. At this time, his face, however, was a bit odd. As for Xie Yuma listening to her best friend's words, her face at this time, was a little less than pretty. And then, that is, calmly, Ray, if you want to drink so badly, then you can drink this glass yourself. You, Ray's face froze. It was completely unexpected that Xie Yuma would actually say this. And Qin Hao, who was there, smiled at that moment and said, That's okay. Since you ma you don't drink, drinks are fine. With these words put after the words fell, Xia Yu Ma remained indifferent. Young Qin, firstly, we don't know each other well, so please call me by my full name. Secondly, I'm genuinely not interested in drinking a glass of wine with you. A sentence fell. Here was Qin Hao, his face filled with stiffness and embarrassment. At the same time, at the bottom of his heart, there were a few moments of anger, and before he could continue to say anything else, at this moment, Lin Mo's voice also sounded leisurely. Chin Hao, right? Didn't you hear my family Yuma say that he's not interested in drinking a glass of wine with you? If there's nothing else for you to do, then I'd still like you to go out first. Don't interrupt us. Here, with the continuation of this celebratory feast, a word fell. Here, Chin Hao's face was a bit annoyed. Looking at Xie Yuma who was sitting there with a few smiles on his face, the color of the god gradually looked a bit cold. On the basis of what? This guy... What makes him able to shout at Xie Yuma so intimately? The three people following this Chin Hao also noticed Lin Mo at this time. Previously, Lin Mo had been sitting in a position that was relatively inward. Therefore, it is also being ignored. And the moment he saw Lin Mo, Wang Rue, who was there, had his body tremble violently. On his face, he also brought a few moments of trepidation. Why? Is this guy here? Earlier, at Su Shan's wedding banquet, after he excused himself. Just went home and went to check out the information on the 18 Rolls Royce Phantoms, and then it was to learn that these 18 Mirages belonged to the Young Da Holding Group, and recently, a man surnamed Lin acquired 10% of the shares of this Young Da Holdings. After associating all this, Wang Rui also just understood that this is a shareholder with the surname Lin. It should be Lin Mo without a doubt. And this Young Da Holdings is a giant company with a market capitalization of $10 billion in Magic City. Lin Mo. On the other hand, holds 10% of its shares. How could one offend such an existence? 
thinking back to the previous mockery he had made towards Lin Mo at the wedding banquet, this Wang Rui's face immediately turned white, and at this point, the other two followers shouted angrily at Lin Mo, why are you talking to young Qin, with a roar from this follower, this Qin Hao, on the other hand, waved his hand and swept a few moments of coldness under his eyes, saying, no harm done, I wonder who this brother is, Rimur, Xia Yu Ma faintly said, two simple words without much introduction, but the implication between its words, but the meaning of it, is self-evident, for a moment, this Qin Hao's heart was just getting more and more irritated, eyes narrowed slightly as he spoke, so it's Mr. Lin, then I wonder what Mr. Lin's family, does, the family runs a small business in a small county in the country, Lin Mo calmly said, with the moment those words fell, this Qin Hao's heart grew more and more disdainful, but on his face, still with a smile, he said, oh, so, but since between Mr. Lin and Yu Ma, the relationship is good, then in the future, if Mr. Lin is in the magic city and encounters any difficulties, he can find me to help, in response, Lin Mo laughed lightly and said, so, then it looks like you're pretty good here in the magic city, at once, behind the, a follower condescendingly said, that's natural, our young Qin is well known in magic city, Chen Yuan jewelry is their Qin family's property, it's now opened its 10th store, it can be said that the industries of young Qin's family, that spread throughout the entire magic city, as the words fell, Ray, who was there, just lit up violently in front of her eyes, looking at Qin Hao who was here, he said, wow, young Qin's family's industry, has this already opened up to the 10th store, this industry of Qin Xiao's family is really getting bigger and bigger, it doesn't feel like it will take much longer for the entire jewelry industry in Magic City to be the biggest in Qin Xiao's family, right? The bottom of Ray's eyes held a few moments of excitement, and beside this Qin Hao, the other youth, at this moment, was also quite condescending, that's natural, young Qin's family, I'm sure it won't take long to unify the jewelry world in Magic City, also I remember, this 10th store, it should be young Qin, you are personally in charge of it, right? As the words fell, Qin Hao who was there, his face filled with a smile at this time, said, that's right, this tenth store is indeed me, personally in charge of it, and the location, if you will, is on the third floor of the IM building, at that time, ladies, if you go to my store and buy jewelry, you can mention my name and I'll give you 20% off, after the words fell, that Shali could be said to have a burst of joy, saying, wow, young Chin is just too generous, and I recently, happened to be ready to buy a new necklace as well, when the time comes then, I will definitely go over and support Young Qin's family's industry. As for those other BFFs, at this point it was just with a light, unimpressed smile. In the back, Wang Rue, who was watching this scene, at this time, the face, on the other hand, looked a little stiff. Looking at this group of people bragging about Qin Hao, the entire group didn't know what to go and say. After all, he was aware of Lin Mo's bottom line. People are a being worth at least two or three billion dollars. The other party alone could crush the entire Qin family. This, how can he blow it? And there was Lin Ma. On the other hand, the face is a little weird. This Qin house home, the 10th store. Is it in the I am building? Well, isn't that a coincidence? This I am building seems to be its own property, right? At this moment in time, Lin Mo's expression became more and more bizarre and teasing. And at this point, this Qin Hao also looked at Lin Mo and said, then I wonder where Mr. Lin, now is in his senior position, me, I can't talk about high, I got a little money before, then it was just random, doing a little investing in money management, listen to this, the smile on Qin Hao's face became even more unrestrained, immediately, it was said, having made over $100,000 since graduation, a little investing in money management is indeed in order, but when it comes to financial management, I remember Wang Rue, your family is in financial management, right, with that, Qin Hao was looking towards Wang Rue, at that moment, it was the sight, of Wang Rue who was there with a pale face, for a moment, the gods were confused, Wang Rue, what's wrong with you, ha, huh? it's okay, it's okay, it's just that I'm a little unwell today, Wang Rue hurriedly, shaking his head, yes, glancing suspiciously at Wang Rue, Qin Hao said, however, this Wang Rue didn't go much deeper, continuing the word, come on, Xiao Lin Ah, this Wang Rui's family's financial management company has some weight in Magic City. If you want to manage your money in the future, you can go to their family, and it will definitely make you a lot of money. In response, Lin Mo had a few, somewhat playful smiles on his face and said, Yes, seeing Lin Mo with such an attitude, 
This Qinhao's face was also a bit huffy. Immediately, he was cold and said, How do you talk? I said Lin M.O. This is not how to behave. Since you want to look for Wang Rui and his family in the future, to help you with your financial management, so you, at least, are going to stand up and give each other a toast, right? If you don't know this rule, how will you continue to mix in society in the future? The words came out. Next to her, Xiao Li followed suit, mocking Lin M.O. That's it. You think because you've made a little money, you can be so arrogant? And really, I don't know what Yuma is doing today to bring this guy here. Hearing this, Xia Yuma was just about to have a fit, but she saw Lin Mo's calm demeanor. At that moment, he just revealed a look, like he was thinking. Lin Mo didn't have much of a reaction to this Qin Hao's words, but Wang Rue, who was there, was so close that he didn't fall down from his chair. Cold sweat swished out behind his back, the whole man said in a rush. No, no need. Hmm. Qin Hao's expression revealed a few moments of doubt as he turned to this Wang Rue and opened his mouth to ask. Wang Rue, what's wrong with you? Wang Rue rolled his throat and revealed a smile that was, well, worse than crying, said, ha ha, I, I'm not feeling too well today, there was a little cephalosporin on the way in, so no alcohol, yes, looking at this Wang Rue's appearance, even though Qin Hao still had his doubts, but it didn't go any deeper than that, Wang Rue, on the other hand, was relieved, in the bottom of his heart, he was even cursing at this Qin Hao with a burst of anger, why did he drag himself into this? Letting Lin Mo toast himself? It's a shame he thought of it. After all, Lin Mo if he really gave himself a toast. Then the drink. If you drink it yourself, then one absolutely just doesn't have a good time. Qin Hao, on the other hand, laughed and said, By the way, for everyone, this is Magician Mo Pang. As the words fell, behind this Qin Hao, a young man who appeared to be in his early twenties, then just stood up. Mo Pang's words can be said to be the country's current, most promising magician. At only 21 years old, he's already been on the Spring Festival Gala three times, and he's even been taken in as a disciple by the Master Magician. Gelled, as those words fell, a few moments of surprise came to the face of one of the girlfriends. A disciple of Gelled? My goodness, is that the Gelled, one of the top 10 magicians in the world? So awesome? Looking forward to it. M.O. Pang, who was there, also had a smile on his face at this time, said, I'm glad to be a part of this celebration. And next, I'm going to do a little magic trick for you. Speaking of which, this M.O. Ping turned to the crowd and opened his hands in a slight gesture. After the crowd had determined that there was nothing in this M.O. Ping's hands, the palm of the hand then just shook violently. Swish. Moment. A small cloth pocket, that was all of a sudden, appeared in his hand. Whoa, how did that bag come out? That's right, where was this bag just now? I didn't see it at all. Oh my god, how did this happen? With this handful of magic, inside the booth, all the girls, at once, it was the attention that was drawn to it, and one by one, just let out a gasp, and the glow of adoration, however, all of this fell in Lin Mo's eyes, but it appeared somewhat inadequate, a few scornful smiles emerged from the corners of the entire man's mouth, just this set of operations by mopping, what is perhaps true is that it is possible to fool little girls, but in for him who has a divine magic hand, all of this, that is completely inadequate, and at this point, M. Opan who was there, on the other hand, had a face that was always, with a few smiles, Road, this bag in my hand is a magic pocket, it leads to a subdimensional space where whatever is put in it can disappear, a sentence fell, all the girlfriends also showed their surprise, saying, this, a lie, isn't it, yeah, how could that happen, this bag, definitely has a mechanism, maybe there's a hidden pocket or something inside, after a few words fell, M.O. Pang, who was here, also had a smile appearing on his face as he said, on this point, you can rest assured, if you don't believe me you can check, this cloth bag in my hand, said, this M.O. Pang was the one who handed the cloth bag in his hand, to Xia Yuma who was there, at this moment, Xia Yuma, on the contrary, was attracted to M.O. Pang's play, subsequently, that is, take this cloth bag and turn it over, examining the inside construction of this cloth bag, as a result, not a single mouthful was found, looking at this scene, M.O. Pang also just smiled and said, so next, I need an audience member to work with me. Saying that, this M.O. Ping just looked around, and at the sight of Lin M.O., this Qin Hao was slightly unnoticeable and nodded his head. In an instant, M.O. Ping was then, opening his mouth. Then, I'll ask this Mr. Lin, to perform with me next. Listen to this. Everyone froze. As for Lin M.O., who was here, at this moment, in his heart, he was also laughing coldly. He said, Ha, 
Little man, you're going to join forces with someone else in front of me and prepare to screw me over? I'd like to see who's going to screw who over this time. Think about it. Lin Mo also just stood up and walked forward. Looking at this Mo Pang, he said, Okay, no problem, I'll cooperate. But I have to ask you, what do you need me to do with you? Listen to this. Mo Pang, who was there, just swept a glance at Lin Mo's body and said, Tell you what, you take this wristwatch you have on your wrist, take it off and put it in this bag. At this moment, Lin Mo's face carried a few moments of eccentricity. He said, are you sure? I have to tell you, the price of this watch of mine, is not cheap. You can't afford to lose this price if you lose it for me. As the words fell, Sheen Hao, who was on the side, glanced at the wristwatch on Lin Mo's wrist. At that moment, it was a disdainful expression that was revealed, saying, Ha, it's just a high quality imitation of Roger Dubuis Rodbeck's 0406. If this is really lost, I'll accompany you for a piece. In his opinion, Lin Mo was nothing more than one. Just an average guy who graduated a year ago with a little bit of luck. How could the other party have the money to be able to afford a high-end luxury watch like Roger Dubuis? Not to mention, this Rodbex 0406 watch from the King Collection. That's worth $4. 2 million in existence. And Ray, who was there, snickered. At that moment, I didn't expect that it was actually a high fashion watch. This vanity, is also too big, right? Lin Mo was completely oblivious to this Xiao Li's words, just on its face. A few smiles surfaced and said, Are you sure? If this watch is lost, you pay for it. Ha! On this Qin Hao's face, the contempt was a few points thicker. Road. Ha! This watch of yours is, indeed, a good imitation, but the total price won't be more than 5,000. If, say, this watch is really just lost by then, I'll compensate you at the price. Qin Hao's tone was filled with disdain. Okay, that's what you said. Lin Mo nodded his head and said, Then, it was to take off the wristwatch and hand it to that M.O. Peng's bag. And then this M.O. Peng is fainting. The wristwatch, to the black cloth bag inside. Spinning around, he pinched the cloth bag tightly, and his hand just shook violently. But just this instant, Lin Mo's divine magic hand was an instantaneous cast. The palm of the hand was like a residual shadow. Quickly, in M.O. Peng's sleeve, he took out the wristwatch, and then, hid it in his sleeve pocket. For all of this, M. O. Pong was completely oblivious, still there, showing off his emptied pockets. As for Lin M. O., he stood on the sidelines, all in a watching manner. Spinning around, he spoke calmly, Okay, now where's that watch of mine? Time to give it back? Ch. It's just a watch that costs a few thousand dollars. Look at you in such a hurry. Next to him, Xin Hao shook his head and said, All right, M. O. Pang, you change back and return it to him. Okay. M. O. Pong nodded. Immediately, the entire person just took a deep breath. The palm of his hand grabbed the mouth of the cloth bag from above. Phew. Then, blowing out a breath, he said, Now is the time to witness the miracle. The words were not yet finished. This M.O. Pang, on the other hand, was completely flustered. Said, This, touching himself, M.O. Pang was getting more and more flustered. Where's the table? What about a big watch? It was clearly still on my body just now. How? Just a little while and the watch is gone? Looking at M.O. Pang who looked like this, Xin Hao frowned and said, M.O. Pang, what's going on? At this moment, a few unpleasant premonitions surfaced in Xin Hao's heart. It can't be. This Mopong is a bad show. Obviously before, he was still so, can vigorously brag about this M.O. Pang's, if, on the other hand, he gives a bad performance. Wouldn't that be, like, slapping yourself in the face? At this moment, M.O. Pang is has cried anxiously, said, Xin, Xin Xiao. The watch is gone. Hmm. At this moment, Xin Hao also froze. As for Lin Mo, he remained the same, with a nonchalant look, saying, The watch is gone. Oh, young Qin, I remember what you said before. If, say, I lost my watch, you'd pay for it at the price right. Ha, yeah, that's right. It's not $5,000. If I lose this watch, I'll just pay you for it. $5,000? Lin Mo snorted, then shook his head and said, Who told you? This watch of mine, is $5,000? With the moment those words fell, Xin Hao's face stiffened. Subsequently, Dao, what do you mean? A youth behind him, on the other hand, frowned and said, Are you planning to blackmail someone? At this time, Xiao Li also snorted and said, Ha, young Qin, maybe in the eyes of others, the watch that he really took for real? The moment the words fell, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was a picture of cloudiness. The thing is, that watch, it's real. A sentence fell. Everyone, directly confused. As for this Qin Hao, 
He also changed his face and said, Kid, you have to speak with evidence, you can't say it's true and mean it. Evidence? Of course there is. If you don't believe me, you can call and ask for proof from Roger Dubuis' store manager, Joe. He asked if someone called Lin Mo had bought a watch from him. Lin Mo's tone was flat. There was not the slightest ripple to speak of. However, it made Qin Hao vaguely feel that something was not good. After all, as far as Lin Mo's appearance was concerned, he was really a bit too emboldened. But then, this Qin Hao still murmured, No way. There's absolutely no way he could afford to wear a watch of this caliber. Bluffing? Yes, this guy is definitely just bluffing. Qin Hao murmured continuously in his heart. The gaze and look under his eyes was also gradually starting to look determined. Ha, huh, though I don't know. How do you know? This Roger Dubuis store manager is surnamed Chow, but the ones like you are wearing a high quality imitation. The guy who's bluffing here is trying to fool me too. As the words fell, this Qin Hao's lapdog, and the two Xiao Li there, and also in droves, mockingly, ha, huh, so it was a bluff. Exactly, young master Qin, hurry up and call store manager Joe to poke holes in this liar's lies. Listen to this. Qin Hao nodded his head, then sneered and said, I'm going to break down your lies right here in front of you ma, said, it was the cell phone that was taken out and dialed the number of the store manager Zhou, in the meantime, it's on speakerphone, dodo, the phone thought twice after that, store manager Zhou's voice, that is, rang out with it, hello, on this Qin Hao's face, a few smiles suddenly appeared and said, hey, store manager Zhou, I'm Qin Hao, Qin Hao, Zhou Siming, the store manager across the street, first froze when he heard the name, after thinking for a few moments, that's what responded, saying, oh, so it's Young Qin, nice to meet you, Young Qin called me today, is he ready to reserve the watch, at once, a smile piled up on Zhou Siming's face, despite what is said, this Qin Hao didn't buy much of a watch, on his own, but the volume of his family is there, therefore, for Zhou Siming to see, if he had cheered him up himself, Maybe the other person is happy and buys a watch that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars? Qin Hao, on the other hand, was in a hurry, saying, Ha ha, next time, next time, this time, I called store manager Zhou because I wanted to ask him something. With these words, after falling, Zhou Simings, at once, just skimmed his lips and said, So, I wonder then, what exactly is it about? Even though Zhou Simings' heart, with a few moments of unhappiness, still spoke. Qin Hao sneered in his heart. Then, it was a glance at Lin Mo. Looking at Lin Mo who was sitting there still with a cloudy look on his face. An unavoidable frown. This guy. It's too much of an act, isn't it? And now for it. Or so a cloudy look? The heart was strange. And then it still grunted coldly. So be it. No tears until you see the coffin. Then, speaking. I wish to ask. Did your store recently sell a piece? Rodbex 0406 from the King series? The words came out. Joe Siming, on the other end of the phone, was first stunned, but then, it was to speak, exactly, it's not even a big secret in the watch world anyway, therefore, he just admitted it in a big way, this one, it was Qin Hao's turn to freeze, spinning around, trembling, he said, that, that purchased the wristwatch, name, isn't it Lin Mo, and, a young man in his early twenties, at once, this Joe Siming was a bit agitated and said, you, how do you know this? Joe Siming was a little nervous. You know, Linimo is the VIP of their store. This kind of information is top secret. Does it say, VIP information of your own store, leaked out? Inherently, Joe Siming did not answer positively. The implications, however, are utterly clear. Also at this moment, inside the booth, it exploded. Qin Hao and the others, were completely dumbfounded. That watch, I can't believe it's not a high quality imitation, is that true? At this moment, Qin Hao panicked, M. O. Pong was also flustered, and there's Xia Yuma, at this point it is also the word, with you guys in the introduction, this Lin M. O., it's the same brother who, before me, posted a friend's circle, as the words fell after that, Ray, who was there, was at that moment in a state of vertigo, this, what a joke, the object of one's own constant, constant mockery, I can't believe, is that the super godly man that Xia Yuma, is evening out, one moment, at the bottom of Xiao Li's heart, she regretted it. More than that, he hated to be direct and smacked himself in the face twice. The moment, Lin Mo also stood up and walked over, holding Qin Hao's phone, saying, Store Manager Zhou, it's me. Your customer information has not been compromised. It was only this Qin Hao who suspected that the watch on my wrist was fake. So, I asked him to give you a call to prove that my watch is real. 
This one, Joe Signing breathed a sigh of relief. He said, so that's how it is, then I'll give Mr. Lin a testimony. Mr. Lin's wristwatch is absolutely genuine. I delivered it to him personally. The words fell. This Chin Hao swallowed. Then, squeezing out a smile, said, Mr. Lin, this may be a misunderstanding. Only, at this moment, Chin Hao's heart was already filled with irritation. For Lin M.O., he had long been cursing away in his heart. It's even more identified. Lin M.O. was punking him. Obviously the wristwatch is a real one. But, it's just a biased way of not saying it. Let yourself, step into this pit. This Lin M.O. definitely, was deliberately punking himself. Misunderstanding? Oh, whether it's a misunderstanding or not. We'll talk about it later. But I remember, Mr. Sheen said it before. If I lose my watch, I am given the usual compensation. I don't want more either. When this watch, I bought it for four, two million dollars. Young Chin, please also compensate at this price. Just at the original price. Chin Hao gritted his teeth. Then, looking angrily at M.O. Peng who was there, he said, don't hurry up and find it. M.O. Peng had a jolt, and then it was a matter of looking all over his body. Finally, revealing a bitter look, he said, can't find it, then pay for it. I'm sure that you, young Master Chin, aren't too far behind this $4 million. Lin M.O. looked indifferent there and said, this time, Chin Hao completely panicked, face, with a few moments of misery, if it's a couple hundred thousand dollars for a watch, you're losing money on your own, but a four, two million dollar watch, I guess I'll have to ask my family for money myself, and, once that money is asked for, then one is really screwed, Lin M.O. also continued at this time, saying, at the very beginning, I warned you that you couldn't afford to pay for this watch of mine, and you didn't believe it yourself at the time, honestly, you can even ask Wang Rui behind you to find out whether this watch is, in fact, fake or not. The words fell. Qin Hao looked fiercely, on the pale-faced Wang Rui, the eyes, as if they could eat people. Qin Hao stared at Wang Rui with a few moments of anger in his heart. Since this Wang Rui, had recognized Lin Mo earlier, why didn't he speak out to remind himself? In the meantime, Qin Hao also figured it out. Earlier, he had asked Lin Mo, to give a toast to Wang Rui. Why did this Wang Rui, his expression looked so terrified and uneasy. I, at this moment, Wang Rui's body, shook like a sieve. The look of bitterness was unmistakable. He was the one who didn't expect to be implicated when things were like this. But, still in a whisper, said, Young Qin, I, recognize, he, he was my college classmate. It is also a shareholder of Wing Tad Holdings. This one, Qin Hao's face changed color. Wing Tad Holdings, this is one of the giant corporations in the Magic City the family's Qian Yuan jewelry, in front of it, it was a younger brother, at this moment, Qin Hao's expression was filled with bitterness, the original dissatisfaction with Lin Mo also disappeared without a trace, after all, he knows, just in terms of the other side, it's definitely not something that a second generation like himself can offend, Lin Dong, you see this matter, whom, looked at each other, Lin Mo's expression was cold, and Qin Hao just smiled bitterly and said, this is a sum of money that I really can't come up with for the time being. How about this? I'll call my family. What do you think? Originally, Qin Hao did not want to make this matter. Make his parents know. But as far as this situation is concerned, your own mom and dad, even if you want to be unaware of it, it's a hard thing to do. As soon as possible, I still have to continue on my side. Hosting a celebration banquet between me and Yuma. Lin Mo waved his hand and said, Yes. After a bitter laugh, Qin Hao just quickly, started to make a call to his mom and dad, this Qin Hao's parents, after hearing the exact amount, just all of a sudden, was a change of face, when he was just about to curse, after hearing Lin Mo's identity, and no more continued babbling, the drive was a busy one, as for Lin Mo, he sat there, after taking out his cell phone and sending a message to Wang Wan, then he just quietly ate the barbecue, and the crayfish that Xie Yuma peeled for himself, inside the private room, everyone, at this time, was in a state of silence, until a quarter of an hour later, the door to this private room was also pushed open, a middle-aged man with a big belly followed by a noblewoman, the two men walked in, this middle-aged man after looking around the circle one, then he just laughed out loud and said, ha ha, Mr. Lin, long time no see, my humble self, Qin Nan Tian, saying that, he also just quickly, walked over to Lin Mo's side, a hand was extended towards Lin Mo, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was still, eating crayfish here, and a barbecue skewer in your hand, one time, the atmosphere was a little stiff and cold, 
Qin Nanshan's face was also a bit unsettled. He himself, at least, is the chairman of Qian Yuan Jewelry. Such a status could be considered honorable within the magic city. However, this Lin Mo was actually so, leaving himself out to dry? You're going to continue to eat crawfish off the grill like nobody's business? Even if you are a shareholder of Wingtad Holdings, you can't be so, as if no one is there, to yourself, can you? In an instant, this Qin Nanshan's face was slightly gloomy. The noble woman there, her face was also a bit unsightly. But looking at Qin Nantian who didn't speak, he didn't say anything, just a little heartbroken. Looking at his son, checking on his own son, for any injuries, put the crawfish with the barbecue, after it's done. Linimo didn't take a moment to unwrap the wipes and wipe his mouth. Then, slowly, phew, done eating. At this moment, Qin Nantian also revealed an ugly smile and said, Now, between us, can we talk business? There is no need to talk about it much. Your son boasted about it before. My watch, if I lose it, it's the original price for compensation. Now lost, that's four dollars. Two million, not a penny more, not a penny less. Lin Emo spoke in a calm tone, but it fell into Qin Nanshan's ears, but it made its face, somewhat ugly. At this time, it is even more hateful to directly, smoked his own son, TMs, this loser, to know, Qian Yuan jewelry is indeed a large jeweler in Magic City, but it's been a very bad time, recently in the Magic City of jewelry market, is with a few overseas brands to kill, and, hard, cut away a piece of meat from Qian Yuan jewelry, in order to maintain the profitability and market of the home, just a few days ago, I invested a sum of money and took the IAP mall store, currently, a deposit has just been paid and the contract is ready to be signed, so to speak, their Qin family's account is really low on money right now, that's 10 million dollars or so in assets that can be utilized, and now, if the compensation goes out to 4 dollars, 2 million, the Qin family, will be in a very embarrassing position, at this point, Qin Nantian just smiled bitterly and said, Mr. Lin, that was all childish nonsense just now, let's, uh, let's not talk about this compensation? Lin Mo's eyes were also slightly narrowed at this moment, and at this point, his cell phone poured out of nowhere, picked it up and looked at it. It's a message from Hope Wong. The information inside was clearly the current recent situation of the Qin family. A moment. In the bottom of this Lin Mo's heart, he sneered, and after, looking toward Qin Nantian slowly said, I'll say it one last time. Four, two million, not a penny more, not a penny less. At the end of his words, Lin Mo's tone, appeared a bit cold. This time, Qin Nanshan's expression, it looked stiff and awkward, the noblewoman in the back, on the other hand, was a little annoyed at this point, he said, Lin M.O., isn't it, he's just a small shareholder of the group, I'm giving you face for coming, do you really think the Qin family is afraid of you, I'm telling you, this thing today, even if we go straight, it's no big deal, this noblewoman's tone, for Lin M.O., that was full of disdain, and for the words of this noblewoman, Lin Mo was dumbfounded for a moment, spinning around, shaking his head, he said, Ha, the Qin family's madam, is this what she looks like? It's just a little bit, well, ridiculous, my wife's attitude, that's my attitude, so Mr. Lin, either let's talk it over, either that, or I'll just have to say I'm sorry, Qin Hao was here, speaking slowly, after all, Lin Mo was a shareholder of Yunda Holdings though, but they, the Qin family, are not vegetarians either. Yes, Lin Mo let out a light laugh, then it looks like there's no talk, said the, Lin Mo, who was here, also picked up his cell phone and slowly said to Huang Yuan, let's have the IAP mall side, suspend the rental contract between them and Qin Yuan jewelry, the words came out, Qin Nanshan's face suddenly changed, afterwards, he looked at Lin Mo and said, what do you mean, the noblewoman in the back, on the other hand, continued with her open mouth mocking, ha, what do you think you are? and have the IAP mall suspend our rental agreement? You think this IAP mall, is owned by your family? Funny, yet in the instant just after those words were spoken, Qin Nanshan's cell phone rang, and after connecting it, his face suddenly paled. Then, incredulously, he looked at Lin Mo, who was sitting there. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was sipping his drink in a cloudy manner, and at the same time, slowly said, I'm sorry, you're right, this IAP mall, it's really run by my family. As the words fell after that, the noblewoman was confused. When he was just about to say something, he saw, there, the pale Qin Nantian. The whole person also stiffened in place, and the cell phone in Qin Nanshan's hand. With a snap, it fell to the ground. The entire person's face, at this time, was even paler than ever. Then, 
It was to look at Lin Mo. The body trembled. The throat wriggled for it. You, you, Qin Nantian was dumbfounded. Originally, he just thought that Lin Mo was just an ordinary shareholder of a large group. In that case, one is not at all false even if one is offended. But, unthinkable, the other party is actually still the owner of the IAP mall. And, just now, the general manager of this IAP mall is the one who personally gave himself a call. Give yourself a rant. And then, dissolve the store lease agreement between their Qin family and the IAP mall. It's safe to say, this was complete, making Qin Nantian dumbfounded and flustered to know the stores in the IAP mall were very important to their Qin family. Not to mention this IAP mall is the Magic City Traffic and Purchasing Power, the top three senior mall. Just the amount of money they've invested in order to take this current store alone. That would be a huge amount. If anything, if you really need to choose a new location for the new store again, the money that goes back into it, that's an immeasurable amount. By then, on our side, we will have lost millions of dollars, to say the least. The moment. Sheen Nanchen's expression stiffened. Arriving in front of Lin M.O., he struggled to squeeze out a hint of a smile and said, Lin, Mr. Lin, just now there was much offense. Still, please atone for your sins. Lin M.O. indifferently glanced at this Qin Nantian. Then, it was a cold laugh that said, I remember. Just now, Qin Dong is not still saying, Is your wife's attitude? Your attitude? What? As the words fell away, the smile on this Qin Nanchen's face was also getting stiffer and stiffer. All that could be done was to laugh with an embarrassed look on his face. Misunderstanding? All of this that is a misunderstanding. That old woman in my house speaks without thinking. Please Mr. Lin, you can be more forgiving. As for the compensation payment to you, then please, Mr. Lin, can you give us a few more days? And we, the Qin family, will try our best to get the money together. In response, Lin Mo just waved his hand and said, Okay, that's it. The other one, mind your good son. Don't see a pretty girl and think of going up and flirting with her. After saying this, Lin Mo was looking at Xie Yuma and said, There's not much fun here. Why don't we change places and go on with the celebration? Uh, yeah. Xia Yuma nodded, then looked at the several dormitory girlfriends there and said, you guys want to get together? In quick succession, a few people here just flocked, shaking their heads over it. And after that, the two just left the private room. As for Qin Nantian who was there, at this point, the gods just stiffened for it. In an instant it was also a matter of understanding what was going on, and also, roughly, guessing the truth. I guess it was my own son, who flirted indiscriminately with this Lin Mo's sister thus inviting people to retaliate. At once, this Qin Nanchen's anger flared up. Dad, Qin Hao swallowed and looked at Qin Nantian who didn't say a word, his heart trembling. Don't you call me dad, I don't have a son like you, who's a failure? With that, Qin Nantian drew out seven wolves. Then with a fierce blow, it was viciously smacking Qin Hao's body. At once, a burst of miserable screams in the barbecue city for it resounded. Regarding all of this, at this time, Lin Mo did not know anything about it. At this time, he was already leaving Barbecue City. Got into a parked lake and Lin Mo was the one who smiled and looked at Xie Yuma with a bad joke. Why don't we go hiking? As Lin Mo's words just fell, Xie Yuma just instantly understood for a second. Her face scarlet for it. Pouting. He said. Badass. Although Xie Yuma spoke so on his lips. But still. Softly. Whom. Immediately. Lin Mo just let out a light laugh. And of the latter. The sports car sped out. Time passes. Sunset. Inside the hotel room, Lin Mo sat down on the bed. Next to her, Xia Yuma was drenched in fragrant sweat. And just then, the cell phone, which was set aside, was suddenly ringing. A record of the transfer appeared on the phone screen. The amount transferred. No more. No less. Four. Two million. Looking at this number, Lin Mo smiled at the corner of his mouth and said, This Qin family's processing speed is quite fast. After sending the message over to Wang Wan, this Xia Yuma, however, sighed and said, it's a pity, though, that the money for the wristwatch arrived, but it's impossible to buy back another one, the exact same watch, listen to this, Lin Mo, however, burst out laughing, and then, lifting his pants aside, then it was time to dig the watch out of the pocket of his pants, lo, the watch is still here, tossing it gently in his hand, Lin Mo's mouth was filled with a smile, you, at that moment, Xia Yuma's mouth opened wide and his expression looked incredulous. What? Lin Mo laughed lightly and set the wristwatch aside, saying, with his little tricks, he's still going to play magic tricks on me? Oh, he's still a couple hundred years early. 
Hearing this, Xie Yumal was also a little bit of a ghost, saying, You're so bad, it all scared me to death, I really thought you lost your watch, ha <laughs> ha, Lin Emo smiled broadly, then, looking at this Xie Yumal, he said, How about another one, yeah, with a scream, inside this room, once again, the sound of decadence rang out, 8.30 p.m., Lin Emo sent Xie Yumal, back to the school, after clearing the car, and myself of the odor, it was all the way, back inside the villa at one eastern suburbs, just entered the middle of the villa room, it's just seeing it, in a chef's outfit, Mu Nanji who was there following the maid, learning how to cook, whom, Nani is here, looking at Mu Nanji who was there, Lin Emo was surprised, yeah, between me and my aunt today, I'm going to learn a new dish and make it for you later, ha, huh? a smile appeared on Mu Nanji's face, a smear of cream on his cheek, Lin Emo frowned, subconsciously, he just reached out and wiped away the splash of cream and brought it into his mouth. At once, the atmosphere was somewhat beginning to heat up in the air. There Mu Nanji and Lin Mo, the atmosphere between the two, seems a little ambiguous up. You, somewhat surprised, he looked at Lin Mo, Mu Nanji's face, at this time it was like a red apple. Lin Mo also froze, for this situation, the whole person was completely, in a daze. It's really just a subconscious action and reaction on his part. The moment. Lin Mo's expression, completely stiffened, then, it was the awkward opening, ha, 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 that was a subconscious reaction on my part, that, Nani, don't think too much ha ha, I, this time, Mu Nanji held her face red, then, it was just straightforward, the way it was, I'll leave first, Auntie Wang, I'll learn this dish from you next time, having said that, Mu Nanji was just as quick, taking off the chef's outfit he was wearing, then, quickly, he left the place, looking at such a Munanji, Lin Emo also reacted instantly, the corners of his mouth jerked, and he cursed angrily at the back of his mind, what did I just say, subconscious reaction, don't think too much, it's easier to think about it more when you say it, right, this time, Lin Emo was also a bit confused, it's a death sentence, mentally muttering, Lin Emo, who was here, was instantly a bit flustered, and next to her, Huang Yuan, and a couple of maid ants, Looking at Lin Mo's face at this moment, it is also slightly, with a few oddities, Lin Mo coughed awkwardly, okay, hurry up and cook. After saying that, Lin Mo also just sat down on the sofa with a despondent expression. Hey, how is this supposed to ease the relationship, with Mu Nanji? Lin Mo sighed in his heart. Meanwhile, at that moment, he was thinking about it. After meeting Mu Nanji's grandfather at first, the night with Mu Nanji, originally, he hadn't thought about how to deal with the relationship between him and Mu Nanji. Now that's good. This relationship. More trouble. Headache. Just as he sighed. Lin Mo's cell phone. On the other hand. Rang violently. After picking it up and taking a look. Lin Mo was also stunned. This was a message that Mu Nanji had come to himself of his own accord. Mu Nanji. I forgot to talk about it just now on the way out. Are you free tomorrow? I would like to invite you. To visit the exhibition of paintings at the gallery. A painting show? Looking at the message that Munanji sent to himself, Lin Mo instantly said with the corners of his mouth rising, Can I take this to mean that you're offering to ask me out? With that statement, Munanji on the other end of the cell phone, who was already blushing, the heart can be a deer in the headlights. For a moment, it was hard to know how to respond. One can only reply with the word, Whatever. If you're free, then come see me tomorrow morning at 8. If you don't have time, then a few more days will be fine. Looking at this Munanji's reply, Lin Mo's face, too, spread a smile, okay, then I'll meet you tomorrow morning, right on time, after saying this, Lin Mo's mood could be described as pleasant, inside Villa 2, at this time, Mu Nanji completely, no longer in the shopping mall of the kind, the feeling of a strong woman, at this point, it was as if she was a little girl, this state of Mu Nanji, if it was seen by outsiders, they would only be afraid that their jaws would drop in shock, and at this point, Sun Fu who had just made tea and was about to bring it over. It was just the right time to see such an appearance of Mu Nanji. The movement of his hands was also for it. The look, too, seemed a little dull. This, is it really the strong lady lady you know? Even in the face of, the bullying of some of the giant corporations in Mordor. But it is still, the performance is very strong. Missy who didn't flinch a bit? Obviously one. How about a little woman who was still in love and full of love brain? At this moment, Sun Fu only felt that it was all a million times unreal, and yet at this very moment, the afterglow of Mu Nanji, who was there, then glanced at Sun Fu, at once, the aura of his body changed, slowly, 
It was the opening of the mouth. Uncle Sun, what can I do for you? Sun Fu's body trembled, then hastily returned to his senses. Feeling the afterglow of this moon Nanji, he hurriedly said, Tea for you, miss. After placing the tea in his hand, in front of Mu Nanji, this Sun Fu was then in a hurry, ready to leave, and at this moment, Nyu Nanji's leisurely voice rang out for it. Uncle Sun, just now, you didn't see anything, did you? Mu Nanji's voice was a bit icy, as the words fell, there's Sun Fert in there, the body, however, was in a flurry, shuddering for it. Ha, 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 what are you talking about, miss? I just brought you a cup of tea, I didn't see anything. A word fell. Mu Nanji also just calmly said, I hope so, and it was at this time. Sun Fu's footsteps were a beat, said, Still, miss, I wish to warn you, if anything, you can't finish the betting agreement. Mu Nanji, who was there, said with a cold look in her eyes, You don't need to be reminded of that, I was the one who talked too much. Sun Fu quickly left the area, and Mu Nanji sighed, The look, with a few moments of sadness, Four months, eight billion dollars? Other side, inside Villa 1, Lin Ma finished his dinner, and after, went into the gym on the ground floor to get fit, wait until 11.30 p.m., that's when he got into bed and looked at his cell phone, it wasn't much longer, that is to say, it came to 12 o'clock in the evening, and at this point in time, the trillion dollar subsidy app is also, at this point, officially up and running, with Lin Ma's refreshing, on this app, new items then just appear, stock market future forecast card, Subsidized price, 999. God's painting skills. Subsidized price, 99. 9. With a successful refresh. The two items just appeared on the screen of the phone in a pause. Ha, huh? refresh today. Is that two items? Lin Mo's expression. At this moment, instantly looked a little stunned. After all, the probability that the app can, at the same time, refresh two items is still very low. But the price of these two items is the first time that they have ever appeared. At these prices, Muttering in the bottom of his heart, Lin Mo looked at the 999 selling price and pondered in the bottom of his heart. Stock market future predictor card. The name of this item tells you that it's not simple. The heart didn't hesitate much. Immediately, Lin Mo was the one who chose to buy these two items all together. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 5 hours. Please wait for the receipt. Look at the message that surfaced on the phone app. Lin Mo also just shook his head. Then, there wasn't much of a wait, just hunkered down under the covers and started to sleep. The night passed, by the time the next morning rolled around, Lin Mo only felt that in his mind, there were a few moments of swelling, after struggling to shake his head, Lin Mo, who was here, also finally came back to his senses. Phew, a long breath was exhaled, Lin Mo, who was here, also had a few moments of dawning comprehension on his expression, so it is, mentally muttering, for a moment, Lin M.O., who was here, understood in his heart. Is this divine painting work that passed into my mind while I was sleeping? The heart murmured. Lin M.O., who was also here, opened the trillion dollar subsidy app in a smooth manner, then, tapped the props bar. At this point, among the props section of the app, the stock market future forecasting card purchased by yourself. At this time, just like is lying in the props column. Sure enough, it's here too. Later, when we eat, Let's see what's going on with this stock market future foretelling card. Murmuring in his heart, Lin Mo then just went to take a shower and wash up. After a bit of a shuffle, that's what brought us to the middle of the restaurant. Huang Yuan also arrived in front of Lin Mo at this time. Bishop, said, good morning, boss. Aha, uh -huh. nodding, he sat down at the table. While eating his breakfast, Lin Mo clicked on the stock market future forecast card inside the app. The phone just tapped up for a moment. A pop-up window surfaced at once. The card is valid for 15 minutes. After using it, please go to the stock exchange market to check it. Is it to be used immediately? As the system's prompt surfaced, Lin Mo, who was here, was instantly stunned. Good lord, I have to download a stock trading app before I can use it? After some heartfelt light laughter, Lin Mo first went into the app store and downloaded a securities trading app, and then, register for an account and open an online account. After doing all this maneuvering, only then did Lin Mo put the stock market future prediction card to use quickly. Almost the instant it was used. In front of Lin Mo. This one ticker symbol for the next four months. And the eventual profit and loss. It was all of it. Floating in front of Lin Mo. Look at this four month chart. Lin Mo. At this moment. Was just a burst. Staggered by it. Nanyang Foods. Sherry Wines. Nintech Time. 
a chart of a well-known company's stock for the next four months. One by one, they just surfaced one by one in Lin Mo's mind. And 15 minutes, soon enough, passed. The moment the time ended, this feeling of knowing the future faded like a tidal wave. Who? Exhale. Lin Mo rubbed his temples. After a little bit of organizing, the memories in his mind. Then he just looked at Huang Yuan and said, Butler Huang, bring me the paper and pen. Down here. Okay. Huang Yuan quickly fetched a pen and paper and handed it to Lin Mo. And Lin Mo, at this time, was also relying on his memories. The name of a business was written on this paper, along with the stock symbol. Corning Batteries. ST. This was one of the companies with the highest rate of increase that Lin Mo had seen in those 15 minutes. This business is now a business on the verge of delisting and reorganization. But, just this one business, in just four months, the stock went from 1, 8 per share, hard, to $378, 50 per share. This is a direct result of a 200-fold increase in share price. The reason is because, this company managed to develop a battery with the latest technology two days later, solve the problem of new energy electric vehicles, insufficient range and long charging time, in one fell swoop. It revolutionized the market for new energy electric vehicles. This stock, if you can hold it in your hands, the assets in my hand, that's capable of hitting 5 or 6 billion dollars. At this time, it was in Lin Mo's hands. It has almost 800 million in cash, but he didn't intend to put the entire 800 million into the stock market. After all, the returns on this stock, despite being incredibly high, but the cycle is too long. Enough is with 4 months of time. Butler Wong, Lin Mo opened his mouth. Keep an eye on this stock for me, at the open tomorrow morning. Help me put 300 million into it and acquire their company's share among the stock market. Hope Wong picked it up. Then, a glance was aimed at, the name of the stock, ST. Wong Wan mentally mused some, and then there was no hasty talk. Just tapped on the securities app on his phone. Then, took a look at the K chart of this stock. Then he just looked at Lin Mo and said, Boss, while I shouldn't go questioning your judgment, are you sure? This stock an ST stock, has the risk of delisting. You will likely have it in your hands if you get into it now. That $300 million share of stock, all smashed up in your hands. Listen to this. Lin Mo was also a bit surprised and looked at Huang Yuan, saying, I didn't realize that you knew about stocks? Huang Yuan, who was here, smiled slightly and spoke. I used to take finance when I was in college. In response, Lin Mo just smiled and said, Okay, but you don't have to worry so much. You'll do as I say and start by buying 300 million tomorrow. As for whether I lost or gained money, that's all up to me. I'll send you the account password for my securities account later. Okay, boss. This Huang Yuan nodded her head slightly. Although, she was very puzzled by Lin Mo's actions. Still, nothing more was said. Lin Mo, on the other hand, left his family's number one villa after finishing his breakfast. Then, drove out in his own Pagani. Spinning around, he rang the doorbell. The door to the room opened, wearing a Changsam outfit Munanji, at this time is from the second floor, slowly walking down, a pair of straight, snow-white legs, in the Changsam's open slits, unreservedly exposed, it makes you gag when you look at it, on his lips, he also hurriedly, opened his mouth to praise, Nanji, this Changsam you're wearing today is really beautiful, and between one pair and you people, that's a perfect match, immediately, Lin Mo also opened his mouth to praise, Listening to Lin Mo's words, Mu Nanji's face blushed slightly, pouting, he said, poor mouth. While saying that, this Mu Nanji, on the other hand, stretched out her hand. Seeing this, Lin Mo took his hand and opened the passenger door of the supercar, letting him get into the car. And then, the two of them just went straight to the art museum, one way to fly. But it was the nearly 40 minutes it took for the two to arrive at the Magic City Art Museum. Today's art exhibit is still tremendous. And there's the president of the Magic City Fine Arts Association, leading the organization. Therefore, it was possible to borrow one of the galleries of the museum. The Magic City Museum of Art has a huge area, with a total of 12 exhibition halls, a total of 6, 000 square feet, and the hall where today's exhibition is located is in that hall 8. Step into the pavilion. Mu Nanji looked at the national paintings hanging on both sides. There was some excitement in the look, with the yearning. Afterwards, it was looking at Lin Mo and said, Lin Mo, have you ever participated in a painting exhibition before? In response, Lin Mo gently shook his head and said, That's not true. After all, in the past, Lin Mo was not a fan of such things as paintings. That is, therefore, it's not like I've been to many art shows or anything. In that case well then, I'll just come and introduce you. Saying that, 
Mu Nanji just came in front of a spring scene picture, introducing himself to Lin Mo. This spring scene, that's a painting by old master Zhao Xianzhong, the old man, him, is an associate professor at the Magic City Academy of Fine Arts. This painting, that's the old man his masterpiece, it is said that there was once a rich merchant who offered one. Two million dollars to buy this spring scene painting of the old master. But the old man he didn't sell it and kept it in his own collection. Said, in the bottom of this Mu Nanji's eyes, brought a few points of appreciation color. Listen to this. Lin Mo also just skimmed his lips. After obtaining the divine grade painter he had not only his own painting skill, but had reached the peak of excellence. Even the appreciation of a painting is at its best. This one was in the bottom of Mu Nanji's eyes. It was a painting worth millions of dollars. In Lin Mo's eyes, it was a variety of faults, and the painting, moreover, seemed to have only form, but no god, and there was Munanji, at this time, he also noticed Lin Mo's appearance and said, hmm, what's wrong, in response to this, Lin Mo just smiled faintly and shook his head, nothing, after all, look at this excited appearance of Munan branch, there are some things you can say about yourself that are better left unspoken for the time being, this Munanji was also walking and chatting at the same time, unconsciously, the two also came before a picture of a stallion. Look at this picture of a stallion. The Munanji there, at this point, under his eyes. At once, a look of deference surfaced. Looking at the words, slowly, he just said, This picture of a steed was created by the chairman of the Magic City Art Association. Mr. Wang Qingyang. Mr. Wang is a highly respected person in the industry. I was also mentored by him when I was in college. So this old Mr. Wang is also considered half of my master and he can be considered, with this hand of painting horses, to be out of this world. Listen to the words. Lin Mo also nodded his head and said, This painting is indeed not bad, only that these horses are still a few points lacking above their demeanor. With that statement, here in Munanzi, she froze in her tracks instead. Then, there was also just some uncertainty as to what to say about Lin Mo, but just at this point in time, a slightly disgruntled voice, however, came violently behind him. Ch, you're not afraid of pulling your own tongue when you speak so full of words. Still a little lacking in godliness? You don't know anything about art and you're still talking nonsense here? As the voice rang out, the two of them, Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji, just turned their heads back one after another, only to see an old man, who was standing there, looking at Lin Mo with a face full of contempt. Mu Nan Ji also saw the old man. At once, there were just a few moments of surprise, and, in the back of his mind, despite that, there was some displeasure at the words he had just said about Lin Mo, but he still opened his mouth. Elder Tang, why are you here as well? Saying that, she was also for Lin Mo, saying, Lin Mo, this is Senior Tang Chang Chao. Tang Chang Chao then looked at Lin Mo, spinning around, he opened his mouth. Ha, huh, young man, did you just say that this painting of our president is missing a bit of godliness? Lin Mo, on the other hand, calmly said, not bad, these three horses are still missing a few moments of divinity. Listening to these words, Tang Chang Chao who was there, at that moment, it was just a snort of laughter, and said, Ha, huh, you say this painting lacks divinity? And really some, big words, you know, just this picture of our president's steed. Even when Zhang Xiancheng, the master of Chinese painting, looked at it, it was all praise. What qualifications do you have to say that this picture of a stallion lacks divinity when you're a guy who doesn't know any better? With this sentence fell, Lin Mo by that was shaking his head and said, is that so? Then it would seem that in your mouth, the alleged master of national painting, you're not very good at appreciation, either. Why else would you be raving about this painting, in all its glory? After a sentence fell, Tang Chang Chao there, was instantly just a bit angry. You, Zhang Xiancheng, this is a titanic figure in the world of Chinese painting, just a little bit, go ahead and stomp your feet, that national painting world, it's a big deal that's going to be an earthquake. But now, Lin Mo actually dared to be so. Insulting and questioning this master Zhang? What does he think he is? It's impossible to think of yourself as a master of Chinese painting. For a split second, Tang Changchao's face was suffocatingly red. Next to her, Mu Nanji was also shocked. She hadn't expected at all that Lin Mo would actually dare to speak like this. That's just a little bit uninformed. Hastily that is to say. Elder Tang, I'm really sorry. This friend of mine, he doesn't pay much attention to art. So please forgive me. Listen to this. Tang Changchao was also not in a good position to continue the seizure. All that could be done was to grunt coldly and say, Young people don't be too crazy. If you don't know something, don't talk nonsense. He doesn't understand? At this moment, Lin Mo instantly laughed. Don't know anything about art yourself? 
if you don't know anything about art yourself, then one's godly painting skills were really for nothing. With a shake of his head, Rimmer said the same thing. Forget it, Nani, let's just go. For this kind of person, Lin Imo was all, just too lazy to spend any more words. However, right about this time, a group of people, however, came over in great numbers. At the same time, a voice rang out. Hum, Chang Chao, why are you here? Tang Chang Chao was instantly jolted, and then it's just saying, President, you're here. With the moment those words fell, Wang Chang Yang, who was there, also saw, standing back, Mu Nan Ji, at once, he said, Yo, Ma'am Mu is also here? Grandpa Wang, Mu Nan Ji shouted at Wang Chang Yang. After that, it was to look to the ones who were on the sidelines. A few others, said, Elder Chiu, Elder Lan. A bunch of people said hello. These people also contained smiles and nodded their heads at Mu Nan Ji. Subsequently, it was to look at, at Lin Mo, who was beside Mu Nan Ji, and said, Yo Mu girl this is to talk about boyfriend. Did you bring your own boyfriend today? On a date to the art gallery? With a bit of snark underneath, Mu Nan Ji suddenly blushed slightly and said, Elder Lan, don't talk nonsense, between Lin Mo and I, it's just a normal friend relationship. Ha ha, little girl this is still shy. A moment in time, the crowd, in turn, just laughed out loud, and just then, next to him, Tang Chong Chao, on the other hand, was unsympathetic and came to say, he he, it's just that this moo girl doesn't have a good eye, looking at a cocky guy, just now, he was still saying here in a judgmental manner that this picture of the president's steed lacked charisma, and it was even more sarcastic, Master Zheng's vision is not working, a sentence fell, all of them in succession, their faces changed slightly, these words of Wang Changchao fell. Everyone's face, all of them changed. One of them, a middle-aged man with a beard, burst into a wave of anger. To Lin Mo who was there, he was angrily scolding. How dare you, a mere yellow-mouthed child dares to insult Master Zhang like this. Something that doesn't know the heights of heaven. Master Zhang is a great master of national painting. What do you think you are? Humph. And commenting that the president's words lacked charisma? A mere milquetoast brat. How dare you speak out of turn like that? Mu girl. You're not good at reading people. This is a scoundrel. You'd better stay away from him in the future. One moment. The crowd that was here was just pointing at Lin Mo for a while. And Mu Nan Ji, at this point, was also anxious. Hurriedly, he helped this Lin Mo to defend himself. No, it's not what you think. Lin Mo, he is not this kind of person. There is a misunderstanding here. Misunderstanding? Wang Changchao, who was there, completely at this time, was just being reasonable. Smiling coldly, he opened his mouth. Oh, I heard it with my own ears just a few moments ago. And what kind of misunderstanding could there be in that? Wang Changchao immediately, then is coldly said, I, one moment, Mu Nan Ji, who was here, changed her face. Lin Mo, on the other hand, shook his head and said, there's no point in explaining anything too much. To these guys, a bunch of people who are selling their names in honor, and they don't mind the shame. After saying that, Lin Mo was pulling Mu Nan Ji's wrist and preparing to leave. But just then, the old man standing there at the front, but all of a sudden, a smile appeared and said, Oh, young man please wait, regarding what Chang Chao said just now, are you feeling lacking regarding this painting of mine? Lin Mo swept a glance at this old man, if one, oneself, remembers correctly, the others just now called this old man chairman, so he's the chairman of the art association, Wang Chong Yan, that's right, Lin Mo nodded and said, you've drawn seven parts of the divine charm of this painting, and lacked three parts of the fire. Lin Mo, who was here, was full of calmness between his words. With the moment the words fell, this Wang Qingyang's face, too, was a bit hung up. This painting of yourself, that's your own masterpiece. Moreover, this painting is a collection of his life's work. It was later even praised by Master Chang himself. This painting of his own is definitely a treasure of the world. Between the current world, this steed picture of himself, in today's national painting world, it can be in the top five, and the work that was so much praised. In front of this junior, I can't believe I'm being called, a work that lacks three points of fire? How's this? Can let him Wang Qingyang's face, hang on, a moment. Wang Qingyang's face was ugly and ironic, and then, just slowly, oh, listen to little brother. Little brother is quite knowledgeable about Chinese painting, and the painting skills, I'm sure, are superb. Here it is, the one that doesn't matter, to show you what it's all about, and how about letting us, the people, come and open our eyes? Listen to this. Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. As far as this seems to be concerned, this Wang Qingyang's fox tail, the final is still revealed. 
ready to get yourself back, here, oh, coldly laughing in his heart, Lin Emo looked at this Wang Chun Yang and said, no, what are you, you're asking me to paint, so I have to paint for you, who are you to have such a big face, after a few words fell, Mu Nanji's expression, looked embarrassed, road, Lin Mo, he's the one I told you about, Chairman Wang Chun Yang, Chairman of the Art Association, as soon as these words came out, Wang Cheng Yang also straightened his shirt, he still believes in his reputation, it was also believed that Lin Mo would wimp out after hearing his name, however, Lin Mo shook his head on the spot and said, Wang Chun Yang, who's this, don't recognize him, this time, Mu Nan Ji's face reddened, as for Wang Chun Yang's look, he was also embarrassed, and at this time, Mu Nan Ji, was in a hurry, to Wang Chun Yang, who was there, said, Chairman, Lin Mo, he really doesn't know how to do Chinese painting, so why don't we just forget about it, a sentence fell, the mocking voice sounded again, don't, Mu girl, when this guy was just now, his mouth wasn't still quite capable, yeah, since it's so powerful, if he's good he'll go on, what's the point of wimping out now, that's right, but I'm only afraid that this guy, is even the national painting altogether, there are several schools of thought do not know it, listen to the jeers around you, Mu Nanji looked even more embarrassed and embarrassed, and at this point, Wang Chong Yang, who was there, was still wearing a smile at the corner of his mouth, only for his own side, for Lin Mo's mockery, it was very joyful, immediately, it was the opening of the mouth, oh, young man, if you don't dare to draw, the big deal is to apologize, if you can paint, show us your hand in a big way, but what do you mean now, this light hiding behind a woman, between Wang Chang Yang's words, there was no mockery though, but the implication within is beyond words, all of a sudden, Mu Nanji's face, too, turned red, as for the moment, Lin Mo's voice, however, also sounded blandly, just as well, since you guys have to make fools of yourselves, then there's no point in my continuing to save face, and just barely, to punch you in the face, Lin Mo's tone was full of helplessness, but it fell on the ears of the crowd, but it made these people, all of a sudden, irritated by it, asshole, big talk, a dead duck with a stiff upper lip, waiting for the meeting I'd like to see what kind of shit you can draw, don't be afraid that later, you don't even know how to hold the brush, that's all, Humph, the bullskin is blowing loud and clear, the crowd chortled and grunted, and this time, Munanzi was anxious, hectic, said, Lin Mo, why don't we just forget about it, you don't know anything about Chinese painting, big deal, you apologize to them and it's over, Mu Nanji's heart was in a million pieces, after all, she had asked Lin Mo before she came, Lin Mo, on the other hand, said that he never pays attention to art exhibitions or anything like that, how can someone who never pays attention to art exhibitions know anything about Chinese painting, even if I could, what would be too high a level of attainment in Chinese painting, to this, Lin Mo, however, smiled blandly and said, don't worry about it, just watch from the sidelines, these guys, they're just a bunch of frogs at the bottom of a well, Lin Mo shook his head and laughed lightly, looking at the crowd that was there, under his eyes, he was filled with sarcasm, and then, it was, lead the way, the words fell, the crowd here, too, came to the center of the showroom, before a long table, on the table, a roll of rice paper was spread out, with a pen and ink laid out beside it, Lin Mo, on the other hand, took a big step forward and picked up the brush, at that moment, the aura on Yulin Ma's body changed abruptly, suddenly, it was as if he was a, a patriarch who had been immersed in the way of painting for many years, topsy-turvy, the aura rises, the moment you put pen to paper, a great deal of style comes naturally, with the formation of everyone's style, in the back of that crowd's mind, it was not a shock, this aura was truly a bit terrifying, one can't help but be, well, in awe, however, in the next moment, these few people fell back to their senses, this guy's got swagger, Humph, it's just posturing, what's the point of having a strong momentum, if what you draw later doesn't work, what's the point of having a strong aura, exactly, it's all about the painting after all, young people don't know how to be humble, they only pretend, a few people here, have coldly grunted, Lin Ma dropped his pen, the pen falls in a shocking manner, and the majestic power of the pen is nourished, the pen is the first thing to go, sharpness comes into its own, as Lin Mo put pen to paper, the mocking voice is gradually diminished, gradually, one looked a little stunned, as for chairman Wang Ching Yang who was there, he was even more completely dumbfounded at this time, of all the people here, he's the best at drawing, therefore, with Lin Mo after he had put down his pen, he then just saw the depth of Lin Mo's strength, and also as a result, 
the entire crowd's jaws were dropped, unable to close their mouths in surprise. It wasn't until after Lin Mo's last stroke had fallen that he was still unable to return to his senses. At this point, on top of this rice paper, between the heavy ink and color, a horse with its head down eating grass jumps off the page. The whole horse seems not to be a dead thing, but as if alive, to leap out of the rice paper. In an instant, it almost seemed as if it had come to life. Looking at the horse, a dead silence fell over the entire hall. Everyone looked at Lin Mo who was there. It was as if, it was looking at a monster. After all, this kind of drawing skill is really horrible and scary. Just this horse drawing is just great. Almost. Enough to rival what their president had. Before. And no wonder. This guy dared to be so arrogant before. Being so young and having this kind of strength is enough to make it. So arrogant. But remembering earlier. The words that Lin Mo had said. These people from the Fine Arts Association. However. Were still changing their faces for a while. Said. Humph. Even if the painting is good. What's the point? How dare you go and question Master Zhang? For this kind of disrespectful behavior, no matter how good you are at this painting, it's all for naught. Just, no upbringing. Ha! This horse painting is just average. With the chairman of the painting a stroke, the two are simply different. That's right. Keeping his mouth shut, commenting on his predecessor's works indiscriminately, and having the audacity to talk about Master Zhang, talent but no virtue, all at once. The crowd that was here, in succession, just made a burst of cynical remarks towards Lin Mo, and with that burst of cynicism, Lin Mo also shook his head. These guys, on their own, are underpowered. Naturally, it is impossible to see the subtlety of one's painting, and that's a side note to prove something. That's where the talent of these people ends. In this life, I won't be able to achieve much in the field of art. To this, Lin Mo just laughed coldly and shook his head, saying, bunch of wellies. In response, Lin Mo didn't explain anything too much. Just glanced at the Munanji, who was there, and said, All right, Nani, let's go. What can we talk about if we stay with this bunch of frogs at the bottom of the well? After Lin Mo's words fell, he just quickly turned around and left the place. And, where Munanji, at this time is also a little helpless, opened his mouth. That's fine. With that, she then just quickly, with the rest of the group of seniors, after saluting, they turned to say goodbye. At the same time, to Lin Mo was also rushing opening his mouth, Lin Mo, wait for me slightly, what was said was that he quickly chased after them, and at this point in time, the group of people from the fine arts association who were there also burst out, snickering and opening their mouths, arrogant rats, calling us frogs at the bottom of a well, what does this guy think he is, and he dares to talk about us like that, humph, arrogant and arrogant man, and at this point in time, there was also someone who saw Wang Ching Yang, who was there dead, staring at Lin Mo's painting, unable to help it, he opened his mouth to ask curiously, Hey, chairman, why are you staring at this painting so intently? Hearing this, Wang Chong Yang, who was there, also finally came back to his senses, hastily, is looked around and said, Where's Lin Mo? Where's Lin Mo who was drawing here just now? At this moment, Wang Ching Yang was a bit flustered, and in a hurry, he just opened his mouth and asked, yet after the words fell, the rest of the crowd in this association, however, looked puzzled, chairman, that arrogant and cocky kid just now has been gone for a while now. Why do you care so much about him? Yes, chairman. This guy is nothing more than an ignorant and arrogant person. He's not worth paying attention to at all. It is. To call us frogs at the bottom of the well while we were walking away. This kid. He's just too arrogant. What qualifications does he have to say that? Does he still think that he is some kind of patriarch? With a murmur. This Wang Ching Yang's complexion. However. Was incomparably bitter. Unavoidably. It is then said. You guys, still really a bunch of frogs at the bottom of the well. This painting by this Lin Mo, you guys really didn't see it? As Wang Ching Yang's words fell, the people here, however, were in succession, froze for it. Tang Chang Chao's face, at once, just froze. And then, he looked at Wang Chang Yang and said, President, what do you mean? Could it be that this painting, could there be any mystery? Listening to Tang Chang Chao's words, Wang Chang Yang, who was there? sighed and shook his head. The painting done by that Lin Mo Sr. just now has long been out of this world and back to the basics. The horse inside this painting was, so to speak, not a painting at all, but a steed full of vigor and lifelike. A painter who can paint to this extent is, in my eyes, only a grandmaster. In other words, that Lin Mo Sr. just now, he, he is indeed a patriarch. Boom! A stone has stirred up a thousand waves. This, the minds of all the people there, at this point, were exploding. What were they doing? Just now, ousted one, 
the hidden art clairvoyant, and still there, hurling insults and taunts at each other? The moment, many of the people who had mocked Lin M.O., at this time their bodies were already trembling. After all, a 20-year-old painting patriarch, that's a promising future, and it's limitless, and their Tang Chang Chao, at this time, had a look of despair. He himself, just now, had actually offended a fine arts patriarch, his own future, a dark one, and there was a flurry of changing faces from the others, a patriarchal figure in his early twenties. In an instant, many of the people who had previously spoken out in mockery looked as if they had turned the color of pig's liver, offended such a number one, then one's future, in the art world, is kind of lost, and a lot of people, at this point, have figured that out, at once, looking at the bottom of the eyes of Tang Chang Chao and the others, it's just a little bit of, well, gloating, at the same time, the heart is all for it, he himself hadn't spoken out to taunt Lin Mo during the earlier moments, otherwise, I'm afraid they're all going to suffer, along with it, Tang Chang Chao, who was there, was crying his eyes out and hurriedly ran to Wang Qingyang's face, saying, President, I, what am I going to do about this I, at this time, Tang Chang Chao was basically anxious and on the verge of crying out, after all, this situation in front of him really made him panic a bit, oh, what to do, Wang Qing Yang, who was there, sneered, glanced at this Tang Chang Chao, and said, you're better off on your own, after saying that, he was just in a hurry, running out, wanted to see if he could still catch up with Lin Mo, after all, one had to, to show goodwill in front of Lin Mo, quite a few other members of the association, at that moment, they also reacted and chased after them together, and Tang Chang Chao listened to Wang Qingyang's words, instead, he fell straight to the ground, God is lost in a daze, and, by the time this Wang Qing Yang and the rest of the group, after chasing out of the art museum, however, they were also unable to find, Lin Mo and Mu Nanji's figures, after all, at this time, Lin Mo was already driving, the two of them ran off in the direction of the villa area together, this Wang Qing Yang and the others, also had to return unhappy, Wang Qing Yang, however, was in no hurry, after all, this time, since Lin Mo came with Mu Nanji, and for between the two, it still looks intimate, then you want to find Lin Mo yourself, it's not a difficult thing to do, the main thing was how one was going to show goodwill to Lin Mo, Wang Qing Yang mused mentally, the subsequent one, mentally, was also murmuring, saying, well, let's ask elder brother first, think about it, he was also the one who was alone, back in the showroom, after all, such a thing happened, people really need to calm down, after Wang Qing Yang returned to the showroom, Looking at the painting that Lin Mo had made on the tabletop, the bottom of his eyes were filled with admiration, spinning around as if remembering something. Then he took out his cell phone, took a picture, and sent it to his, his senior brother. But it was just a few short minutes. This one Qingyan's cell phone, on the other hand, was ringing directly. Sure Fu. After connecting, Wang Qingyang just opened his mouth. Qing Yang, where did you get this painting from? This, this is definitely the authentic work of a grandmaster senior. On the other side of the phone, a trembling and anxious voice rang out. Unexpected, I didn't expect it. I, by hi, have lived for 78 years, and in my lifetime, I'm actually able to see a Grandmaster class national painting, listening to the anxious voice of his own senior brother. Wang Qing Yang had mixed feelings. This senior brother of his, was 10 years ahead of him, worshipping the master. At the time of his own worship, elder brother is already a minor celebrity, and after decades of groping, his own senior brother, Two, became a great master of Chinese painting. Thinking of this, Wang Qing Yang also just told the whole story. All of it. With that said, Whitehaven on the other end of the phone was just shaking. On his face, visibly, irritation surfaced. Subsequently, fiercely was the angry voice that chortled. Confused. Wang Chong Yang, you're confused. While chortling, this white sea is just a burst of violent coughing. And then, Dao. Wang Chong Yang, Ah Wang Chong Yang, before you left the school, what did master, his old man, tell you? His old man has warned you from time to time to guard against arrogance, not to be too arrogant, and to keep in mind that there are others. As a result, that's how you followed these words that master, his old man, told you? Whitehaven was infuriated for a while, and Wang Chang Yang was also chastised, somewhat unable to raise his head, said, elder brother's admonition is, well, the white sea over there, at this time, had its breath smoothed out, and then, it was a slow way of saying, let's put it this way, you definitely offended that patriarch with that behavior before, if you want the present, to go to the door to make amends, the other party that will never see you, 
As these words fell from the White Sea, Wang Qingyang was also anxious. Hurriedly, the road, senior brother, then what am I going to do here? To know, if it can't be forgiven by Lin Ma. In Wang Qingyang's opinion, his position as chairman of the Magic City Art Association is also ahead. We don't need to meet. The White Sea on the other end of the phone, slowly said, no need to meet? Wang Qingyang was a bit confused. Elder brother your words, mean? Oh, we can beg for paintings. Bai Hai said smilingly, requesting a painting? Yes, it's to beg for paintings. You contact the other party, and ask him to beg for paintings for me. Help me to ask the other party, to ask for four paintings. As those words fell, Wang Qingyang was a bit hesitant, but still nodded his head and agreed. And after that, it was to prepare to call Munanzi. On the phone, other side, Villa 1 Eastern Suburbs, Munanji's home, Munanji, who was sitting there drinking tea, looked at Lin Mo with some resentment and said with some grudges, you even lie to me before that you don't pay attention to painting exhibitions and all that, causing me to worry for nothing. To this, Lin Mo just nodded his head and said, I'm not lying, I really don't pay attention to painting shows and all that. In response, Mu Nanji rolled her eyes and said, I believe in you, if you don't pay attention to painting exhibitions and all that, how do you have such a good level of Chinese painting? Just that steed drawing you just did. I feel like it's on the verge of being on par with old Mr. Wan's level, isn't it? To the words of Mu Nanji. For a moment, Lin Mo looked a little speechless, and then, spoke up, don't you compare me to him. With that, Lin Mo just skimmed his lips and said, besides, is there any necessary relationship between my lack of attention to painting exhibitions and the high level of my country's painting? A sentence fell. The Mu Nanji here, on the contrary, did not know what to say. Rather, mumbles a sentence. The Mu Nanzi who was there, however, let out a leisurely sigh. AI, but this time, Lin Mo. You have offended the Magic City's Fine Arts Association, especially old Mr. Wang. He is the chairman of the Art Association. If you offend him, then you this later. There may be some small trouble ah. Listen to this. Lin Mo burst out laughing, then shook his head. So what? Besides, if this old man knows what he's doing, it probably won't be long before he'll have to call in person and come looking for me. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Mu Nanji was completely unconvinced. However, before she could say anything, the cell phone, which was lying on the side, was suddenly ringing. After picking it up and looking at the caller ID, the look on Mu Nanji's face was suddenly bizarre. On a cell phone, the caller ID was not someone else. Just like that, it is Wang Chang Yang. At this moment in time, Mu Nanji could be described as having a few moments of confusion. This, how could it be true that Lin Mo had hit the nail on the head? This Wang Chang Yang actually really came to the phone in person? The moment. Mu Nanji's expression looked a little complicated, and Lin Mo also glanced at Mu Nanji. The corners of his mouth gently rose with a slight smile as he said, Catch, aha. Uh Mu -huh. Nanji nodded. What followed was a connection to the phone. Phone call connected. Hello. The moment Mu Nanji's voice rang out, on the other end of the phone, Wang Qingyan's respectful voice was the one for which it rang out. Nani ah, that senior who was with you before, is she with you now? Listen to Wang Qingyan's tone. This Mu Nanji was completely confused. To know, who is Wang Qingyan? That's the president of the Magic City Art Association. Weekdays, among the art world in the Magic City, even some of the masters had to give a few shades of respect when they met him. Yet now, this Wang Qingyang is such a respectful look, and, even more so, he called Lin Mo a senior? This, for a moment, Mu Nanji, who was here, was alarmed by it. In the bottom of his eyes, he also brought on a few moments of dismay. Seniors? Calling Lin Ma? This kind of address seemed to Mu Nanji. That was something that couldn't be related to Lin Mo no matter what. But now, the favoritism is that kind of name calling. The heart is stunned. Still nodding her head, this Mu Nan branch said, Grandpa Wang, Lin Mo, he's by my side. As these words fell from Mu Nanji, she obviously heard that Wang Qingyang, over there, was relieved. But then, then it was that a hearty laugh was heard. Road, ha ha, Nanji ah, since Elder Lin is here, will you speak to him for me and tell him I want to ask him for a painting? As the words fell, Mu Nanji, who was there, was had been dumbfounded. She, hear what? Wang Qingyang, to beg for paintings with Lin Ma? This, make sure you're not kidding, despite what is said. Mu Nanji did think, the steed drawing by Lin Mo just now was indeed a very good drawing, but, even so, it hasn't arrived yet either, even for the likes of Wang Chang Yang, the bigwigs of the Magic City's art world all have to turn to Lin Mo and come to the point of begging for paintings, right? And, 
begging to be painted such words. The obvious one is saying, own level, not as good as the other. This, the moment. Moon Anji only felt that she was not crazy. Lin Mo's level of Chinese painting, to be higher than Wang Qing Yang? How is this possible? Immediately, it was swallowing hard and said, Wang, Grandpa Wang, you, aren't kidding, are you? Moon Anji, who was here, only felt that she was in a daze at this moment. Then, just trembling, he opened his mouth. Who am I kidding with you? Just leave Nanji alone. Just ask Elder Lin for me. Wang Qing Yang did not hesitate. After all, this Lin M.O., that's a patriarchal figure. There's no shame in begging for a painting from in yourself. Oh, good, said. Munanji just took the cell phone away from his ear. Covering the receiver, he looked at Lin M.O. and said, Lin M.O., Grandpa Wang's call. He said he wants to talk to you here, to beg for a painting. Mu Nanji hesitated, but still used the word begging for paintings. To this, Lin Mo just smiled. Then, taking a sip of tea and squinting his eyes, he said, requesting a painting? Under the upturned corners of the mouth, Lin Mo said calmly, you reply to him that it's okay to ask for paintings, ten million dollars apiece. This time, Mu Nanji was all shocked. Ten million dollars? Lin, Lin Mo, this price of yours, isn't it a bit too high? This Grandpa Wang He, at least, has instructed me, counting me as half a teacher. Aren't you pricing it a little? Well, too high? Hi. Lin Mo cocked his head and said, I think it's okay. Just tell him at that price. If he is willing to continue to beg, then just keep coming back for more paintings. This, Mu Nanji looked at Lin Mo's attitude. It's not good to continue, to say something. All that could be done was to nod his head and say, All right then, I'll tell Grandpa Wang's side at that price, said the man, taking back the phone and saying, Grandpa Wang, I just asked Lin Mo. He said that if you want to request paintings, that's fine, but the price is $10 million a pair. After these words fell, Wang Chong Yang, who was there, was all completely confused. $10 million a pair? This price, even if one knew that Lin Mo's drawing skills were at the level of a grandmaster. But, after all, it's not famous. The price, which is a few points too high, even. It's quite a bit more expensive than a painting by some popular national painting masters. Nani, are you sure you're not joking with grandpa? Eventually, Wang Ching Yang took a deep breath and said, No, indeed, that's the price. Niu Nanji shook his head, and immediately, this Wang Ching Yang's heart was a bit annoyed, somewhat angrily. No, ten million dollars for a painting? Isn't that a rant? I came here with sincerity, and here you are, actually asking for a lot of money? Wang Ching Yang's tone was filled with anger. In his opinion, Lin Mo's behavior was tantamount to robbing by fire. Lin Mo, on the other hand, narrowed his eyes slightly, listening to the sound that was leaking out of the earpiece of the cell phone because it was so loud. It's the slow, way, oh, ride the fire? In that case, you tell him that now. The price of this one painting has gone up. Fifty million dollars, one pair, love it or leave it. Lin Mo did not hesitate. V, the moment. Munanji's eyes widened. Fifty million dollars a pair? This price, it's not a rant anymore. Simply, a lion's share, swallowing hard. Nunan Ji was a little hesitant. After all, that's the price if you quote it. She was genuinely afraid of the aged Wang Qing Yang. No didn't get his breath back and fainted with both legs. It's okay, just say it. Lin Mo said calmly, okay. Mu Nan Ji sighed, helplessly, just said to the other end of the phone, Grandpa Wang, just now Lin Mo said that the price of his painting has gone up. Now, it's fifty million dollars a pair. A sentence fell. On the other end of the line, there was dead silence. Wang Qingyang's face was suffocatingly red. Fifty million? This, even if it is currently the reddest national painting patriarch in the country. A painting, it wouldn't even take that much, would it? Wang Qingyang's face, suffocated, was red. The whole heart of the man burned with anger. What does this Lin Mo mean? Play with yourself, even if he did. Indeed. Have the painting skills of a grandmaster? So what? But still, just a brat. By lowering himself and asking him for a painting he was already handing out steps. Everyone went along for the ride, half a step back on each side. Then he punished himself with three glasses. Then the matter is in the past. But now, what's that supposed to mean? At first, the asking price was $10 million. He can tolerate it. But now, asking for $50 million? It's making a monkey out of him, isn't it? After holding his tongue for half a day, this Wang Chang Yang spat out a sentence. Nani, tell him not to go too far. To this, Mu Nan Ji opened her mouth, still smiling bitterly, and said, Just now Lin Mo was also said, 
Is this price? Let you love to buy it. A sentence fell. On the phone, there was only a busy signal. On the other end of the phone, Wang Qingyang's breathing seemed ragged. Eyes, a flush. Fifty million dollars a painting? This is making fun of me. Said, this Wang Qingyang is the one who dialed his senior brother's phone. Other side, inside Villa 2, Lin Emo sat there with a few light smiles on his face. Said, the phone was hung up on? Well, and listen to Grandpa Wang's voice. Between his words, the tone of voice seems to be very annoyed indignation. I guess the state, not very good. I'm just afraid that he, because of what you just did, caused the whole thing to pass out. He's older now, and once he passes out and can't be resuscitated, then you're in trouble. To this, Lin Emo smiled and said, It's okay, this old man, he can't die yet. Said, Lin Emo just stood up and said, Well, come on, why don't I teach you how to go about painting a national painting? Listen to this. Mu Nanji instantly put everything that had just happened behind her. The look on his face was full of excitement. She still recognized Lin Mo's drawing skills. On the painting skills alone, Mu Nanji then thought. Lin Mo's strength was no less than Wang Qing Yang's. And remembering, the time before, how Wang Chang Yang had addressed Lin Mo. In the bottom of this Mu Nanji's heart, there was just a birth of a, somewhat seemingly absurd idea. Could it be that Lin Mo's painting skills are still above Grandpa Wang's? If that's the case, is it possible that Lin Mo's painting skills have already reached the level of a master? This Mu Nanji's mind muttered. And to think, Mu Nanji was also the one who hastily, somewhat excitedly, nodded her head and said, Hmm, good, then I'll follow you and learn how to go about painting Chinese paintings. Laughing, that's how the two came to be inside the study. With the four treasures of the literary room spread out flat, Lin Emo lifted his pen and began to guide Mu Nanji. And on the other side, Jiang Nan Province, an old man, in his seventies, sat down in a rocking chair, in his hand, holding his cell phone. The picture on it, just like that, was the steep picture that Wang Chang Yang had sent to him before. At this time, the old man's demeanor appeared to be full of exuberance. A master class national painting, a master class national painting, it's just a pity that there are only photos, and I haven't seen the real thing. If I could witness the real thing, I'm afraid my attainments in Chinese painting would be a few points better. Muttering under his breath, the old man's expression was filled with excitement. And then, it was the continued, murmuring, saying, however, as long as I wait for that old kid, Wang Chong Yang, to be able to beg me for a pair of, Patriarch's National Paintings, then, a bottleneck that is troubling me, I'm afraid that I will be able to smoothly break through and step into the level of a grandmaster. This old man's expression was filled with excitement, and it's at this point in time, his cell phone, however, was also ringing, watch the caller ID, the old man's face, in an instant, was just heaped with creased smiles, he said, he he, looks like this Ching Yang kid, begged me for a painting, good, good, just great, the old man smiled, after picking up the phone, it was the opening of the mouth that asked, hey, Ching Yang, you begged for a Taoist painting, how much did it cost, as the words fell after that, Wang Ching Yang on the other end of the phone, at this time, his face, was already a green and purple, immediately, it was with clenched teeth that he said, senior brother, don't mention this matter, that guy, he's just so out of touch, for just one painting, you have to charge 50 million dollars, as the words fell after that, the old man was taken aback, collecting 50 million dollars, that's not a small amount of money, but then, he just spoke slowly, 50 million dollars, you bought it for me, also, get me four of them straight down, to know, right now, Lin Mo's reputation was unremarkable, once the reputation is up, that 50 million dollars, then, could be, literally, going to be worth a fortune. And just as the words fell, Wang Ching Yang there, all of his own senior brother, this decision to get confused, he was planning, to persuade his own senior brother, to give up seeking the painting, but now, how is it that his own senior brother, is really just firm on this idea? And, four frames in one shot? Isn't that a bit, well, over the top? After all, Lin Mo's paintings are not small numbers, one painting, 50 million dollars, Four panels, that's 200 million. This, senior brother, calm down, this guy's painting, it's not worth the money ah, and the words had just fallen. Elder brother's voice, that is, rang out for it. You called me, are you the senior brother or am I now? Still not worth the price? What kind of character do you think the other guy is? That is the existence of the national painting master level painting skills. This kind of character would definitely be famous in the future even if he wasn't famous now. At that time, what level of price do you think his paintings can be sold at? The words came out. 
Wang Qingyang was stunned. Yeah, yourself just now. Why are you so confused? It's only 50 million. Investing in a not yet famous clan master. That's superb ah. Even at his age, when the time comes, there's a wave of hype. What a series of names such as young master and genius painter. When the time comes, don't say 50 million dollars for a painting. Even if the auction goes to 87 million dollars, it's not a big deal. Yes, senior brother. I understand. Well, you call. Other side. Inside the study. Mu Nanji was studying behind Lin Mo at the moment. At the same time, the mind was made up. Later, when it's over, he's going to give Wang Qingyang a call and apologize to him. After all, the other party was at least the president of the Fine Arts Association, and it has instructed itself before. If one offends people to death, one wants to continue in the future, in the art world, or if you get guidance from the other side, that is, without a doubt, as hard as it gets. However, it was at this time, Mu Nanji's cell phone but suddenly rang. Once she saw that it was Wang Chengyang calling, Mu Nanji's heart was in fear. After all, it seemed to her that the other party was here to raise hell. Laughing bitterly, he took the call, prepare to be reprimanded. However, the imagined rebuke didn't ring out. Instead, there was a flurry of whispers. Nanji ah, help me apologize to that friend of yours. It was my fault just now. It's just not right that I should be so impulsive at my age. The words came out. Munanji was confused. This, what the hell? Elder Wang Chang Yang, called, not for accountability? Rather, apologize? This kind of operation had really shocked Munanji. This situation, something's not right. Here's a moment of dizziness from Munanji. Original. She assumed that the old man had called and was ready to come to accountability. Results, the other person actually, was calling to apologize? This, Mu Nanji was a bit dumbfounded. But then it came back, hurriedly, the road. Don't say that, Grandpa Wang. You're an elder. You just now, cursed a couple of times that's what you should have done. Listen to this. Wang Qing Yang, however, was in a hurry, saying, Don't, don't you say that. Nani, just now indeed. Old man I'm senile ah. As an elder, I should be leading by example. But I'm leaning on the old man. Tell you what, when you and that friend of yours, are free, I'll invite the two of you to dinner, and apologize to the two of you. In person, a word fell. Mu Nan Ji, however, was given a fright. Hectic, that is, the word. Grandpa Wang, you can't do this. What the hell is going on here? This old man, actually said that he wanted to invite her and Lin Mo to dinner to apologize in person? And also at this time, the phone on the other end of the Wang Qing Yang, but also continued to say, Nani, your friend, is he still around? Oh, he's still around. Mu Nan Ji said in a hurry. Listen to this. The old man who was there just had a smile on his face. Hectic, that is, said, I see, so tell him for me. Fifty million dollars a painting, I'll buy it. Ha, huh? Mu Nanji was shocked. Fifty million dollars for a painting? At this moment, Mu Nanji's breathing was ragged. In a somewhat disbelieving tone, he said, Grandpa Wang, you, are you not kidding? Fifty million dollars a painting, you say, you buy it? Although Mu Nanji is not clear. The market is now a specific price of calligraphy and painting, but she was judging herself. Currently on the market, 50 million dollars a painting, only the top of the line, or the late greats of calligraphy and painting. What a way to sell a painting and calligraphy for that price. And Lin Ma, it's obviously not top everyone, but, Wang Chang Yang, actually planning to buy it? This, Mu Nan Ji was a bit confused and couldn't believe it. Wang Chang Yang, who was there, nodded his head calmly and said, Yeah, that's right. I'll take it. Also, it's not one, it's six. Inside these six panels, the four panels were wanted by his own brother, the remaining two panels. Then it is what one wants, not just, just because Lin Mo's paintings, once famous, will appreciate in value. More than that, it was because Lin Mo's paintings contained the workmanship and skill of a grandmaster, and these two paintings are able to show and comprehend for themselves, the higher level of painting skills and techniques. And here's Mu Nin Ji, taking a deep breath. Fifty million dollars? Six panels? Mu Nanji really felt that she was getting a little dizzy. Lin Mo's painting, is it really worth that much? Even Wang Qing Yang is ready to buy six pieces for fifty million dollars? Mu Nanji swallowed. Then, with some trembling, he said, Grandpa Wang, can I ask why you bought six of Lin Mo's paintings? After all, the price of this one painting is already fifty million dollars. As the words fell after that, Wang Qing Yang, who was there, was slightly silent. But then, Still slowly, I can tell you that with my 50 million dollars of painting, 
I still picked up the slack. What? At this moment, Moon and Ji was all shocked. Fifty million dollars a pair. Or picking up the pieces? This, in an instant, Moon and Ji was even more curious about Lin Mo's painting and why it was so valuable. Hastily, it was the question that continued. Grandpa Wang, what is this all about? Wang Ching Yang, who was on the other end of the phone, looked bitter and said, because, Lin Nemo is a national painting master. Boom, a sentence fell. It directly explains clearly why Lin Mo's painting is so valuable. And likewise, it was also ruthless, causing Mu Nanji's heart to fall deeply into shock. The patriarch of national painting. What a presence this is. On the path of national painting, he reached the peak of existence. And, Lin Mo, actually a national painting master? Mu Nanji looked towards Lin Mo who was at the back, where he was looking at his cell phone. In the bottom of his eyes, he was filled with shock and complexity. Then there was the swallowing of saliva, saying, But Grandpa Wang, just now in the showroom, I don't think there's much difference between Lin Ma's drawings and yours, but how is he a master of national painting? Listen to this. Wang Ching Yang, who was there, smiled bitterly for a while and shook his head. This is, in fact, just not enough of your own realm. The difference in painting skills between me and him is still huge. If you are in the realm of national painting, it is enough. It will be realized that Elder Lin is drawing the whole horse to life. And my horse is nothing more than an empty vessel. Listen to this. Mu Nanji also had a moment. As if she had understood. A burst of nodding. Then, too, it was the opening of the mouth. Then, Grandpa Wang. Let me ask for you first? Hey, good, good. Here in Wang Chang Yang. A burst of just nodding his head. Then, between the two, they just hung up. The phone just hung up. This Mu Nanji was just full of seriousness and came to Lin Mo's face. With a serious face, he looked at Lin Mo, and the moment Lin Mo, who was playing with his cell phone, put it down. In turn, he was taken aback by Mu Nanji, who gave him a shock, said, I'm going, what are you doing, Nani? Patting his chest, Lin Mo looked at Mu Nanji and couldn't help but say, and at this time, Mu Nanji, in her seriousness, was carrying a few moments of sultriness, saying, you actually lied to me before and said you didn't know anything about the art side of things. Just now Grandpa Wan was all but calling me, saying that you are, in fact, a national painting master. Hearing these words, Lin M.O., who was there, had a somewhat awkward expression. After touching his nose, he still didn't have the words. Hey, what's there to say? Shake your head. After that, Lin M.O. then just slowly said, What? The old man called you and is ready to buy the painting? Well, Fifty million dollars for six panels. When these words came out, Lin M.O., however, also skimmed his lips and said, This old man, he's good at taking advantage. Tell him it's no problem for six paintings, and tell him to call in the money first. I'm not taking any deposits or anything like that. The full payment for the six paintings must be made to me immediately. Then, I'll try talking to Grandpa Wang first. At these words, Mu Nanji was a bit hesitant. Still, he pulled out his cell phone and dialed the number. Wang Qingyang's efficiency is still very good. Six paintings, 300 million, but it was after an hour, which is when it arrived. During this hour, Lin Mo was also demonstrating and explaining to Mu Nanji, and there, Mu Nanzi was learning very seriously. She is still very fond of Chinese painting. Looking at the 300 million dollars that arrived on his cell phone, Lin Mo, on the other hand, bristled, and then, that is, shaking his head, he said, this old man, 300 million dollars for six of my paintings. Gee, that's a good calculation. After skimming, Lin Mo also mused. And after that, it was to Mu Nanzi, who was there, that he said, Nan Ji, how about this? You fetch six sheets of rice paper for me. Mu Nan Ji, who was here, listened to this and nodded. And after that, Lin Mo just calmed down. The brush in his hand fell. Not a moment too soon. On these six pieces of rice paper, there are six galloping horses of different sizes and demeanor. Just all of a sudden it appeared on it. Aha, all right, that's six horses. Lin Mo looked at the six horses and a smile appeared on his face. Mu Nan Ji, who was there, was a little confused when she looked at the six horses on the rice paper. He said, Lin, Lin Mo, are you just going to sell these six horses to Grandpa Wan, or what? Lin Mo, somewhat puzzled, glanced at Mu Nan Ji who was there. But, this, Mu Nanji opened her mouth and wanted to say something else. In her opinion, since Lin Mo had received 300 million, so at the very least, a few decent paintings, right? But now, Lin Mo is actually drawing only six, with horses of different demeanor? This, what? You think these six horses are skimpy? 
Lin Mo smiled and said, Listen to this, the Munanashi who was there, then just nodded her head, and for that, Lin Mo, who was here, was smiling, shaking his head, these six paintings are actually not sketchy at all, if the old man was knowledgeable, he would not have said a word when he saw the six horses, because those six horses, alone, are worth his price, saying that, Lin Mo was on his cell phone, placing an order for a same city express delivery, have the six paintings, delivered, with the painting given away afterwards, Mu Nan Ji, who was there, but sighed leisurely and said, if only I could have your kind of national painting skills, at this time, the bottom of Mu Nan Ji's eyes, but vaguely, with a few points of sadness, Lin Mo, on the other hand, glanced at Mu Nan Ji and said, what's wrong, a sad look on your face, listening to Lin Mo's words, this Mu Nan Ji, shaking his head helplessly, said, on the home side, I was given a task target for the first half of the year, want me to make enough for 80 crores in 4 months time, 4 months to make enough for 8 billion dollars, Lin Mo's expression had a few moments of surprise, and there, Mu Nan Ji, was helpless, smiling bitterly, yes, 4 months to make enough for 8 billion dollars, 8 billion for our company now, half a year, or can be completed, but 4 months is almost impossible, I've done the math before, even with our company running at full capacity, in 4 months, which is the maximum, you can make 57 crores, it's 2, 3 billion short of the target, if that, at this moment, Mu Nanji's expression was filled with helplessness, while at this time, Lin Mo pondered slightly, then, spoke up, how much money do you currently, on your own account, have available to you, sulking, Lin Mo opened his mouth and asked, and listening to Lin Mo's words, Nunin Ji, who was there, hesitated slightly, then, still speaking, I have more than 100 million dollars in my account, over a hundred million dollars, Lin Mo's heart murmured slightly, then, it was said, I have a friend over here who recommended a stock to me, you can watch and buy for yourself, whether you lose or gain, I don't know, Lin Mo, who was here, spoke calmly, he was prepared to give Munanzi, recommending the Corning battery, after all, that's a crazy multiple of the next four months for this stock. Munanji only needs to invest a portion of the money. Let's not even talk about filling the funding gap. Even if you make billions or tens of billions, wouldn't that still be easy? Stocks? Right. Lin Mo nodded his head. What followed was the name of the Corning battery, which was written down. Corning batteries. Yeah, if you want to buy one, do it before it's too late. After a couple of days, it won't be easy to buy this stock again. Lin Mo opened his mouth and spoke. Okay, Munanji nodded. Subsequent, Lin Mo didn't stay at Munanji's house for much longer, had two cups of tea and waited until after 4 p.m., then it was back to the family cottage. And in the meantime, on the other side, Thompson, Wang Qingyang looked at the six paintings in front of him, the look wasn't very pretty. Beside him, the senior brother who had arrived from Sunan. On the other hand, he was full of excitement, looking at the six paintings that were in front of him. Good painting. What a good painting. Worthy of a grandmaster level of painting. Here at the masters. At this point, it's a burst of. For the hell of it. With a few words falling afterward. Here Wang Qingyang. On the other hand, was black-faced and said. Senior brother. This Lin Mo. It's just too much. I'm spending 300 million dollars. As a result, each of the six paintings he sent me had only one horse in it. This. This is not bullying. Wang Qingyang was a burst of for annoyance. After all. Within each of these six paintings, there is only one horse. This was, without a doubt, a matter of great irritation for Wang Chang Yang. And listening to Wang Qing Yang's words, the senior brother who was there, however, had a frown on his face. He said, Qing Yang, don't be rude. Elder brother shouted angrily under his breath. But, elder brother, before he could continue to say anything, this senior brother, however, waved his hand and said, these six paintings, although on the bright side, look like only six horses, but the whole is the same horse when viewed together, however, each horse has even more of a number of different looks, different moods, different states of being, are reflected in these six horses, it could be said that although these six horses were simple, they contained the skills of a patriarch, the value inside can be so much higher than the unusual six paintings, ah, your 300 million dollars is totally just worth it, listening to his own senior brother speak like this, this Wang Chang Yang was however stunned, and then, it was here, looking closely at the six horses, the whole heart of the people was also quieted at this time, slowly, begin to mull it over, savor it, one eastern suburbs, inside Villa 2, after Lin Mo left, Munanji was the one who dialed the video call of the trader who, 
on weekdays, took care of his stocks and finances. At this point, the trader across the video, Sun Zhangyo, looked at the K-line chart on the tablet, as well as this stock, the annual financial statements of the company behind it. For a moment, Sun Zhangyo's heart sank to the bottom. In his opinion, a look at the movement of this stock, in less than three months at the most, this stock is going to be suspended and delisted. When the time comes, the stock is a pile of scrap paper. Worthless. M.S. Mu, are you sure you want to buy this stock, Corning Battery? What's the problem? Munanji, calmly, opened his mouth. Sun Yaozhong, who was there, pondered. After that, it was said, M.S. Mu, with all due respect, this one stock you are looking at is really not a good buy. Looking at its net profit last year, and debt ratio, this stock could, at any time, be in a situation where it is delisted and reorganized. And, in all likelihood, that's it, it will be delisted and reorganized this year. So with that said, M.S. Mu, I suggest you better consider other stocks. The tone of the Sun Yaozhong's voice appeared to be very firm. In his professional opinion, this stock is definitely proper junk. Or even, the trash of trash, the debt ratio reached 98%. It's more like two consecutive years of negative revenue. This is the kind of stock that is put on the stock market to trap small investors. And Sun Yaozhong is very confident. He believes. Just make yourself clear. Then after this, Munanji is absolutely not going to want to keep buying this stock. However, just after that thought fell, the Muninashi who was there in turn nodded her head. Road. So that's how it is. That's fine. You buy me $10 million first. This Corning battery stock is fine. As the words fell, Sun Yaozhong subconsciously nodded his head. Said. Okay, Corning batteries. However, before finishing the sentence, this Sun Yaozhong is directly frozen in place. The whole thing was a bit dumbfounded and confused. Looking at Nunanji who was there, his expression stiffened. Opening his mouth, he said, More. How much? Ten million dollars in Corning battery stock. Sun Yaozhong was confused. He really hadn't expected that Nunanji would listen to his own insights. Surprisingly still, questionable to buy shares in Corning batteries. And still want to buy $10 million worth of shares. Swallowed. Sun Yaozhong here. His mouth was also sucking in cold air. Then, it was in a hushed voice, saying, M.S. Mu, are you sure? Munanji's face was frank. Said, what's the problem? Listening to Munanji's words, Sun Yaozhong frowned and said, although, this is probably a bit of an inappropriate question for me to ask. I still want to ask you, why did you insist on buying shares in Corning batteries? After all, as far as Corning Batteries' performance goes, it really doesn't look like a stock that can continue to make money. But just a moment after those words fell, this Corning Battery was supposed to be in a downward spiral of shares. And yet, bizarrely, up by a dime. Doesn't that go up? Munanji laughed lightly and said, and listening to these words from Munanji, Sun Yaozhong, who was here, was a bit confused. Then the rush of checking out the stock, after seeing someone who was on a buying spree of shares in Corning Batteries. And yet, it was understood. Immediately, that is, he opened his mouth and said, M.S. Mu, this is a false rise due to the fact that someone is acquiring shares in a big way. I'm sure it's not going to take long for that stock price to just fall back down. Yes? Munanji's eyes twinkled. There was also a general judgment in the bottom of his heart. This, presumably, is Lin Ma on a revenue spree. And this time, it was also more and more. Firming up Munanji's idea of purchasing this stock. After a slight heartfelt meditation, he said, let's put it this way, this $10 million in shares, don't buy in for now, listen to this, on Sun Yozhong's face, a few smiles also surfaced and said, okay, then in that case, I'll give MS, Mu, your recommendation for A, however, before Sun Yozhong could finish his sentence, Mu Nanji's voice then just sounded again, you buy me a $50 million share of this stock first, Sun Yuchun, looking at Mu Nanji, with a look of determination to buy in, this Sun Yaozhong also sighed and hung up the phone, and with back-to-back -back assurances that it will be bought as soon as possible. Looking at Sun Yaozhong who looked like this, sitting next to him, the other trader, at this point, leaned over and said, Sun, why are you sighing? This must have been a big deal you just made. That's a lot of money for you if you operate well. Listen to this. Sun Yaozhong, on the other hand, let out a bitter laugh. Said, you cannot mention it. I this customer ah, to buy into the stock is Corning Battery but also a buy that is 50 million shares. The other trader was confused. What the hell? Corning batteries? Are you customers crazy? I don't know. But by the looks of it, this should have been pawned. The words fell. The manipulator. 
for a moment, slammed his mouth and said, then this is pitched is not shallow na, but son brother you followed to buy this broken stock, only to be afraid of the circle, to snicker to death ah, that can't be helped, take people's money and do things for them, hey, strange to say, though, it's not just ms, mu who's going to buy this stock, just a few moments ago, there were actually people on a massive scale, acquired 30 million shares of the market, corning batteries, hmm, well, that's a little strange then, for a moment, a pang of doubt grew in the hearts of these two men, after all, a stock that was all set to be delisted is now actually being bought up in large numbers, this is just, well, a bit counterintuitive, it wasn't just these two who were puzzled, at this point, Corning Battery Company, inside the conference room, just a moment ago, the company was also aware of Lin Mo, who was on a buying spree of their company's stock, so, it's that the AGM was called urgently, what's going on here, an old man at the head of the group, Looking at the information on the computer screen, frowned slightly, this old man was the chairman of Corning Battery, 19, 7% of shares, and a few others on the sidelines, then, respectively, are several shareholders of the company, in the hands of these shareholders, there is also a flurry of holdings ranging from 3% to 10%, and these shareholders, at this time, looking at this rising share price, also froze, what's going on here, the company's stock price even went back up, no, it seems that someone is making a big deal, acquiring shares in our company, and has already acquired 30 million dollars in shares, 30 million shares, then isn't that more than 50 million dollars, who is such a big hand then, my god, is this guy crazy, or is the money burning, at this moment, inside Corning Battery, everyone was dumbfounded, to know, even they, the shareholders, all want to take this Corning Battery shares, to catch the hand of selling ah, however, these shares in their hands, even if you give it away for free, no one wants it, but now, someone actually, at one time, spent more than 50 million dollars to acquire more than 30 million shares of their company's stock, this is simply, it's just a little bit outlandish, and some of the minority shareholders there are moving at this point, consider contacting the mysterious man who had acquired over 30 million shares of their stock, take the shares they hold in their hands and sell them, and, there's the chairman, at this point in time, the bottom of his heart also sank slightly, out of nowhere, an individual comes along and acquires more than 30 million shares of their company's stock. This is really, really unusual. The chairman mused a bit, and then, looked to his secretary, said, Secretary Wang, the new blade lithium iron phosphate battery side. Any update on the reporting process if it's recent? Blade lithium iron phosphate, which is their corning battery company, a program that began development two years ago, but the development of this program took two years, but still, no substantial progress has been made. However, it was the funds in the company's account that were burned up. It's safe to say that Corning Batteries is now throwing its weight around for this project. If it doesn't work, then it goes out of business. Fong Dong, Dr. Two and the others are, right now, in the final stages of research and development, but they're stuck in a bottleneck. Listen to this. Fanon, the chairman of the board, was there. The heart, however, sank hard. Stuck in a bottleneck? What's the success rate of breaking through? Then, 25%. A simple sentence. But it made the atmosphere in the conference room. Once again heavy. 25%. That success rate. It's just too low. Everyone's heart. Plunged to the bottom. And some of these shareholders, however, are making their own ideas, even stronger. Prepare to sell all your shares. In their opinion. This project, it's not going to work. Corning Batteries is bound to be the company to go out of business. Instead of waiting for the company to collapse, sell your shares for money as soon as possible. Other side. Listening to Huang Wan's report, Lin Emo looked at the more than 50 million shares in his hand. The mine also brooded. 50 million shares, one being acquired in the last two days. As per the previous, the stock market predicts information about future cards. The information about the successful Corning battery test will be released after the day after tomorrow. One moment. Lin Mo's face, already in a flurry, grinned, two days, cupping his chin in a slight musing, Lin Mo again looked at Huang Yuan and said, by the way, Butler Wong, if anything, in the past two days, this Corning battery, if any shareholders come looking to sell their shares, you're all in, Lin Ma believed, make substantial acquisitions of market shares on your own, inevitably, it will raise eyebrows within Corning batteries, this is a company that has been posting losses for several years now, internal shareholders, absolutely budding, the idea of wanting to sell your shares and cash out, so, Lin Emo was just going to take it all in, after making a decision in his heart, 
Only then did Lin Mo walk to the gym on the ground floor and run for fitness. He waited until after 10 p.m. M., which was when he went back to his room and soaked in the bath. Meanwhile, swiped through the WeChat circle of friends. And soon enough, a message from Xia Yuma's circle of friends was also seen. Xia Yuma was going to follow the crew this evening. Together, they traveled to Hangdian Studios in Jiangsu and Zhujiang to begin filming. Now, the people are the ones who have gotten on the plane. After replying below with a message that he'd be over in a couple days to check in, Lin Mo didn't continue to pay attention. Time passes. The night passed. Day 2. Lin Mo was woken up in the morning by a phone call. After glancing at the caller ID. On this call, the heck of it is the caller from the Eastern Sports Center. Connecting the phone. General Manager Lu Quan's voice. Then is ringing. Chairman. Listening to Lu Quan's voice. Lin Mo's cold and indifferent voice also sounded for it at this moment. I'll give you half a minute to tell why you're calling me so early. As Lin Mo's cold voice rang out. Lu Quan's at once. Cold air pouring out of his mouth. The throat, too, rolled, uncontrollably, hastily that is to say. Chairman, it's like this. On the other end of the phone, Lu Quan hurriedly said, The company is already investigating the things you asked me to look into in the previous times. Li Chiotao he has, over the years, allegedly embezzled $3.78 million and misappropriated $2.11 million. In addition, there are a series of irregularities in reimbursement, bribery and other means and more than a dozen of his own relatives have been installed in various positions within the company. After this Lu Quan's words fell, Lin Mo's eyes, however, narrowed slightly. He did not expect that this Li Chiotao, a small vice president, I can't believe I've embezzled so much money. Ha, huh, that's so, have you collected all the evidence? It's already a collection, Lu Quan hurriedly said, Lin Mo. On the other hand, calmly nodded his head. Subsequently, that is to say, in that case, Let's submit all the evidence to the crown. Everything according to the legal way. To solve this matter. Yes. Lu Quan this moment. It was also a relief. Then on my side. I won't continue to bother you. Chairman. After that. The phone hung up. Lin Mo. On the other hand. At this moment. Was leaning against the bed. Casually. The trillion dollar subsidy was opened. After all. It's all about being woken up yourself. Continuing to sleep would. Obviously. Be impossible. Why don't we see if, on the app today, there's any new goodies online, with trillions of dollars in subsidized apps being open after, 100% equity interest in Ming Xian Gu restaurant, subsidized price, 88, 8, look at the prices and information on the app, Lin Mo's eyes were also stunned at this moment, this was followed by just a bit of consternation, Ming Xian Court restaurant, this is a Michelin rated, top notch restaurant in Magic City, both the flavor and the decorative tone of the restaurant. All of them belong to the top tier of existence. Only, in terms of price, that is some not ordinary people, can afford to spend. A meal is less than five or six thousand dollars per person. Is it actually a steak in the famous Xian Court restaurant? Lin Mo cupped his chin, and after some slight contemplation, that is to say, the equity in this restaurant, was purchased. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 30 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Look at the information on the app. Lin Mo also nodded, and then it was time to start getting up, downstairs to the first floor, having just sat down at the table. Lin Mo then remembered, himself after washing up in the morning, it doesn't appear to have taken the phone down, just as Lin Mo, was just about to go upstairs to get his cell phone, Lin Mo's pocket, however, suddenly sank, touching his pockets, Lin Mo's expression became somewhat subtle, because, just now, Lin Mo's cell phone suddenly appeared in his pocket, this is, at this moment, Lin Mo's heart was vaguely, having a few guesses. Moi, this cell phone of mine is going to be around me at all times. Automatically? With this kind of speculation. Here, Lin Mo's complexion also became more and more subtle. It won't be lost? Well, isn't it also not going to be damaged? The mind carries this speculation. Lin Mo just turned around and went inside the kitchen. At this moment, a few servants in the kitchen were cooking breakfast. Boss. Morning boss. Well, good morning. Lin Mo nodded to a few people, and then, it was a fruit knife that was taken out, spinning out of the kitchen. After coming to the study on the first floor, it was only then that he took a deep breath and, carefully, scratched at the back of the phone. After all, it's still unknown whether or not it will be damaged, and the back of the phone is tempered glass, even though the phone is destructible. Then this knife of his own goes down, at best, there are a few scratches, with the fruit knife, after crossing the phone, on the back of this phone. It turned out to be, no traces of it appeared, hiss, in an instant, 
in Lin Mo's mouth, then he violently sucked in cold air, and then, the strength in his hands, that is, gradually increased. Even if Lin Mo used all his strength, don't talk about damaging cell phones, even the slightest trace, is unable to do to leave behind. Sure enough, Lin Mo looked at the cell phone in front of him, on his face all of a sudden, just a few smiles were raised. This cell phone of his own, indeed, possesses the characteristic, which cannot be damaged. The moment. Lin Mo's mood was also very pleasant. Was it caused by the trillion dollars subsidized app? Murmuring in his heart, Lin Mo's gaze flickered. And, before Lin Mo could think more, Huang Wan also knocked on the door of the study. Leaving the study, he went downstairs and ate his breakfast. Wait until after breakfast. Lin Mo purchased the shares of Ming Xiangu restaurant on the trillion dollar subsidy app. It's just being delivered. Officially, by a delivery boy. The shares went into his hand. And after Lin Mo examined them, then he nodded and received it inside his safe. Well, in the morning, Lu Quan gave me a call. That's just as well. I don't have much to do today, so I'll go over there later. Think about it. It was to take the keys to the Pagani and head straight for the Eastern Sports Center. And while on the road, on the contrary, he also saw Jean Fayer, who was buying breakfast by the side of the road, solely, and just incidentally, drove Jean Fayer along. The two of them went all the way, straight to the Eastern Sports Center. At this point, Eastern Sports Center, rear, the entrance to the newly constructed racetrack. There are several supercars parked at this time, headed by Cho Chun. At this moment, his brows, too, were furrowed for a while. Face, appeared to have a few unsightly moments. A youth next to him, on the other hand, spoke up. Zhao, what's going on here? Didn't we say before we came here that this racetrack was already booked? Yeah, but what is this now? My car was going to be, well, dropped off for maintenance today. But I've heard that you've booked into this new racing track at the Eastern Sports Center. Brother Zhao, I just cancelled the maintenance and drove it over ready for a couple laps. But now, what kind of a situation is this? Next to a group of small second generation, their faces were full of dissatisfaction. Zhao Village's expression, too, looked a bit ugly. Phone call in hand. Originally, he did have a reservation with the Eastern Sports Center for this morning's race track and just gave a deposit. As a result, I ran over here today to take a look. The racetrack, actually, is occupied by a variety show crew, and the other side is still trying to drive them away. This was, without a doubt, what made Zhao Village's face look very embarrassed. Looking at the Eastern Sports Center in front of him, the manager of the racetrack opened his mouth. Manager Zhang, it's not good if you guys are doing this. This racetrack is clearly on my side. Booked first, even the deposit is now paid on my end. As a result, you guys, this side is not even notified. Just rent the racetrack. Again, to this program, Zhao Village's tone seemed a bit cold. The manager who was there, however, looked a little embarrassed at that moment. He said, Young Zhao, this matter is really embarrassing. On our side, we are forgetting to inform you in advance. Why don't you look at it this way? We'll adjust the time to next week. Also the cost of using the racetrack is at my own expense on my end. I'll give you a 30% discount. What do you think? However, the moment the words fell, Shashon, who was there, but was exasperated and laughed. 70% off? Ha! Manager Zhang, do you see me and these brothers of mine as someone who lacks these few dollars? I'm going to put the word out today, lay it out for you, that we have to use the racetrack. And in addition, you must, in this case, give us a reasonable explanation. Zhao Village's tone, very firm. After these words fell, Manager Zhang on the opposite side was also dumbfounded by this but the look was somewhat bitter. After all, the decision, again, was not his to make. He is a wage earner who can only carry out the decisions made by the top, and the decision to rent the racetrack to the show. It's their VP who manages this side of the racetrack that makes the decisions. It wasn't something he could go and shake. And at this point, a voice, too, sounded from behind. Manager Zhang, what's going on here? How come your side hasn't finished dealing with it yet? Hearing this voice, Manager Zhang's face turned bitter as he said, Director Song, this still needs to wait a little bit. I'll talk to Mr. Zhao's side again. Listen to the words. The director, who was there with a big belly, frowned slightly. Then it was said. Talk about what? With that, he just walked over to Kimura and said, So you're the Shoshone something? This director swept a glance at Shoshone. Then there was the skittishness. You're Zhao family. I seem to remember that you are in foreign trade, right? The director's tone was filled with flatness amongst his words. What are you trying to say? Shoshone's brow straightened for a moment. Nothing, just wanted to talk to you. On our side, 
it's Magic City TV. This racetrack, we'll take it on our side. As for you guys, change yourselves. Otherwise, ha, huh, you're on your own for the consequences of this. This director's tone was filled with threats. Zhao Village's face was, well, hard to see. Had he ever been so humiliated? But the bottom line is this. He, however, was helpless. After all, the volume of Mordor TV. That's not something they, the Zhao family, can offend. However, just then, a faint voice rang out. Magic City TV? Sorry, this race track. We really don't rent it on our side. An indifferent voice rang out. Everyone was flabbergasted. Ringo? Shoshone was a little surprised. Looking at Lin M.O. who was there, his heart murmured. He didn't expect that he would actually be here and run into Lin M.O. The crowd beside him, their faces were in turn, surfacing with a few moments of curiosity. This man, who is it? The director Song Gu, who was there, was a bit angry and looked toward the right. Who's talking nonsense here? Upon seeing Lin M.O., who was walking over, and Qin Fei are beside him, as well as, for a moment, Lu Quan, who was following Lin M.O. around, on Song Ji's face, a few moments of annoyance also surfaced. Immediately, he chortled, saying, Mr. Lu, is this the quality of your Eastern Sports Center's employees? One more thing. There's this racetrack thing. This racetrack is, for now, occupied by our program. I don't want, again, to be on our show, recording a variety show, seeing other irrelevant people at the racetrack. This song song said at the end, it was a glance at the people who were there, such as Shoshon, with these words falling after. There's Lu Quan in there. Then he spoke calmly, Song Song Song, I'm really sorry, but now I'd better ask your program team, to leave here. After a simple sentence fell, Song Gu, who was there, but was suddenly stunned, then a few moments of annoyance just appeared on his face. He said, Mr. Lu, what do you mean by that? It doesn't mean much, it's just our racetrack. After much deliberation, it was decided not to rent to your program. The words just fell. There, Song Ji's face, however, surfaced a few moments of dismay. The face was filled with a look of, well, incredulity. Looking at Lu Quan, his face was slightly cold. Mr. Lu, I hope you can think clearly. How much damage would it do to your company? If you did that, you should know. This variety show of ours, it's not low impact. Between this song GE's words, they were full of threats. But in response, Lu Quan remained in a calm demeanor. Just kidding. Just now, Lin Mo had made it all very clear. No more renting race tracks to this crew. He was just a part-timer. So naturally, he had to listen to his own boss's orders. Please leave. Lu Quan slowly said. The words just fell. Song Ji's face was just an iron blue. Then, taking a deep breath, he said. I want to see your boss. Get your bosses over here. I can't believe that your boss would agree to such ridiculous orders from you. Here on Song Ji's face, a look of condescension instantly appeared. In his opinion. As long as the owner of this Eastern Sports Center management company still cares about profit, wouldn't have let them crew, leave the racetrack, and maybe even, for free, rent the racetrack to their crew. After all, just their one variety show is a top three presence in the ratings nationwide. As long as they're on the show, a little bit of advertising for this Eastern Sports Center, a little bit of advertising. Well, the benefits that can come from that, that's definitely in the hundreds of millions. But, just moments after that thought had fallen, Lu Quan, who was there, but sneered and said, I'm sorry, but those are our boss's orders. Also, you are now meeting, our boss. The words fell. Song Gu there froze. What do you mean by that? Mr. Lin, is the owner of our Eastern Sports Center. Lu Quan, who was standing at the side, opened his mouth to introduce Lin Mo. The words just fell. There was a dead silence in the room. Shoshone and a host of second generation. There were cold breaths sucked backwards from their mouths. He, is actually the owner of the Eastern Sports Center. And here Song Song, on his face, at once, a look of disbelief was written. This youth, is the owner of the Eastern Sports Center? This, what a joke. This man, so young, actually the owner of the Oriental Sports Center? This is outrageous. But then, that is, he took a deep breath and said, Ro, I'll count you guys as tough this time. After glancing at Lin M.O., on this Song Ji's face, a few moments of icy coldness surfaced. Spinning around, he opened his mouth. Let's pull out. With that, he was the first to take the lead, leaving towards the distance. The rest of the show's crew, too, were in a flurry, packing up and leaving. With the departure of this crew, Joe Village, who was there, was in a flurry, staggered by it, and said, Holy shit, 
Brother Lin, you're actually still the owner of this Eastern Sports Center? In this Zhao village, at this moment, his expression was filled with astonishment. Well, I didn't have a place to play a while ago, so I just bought it. A sentence fell. The corners of Shoshone's mouth twitched. No place to play ball and bought it in passing? That's a real pretentious thing to say. A bunch of second generation in the back. At this point there was also a burst of being stumped by it. This, and just at this point in time. The expression of one of the second generation, however, looked a little nervous, saying, however, brother Lin, you just did this operation, but it is Song Gu, to completely offended to death ah, are you not afraid that he will, afterward, take revenge on you? The second generation here, somewhat nervously, spoke up, if Song Gu was alone, it was indeed not scary, but, the point is, behind this song of songs, yes there is also a Magic City TV, this, that's what's so troubling, to this, Lin M.O., however, smiled and waved his hand, said, it's okay, it's nothing, that's right, it's just a Magic City TV, that's nothing at all in front of brother Lin, Zhou Village, who was next to him, also spoke at this time, after all, he was aware of Lin Mo's strength, the district is just a TV director, for Lin M.O., this is nothing at all, and, looking at the two of them, Lin M.O. and Zhao Village, both said so at this time, the rest of the second generation, then, didn't say anything, and at this point, Shoshone also opened his mouth to ask, right, M.O., in that case, would you like to come with us, and do a couple laps on the track, on the track, look at the racetrack in front of you, to be honest, Lin Mo's heart was a little tickled, after all, after acquiring divine car skills, Lin Mo runs except on the highway, haven't really been on the track, after pondering in his heart, Lin Mo also just nodded his head and said, well then, I'll be on the track with you guys for once, saying that, Lin Mo glanced at Qin Fei beside him and said, okay, Fei, wait here for me, I'll go to the parking lot first and bring the car around, uh, yeah, Qin Fei nodded, then, it was a step ahead, into the racetrack, inside the track, Shoshone and the others took the car, drove it onto the track and started warming up the engine, the crowd looked at this eastern sports center track, the look of excitement, as for Zhao village's face, it looked a bit bland, he was the one who came to this track when it was being built, at this point, one of the second generation, on the other hand, approached Shoshone, open mouth, brother village, what kind of person is that Lin just now, I can't believe that even this eastern sports center, belongs to him, listen to the words of this second generation, Zhou village, who was there, had a look of emotion over it, he said, I'm not terribly clear on what exactly brother Lin is, but I do know one thing, brother Lin's identity is definitely very terrifying, Zhao village had a few things to learn about Lin M.O., it was also clear that the other party was a director of the Trina group, and, the share of holdings in the hands is no less than the Wang family, listen to the words, that second generation was just about to continue saying something, a supercar roar, and then the entrance to the track rang out for it, buzz, buzz, a crowd of second generation, one after another, twisted their heads to look, the moment the supercars were seen coming in, there was a rush of shock, oh my god, a Pagani windjammer, the bottom line, is that this Pagani windjammer, is not just any windjammer, instead, it's one of only five in the world, the Pagani windjammer Imola, my god, this car, who the hell does it belong to, it's actually an Imola, to drive it once in my life, that would be a life of no regrets, the second generation here are very much into supercars, therefore, it is a doorstop for such limited edition supercars, for a moment, on the faces of these second generation people, envy just surfaced one after another, also at this time, this Imola is also parked on the track, subsequently, the car door opens, Lin Ma stepped down in the car, looking at Lin Mo, the crowd of second generation people here all showed a stunned look, I'll go, this car is Ringo's, hiss, brother Lin isn't just the owner of the Eastern Sports Center, and actually got, what? A Pagani Windjammer Imola? Bull wow. Ringo, can I touch your Imola? One moment. A crowd of second generation people, one after another, just came up, to Lin M.O. There was a burst of flattery for him, and at this point in time, Shashon, who was there, also came up, said, Ringo, have you ever run this track? Well, that's a no. It's still my first time on the track. Listening to this, Zhou Village, who was there, then just smiled, and said, so, Ringo, why don't I be your navigator and take you for a lap first? It's still a while before the official game. Anyway, Shashon, who was there, with his eyes on this Imola, said, Honestly, 
he's for the likes of Imola, the world's top supercar, that's still very much in the eye of the beholder. And, it's not a luxury to be able to drive one, just get a ride in one of these top-of-the-line luxury cars, that would be very satisfying for him. At the same time, he did hope that he would be able to climb a bit of a relationship between him and Lin Mo. Lin Mo did see what this Zhao village was thinking. Honestly, Zhao village gave him an impression, that was still very good. Therefore, it is also the word, okay, get in the car and you lead me on a run. At once, Zhao village's expression was excited, said, hey, well done. It's also a track that I've run five or six times. I'm completely, that's to say, in the door for this track. Okay, go. After Lin Mo got in the car, in a crowd of second generation envious eyes, Shashon was also in the passenger seat. The vehicle was then started. Under Zhao Village's command, Lin Mo also just started to go through the first few turns. These few curves, Lin Mo's speed was not fast. Mainly because, between track driving, and road driving, there is a gap between the two. And with gradual proficiency, the car gradually picked up speed. Performance belonging to the Pagani Windjammer Imola. This moment is also the official beginning of the outbreak. Boom, boom. A furious engine roar. Makes the blood boil. Watch the gradual increase in RPM. As well as the pushback feeling that comes from the slam. Shoshon looked at a curve in front of him. As well as Lin Mo. Who had yet to take the wheel. The entire group panicked. Ringo. Bend. Bend. Get behind the wheel and slow down. Underneath this Zhao village's nervous demeanor. Lin Mo jerked the handbrake and the steering wheel. Giggle. Underneath the shrill voice ringing out. The Pagani Windjammer Imola, at this point, also showed a nice dump. Then, a successful corner, under the dumping tail, Shoshone came back to his senses. The entire person's expression appeared to be one with a few moments of shock, said, just now, there were a few moments of excitement written on this Jiao village's face. Looking at Lin Mo where he was, he said, Ringo, it's a cow, that was a tail swing just now, lighten up, base fuck. Lin Mo was calm, and at the same time, Another easy tail flick through the corner. Looking at this easy and casual operation of Lin Mo, Zhao Village's expression grew more and more excited. I'll go, brother Lin. This operation of yours, it's awesome. It's almost, like, on the verge of being comparable to a pro. This Shashon is kind of a track veteran. Has also been in the amateurs and taken top places. Sort of the big guy among the racing amateur class. However, just now Lin Mo's kind of, dashing and casual tail flick through the corner. He couldn't do it. He thought to himself. However, Lin Mo, however, did so very casually. Such a contrast between him and Lin Mo. In terms of car skills, that's just not in the same league. That's about it. Said the, Lin Mo was continuous again, after passing several corners. Which is to say, finally, arriving at the end of the line, with the supercar parked on the side of the track afterward. On the side, a group of second generation also gathered around at this time. Just now. Lin Mo stumping through the corner, is all caught on camera, it was playing on the big screen, with Lin Mo and Zhao Village getting out of the car, and the crowd just flocked, praising for it, Ringo is awesome, brother Lin, your car skills are just too good, that's right, those few flings of yours from Lin just now were just like a pro, that's right, I have a feeling Lin, you'll be able to place even if you go pro, hearing these boasts, Lin Mo just laughed, he said, ha ha, this car skill of mine, it's just average, all right, let's take a break and get on the track for a couple laps later, son, said, a few people were just lounging around, after about 10 minutes or so, Lin Mo and a few others just returned to the track, Sheen Fair was also sitting on the passenger side, and after that, it was all together, up on the track running, because of the divine car skills, Lin Mo was also the one who, without a doubt, directly hanged everyone in the arena, with 10 laps run, Sheen Fair was pale and sat on the side of the audience, the whole thing went weak in the knees. What? Not feeling well? Lin Mo took the water and walked over to Qin Fei's side, listening to Lin Mo's words. This Qin Fei shook her head and said, No, it's just that it's, it's just too fast, and it needs to slow down a bit. Listen to this. Lin Mo smiled and said, So I'll get someone else to ride co-pilot next time I come to run the track? A few smiles flowed out from the corners of Lin Mo's mouth here, and the moment the words fell, on this Qin Fei's face, nervousness was immediately revealed said, no way, if you come back to run the track next time, this, this co-pilot, I can still ride, Sheen Fair, who was here, had a face full of tension, to this, on Lin Mo's face, a little playful smile did emerge, saying, oh, I thought you couldn't stand the highway, I, for a moment, Sheen Fair was still a bit stumped, immediately, 
It was a loud voice. I can do it. In response, Lin Emo just smiled and said, Okay, then next time, I'll call you back. And at this point in time, on the sidelines was Zhao Village, but he also came over, followed by a group of second generation. He said, Brother Lin, it's now after 11 o'clock. Why don't we join together and go for a lunch? Listen to this. Lin Mao looked at his wristwatch. Indeed, it was now nearly half past 11. Nodding his head, Lin Emo also said that he was talking. Okay then, how about we go for Chinese food? Mentioning this, Lin Emo poured out his thoughts, simply and directly. Take a trip to Mingxian Court to check it out. Okay, there in the village of Zhao. Immediately, it was a nod of the head. Then, looking at the group of second generation behind him, he opened his mouth and asked, How are you guys doing? Well, Chinese food is fine with me. Just as well. It's more comfortable if you eat Chinese food. There was also a lot of nodding from the crowd, with some nodding underneath. A few people were just along for the ride, following Lin Mo's car, toward the famous Xian Pavilion. Traveling. The location of Ming Xian Pavilion was not prosperous. Instead, the surrounding streets were a little quieter. The restaurant specializes in the Cantonese cuisine series. And, there are five floors in total. The decor is also very vintage. Pulled into the parking lot. Looking at the empty parking lot, Lin Emo frowned slightly. What's going on here? Ming Xian Court in the Magic City is a restaurant with a certain reputation. But, a restaurant of this caliber, at mealtimes, a restaurant that can be empty? It's simply, just a bit unbelievable. Didn't dwell much on that point. Lin Emo led a few people and walked towards the restaurant. The doorman that should be at the entrance of this restaurant is simply not there at this time. And, after entering the hall, the waiter who had greeted the guests, however, had also disappeared. The restaurant was also empty. This restaurant, what's the deal? Zhou Village, who was in the back, frowned at this moment. How is it that by now, there is not even a porter to welcome the guests? Ringo, why don't we just go to another place? The other second generation, at this time, also spoke. This shouldn't be ah. I remember the Xian Court, is considered a famous Cantonese restaurant ah. But now what? There's not even a porter at the door to welcome guests? And there was Lin Ma. At this time, the look on his face appeared to be a few degrees of bloom. Spinning around, he then just opened his mouth and spoke. No, you guys find a place to sit down first. We'll eat this one. Today. This. Shoshone and the others hesitated. Then, still nodding, he said. All right then, we'll follow your arrangement. Brother Lin. A slight nod. The people here, at this time is also one after another. To find a place to sit down. As for Lin M.O., he was strolling around this restaurant. After looking around, pouring through the lobby, he found one sitting inside the front desk. The woman who was keeping her head down, playing with her cell phone for a while and giggling. On the woman's body, she was wearing a waitress's outfit instead. We're going to order over here. Lin M.O. spoke to the woman. However, at the very end of the sentence, the woman sitting here was not even bothering to raise her head a bit. Said, wait a minute. Can't you see I'm busy? Listen to this. Lin Mo's eyebrows were however raised. What's that supposed to mean? The front desk is being dismissive? The security guards at the gate, and the security guards in the parking lot, all disappeared? Lin Mo sneered in his heart. It's a bit of a fun restaurant that you've spiked out on your own this time. The restaurant, it seems, has something going on that it doesn't know about. Fingers gently, tapping on the front desk. Then, just as slowly, he spoke. Ha, your restaurant. Is this how you greet your guests? As these words from Lin Mo fell, the woman who was there, instantly, just put down her cell phone. Then, somewhat impatiently, he looked at Lin Mo and said, Bothered? Can't you see I'm busy here? Take it or leave it. As the words fell, Lin Mo's face, too, was slightly cold. Said, Ha, a bit of a temper. Immediately, Lin Mo was the one who, with one hand, grabbed her collar. Grabbing him up by the handful, he said, What? Is this how you greet your guests? And this one. The woman was a bit flustered instead. You. What do you want? I'm warning you. Don't mess around. Here. Here it's all under surveillance. Order. Now. Lin Mo's tone. Appeared to be somewhat cold. No. No problem. The woman's throat rolled. Slightly. Palms touching the underside of the table. That was followed by a press. Of a button underneath. Then. That is. With some trembling. He spoke. You. Look. What would you like to order? A whole book. Lin Mo immediately, was speaking indifferently. What? This time, the woman was confused. Did I not make myself clear? A whole book. This, the woman who was here, however, had a somewhat ugly face. What? What's the problem? Lin Mo casually, 
spoke, as the words fell after that, the woman, however, also spoke, that, and actually our store, now it's not open for business and not picking up customers, as the words fell after that, Lin Mo's eyebrows faintly, was raised with it, oh, in a moment's time, Lin Mo also just laughed, looks like there's something about this store, oh, tell me what's going on here, as the words fell, a voice, however, sounded behind him, what's going on here, who dares to come here and make trouble, Lin Mo turned back, only several, middle-aged men with brightly shining kitchen knives and a face full of cross-cutting meat were seen, all the way, rushed here, and there was the woman, looking at the man at the head of the group, all of a sudden, the eyes just lit up, then with some tears in his eyes, he hurriedly ran behind, this middle-aged man, pointing at Lin Mo, that is, brother, that's him, there it was bare-chested with very exaggerated tattooed men, in three or two steps, he was walking in front of Lin Mo, carrying a kitchen knife in his hand, he pointed at Lin Mo who was here, just cursing and talking, you're the only one making trouble here, aren't you, listen to this, Lin Mo frowned slightly, then, it was slow and deliberate, the word, I'm making trouble, I came here for dinner, how did I become a troublemaker, and, you chopper, I suggest you'd better, not keep pointing it at me, listen to this, the bottom of this middle-aged man's eyes, however, also had a few chills, with a cold grunt under his breath, he said, I'm counting on you, what can you do to me, listen to this, Lin Mo shook his head slightly, then, there was the outstretching of a hand, with two casual fingers, he caught the blade of this kitchen knife, and then, in the midst of a crowd of horrified eyes, ka -ching, this kitchen knife was hardened, and Lin Mo used two fingers to clip off from it, watch this scene, everyone was outright dumbfounded, the middle-aged man who was previously threatening Lin Mo, at this point it was being scared and the fight was a little unsteady on its feet, incredulous, looking at the broken knife in his hand, his throat rolled, the scene, it's really a bit of a shock, you, you, the middle-aged man who was here, for a moment, didn't know what to say, at the back, a few other people were also dumbfounded at this point, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was calm, after sweeping over the few people who were here, it was calm, and continued, what, are you, one and all, going to keep pointing your knives at me, as Lin Mo's words fell, a clunking sound that is, choppers in their hands, in droves, it just fell to the ground, what is this monster, surprisingly straightforward, two fingers, and it caught off the blade, there was a pang of anger in his heart, Lin Mo, who was there, was calm at this moment, now then, you should be able to tell me about it, this restaurant, what the hell is going on, right, listening to Lin Mo's words, the middle-aged man who was there swallowed a mouthful of water, and then, that's when it started talking, that's exactly what happened, and this one, Lin Mo also figured it out, exactly what happened, as it turns out, the former owner of this hinge, because of the gambling, with a lending company, he borrowed over $30 million in usurious loans, it looks like the loan, is not going to be repaid, this previous owner, solely, just turned around and sold the restaurant, then, he himself ran away, listen to what happened, Lin Mo's heart, too, laughed coldly, so, you guys are, now, just waiting here for him to come back, that's not true, the other side of this restaurant is already off the hook, the other guy just has to be a sane person, then surely he won't come back, so, Lin Mo calmly opened his mouth and asked, we're squatting the new owner of this restaurant, this restaurant was previously, as collateral, mortgaged to us, now that the new owners have taken over, if they want to stay open, that is something that needs to be asked first, if our company agrees, so it is, the moment, in the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there was a cold laugh, at this point, he was also figuring out what was going on, this group, I believe, is a lending company coming to collect on a loan, and seeing the previous owner of the restaurant run for the hills, Seoul is the intention, to blackmail the new owner of this restaurant, perhaps, the new owner of this restaurant taking over, if it's anyone else, probably, it's from, but it's a shame, what they encountered, was Lin Mo, let Lin Mo from this group of people, how is that possible, a hearty sneer, Lin Mo just clenched his fists, you, of all people, hand over your cell phones, then get your ass to the back kitchen and find a corner to crouch in, this thing, Lin Mo was not going to be kind, listening to Lin Mo's words, the crowd here, in droves, is just indifferent, didn't hear it did you, boo, Lin Mo slammed his fist into the wall, at once, the tiles on the wall shattered open, then it takes on the shape of a spider web and shatters apart, don't make me, repeat myself a second time, watch this scene, 
everyone's eyes were straight. Then, swallowing hard, his body chilled. At this moment, the man who was in charge, dutifully, he turned in his cell phone and then ran in small steps into the middle of the back kitchen. After all, he still has some eyes. In the bottom of his heart, he naturally knew that a character like Lin M.O., that's not something they can afford to offend, collected cell phones and locked everyone in the back kitchen. Only then did Lin M.O. pull out his cell phone, dialed the phone number of Zhao Qian, the general manager of Jin Lu Hotel. You've got 20 minutes. Bring a couple of the chefs from the hotel and some of the security guards. Now immediately, come over to the famous pavilion restaurant. With the order given, Zhao Qian was instantly a jolt. Hurriedly, that is, he ordered the following and began to prepare. Then with the fastest speed possible, he sped towards the famous Xin Pavilion. Lin Mo was giving them 20 minutes, but this Zhao Qian and others, but it took 10 minutes to get all the way here. Work hard to create a Cantonese meal in this restaurant with the best ingredients. Also, there's a bunch of people in the kitchen. You have the security guards keep an eye on them, and don't let any of them get away. As these words from Lin Mo fell, Zhao Qian, who was there, hurriedly just nodded his head and said, Lin Dong, guarantee to complete the mission. As the words fell after that, Zhao Qian just started ordering the crowd and began to make preparations. Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled and returned to the hall. Sorry for the wait guys, I've ordered all the food. Nothing. Ha ha, good. I will experience the flavor of this Xin pavilion then today. I'm getting excited about it too. The crowd, in droves, just burst into a fit of, well, laughter. As for Lin Mo, he was smiling. In the back of his mind, he was calculating what to do about this later. And in the hall, after a few minutes of waiting, Zhao Qian also just walked over, holding the bottle of wine in his hand. Even though just now, Lin Mo hadn't commanded any of this, but as the general manager of the hotel, he was still self-conscious. But with the appearance of Zhao Qian, Sha Shon, who was there, fell back, said, Ha, huh, aren't you Mr. Zhao of the Jin Lu Hotel? How come you're here? And by the looks of it, as a waitress? As the words fell, the other second generation, at this time, also spoke up. I'll go, it's really Mr. Zhao, I knew it looked so familiar. Why aren't you at the Golden Foothills Hotel instead of coming here? Mr. Zhao, with a murmur, there's Zhao Chen there. At this time, he also spoke. It's like this, I came here because Dong Lin shouted for me to come. Lin Dong, the words came out. Everyone froze. And then, just a little bit of dismay. Looking towards Lin Mo who was there, growing his mouth, he said, could it be that the Lin Dong you're talking about then? Is, the group of second generation that were here looked towards Lin Mo who was there. The look on his face appeared to be one of a few stunned. As for Zhao Qian, he also smiled and nodded. Yes, that's right, it's Mr. Lin Mo Lin. The moment the words fell, here in the congregation, there was a flurry, just a flurry, of cold air being sucked back. Brother Lin, this Golden Foot Hotel is yours? Lin Mo smiled and said, you can't say that. I'm just taking up a portion of the Golden Foothills Hotel. Right now, it's just barely, sort of, the second largest shareholder. The words came out. The others had, with the corners of their mouths tugging, said, is it any different than if the hotel was yours? Ringo? Hiss. The Oriental Sports Center was Ringo's just now. Now the Golden Foothill Hotel. It's also Ringo's? Wait. Brother Lin called out the people from the Golden Foothills Hotel to come to the Xian Pavilion? Could it be that this Xian Pavilion? Is something happening? As the words fell after that, Lin Mo didn't do anything to hide, so he simply told the story. With what happened, after all was said and done, Lin Mo fell back for a moment, staggered by it. I'll go, so that's what this is all about? In other words, the people from this lending company are now looking for you. Brother Lin, isn't this a little too much? Yeah, it's clearly money borrowed by the previous owner. As a result, now that the previous owner has run away, the lending company has approached you. Ringo, instead? Isn't this this company a little, well, a little too much? I can't stand it. When I get home tonight, I'll have my dad check out this lending company. Listen to this burst of righteous indignation. Lin Mo just smiled. Then, too, it was the opening of the mouth. It's okay, this is nothing. Waving his hand, Lin Mo also just continued, saying, on this matter, I naturally have arrangements. It's just, a district lending company. After this time, if they don't bother me again, so be it. If he dares to come back again, ha, huh, I have my own way to get him killed. Speaking of which, on Lin Mo's face, there was clearly, a few points of grimness. After the words fell, the people who were here, all of a sudden, just shivered. 
After all, in the midst of Lin Mo's words, that's full of killing intent, especially Zhao Village who knew Lin Mo's background, there was also a pang in the heart, a heartfelt moment of silence for this lending company. He was already able to visualize the sad end of this lending company. Hey, it's not good to offend anyone. You have to offend Brother Lin. A heartfelt sigh. On this Zhao village's face was full of pity. And at the same time, there was a rush of emotion. This magic city. Is there really a place that doesn't belong to Amo? It didn't take long. An exquisite dish. That is. Was served in droves. Hundred flour fish maw. Roasted goose. Beef and Sasha. Salt baked chicken. An exquisite Cantonese dish. After some serving, everyone just has an appetite. 2. The pushing and shoving began. Jean Lu is, after all, a five-star hotel. Chef's craft, all in all, is what can only be described as a bullseye. A lunch is finished, a host of second-generation people, leaving in droves, and it was also expressed. If you need any help in the back, you can just go ahead and give them a call. Lin M.O., on the other hand, looked at Jean Fayer and said, Fay, wait for me in the dining room for a while. I'm going to the back kitchen, to take care of a little something. Aha. Uh -huh. Jean Fair nodded her head. As for Lin M.O., he slowly, all the way to the middle of the back kitchen. At this point, in the middle of this back room, the security guards and a host of cooks, one by one at this point, it was all a dead giveaway that there, shivering, was a collection agent from the loan company. These collections, at this time was crouching in the corner of the back kitchen, not daring to move. No way. Just the dozen or so burly security guards, and the ones next to them, a host of cooks carrying knives and iron pans. It just scared them so much that they didn't dare to move any further, especially the middle-aged man at the head. At this point in time, the heart was desperate. Looking at Lin M.O. who walked in, his expression was bitter. This guy, who the hell is that? Surprisingly, it can be so casual. Just mobilized a dozen security guards and a group of cooks. And at this point, the big brother of the security guard who was there, also turned to Lin M.O., reporting on his work. Lin Dong, the eight guys here, who were just about to sneak away, were subdued by our brothers. Listen to this. Lin M.O. nodded his head, said, Well, good job. When we get back later, $5,000 bonus for each person. $5,000 bonus? The moment. Everyone here, is excited. The figure of $5,000. For those of them, it's already a lot. After all, their salary for a month is only just 10. 000 up or down, $5,000. That's straight up, against half their paycheck. Thank you, Mr. Lin. For a moment, these chefs and security guards, one after another, just bowed to Lin M.O. At the bottom of his heart, he was also full of joy. This Lin Dong, he is generous. At this moment, Lin M.O., on the other hand, casually, pulled out a cell phone that had been collected, then, threw it in front of the men, said, Call. What? The crowd that was here froze. Lin M.O., on the other hand, casually, sat on a chair to the side. Didn't get it? Call your boss and tell him to come over. Let's just say that the new owner of Mingxian Pavilion, the man has arrived. After the words fell, the man at the head here. The heart of the moment is also the realization. The original. This man is the new owner of Mingxian Pavilion. But, have him call and call out their own boss? Oh, a hearty sneer murmured. Kid, you're looking for death yourself so it's not my fault. Think about it. This man, the leader, is the one who unlocked the phone, then, dialed his own boss's cell phone. After nearly 20 minutes or so, the door to the back room, too, was kicked open at that moment. What followed was the sight of a man, dressed in a black undershirt and a large gold chain, followed by more than 10 minions, all the way in. Lun, that's him. Look at the big gold chain walking by. The middle-aged man who was originally squatting there was immediately pointing at Lin M.O prepare to rise from the ground. However, just moments after climbing up, but again, the security guards who were there, held them down. Watch this scene. The big gold chain's brow furrowed slightly. Afterwards, he swept up and down, sizing up Lin M.O. Young. It's really too young. And, his eyes swept over the 20 or so people who were behind Lin M.O. The heart of this great golden chain, in turn, sank violently. Spin. The face was then just about right to smile, and said, Little brother, are you the new owner of this Xian Pavilion? My name is Wan Long. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This Wan Long's face, at this point, you could say, is piled high with smiles. Lin M.O., on the other hand, was sitting there with a calm demeanor, without lifting his head. He said, you have five minutes to explain why you let someone, squatting in my store, 
smash my storefront sign. Lin Mo's tone was cold, and after the words fell, Wang Long, who was there, suddenly had a gloomy face. Just this look of Lin Mo's, obviously, there was no intention of making good on this, and with Wang Long's words, they had just fallen. The little brothers who followed behind him, at this time, one by one, were somewhat unable to sit still, playing coy with whoever you two are. Our brother Lung is talking to you, and you're still stomping on your nose, aren't you? One of the minions, all of a sudden, just slammed the table, pointing at Lin Mo who was there. He just said loudly, and the words just came out. Behind Lin Mo were more than 10 security guards. At this time, they were all in a flurry, taking a step forward and blocking Lin Mo. The security guards at the Golden Foothills Hotel have been professionally trained for some time. There are even some that are veterans. So, standing out like that, that aura on his body is still very much a bluff. These punks around Wang Long have never seen this kind of battle before. At once, that is, it shriveled. When Wang Long saw this, his heart sank slightly. You have three minutes. Lin Mo's ice cold voice also sounded once again at this time. This time, Wang Long's face just got worse and worse. But considering the disparity in numbers between the two sides, add to that his own complete lack of clarity, the identity of the other party. It won't do you much good to really start a conflict. Then he just opened his mouth. Okay, stop it all of you. We're civilized people. It's not good to fight and kill. Wang Long, at once, put on a smiling appearance and said, I'm really sorry. The ones under my hand are roughnecks and don't know the rules very well. Said, this Wang Long took the briefcase aside. Then a document was drawn from it. He said, specifically, before the former owner of this hinge escaped, he borrowed a total of more than $30 million from our company at that time. To date, more than $28 million is still owed, plus interest. Now he has run away according to the agreement signed at that time. The restaurant should belong to our company. That means the restaurant should now be ours, not yours. Now you can either help him pay back $28 million, or, the restaurant is ours. This Wang Long's words were full of righteousness. Lin M.O. On the other hand, burst out laughing, a burst of it, shaking his head here and there. Then, lifting the teacup, he blew on it. Then it was just a slight sip. Belong to your company? That's really a joke. What you're saying? The corner of Lin Mo's mouth was tinged with a few cold smiles. What do you mean? This agreement. But it's in black and white. Written on the contract. Wang Long pointed to the contract laid out on the table and said loudly, Contract? Pick up the contract on the table. Lin Mo was skimming his lips after a slight sweep. Then, casually, he dropped it on the ground. It's really funny, a bunch of you loan sharks. And now, talking to me about contracts? Don't you think yourselves that this is really just hilarious to say the least? You, the moment. Wang Long was sort of choked. The look on his face was also ugly. Also, I can tell you one thing. This contract of yours, it's not even half legally valid. The amount of money borrowed and the interest rate both of which are written in unclear terms. And, this henge was able to go through the closing and into my hands. That means that there is no problem with this Xiangu title. With your skills, you're still learning to be a lone shark? Oh, Lin Mo sneered, while Wang Long who was there, his face was hideous to the extreme, said, Kid, don't be too cocky. Yes? Shaking his head, Lin Mo sneered. Then, it was just indifferently continued. I'm arrogant? Oh, it's you. Yourself. Who thinks of yourself as a character? Isn't it good to be an honest loser? Have to come out and act like a pussy? Said, Lin Mo took a sip of tea. Then, it was the cup in his hand that was gently set on the tabletop next to him. You, this Wang Long's eyes were so round that they were almost ready to spit out flames. A bunch of minions there. At this time, he was also annoyed at heart. How do you talk? Think we're afraid of you? You, before they could finish their sentence. Behind Lin Mo was a group of security guards and chefs. The flurry of it was just casting glances. Looking at that body full of horizontal meat, a group of minions still rolled their throats. Then, very submissively, he retired. As for Lin Ma, instead, he stood up, palm on the corner of this table. A slight squeeze. The quarters of the stainless steel table were just kneaded and crumpled into a ball. Watch this scene. Behind Wang Long a bunch of minions. At this time, his face was invariably pale. After a gulp, there was a flurry. That is, a slight half step back, and Wang Long, who was there, was also a bit confused at this time, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was walking towards Wang Long, step by step, looking at the approaching Lin Mo, this Wang Long's face showed a few moments of fear, looking at Lin Mo who was there, then he just opened his mouth, you, what do you want, Lin Mo's face had a few smiles on it, even though Lin Mo's face, was wearing a smile, 
but one of them is a bit, well, unsettling. You, don't you come over here. Wang Long retreated back and forth. In his eyes, Lin Imo was a complete monster. With one hand, he pinched the corner of the table and deflated it. This, truthfully, was scaring him a bit. Oh, now you know you're afraid? Lin Imo sneered. After that, it was to look at Wang Long in front of him and calmly said, take your lapdogs and get out. From now on, don't go near this restaurant. Otherwise, you, yourself, will suffer the consequences. Yes, it is. Wang Long's hastily, was a burst of nodding. Didn't eat, did you? Speak up. Lin Emo let out a furious cry. This Wang Long almost didn't give in to fear and fell to the ground. And yet, it was still all that could be shouted. Yes, get lost. A command. Wang Long and a bunch of his minions, just rolled and crawled, leaving the place. Looking at the background of this Wang Long leaving, next to him, Zhao Qian greeted him, looking at in Wang Long's back, is opened his mouth and said, Boss, you just let him go. Aren't you afraid that he'll take revenge? Retaliation? Lin Emo snorted. I don't mind letting him know if he tries to retaliate. What can be messed with and what can't? Standing here is Lin Emo. Under his eyes, he was filled with coldness, and as the words fell afterward, Zhao Qian, who was there, had his head down. This was followed by a nod of the head. All right, Zhao Qian. This Xian Xian Pavilion will need to trouble you for the next two days. Over at the Jin Lu Hotel, help me transfer over two Cantonese chefs to cover first. And while you're at it, help recruit some waiters and cooks. As the words fell, Zhao Qian, who was there, was in a hurry, and said, that's what we're supposed to do. After the words fell, Lin Emo also just left the back kitchen. In the ante room, Xin Fair also greeted them at this time. Looking at Lin Emo, that is, in a hurry, he said, Lin Emo, just now in the back kitchen, did something happen? I just saw that someone with a group of people, broke into the back kitchen. To this, Lin Emo just smiled, said, nothing much, but a bunch of guys who don't know what's going on and broke in. Instead, I ended up being educated on what to do instead. As Lin Mo's words fell after this, Zhao Qian, who was there, was confused and nodded his head, saying, like this? Okay, let's go home now. First, well, Xin Fei nodded her head, and then, the two of them just took a car and went straight to Grand Hyatt residence. No way. Lin Ma drank the wine. For the time being, it's undrivable. And with Lin Mo leaving, Zhao Qian, who was there, was busy. After all, the famous Xian Pavilion was still deserted for some time. All areas are definitely in need of organizing and recleaning. And, the dishes and stuff, that definitely needs to be restocked. And in the meantime, on the other side, Lido Lending Company, Wang Long led a group of people and returned inside the company. After returning to the chairman's office, it's just a butt, sitting on the couch, lights a cigarette, under his breath, he cursed, motherfucker, it's just fucking suffocating. Wang Long's face was filled with annoyance, as well as a few moments of indignant annoyance, sitting in the chairman's boss chair. A figure then turned the boss chair and looked at Wang Long behind him. This youth, opened his mouth and asked, Aaron, what's wrong? Hey, Lee, don't mention it. Today is fucking bad luck. Wang Long who was there took a sharp drag on his cigarette. Then there was the somewhat annoyed. Word, didn't I just take my brothers and go to the famous Xian Pavilion? As a result, who would have thought that the new boss of this Xian Pavilion is still a tough guy? Oh, hardcore? There the youth. The corners of his mouth turned up for a moment. Then, it was just said. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Tell me about it. This new boss. Seems to be called Lin Mo. This one. Wang Long told Brother Li in front of him what happened. From beginning to end. With that said, Li who was there just burst into a sneer and said, Ha, it's a bit interesting. This kid seems to have some status. Speaking of which, the bottom of this Li's eye swept over a few moments of gloom. Spin. Then it was just sorrowful. And said, But a little status. So what? I'm looking at the kid. And it's supposed to reopen tomorrow. In that case, Ah Long. Bring some people tomorrow and go over to give him some congratulatory gifts. As the words fell after that, there's Wang Lung there. There was some hesitation on his face. However, and he said, Brother Li, should we, uh, check this kid out first? Listening to Wang Long's words, Li, who was here, however, bristled and said, Check him out, do you need to? Don't you forget what I mean by that last name. I know all the top second generation in Magic City, but I've never heard of any second generation with the name Lin. This guy, I guess it's just a little second generation with a little money that came out of nowhere. Hearing Li's words, Wang Long just didn't hesitate much. Solely, it was a nod of the head. 
he was still relatively clear about the identity of this boss of his house. It seems to be the Morgormu family, an illegitimate son of the third head of the family. Since he was an illegitimate child, he took his mother's name, and it was also because of this relationship with the Mu family in Mordor. That's why they dare to be so unscrupulous and get usurious. Think about it. This wine long remembered again, the oppressive feeling Lin Mo brought to him today, and the final, gray, runaway scene with his own tail between his legs. At once, there was just some annoyance growing in the bottom of his heart. Hoomph, wait for me. A cold grunt escaped his mind. This Wang Long, after finishing a cigarette, it's just leaving the chairman's office. And for this thing between Wang Long and Li Duo Duo, Lin Mo was completely unaware of this. At this moment, he was in the middle of an intense exchange with the two of them. Qin Fair. After the deep exchange, Lin Mo was also silent and his mind was set free. And so it was. After three exchanges in one afternoon, only then did Rimmer relieve himself of his drink and return to the restaurant, picked up the car and went back home. The night flew by. Day 2, 8.30 in the morning. Inside the second villa of one eastern suburbs, Mu Nanji's manipulator, Sun Yaozhong came over at this time. However, next to him, followed his little assistant. Last night, he was following Mu Nanji's instructions, bought a portion of, Corning battery stock. However, under the fermentation of one day and two nights, Corning battery stock, straight up, just dropped a couple points out, resulted in a book account for Munanji. Over $200,000 evaporated in one day. The manipulator, at this point, was smiling bitterly. Looking at Munanji in front of him, he just opened his mouth and said, MS, Mu, as you can see, this this is a plague stock, and there were still still a few shareholders in this Corning battery as of yesterday, all at a low price, selling off the shares in their hands. These sold out shares accounted for 25% of the total share capital, so I still suggest you, better cut and sell this stock as soon as possible. This company even this Corning battery, their own shareholders are not optimistic ah, listen to this, Mu Nan Ji, who was there, said calmly, well, that's something you don't have to keep trying to talk me out of, this stock was suggested to me by my friend, and I trust my friend, as the words fell after that, Sun Yao Zhong, who was there, was green in the face, there was even a burst of secret cursing in the bottom of his heart. What kind of extreme friend is this to recommend a plague stock like Corning Batteries? And this Mu Nan Ji, is her head caught in the door? To believe such a thing? Think this crap plague of a stock, will go up? Under a heartfelt burst of angry curses, Sun Yao Zhong's face could be described as ugly. In the end, there was nothing but a sigh. He said, all right, let's see the opening then. But I still Jian EMS. Mu, you prepare yourself mentally. This stock is definitely trending down after the open. Also I have to say something to him as, Mu, this stock, I still decided not to be responsible for it. Could be, Nunanji nodded, and in the moment just after those words fell, there was a scream, but it was a violent one. Ah, my god, what's wrong? Sun Yaozhong frowned and said, Brother Sun, it's up, Corning Battery, it's up. A sentence fell, their Sun Yaozhong was confused. The whole person, so to speak, was in a state of disarray. What the hell? This junk stock. Up? What a joke. Subsequently, this Sun Yaozhan was also in a hurry and took the tablet. Look at the screen. It's almost presenting a 90 degree position. A soaring K chart. Sun Yaozhan was completely dumbfounded. This. What's the situation? What's going on? This. This can't be right. Sun Yaozhan's expression appeared to be one of immense complexity. To know. Corning battery is clearly a. Well. Dying stock now. But now, how did it suddenly, come back from the dead? Sun Yaozhong was incomparably puzzled. And even more so, he couldn't figure out this point. Yikes, brother Sun, look, just then, the little assistant, next to him, handed out the one in his hand. At this point, a news story was being broadcast on the cell phone. This is a live press release from Corning Batteries. And this live launch, the title of the heckler is, the latest blade batteries have been successfully developed and are being used in new energy vehicles. Watch this news message. Here Sun Yaozhong really is completely dumbfounded. It's actually really alive. Sun Yaozhong, who was here, was full of dawning realization. Think back to earlier. He himself urged Mu Nanji to sell off all the shares in his hand. It's just a pang of afterthought, as well as feeling awkward. After all, in the earlier part of the day, he himself was mouthing off, saying that this was a junk stock. But change hands. People just go hard and punch themselves in the face. Junk stock? This is clearly a potential. The moment. Sun Yaozhong could be described as embarrassed. More than that, he felt that his face, was burning with pain. 
Subsequently, this Sun Yao Zhong is also just completely, no face to continue to stay here. Hurriedly, he just excused himself, and Mu Nanji looked at Sun Yao Zhong who ran away in ashes. There was also a soft cold grunt under his breath. Skittishly, he said, Hmph let's see if you guys, in the future, still dare to be bullish. And think of this, Mu Nanji, however, was jubilant, all the way towards Lin Mo's house. After all, as far as this stock's crazy momentum goes, I'm afraid I, myself, can make a hard score. When the time comes, don't say anything about the vacancy in your own mission. I'm just afraid that, incidentally, I'll be able to make a whole lot more money. For this reason, she was intending to be face to face, and thank Lin Mo. Inside Villa 1, Hope Kwan looked at the computer and saw that the stock had surged 4% in such a short while. The whole thing could have been a complete mess. To know, my own boss told himself yesterday before he left, if someone dumps their stock, buy them all. Even Corning Battery, which has shareholders selling off, is buying together. Follow that. The total amount of stock that Hope Huang earned yesterday, that's taking up 27% of Corning Battery's total share capital, and that share of shares, it's only been a little while, that's making tens of millions of dollars back. The moment. Huang Wan gulped for a moment. When I think of yesterday, my own boss kind of swore. The heart is not immune to just a little bit of speculation. Could it be that? Is this your own boss? Who was informed in advance? But if the news is known in advance, shouldn't have dared, so blatantly, to buy in large amounts ah, boss, this, there's Hope Wong there, incredulously, he looked at Lin Mo, just when I was about to say something, the villa's doorbell, but it suddenly rang out, go ahead and open the door, Lin Mo, calmly, opened his mouth, aha, Hope Wong nodded, then, all the way to the door, pull open the door to the villa room, butler Huang, is Lin Mo he home, yes ms, Mu, said, Huang Yuan looked at Lin Mo, said, Boss, Miss Mu is here, let her come in, and Butler Huang Yu help make a pot of tea, nodded, leading Mu Nanji into the villa, this Huang Yuan just turned around, went inside the kitchen and started making tea, as for Mu Nanji, she was all excited, came to Lin Mo's face, with elation on his face, he opened his mouth, Lin Mo, that stock you recommended really went up like crazy, Mu Nanji had a look of joy on her face, I'll tell you what, that stock manager of mine, he didn't believe the stock could go up before. It has been recommended to me before to dump this stock in a hurry. Turned out to be green in the face after today's big rise. In the end, the whole thing was even more gray. Which made me laugh. Listen to this. Lin Mo also just smiled gently. Yeah, in that case, then you listen to me. Whenever I tell you to throw, that's when. Aha, good. Mu Nanji nodded her head repeatedly. And then, it was looking at Lin Mo. Road, Lin Mo. You've done me such a big favor. You said, how am I supposed to do this? To thank you? Mu Nanji stared at Lin Mo and opened her mouth. Air, listening to the words of Mu Nanji. Here's Lin Ma. The look was upside down, with a few moments of embarrassment. However, before he could say anything, Mu Nanji, however, had already come up. Lips quickly, pressed against Lin Mo's mouth. The body also straddled Lin Mo's lap. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was straightforward leaning against the backrest of the sofa in one go. The whole person, at this point, appeared to be a bit confused. For a moment, the brain failed to respond somewhat. After all, the action was just, well, a little too exciting. And it's at this point in time. Instead, Huang Yuan made tea and walked out of the kitchen. Boss, Mu, before she could finish her sentence. It's just straight up, seeing the scene in front of me. Hope Huang froze. The next moment, a quick turn of the head. And yet, Mao Nanji was in a state of panic. In a hurry, he got up from Lin Mo's body. The face was, at that moment, also red, and Huang Wan coughed. Then, with a look as if nothing had happened, walked up to the two men. A cup of tea was served to both men. What followed was turning away. The moment, the air, looked a little awkward. That, just now, Mu Nanji stammered. Just as she was about to say something, Lin Mo, who was here, was violently bullying his way up. For a moment, the air seemed sweet. The two of them passed about three minutes before they separated. Munanji gasped for air. The face looked a little flushed. Badass. Gently, he hammered on Lin Mo's shoulder. Here in Munanzi, her cheeks were crimson. Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled gently. The corners of his mouth burst, upturned for it. But just then, Lin Mo's cell phone, however, suddenly rang. It was Zhao Qian who called himself. Boss, something's wrong, those guys from yesterday, 
they're here again, just after connecting, Zhao Qian's voice rang out, listen to this, Lin Mo's face, too, instantly went cold, the phone hung up, Lin Mo's face was as gloomy as ink, Rimmer, what's wrong, Mu Nan Ji, who was next to him, opened her mouth and asked Lin Mo, the famous Xi'an court restaurant, which is in my name, is in trouble, said, Lin Mo was the one who told the story from beginning to end, as Lin Mo finished his words, Mu Nan Ji, who was there, also looked indignant on her small face, said, it's too much, I didn't realize that now, there are still such people, Yunanji gritted his teeth for a while, for what happened to Lin Mo, the heart only felt, was irritated, I'll go over there with you, said, that's what Munanzi was along for the ride, getting up to leave, as for Lin Mo, he called out to Huang Yuan, let Hope Wong drive the car, the three of them, one by one, ran towards the famous Xin Pavilion restaurant, en route, Lin Mo also glanced at his cell phone, after tapping on the trillion dollar subsidy app, inside is just one item lying around, 100% of Blackwater security, subsidized price, 8, 8, looking at this item, Lin Mo instantly smiled, spinning around, that is, buying it without hesitation, purchase successful, the product is being delivered, estimated delivery time, 15 minutes, please wait for the receipt, Ming Xian Court Restaurant, with Huang Wan driving after arriving, Lin Mo let Mu Nan Ji, stay in the car, he himself got out of the car and walked towards the entrance of the restaurant, Zhao Qian, who had been waiting at the door, after seeing Lin Mo arrive, that is to say, in a hurry, open your mouth, boss, you're here, uh, people in there, yeah, in there, the guys have been hogging the dining room since they got here, just ordered a peanut brittle and a slap of cucumber, asked for some beer, and stayed there, there were about 20 of them, 3 by 3 at a table, taking up half the dining room seats, listening to Zhao Qian's words, Lin Mo's face was slightly cold, it's obvious that it's here to deliberately pick a fight, hearing this, Lin Mo sneered in his heart, yeah, it's just a bunch of them in the restaurant, now, yes, other customers walked in the door and looked at the group and immediately walked out, Zhao Qian said, it can be a bit of a teeth gnashing experience, and Lin Mo's gaze grew colder and colder, so, Rimmer walked into the dining room, just got in, Wang Long just greeted him with a smile, turning to Lin Mo, he just opened his mouth, ha ha, boss Lin is here, I should have told you yesterday, approach the store at your own peril, it seems that your company is taking my words, as if they had fallen on deaf ears, Lin Mo swept across the entire hall, the entire hall, half of the tables, were filled with a bunch of punks, these people, one by one, just leaned in, all in all, it's just a very hangdog look, and for that, Wang Long, who was there, then smiled, hey, boss Lin, you can't say that, I've brought, today, my gang of brothers, it's mainly because I want to support your business, Mr. Lin, so, Lin Mo looked at the group of people here, after glancing at the cell phone, then it was just a slow way of saying, my last, I'll give you five more minutes, you'd better get out of my sight, immediately, with your brothers, otherwise, there will be consequences, Lin Mo's tone was icy cold, listening to Lin Mo's words, Wang Long, who was there, was not the least bit vain, just skimmed it without paying too much attention, the five minutes are up, the twenty or so people here, however, didn't even move, okay, Lin Mo nodded his head, afterward, taking Zhao Qian with him, he left the restaurant, just as soon as you get out of the door of the restaurant, Lin Mo just opened his mouth indifferently, go, get all the security guards, cooks and waiters in the restaurant, to leave quietly, then take the surveillance in the restaurant, empty it all out, and destroy it, boss, what are you, Zhao Qian was a bit hesitant, Lin Mo, on the other hand, had a calm face and spoke, just do as I tell you, these people, I have my own way of dealing with them, listen to this, Zhao Qian, who was there, just nodded his head, and Lin Mo stood on the side of the road, afterwards, a cell phone was pulled out, straight away, it was dialing Blackwater security, the general manager, as soon as it was connected, Bibi's respectful voice rang out, boss, listen to the voice on the other end of the phone, Lin Mo's cold and cold voice was what followed, take three teams and come to the famous Xi'an pavilion, everyone should not wear company related clothing or drive company cars, and, remember to wear a mask and use the back door of Ming Xi'an court to get in, there's a bunch of people in there, and when you do it, do it with a little bit of discretion, as these words from Lin Mo fell, the general manager of Blackwater Security on the other end of the phone was all of a sudden bursting into laughter, saying, don't worry boss, we'll do a clean job, and, 
There is a lightness of hand down there. Well, it's for the best. After hanging up the phone, that's when Lin Mo returned to the car. In the dining room, Wang Lung's table. Lung, we'll be fine if we continue here, won't we? Ch, what can happen? That guy is just talking at best. What can he do to us? Even if he reports it to the police, the magistrates will come and there's nothing they can do about us. What I can tell you is that the boss behind us, that's an unusual connection. Wang Long said with a face full of disdain. In his opinion, Lin Mo was, at most, a rich second generation with a little bit of money. And, like this slightly rich kid, that is, arguably, the best to deal with. This guy, just now, wasn't still threatening them. Give them five minutes to get out of the restaurant? But now, let alone five minutes, even ten minutes, that's gone by. Don't they still, without much to do, sit here anymore? Think about it. This Wang Long's face, too, grew more and more disdainful. Sure enough, it's just an ordinary, ordinary second generation guy. With that thought fell, all the waiters of this Xin pavilion, however, also withdrew in droves. In the restaurant, there were only about 20 of them left. Brother Long, this atmosphere, it seems like something is wrong, listening to his little brother. Wang Long also raised his head and looked towards the surroundings. This atmosphere, just as Wang Long's heart was suspicious, in the middle of the back room of this restaurant, of a sudden, 30 or 40 people came pouring out. The group, uniformly dressed in black undershirts with black masks. This, one moment, Wang Long, who was here, developed a bad feeling in his heart. You are, just in the instant when Wang Long's thoughts had just fallen. There are more than 30 people here. In droves, it's a set of finger tigers. Then, it was a rush. For a moment, in the restaurant, there was a lot of screaming. Outside, Cullen and An, listened to the shouts coming from the restaurant. Lin Mo, on the other hand, was calmly playing with his cell phone. And next to them, Mu Nanji and Huang Yuan were a bit nervous. Lin Mo, this, Mu Nanji looked at Lin Mo and said, Lin Mo, on the other hand, smiled blandly and said, there's no need to worry about anything. These guys, they know how to hit hard. Sitting there is Lin Ma. It was all, calm and unhurried. Looking at this appearance of Lin Mo, Mu Nanji's heart, but also gradually, settled down. After almost five or six minutes, the screams inside, gradually just got smaller. See this, Lin Mo also got out of the car again. Then, through the alley to the back door. Enter the interior of the dining room through the kitchen door. At this point, Wang Lung a cadre of others, one after another just lay on the ground. There were no visible injuries on the body. However, the body was in pain, preventing them from moving. You, looking at Lin Mo who appeared, Wang Long, who was there, had an ugly face. I should have told you to get yourself out of here in five minutes or suffer the consequences. Lin Mo's voice was icy cold, while at this moment, Wang Long's face was looking a bit grim. However, and yet he was afraid to say something. And, he was even more afraid, of this behavior of Lin Mo. Straight up, come up for a good beating. It's simply more brutal than they are. At that, this operation, it really shook them up, so to speak. And here's the kicker, the group of people who beat themselves up, that were all wearing masks and uniform black clothes, sleeved finger tigers, hit them where they're at. Uniformly, they are all in places like the abdomen and the two ribs. After these places are hit, at best, it hurts, and the force of the other party was very well controlled. Directly would not constitute even a minor injury. It's completely visible. On the other side, it's just a bunch of well-trained guys. This is also seen in this way. The identity of the group. Definitely not simple. What do you want? Wan Long was silent for a while and said, The address of your company. I know that you definitely don't own your company. Lin Mo, who was there, calmly spoke. After all, in his opinion, this Wan Long was absolutely, no guts, to come back to his own place. Yesterday, his own line, definitely has, scared the shit out of this guy. Now, he dared to come back, no doubt about it. There is definitely someone else behind him. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Wan Long gritted his teeth. And then, that is to say, Oriental Mansion, 17th floor, Lido Lending, listening to the words of this Wan Long, without hesitation, Lin Mo just turned around and left. At the same time, there was a slight lurch in his footsteps, then said, let the guys, rest inside the store a little longer, and wait half an hour before you drive them out. After saying this, only then did Rimmer, who was here, take the back door and leave the restaurant. Back in the car, Mu Nanji was also in a hurry. Asking, how's it going? Mu Nanji, who was here, was a little anxious in the bottom of her heart. 
Lin Mo, on the other hand, was unhurried and said, It's okay, asked for the address where the boss behind the scenes is at. Now to the 17th floor of the Oriental building. Look for a company called Lee Dodd Lending. Lin Mo's tone, appeared somewhat calm. And as Lin Mo's words fell, Mu Nan Ji, who was here, was stunned. Lido Lending? What's wrong? Glancing at Mu Nan Ji next to him, Lin Mo looked puzzled. Nothing, it's just that the company, the name sounds a little familiar to me. Mu Nan Ji's heart was full of doubts. After all, by all rights, one should not, between oneself, have anything to do with this kind of lending company. But, why does it always seem that the name of this lending company, is very familiar? But the bias, for a moment, couldn't think for itself. I've heard of this company somewhere. I'll ask Uncle Sun, to help find out. Okay. Lin Mo nodded his head. After that, it was for Huang Wan to start the car. The Oriental Mansion was not far from Lin Mo's store, but it was only seven or eight minutes, and that's when they arrived. Came to the Oriental Mansion, the two got out of the car. At this point in time Lin Mo. Instead, he was calm, looking at the Oriental Mansion building that was in front of him. Next to it, Munanji followed here. Huang Wan, on the other hand, went to find a place to park. We're going upstairs, said. Lin Mo was the one who brought Munanji and started to go upstairs. Munanji followed. The two of them went all the way, straight to the 17th floor. Come to the 17th floor. The two had just left the elevator, when Munanji's cell phone, however, suddenly rang. Pick it up. It's Sun Foley's phone. Uncle Sun's call. I guess there's a result. I'll take it first. Gestured at Lin Mo. Munanji opened his mouth and spoke. Okay, I'll go in first then. Having said that, Lin Mo arrived at the entrance of this Li Duo lending company. Push open the door. The receptionist was the one who said to Lin Mo, Can I help you? Sir, I've come to see your boss. Lin Mo, who was standing here, spoke in a calm tone. So, sir, do you have an appointment? You tell him directly that the new owner of Ming Xian Pavilion is here. Listen to this. The receptionist, who was here, was in awe. Yes sir, I'll ask then. After saying that, this reception is dialing the phone of the boss's office. After a couple of words, the phone hung up. In turn, a few smiles appeared on the receptionist's face, opened his mouth. Sir, please also follow me. Having said that, the receptionist here is the one who leads Lin Ma, all the way towards the boss's office. At this point, inside the boss's office, Lidoto sat down in the boss's chair. A slight frown creased his brow. In his hand, he was playing with a cultural walnut. How did the owner of the Xian court find my company? Strange. I asked Wang Long to bring someone over at noon. Why is there no news until now? This Li Duo duo's heart nourished a few moments of doubt. But then, this strand of doubt is just thrown away. After all, this is your own territory. Even if Lin Mo had eight hands and was in his own territory. So what? Not to mention, outside his own office, there's still about a dozen of them. Think about it. Laid was heart. However, settled down. At this point, there was also a knock on the office door. Boss, the guests have arrived. Subsequently, the office door was pushed open. Lin Mo then walked in. This Li Duo waved his hand and said, All right, go ahead and get out. After letting the receptionist leave, this Li Duo body can't even afford to get down. Just up and down. Looking at Lin Mo there, he said, Oh, you're the new owner of Ming Xian Pavilion? I didn't expect you to come to my company on your own. Seems like that's still pretty ballsy. Lin Mo on the other hand, was big and bold, sitting on the sofa. Then, then he just said calmly, it seems that yesterday, Wang Long didn't tell you. Yesterday, I asked him to warn you of the words. At this point, the entrance to the Lido Lending Company, Mu Nan Ji, who was answering the phone, looked at the door of the lending company in front of her with an odd face. Okay, I got it. After that, the phone hung up, mentally muttering. I didn't realize that this Lido Lending Company, I can't believe that the company is run by the illegitimate son that Uncle Sam left outside in his fling back then. And now, Uncle Sam is actually on his way here. At this point, Mu Nanji also finally figured it out. Why does one feel familiar about Lido Lending? The name of the company. Original. It is not the company that one's ears are familiar with. Rather, it's the name Lido. One should have seen this Li Duo duo at the family's annual meeting some years ago. Now, that's a bit of fun. The corners of Mu Nanji's mouth. An upturn. After all, now his own third uncle, is on his way. This matter of Sun Fu investigating Li Duo Duo was known by his own grandfather. His own grandfather? After hearing what happened, it was to his third uncle that he lashed out. Let it hurry up. One time, 
That's where Munanji waited at the elevator entrance. Inside the chairman's office, Liwa listened to Lin Mo's words. He was stunned and said, What's the word? Sitting on the couch, Lin Ma poured himself a cup of tea. Then, it was here, blowing on the air and taking a slight sip. There was a frown, set the tea aside, garbage tea, and looking at this action of Lin Mo, on Lidwa's forehead, a burst of veins popped up. This Lin Ma, it was really a bit, well, a bit too arrogant. Totally, it's a look that doesn't give a damn. At this moment, Lin Mo's voice, too, leisurely sounded. In yesterday's time, I warned him, keep your people, away from my company or suffer the consequences. It seems that this is something that Wang Long, he didn't tell you clearly. As the words fell, in the back of Lido's mind, some bad feeling came to mind. And then, he hastily dialed Wang Long's phone. The phone rang for a while after that, but no one answered. This next one, Li Duo Duo's face, but a burst of, for which it is ugly up. Immediately, it was in a deep voice. Taking a deep breath, he looked at Lin Mo and said, What did you do with Wang Long and the others? What happened? Don't worry, the man isn't dead, he's just going to be laid up for a while. Lin Mo laughed lightly and said, You, Li Duo Duo slammed the table, and in the bottom of his eyes, there was anger surfacing. But then, a smile just appeared on his face and said, Ha, huh, it seems that you are really bold. How dare you come to my place after hurting our company. It seems that you really don't know how the word, death, is written. Having said that, Li Duo violently slammed the teacup in his hand and slammed it hard on the ground. Snap, with the sound of tea breaking, outside the door, a crowd surged in, the original large owner's office. It seemed crowded at once, and this group of people surrounded Lin Mo, Li Duo Duo, who was here, was also slowly, at this time, arriving in front of Lin Mo. Kid, in this magic city, no one has dared to hurt my Li Duo Duo. You, are the first, yes? Glancing at Lido, Lin Mo's expression, on the other hand, was calm and collected. Ha, kid, I'm giving you two choices now. There was Lido, with a scowl on his face. Either, today, these three dozen brothers of mine will put you in the hospital. Either, you stay here today for 50 million dollars and then, get yourself out. Listen to this, Lin Mo. However, sneered, what are you laughing at? Lidwa frowned, puzzled. Ha, nothing, I was just laughing at you. You don't have a big body, but you have a big appetite. Kid, you're looking for death. Lido's face, twisted together, and next to him a bunch of minions. At this time, they also opened their mouths to angrily rebuke. Kid, don't you give your face away. I can warn you, this is in our territory. Watch your mouth. Kid, a lot of furious shouting. Lin Mo, however, remained, sitting calmly, looking at Lin Mo's this, cloudy appearance. There was Li Duo there, but in the bottom of his heart, he was annoyed. This guy, where the hell did that come from? Up to now, it's still the same, light and breezy look? The moment, Li Duo Duo's heart was irritated beyond measure, and on the sidelines, one of the minions, too, could see what his boss was thinking. Immediately, it was cursing and walking up to Lin Mo. Get the fuck up you kid. Cursing all the while, this little brother on one side, is ready to reach out, to grab Lin Mo's collar. Watch this little brother in action. Lin Mo frowned slightly and his body was slightly flanked. And after, the palm of his hand was violently just stretched out. One grabbed the other's hair and slammed it on his palm. Boo! There was a loud bang. The glass coffee table in front of him, shattered straight away. And this little brother's whole body was embedded inside this coffee table. Don't move your hands. Lin Mo spoke indifferently. Watching Lin Mo's movements, the crowd that was here was just bluffed. Lin Mo's movements just now were simply too fast, to the extent that, everyone here, that was all over the place, didn't react. But then, this Lido came back to his senses. The mouth immediately cursed angrily, saying, How dare you, give it all to me, I'll be responsible for any injuries. However, the words just fell, outside. However, there was a cacophony of voices, and a pop. I'd like to see which one of you dares to touch Mr. Lin, with an angry cry, an imposing man with a country face walked in with a quick step. Beside him, he was followed by a woman with a slender and diminutive figure. Looking at the middle-aged man who walked in, Lidodo was dumbfounded. Before he could react, this middle-aged man was already taking quick steps and arrived in front of Lin Mo. Hastily, that is, respectfully, said, Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry, I'm the one who's late. Are you alright? It's okay. Lin Mo said flatly, at the same time, there was some curiosity in looking at Munanzi. While there, Munanji was looking like she was watching a good show. As for this middle-aged man, 
After listening to Lin Mo's words, there was also a sigh of relief in his mouth. Next moment. Then it was with a face of annoyance that he walked quickly to Li Duo Duo's face. Raising his foot was a vicious kick out. Li Duo Duo, you rebellious son, who gave you the nerve to touch Mr. Lin? Do you know that Mr. Lin is the old master's honored guest? A snarl underneath. Lying on the ground curled up in a pain Lido. The moment was just dumbfounded. The whole thing. Eyes glazed over. It was as if the mind had been bombarded with tons of heavy hammers. Here's Lido. At this point it's clueless. He completely missed it. My own father-in-law. Actually came. And coming up. It was giving himself a kick. And. Moreover. It is claimed. Lin M.O. It's the old man's honored guest. This. What a joke. This guy. What the hell. And there. Mu Lianshan. At that moment looked at this son of his. It was a burst of teeth. In the first place. How could he have been so confused and gotten such a rebellious son? Should have shot himself on the wall in the first place. Strongly suppress the annoyance. Mulian Shan walked over to Lidwa. A hard kick in the ass. And under his breath. He cursed angrily. You bastard. Why don't you hurry up and apologize to the other mister? Lin. Listening to Mulian Shan's words. This Li Duo Duo hurriedly. Just crawled to Lin Mo's face. He knows. It's a big deal. After all. This old man of his. He still spoiled himself on weekdays. But now, it's actually directly on his feet. There is no doubt about it. Things are big. Crawled to Lin M.O. This Li Duo Duo's expression was incomparably terrified. In a row. That is. Said. Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin. That was all a misunderstanding before us. I really didn't know that you were actually the old man's honored guest. Please be generous and spare me this time for what happened before. Between this Li Duo Duo's words. They were filled with fear. And the crowds around them. At this time. His expression also looked a bit stunned. Even more so. It felt, well, a million times more ridiculous. After all, the boss of his own family, the boss who can call the shots in the magic city. Now, it's actually against one. The youth, who appeared to be no more than in his early twenties, knelt down and prayed for forgiveness. This kind of thing. For a moment, stunned and shocked appeared on everyone's expression. Also at this time, Lin M.O., who was sitting there, also had a somewhat odd look on his face as he looked at this Li Duo Duo. This guy, he's actually from the Mu family? Mentally, he sneered. Lin Mo shook his head bashfully and said, A little while ago, I seem to remember you telling me, either that, or you put me in the hospital today, either that, or I'll give you 50 million dollars right? Said, Lin Mo, who was here, also stood up, and there was Lido, with more sweat on his forehead, mouth in a row, said, Misunderstandings? That's all misunderstandings. Misunderstanding? Lin Mo let out a scornful laugh. I don't think so. It was a misunderstanding. Now, I'll give you two choices too. Either that, or I'll put you in the hospital later and lay you down for a year and a half. Either that, or you'll spend $500 million of your own money to smooth things over. Here's Lin Ma. The words were full of coldness. Two conditions uttered. Mu Lianshan, who was there, was green in the face. A year and a half in the hospital? Or maybe, Give Lin Mo $500 million himself? It's either option. Those are all existences that nearly cost him half his life. Next to him, Mu Lianshan's expression looked a bit bitter. He knows, there's no way to make this right. And if it was anyone else, it's something to do with your status and face. This son of his, an apology would have been in order. However, this Lin Mo is different. That's an honored guest of his own master. The old man, after knowing that, Li Duo Duo had offended Lin Mo. That's taking a crutch and just getting ready to slam it into yourself. And, himself on the way here. That was also understanding. Part of Lin Mo's identity information. So, this Mu Lianshan, at this time, could only smile bitterly and said, Mr. Lin, I hope you'll bear with me if my ungrateful son offends you, but this $500 million is too much, and I can't get it here for a while. I also ask for your grace for two days, and when it is all put together, I will personally deliver it to your house. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo nodded his head. What followed was a walk towards the outside. Nani, let's go. Good. Nunanji nodded, spinning to keep up. At the same time, to Mulian Shan, who was there, he said, Uncle San, I'll go ahead on my end. Okay, slow down on the road. Mulian Shan accompanied with a smile and said, looking at the two of them, Lin Mo and Munanji, after they left, that was a relief. Then, with a face full of hateful looks, he looked at Lidwa who was here. The fists were also gradually clenching. Get out. All of you. Glanced at a bunch of other people next to him. Mu Lianshan said in a deep voice. Yes. The minions in the office. 
At this point the flurry is just leaving the office. One time, within this office, it was that only Mu Lianshan and Li Duo Duo remained. Dad, Li Do whispered, you shut the fuck up, I don't have a son like you, Mu Lianshan said with great annoyance. At once, Li Duo's neck shrank, I fucking told you a long time ago, there are people out there, I told you to take it easy and go do something else, but you didn't, now that's a good thing, messing with someone who really shouldn't be messed with. There, Mu Lianshan, a burst of anger, Li Do, on the other hand, whispered, Dad, that person just now, what exactly is his origin ah? Mulian Shan exhaled. Then, it was just said, I'm not too sure exactly what the other side is coming from, but the old man treated him, that is, with courtesy, and I know part of the information after I investigated. Between that person just now, and the Wang family, there's a bit of a relationship. The king's family? Lido froze, unable to react for a moment, but then, in a whirlwind, that's what came to mind. In a hurry, his face changed. The Wang family of the Trina group? Nice. Mu Lianshan calmly said, followed by a leisurely tone. You have, this time, sort of stabbed me in the back. That's 500 million. You've got to get it together as soon as you can. Otherwise, I can't even protect you if they really start a fire. I know. Li Duo's expression shifted for a moment. He knew that his father wasn't trying to scare him. The Wang family of the Trina group. It wasn't something he, a bastard, could go up against. Even the Mudu family in Mudu where his own father was from. That's not even a physical presence. Possibly. Only the most rooted Sunan Mu family is qualified to fight against it. But then, his face just got bitter. But, Dad, I can't come up with all 500 million of these. Here was Lidwa with a bitter look on his face. Hey, I'll get you part of it later. Adversary. Mu Lianshan was shaking his head for a while at this time, saying, Other side. Car. The two of them, Lin Mo and Mu Nanji, sat in the back row. Just now, Lin Mo had also figured out the exact situation from Mu Nanji. I didn't realize that it was actually such a relationship. This Lin Mo, with a burst of light laughter, said, also at this point in time, this Munin branch suddenly, said, by the way, there's an auction tomorrow, do you want to come along? An auction? What auction? Lin Mo was a bit puzzled. There's a charity auction luncheon tomorrow at 11.30 p.m. M. at the Magic City Hotel. I've been invited over to represent the Mu family, so why don't you accompany me there? Uh, okay, then I'll walk you through it tomorrow. Contemplated. Lin Mo nodded his head. That's fine, I'll yell for you to come along then. Well, but since it's a charity luncheon, how about you donate a painting instead of me? As these words from Lin Mo fell, Munanji froze, then the eyes just lit up for it. In a hurry, it was the opening of the mouth. Good, but with your strength, donate a painting then. If you put it up for auction, it would be worth at least 60 to 70 million dollars. Think of it as charity. Lin Mo smiled. And after, the three just went back home. Because in your own home, there are no scribes. Lin Mo was also the one who went to Moon Nanji's home. After the quill has absorbed the ink, the pen travels like a dragon. With a burst of dragons on the paper, a written painting of flowers and birds just floats on the paper. Looking at this painting by Lin Mo, Moon Nanji, who was there? was also stumped by it for a while. This painting, it's absolutely amazing. A staggering, Mu Nanji, who was here, couldn't help but feel a pang of emotion. Lin Mo, what is the name of this painting? Looking at the painting, Lin Mo's heart sank for a moment. Then he just spoke. Just call it Cuckoo. As these words from Lin Mo fell, Mu Nanji's mouth, on the other hand, was murmuring a bit. Cuckoo, that's a good name. Listening to this Lin Mo, just a faint smile. All right. Then I'll trouble Nani. You'll help send it to the auction. Aha. Uh -huh. Nodded. The two who were here. That is. Parted with it. Lin Mo. On the other hand. Was all the way. Back home. Back home. Managing director of Blackwater Security. It was also a call to Lin Mo. After the debriefing. Only then did Lin Mo enter the basement and begin his workout. A day passed very quickly. Noon. 11 o'clock. The entrance to the Magic City Hotel. After Sun Fu handed the car keys to the parking attendant, the group just went all the way, into the middle of this hotel, walking on the road. Mu Nanji was also introducing the charity luncheon to Lin Mo. This charity luncheon was a small one of sorts. Those who came to the luncheon basically all belonged to, and had a reputation in Magic City, down in bits and pieces. It's almost in the neighborhood of 50 or 60 people in size. Several people arrived on the fifth floor. After Mu Nanji received a pamphlet from the staff's hands, it is to open it up and look through today's auction items. Not a moment too soon. That is, 
He saw Lin Mo's painting of a written flower and bird. The moment she saw the painting of birds and flowers, Mu Nanji noticed it. Starting prices below. Boy, Mu Nanji smacked his lips a bit. The bottom of his heart was also a bit staggered. What's wrong? Lin Mo was also a bit curious. Look at this flower and bird painting of yours. Lin Mo moved over to take a look. The moment the starting price was noticed, the whole person also sucked in a burst of cold air. I'll go. The starting bid is $20 million? Lin Mo, who was here, was also somewhat stunned in his heart. He fell back on a complete failure to think. This painting of himself is actually worth so much. The starting bid alone reached the amount of $20 million. This price, isn't it set a little too high? Lin Mo opened his mouth and spoke. However, just after those words fell, on the side, a light laughter that sounded like a silver bell just rang out. This starting price is definitely not expensive. I received the message last night, which is when I saw the painting. At that time, according to a friend of mine, I was told that the painting was from the hand of a patriarch. And, according to their valuation, the painting is priced around 80 to 90 million dollars. Listen to this. Lin Mo was also in a flurry. Stumped by it, he was not expecting it. It's amazing that this painting of his own is so sought after. But then, it just froze. This is, who's talking? The heart carries curiosity. Lin Mo also twisted his head to look. Only a woman in a strapless white gown was standing by. On its white neck, it wore an 18 karat white gold necklace. It's set with, like, a diamond. Yikes, Huan Huan, you're here too? Mu Nan she said with some surprise in her heart. Yes, I came for the painting. Zhou Wan laughed softly. Then, it was with a smile on his face, looking towards Lin Mo who was next to him, said, Is this your little boyfriend? Hearing Zhou Wan's words, Mu Nan Ji's face instantly blushed and said, Huan Huan don't talk nonsense, between Lin Mo and I, it's not that kind of relationship, between us, we are nothing more than mere friends. Mu Nan Ji spoke in a hurry, Zhou Wan who listened to this, there was a light chuckle, said, yeah, it's all relationship, and it's still ordinary? Mu Nan Ji stomped her foot, then looked at Lin Mo, opened his mouth and spoke, Lin Mo, let me introduce you, this is Zhou Wan, the missus of the Zhou group. The two of us, we've been best friends since we were kids. Huan Huan, this is my neighbor. Lin Mo, hello MS. Zhou, Lin Mo smiled. Hello, let me tell you. Nani, she has a lot of bad habits. If you're with her, then you should be careful from now on. Zhou Wan, on the other hand, had a burst of it and laughed. Zhou Wan, Mu Nan Ji's face flushed red. Ha ha, Zhou Wan burst out laughing. Spinning around, he looked at the brochure in Mu Nanzi's hand said, well, 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 not much else to say, I didn't expect your family, to let you come here, I wouldn't want to come to a luncheon like this if it wasn't for this painting, Zhou Wan bristled, then the look just seemed excited, let me tell you, this patriarchal painting of flowers and birds, definitely the pinnacle of the writer's school of flower and bird painting in these years, at 80 million dollars to buy it back, I'd say that's picking up the slack, this time I'm going to take this painting and buy it back, no matter what, listen to this, Lin Mo's face gradually looked odd. After all, he hadn't really thought about it. It's amazing that this flower and bird painting of his own can be so popular. Obviously, himself merely, for this charity luncheon. In half an hour, just a pair of flower and bird paintings given out casually. And Mu Nan Ji, who had witnessed all of this, was also looking odd at this time. Lin Mo then coughed and said, This painting, is it really as awesome as you say? That's for sure. Zhou Wan immediately said firmly, Inside this painting, that aesthetic mood, and the feeling of flowers and birds blooming is definitely top-notch, hey, forget it, you don't know anything about calligraphy and painting anyway, so it's useless to talk about it, anyway, I'm going to settle for this patriarchal painting, the words came out, the two who were here, Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji, at once, the look was odd, as Lu Wan's words fell, Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji who were there, for a moment, looked a little speechless, the look was odd, Lin Mo, don't know anything about calligraphy and painting? In the presence of the author of this patriarchal painting of flowers and birds, the cuckoo himself, that he, uh, doesn't know anything about calligraphy and painting? That said, Mu Nan Ji opened her mouth, wanting to say something. Lu Wan, on the other hand, was all over the place, not noticing the odd look on these two men's faces. She was, now, blazing with godliness, staring at the painting and calligraphy that had been placed in front of him. However, it was also at this time, not far away, a voice rang out, Huan Huan, Lu Wan, who was looking at the calligraphy in painting, and Mu Nanji, who was on the opposite side, both of them were stunned at this point, 
Then, too, a frown creased his brow, the voice, they all discerned who the visitor was, and this visitor was one they disliked very much, Lin M.O., on the other hand, twisted his head to look, only a dry, thin young man dressed in bright blue and extraordinarily tawdry was visible, it's coming this way, after approaching, the man also noticed, on the opposite side, Mu Nan Ji, a few moments later, a few moments of joy came out of his eyes, said, Nan Ji is here too, listening to the man's address, Lin Mo frowned, as for the two of them, Mu Nan Ji and Lu Wan, a few moments of disgust surfaced in the bottom of their eyes, Lu Wan said directly, Young Wu, the two of us, Nan Ji and I, don't seem to be familiar with you, and please call us by our full names when you address us, this statement was made, there was some embarrassment for Wu Sancher here, and afterward, said, hey, there's no such thing as familiarity, a few more exchanges, then don't you get acquainted, speaking of which, Wu Sancher, at this time, was also paying attention, Lin Mo who had been silent on the side, and this is, Mu Nan Ji's instantly was to say, this is my friend, the cold voice fell, there, Wu Sanchi's eyes narrowed slightly, looking Lin Mo up and down, underneath his eyes, a few moments of coldness flowed out, so it's a friend of yours, Nani, with that statement, here Mu Nan Ji's expression cooled slightly, Xiao Wu, please also show some respect and address me by my full name, Mu Nan Ji's words fell, Wu Sanchi looked, too, a little embarrassed, said, hey, Nami, you're talking about, before Wu Sancher could finish his sentence, Lin Mo's voice, leisurely rang out, Wu Xiao, right, do you not understand human language, or what, didn't you hear her, Nani, tell you to show some respect when you yell, as Lin Mo's voice fell, Mu Nan Ji blushed slightly, there wasn't the slightest bit of mind about Lin Mo calling her by her name, instead, it also leaned towards Lin Mo's side, Wu Sancher looked at the scene, it was just about to blow up, at the bottom of his heart, there were a few moments of annoyance, on what grounds, calling out Munanji's name directly by himself won't work, and this kid, he can just call Munanji by his first name, the moment, Wu Sanchi's face, completely gloomy, looking at Lin Mo in front of him, slowly, it was the opening of the mouth, what do you mean, it doesn't mean much, I'm just curious about Wu Xiao, are you out of your mind or out of your ear, but now it seems that there is no problem with your ears, Young Wu, Lin Mo, who was here, was full of flatness between his words, with the words falling, next to Munanji and Lu Wan, immediately put a laugh, and after, just a little playfully, he looked over at Wu Sancher, this time, Wu Sanchi's face, was completely cold, wanted to have a seizure, but after looking around, and yet, they can only press it down, and at this point, Wu Sancher, who was here, was seeing it again, the brochure that was held in Lu Wan's hand, it just happened to be above, flipping to the page of Lin Mo's painting of the cuckoo, after the coldness swept under his eyes, road, humph, looks like you guys are eyeing this cuckoo, in that case, you guys wait for me, today, I'll make it inevitable that you won't be able to take down this cuckoo, after all was said and done, Wu Sancher walked away without looking back, Lin Mo and Mu Nin Ji, who were here, were in a state of indifference, on the contrary, it was Lu Wan, whose look appeared to be a little sad, said, Nani, in that case, what can we do, Lu Wan looked a little flustered, this cuckoo she was aiming for, but as it stands now, I'm afraid it's going to be a little difficult for her to get a shot of it, and here, Mu Nin Ji, was slightly pensive, then, looking towards Lin Mo was to say, don't be in a hurry, this painting, you don't have to be so overly concerned, it's just a painting of flowers and birds, we'll talk about it then, with these words from Mu Nan Ji, Lu Wan was a bit incredulous, no, Nani, you should be able to tell, this cuckoo is top notch, both in terms of its take on the subject and the skill with which it is painted, this totally falls into the category of being, well, the only rare thing in the world, in the next 10 years, it will be hard to find a flower and bird painting comparable to this one, listen to this, Mu Nanji smiled, then, just shaking his head, he said, if you believe me, listen to me, and later this painting, you shoot for now, but if say I tell you to stop, you don't keep following, this, Lu Wan mused, subsequently, it was better to choose to trust your best friend, okay, well, let's go, with that, the three of them were walking towards an empty seat, Lin Mo's expression, on the other hand, looked a bit odd, he sort of saw it, this Mu Nanji, it's trying to set up a wave of that Wu Sancher, one time, Lin Mo's face, appeared to be wonderful, looking at Wu Sancher who was there with a weird look on his face, after the three of them took their seats, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was holding a plate, 
Go to the food cart on the side and pick up your meal. Because before coming here, Lin Emo had eaten a little something. So not really hungry right now. After cutting a piece of steak, it was the red wine that was served, where it was savored. After 10 or so minutes, the lights dimmed. The highlight of this luncheon, that is, the official start. Organizers take the stage, thanked all the guests. What followed was the start of the auction. 30 or so auction items, after an hour and a half of auctioning. Finally, the grand finale of today's auction was ushered onto the stage. The auctioneer unfolded the scroll a little, through the camera. Details of the painting surfaced on the big screen. This cuckoo was a new work made by a patriarch. The painting was appraised by the president of the Magic City Art Association. It has been regarded as the pinnacle of modern pictorial flower and bird paintings. The current patriarch, as yet, is not famous, so the starting price, 20 million. Next, the auction will officially begin, and each increase in price shall not be less than 1 million dollars, with the words falling afterward. The bidding, officially begins. Originally, after hearing that it was a new work by the patriarch, the scene, was a cacophony, but as the auction begins, the hall was a hot mess. 21 million dollars, 23 million dollars, 25 million dollars, 28 million dollars, a series of quotes, the price of this painting, constantly, began to climb, not a moment too soon, that's where it reached 60 million, look at this cacophony of sound, Lin Mo's expression, too, looked a bit odd, meanwhile, for what the auctioneer just said, it is regarded as the pinnacle of modern Chinese bird and flower painting, pouring some care into it, he hadn't thought of that, Wang Ching Yang, this old boy, would actually give such a comment, the old boy, after a light-hearted laugh, a voice, however, rang out violently, 70 million dollars, a voice fell, the scene was, at once, a dead silence, straight away, from 60 million, the price was raised to 70 million, what kind of a bold bid is that, the lift is a 10 million dollar raise out the door, and others, at this point in time, his face, too, looked a little stunned, a straight up price increase of 10 million dollars, who is this, so posh, everyone, in droves, just craned their heads to look, and after seeing Zhou Wan, it is also a release, the Zhou family was considered a prestigious family in Magic City, and the Zhou family's daughter is known for her love of calligraphy and painting, willing to go for broke for some words and paintings, therefore, a 10 million dollar price increase is not out of the question, so it's the Zhou family's eldest miss, that would be normal, but 70 million dollars is kind of capping the painting, isn't it, after all, even if this patriarch is really famous in the future, this painting is, at best, going up to about $100 million, in their opinion, a painting, while the author was still alive, the most the price will be is around $100 million, it's really going up to 200 or 300 million, that too has to go up when the person dies, $75 million, just when everyone, thought the price, was capped, a lilting voice, suddenly, it rang out in the back, hiss, crazy, $75 million, this, who is it? Dare to compete with the Zhou family's eldest miss? Wu Sancher. For a moment, among the scene, there was a burst of exclamations from many people, and sitting there was Wu Sancher. At this point, on the other hand, he put down the sign in his hand. Then, somewhat able, he looked at Zhou Wan who was there. The look appeared somewhat arrogant, as well as, provocations. Mu Nanji who was watching this scene, the expression appeared calm, but the heart was at this point, but it was a smile that had blossomed. This Wu Sancher, really took the bait, 77 million, Zhou Wan gritted his teeth, then, the quotes that continue, 80 million, 83 million dollars, 90 million, Wu Sancher said calmly, today, you won't be able to take this painting, you, Zhou Wan, here, is a burst of teeth, the eyes were also a little red, 9, Zhou Wan wanted to keep shouting, Munanji, however, spoke up, don't follow, but, did you forget to start promising me? Munanji said calmly, you can trust me, it won't be long before this guy regrets buying this painting, this, okay, Zhou Wan smiled bitterly, though he couldn't agree with Mu Nanji's words, but, before the auction, he himself had promised Mu Nanji, and at this point, the auctioneer above, also announced the results of the auction, and then, this Wu Sancher is the one who took this cuckoo, with the painting in hand, Wu Sancher was just as pleased with himself and arrived in front of Lin Mo's trio, he he, as I said, Today I will definitely not let you guys get this cuckoo. The Wu Sancher who was here could be described as having arrogance written all over his expression. And there's Zhou Wan. At this moment, there was also a burst of gnashing of teeth. She was about to be mad at this Wu Sancher. 
Wu Sanshur, don't you go too far. Excessive? Wu Sanshur sneered. He he, I'll tell you guys the truth alright. This painting, I actually don't like it at all. I am simply, to keep the painting from you, and what can you do about it? The Wu Sanshur who was here was filled with arrogance in his demeanor. You, Zhou Wan's mind was filled with anger. Looking at Wu Sanshur here, his gaze, it was as if he wanted to kill. It seems that Wu Xiao is, right now, very proud of himself. But in my opinion, the painting isn't even worth the price. It won't even take long for it to depreciate significantly. Lin Mo leisurely said, he had that confidence. Paintings of this level are fully capable and able to be painted in bulk on their own. Even, create better flower and bird paintings. In time, the value of the painting, then, depreciates drastically. Significant devaluation? Ha ha, that just kills me with laughter. I don't understand this painting, but at least I know that it's a pinnacle of modern times. Devaluation? Oh, are you living in a dream? Yet it was at this point, at the back, a burst of voices, however, also rang out. I didn't expect your old man to actually come. A series of voices rang out. The people who were here were also looking towards the back, only to see Wang Qingyang, at this time is in a hurry, rush towards this side, just now. Wu Sanchur spent 90 million dollars when he bought the painting. He was a little curious, looking at the place from backstage, and that look, but just in time, he saw Lin Mo. Immediately, he just rushed, in a hurry, after offending Lin Mo last time, he just kept expecting that he would come face to face with Lin Mo. Be good yourself and make amends to Lin Mo. It's just a shame, never got a chance to be able to meet Lin Ma. And now, just the right amount of coincidence, in this auction, ran into each other. As for Wu Sanshur at this point, instead, the eyes also lit up, said, ha ha, Wang Qingyang looked at Wu Sanshur who was walking over, just to each other, smiling and nodding, then the guest speaker said, young Wu, congratulations, having said that, he just went straight, ignoring Wu Sanshur, quickly, he came to Lin Mo, elder Lin, I didn't expect that you would actually come, if I had known you were coming, I would have been the one to come out and greet you, the words came out, the scene fell silent. Lin, seniors, what's going on here? Zhou Wan and Wu Sanshur, both of them, were directly dumbfounded. The others were also confused. Mu Nan Ji, on the other hand, looked odd. She was not expecting that Wang Qing Yang was actually here. Lin Emo was the only one who looked indifferent at this time. Wu Sanshur walked up at that moment. The look was a little stiff. What's going on here? What qualifications does this kid have to be called a senior by you? This guy just said, Young Wu. Please be careful with your words. Wang Qingyang frowned and said, No, this kid was mouthing off before. It says that this patriarchal work I bought will immediately depreciate in value. Anyone who can make such a statement seems to me to be simply a guy who doesn't know anything about painting or calligraphy. What qualifications does such a person have to be called a senior by you? Wu Sanchur immediately said loudly. As for Wang Qingyang at this time, his heart was irritated to the core. Enough, Wu Xiao, do you realize? The cuckoo that you just captured is the work of Elder Lin. Wu Sanchur was dumbfounded. Zhou Wan was also dumbfounded. This cuckoo, was it painted by Lin Mo? Sure this isn't a joke? Zhou Wan looked at Lin Mo in a daze. The face, gradually, reddened. After all, she remembers it clearly. Himself, at that time, said to Lin Mo that he didn't understand the words and paintings. People, don't know anything about paintings and calligraphy? If a master of national painting could not understand calligraphy and painting, that estimate. No one else in the world understands calligraphy and painting either. Think about it. Zhou Wan just wanted to find a crack in the ground and burrow right in. And Wu Sanchi's throat. And it rolled. Looking at the word picture in his hand. At once. It was panic. You are not joking. This guy. This guy he. How could he be the author of Cuckoo? Wu Sanchi. Who was here? Hurriedly just opened his mouth. The words were even more full of panic. Oh. You think old man. I'll joke with you? Wang Chong Yang, who was here, just laughed coldly. The subsequent one, that is, looked towards, there, Lin Mo, face, with a few fawning smiles. He said, Senior Lin, do you think you're free tonight? If I have time, I'll set up a banquet here at the Magic City Hotel. I've come to apologize properly for what happened last time. For you, Wang Ching Yang rubbed his hands together for a while. On his face, a fawning smile filled his face. Listening to the words of this Wang Ching Yang, Lin Mo, on the other hand, calmly waved his hand and said, No need, I have other things on my mind of tonight. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Wang Ching Yang also did not have the good, and then continued to say something. One can only keep a smile on one's face. A burst of them, 
nodding their heads back and forth. As for Wu Sanshir, who was on the side, he was even more flustered at this time. After all, just this affirmative tone from Wang Qingyang, without a doubt, it was indicating Lin Mo's identity. The author of this painting of the cuckoo, as it were, is the author of this painting of the cuckoo, Lin Mo, precisely a national painting master, with that identity, after it was established. Wu Sanchi's face changed color for a while. Lin Mo's voice also sounded leisurely. I'd like to thank you, young Wu for your love for my work, spent 90 million dollars on this cuckoo. However, I would suggest to Mr. Wu to grab this cuckoo and make an offer. After all, with paintings of this caliber, I went back ready to paint a few more, then take it out as a gift and network with your friends. Lin Mo's tone was very teasing, and listening to Lin Mo's words, Wu Sanchir could be described as a burst, gritting his teeth. You, at this moment, Wu Sanchi's eyes were filled with indignation as he looked at Lin Mo. He knew that he had this one, sort of a total plant, the painting, if you don't grab a shot off yourself. I guess it won't be long before that's a significant devaluation. And there's Wang Cheng Yang, and there was a stupefaction. This one in his opinion. It is the finest written flower in bird painting in modern times. Lin Mo was actually able to, in bulk, draw it, for a moment. In the bottom of this Wang Cheng Yang's heart, cannot help but is a burst of emotion. Nani, let's go. Aha. Uh -huh. Nunanji nodded. Then, together with Zhou Wan, after saying goodbye to Wang Cheng Yang, they just left the venue. And here's Wang Chang Yang, after taking a deep look at Wu Sanshir, said, Young Wu, you, might as well fend for yourself. Mercifully, he glanced at Wu Sanshir. This Wang Cheng Yang also turned around and left. As for this Wu Sanshir, at this time, the heart was filled with regret. What was he, himself, at that time, going to fight this for? It's okay now, the painting itself if you can't get rid of it. So that's what it amounts to, 90 million dollars, smashed in your own hands. Grass, after cursing angrily under his breath, that is, quickly, and in a hurry, he left, he had to find a way to sell the painting, fast, other side, hotel entrance, Zhou Wan's little face at this moment was full of grudges as she looked at Lin Mo and Mu Nanji, feeling Zhou Wan's sultry little eyes, Mu Nanji couldn't help but, just opened her mouth and said, Wan, why are you looking at me like that, Mu Nanji, who was there, had an expression that was ghostly, immediately, it was the opening of the mouth. Nani, did you already know? Lin Mo he is, in fact, a national painting master? And this cuckoo, is the painting made by Lin Mo? Listening to this Zhou Wan, Mu Nanji's expression, slightly appeared to be just a few moments of embarrassment. All that could be done was a fit of coughing and a somewhat averted gaze. And this next, Zhou Wan's eyes, even more so, were just sultry, looking at Mu Nanji who was there. He said, good for you. I can't believe you're looking at my jokes. I actually said before that Lin Mo he doesn't know about calligraphy and painting. Now that I think about it, it's a disgrace. You must have laughed your heart out just now in the hotel. Here's Mu Nanji. It was a moment of gnashing of teeth. The eyes that looked at Mu Nanji were full of grudges. No, no, Huan Huan don't talk nonsense. I was merely, at that time, not knowing how to talk to you. This Zhou Wan hastily, is a burst of waving hands, said, however. Zhou Wan was a burst of trickery, said, I don't care I don't care, anyway, you have to find a way to compensate me for the mental damage, listen to this, Mu Nan Ji, who was here, was all of a sudden laughing bitterly, said, so tell me, how do you want me to compensate you for the emotional damage, well, Zhou Wan slightly murmured, and immediately said, buy me a hot pot tonight, okay, not just one meal, but ten, you said it, I said it, Mu Nan Ji for a moment, there was some crying and laughing. This BFF of his own doesn't know why. I have no interest in other foods. But I love hot pot. Okay, your treat tonight then. Good. Mu Nanji smiled helplessly and bitterly. A burst of it, just shaking his head. And after, the three just left the hotel as well. The two of them, Lin Mo and Mu Nanji. Once you get in the car, it's all the way home. Arriving home, Lin Mo also just tapped on his cell phone, checking out today's subsidized items. With the app open, an item, which fell instantly, appeared in front of Lin Mo. 100% stake in Comlevision. Subsidized price, 99. Look at the subsidized goods on your phone. Lin Mo fell back on his heels. Comhaven? This company. Lin Mo had still heard of it. This is a company that focuses on security products, video processing technology and video analytics. And it's considered an industry leader in security products. I didn't realize it was actually this company. Without much hesitation. Lin Mo directly, that is, 
Bought it. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 90 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. Look at the alert on your cell phone. Lin Mo didn't care too much about it. After closing the app, that is, lying on the couch, playing a game. And soon. And 90 minutes is what passed. 90 minutes passed. The villa's doorbell rang. After Huang Wan went ahead and opened the door. The express box was what was in front of Lin Mo. Watch the delivery box. Lin Mo was the one who unwrapped this express box. Look at the contract for the transfer of the company's shares inside. And the company seal. Lin Mo's eyebrows, on the contrary, were slightly raised. Since the company is here, that's just as well. Go over there tomorrow and check it out. Lin Mo, who was here, mentally just murmured over it. I remember. Yu Ma is, right now, shooting a movie in Hangzhou, right? That's just as well. So we can stop by tomorrow, between Mordor and Hangzhou anyway. It's not far away. Driving there on your own would take about two hours at most. And according to the circle of friends that Xie Yuma posted, this last week, their crew was filming on location in Hangzhou's Shiling Lake. Thoughts fall. Lin Emo then turned off his cell phone. And after that, it was a walk to the outdoor pool in the backyard. With a leap into the water, he began to swim. Early the next morning, after Lin Emo had finished instructing Huang Yuan, only then did he hit the road in his own Lycoming. The car got on the highway. Lakin went all the way up to 120 and then just stabilized at that speed. It was supposed to be a two and a half hour drive, at Lin Mo's furious speed. It was also hardened, and compressed into, less than two hours, at 10.30, that is, arriving at the edge of Lake Celestine. Lin Ma, despite his lack of clarity, Xia Yu Ma recently, is in the Shiling Lake which part of the scene, but, this is, after all, the work of director Chen Kai, and it has a couple more, big name stars on board. So. After a little bit of asking, this scenic staff, Lin Emo was then just clear, detailed set locations for this movie. It's near the Rianji Temple in 9 streams and 18 streams. After parking the car in the parking lot of Siling Lake, Lin Emo also swept a shared bike. It's the ride towards Rianji Temple. The Rianji Temple is not too far away. It was only 10 minutes before Lin Emo reached the bottom of the temple. In the meantime, above the Rianji Temple, inside the cast of the Legend of the Demon Cat, at this time among the crew, there was a break. Xia Yuma who was the second female, was sitting up in his chair, silently memorizing his lines, and a bunch of actors on the side. On the other hand, they all flocked, ignoring this Xia Yuma. Many people are like avoiding the plague for her. After all, this Xia Yuma on the first day of entering the play, Legend of the Demon Cat, the cast, it just offended the leading man, Xiao Han. And what a man this Xiao Han is. That's a popular kid. The flow is great. As for Xia Yuma? Though that said, it was taking the role of the second female. But, but it's a three-way street. No background. No brokerage. No connections. Such a character. Offended a popular traffic kid. That's fair to say. Sort of a total screw-up. But they are also a bit confused. How did such a trippy person take the role of the second female? But, for the past few days, everything has been solo. Not even an assistant. Xia Yuma, who didn't even have a single piece of upscale clothing. Where did he look like he had a background? Other actors and actresses. That can be all dressed up. No less have a makeup artist stylist overhand. And Xia Yuma? This look is nothing prepared. It's just, so strange and baffling. And at this point in time, a chubby groupie, on the other hand, came forward. Turning to Xia Yuma here, he just smiled and said, Yummer, still here memorizing your lines? Well, Sister Ling, for this next scene, I'm slightly unskilled with the lines. Get ready to memorize some more and get the lines and character emotions down. You don't have to be so rote. It's not like the whole scene is going to be shot at once. It's pretty much a matter of giving the clips of the lines and giving them a slight refamiliarization twice before we start shooting. This sister Ling, on the spot, just smiled and opened her mouth. But Xie Yuma was shaking his head for a while, saying, That won't do. I'm hoping, mostly, to familiarize myself with the sentiment. This way the molding will be a little more complete when we shoot later. Listening to Xia Yuma's words, Ray was a smack in the face. Wow, Yuma, you're just too serious with that attitude, aren't you? It's no wonder you're able to be in, without any background or agency. Straight up, take the role of the second female. Listen to this. Xia Yuma was also a bit confused, as well as skeptical. She wasn't, after all, a pure newbie who had just gotten the role of the second female after all. This time, after understanding, she was also noticing a little bit. Inside the cast, even a small supporting role has some background behind it. A pure munchkin with no background like yourself. 
it's basically a bunch of groupies, and one can take the role of the second female role. Obviously, there's a bit of a problem in there, not to mention, it was hand-picked by the director. Just as the two were chatting, suddenly an assistant-looking person came over, looking around as if he was looking for something. Seeing this person, the two men's faces instantly did not look good. At this point, this assistant after seeing Xiaoyuma, it was all the way, straight ahead, looking at Xiaoyuma, his tone was very nonchalant. Get up, what are you doing? Ray stood up as soon as she could and glared fiercely at her opponent. On our side of the family, chill, we're missing a chair to put our legs in. This assistant said lightly, can't you see that Yummer is sitting there? Ling was still not budging in the slightest. Listen to this. For his part, Yuma was in a flurry, pulling Ray along. Oh, so what? If our chill wants to put his legs up, he has to get up. How can a tiny second female be compared to our family chill? Listen to this. Ling was also pissed off. You guys, this is too overbearing. Ch, bullying is bullying. What can you do? The assistant rolled her eyes. Afterwards, looking towards Xie Yuma who was there, he said, why don't you hurry up and roll up? If you let our family Han Han get tired, you'll be in for it. You, forget it, Sister Ling, let them have this chair. I'll just squat here if I memorize my lines. Xie Yuma pulled Sister Ling and said in a hurry, looking at Xie Yuma who stood up. This assistant held his head high. Oomph, that's more like it. With that, she was just about ready to get that one chair. Yet just then, a leisurely voice, however, sounded not far away. Today, try moving this chair. Who? The assistant's brow, at once, was a frown. Then it was time to look at the entrance. Only a tall man, at that moment, walked in. And the moment Siayuma saw the man, she froze. Little brother? Siayuma froze. Looking at Lin Imo who walked in, the look on his face, all of a sudden, was that he appeared to be a little bit dismayed? She was totally missing the point. Himself, he actually saw Lin Imo in the theater group. For a moment, the heart can be delighted. Hastily, that is, he ran over. Looking at Lin Imo who was here, he opened his mouth. Lin Imo, why did you come over? Xia Yuma's words carried a few moments of astonishment between them. Didn't I say before that I'd come over to see you if I had time? I just happened to be free today, so I stopped by, to see how you were doing here, Lin M.O., who was here, laughed lightly and spoke, and as the words fell, Lin M.O., who was here, however, was also looking towards, the little assistant who was there, under his eyes, with a few moments of coldness, he said, but I just came here to see such a dominating thing, look at Lin M.O. who was here, the little assistant's eyebrows, instantly raised, looking at Lin M.O. who was there, immediately, he said in a cold voice, ha, huh, so it's here to back up this, 18 line little actor, still, it's true that things come in small packages, sure enough this little actor who doesn't know the rules, surrounded by a bunch of guys who don't know what they're doing, and at this point in time, Lin Mo's flat voice also sounded, it is indeed a good thing to say that it is indeed just a matter of people, it's also true that a bunch of pussies are just a bunch of pussies around a pussy traffic star, Lin Mo, who was here, immediately, was shaking his head for a while, the moment those words fell, the little assistant who was here, at once his face just darkened, what did you say, who are you calling a pussy, and it's at this point in time, a somewhat shrill voice from the rear, that is, rang out, just a bunch of people, it's coming this way, and at the head of the group was a man whose face was heavily powdered, a man with a center parting wearing a black shirt and gray back pants, it's coming this way, on his face, he was full of grimness, he could be said to be extremely angry at Lin Mo's words just now, pussy, the word was, so to speak, deeply rooted in his heart, though a lot of black people on the internet, are calling him out so much, however, this was the first time that someone dared to scold him so by name in front of him, the little assistant also saw Xiao Han, looking at Xiao Han who came over, this little assistant, at this moment, was also arrogant, I can warn you, watch what you say, otherwise, I'll have the company sue you, infringing on our family chills right to honor, when the time comes, I'll make sure you'll die a social death. The little assistant pointed at Lin Mo and just said loudly and arrogantly, listen to the words. Lin Mo's eyes, too, gradually grew cold. And at this point, most of the people in the middle of the set, it was also attracted by the commotion that was going on here. What's going on? I don't know. Like there was a conflict? I watched the whole thing. And at first it was Xiao Han's assistant, who came over and asked for a chair. Originally, Xia Yuma's side was prepared to give it. As a result, the man appeared and held down the chair backing up Xie Yuma, and he called Xiao Han a pussy, and now this is what he looks like, listen to the words, 
The people who were here had a strange look on their faces. This kid, how dare he say that? But this is the end of the kid, daring to call him a pussy in front of Xiao Han. If this got out, it could probably get out to Xiao Han's group of crazy fans, give a thorough tearing into pieces, or even direct social death. Yes, the crowd looked at Lin Mo. There was a flurry of it, just sighing over it. But also at this point, a voice however, sounded not far away. Here, what's going on? Listen to the voice. Xiao Han, who was there, then twisted his head to look, only to see a middle-aged greasy uncle, who was walking this way. Looking at this uncle, Xiao Han immediately said, Producer Shui, is this what your security on set looks like? A random outsider with access to the set? And, to be verbally abusive and degrading to me in public? If that's the case, then this movie, I'll have to reconsider. Want to go ahead and make a cameo now? As Xiao Han's words fell, the producer here, at once, just blanched. Then, a few fawning smiles just surfaced on his face and said, Don't, don't, it's an oversight in our management. I'll take care of it, I'll take care of it. Producer Shui's tone seemed a little nervous. After all, this Xiao Han, so to speak, is the box office guarantee of this movie. And if now, Xiao Han is going to strike because of their film crew, then he's a producer. And that's how he's made it to the top from here on out. Think about it. Producer Shui had a cold face, looking towards Lin Mo who was there. It's just a cold way of saying, Kid, I don't care how you got in here, but you better get the hell out of here now. Right now, we're on the set of a movie here. It's closed to the public. If you don't leave, I'm going to have to call security. This Shui producer's tone of voice seemed a bit icy. Listen to the words. Lin Mo, who was here, on the other hand, had a face that was cold to the core. This place, it seems, belongs to the attractions of Lake Celestial, right? When did it become closed to the public? And, as a producer, is this how you work on a regular basis? Yes, it is indeed an attraction. But right now, it's occupied by our theater group. Besides, how I a work method, seems to have nothing to do with you. Between you, producer Shui was still cold. Listen to the words, Lin Mo, however, burst out laughing. Yes, then in that case, you're a producer, aren't you? That's good. You're not now. Also, you, Xiao Han, are no longer the leading man of the movie. The tone of Lin Mo, who was here, was very cold. As well, firm, a sentence fell. These two, Shui Production and Xiao Han, the moment was a moment of surprise, and then there was a fit of hilarity. Ha ha ha, who do you think you are? Change of producers, just like that? You say you'll replace our family Han Han? It's ridiculous. Xiao Han stared at Lin Mo, his expression looking teasing. Ha! As for producer Shui, he snorted. And then, it was a shake of the head and a low curse under his breath. Nuts! With that, he just started calling for security. Ha! Lin Mo snorted. Then, there was the touch out of the cell phone. Give Wang Tsung Tsung a direct. Go ahead and make a phone call. Watching Lin Mo's movements, the two of them, producer Shui and Xiao Han, both had a playful look on their faces. Yo! Still calling? I'd like to see who you can call with this phone call. Xiao Han clasped his arms and stood there disdainfully. Phone call connected. Lin Mo didn't talk nonsense and directly said, I need to remove and replace. On my end, the producer and male lead of The Legend of the Demon Cat. Is that okay? Listening to Lin Mo's cold voice, Wang Song Song, who had originally planned to exchange pleasantries, was suddenly out of the mood for pleasantries. Straight away, he said, It's no problem, Ringo. Give me three minutes, I'll be done in a minute. Okay, then you have three minutes. After saying that, Lin Mo's phone hung up. As for Xiao Han and producer Shui who were there, both of them burst into cold laughter. Pretend, keep pretending. Shui Productions' words were filled with mockery. Three more minutes? Oh, I'd like to see what can happen in three minutes. Listening to the words of the Shui producer, a group of security guards, who were on the sidelines, also stood aside. A little bit of time passed. With three minutes having passed, all of the faces of Shui production were wearing cold smiles. Oh, three minutes have passed. Boy, now, but nothing happened. Xiao Han, who was on the side, looked teasing. He said, Producer Shui, it's obvious that this is just this guy bluffing. How can a guy like that know any big shots? This Xiao Han's tone was filled with contempt and disdain. That's it. I think ah, uh, it's better to hurry up and throw out this guy who came to make trouble. The little assistant on the side was also very arrogant at this time. Then, pointing at Xia Yuma and Sister Ling, he said, and these two guys, they're also a bit related to this guy. I think, let's get rid of them all together. Aha, uh -huh. producer Xuan nodded. And then, loudly, 
Security. Take this guy who came to make trouble and throw him out. At once, a crowd of security guards just surged up. But at this point, a somewhat irritated voice snapped out. I'll see who dares. After all was said and done, an old man with a slightly chubby figure and somewhat gray hair just walked in quickly. Director Chen? Look at the visitor. The two of them, Shui Production and Xiao Han. It was all frozen at this point. Looking at Chen Kai, his expression was puzzled. Director Chen, what do you mean by that? Does that mean you know this kid? Producer Shui, here, asked Chen Kai. Listen to this. Chen Kai burst into a sneer. Ignoring him, he just turned his head. In a hurry, looked toward Lin M.O. He said, Mr. Lin, what brings you to the inspection? If anything, if I had known you were coming, it must be, personally, to go out and receive you. Among Chen Kai's tone, it was full of respect. After all, in just a few moments, but Wang Tsongtsong called himself, make it clear who this person in front of you is, and he also instructed himself to inform the Shui production piece to roll back. Also, no longer continue and use Xiao Han as the male one. It's okay, I'm just stopping by. What I didn't expect, though, was this. Director Chen, you've got some fun in this studio. Standing here is Lin M.O. Sweeping a glance at Chen Kai in front of him, he slowly said, as these words from Lin M.O. fell, Chen Kai's forehead was already covered in sweat at this point. At the same time, there was a rush of words. Yes, yes, Dong Lin, this is me failing to manage the crew well. This is my problem. After saying that, this Chen Kai just raised his head and looked towards Shui Production and Xiao Han who were there. Coldly, Xiao Han, from now on, we will be for the male role change. Shui Yangli, from now on, you are no longer a producer for our crew. Two words fell. The two men froze. But immediately, Xiao Han was annoyed. At that moment, a shrill cry went up. Chen Kai, you dare to change my horns? Ha! This Chen Kai just laughed coldly for a while. It seems that the dumbass, so far, hasn't figured out what's going on. Nor did he figure out what, exactly, he had offended. And on the sidelines, Wing Nat Shui. On the other hand, it's not stupid people like Xiao Han. After hearing Chen Kai's words, the entire person, like being struck by lightning, yourself, I can't believe they were actually removed. This youth, what the hell was that? How dare you, to be able to influence the decision of Trina's group with one phone call? Dong Lin, Trina group, two key words, posed together for a moment. Shui Yanli was struck by lightning. In the middle of his mind, there was a buzz, scalp, tingling for it, with a dry throat. He pointed at Lin Mo and said, You, you're that director Lin? At this point, he was already distinguishing what exactly Lin Mo was. After all, the Lin character who can sway the decisions of the Trina group. Only one, that is, the mysterious director Lin who recently acquired 30% of their shares in the Tianha group. Lin Mo sneered, seeing Lin Mo at this time, was not making a rebuttal. Shui Yangli's eyes went black, his legs went limp, and with a plop, he fell to his knees. Inside his head, he went blank. It's over. Everything, it's over. At this moment, Shui Yanli was unable to cry. How did he, himself, offend his own directors, by doing so? It's safe to say, himself back in the company this time. At the very least, they were fired. And the future, whether or not you'll get a job, that's a toss up. As for Xiao Han, he was still there, continuing to rage and yell. Chen Kai, I'm telling you, today you dare to change my old man. I'll let you have this movie and no one will go see it. Let all my fans give you bad reviews for this movie. Completely stink you up this movie. I'm even going to make it so that no star in the company will ever want to work with you again. At this moment, Xiao Han was completely infuriated. He was on the stick side himself. After he returned home from fame, it's the one that became a top stream star in one fell swoop. After that, what director wouldn't treat himself with respect when he saw him? The character you want, that's bound to be available. Also, the director has to make himself available on the set. Yet now, this Chen Kai, how dare he change his own horn? How's this? Can it not make Xiao Han mad? Listening to Xiao Han's words, Chen Kai is completely unmoved. And, also at this point, this Xiao Han's cell phone, too, rang. After looking at the caller ID, Xiao Han's face was hideous. Ha, a call from the owner of our company. I'll let our company, all the stars under our name, not work with you. Let's see who you'll be able to call for your movies. From now on, this Xiao Han's words were not just words. After all, he's signed to an economic company. That's the giant of the entertainment industry in the country. Basically, half of the country's most popular stars. Xiao Han, at this time, also picked up the phone. Just as soon as he got through was when he opened his mouth. 
Hello, Mr. Zhen. I've been given a new role by Chen Kai on my side. I'm going to have this Chen Kai blocked by our company. However, the moment those words had just fallen, on the other end of the phone, a burst of furious curses, but violently rang. And now you want to block Chen Kai. Xiao Han, do you know how much trouble you've caused me? I'm telling you, you got yourself into this mess. If you can't give me to make this right, don't you dare ask for half of the resources from now on. Listening to the voice on the other end of the phone, Mr. Zhang's furious voice, Xiao Han was completely dumbfounded. This, what's the situation? What's going on here? No, surname Zhang, what do you mean by that? Xiao Han still didn't understand the situation. And the general manager Zhang on the other end of the phone, his heart became even more enraged. What do I mean? And I have to ask, what do you mean? It's not good for you to offend anyone. You actually dare to offend even the major shareholder of the Trina group. Have you lived too long for yourself? Boom. A sentence fell. This Xiao Han was completely confused. This statement. What do you mean? The major shareholder of the Trina group? Xiao Han was confused and puzzled. He still knew about the Trina group. This is the top big group that belongs to Shan Hua. And this legend of the demon cat. Trina group also belongs to the largest investment and production. A major shareholder in a group of this caliber. You can't even hug your thighs and lick them on your knees yourself. And how could one possibly offend? Xiao Han, who was here, carefully said, Zhang, Mr. Zhang, in here, is there some kind of misunderstanding? Misunderstanding? Ha! Mr. One of the Trina group called me personally just now. You're telling me that this is a misunderstanding? Mr. Zhang sneered. I'm asking you, did you just offended a gentleman with the name of Lin? The words had just fallen. Xiao Han, who was here, just nodded his head and said, Yeah, that's right, what's up? Before he could finish his sentence, he just reacted. Inside his head, it was as if, at once, he had been struck by lightning. The whole thing was completely dumbfounded. The cell phone fell to the ground. Looking at Lin Mo in front of him, his throat was dry. Then, it was the lips that quirked and said, You, you're the major shareholder of the Trina group? The group of assistants accompanying him were all completely confused at this time. The crowd in the back watching this place. At this point there was a flurry of cold breaths. This youth in front of me is actually a shareholder of the investor? Then, they also just looked towards Xia Yuma, who was standing beside Lin Mo. Actresses have been eye candy and jealous. At this time, with Lin Mo's identity exposed, and they just get it. Why this Xia Yuma has little fame and no agency, but it's the acting that's slightly better. Just get this second female role. Original. People are hugging the major shareholders of the capital. There's that layer of relationship in place. Don't say it's the second female. Even if it's the first female, that's totally getting it. 2. A host of other groupies and male stars. Though there is also some envy. But then, it looked at Xiao Han and bloated. They know. Xiao Han. It's finished. From now on, even if you don't get snowed in by the company, that's also going to cut at least half of the resources going out. Then gradually, it was reduced to a paste curry. It can be said that it is really a good hand of cards. Froze for themselves to make no. On the other hand, Sister Ling who was on the side, was dumbfounded at this moment. She had thought, this Xia Yuma might be a, slightly luckier little fish, but now it seems, Xia Yuma is indeed a small fish, but this small fish, but there is a giant shark around the escort ah, can you call this a minnow? For a moment, the bottom of Sister Ling's eyes were filled with envy, at the same time, the heart was secretly happy, luckily, one didn't have to be like everyone else, play nice with her beforehand, and that itself is something you have to keep a firm grip on, after all, in her opinion, Xia Yuma had such a giant shark to escort him all the way, sure to be a big star in the future. One-way resources, absolutely nothing less. If one is dead set on clinging to this thigh, maybe, you can come along for the ride, too, with your own chickens coming home to roost. Thoughts fall. Ling just smacked her lips and said, Boy, you ma, I didn't realize, you actually have such a subject. You didn't even tell sis before, really, listening to Ray's words. Xia Yuma blushed slightly, then secretly, he glanced at Lin Mo, said, actually, I didn't know that before, the play is invested by their company, Sister Ling, who was listening to this, had her mouth twitch, that said, simply, while at this moment, Lin Mo glanced at Chen Kai and said, Director Chen, Yuma will trouble you to take care of her in the theater group in the future, listening to Lin Mo's words, cold sweat broke out on Chen Kai's forehead, said, oh, I should, I should, Honestly, at this time, Chen Kai had some regrets in his heart. 
Why did he himself give Xie Yuma a second female role? Had I known that this Xie Yuma's background was that of a major shareholder of the Trina group, you should have given it to the female one yourself. Besides, this is something one should have guessed a long time ago. After all, it was possible to make the Trina group, for the sake of one person, invest a hundred million dollars in themselves. This person's identity is definitely not simple. Himself at first, for a while, Chen Kai was regretful. But in the back of his mind, it was already a secret decision. Go back to Xie Yuma yourself and arrange more shots. It would be best to do that with the same number of shots as the female one is. Even more than a female first. After making this decision, Chen Kai was also secretly nodding in his heart. All right, security guards, drag these two people who have nothing to do with the crew. Out. Chen Kai, who was here, waved his hand and said, the security guard in the back, in a hurry, just walked up. Then, grabbing the disoriented Shui Yangli, he dragged him outside. And just when it was time to grab Xiao Han, this Xiao Han was the one who broke free in a hurry. Afterwards, it ran to Lin Mo. A plea was made. Mr. Lin, Lin Dong, please, give me another chance. I'm wrong, I really know I'm wrong. Dong Lin, Xiao Han's tone was filled with despair. After all, the company has given him an ultimatum. Tow away. After waving his hand, Lin Mo's tone was filled with coldness. As the words fell after that, here Xiao Han, that is, he was dragged hard and left the theater group. No matter how much the Xiao Han struggled and cried, it was useless, and the others who witnessed it, and swallowed hard, the mind marvels at the power of capital. After all, this movie has been shooting, for almost a week now, there's been a lot of footage taken, too, the male one, however, was just, well, given a hard change, while mentally lamenting, the mind is also made up, from now on, for this Xie Yuma, it was absolutely necessary to flatter him properly, Lin Mo, on the other hand, was smiling, if I do this, it shouldn't be difficult for you, Director Chen, right? Ha ha, won't, of course it won't, to be honest, even if you don't replace him, Mr. Lin, I plan to replace him, after all, it's really hard for me to use such a fresh star, well, that's good, Lin Mo smiled and nodded his head, then we'll wait for Director Chen, you've chosen your role first, okay, okay, a burst of nodding, as for Lin Mo, he looked at Xie Yuma beside him and said, all right, your crew will be busy first, if Yuma, I'll borrow my side for a day. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Chen Kai had a jolt, and then, it was a rush of words, no need, on my side, I'll just give Yuma a week's vacation, it's just as well, I'm using this week to reselect the male one, listening to Chen Kai's words, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth, too, were rising for a while, okay then, I'll leave it on my end, I'm still looking forward to it, director Chen's new cast, promise to live up to your expectations, Mr. Lin, new Rongji, Inside the private room of the restaurant, Lin Mo and Xie Yuma were sitting inside the restaurant. Across from Lin Mo, Xie Yuma was sitting there, looking left and right. The decor of this restaurant, it's so nice. The overall decor of this restaurant, going for a log style, plus this new wing key. It is in the CC wetland in Hangzhou. It's safe to say, the views are also very beautiful all around this restaurant. And here's Lin Ma. Then he spoke with a light smile. This sun wing key, after all is an upscale Cantonese restaurant, so the decor, it's kind of average, said, Lin Mo was also smooth, after ordering some dishes on the menu, that's where the two of them chatted, 10 or so minutes later, Xie Yuma, on the other hand, went to the bathroom, Lin Mo, on the other hand, pulled out his cell phone, well, it doesn't look like we're on the trillion dollar subsidy today look, what's in store, Lin Mo's heart murmured afterward, that is, in passing, open the trillion dollar subsidy app, Go to app. Today's goods, that is, appeared in front of Lin Mo. Loyalty chip asterisk 5. Subsidized price, 1999. Look at the merchandise on the app in front of you. Lin Mo's expression, on the contrary, was stunned. Loyalty chip? Lin Mo, who was here, fell all over himself. It's amazing that such an item would refresh in today's app, but the loyalty chip is, is that what it does? Though that said, at the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, it was with a little bit of doubt but, still, chose to make it, and just remembered to purchase it, forget it, whatever, let's just buy it, didn't care too much, Lin Mo's finger, on the other hand, immediately fell, purchase successful, product delivery in progress, estimated delivery time, 2 hours, please wait for the receipt, 2 hours, the moment, at the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there were a few moments of astonishment, 
delivery in two hours. This was the first time Lin Mo had encountered an item that took so long to deliver. That's a long time. A little long. Muttering under his breath. However, Lin Mo didn't care too much about it. Forget it. It's only two hours. Just wait. A slight shake of the head. Xia Yuma at this time. Poor is back. On her face, a fresh layer of makeup was applied. And the waiter from New Wing Key was starting to serve the appetizers. An order of sweet potatoes with honey sauce. An order of charcoal grilled turbot. And a cage of fresh meat Xiaolong Bao. Looking in front of him, the exquisite appetizers. Before Xia Yuma's eyes, they also lit up violently. Wow, these appetizers? They're exquisite. Both eyes lit up. Here's Xia Yuma. In a hurry, it was the cell phone that came out. Start taking pictures. Lin Mo who was watching this scene. There was also, for a few moments, a light smile on his face. Okay, the pictures will come later. Otherwise, these dishes will get cold later. Aha! The two began to eat their lunch. With a lunch finished, the five loyalty chips that Lin Mo had purchased on the trillion dollar subsidy. At this point, it's also arriving. All of them, placed in the prop section among Lin Mo's cell phone app. I'm going to the bathroom. Aha! Lin Mo left the private room and walked towards the bathroom. After entering the cubicle, that's what opened the trillion dollar subsidy app. Inside the props bar of your cell phone, loyalty chip asterisk 5. Five loyalty chips, which were lying in the middle of it at the moment. Loyalty chip. Look at the loyalty chip in front of you. Lin Mo was also smooth, tapping on the loyalty chip lying in the middle of the app. Loyalty chip. The chip can be affixed to the user anywhere. After using it, the person being used will be 100% loyal to the user. There will be no deception and it will follow any instructions given by the person being used. Watch what app has to say about the loyalty chip. On Lin Mo's face, a few moments of astonishment also surfaced. 100% loyalty? Wouldn't that mean that? Lin Mo's eyes flickered. Take one out and look at it. Lin Mo pressed the withdraw button. With the button pressed, a chip that was only the size of a thumbnail was what landed in the middle of the palm. This stuff, it's kind of fun. Holding the chip in his hand, he played with it slightly twice. The corners of Lin Mo's mouth, at this time, also surfaced a few smiles. Just in time to use this when we go to Conhaven later. After all, to know, Conhaven is on its own. So far, the first one in charge, a large corporate enterprise, such a large business, himself, how could he be at ease, putting it in the hands of someone, whose depths they don't know, originally he was still in trouble, what is one going to do, to manage this calm haven, but now it seems, with this loyalty chip, one is totally, don't worry about that, think about it, Lin Mo put away the loyalty chip, then left the bathroom, checked out, and went out the door, accompany me to the office, get in the car, Lin Mo looked at Xie Yuma and said, uh, yeah, Xia Yuma after nodding his head, only then did the two of them head towards Khan Haven, speeding along the way. Nearly half an hour passed. Lin Mo which also arrived at Khan Haven. Xia Yuma was staying in the car. As for Lin Mo, he was alone and entered the office building before him. This office building is sufficient, with 30 or so floors. The area of each floor, too, was more than 3,000 square feet. It looked like that was very grand. Just, such an imposing office building is not unique to Khan Haven. Come Haven is just renting, 510 floors of this office building, after entering the building, here Lin Mo, too, followed the crowd, all together in the lobby of the first floor, waiting for the elevator, he didn't have to go ahead and call the general manager of Come Haven, after all, he still planned to go up first, first, one person inspects it, then go ahead and call the general manager of this Come Haven, now, it's the point of the afternoon commute, so in front of these four elevators, there were still quite a lot of people, Lin Mo waited for 5 or 6 minutes after that. The elevator was also finally arriving. The crowd in front of Lin Mo also crowded in. The elevator, at this point, was also only able to accommodate the last person. Just as Lin Mo was about to enter, behind Lin Mo, a man wearing a suit and a work badge, but violently, he leapt out from behind Lin Mo. Directly, the last position was taken. Grass. Watch this scene. At the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there was a surge of anger rising. You have to cut in line for an elevator ride? There was some annoyance at the bottom of his heart. Lin Mo also ignored the gazes of the others. Straight away, a hand grabbed the man by the collar, threw him out of the elevator, and the man's face held a few moments of dismay. He was not expecting that someone would actually drag him off the elevator, and a bunch of other white collar workers in the elevator. The look on his face also looked a little stunned. However, Lin Mo didn't care in the slightest about the gazes of these people. Just casually, Press the button for level 5. The middle-aged man who was dragged out. His feet stumbled. 
and he almost fell to the ground. Subsequently, there was also some anger in the bottom of his heart that rubbed off on him. Turning his head, he looked at Lin Mo with an annoyed expression, said, You're fucking nuts. Listen to this. Lin Mo's eyes, however, narrowed slightly. There were a few chills under his eyes. After saying, Give me a few seconds into the elevator. That is, a quick step to the outside of the elevator. Standing there, looking at the middle-aged man in the, it was the cold voice that spoke. What did you just say? Lin Mo's tone was slightly cold. You, what do you want? What do I want? Lin Mo let out a cold laugh. Then lifting up his hand, the two direct slaps were viciously thrown out. Snap, crisp slaps rang out. Five fingerprints emerged on this middle-aged man's cheeks. The face, at this point, was also swollen high up. For a moment, the surrounding crowd was in an uproar. Everyone was not expecting it. Lin Mo was actually so ruthless. Straight away, it was out to slap the person in front of him a couple times. This attitude, that's really something. And in the elevator, some of the people who knew the middle-aged man. At this point it was a constriction of the neck. At the same time, the throat rolled. As for the middle-aged man who was smacked in the mouth. At this point it was a daze. He was totally unexpected. Lin Mo actually dared to be direct and take a shot at himself. This, truthfully, is what made his heart irritated and furious. Humph, watch yourself when you speak in the future. Coldly, Lin Mo also just turned around and went back inside the elevator. Hit the close button, on the side of the crowd. At this time, he did not even dare to breathe a little. That is, until a young girl off to the side, cautiously spoke up. That, this little brother. Hmm, Lin Mo glanced at the other party. The young girl scrunched her neck. Then, still speaking, I take it you're going to, uh, Conhaven on the fifth floor? You, an employee of Comhaven? Well, sort of. Lin Mo mused. Then, still nodding, here's the thing, the guy you just hit, it's the HR manager at Comhaven. This young girl whispered, oh, personnel manager? Listen to this. Lin Mo laughed instead. Isn't that a coincidence? The other party was the department manager, and he, himself, was the owner of this company. The moment, at the corner of Lin Mo's mouth, a few, rather playful smiles flowed out. That middle-aged man just now, better not come back to offend himself. Otherwise, in the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, there was a cold laugh at this moment. On the other hand, the mouth said, okay, I know, thanks for the heads up. Having said that, the elevator also came to the fifth floor. Lin Mo's sobriquet was to get off the elevator. Then, to the general manager of this com haven, a call was made. On the phone, Lin see the other side and learned, Lin Ma has arrived at com haven. And, right now, it's on the fifth floor of the company when it comes to the front desk. All of a sudden, he just panicked. On the other end of the line, there was a crashing sound. Apparently after receiving the call, he hurriedly put down the work at hand and accelerated to this side of the front desk. After Lin Mo heard this, he immediately smiled in relief. There's no need for Mr. Tang to be nervous either. It won't hurt if I sit at the front desk for a while. With that, he hung up the phone and casually took a seat on the couch next to the front desk. The front desk on this floor is also apparently more discerning. Heard him call someone with the title general. Immediately, he was brought hot tea and snacks and fruits. To this, Lin Mo also smiled. And, also, it feels pretty good. Just about to wait for general manager Tang while using the tea. A slightly, somewhat surprised voice. At this time it also rang out. Rimmer, listen to the sound. Lin Mo looked up. Just a woman with a nice figure, wearing a black and white professional outfit. At this point, it's coming this way. On his face, there were also a few moments of surprise. Money yo-yo? Look at the visitor. Lin Mo was also slightly surprised. This Qian Yuyu is his high school classmate. The two were part of a back and forth relationship in high school. So, the relationship is pretty good. It's really you. I didn't expect to actually run into you here. Qian Yuyu smiled. You work here? Looking at the red sign on Qian Yuyu's chest, Lin Mo said, Yeah, just got promoted to assistant manager of the company two days ago. Yo Yo Qian, who was here, took the sign and held it up, saying, Phew, then I should call you manager Qian now. Don't. Qian Yuyu blushed and said, But Lin Mo, why did you come to our company? Qian Yuyu, who was here, asked with some confusion. Oh, I came over here to meet someone. So, Qian Yuyu nodded. Just as he was about to say something, the elevator door behind them, too, was opened again. The man in the suit who had cut into his elevator queue earlier stepped out of the elevator, and the receptionist here, the moment she saw the man in the suit, and quickly stood up and gave a polite shout. 
Good afternoon, Manager Zhang. Listen to this. Lin Mo didn't care too much. Yet at this point, Manager Zhang, who was here, was also quick and noticed Lin Mo. Seeing that Lin Mo was actually here as well, he froze in place all of a sudden, and his face became extremely ugly. The place on his face where Lin Mo had slapped him before. At this point, it was also hurting again. It's you? Manager Zhang darkened his face, pointing at Lin Mo. He said, Good for you. I didn't think you'd actually come to our company. After scanning Lin Mo up and down, this manager instantly thought of something. Then, it was with a sneer, saying, Looking at you, you should be applying for a job in our company, right? In that case, then you don't have to apply for the job. You, our company won't want. Get lost. Listen to the words. Lin Mo's face, somewhat playfully. On the other hand, Xian Yu Yu, who was on the side, frowned slightly. He said, Lin Mo, you and our manager Zhang, have a conflict? Well, pretty much. Lin Mo nodded and said, hearing this, Xian Yu Yu did not look too good, but then spoke anyway. Manager Zhang, this Lin Mo is my high school classmate. I wonder if there is some misunderstanding between you and him? Listen to this. Manager Zhang, who was there, had a grimace on his face. Then, it was with a cold smile, that he said, misunderstanding? Oh, this kid even hit me with his hands. What kind of misunderstanding can there be here? The words came out. She and Yu Yu were all confused. He was totally surprised that it would actually happen. Lin Ma, I actually hit manager Zhang with my hands. This, no, Lin Mo was not this kind of person. I think there's definitely a bit of a misunderstanding between you two. Manager Zhang, however, smiled coldly and opened his mouth. You and this kid, you went to high school together, right? Looks like you're ready to speak for him? That's fine. From now on, you're fired. Manager Zhang, you, Xian Yu Yu, who was here, immediately changed her face. She was totally, not expecting this manager, to fire at the drop of a hat. And standing here is Lin Mo. The eyes were also narrowed slightly. He said, what? Is this a place where you can just fire people? I'd like to ask who gave you that right. Lin Mo's tone, appeared a bit cold. The words were full of coldness. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Manager Zhang, who was there, laughed coldly, full of arrogance. Who gave me the right? Oh, I'm the manager of the personnel department. I can fire whoever I want. Yes? Lin Mo's, then, was a snort. Then, too, there was the shaking of heads. Looking at this appearance of Lin Mo, Manager Zhang, who was there, then frowned and said, What are you laughing at? Ha, what am I laughing at? There was a shake of the head. Lin Mo, who was here, also said coldly, What I'm laughing at. Later, you'll see. Listening to Lin Mo's words, in the back of this manager's mind, there was something vaguely confining. After all, Lin Mo's aura was somewhat extraordinary. But then, he still maintained his stability, saying, playing God, muttered under his breath. Manager Zhang immediately, was shouting loudly, security. As the words fell, the security guard who was patrolling not far from the side, just quickly ran over. These two, they came to our company to cause trouble. You throw these two, out of here, immediately. Yes, Manager Zhang, said, these few security guards, were planning, to catch Lin Mo and Qian Yu Yu, throw the two out, and just then, the elevator door was opening again, General Manager Tang Xiao walked out with quick steps, the mind is very apprehensive, after all, Lin Mo was 100% owned, and, still, it came out of nowhere, acquired 100% of the shares in the presence overnight, so, for all information and preferences of Lin Mo, Tang Xiao was all but oblivious. Therefore, at this moment, Tang Zhao's heart was in a state of great anxiety. It's more of an expectation. Being able to give Lin Mo a nice good impression. However, just then, this Tang Xiao also walked outside the elevator. The moment the sight before him was seen, Tang Xiao also froze at once. At the bottom of his heart, there were also a few moments of anger that suddenly rose. Stop it. What are you doing? A furious cry escaped his mouth. As Tang Zhao's voice fell, the few security guards that were here also stopped in their tracks. As for manager Zhang who was at the side, he was also stunned. Subsequently, that is, back to the head, looking towards, from inside the elevator, walked out Tang Xiao. Manager Zhang, on the other hand, had a moment's pause. Next moment, a few, fawning smiles just surfaced on his face, said, Oops, Mr. Tang, why are you still coming down? Aren't I here? Asking security to kick out these two guys who came to the company to cause trouble? Listen to this from manager Zhang. Tang Xiao, who was here, also looked incomparably hideous. 
The look was full of gloom. Asshole. Tang Zhao's mouth exploded. This was followed by a fierce slap. Thrown out viciously. Pop. This manager, straight away, was just jerked down to the ground. The face, at this point, was also swollen high up. Teeth, all of them, were snapped off a few times. Tang Xiao, on the other hand, took quick steps and walked over to Lin Mo. Then, to Lin Mo in front of him, a burst of bowing and haunting, said, Boss, I'm really sorry, I'm the one who's late. With the moment those words fell. In this moment, Manager Zhang froze outright. The whole person, completely dumbfounded. The man in front of you, the owner of the company? This, how could it be? And himself just now. You're actually screaming at the boss? And, threatening to throw each other, out, the moment. Manager Zhang's body trembled for a while, and his face was even more ashen, as for the others on the sidelines. At this point, it was also dumbfounded. Subsequently, in unison, they looked at Lin Mo. Some of them were shocked, some of them were curious, and some of them were incredulous. As for Lin Mo who was here, he was looking at Manager Zhang who was there. Spin, looking at Tang Xiao in front of him, he said, General Manager Tang, for the disposition of this manager, I'll leave it to you. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Tang Zhao's body trembled. The one that followed, that is, spoke, Boss, don't worry, leave this matter to me. I promise to dispose of it properly. Having said that, the bottom of Tang Zhao's eyes, that is, brought on a few moments of coldness. Looking at Manager Zhang's heart, it carried a few moments of anger. Taking a deep breath, he said, Manager Zhang, from now on, you're no longer an employee of our calm hair visions. Listen to this. Manager Zhang's look, and it was beyond desperate. Then, that is, in a hurry, he came to the two. Kneeling down, he slapped himself in the face as he did so. Mr. Tang, boss, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. It's me who has the eyes to recognize the mountain. Please spare me this time. Please spare me. Listen to this. Tang Xiao impatiently waved his hand and said, Security, throw this guy out. Yes, the few security guards who were there. A jolt. Hurriedly, he just ran over. Then, framing manager Zhang, he was dragging towards the elevator. Tang Xiao who had done all this, it was also a relief. Then, with a face full of nervousness, he looked at Lin Mo, said, Boss, I'm really sorry, this is caused by my lax management. I'll review this and promise you that it won't happen again. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo gave a faint hum. Qian Yu Yu who stood beside Lin Mo. Instead, watch the whole thing here. At this time, there were a few moments of horror on the expression. A slight roll of the throat. Then, that is to say, opening his mouth. Lin Mo. You, you're actually, the owner of Kanhai Visions? Aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo laughed softly. Bye for fun. Listening to Lin Mo's words. This money yo-yo's look looked a million times more complicated. For this old school friend of his, the family is still clear to her. While attending high school, the other family, which is in the county, owns a small noodle shop. The results were not expected. How many years has it been? And the other guy shakes it off and becomes the big boss. And yourself? But it's a part-time job in the other side's company. At this time, Qian Yu Yu's mood was very complicated. At the same time it came to mind that he had, at first, with braggadocio. The scene where you tell the other person that you've just recently been promoted to assistant manager. For a moment, the cheeks burned a little. In front of the boss, bragging about his promotion to assistant manager. This kind of thing. It's also embarrassing enough. And at this moment, Lin Mo smiled. Said, Alright, I won't talk to you anymore. Let's get together sometime in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. Qian Yu Yu said with some stiffness. Okay, go to your office. Feeling the gazes gathered around him. Lin Mo directly addressed Tang Xiao. Yes, boss, after you. Tang Xiao sniffed and hurriedly led the way ahead. Bishop respectfully led Lin Mo to his office. 12th floor, general manager's office. In front of Lin Mo, the company's books, the breakdown of a range of things, all of it is laid out. Lin Mo casually flipped through it. There was a pretense, a burst of nodding. Although, not many of these things he could read. The only item that I can read, also known as the company profit column. In Tang Zhao's statement, Come Hair Vision, Inc., last year's total revenue for the entire year, was $63,427 billion, which is pretty impressive for a company in its class, excluding operating costs and taxes, plus a series of investment income, the net profit for the year, reached $13,402 billion. Look at this column, Lin Mo's heart was somewhat unsettled, one year, $13,402 billion net profit, that is to say, this is a company that can bring in, 
over a hundred million dollars a month in net income. That's a net profit that is horrendous. Well, not bad, not bad. Calm your mind. Lin Emo nodded his head and said, that was followed by getting up. The palm of his hand flipped. A loyalty chip the size of a fingernail is what falls into the palm of your hand. Then, walked over to Tang Xiao, gently tapped the other man on the shoulder. Very good, do a good job. As the words fell, the loyalty chip was affixed to Tang Zhao's shoulder. Then, it merged into his body. For a moment, Tang Zhao's body trembled. Then, it was time to stand up straight. The eyes looked a little dull. But it was but a moment before it recovered. With a bow to Lin Mo, he said, Boss, aha. Uh -huh. Lin Mo took the stack of reports. Said, and tell me, is there any forgery in this stack of reports? No, boss. So, up and down the company. Are there any assholes? You can rest assured on this point boss. The company's top brass. Absolutely nothing. And after you leave, I'll do a screening of the company. Two, beware of another. Manager Chang-like character. Well, good. Lin Mo nodded his head in satisfaction. I'm relieved to leave the company in your hands. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Tang Zhao's hastily just bowed and said, Thanks for the trust, boss. Okay, take the dividend portion of the company and put it all on my own card. Okay, boss. Tang Xiao turned to Lin Mo and spoke respectfully. Uh, okay. Waved his hand. Lin Mo also just got up and said, All right, I'm going to go inspect the rounds myself, and then I'm going to go. Yes, sending Lin Mo away. This Tang Xiao was relieved, for the time just now, for Lin Mo's respectful attitude, there was also some murmuring in the back of his mind, just now, what's going on, he felt as if Lin Mo's words were a holy decree when he was just there, and one's own heart simply cannot, at all, rise up to deceive, and now, as soon as I see Lin Mo, even the thought of the other party was kept in an inexplicable awe, perhaps that's the aura, mentally muttering, Tang Xiao, who was looking at Lin Mo's back, was filled with awe, as for Lin Ma, instead, they were inspecting the company. Each floor after making the rounds, Lin Mo also had some, nodding his head repeatedly. And after doing that, Lin Mo was also back, in the parking lot downstairs. In the parking lot, Xia Yuma was, at this time, following up on a phone call. Listen to the message on the phone. Xia Yuma here, his expression was also gradually, became a bit odd. What's wrong? After Xia Yuma hung up the phone, Lin Mo looked over at her and asked, just now, Director Chen called, told me the script was rewritten and added a lot of footage for me. Listening to this Lin M.O., corner of the mouth, it also brought on a few playful smiles, said, so, the moment. Lin M.O. also understood what Chen Kai meant by doing this. Undoubtedly, it was to please himself. All right, I've got this, said the man, fastening his seatbelt. Looking at Xie Yuma on the side, the corner of his mouth was tinged with a few bad smiles as he said, forget about that. How about we go hiking? What was said? Lin Mo also swallowed his saliva. This Xia Yuma's ferocious weapon. It seems to be on the verge of growing into the ultimate good weapon. Have to say, there are still some uses for smithing. Well, Xia Yuma also understood in a second what Lin Mo meant by this. Immediately, it was a nod of the head. To this, Lin Mo also gave a bad smile. What followed was a drive and a run to a nearby Sheraton. After opening a presidential suite, the two just went up the stairs. The afternoon was very merry, and, it went by very fast too. Room, phew, sit in the tub, rimmer soaked and the tub massaged. All he felt here was a rush of relief. That's a very good look, while Lin Imo was enjoying himself. Other side, inside a hotel, Xiao Han was at that moment full of fear. Standing there, the whole person, all without the kind of arrogance that belonged to a popular big star. What is there, is only fear and timidity. On his side, this Xiao Han's agent. Two, was restless, and above, a man with a big belly was sitting there, the cell phone, in his hand, was talking, a constant compensatory smile on his face, ten minutes passed, the phone hung up, the man sitting here, the expression on his face, also changed violently, coldly, he looked at Xiao Han in front of him, underneath his eyes, anger was evident, and, killing aura, asshole, do you realize how much trouble you've caused me, the man slammed the table. The whole man stood up with anger in his voice. The two people in front of them were instantly shaken. This big-bellied man in front of them. It wasn't anyone else. It was the owner of their brokerage firm. Zhang Xueming. This Zhang Xueming's company, so to speak, encompassed half of the inner entertainment. Zhang. Mr. Zhang. I didn't mean to. I really didn't know that he. He's actually the major shareholder of the Trina Group. Ah. Xiao Han. Who was there? 
had a look on his face that was on the verge of tears. Oomph, I'm warning you, we're going to meet Mr. Lin for a while next. Whether you can pray for Mr. Lin's forgiveness or not, that determines whether you live or die. If anything, Mr. Lin is unwilling to forgive you. Ha! Huh? Zhang Xueming burst into a hefty sneer. And with that sneer, Xiao Han, however, winced for a while, even more so, he nodded his head, saying, yes, yes, I know, this Xiao Han did not dare to refute, all right, let's go, extinguishing the cigarette in his hand, Zhang Xueming stood up, toward the outside of the hotel, all the way out, other side, at this time, Lin Emo was with the two of them, Xia Yuma, sitting in the hotel restaurant, eating dinner, Lin Imo opened a hotel room that happened to have a panoramic view overlooking Xiling Lake. The two, at this point, were also seated at a table by the window. From a distance, looking at the night view of Lake Celestine, the vibe is also looking a little sweet. Cutting the steak, Lin Imo also spoke. I've been thinking about it, and it looks like you've been on your own up until now, without an agency or anything. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Xia Yuma, who was here, was stunned. Then, that is, nodding, said, yeah, I'm still alone. Well, that's not going to work. Lin Mo mused. Then, it was a slow way of saying, you'll be easily bullied if you're alone all the time. Tell you what, I'll open an agency in the next couple days and sign you up. Lin Mo, who was sitting here, casually said just that, and listening to Lin Mo's words, Xia Yuma who was here also froze. This, Xia Yuma froze, then a few moments of emotion just drained from his face, said, thank you brother, it's okay. Lin Emo laughed lightly for a while. Then, the mind fell back to the current inner circle of entertainment. It seems to have one, a rich flower on earth called Big Sweet. Yourself, how about a version of that too? Solely, raising another earthly rich flower? Looked at Xia Yuma, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth, too, couldn't help but hook up. Seemingly, it may not be impossible. Think about it. Lin Emo also just pulled out his cell phone. Then, a call went out to Hope Wong. After saying what he thought again, the phone hung up. Huang Wan, on her side, also gave herself a guarantee. Definitely in two days. Get this done. Okay. Put down the cell phone. Lin Mo's mouth was tinged with a few smiles as he said. Well, everything's taken care of. And when you go back to the crew this time, make sure you're the prettiest guy in the whole crew. Well, Xia Yuma here, her cheeks slightly red. But just at this point in time, a sound of footsteps, too, sounded in the doorway of the restaurant. In the dining room, there was still some confusion going on. Listen to the burst, the chaos. Lin Mo and Xia Yuma, both of them, looked up. Only a middle-aged greasy man was seen, looking around the doorway. As for behind it, the hotel's general manager was following closely with a pair of security guards. After all, the man in front of me was no one else. It is Zhang Xueming, the leading figure in the domestic entertainment industry, himself, but a small five-star hotel general manager. When the other side comes, one must go up to greet them, and beside these two people, Xiao Han was also following here, and it was because of Xiao Han's appearance, it caused the restaurant to be, seemingly, a bit noisy, Xiao Han then pointed at Lin Mo's table, after saying a few words to Zhang Xueming, the general manager of the hotel, in a hurry, was ordering the security guards, the security guards started to come forward, driving away the other guests in the restaurant, not a moment too soon, in the large restaurant, it was Lin Mo's table that was left, at this point, Zhang Xueming, who is here, is the same person who brought Xiao Han, one way or another, it came to the two, Zhang Xueming's face was filled with a compensatory smile, in his mouth, he was also speaking to Lin Mo, ha ha, Mr. Lin, I've been looking forward to it for a long time, the pusher, Zhang Xueming, is the chairman of Tian Hai Entertainment, Zhang Xueming said smilingly, and listening to the words of this Zhang Xueming, Lin Mo was all in nothing, even, without even lifting his head, watching Lin Mo's movements, here, Zhang Xueming's expression appeared to be a bit stiff, he was not expecting it, Lin Mo actually had this attitude, to know, he's at least a chairman of a big company, even though the homegrown company, is no match for the Trina group, but not so much, a shareholder of this Trina group, after seeing yourself, it's not even lifting your head, right, for a moment, the atmosphere seemed a little awkward, as for Xia Yuma, at this time, he appeared, somewhat rattled, Lin Emo was the only one who was still calmly cutting his steak, the steak on the plate was gradually finished, Lin Emo took a napkin and wiped his mouth, it was then set aside, only then did he raise his head and look at Zhang Xueming in front of him, saying, do you, uh, want something from me, 
Listening to Lin Mo's words, Zhang Xuanming looked even more stiff. At the bottom of his heart, he was also a bit annoyed, but having thought of the other party's identity, even if one's heart was no longer dissatisfied, it's also something that can only be held back. Accompanied by a smile, he said, Mr. Lin, it's like this, previously our company's artist Xiao Han offended you, didn't I bring him and come to apologize to you? Saying that, this Zhang Xueming was slamming the back of Xiao Han's head, he said, why don't you hurry up and apologize to Mr. Lin, here Xiao Han, his face was filled with fear, not daring to think otherwise in the slightest, hastily, it was bowing to Lin Mo, Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry about the morning, Lin Mo's expression was still flat, sitting there and not talking, but, it was this look that was causing people's hearts and minds to multiply in pressure, looking at Lin Mo like this, this Zhang Xu Eming's heart was flooded with bitterness, if anyone else was like this, I'm afraid he would have exploded long ago, but for now, he could only grit his teeth, turning to Xia Yuma, who was on the sidelines, he said, ma'am, here's 50 million dollars with a code of six zeros, this is what our company, instead of Xiao Han, used to apologize to you, this is a small amount of money to say the least, but please take it, this, Xia Yuma was a bit confused, looking at this black bank card in front of him, a little nervous, after all, she's just a college student, although it was said that following Lin Imo was seeing a lot, but 50 million dollars is still a huge amount for her, one could only look, somewhat helplessly, at Lin Imo, Lin Imo said flatly, it's only 50 million dollars, not much indeed, since boss Zhang has given it to you, just take it, this time, Xia Yuma also just accepted the bank card, and Zhang Xueming was relieved at this moment, but then, still gritting his teeth as well, from his own bosom, somewhat fleshed out, he pulled out a wooden box, it was pushed in front of Lin Mo, he said, Mr. Lin, this gift, I hope you like it, looking at the wooden box that Zhang Xueming handed over, Lin Mo also opened it, this is a Jedi treasure wall that I took at an auction some time ago, I hope you like it, Mr. Lin, Zhang Xueming said this, the flesh is aching, this Jedi treasure wall, that was handed down from the Ming dynasty, auction some time ago, he himself had bid up to 300 million dollars to buy it, and this time, in order to be able to make amends to Lin Mo, one can only take its, as a gift to the other, for this emerald treasure wall, Lin Mo is not aware of the detailed price, but, looking at the size and texture of this treasure wall, Lin Mo was also able to guess that its price was not expensive, nice, Lin Mo took it in his hands and played with it for a while, what followed, the mouth also said, this thing is just the right thickness to make a nice tea cushion, listening to Lin Mo's words, Zhang Xu Eming, who was here, had a somewhat stiff expression, the nine dragons jade jewel worth 300 million dollars, as a tea cushion, Zhang Xu Eming, who was in front of him, was shocked by Lin Mo's words, the whole thing opened its mouth, God is confused, but then, on his face, he brought on a few stiff smiles, said, ha, 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 as you like, simultaneous, the whole thing was a long, sigh of relief, since Lin Mo had taken over this nine dragon jade jewel, that is to say, it represents, this thing, it's kind of over, and on the sidelines, the general manager of the hotel, it was also a bit confusing at this point, looking at Lin Mo's heart, it carried a few points of complexity, and shock, this one looks, but a young man in his early twenties, exactly, who is it, surprisingly, it can make a character like Zhang Xu Eming, all about of groveling, a personal door-to-door -door apology aside, just the two that were taken out for apology gifts, just really scares him, a bank card with 50 million dollars on it, and a copy, this Zhang Xu Eming just shot down, less than a month of the nine dragons jade jewelry, the moment, the general manager of the hotel was a little shaken, in its eyes, Lin Mo's figure, too, appeared more and more mysterious, and there was Xiao Han, at this point a long breath was exhaled, the heart is also completely relaxed, and it's at this point in time, Lin Mo, who was here, also slowly said, between you and me, it's kind of over now, but, Lin Mo's tone lurched, this Zhang Xu Eming's heart then hung in the air, Mr. Lin, if you have any orders, just say so, he, I do not wish to see again, in public view, as it continues to be, pointed at Xiao Han who was there, Lin Mo's tone was bland, listening to Lin Mo's words, the bottom of Zhang Xu Eming's eyes brought on a few moments of chill, immediately, that is, the word, I understand Mr. Lin, I promise that in the future, you'll never see a glimpse of this guy in the country, as the words fell after that, Xiao Han, who was here, was considered to be completely flustered, Zhang Xueming's words, perhaps in other people's ears, 
were nothing. However, he was aware of some of Zhang Xueming's details. What does it mean to be in the country and never see yourself again? One is going to be sent to Siam. Zhang Xueming is somewhat powerful in Siam. And himself, once sent to Siam. Xiao Han panicked. Thoroughly panicked. In a hurry, it was the opening of the mouth. Mr. Zhen, Mr. Lin, please raise your hand, please. For that matter, Lin Imo was unmoved. As for Zhang Xueming, he had someone drag Xiao Han away. That was followed by leaving the place. The general manager of the hotel, too, quickly excused himself. After leaving the restaurant, the general manager of this hotel also turned to Zhang Xueming and opened his mouth to inquire. Boss Zhang, that person just now, just what, is he, listening to the general manager of the hotel? Zhang Xueming paused slightly in his steps, and then, that is to say, you know about the share changes in the Trina group some time ago, don't you? I know, the general manager of the hotel nodded his head and said, it says that a mysterious person, in two days, acquired 30% of the shares of the Trina group, it has become the second largest shareholder of Trina group, the original Trina group is in turmoil at the top, but also the situation is obvious down, speaking of which, the general manager of this hotel, too, reacted, his mouth gradually opened wide, and to Zhang Xueming in front of him, he just opened his mouth, could it be that the youth just now is, yes, he's the youth who, in two days time, acquired 30% of the shares of the Trina group, what, the general manager of this hotel was confused, the entire man's mouth dropped open, there was disbelief written all over his expression, this, just kidding, 30% of Trina group's shares, how much money does it take, to acquire it, the most crucial thing is that I later tried to check his identity information, but as a result, it was nothing, Zhang Xueming deeply, glanced at the general manager beside him, yo yo, was the one who spoke, as the words fell, the general manager of the hotel, violently cold air was sucked backwards, then, too, there was a pang, a tingle in the head, after all, the meaning behind the phrase, suffice it to say, it speaks for itself, the face changed color for a while after that, the general manager of the hotel, that is, said in a hurry, elder brother Zhang, for this matter, thank you very much, I won't see you off on my side, well, go ahead, Zhang Xueming nodded, the two then just parted ways, the general manager of this hotel, too, ran back into the restaurant in a hurry, at this point, Lin Mo was chatting with Xie Yuma, in front of Lin Mo, at this point was another steak served, no way, western food is still a little short on dishes, it was a bit too filling to eat, and not nearly as painful as Chinese food, the two of them ate as they went along, while starting a conversation, in the dining room, too, people are now starting to come in for dinner again, and also at this moment, a voice that slightly appeared to be a bit surprised was also ahead, suddenly sounding, Rimmer, listen to this, Lin Mo also looked towards the front, only a young man, holding a young girl on his arm, was walking this way, Yang Yen, looking at the youth in front of him, here, Lin Mo's expression also looked dismayed, the man was one of his childhood playmates, later in high school, I haven't seen much of him since his family moved away, I didn't expect to meet here, it's really you, what a coincidence indeed, I didn't expect to run into you, here, what, are you traveling with your girlfriend too, Yang Yen laughed out loud, subsequently, and just as naturally, he sat beside Lin Mo, oh, that's not true, Yum or she works over here, I'm here on an errand, and I stopped by to see her, Lin Mo said, then glanced at Yang Yan and said, what, did you bring your girlfriend here on a trip, yes, Yang Yan's face carried a few moments of arrogance, he said, no, he was just promoted to deputy general manager some time ago, with an annual salary of 3 million dollars, then I applied for an annual vacation and came over to travel, hey, to be honest, I don't feel like it's much better, it's really not as good as, well, it used to be when I was a small time employee, at that time, it was still possible to come on public tours like you, this Yang Yan's voice was extremely loud, between the words, there was also bragging written all over them, and for a moment, quite a few people next to him, looking this way, after seeing Yang Yan, a few moments of envy surfaced in the bottom of many people's eyes, 3 million dollars a year, this amount, in the eyes of many, is still relatively high, not to mention, this Yang Yan is still so young, a young man is a young man, yes, at such a young age, he became the vice president of the company with an annual salary of 3 million dollars, he has a bright future, hey, it's not like that kid at my house, who just knows how to play games all day and night, the people who were here, one after another, just spoke up, one by one, words were filled with emotion, 
As for Lin Ma, at this time, his face, too, was a bit odd. Nice guy. This looks like it's spitting in the face with itself. But in actuality, it's naked bragging rights. But, showing off your wealth with yourself here? That's a lot to think about. Next to Xia Yuma, his face also looked a bit odd. How dare you show off with a salary of $3 million a year? This Yang Yen, on the other hand, was all but oblivious. Lin Mo and Xia Yuma's odd gaze, still louder. Hey, by the way, Lin Mo, what are you doing now? Me? I'm just going to mingle every day. Lin Mo, who was sitting here, casually said, Indeed, isn't he just a jerk? Every day you wake up, the trillion dollar subsidy app is swiped to see if there are any new goodies. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Yang Yen at this time, was more energized. The eye roll is a come hither look. Word of honor, Lin Mo. It's not that brother is talking about you. How can someone like you, who is at the right age to fight, be so self-absorbed? It's like brother me, when I first graduated a couple years ago. It's just a bottom feeder employee, and it's only been a couple years, and he's a VP. Although, barring that, it's only $3 million a year, which is what a Ferrari costs. But at the very least, it's food and drink. I stayed in executive suites on this trip out, and I do plan to, myself, hustle for a few more years, save a few tens of millions of dollars in your hand and you'll be able to retire. So yeah, brother really suggests you, put up a good fight. This Yang Yan's words fell. Lin Mo's expression, was even more odd. Nice guy. That said, Rimmer just chimed in for a while. As for the other diners next to them, there was also a flurry of words. That's a great friend. These days, it's really hard to have a friend who's genuinely willing to do what's best for you. Only, that kid seems to be a bit ungrateful. Hey, it can't be helped. There's always someone who is self-absorbed. This life looks like it's going to be hard to have any great success. The crowd has, just shaking their heads in disbelief here. And Yang Yen, who was listening to such words. At this time, the heart, but also some more and more pleasant. However, also at this point in time, the general manager of the hotel, too, was walking quickly towards here. Behind him, instead, they were followed by a, a waitress in a high-cut chonsam, in his hand, a tray covered with a red cloth. At this point, the general manager of the hotel, was also standing in front of Lin Mo's table. This general manager, at this moment, then bowed slightly and said, Mr. Lin, I'm the general manager of the Sheraton Zitsihu store. Wu Fan, listening to the words of this Wu Fan, Lin Mo was also a bit curious. Looking at him, he said, Mr. Wu, what are you? It's like this, I've come to bring you a drink, said, Wu Fan who was here was also the one who lifted the red cloth, on this tray, a bottle of red wine heck, that's what was on top, when everyone in the moment saw the bottle of wine, also one after another, cold air was sucked backwards from their mouths, and Yang Yen, who was there, was also deeply shocked at this time, with a slight roll of his throat, he said, oh my god, Lin Mo, are you crazy? This is a red wine from the 2009 vintage of Petrus. That's 370, 000 dollars just for this bottle alone. You can't afford to pay for this wine if you open it. Yang Yen hurriedly, that is, exclaimed. The crowd beside him was also talking. My god, 370, 000 dollars a bottle of red wine. Where did this kid get that? Boy, 370, 000 bottles of red wine. That's almost half a month's profit for my family. And here's the general manager of the hotel, Wu Fan. At this time, the face, still with a smile, said, This gentleman, I think you're mistaken. This bottle of wine was not ordered by Mr. Lin. What? Yang Yin froze. It wasn't ordered by Lin Ma? What's that supposed to mean? With a slight frown, Yang Yen was puzzled in his heart. As for Lin Ma, it was also sitting there, looking at Wu Fan, the general manager of this hotel, with some curiosity in his heart. He wanted to see what the hotel was trying to do. This bottle of wine is mine after. Asking the chairman of the group. Our group chairman decided to gift it to Mr. Lin. Giveaway? That said. What do you mean? The moment. Yang Yan was dumbfounded. The other diners next to them, too, were confused. No. Complimentary? What does that mean? This Yang Yan quickly. Is back to his senses. Looking at Wu Fan in front of him. A quick question. As for Wu Fan. He still kept a smile on his face and said, It's like this, the chairman of our hotel, wishes to make friends between himself and Mr. Lin, but he's overseas now and can't come over to see Mr. Lin in person. That's why I said that I was specially instructed to deliver this bottle of wine to Mr. Lin personally. A word fell. In the minds of the crowd next to them, 
Waves of shock were already rising at this point. Looking at Lin Mo in front of him, the bottom of his eyes carried shock. This youth, what on earth is it? I can't believe that the chairman of this Sheraton Hotel Group, all hoping to befriend? To know, the Sheraton, it's a global hotel chain. The market capitalization is even higher at $100 billion. The chairman of such a company was hoping to befriend this youth. One moment, many people looked at Lin Mo's figure. It was as if, his figure, was taking on a bit of a mysterious color. As for Yang Yen, he was already completely dumbfounded. This, what's going on? What was happening to his own childhood playmate? This, Mr. Wu, are you guys mistaken? Lin Mo He, is just an ordinary wage earner ah? Wu Fan, who was here, hurriedly said, what are you talking about? How could I possibly be mistaken? This Mr. Lin, he's the major shareholder of the Trina Group. Boom, a sentence fell. It's like thunder from the ground. It exploded next to Wu Fan's ears. One moment, everyone in the restaurant, at this moment, their eyes were on the verge of glaring out. The major shareholder of the Trina Group? Surprisingly, so young? The moment, Yang Yen, who was here, could be described as having a red face. The look on his face, was even more awkward. Think back to before. All kinds of pretenses by himself in front of Lin Mo. And the language. Tell the other person to work hard. Hustle. And not to muck around and touch the fish. And flaunt it in front of each other. Make three million dollars a year yourself. That one sentence. Now. It's like a slap in the face. Smacked himself hard in the face. Awkward. Incredibly embarrassing. At the same time. The heart grew more and more appalled. Himself back in the day. When he was playing with Lin Mo. The other party's family is obviously in a better condition than their own family. Not much better ah. But now, how did the other side become the major shareholder of the Trina group? This TM, Yan Yan's heart could be described as complicated. And on the sidelines, the other diners. The face is also a bit of a mess. A portion of the diners, on the other hand, simply stopped eating. Hurry up and leave the restaurant. After all, that's no way to eat either. Just now, they praised how ruthless Yang Yan was, and now their face is hurt. Especially, there were a few others who said at first that it was difficult for Lin Mo to make any great achievements. At this point, that face hurts even more. What's the big deal? If anything, the major shareholder of the Trina group is not even considered to be a great success if you ask me. Then they, it's simply more unproductive. And there stood Wu Fan, the smile was still on his face, said, So, Mr. Lin, what do you think of your bottle of wine? Open it. Lin Mo immediately said, Okay Mr. Lin. Having said that, the bottle was just opened. With the moment of opening, the wine is fragrant. Wu Fan, the general manager of the hotel here, also said, Allow me to introduce you to this bottle of 2009 Petrus Red Wine, produced by Petrus Premier Cru. Its aroma is very sensual, with fresh and complex spice, sweet ripe plum, blackberry and violet notes that can be intoxicating. Its structure is focused and has depth, with a full-bodied, heavy wine that boasts flavors of black fruit mocha and chocolate. With some introductions, the two tall wine glasses set in front of Lin Mo and Xiaoyuma. Now it is also taken over. Then, there was the pouring of a third of a cup. Enjoy. Wu Fan bowed slightly. Then it was time to turn around and leave. With the departure of Wu Fan who was here, Lin Mo, who was sitting here, and Xiaoyuma both savored it slightly. The ethereal flavor of the wine exploded on the tongue. The faces of both of them showed enjoyment. And Lin Mo also looked at Yang Yan next to him and said, would you like one? Listening to Lin Mo's words, Yang Yan finally came back to his senses. Hurriedly. Ah. No no no. I suddenly remembered. I've also got a movie date with Sissy. And the movie's about to start now. After all was said and done. This Yang Yan also couldn't sit still any longer. Hurriedly, he pulled on his girlfriend. And left in a very sorry state. Looking at the wretched Yang Yan. Xiaoyuma, who was next to him, was also finally unable to hold back. The poof was just letting out a big laugh. This made Yang Yan's back even more awkward and wretched. The pace under its feet was also accelerated by a few points. A dinner was served. After following the two of them, Xia Yuma went out to watch another movie. The two of them were also the ones who walked beside the western lake. The full moon above the sky emanated a silvery white moonlight. It's beautiful. Xia Yuma looked at the full moon and said with some intoxication. Her face was also looking a little scarlet at this point because of the after effects of the red wine. This moon is no more beautiful than you are. Saying that, Lin Mo was gently, holding the other party's hand. Then, with a gentle tug, he pulled it into his arms. The body bent down slightly and gently, for lips pressed together. Xia Yuma didn't resist either. Instead, he hugged Lin Mo's waist. The two of them just, 
leaned against the guardrail on the edge of the western lake. Breeze, the feelings between the two, too, were heating up. Early the next morning, Lin Emo sobered up in the middle of the hotel. Look at the messy room. Memories of last night were good. The corners of his mouth were also upturned. Nice, with a few light chuckles. The Lin Emo in front of him was in a great mood. Let's see what today's trillion dollar subsidy is all about. With the thoughts falling afterward, Lin Emo was also the one who opened the app on his phone. With the opening, one of the commodities, that is, appeared in front of Lin Emo. Jinshuowen District, Block 6, Subsidized Price, 199. Look at the information on this app. Lin Emo was also slightly stunned. Real estate again? He hadn't expected that. Something the app gave itself today. Surprisingly, another whole building. Never mind. Let's buy it first. After Lin Emo murmured in his heart, that is to say, this Goldwater Bay neighborhood was bought. Purchase successful. The product is being delivered. Estimated delivery time, 15 minutes. Please wait for the receipt. 15 minutes. Not bad. Lin Emo nodded gently. That was followed by the continued swiping of the phone. And the 15 minutes flew by. Lin Emo, at this time, was still in the bathroom. With the doorbell ringing. The original sleeping Siayuma. Instead, he was awakened by the sound of the doorbell. Subsequently, that is, open, sleepy eyes. Who, somewhat disoriented, he walked to the door. After opening the door to the room, the door was empty. Only on the ground, there was a wrapped paper box. Boxes? The mind carries points of doubt. This Siayuma still picked up the box. Then, too, it's just looking at the name on it. Lin M.O. There's a delivery for you. Shout out. This Siayuma was the one who carried the box back to the room. Okay, you take it for me. Lin M.O. also stepped on it. Presumably, his own real estate license has arrived. What is it? So heavy? There was a burst of muttering under his breath. Siayuma set the box on the table. The whole thing was also wiping fragrant sweat. Then, picked up a fruit knife that was on the side. It's just scratching open the case. When opened. Inside, a book of real estate certificates with red leather covers, also instantly, appeared in front of Siayuma. This is, real estate license? At this moment, Siayuma was stunned. He was not thinking at all. This box, actually, is all real estate licenses. Pick up a copy at random. After the flip, Linmo's name was clearly written on the real estate license. Picked up the other book. It's still Linma. Look at this book of real estate deeds. Siayuma swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This, this box, it's all real estate licenses? Siayuma was, at this point, a bit messy, and upon seeing the property deed, the name of the neighborhood, the whole person, moreover, was dumbfounded, the Goldwater Bay neighborhood, this neighborhood, for Siayuma, that can be very familiar, for no other reason, this neighborhood is right next to Westlake, and, the average price of the house, it's more like $100, 000, 000 a square foot, and Linma here on the real estate license, usable area of the house, it's all up to 140 square feet, also known as, one set, 14 million, and so many real estate books here, Siayumo made a preliminary estimate, the minimum is 200 books, that's, 2, 8 billion, swallowed, in the bottom of Siayuma's heart, it could be said to have set off monstrous waves, although it is said, she knew Lin Mo had money, but the moment I saw the 200 real estate books, the heart is still overwhelmed. Also at this time, Lin Emo also walked out from the bathroom. Looking at Lin Emo who walked out, this Siayuma was also in a flurry, swallowing his saliva. Then, too, it was the opening of the mouth. Brother, this, what's wrong? It's just some house books. Nothing much, Lin Emo said casually. The tone, too, seemed glib, but the corners of Siayuma's mouth, too, twitched, just a bunch of house books. Is this just some house book? You know, that's a full 200 house books, worth $2, 8 billion in home equity. It's called just some house book? Is that what rich people sound like? One time, Siayuma was also a bit speechless. As for Lin Ma, instead, he casually picked up a copy of the book. After a little rummaging around, then it was just calm, and opened its mouth. As it happens, this Goldwater Bay is just around the corner. You're coming with me to get this house inspected. Uh, no, I guess not. I got it a little late last night and I'm still a little sleepy. Here's Siayuma. Instead, there was a yawn, and on his face, fatigue, and listening to Siayuma's words, Lin Emo was also a bit embarrassed. After all, last night, Lin Emo was with Siayuma, and they screwed until most of the night. Lin Emo because of the body strengthening potion, so the stamina recovery is very fast. 
But Xia Yuma, that's an ordinary person. The speed at which the body recovers its functions. Definitely not like Lin Ma. Plus, I was woken up by the express mail this morning as well. So it's still a little tired now. That's fine. You rest first. If you get hungry later, you can just ring the bell. Well, Xia Yuma fell back to sleep. As for Lin Mo, he called out to the hotel's waiter, holding the box in his arms. It's just leaving the hotel room. Came out onto the parking lot, put it in the front trunk. The two returned to the car. Ultra start. Buzz, buzz. With a roar of the supercar's engine, the vehicle also just leapt out. Goldwater Bay. Property center. With a blast of supercar roar, Lin Mo's supercar, too, was parked in front of the parking space next to the property center. And after, Lin Mo was just holding a box of real estate books towards the property center that was off to the side. Looking at Lin Mo who walked in, a female property owner sitting there. At this time, he also came to Lin Mo's front, said, This gentleman, I wonder what I can do for you. And at that moment, Lin Mo also put the paper box in front of him. It was casually placed on the table in front of the female property owner. This is, the female property owner froze. Express? This female property was mentally muttering for a while. Does it mean that express delivery, nowadays, is so profitable? Delivering a delivery and wearing our money? There was some curiosity in the back of his mind. The woman's property still opened the cardboard box in front of her. With the opening, the female property owner's face also changed. Inside this cardboard box, it's all red and it's all a real estate license. Look at this book of real estate. Cold air was sucked out of the female property owner's mouth. This, picked up a copy at random. Building 6, Goldwater Bay, Lean Ma. When I saw the name on the real estate book, the female properties were, at this point, instantly dumbfounded. You, your mister, Lin, whom, you know me? Lin Mo was a bit frozen instead. Aha, of course I know. The female property owner was agitated. Now, I'm afraid that no one among the Golden Water Bay properties knows Lin Mo's great name. After all, this morning, a message from the company, said their neighborhood. There's a man called Lin Mo who bought a whole building. Goldwater Bay Building 6, the whole four. To know, each household type inside these four buildings. That is the entire Golden Water Bay, the best household type. And, moreover, it has a panoramic view of Sheezy Lake. Each home is 140 square feet. At today's market value, those four buildings that's $2, 8 billion. Not to mention, Lean Ma still paid full price for it. Think about it. The female property owner's mouth watered and there was just a gulp. The look was getting a little tense. He said, Lin, Mr. Lin, I didn't know it was you who had come, so I'm sorry to have missed you. In that case, why don't you sit next to me for a while? Our manager is not in the office right now, but I'm sure it won't be long before he's back. Well, that's okay, I'm in no hurry. I'll just sit here with you guys for a while. Waved his hand. Lin Mo sat down on a side couch. So on your side, tea or coffee? The female property owner spoke up. Dragon well it is. Saying that, Lin Mo just pulled out his cell phone and clicked on the game, casually playing it. Okay mister, Lin. This female property owner hurriedly ran to the pantry and started making tea. Lin Ma was playing a game in the lobby. Not a moment too soon. A sound was also made for it. Ma'am, the houses we just looked at have very nice floor plans. And the homes, which are very well furnished with appliances, are turnkey ready. Listen to this. A somewhat familiar voice. It was what reached Lin Mo's ears. That I know. It's just that the rent for this house. Do you think you can get it slightly cheaper? Listen to the sound. Lin Mo looked up instead. The moment he saw the person who came, Lin Mo in turn froze. This man is no one else. It was the group actor who had followed Xia Yuma on the set yesterday, and beside him. Instead, he was followed by a middle-aged, dry, thin man dressed in the clothes of the property. M.S. Jia. To be honest, the rent for this house is already at market rate. Listen to this. This, this sister Ling was clearly, appearing to be somewhat helpless. And just then, she also saw Lin Mo. The moment she saw Lin Mo, Ling's eyes also lit up violently. Mr. Lin, as I recall, you seem to be Sister Ling, right? Lin Mo put down his cell phone and looked at Sister Ling in front of him and said, and as Lin Mo's words fell, a few fawning smiles also surfaced on Sister Ling's face. He said, Mr. Lin you can just call me Xiaoling. Lin Mo smiled indifferently and said, what, are you going to rent a house here? Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Sister Ling also smiled awkwardly. He said, yes, after all, I'm filming on this side of Hangzhou. The house I rented in Hangtown earlier expired. And then it's also a bit of a long way from the current filming spot. So that's what I'm going to do. 
Come over here and look at the house. So by the looks of you, you didn't rent the right one? Glancing at Lin M.O. in front of him, Ray smiled bitterly. The house, if you will, is indeed quite suitable. The main thing is that the rent is a bit on the high side. And, they are all on one deposit. This money I have in my hand will not be enough for a while. Why don't you just rent mine? Listen to this. Sister Ling's eyes, too, lit up at once. Mr. Lin, you have a house here? I do have some houses here in Goldwater Bay. Listening to Lin Mo's words, here's the property guy. A slight frown also creased his brow. Looking at Lin Mo, that is to say, this gentleman, may I ask which homeowner you are? Honestly, this Goldwater Bay has a spare room in its hand. He knows all the owners who can do rentals. Only, hadn't seen the figure of Lin M.O. Lo, the one next to your property building. As these words from Lin M.O. fell, the property man's face, too, was a bit odd. Spin. A few contemptuous smiles also surfaced at the corners of his mouth. Said, you mean this building six next to it? The property man, on the other hand, shook his head a bit. Oh, I told you, if you're a homeowner in our neighborhood, how can I not recognize you? It turns out you're a liar. As the words fell, Sister Ling, who was here, was frozen. Liar? Yes, the lady, he's definitely a liar. If he had said he was the owner of a couple other buildings, it would have been possible. But next to this building six, never. The property man's tone was filled with certainty. And listen to this. Sister Ling here also had a slight frown on her face. Said, what do you mean by that? And I'm not afraid to tell you. Next to this building six, it was just straight up bagged by a godly man this morning. Building six. 200 units, now the owners are all alone, and all 200 of those homes are now vacant, with the owners still to come, you say you own this building 6, you're lying to the devil, the property man had a condescending look about him, speak up loudly here, after all, in his eyes, Lin Mo was wearing a designer label though, but it's just too young, how is it possible to have the strength to be able to buy 200 houses, now, Lin Mo obviously wanted to, what about pretending in front of his acquaintances, as those words fell, Sister Ling, who was on the side, was a bit stunned, at the bottom of his heart, it was even more so that it set off a monstrous wave, round up a whole building, 200 homes, this is such a rich and generous approach, I'm afraid, it's only, this lord in front of you, who can do it, right, after all, she was very aware of it, of Lin Ma's financial resources, major shareholder of Trina Group, such a character, even if you buy 200 houses, what could be so unusual, however, Lin Mo was laughing lightly for a while. Road, and how do you know that I don't own this building 6? Lin Mo sat with his legs crossed. On his face, he also brought a few moments of curiosity. Oh, it's really hilarious that you can still be the owner of this 6th building. I don't know how you got in here. But for now, get out. Invite me out? Lin Mo's eyes narrowed slightly. Looking at the property in front of him, his eyes were full of dislike. Right, that's right. I'll give you one last minute. If you don't leave now. Don't blame me for calling security. This one, Lin Mo's heart, on the other hand, laughed coldly in succession. But just at this point in time, outside the door, a small battery operated car, in a hurry, pulled up to the curb, couldn't even park the car in time. A man sitting on top, with a greasy head, rushed in, said, Where is Mr. Lin? Where is Mr. Lin? This property manager is very frightened. Just a moment ago, he received a phone call after realizing that Lin Mo had arrived. Hurriedly, he just ran all the way back. After all, what kind of character is Lin Mo? That's a big client for their property company. One man bought a whole building. If there is any semblance of a heart that is not happy about their company, that's a right to be able to ask for a change of property company. As for this property man, he was also a bit confused at this time. Manager, what are you doing back here? And what Mr. Lin are you talking about? This property manager, at this point, is anxious, said, you don't know, Mr. Lin, who bought building 6, is here, with that said, he's just here to watch, I wonder which one, is Mr. Lin, the words fell, the property guy is panicking, new owner of building 6, Mr. Lin, here we go, could it be that, there was sweat emerging from the forehead of this property man, at the same time, towards Lin M.O., he just quietly looked. As for the bottom of his heart, he was even more apprehensive. Could it be? Could it really be him? It can't be. It's absolutely impossible. How can Mr. Lin, who can afford to buy the entire sixth block, be so young? Just then, the female property owner of the pantry was also carrying a tea set and walked out. Then, set it on the coffee table. 
making tea for Lin M.O., he said, Manager, this is Mr. Lin. As the words fell, this property manager, on his face, just floated a few pleasing, flattering smiles. He said, Mr. Lin, disrespect, and this moment, the property man, who was there, was pale, body and fell back a few steps, panic filled his face, I can't believe, it's really him, this, are you kidding me, this guy, obviously, was just a young man in his early 20s, how is it possible, to be able to come up with more than 2 billion dollars, to buy a whole building, this is exactly what makes the world so crazy, or is he dreaming, one time, the property man's face, fell into a pallor, but Rimmer, instead, he took a calm sip of tea, said, you're the manager of this property? Yes, Mr. Lin, I'm the manager of Jiacheng property. How you on? How you on? The property manager accompanied the smile and said, well, then, this property of yours? It doesn't work. Lin Mo said calmly, the words were full of indifference. With this sentence fell, how you on's face, immediately for a stiff, said, what, Mr. Lin, is there something we didn't do well enough at the property? You can make comments and we'll definitely change it. Oh, your property, you're doing a great job. How dare I make a comment? I have to worry about that. When I mention my opinion, will you be kicked out of the neighborhood? By your property, a sentence falls. This manager how was really confused. Kicked out of the neighborhood? This, what's going on? Just as he was confused, the property man on the side, his face, however, was pale. The look on this manager how's face looked a bit ugly. And after, it was to look at the property man who was on the sidelines. Road, it's you, manager house face, unsightly, as a whole, the man's demeanor appeared somber, the tone was even colder, asshole, who gave you the bare heart and leopard guts, at this time, manager how was really about to faint from anger, to know, Lin M.O., but he was their big customer, even, this morning, the chairman of the board of directors of the headquarters has called in person, he was instructed to be sure, to treat Lin M.O. well, absolutely, no offense to the other side, but now, the people below himself had actually offended Lin Mo completely. If that's the case, if Lin Mo really pursues it down, is he still a property manager? The moment this manager house heart could be said to be filled with anger. And here's the property guy. The face could be described as pale, lips trembling. He said, after manager, I, I really don't know. He is Mr. Lin Ah. If I knew that, I wouldn't have dared to even give me 10 guts. Manager Hao, who was here? immediately, was angrily shouting, why don't you hurry up and apologize to Mr. Lin, listen to this, the property man who was here was also in a hurry, turning to Lin M.O., looking flustered, Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry, this is a misunderstanding, I really didn't know ah, you are actually Mr. Lin, although it is said, it's just a job, but know this, this is a Goldwater Bay property, Goldwater Bay neighborhood, this is the top upscale neighborhood in Hangzhou, a month's salary, that's tens of thousands of dollars, this level of work, that's really not a good thing to find on your own, watch this this scene, Lin Mo just shook his head with a cold smile and said, this is a man that I don't want to continue, and I don't want to see him again in the Goldwater Bay neighborhood, a simple sentence fell, the property man was completely flustered, the whole thing, in a hurry, was to say, Mr. Lin, please be generous and give me a high hand and let me go as a fart, for the words of this property man, Lin Mo was ignoring it for a moment. Randomly, it just opened its mouth and spoke. Manager Hao, do you still need me to repeat it again? Along with Lin Mo's words fell. Manager Hao at once, then just hit a jolt. Said, no need, Mr. Lin. Saying that, this manager Hao was looking at the property man next to him. Coldly, he said, or I'll declare it to the top and get you fired and fucked off. The property man listening to this looked pale. Quit your job and get yourself paid for the month at the very least. But if it's because of, say, a mistake you made that led to your dismissal, then yourself, you are completely screwed. Not to mention the paycheck is gone. Even Future's own resume is a record of this dismissal. By that time, one will not be able to find the next job even if one wants to. Gritting his teeth, he said, yes, the property man in this moment, was really hating it and giving myself a couple of slaps. One is really just a mouthful. If, if he himself hadn't been mouthy and offended Lin M.O. in the first place, how did we end up in this situation? Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry. It's my fault for this. I didn't control my subordinates. All right, that's all there is to it. Lin M.O. waved his hand. After that, it was just flat. 
By the way, this property of yours, it comes with a substitute rental? Yes, Mr. Lin. After all, our Golden Water Bay is the top district in Hangzhou. So that's why the rentals are usually delegated to our properties for ease of management. Listen to this. Lin Mo also nodded his head slightly. And here how manager, at this time is also continued. By the way Mr. Lin, these 200 houses in your hand, if you give them to us to rent out on our behalf, I'll take it upon myself to waive 70% of the handling fee for the rental. As manager how's words fell. Lin Mo here was also a bit surprised. Wave 70%? He was totally unexpected. This how manager is actually so generous, straight away, it's a 70% waiver of the processing fee. But then, Lin Mo also just understood, manager Hao's maneuver was a gesture of goodwill. But, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth were also rising for a while as he was here. It's pure son of a bitch if you don't take advantage of a bargain. Okay, then these 200 houses in my hand will be put on rent with you. Yes yes yes, manager Hao was momentarily filled with excitement. Hectic, that is, with a succession of nods. Don't hurry, go prepare the contract. This how manager, looking at the woman on the side of the property, hurriedly, he then just opened his mouth and spoke. Yes, yes, yes. Subsequently, a new contract, quickly, was ready, between the two parties, after the contract has been signed. The two were just laughing and talking. By the way, take the key to 1601 and give me one. Also this house, for the time being, will not be rented out. Lin Mo is sitting here, speaking casually. Okay, mister. Lin, go, got the keys. Lin Mo looked at Xiao Ling in front of him and spoke casually. Ha, huh, okay. Ray was flabbergasted for a moment. The two then just left the property building, came to the door of the first unit of the sixth building. This Ray was a burst, stumped by it. He said, I go, Mr. Lin, these four buildings, a whole unit, are all yours? Lin Mo said with a few light smiles on his face. What? No. Ray swallowed hard looking at the four buildings with a few stunned eyes. Despite what is said, she works as an actress. Although it's just a small group show, the money earned in a month reaches tens of thousands of dollars. Also, this Ray was always feeling, one's insights are broad enough, seen enough rich people, too. But now, after seeing the four buildings, Ray also felt violently, one's own insight is still too little. These four buildings, how much does that cost? Upstairs, Lin Mo waved his hand. After relying on the access card and swiping open the iron gate, the two just made their way up the stairs. After entering the room, Ray just gulped for a moment. The four buildings, all of which are finely decorated in a uniform style. It is fully furnished with all soft furnishings and appliances. Although, the decor is not exactly luxurious, but it's also definitely first class level. Look at the set. Ray was also stumped for a moment. Okay, this is the home. It's fully stocked with appliances and everything and it's convenient for you in terms of filming. As these words from Lin Mo fell, Ray was frozen. That said, what do you mean? This house, is it really ready to be rented to yourself? Ray felt a little magical, but then it just came back, hastily, that is, waving his hand, said, no, Mr. Lin, I can't afford to rent this house. Ray here, her face looked a little embarrassed. In response, Lin Mo was also somewhat helpless, said, I haven't even said the price yet. And you're in a hurry to say you can't afford to rent it? This Xiao Ling, on the other hand, shook her head helplessly. He said, I can't even afford to rent a 90 square feet apartment in this golden water bay. Not to mention your 140 sq. foot. And finely furnished little bungalow. Listen to this. Lin Mo instantly just smiled and said, Okay, here's the deal. I'll pay your rent on this house. 7, 000 a month. One deposit. Ha, huh? at this moment. Ray was completely dumbfounded. 7, 000 a month? A deposit? This, are you kidding me? Mind you, this is near Westlake. And, this home is also a 140 sq. Foot. Small bungalow. A house of this caliber. Other people are giving out rents. But the minimum is 13, 000. And Lin Mo at this price. But it's straight up missing half of it? Not to mention. Or is it a deposit and a payment? Just a month's deposit? This. It's almost like picking it up for nothing. One time, Ray's thoughts were all over the place. And Lin M.O., who was here, laughed lightly. Come on, don't think too much about it. And anyway, giving you this house is the first one I've rented out. Plus between you and Yuma, you're still friends, and you've helped Yuma during filming. So well, I'll give you this price. That's totally a friendly price. So, Ray froze. Then, too, there was a burst of nodding. So, 
what do you think of the price? Ha, huh? Ray, who was there, also nodded her head repeatedly and said, for that price, I'll take advantage of a yummer then. Okay, that's the price then. A contract by the way, said, Lin Mo just touched out a blank contract with no amount filled in and handed it to Xiao Ling. The two men after signing it, after Lin Mo took it in, it was to Ray, who was on the sidelines, that he looked and spoke. By the way, Rainmaker is nearby. I happen to be heading back now. Do you want to tag along? Ray, who was listening to this, instantly just smiled. Open mouth. No, I've just moved here, so I'll just take a tour, so I won't follow, and I won't bother you two youngsters. Lin Mo nodded his head bashfully, and then, that means leaving the house, with Lin Mo's departure. Ray, on the other hand, went around the house. Looking at the huge living room was also a bit of a smack in the face. To know, just this huge living room alone. That's, like, twice the size of the little rental house I rented before. Boy, this is a big living room. Then, after strolling around the house, look at every piece of furniture, appliance in the room, and this huge house. After Ray returned to the living room, which is to say, a butt, on the couch, the whole person was also completely caught up in it. The look, moreover, was a bit of a daze. This house, it's huge, sure enough, clinging to Rainmaker's thighs. I was right about this idea. As for Lin Ma, at this point in time, it was also back inside the hotel. Xia Yu Ma also woke up at this time, looking at the returning Lin Mo. Xia Yu Ma, who was here, also spoke. Little brother, you're back? The house at Goldwater Bay is now a handover? Well, after the handover, shall we go get some together? As Lin Mo's words fell after this, Xia Yu Ma, who was here, also nodded his head slightly. Spinning around, the two of them were also all the way, towards the restaurant downstairs. It was now almost noon, so the two of them simply, just straight up, asked for a little bit of food. Then, it's just eating here. After a lunch, Lin Mo's cell phone, in turn, rang. It's a call from Hope Wong. After connecting, after listening to the words of Huang Yuan on the other end of the phone, Lin Mo then just looked at Xie Yuma here and said, I had someone, yesterday, register the brokerage, and now it's a done deal. Tomorrow morning, your agent, assistant, and makeup artist are the ones who will be there. Wow, really? Xia Yuma here, his eyes also lit up, looking a bit agitated. God said, he he, your great brother. Xia Yuma pressed up against Lin Mo's cheek. A gentle kiss fell. As for Lin Mo, he laughed lightly. So what are you? What are you going to do tonight? To make it up to me properly? Lin Mo, who was here, was wearing a few bad smiles at the corners of his mouth. But as the words fell after that, Xia Yuma's face, too, looked a little scarlet, said, Humph, badass, mouth pouting, Lin M.O., on the other hand, burst into a fit of laughter. One night passed, day 2, 8.30 a.m., inside the cast of The Legend of the Demon Cat, director Chen Kai came to the set, looking outside the crew, a luxury nanny van was parked, the whole thing was a pang, for which it froze, frowning, he said, that nanny van down there. Whose is it? Didn't I say no one was allowed to come in a nanny van? Whoever owns this nanny car today, take it away from me. That, director, they said it was the second girl's nanny car. The second girl? Xia Yuma's? Chen Kai, who was listening to these words, was instantly stumped for words. Then, the body trembled. That is to say, in a hurry. Then why don't you hurry up and go? Can't you see that someone's car is dirty? Hurry up and go down and help people wash their cars. Yes, the staff there. Listen to this, it was a burst of rolling eyes, just now, not still talking, whoever's car it is, is it going to be driven away, how is it that after hearing, it's the second woman's car, and it just shriveled up right away, there was a mental pang, but still he took the rag and headed down the hill, and but Chen Kai, who was looking at this high-end nanny car, took a deep breath, it was as if he had a premonition of something, wait until he walks in, sure enough, at a glance, he saw that at Seiyuma's side, at this moment was a group of people surrounding him. Upon seeing the person next to her, cold air was sucked backwards from Chen's mouth. And not just Kai Chen. This would be as long as the actors who had come were looking at Xie Yuma's side. Exaggerated. It is really a bit. Too much. Four assistants. Two bodyguards. Three stylists. Top-notch setup. At this point, straight up just pulls full stop. Exaggeration. Everything is just too much. Even the knowledgeable Chen Kai was feeling a bit incredulous at this point. After all. After taking a closer look, the crowd that had surrounded Xie Yuma, he was thoroughly recognizing the people in front of him. A couple of assistants, 
Indeed, newcomers, but this makeup artist, that's the princess royal team of makeup artists, and just then, Siayuma's agent, too, came over, with a few smiles on his face, he said, Director Chen, long time no see, looking at the agent who was in front of him, Chen Kaiol but shrunk his neck, on his face, a few moments of dismay and surprise also surfaced, Sister Red, you are now, I'm Rainmaker's agent now, Sister Hong here smiled, Lin Dong asked me to come and take Yuma with me to avoid her being bullied, I'm really sorry that our family, Yuma, brought such a big battle today, listening to Sister Hong's words, Chen Kai was utterly confused, the man in front of him, Li Fu Hong, is a legendary level agent of inner entertainment, in her hands is held out, a lot of big stars, the resources in hand are even more terrifying, even Chen Kai was to fear her three times, Chen Kai here then said with a smile on his face, it's okay, it's okay, a waving hand said, and Chen Kai was stumped for a while, he said, I didn't realize that you, Sister Hong, are rearing up again, going out to take people with you, in response, Li Fu Hong just smiled and didn't say anything, and on the sidelines a little starlet, looking at this scene, then he said with some confusion, who is this woman, how come even director Chen, has to smile at her, listening to these words, a somewhat senior male star on the sidelines, then slowly said, this is sister Hong, Li Fu Hong, legendary agent, legendary level agent, well, you know all these people like baby young, godfather Wong, and power, right, of course I know, it's a top tier brand, these people, they were all brought up by sister Hong, a simple sentence, but it was a shock to everyone present, all these top tier big names are right in front of you, mediocre looking, 40 something year old woman bringing it out, this, it really is a case of you can't judge a book by its cover, only, the point that surprised me the most was this, sister Hong should have semi-retired behind the scenes three years ago, unexpectedly, the gold master behind this Xie Yuma was the same mister, Lin, to actually have this kind of energy, to be able to bring this semi-retired great god, back out, as the words fell, Many people here were also staggered and amazed. At the same time, there was also a premonition in the back of his mind. This Xia Yuma in front of me. I'm just afraid that the road ahead is going to be a smooth ride all the way to the top. Even, it's with major first tier directors and first tier stars. One time, the bottom of many people's eyes as they looked at Xia Yuma could be described as revealing a few moments of envy. And also at this time, outside this crew, several male assistants, too, ran in. In his hands, he carried hundreds of cups of coffee. Sister Hong, bought it, a male assistant in front of him, panting. Well, take it and give a copy to everyone in the crew. Remember, it doesn't matter if it's a celebrity or a celebrity assistant, or a group actor in a production, or a crew member of a production. Everyone must, to send out a cup of coffee. Okay, this male assistant nodded his head. Then, the coffee began to be handed out. And Siayuma, who was sitting here, still in makeup and then it was a little heartbreaking, sister Hong, is this, is this too much, you know, every cup of coffee here, that's 40 bucks or so, that's hundreds of cups, that's thousands of dollars going out, exaggerated, what is this, sister Hong rolled her eyes and said, you remember, with other actors and actresses, it's very important to have a good relationship, and buying someone some coffee is just something small, but then, it's the fastest way, to boost someone's favor with you, this is the kind of thing that needs to come around every other day. And, let's be tough when we need to be tough and close the distance when we need to close the distance. Sister Hong spoke in a serious tone. Then, okay, Xia Yuma was a little heartbroken. How much money do you have to burn to get out of here if you come here every other day? Looking at Xia Yuma's expression, Sister Hong also guessed. This ninny, definitely aching for money. The heart was helpless. A shake of the head. This ninny doesn't even look at the people standing behind her lack of this kind of money, it's right here that the money hurts, but after thinking about Lin Imo, Sister Hong also had a moment, mentally sighing, this Naysan, she definitely met a great nobleman, honestly, as a veteran broker with extensive experience, Sister Hong said that in her life, she had never encountered such a bold and arrogant gold master, once upon a time she thought she was dropping millions of dollars for a star, that's all a big scene, but after meeting Lin Imo, she just really knew, what a great scene, millions and millions, oh, it's all child's play, you've seen it given to a newcomer, 30 to 40 million dollars of gold out on staffing alone, as far as she knows, the circle is known as the rich flower of the earth, big sweetie, none of them have this gear configuration, not to mention, after meeting Lin Mo yesterday, she asked when the money budgeted to create the artist was, Lin Mo came up with a sobriquet, the top is not capped, how crosses, 
It's really too ho-hum. Sister Hong dares to say that since she has been an agent, she has never seen such a bold one. But, the only thing that made Red feel sorry for her, it's Xia Yuma's aura. Too weak. Obviously a beauty queen with a predator standing behind her. However, it was cringing and not atmospheric enough. It still needs to be sharpened. Sister Hong's heart was set on a few things. When tonight comes, it'll be time to do an aura development program for her. Make up your mind. Sister Hong is also the one who told Lin Mo and reported it. Plus Lin Ma. On Lin Mo's side, after sending Xia Yuma to the theater group today, the whole thing is just ready to go back to the magic city. Being on this side of the fence myself, things are all taken care of. Besides, he was really worried. If you're over here yourself, keep it up for a few more days. He's just going to be deflated. I'm afraid. No way. It's been a couple days. Xia Yuma is gradual, getting more and more courageous as the battle goes on. Though I woke up the next morning weak and full of essence myself, but one can't help it. It rains every day. So, Lin Mo then just planned to escape. What a fox. Looking through Xie Yuma's circle of friends, Lin Mo cursed with a laugh under his breath. And after that, closed the Microsoft. Turning his hand, he opened his app. Perfect grade algae degradation technology, 50 milliliters sample in a nearby jar. Subsidized price, 2. 333. 100% equity interest in Tianyuan Institute of Science and Technology. Subsidized price, 188. When the app was seen, the two items that appeared, Lin Mo also froze. Two items? And, one of them is still a technical commodity? The moment. In Lin Mo's mouth, it could be said that there was a rush of cold air being sucked backwards. To no, technical goods. This is the first time it's happened. Before that, most of what was given was skills. And, it also comes with a 50 milliliters sample. The moment. Lin Mo's heartbeat, was a burst for it to speed up. But, after the mind was made up, without hesitation, Lin Mo just purchased the two items. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 3 hours. Please wait for the receipt. 3 hours? Look at the time. Lin Mo froze instead. 3 hours. This was the first time that Lin Mo had seen such a long distribution. 3 hours? Mentally muttering. Lin Mo, also in passing, searched for the Tian Yuan Science and Technology Research Institute. The address is in Magic City. The previous owner, on the contrary, was very mysterious. It's a guy named Lin Chen. Between himself and himself, it's a family. However, this Lin Chen after establishing the Tian Yuan Technology Research Institute, and yet, it didn't show up much. The former boss behind this Tian Yuan Technology Institute is a bit interesting. Putting the phone down, he shook his head. Never mind, whatever. Said, Lin Emil was also that this car key and left the hotel. Before I left, and incidentally, renewed my hotel room for a month. After all, Xia Yuma the scene, still do not know when to shoot, and behind myself, I'm afraid I'll be coming over from time to time, how about just, uh, renewing your room, the highway was a wild ride all the way, this Lin Mo fell back to the magic city in about 3 hours, as for what Lin Mo purchased, in those 3 hours, it is also present on the passenger side of the vehicle, it is a rectangular, paper box about 30 centimeters high, back to the villa, Huang Wan was the one who greeted them, after handing the box to Huang Wan and asking him to help himself upstairs, Lin Mo was at home and started with a massage and spa spa, over 3 hours of driving. Lin Mo's body suffered though, but if he drove down for a long distance like this, Lin Mo's body, still had some raw pain, a spa spa and massage to finish. Lin Mo, who was here, then went up the stairs, second floor, inside the study. Look at the cardboard box laid out in front of you. Rimmer rubbed his hands together. Spinning around is also the same thing as reaching for the art knife on the desk. Unpack the box. Just unwrapped. Lin Mo also just saw, in the middle of the box, a sealed jar, in a clear airtight jar, filled with a fluid blue liquid, and by this sealed canister. Instead, a removable hard disk is laid out. It looks like this stuff is, well, a sample of the stuff used to degrade algae organisms. Lin Mo murmured in his heart. Immediately, he picked up the portable hard disk that was on the side. After linking to the computer, there's just one, almost three T files, then after clicking on a document, Lin Mo was just stumped for a while, although he said that he couldn't understand what was inside the document, he was greatly shocked, what's on this hard drive, it'll do, a burst of nodding, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth here were an upturn, just in time to visit the institute later, mentally, he muttered, Lin Mo, who was here, took the box and went downstairs, boss, at this moment, Huang Yuan also came over, with a few moments of deference on his face. Hmm, 
MS. Mu is here. Listen to this. Lin Mo was stunned. Nani is here? The heart carried a few moments of dismay. At this point in time, Mu Nanji also ran over with a smile on her face. He said, Lin Mo, you're back from Hangzhou? Well, what brings you here? I'm not looking at you. Coming back from Hangzhou. So just stopped by. To check on you. Mu Nanji, who was here? Said with a smile spreading on her face. So, Lin Mo nodded his head. And also at this point in time, here on Mu Nanji's face, she also brought on a few moments of scarlet, said, So, tonight, are you free? Listening to this from Mu Nanji, Lin Mo was stunned at first, but then, still nodding his head, If tonight, should be free, why? Mu Nanji stammered for a while, then, with a slight blush on her face, she said, I've heard that there's a once in a century total blue lunar eclipse tonight, and then the top of Shishan is a very nice viewing spot. If you're free, I'd like the two of us to go over there together. Here Munanji looked a little nervous, grabbing at his coat, his face was scarlet, and after that, that is to say, of course, it's okay if you're not comfortable. Looking at such a Munanji, Lin M.O., however, laughed lightly for a while, said, of course I'm convenient, then let's go to Shishan tonight? This total lunar eclipse, what time is it tonight? I read the report that it starts at 6 o'clock and ends at 10 o'clock tonight. Okay. Lin Mo gently nodded his head and said, Okay then, let's have lunch first. Aha, Mu Nanji obviously, was having a few moments of excitement, and then a few people just got to the table, together over lunch, take a bite. Lin Mo also felt that the flavor was something not quite right. Then, there was the lifting of the head, looking at Mu Nanji in front of him. I only heard Mu Nan Branch smiling and talking. How about this meal for lunch today, which I made? It tastes good this time, doesn't it? Listen to this. Lin Mo smiled bashfully, then, it was wrapped in rice and swallowed in one gulp, said, the flavor is indeed much better than last time, the Mu Nanji here, the smile on her face looked brighter and brighter, but afterward, after a taste of his own cooking, a small face was also flooded with bitterness, embarrassed, I, like, forgot the salt, to this, Lin Mo just laughed lightly and shook his head for a while, not a big problem, keep eating, well, Mu Nanji looked a little lost, a lunch is finished, Lin Mo was also preparing to head to this Tian Yuan Science and Technology Research Institute. Mu Nanji also asked to follow. In response, Lin Mo did not refuse. The two were getting into the car. It's just all the way. Running towards the Tian Yuan Technology Institute. This Tian Yuan Institute of Science and Technology was on the outskirts of the Magic City. So the drive for the two, two, is a bit longer. Enough to drive for nearly an hour. Which arrived at the periphery of the institute. The Tianyuan Science and Technology Research Institute covered an area that was still quite large, with an area of thousands of square feet. And, the institute is also five stories high, and each floor, purely by visual inspection, is also five or six hundred square feet, as the vehicle pulled into the park. After parking on the parking lot, Lin Mo and Mu Nanji, both of them, walked towards the institute. At this time, Mu Nanji's heart was tinged with doubt. Looking at his surroundings, he said in disbelief, Lin Mo, what are you doing here at the institute? Listening to the words of Mu Nanji, this Lin Mo immediately smiled mysteriously, said, come and take over the institute. By the way, check out their research. A simple sentence, but it made Mu Nanzi froze for it. And then, in turn, reacted. Somewhat incredulously, he opened his mouth. This institute, is yours? Right. Lin Mo nodded his head. The two men also arrived at the entrance of the institute at that moment. And here's the security guard with his arm outstretched. Said, I'm sorry, inside our institute, it's not open to the public. Listen to this. Lin Mo instantly smiled for a moment. Said, oh, it's like this. I'm here to see your general manager, Huang Chi. After the words fell, the security guard here froze. Then, still talking. Then, sir, do you have an appointment between you and our mister, Huang? There's no appointment. But make a call to Huang Chi and tell him that Lin Mo wants to see him. This, this security guard is a little hesitant, but looking at Lin Mo's dress and temperament, he didn't look like an ordinary person. After a heartfelt contemplation, this security guard still nodded his head, went to a phone call to Hinch. After the accompanying phone call was dialed, the top floor of the institute, inside the general manager's office, Wang Yi is taking a nap, and at this point, the landline on the desk rang. The secretary, who was on the sidelines, quickly picked up the phone. Hey, the call was answered. While the secretary's tone took on a touch of annoyance, Secretary Zhou, 
There's a person called Lin Mo here at the entrance who says he wants to see Mr. Huang. The secretary, who was listening to this, immediately spoke up. Lin Mo, Mr. Huang doesn't recognize this character. Don't see him. And, didn't your captain tell you, at this point in time, it's Mr. Huang's lunch break. After saying that, the secretary hung up the phone decisively. The whole person's heart, on the other hand, was tinged with a few moments of anger. This security guard, too, as the heart murmured, Huang Chi, who was taking a nap, was also woken up. Secretary Cho, what's going on? Mr. Huang, you're awake. Here's the thing. The security guard at the gate just called. He says there is a man called Lin Mo who wants to see you, but I don't think you know such a person. Plus you were just on your lunch break, so I'll help this you back out. Well, Huang Chi nodded his head, but then, there was something that felt, well, not quite right. Hmm, wait, did you just say, who's looking for me? A guy named Lin Mo. Here, Huang Chi's expression just looked slightly stiff. Inside his head, it was even as if there was a thunderous boom. Lin Ma, this name was incredibly familiar to Huang Chi. Just a couple hours ago, he was notified. Said institute has a new boss behind the scenes, the new owner who bought this institute of theirs. Name. It's just called Lin Mo. Only, this matter has not yet been notified out on its own. Mr. Huang, what's wrong? Looking at his own GM, his face wasn't very nice. This week's secretary cautiously opened her mouth to ask. With secretary Zhou's inquiry, Huang Chi was also finally the one who came back to his senses. In a hurry, it was a loud voice. Mr. Lin Mo is the new boss of our institute. Hurry up, notify the gatehouse, and tell them to release it immediately. Boom. Bottom line. Straight away, this week's secretary was dumbfounded. The institute's new boss, and one had just actually rebuffed the new owner of their institute? The moment Secretary Zhou only felt was a wave of vertigo. The whole thing is a bit frozen and confused. Other side, after listening to the janitorial security guard, Lin Mo this moment is somewhat silent. The color of the face, too, is not very nice. No? What does that mean? The general manager of a district institute. How dare you not see yourself as the boss? One moment. Here in Lin Mo, the anger in his heart was coming up. Immediately, it was pulling out his cell phone. Prepare to ask. What does this Huang Chi mean? But just a moment after Lin Mo had just pulled out his cell phone, the phone in the janitor's office, however, rang again, after the call was answered. Hey, here's the door. Before the janitorial guard could finish his sentence, on the other end of the phone, a roar of anger just snapped. It was accompanied by a stumbling sound. Hurry, hurry up and open the door to greet Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin is the new owner of our institute. You hasten to receive each other without delay. Mr. Huang is, right now, going downstairs, ready to personally greet his new boss. A roar went down. This security guard was dumbfounded. Looking at Lin Mo, who was here, was a moment of confusion. The new owner of the institute? This, I'm afraid I'm not kidding. The man in front of him would actually be the new boss of the institute. Cold air poured from the guard's mouth. Within the eyes, was nothing but shock. There was even a gulp. Listen to the busy signal on the other end of the phone. The security guard hung up in a hurry, then walked out of the security booth. Personally, I opened the door to the institute. With a smile on his face, he said, Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry about earlier. Please, wait on the first floor. Mr. Huang, the chief other, is coming down now. Aha, watch this scene. Lin Mo's face was slightly, a few points of easing. After that, it was a walk inside the institute. Look at the security guard whose attitude has changed 180 degrees. For her part, Mu Nanji was stumped for a moment. The speed of this change of face is really something. The two sat in the lobby for less than three minutes. It was the sight of Huang Chi, who had run all the way here. This Huang Chi was panting at this point. After running to Lin Mo and Mu Nanji, Huang Chi was also the one who hurriedly said, Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry. It was my poor discipline that caused what just happened. I have now seriously criticized my secretary. Promise it will never happen again. Looking at such a Huang Chi, Lin Mo nodded his head slightly, didn't say anything, but at the sight of Lin Mo, this Huang Chi was still a bit surprised. He was totally unexpected. The new owner of the institute is actually so young. Go upstairs. With that, the three of them just made their way up the stairs, came to the top floor of the institute. Lin Mo didn't have any courtesy or pleasantries either. The immediate thing was to ask about the current set of circumstances at the institute. Listening to Huang Chi's introduction, Lin Mo was also roughly clear. 
Inside this Tian Yuan Technology Research Institute was with 10 laboratories, one of the most important laboratories for research and development. Then it's biopharmaceuticals. And this lab is very burned out. First half of this year alone, just burned through almost a billion dollars. The remaining nine labs, not as money burning as a biopharmaceutical lab though, but the first half of the year was also, in total, burned through 600 million dollars. This lab, it's a real money burner. This also caused Lin M.O., for a while, to be stumped by it. He had no doubts about Huang Qi's introduction. After all, on contact with Wangi, the two were shaking hands. Lin M.O. just gave him, in passing, a loyalty chip implant. Loyalty chips at the time of purchase. There are five of them. Last time, I implanted one for Tang Xiao, the general manager of Kum Haven. This time, it was given to Huang Qi, the general manager of Tian Yuan Technology Labs, to use up one. Currently, in Lin Mo's hand, was the fact that there were three left available. But, the only thing that made Lin Mo's heart flutter, it's the level of burnout in this lab. In the first half of the year alone, one dollar, six billion was burned. In their own hands, the funds are now just five or six billion dollars. What's left is either stocks or real estate. This amount of your own money is really not always enough to burn. Lin M.O. mentally sighed. Then, Lin M.O. also continued, this biopharmaceutical lab, what is the current direction of research? Biopharmaceutical laboratories at our institute. The current direction of research and development is on the development of technology for algae reduction. As far as the pharmaceutical side of the experiment is concerned, it's in a holding pattern. Huang Qi's spirit was stunned. The biopharmaceutical laboratory, which is the fist product of our institute, and one of them is the algae reduction technology, which is the strength of the biopharmaceutical laboratory. We can say that we are three years ahead of the world in this area of technology. At present, our institute's products occupy 40% of the domestic market for algae-reducing drugs. Last year's net revenue from algae-reducing drugs alone was $370 million. Hmm, listen to this. Lin M.O. was for one. He was not expecting such a money-burning institute. I can't believe it's still bringing in net revenue. That's kind of interesting. And, the bottom line is this. The fist product of this institute. Surprisingly, it's about the development of algae-reducing drugs. I see. Then you show me. The biopharmaceutical lab. Okay boss. Huang Qi nodded his head. Then, there was the getting up. The biopharmaceutical lab, is on the fourth floor of the building. The entire fourth floor. Three quarters of it belongs to a biopharmaceutical lab. The three were passing through the sterilizing and killing. After changing into a clean set of white coats and putting on shoe covers, only then did he enter the interior of the lab. Huang Qi led the two of them, Lin Mo and Mu Nan Ji, on a tour inside the lab. The whole thing was even more glowing, with a burst of introductions, and soon, that is, arriving at the algae lab, with brushing open the door to the lab afterward. That's how the three of them walked inside the lab, and just entered the lab. It was the sight of a tall, beautiful young girl, walking quickly. Mr. Huang, Dr. Money. Huang Qi nodded to the young girl in front of him. Then, it was to Lin Mo, who said, Boss, this is the director of the algae reduction laboratory, Xian Wen. Xian Wen is the youngest doctor in Yanjing University, at the forefront of our global peers in algae reduction technology, said, this Huang Qi is also said to Qian Wen, Dr. Qian, this is Mr. Lin M.O. Lin, it's the new owner of our Tian Yuan Tech Labs, listen to this, Qian Wen here was also a bit surprised, after sweeping Lin M.O. up and down, he also said directly, so, by the way, I need to talk to you guys, on my end, to apply for research funding, at present, our research and development of algae reduction technology has entered a bottleneck stage. There is an urgent need to allocate another $300 million for research and development of new technologies to break through the bottleneck. Listening to Qian Wen's words, Huang Qi's brows furrowed slightly. Then, there is the word. Dr. Money. I remember a month ago. I just gave you the lab. It's approved for 100 million. How is it that it's only been a month and the funds are in short supply again? And according to the previously signed contract, the institute funds your lab. It's supposed to be 500 million a year, but it's already a serious overrun. Huang Qi was the one who said it in a hurry. Listen to this. Xian Wen, who was here, also said slowly, the development of new technologies is definitely a money-burning process. But at the moment, as far as our R&D progress is concerned, it is already at 60%. It's just that at the moment, it's stuck in a bottleneck. As long as we can break through the bottleneck, then our latest algae reduction technology it'll have a, a quick boost and leap. Xian Wen's tone seemed a bit agitated. Afterwards, 
she was the one who looked at Lin Mo and said, Boss, as far as this technology of ours is concerned, it can be introduced at the end of this year at the earliest. When that happens, that's at least a decade ahead of the rest of the algae reducing technology. Globally, at that point, let alone capturing 90% of the country's market. Even if we look at the world, we can occupy at least 90% of the market. The profits that this can bring in that are totally needy. Listen to this. Lin Mo's expression appeared calm. Glancing at Qian Wen, Lin Mo asked calmly, What is the efficiency of algae reduction when this technology of yours matures? Chen Wen puffed out her chest, looking proud and crestfallen. When the technology matures, the degradation rate can reach 75% and the cycle time is only 15 days. Currently in the international arena, the mainstream algae reduction technology, only a 45% degradation rate can be achieved and the cycle takes 3 months. Listen to this. Lin Mo, however, smiled. Then, shaking his head, he said, That's it? I thought it was much better. A sentence fell. This Qian Wen froze. That said, What do you mean? To know. The algae reducing technology that he himself is currently developing. That's to the extent of being able to win a Nobel Prize. And, in comparison to international progress, this technology of his own, that's properly the world's first awe. How did it get into Lin Mo's mouth, but became a little disdainful? One moment, Qian Wen's expression went a little cold. He said, Boss Lin, what do you mean by that? Lin Mo, who was standing here, spoke calmly. The degradation rate is not 100%. Degradation is not up to one hour to complete. You're just average. With your skills, the words fell. There was silence all around. Qian Wen looked a little confused, and amongst her eyes as she looked at Lin Mo, she was full of questions. The other fellows who were originally conducting the experiment. At this moment, he was also looking at Lin Mo with a very odd gaze. In the back of their minds, there was only one thought at this point. This new boss, afraid you're not a fool? He he, boss Lin, with all due respect, no one can even do this level now. There's DR, money in there. There was just a lot of shaking of the head. After all, 100% degradation, plus one hour degradation to accomplish this sort of thing. With the current level of human algae reducing technology, it's all but impossible. No way? Naturally. Dr. Xian's tone, full of determination. This was followed by the same proud words. After all, the algae reducing technology I've developed so far is at the top of the heap. Listening to this Lin Mo, couldn't help but just laugh and say, yes? Saying that, Lin Mo also sneered for a while and shook his head. If you can't do it yourself, it's impossible? With this sentence fell. Dr. Money, who was here, looked a little embarrassed. And then, that is, somewhat, rather unconvincingly. Then according to what Boss Lin means is that Boss Lin has mastered this kind, a black tech product that can, in an hour, completely degrade algae? Naturally, Lin Mo calmly nodded his head. With the moment those words fell, everyone present, froze, even Huang Qi, the general manager who was not part of the fellows, was looking at Lin Mo with some dismay, even though he is not a full-time researcher. But there is some understanding of algae reduction techniques. Nature knows. The degradation technology Lin Mo is talking about is simply impossible to realize now. And Dr. Money, who was there, snorted, and said, Ha, big words for anyone. Since Boss Lin, you said you've mastered this kind of black technology, then why don't we just take it out and let us open our eyes? As Dr. Qian's sentence fell, the other fellows who are here have chimed in for the same. Listen to the words. Here's Lin Ma. In turn, he glanced at Dr. Money in front of him. The corners of his mouth brought on a few playful smiles as he said, Tell you what, how about we make a bet? Just bet on whether or not I can. Uh, come up with the black technology you're talking about. If I take it out, you work for me for free for three years. If you didn't take it out, for the next three years, the lab you're in has no cap on experimental funding. Bet? Dr. Money froze. She was not expecting that Lin Mo would actually propose to bet with her on such a thing. But then, and there was just a sneer in the back of his mind said, oh, okay, bet on it, dr. Money's tone seemed firm, take an hour to 100% degrade algae, this is the kind of black technology that no one can bring out at all now, she believed that Lin Mo was definitely punking himself with this bet, and this uncapped experimental funding, she, take it for sure, yes, the corners of Lin Mo's mouth were also upturned, how could he, not guess what this dr. Qian was thinking, only, I'm only afraid that this time, this dr. Xian is smart but not smart enough. Besides, one enters into this kind of contract with Dr. Chen. But it's because, by himself, he
He needs someone. Come and help yourself to a gun in front of you. Rationalize the appearance of your own technology. That's all. Otherwise, why would he or she have to go to such lengths? Just implant the loyalty chip directly. Mr. Huang, please also go prepare the next contract. Lin Mo said with a smile at the corner of his mouth. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Huang Chi was a bit hesitant. Lin Dong, this, what? Hey, it's okay. I'm going to have the legal department draw up a contract. Aha. Afterwards, Huang Chi also just sighed and left. In his opinion. Next, Lin Mo's side was going to lose for sure. With the departure of Huang Chi, on the side of Mu Nanji, her heart was also a little apprehensive. Pulling Lin Mo was the question. Lin Mo, you this, are you sure? Listening to Huang Chi's words, Lin Mo said with a playful smile at the corner of his mouth. You think that I would make a bet that I wasn't sure of? You go trip to my car and get it for me. A cardboard box inside the trunk. Saying that, Lin Mo was the one who handed the car keys to Mu Nanji. Okay, Mu Nanji sighed. Then, there was the nod toward the door. Have to say, the institute's legal department, which is still very fast, it was only for 20 minutes. Huang Chi is just back. Two contracts in hand. After the two signed the contract, Dr. Qian looked at Lin Mo proudly. He said, well, now the betting contract is also signed. Then I wonder, when will boss Lin bring out your so-called black technology? If you can't get it, then please still honor our bet. Keep it up, and just give us the next funding for the lab. As the words fell, the door to the lab, again, was pushed open. Mu Nan Ji, who was holding the cardboard box, returned inside the laboratory. Lin Mo, the thing you asked for has been brought. Hard work. Lin Mo smiled slightly, and then it was to pick up the cardboard box. Right now, a simple sentence fell. This dr. Money froze. This, what do you mean? Could it be that? The black technology Lin Mo talked about. Is it true? The moment. In the back of dr. Qian's mind, the thought surfaced. But as the idea surfaced, again, dr. Money is thinking that this thing, there's something ridiculous. Ridiculous. Posturing. Definitely posturing. At this point, in the back of this dr. Money's mind, such thoughts surfaced. And on the sidelines, the other fellows. At this time, it also came together. There was some curiosity about what Lin Mo had said. Do you, here, have algae? Bring in a lab group. Dr. Money was direct in his words. As the words fell, someone else came up behind them. In his hand, he held a pot of propagated green algae. You guys watch. Lin Mo let out a light laugh. Spinning around, he casually took one of the droppers on the nearby test bench. Then, it's just taken out. The tank with the degradation fluid. The dropper sucked half a tube after that. Just all of it, dripping into the water. One minute. Two minutes. A little bit of time passed. The algae didn't move half as much. The crowd watching this scene, one after another, just started talking. Does this work or not? That's right. Five minutes in. And this algae hasn't even halfway degraded. Ha ha ha. I knew it. It really is a fake. Thanks to my earlier moments. There were so many seconds that I almost believed it. Listen to the others. Dr. Qian, here, also had a few smiles on his lips. Ha, sure enough, a bluff. Mentally, he laughed disdainfully. Dr. Qian looked at Lin Mo and said, It seems, boss Lin, that your so-called black technology has failed. In that case, then please also honor our bet. Don't worry, it's about to work. After glancing at his watch, Lin Mo said calmly, Ha, a dying struggle. Dr. Money shook his head for a moment. It was only thought that Lin Mo's words were nothing more than not dying yet and wanting to stall for time. However, just after that thought fell, a cry of alarm rang out violently. Oh my god, look, you guys, with a gasp, everyone was taken aback. Then, looking down at the petri dish, as for Dr. Qian, he also frowned and was just about to make an angry remark. The entire person's eyes also widened instantly. Just see the algae inside the petri dish. At this point, at an extremely fast rate, it began to shrink and dissolve, but it was a short three minutes. Algae is just gone as far as it can go and is gone. The water inside the petri dish, on the other hand, was turning a dark green color at this point. After another half a minute, the water is just clear as a bell. This, dr. Money froze. The whole thing was dumbfounded. This, I'm afraid, is not a joke. I can't believe it can be in such a short period of time. Just take the algae and degrade it completely. For a moment. The crowd here is buzzing in their heads. Just kidding. This, how is that possible? Fake it. It's only been less than 10 minutes. Could it be weed killer? Don't you tease. 
When the herbicide is used, it smells harsh. This stuff is completely odorless. How can it be a weed killer? That's right. And with the herbicide, the water wouldn't be so clear. As some of the words fell, the crowd was confused at this point. Even Dr. Chien, who was there, was in a daze, muttering incoherently under his breath. Fake. Absolutely fake. How is this possible? Dr. Chien was full of disbelief, but the reality in front of him was something that he, in turn, had to believe. As for Lin Mo's mouth, the corners of his mouth were also slightly hooked up at this moment. Looking at Dr. Chien who was in front of him, he then just spoke. Well, Dr. Chien, in that case, you still don't believe me? Lin Mo's mouth was tinged with a bit of teasing, with the words falling. Dr. Chien here, too, could not help but bite his lower lip. Gradually, his fists began to clench. Eventually, the fists were unclenched. Said, I lost. Though, that said, she didn't want to admit that, but it is true, even if she didn't want to admit it, that didn't change anything. Subsequently, Dr. Chien here, that is, laughed bitterly, but boss Lin, can you tell me the principle of this degradation liquid of yours? Want to know? Lin Mo was at once, smiling mysteriously. If you want to know, sign the non-disclosure agreement first. Saying that, Lin Mo just glanced at Huang Qi, who was behind him. At this time, Huang Qi was also returning to his country. With a nod, he just quickly left the lab. It didn't take long to come back with a dozen or so non-disclosure agreements. It was signed and fingerprinted for Dr. Xian and for each of the fellows who were there. Every one of them. That's what put it away again. And after doing that, the process. Only then did Lin Mo look at Dr. Chen. When I get back tonight, I'm going to put together this algae degrading technology. Send it to you. Via the company's internal email. And that's it. After all was said and done, Lin Mo also just turned around and left. With Lin Mo's departure, Huang Qi also hurriedly followed. As for Dr. Qian, it was as if he had thought of something at that moment. Hastily, he looked at the petri dish in front of him, drawing up a drop of water. After dripping on the glass piece, that is, it was put on a microscope and started looking at it. But with a moment placed under the microscope, this Dr. Money is straight up. Just shocked. The whole thing. Eyes wide for it. There was also a burst of pupils, which contracted sharply. This, how is this possible? Dr. Money exclaimed in disbelief. The fellows on the sidelines, too, were in a flurry of shock. Doctor, what's wrong? The crowd opened their mouths and asked. Dr. Money here gulps. There was dismay written all over his expression. See for yourselves at. Dr. Money lets go of half guard. The crowd also came forward and began to look at the microscope. This, is actually just normal water? Hiss, are you kidding me? It's obviously a water source that's only just been degraded with algae. How can? The moment, all the fellows were shocked. Ming Ming, this drop of water here was removed from a petri dish that had only just been degraded with algae. But why? This drop of water, however, is in addition to the common microorganisms. No more half-assed impurities? This, completely, is just unscientific. After all, among their perceptions, even if the technology for degrading algae organisms is any more impressive, after the end of the realgae reduction, more or less, there will be a little residual drug content in the water. Definitely not achievable. So clean. And now, Lin M.O., however, did. What kind of technology is this and how did he do it? In a trance, Dr. Money's mind grew more and more curious. The face, too, was complicated. The other fellows, after thinking of Lin Mo's figure at that moment, it was also becoming more and more apparent that there was too much fog on this figure. After leaving the biopharmaceutical lab, the lab directors of the other labs, too, are coming out in droves. With a smile on his face, he arrived in front of Lin M.O. The flurry of it is explaining how awesome it is to have a program of your own. And to all this, Lin M.O. made a simple reply. I picked a few items that interested me and went in to observe and learn more about them. Then it was time to leave. This could basically be saying. Lin Mo was nestled in the middle of the lab all afternoon today. After Lin Mo left, it's already 3 in the afternoon. After looking at the time, Lin Mo made a slight calculation. He was also the one who took Mu and Ji and ran toward Shi Mountain. Road. The two chatted for a while as well. There's a word or two of small talk. It took two people like an hour out. Finally, I was able to make it to the neighborhood of Shishan. How about we go get dinner and then do some shopping before we head up the hill? Looking at Mu Nanji, Lin Mo asked casually. Well, Mu Nanji nodded his head. The two of them were then eating dinner and shopping at a mall, nearly five or six kilometers away from Shishan. 
in a shopping mall, and when it's all done, yikes, it's 5.40, Munanji looked at the time on his cell phone, there was an immediate gasp of surprise, this time, are we really in time, for a while, Munanji's heart was a little anxious, after all, they were now 5 kilometers from Shishan, not to mention having to go up the mountain, only these 20 minutes left, is it too late, Munanji was a little nervous in the bottom of her heart, Lin M.O., however, smiled and said, don't worry about it, 20 minutes, that's enough, let's go, said, Lin M.O. threw all of his stuff, after throwing it into the back seat of the vehicle, the two men just piled into the car and buckled their seatbelts, with a roar of engines, the two people here, that is, toward Shi Mountain, sped off, all the way to the bottom of the hill, look at the mountain road in front of you, Lin Mo's gaze gradually solidified, the breath, gradually, dissolved into calm, buzz, buzz, a furious engine roar sounded, the roar of vehicles in Cullinan echoed, having said that, the Cullinan is not a supercar, but the performance is also better than the average vehicle, by quite a bit, speaking of speed, Lin Mo believed, he was able to make the last 5 minutes by himself and charge all the way up, sit tight, Lin Mo said in a deep voice, aha, Mu Nanji nodded her head repeatedly, the look on his face appeared to be one of some excitement, come on, make it all the way up in the last 5 minutes, listen to this, Lin Mo blasted out with a foot of gas, the vehicle was like an angry dragon that leapt out, woohoo, and Mu Nanji, who had opened the window, was extraordinarily excited at this time, I watched the car gradually speed up to 140 kilometers per hour. The bottom of Moon Anji's eyes were filled with madness. All over, there's none of that elite female business feeling. The mountain road. There are still a number of vehicles that are slowly climbing the mountain at this point. After all, this total blue lunar eclipse, that's a once in a century occurrence. So a lot of little couples, all are going to choose, this night, to go up to the mountain and have a look. At this point in time, inside a small sports car. Honey, hurry up. It's just the last 5 minutes left. The lunar eclipse is about to start off. This total lunar eclipse of the blue moon. That's a once in a century occurrence. On the passenger side, a beautiful looking woman with a very pretty body, was there, with an anxious face. The youth in the driver's seat, on the other hand, was helpless. Just be quiet. It's not even you putting on makeup and wasting too much time. Besides, I'm already going so fast in this car that there's no way anyone, at all, could go faster than me. This is on a mountain road, and with the slippery road, if we go any faster we'll flip the car. The youth here shook his head for a while. Listen to this. The woman next to him was also silent. There were just a few moments of displeasure among the looks, and also at this point in time, a sound of an engine slammed into the back of the supercar. Hmm, the man who was about to pick up speed a little. The burst was also heard at this time. Instantly, it was a glance in the rearview mirror. Only the lights of two headlights appeared among the rearview mirror. Only a car which was coming from behind at a very high speed, was seen, but in the blink of an eye, the distance between the two cars was just under 50 meters, and the car behind this one is not slowing down at all, look at the horrible speed of the car, ultra running man's pupils contracted, crap, a furious curse escaped his mouth, the whole car hit the steering wheel in a hurry, make a path, and also in the moment of getting out of the way, Lin Mo's Cullinan was also like a sharp arrow, swiftly beside the supercar, it swept past, extremely fast, straight away, the supercar man, was scared with a cold sweat, this doesn't want to die, 150 on a mountain road like this, ahead, Lin Mo also smiled, even if this supercar doesn't allow it, he or she also has the confidence of being able to easily pass on the side of the supercar, as far as the ultra running goes, ultra running man, on the other hand, let out a burst of curses, and at this point, the woman on the passenger side, looking ahead at Cullinan, the look was a bit unpleasant, staring at her husband, to this, the youth in the driver's seat looked a little embarrassed. He was also trying to remember. Not even half a minute ago, he was saying it himself. He's going as fast as he can on this mountain road. Any faster and he's going to flip the car. It turned out to be less than 3 seconds. Just came a 150 miles per hour Cullinan. The face hit me so hard. It was raw, but on his lips, it still spoke. Shaoli, don't look at me like that. I am indeed fast enough. If you don't believe me, there's a big curve in front of it. He's now, if he doesn't slow down, he's going to flip the car. However, the very moment those words fell, in the eyes of both men, this Cullinan didn't slow down at all. Arriving at the corner a moment later, the taillights came on, and with them came a sharp, tire scraping sound, with a puff of white smoke. Cullinan threw his tail straight through the corner. Ultra running man, does this guy have a grudge against himself or what? 
do you have to come at yourself like that? It's not enough to punch yourself in the face once, but you want to do it again? For a moment, it was as if the ultra runner's face had been slapped, hard, a few more times, the raw pain was immense, the heart is even more teary, where did this goddamned big man come from, with such wild car skills, an SUV that froze and gave the feeling of driving a supercar, as for the supercar girl at this point, she was all but offended, sitting there, huffing and puffing and not saying a word, other side, Lin Imol was oblivious to all of this, and on the sidelines, new Nanji, and there was a cheer, this also caused Lin Mo to be astonished for a while. This new Nanji, looking at it on a normal day, it was quiet. The results were not expected. I can't believe there's such a wild factor. He still remembers it clearly. Before, when I took the little anchor, Sheen Fair, on the track, that was just a run. Sheen Fair just about, threw up all over the place. Such a contrast. The corners of Lin Mo's mouth also rose for a while. Subsequently, a series of crazy straights, passed a few more. Vehicles that were climbing the hill, finally, reached the summit at 558. Afterwards, find a place where there aren't many people around, parked the vehicle. As for Mu Nanji, at this moment, she still felt her heart beating faster. The face, moreover, was flushed. Yikes, Lin Mo, I didn't realize that your driving skills are so good. Mu Nanji was in a happy mood, even more so, all at once, he hugged Lin Mo's neck, face, incomparably excited. Ha ha, basic operation, Lin Mo said modestly, a side note, Cullinan's panoramic sunroof, that is, was opened, the two men put the seat down, laid down in the car, the view was very good today because of the rain, in the middle of the sky, the large, silvery white moon seemed immense, and also at this time, a small corner of the moon, visible only to the naked eye, began to be slowly eaten away, looking at this scene, the Munin branch there was also a bit curious, said, hey, Hubby, didn't they say it was a blue moon tonight? How come this moon? It's still silver white? Mu Nanji's heart was filled with a few moments of curiosity. And in response, Lin Mo smiled, said, This blue moon, it's not a blue moon of any kind. It is when the third full moon occurs in a quarter. It's this full moon that's being called a blue moon. So, the Mu Nanji here, looked a little disconcerted. Thanks to her earlier time, she really thought, the blue moon in question this time around is really just a blue full moon time lapse, the moon in the sky was gradually swallowed clean, it turned into a blood red, huge full moon, look at the full moon, Lin Mo also spoke, Nan Ji, look, a total lunar eclipse too, before Lin Mo could finish his sentence, he fell back on what he saw, at this time, Mu Nan Ji, was already lying on the chair, asleep, watch this scene, Lin Mo also just smiled slightly, and after, then he just sat up again, with the panoramic sunroof closed, from the car's passenger storage bin, a side of blanket towels was brought out, gently changed on this Munanji's body, and then the, uh, the vehicle is then restarted, then, run towards the foot of the hill, a wild ride, after almost an hour or so, Lin Mo was also back, in the vicinity of one east suburb, whom, with a soft grunt, on the sidelines, Munanji, at this point it also twisted down, then, opened his eyes, here is, look around, awake, Lin Mo smiled faintly, if you're awake, get up first, you'll be home later. Oh, Mu Nan Ji, who was here, blushed slightly. The whole man sat there, his expression appearing to be, with a few moments of shame. Mu Nan Ji ah Mu Nan Ji, how can you fall asleep at a time like this? The moment. Herein Mu Nanzi's heart was looking a bit ashamed. Originally, himself Lin Ma was in a place to watch the total lunar eclipse. She was thinking, what's it going to take to heat up the relationship between himself and Lin Mo? The results were not expected. I can't believe I fell asleep myself. This was what made Munanji's heart appear to be somewhat secretly regretting it. After seeing off Munanzi, he returned home. Lin Mo also just secretly laughed lightly. This ninny's idea. How can one not see through it? A flick of the head. Afterwards, Lin Mo was just whistling, parked the car in the garage. Thens, before returning home and running to the underground gym to exercise. By the time it was after 11 o'clock at night. That's when he went back upstairs to his study, put the data on the USB flash drive, via internal mail, sent it to that DR, money, other side, DR, money's team at this time, was working late at night, analyzing the degradation fluid from Linma in the afternoon, the water inside the degraded petri dish, but after an afternoon of analysis, everyone was in a state of frenzy, no way, inside this petri dish, no matter how they go about their research, the ultimate, or a tub of water, 
there is no way to analyze it, in the slightest, for anything else, can't, I can't really analyze it, inside this petri dish, it's as if it really is just plain old fresh water, hey, the degradation fluid that the boss took at that time, what on earth is it, inside the lab, morning, as for in the front, the general manager, Huang Chi at this time, is also here with extra shifts, although it is said that this is just a lab, but here, after all, was the key laboratory of their Tian Yuan Science and Technology Research Institute, after being implanted with a loyalty chip again, Huang Qi is just very important to the institute, and it was decided, as long as there's an employee that hasn't gotten off work yet, one would never get off work, keep it up, go work hard, and because of that, that's why this Huang Qi, has been working overtime, other side, dr, money frowned, the manuscript paper in his hand was crumpled into a ball, casually discarded in the shredder, the math doesn't work, a heartfelt sigh, dr, money looked helpless, and also at this time, there was a ticking sound, it rang out on a computer off to the side, an internal email alert pops up, ha, huh? dr, money's momentary, eyes just lit up, spinning and flying to receive, thus opening it up, a few tees of file packages in the moment of opening, it just appeared on this dr, money's computer, finally, dr, money's heart was overjoyed, a side by side for downloading, preview online on one side, and the other fellows, at this point, came together, check out this document, look inside the document, a kind of researcher here, but utterly confused, my god, why is it that I recognize every word here, but when they're joined together, I can't read them, no, the first paper, I can't even finish it, this principle, how come it's so roundabout, thanks to me, I've been in this business for 8 years, I can't believe I can't even read a paper now, a time of, many of the fellows, in droves, had bitter hearts, this paper, in their opinion, is just too hard to read, only dr, money, at this point it was gradual and brightened up before my eyes, as for Huang Qi on the other side, the cell phone was also ringing at that moment, after connecting, Huang Qi looked a little agitated in his mood, the phone hung up, here, Huang Qi was breathing and looked a little short of breath, said, dr, Shen, boss's new degradation liquid, if I let you guys develop it, how long will it take you to reproduce it, dr, money gave a slight lurch, then musing, he said, to make a perfect replica would take a month at the earliest, but if it is, the replica comes out 80 or 90 percent, then it only takes a week to do it, 80 to 90 percent, here's Huang Qi's heart sinking, then looked at his cell phone, said, all right, enough, there is a very good program here at the moment, Lake Oceanside, over in southern Sudan, has had a large algae bloom this year, you guys just have to be able to reproduce it, if this degradation fluid, I believe that when the time comes, it will definitely shine, by that time, we, the Tianyuan Institute of Science and Technology, it's definitely going to make a big splash, nationally, and globally, as the words fell, all the fellows, in turn, just looked overwhelmed, after all, national fame, this is, no doubt, an incentive for the fellows here, dr, money also took a deep breath, said, I see, and then, she just continued, looking at the R&D data of this degradation fluid, with a little bit of watching, she was also gradually, surprised by this data from Lin M.O., in the bottom of his heart, he was also more and more impressed and shocked by Lin M.O., subversive, it's definitely the pinnacle of creation, if this data on the development of the degradation fluid, and the paper once published, that would be a completely disruptive presence for the current scientific community, more than that, it is an epic making existence, dr, money was breathing heavily, loud and clear here, between the words, be as excited as you want to be, boss Lin, so awesome, with a sigh of relief, this time, she was thoroughly admiring Lin M.O., five times over, at the same time, it was getting more and more curious, Lin M.O., what kind of existence is it, other side, for what dr, money has to say about himself, Lin M.O. was completely unaware of this, by now, he was already showered and in bed, one night passed, early the next morning, Lin M.O. woke up early, downstairs after breakfast, that's when he tapped on his cell phone, started checking it out, today's trillion dollar subsidy pushes itself into something else, inside the app, Lin M.O. looked at the merchandise among the cell phones, the whole person's spirit, too, was shaken, this is, Lin M.O.'s mouth, gradually, opened slightly, the look on his face, too, appeared somewhat stunned, just kidding, a slight gulp, in this moment, Lin M.O. was truly shocked, Airbus Helicopters H-155, top, subsidized price, 5,000, 
Look at the merchandise here. Lin M.O. Directly. Was just stunned. Helicopter. And. Still. This helicopter. Arguably. Is one of the finest and most luxurious. Its normal selling price. It reached 10 million meters of gold. Also known as. 68 million Shenhua dollars. And the luxury of it is no less than some luxury hotels now. The Airbus Helicopters H-155 is a long-range, twin-engine helicopter that can carry 13 passengers, excluding the pilot. The H-155 helicopter has a fuselage length of 14, 30 meters, a main rotor length of 12, 60 meters and a height of 4, 35 meters. Its mileage can reach 857 kilometers. Cruising speed, it reached 324 kilometers per hour. The helicopter was sold as passenger transportation, VIP corporate transportation, and marine transportation, but, is widely used, in military service around the world. And, according to Airbus, the helicopter is positioned as the most technologically advanced transport helicopter in its class. The helicopter is currently used in at least 30 countries around the world. Boy, it's actually this big guy. Linimo was truly shocked. The whole crowd was also in a flurry. Staggered by it. By it. Fingers fall. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 10 hours. Please wait for the receipt. Please note, this item comes with a helicopter pilot and 3 years of cabin parking. Watch this caveat. Lin Mo's heart was a burst of emotion for it. I'll be damned. I didn't realize it came with a helicopter pilot. And a cabin to park the helicopter. But, honestly, this delivery time. It's really just a bit long. It actually takes 10 hours. A heartfelt sigh of relief. But, a satisfied smile still appeared on Lin Mo's face. To be honest, originally he was worried. After all, the helicopter, that horrible size, there's no place to park if you get it back yourself. After all, this helicopter, counting the pilot, is capable of carrying 14 people. That horrible size, where can I listen to myself? The villa's balcony? That's probably too much to stop. And the roof of the building is pointed. Luckily, with this helicopter, I have somewhere to go and park it. Lin M.O who was here, also brought up a few smiles at the corners of his mouth, however, also at this time, Lin Mo's cell phone, however, also rang, picked up his cell phone and looked at it, it's a call from Chomora, phone call connected, Zhao Village's smiling voice was what followed, brother Mo, are you free for lunch today, Lin Mo nodded his head and said, I'm free at lunch today, why, hey, hey, so brother come out for a drink together, I just bought a new car and called some friends to celebrate, and of today when the time comes, Mr. Wang De Xiao also came over, listening to Shoshone's words, Lin Mo also didn't hesitate too much, directly, it was a nod of the head, okay, send me the address in time, I'll go over there and check it out then, good Lu, then I address will WeChat send down ha, huh? uh, okay, spinning around, the two hung up, and on Lin Mo's WeChat, the address location and time, all of them were sent, after a slight glance, Lin Mo just didn't continue to care, Solely, ran out into the middle of the pool and swam. Wait until after 4 in the afternoon. Only then did Lin Mo set off with the keys to the Pagani. Running towards Shoshone. The address he had sent himself. It's 4 in the afternoon. Though it's not quite the evening rush hour. However, the streets are still very congested. Halfway through the car. Lin Mo's vehicle, too, was directly, blocked in. Watch this scene. Lin Mo's heart, on the contrary, could not help but, slightly sink. With this traffic jam, there's no telling when we'll be able to pass. Lin M.O., who was here, also murmured in his heart, sitting in the car. Lin M.O. looked around towards the surroundings. Eventually, eyes also fell to the side of the road. Ha, huh, there's actually a Pagani 4S store here? The moment. Lin Mo's mind was also alive. Looked it up with a map. The address that Zhao Village had sent himself was not far from here. It's also in the neighborhood of 3 kilometers. Well, it's good to put the car in the 4S store for maintenance first. It's not that far away here anyway. Just ride a bike over there. Mentally muttering. Lin Ma made a direct lane change. Then turned straight right and went into the 4S store. And in this Pagani Imola from Lin Ma. Moments after just entering the 4S store parking lot. The 4S store staff. Just instantly. Greeted them. With a fawning smile on his face. He said. Mr. Lin. Welcome Pagani Magic City 4S. In this Pagani Imola. The moment it entered the 4S store, the store manager here was the one who knew Lin Mo's identity. After all, the Pagani Imola is one of those extremely scarce, rare models, as far as he knows. Currently in the country, there is one and only one Imola, and, it's settled in the magic city. Therefore, the manager of this 4S store, 
for the owner of this car is firmly in mind. And also at this time, Lin Emo also parked his car. Then, somewhat surprised, he got out of the car, said, you know me? Hey, hey, recognize, naturally. The store manager chuckled. Mr. Lin came to our 4S store today. Is he ready to pick out a new car? Oh, no. Lin Emo waved his hand and said, you guys give me this car a full body wash and a simple maintenance. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this store manager had a jolt. And after that, it was just a rush of words. Okay, Mr. Lin, but, Mr. Lin, this car of yours, what's wrong? The store manager smiled a little embarrassed, said, you have a car that our store staff is afraid to drive. So, please also drive to the washroom. Listen to this. Lin Mo did understand the meaning. After all, one's car is a limited global model. Even these staff members, who have driven a lot of supercars, it's still heartbreaking to encounter a car of this magnitude. Okay, done. Took the vehicle to the wash bay. Smoothly gave the staff inside. After scattering a few cigarettes. Only then did Lin Mo turn around and leave. Sweeping up a little shared donkey on the side of the road. Lin Mo rode a small electric donkey and leisurely drove towards the bar. Bar entrance. Lin Mo pulled the little electric donkey over to the side. At the same time, a solid black Bugatti Veyron was parked aside with the car door open. It was from this Bugatti that Jochen stepped off. Looking at Lin Mo who was parked there. This Zhao village at this time was also for a moment. Said, Mo, hearing Zhao village's words. Lin Mo also turned his head back, laughing softly. Hmm, you just got here too? Well, Mo you're pointing at the shared small electric donkey behind Lin Mo. Zhao Village's expression looked a bit puzzled. Oh, I'm halfway to my car and took it to the 4S store for maintenance. Just straight up swept up a little electric donkey and rode all the way over here. So, listening to Lin Mo's words. Here, Zhou Village. A few smiles appeared on his face as well. Looking at Lin Mo, he opened his mouth. Hey, hey, Mo, this is my new Bugatti Veyron. What is it? Nice, isn't it? Listening to these words from Shoshon, Lin Mo, who was here? Also took a look at this pure black Bugatti. Nice. Shashon hemmed and hawed. Let's go in. Then, M.O., everyone's pretty much here today. Uh, okay. Lin M.O. nodded his head slightly. That is, he followed the bar that followed Kimura. Together with him, the two of them entered the bar's booth in unison. There were quite a few people who came to this reception today. Only, the vast majority of them Lin M.O. did not recognize. It was also Wang Tsung Song, who was still familiar with Zheng Yang whom he had met once before. And here's the crowd. At this point there were also, in droves, swarming around. There was a flurry of bragging to Shoshone. Ha ha, brother Mora is here. Nyo wow village brother. Bugatti Veyron in this kind of top of the line supercar. Can't afford it. Hey, to be honest, I want to buy one too. It's just a shame that my dad he won't allow it. TCH, even if uncle allowed you to buy this car, you wouldn't necessarily be able to get it. That's right, just us here. Inside so many second generation, except for Wang Dishao, and the two village brothers who were able to get a Veyron, who dares to say that they can get 100% of the rest, the moment, a bunch of second generation guys are here, constantly just blowing off steam, instead, Zhao village was in a hurry, hey, don't you guys say that, it was pure luck that I got this Veyron, if you really have the power to get this car 100%, the scene was that there were only two people, one being Satoshi, and another one, this one behind me. M.O. As the words fell, everyone here froze as well. Originally, they hadn't paid much attention to Lin M.O. In their opinion, Lin M.O. was nothing more than an ordinary second generation dressed in ordinary clothes and slightly more handsome. But now, listening to this statement from Shashon, everyone looked at Lin M.O. with a bit of curiosity. Also at this point in time, Wang Song Song and Zhang Yang several people. At this point there was also a flurry of getting up, walking up to Lin M.O. Wang Tsung Tsung spoke respectfully. M.O., you're here. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin M.O. nodded his head calmly. Sit. Saying that, Lin M.O. also just sat down on a sidecar seat. As for Wang Tsung Tsung's few people, they were just farting around. Following there. Looking at the scene. All the second generation guys here. The flurry was just cold air being sucked backwards. Looking at Lin M.O. in front of him. The bottom of his eyes brought on a few moments of dismay and shock. This youth. Exactly who? If anything. Zhao Village's words just now. It just makes them pay attention and become interested and curious about Lin Mo. Well, now the initiatives and attitudes of Wang Song Song and others. It's to get this group of second generation guys. A real point of realization. That's who Lin Mo is. Very unimpressive. 
Ha ha, remember when I called out to you guys today? Did I say I'd introduce you to someone? It's this MO of mine. Listen to this. A closer second generation. At this point it was walking over, pulling on Shashon's sleeve. He said, Brother Village, just hurry up and tell us what this guy really is. Listen to this. Shashon smiled mysteriously, said, I'm not going to beat around the bush with you guys. This brother of mine says the name, you may all recognize it. His name is Lin M.O. After a simple sentence fell, everyone present, at first, froze, obviously didn't react. But gradually, one's eyes, however, gradually widened. The bottom of his eyes were filled with shock. Lin M.O., who was looking here, swallowed slightly. Did, it's big brother Lin, brother Mora. Could this big man be that? The super godly big man who owns a Porsche 911 GT98, a Lican supercar and a Pagani wind Gotti Mora? As soon as the name Lin Mo appeared, all the second generation people, they are no longer calm. The look on his face appeared excited. After all, in their ultra running circles, recently, the name Lin Mo has been constantly swiping the screen here. And along with that name, there's just one more. A top of the line supercar that is an absolute gem. Yeah. All these cars belong to M.O. Wow. One moment. All the second generation were nonplussed. Looking at Lin M.O. in front of him, the bottom of his eyes were filled with blazing heat. After all, every supercar owned by Lin Ma. It was all a luxury that they, even to look at it, felt was a luxury. But, in favor of Lin M.O., he got all these supercars. All of them. How can this not make the crowd here feel hot? Next moment. And they just came together, with a fawning smile on his face. He said, Brother M.O., I'll toast to you. My name is Sun Jia. You can just call me Jia. Brother M.O., I'll toast to you as well. I'm Zhang Bin. My family is in the cable business. Just shout Bin Bin. M.O., watch this scene. Lin M.O. also laughed lightly in the bottom of his heart. The group, there really is enough truth in it. The time before, one by one, that was all lovey dovey to himself. But what about when one's identity is revealed? One immediately is, farting around. Meh, a hearty chuckle escaped. Lin M.O. just casually dealt with it. The crowd drank so, the atmosphere is also gradually getting up. Wait after almost half an hour. Lin M.O. here, also excused himself to go to the restroom and went out to get some air. In the meantime, the door to the bar, in a side booth, two figures also walked out. Looking at these two, Lin M.O. was also stunned. These two, their acquaintances, the two men in front of his eyes were not other people, just as it was. It was before in his own Eastern Sports Center, the director Song Song who was driven out by himself, and before that at the charity auction, the second generation he met himself, Wu Sanshir, Lin Mo saw these two at the same time, the two people here had similarly noticed Lin Mo, enemies are not as good as each other, Lin Ma, Song Ji's gaze was gloomy, before, after he went back at the Eastern Sports Center, it's just that he's ready to use some of East's connections and trip up Lin Mo a bit, but just as he was about to give action, the TV station is the one that came up. A major sporting event in cooperation with the Eastern Sports Center. It led to his own plans, which went out the window. Now, seeing Lin M.O. again, the annoyance in his heart could no longer be concealed. As for Wu Sancher who was on the sidelines, at this point in his heart, the anger was a few points greater. Faces were twisted together at this point. Towards Lin M.O., it was a quick step. Lin Ma, Wu Sancher roared lowly under his breath. The whole person, furious. Last time, after separating from Lin M.O., the pair of cuckoos that came off the auction in his hands. It's the one that sold for $30 million. It was only three hours before and after. He or she just lost a whole $60 million. And all of this was caused by this Lin M.O. And that's exactly why. He hated Lin M.O. with a passion. Looking at Wu Sancher who rushed over, Lin M.O. just burst into a cold smile. He said, I didn't expect that I would actually be able to meet you two here. At the same time, said, Lin Mo's gaze fell on this Wu Sancher, with a few playful smiles on the corners of his mouth, he said, how's it going, Mr. Wu, did you sell that pair of cuckoos last time, I've been getting ready to paint a few more of what are called peonies and autumn chrysanthemums lately, why don't you be merciful and buy them all at once, I don't want you for 90 million dollars for a pair if you buy them as a package, one painting, 89 million will do, how about that, isn't it worth it, along with Lin Mo's words fell, here, Wu Sanchi's blood pressure was a wild spike. The whole person, with coldness in his eyes, staring at Lin Mo who was here, his face twisted together, and Song Gu, who was at the back, at this time, also jumped out and said, Surname Lin, I advise you that you'd better not be too wild. Aren't you just a, 
The boss of the Eastern Sports Center Management Company. What's there to be mad about? Song Gu pointed at Lin Mo and said loudly. Wu Sanshur also calmed down. Afterward, staring at Lin Mo, a cold aura flickered under his eyes. Oh, I was curious at first. A district of a national painting master. Where is the qualification? Can be on the side of Nanji and Wan Wan. It turns out that you are still the boss of that Oriental Sports Center? But even if that's the case, so what? With just one word from me, I can bankrupt your company and disqualify it from continued management. Wu Sanshur threatened. With his Wu family's background, he did have the strength. Oh, listening to Wu Sanshur take the Eastern Sports Center and threaten himself. At the bottom of Lin Mo's heart, an icy chill grew. In the back of his mind, he also began to calculate himself how to get this Wu Sanshur killed and the forces behind him, but also at this point in time, inside the booth, Shoshone and others who are drinking and singing. At this time, it also noticed the movement outside. What's going on out there? Zhao Village listened to the commotion outside and was a bit puzzled. Seems like there's been a fight? I'll go out and take a look. Zhang Yang, who was next to him, spoke up. Never mind. Together. Next to him, Wang Song Song shook his head. Then, it was to stand up. Watch this scene. The other second generation, too, couldn't hold it in. Said, then just go out and look around together. Said, here while ten or so of the second generation, there are just towards the outside. Together with a great number of people went out. The door to the booth was pulled open. Wang Son Son's voice, too, sounded at the same time. What's going on here? What's all the noise? Haven't finished talking yet. Wang Song Song was the one who saw Lin Mo, and the two people on the opposite side with swords drawn. And here they were, threatening Lin Mo's Wu Sanshur and Song Gu. It was also a bit frosty. They didn't expect to be in the private room next door to their own. I can't believe I'm sitting on this Wang Song Song character. Wang Song Song's brows were also furrowed when he saw this. Said, what's going on here? Nothing, except this guy, threatened to bankrupt my business. What? This one. Wang Song Song was a bit dumbfounded. Then, his gaze fell on Wu Sanshur across the room. For a moment. Here, Wang Song Song's face was a bit odd. The second generation of Zhao Village and the rest of the group at the side also looked a million times stranger. Bankrupting M.O.? This guy. Who gave him the courage? One time, a heartfelt sneer went through the crowd. As for Wu Sanshur at this moment, he was looking at Wang Song Song. For a while, it was just a matter of gritting my teeth. Since Wang Song Song had come out, it was not good for him to continue. Although it was said that with the strength of his Wu family, he was not too afraid of the Wang family. But there's nothing to be gained by offending the other side. Solely looking at Lin Mo, he snorted coldly under his breath and said, Kid, count yourself lucky today, let's go. Said, he just turned and left. With the departure, the crowd here, too, is back in the booth. After returning to the booth, that drinking atmosphere from before was gone. Wang Song Song looked at Lin Mo in front of him and just opened his mouth curiously. Brother Lin, what's going on here? Why do you have a grudge against this Wu Sanshur? Listen to this. Lin Mo was the one who talked about what happened last time. At the charity dinner, with these words falling after, Wang Song Song's mouth gradually opened wide, somewhat shocked, as he looked at Lin Mo. He said, I'll go, brother Lin. It turns out that the painting that Wu Sanshur, this SB, spent 90 million dollars on last time was painted by you? You're that mysterious master of Chinese painting? Brother Mo, you actually know how to do Chinese painting? Hiss, Mo is awesome. Ha ha, I didn't expect that it was actually brother Mo who punked this idiot Wu Sanshur. A big chunk of people's hearts. Watch the crowd's reaction. Lin Mo was also a bit stunned, saying, What's the matter? Looking at you guys, Wu Sanshur seems to be very unpopular. That's not true? A crowd of second generation, waving their hands, said, This bastard relies on his identity as a member of the Wu family, and he's all sorts of troublemakers in Mordor. It could be said that not many second generation would be willing to take care of him in this part of the magic city. And if it weren't for the fact that, he's a member of the Wu family, he'd probably have been cleaned up long ago. Yeah, so M.O., you punked him on this one. It's already, so to speak, spreading among a second generation people. The crowd was in a flurry of words, and listened to this. Lin M.O. also smiled and didn't say anything. A pang of the heart sank in. And after, Lin M.O. also just opened his mouth and asked, This Wu family, is it very powerful? Listening to Lin Mo's words, the others froze at first. Then, too, it was the opening of the mouth. Well, this Wu family is considered a top family in the Magic City locality. Basically, the power is comparable to that of the Mu family in Magic City. So, Lin Mo immediately laughed softly. And then, 
It was just a matter of speaking frankly. All right, no more chatting about this Wu family. Drink, ha ha, drink, drink, drink. Saying that, Zhao Village also just continued and started firing up the atmosphere. Not a moment too soon. That's what came from the booth. Extremely cheerful voices. At this time, in the next booth, the atmosphere seemed a bit depressing. Song Ji's heart was a bit annoyed, and the whole person clenched his teeth for a while and said, Xiao Wu, does that mean we should just let it go? Listen to this. On the side, Wu Sanchir swept a glance at Song Gu. The bottom of his eyes carried a few moments of icy coldness, coldly smiling. Oh, forget it? How can you just forget about it? Only that Wang Song Song is really not too good to mess with. One time, at the bottom of Wu Sanchi's eyes, a slight scorn swept over. Song Gu, who was listening to these words, also fell silent for a while, and Wu Sancher shook his head for a moment. Then, it sneered and said, However, even if he has the backing of Wang Song Song, what can he do? This, after all, is not the capital, not his Wang family's world. Listening to Wu Sanchi's words, Song Gu here, a few moments of excitement also surfaced in his heart, and a murmur went through his mind. Lin M.O., let's see what you're going to do, this time, and after, here are two people, and that's what they're drinking in unison, time passes quickly, it didn't take long, and half an hour passed, Shoshone and the others were pretty much drunk as well, subsequently, the group just left the booth, toward the gate, and moments after coming to the door of the bar, a few people here, but he saw, at that moment, Wu Sancher and Song Gu who were in front of the bar, waiting for the car, as for the two of them, Wu Sancher and Song Gu, when they saw Lin Mo who had come out, there was also a burst of dark curses, bad luck, one moment, the two men's faces darkened, as for Lin Mo and the others, they didn't pay much attention to these two, after a quick glance, it was time to say goodbye, and also at this time, this Zhao village was the one who spoke, Mo, how are you going to get back, still riding a shared bicycle, I can fit another person in my car, so why don't I have the valet drop you off on the way back, after all, Shoshone is aware of it. Lin Mo came, today, on a bicycle. I was just in the booth and didn't call for a valet. Well, Lin Mo glanced at his cell phone. Count the hours. That should be about right. The helicopter he bought himself this morning. It should be arriving soon now. No, I, before Lin Mo could finish his sentence. Next to him, a snort of laughter also rang out violently. Riding a shared bicycle? There are really people, these days, who ride shared bikes. Listen to this. Song Gu, who was next to him, was also in a flurry, opening his mouth to brag. Ha ha ha, Young Wu, not everyone is like you. Besides, maybe people are doing it because. What about the fact that the family doesn't have a decent car and is afraid to drive over? As these boastful words fell, the Wu Sancher here had an increasingly arrogant look on his face. Ha ha, that's true enough. With that, he was looking at Lin Mo with contempt. Said, why, do you want to ride in my car, to take you home? Less later. You ride or have to pedal constantly. A sentence fell. Song Gu in the back was also bursting into unrestrained laughter. Hey, don't you guys go too far. It is. Besides, Mo's car was sent for maintenance. What are you guys talking nonsense here? Zhao Village and a few of the second generation, at this point, were somewhat unable to hold back. Immediately, there was a burst of it, opening his mouth and shouting angrily. Lin Mo, on the other hand, spoke calmly. What are you guys doing with them? Calculating. If I do, I won't go back in your car. My driver is almost, just about there. Listening to Lin Mo's words, Shoshone nodded. In his opinion, it's probably a good idea to take care of Lin Mo's car. The housekeeper of the house is just going to drive up in the car later. However, there's Sancher Wu there. At this point it was a snort of laughter. Said, still the driver is coming? What? Your shared bicycle? Or your driver to ride over for you? As the words fell, Song Gu, who was there, also laughed maniacally. And in the meantime, a Bentley Mulsan also drove up from the distance. It docked in front of Song Gu and Wu Sancher. Then a butler ran down, pulled the car door open. Wu Sancher, who was here, said with a burst of scornful laughter, Ha ha, my Bentley Shammy is here. Just don't wait for that shared bike of yours. Said, Wu Sancher was just about ready to get in the car. And here Wang Tsong Tsong, in the bottom of his heart, was already, was a million times more unhappy. Enough, he was just about to say something. Lin Mo, however, looked at the sky and said flatly, coming, two words fell, everyone at the scene froze, coming, listen to this, everyone was looking toward both sides of the street, but not even a shadow of a car, only in the distance, a late bus, was slowly approaching, Wu Sancher and Song Gu, 
who were watching this scene, both had somewhat odd looks on their faces. Young Lin, the driver you're talking about, it wouldn't be the bus, would it? Ha 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 ha, if it's a bus, it really does need a driver. But Wu Xiao, even though it's just a bus, it's still better than a shared bicycle. Ha ha, that's right. The two men here, in a burst of sarcasm, said, in response, Lin Imo only laughed lightly, just shaking his head and not explaining. And also at this point in time, above the sky, the sound of a propeller rang out. With the churning of the propeller, a dazzling light tore through the darkness to shine. One moment, everyone was raising their heads and looking towards the sky. A helicopter was seen traveling slowly, but in an instant, it was over the crowd. The helicopter hovered and landed. Subsequently, in the cockpit, a pilot jumped, came to Lin Mo, bowed. Mr. Lin, I'm sorry, the customs audit took a while. I'm late. Lin Mo smiled slightly, said, not too late, just right. Watch this scene. Zhao and the other's eyes rounded. Wang Song Song, on the other hand, was completely dumbfounded at this time. Pointing to this helicopter, he said, Mo, Mo, this helicopter, yours? Well, just bought it a while ago. The roads in the Magic City are too congested to go out in a supercar. Supercars aren't fast enough if there's an emergency. So much for getting a helicopter for easy transportation. Village Zhao, Song Song Wan, others, listen, listen, is this called human talk? Because the roads in Mordor are so congested. So, to make it easier to get around, get a helicopter instead? Sour. It's really sour. The moment, Wang Song Song and the others, their faces were filled with sourness. But at the same time, it was written with envy. And it's at this point in time. Zhang Yang, who was there, then suddenly pulled out his cell phone. After checking out what's going on, in his mouth, cold air was sucked backwards. Brother M.O., this helicopter of yours, is it an Airbus H-155? Listen to this. The group of second generation next to him, on the other hand, were a bit puzzled and looked at Zhang Yang, asking, what's the matter, Yong? Yeah, what are you so freaked out about? Could it be that there's something more to this helicopter? M.O. Zhang Yang was still overwhelmed with excitement. Said, you guys don't understand. The Airbus H-155 helicopter is no ordinary helicopter. This is one of the top and most luxurious helicopters. Worldwide, it is usually used as a vehicle for the company's top VIPs or mobile travelers. And there are all kinds of soft furnishings and matching appliances inside. It's almost as if it's a small hotel in the sky, so to speak. And... The customized starting price for this Airbus H-155, that's 10 million Mikan, hiss, 10 million dollars, Mijin, the price, it's outrageously expensive, yeah, I thought this helicopter, 30 to 40 million Shenhua dollars, would be about right, as a result, the starting customization price, is 10 million Mikan Iraq, I suddenly want to see what it's really like inside this helicopter, for a moment, everyone was looking at Lin Mo with a blazing expression, and Lin Mo just smiled, he said, it's just a means of transportation, and I have room for 13 more people in this helicopter. Now that we're here, the number of people is just right, so why don't I simply send you guys back? Listening to Lin Mo's words, before everyone's eyes. On the other hand, there was an instantaneous brightening. However, also at this point in time, Wang Son Son's voice, however, sounded once again. By the way, I remember who it was that just said here, Mo was going to take. What? The bus back? With this sentence fell. All at once, their eyes just fell. They're on top of Wu Sanshur. For a moment, the look on everyone's face appeared to be one of a million teases. The faces of the two Wu Sanshur men, however, were in fiery pain at this time. That slap, the hit was real loud. Previously, they're still taunting. Lin Emil was preparing to ride a shared bike and take the bus home. And, even more, it was showing off. Own this Bentley Mulsan, resulting backhand. People just came with a helicopter. That's a total downgrade. And more than that, they were, at heart, horrified. Then it was Lin Mo's identity. Being able to get around the magic city land with a helicopter. This Lin Mo. Exactly. What is the identity? Panic. Unparalleled horror. To know. Mordor is not like some small place. A lot of wealthy businessmen, though, say they can afford helicopters. But they buy them. They don't always fly. Even if it was their Wu family, they belong to the ground in the magic city territory want to travel by helicopter in the magic city. The difficulty is also immense. This guy, what the hell is he? An inexplicable fear surfaced in Wu Sanchi's heart. At the same time, the bottom of his eyes were filled with resentment. Glancing behind him, Song Gu, this guy, wasn't it said that Lin Mo was just a, 
the owner of the Eastern Sports Center. But now, the truth slapped him hard in the face. Can a person with this kind of energy be just a small gym owner? And, at this moment, Wu Sanshir suddenly was noticing a point. That would be the Shoshone gang, for Lin M.O. They all addressed him as Brother M.O. Even, even Wang Tsong Tsong was called so. If, indeed, Lin M.O. is just a gym owner, can you do that? Just kidding, Song Song, a grit of teeth. Wu Sanchi's fists gradually clenched. At the bottom of his heart, the resentment was incomparable. In his opinion, if, it wasn't for Song Song, this thing, maybe it won't be so bad. However, Lin Imo was completely unaware of Wu Sanchi's thoughts, and, and completely unconcerned, just smiled and said, All right, get in the helicopter. Aha! The crowd, in droves, just got inside the helicopter. After getting inside the helicopter, look at that top-notch soft furnishings. There was nothing but a burst of emotion. Everyone else was getting on the plane at this point. Only Wang Tsong Tsong stood still. Young Wang, you're not coming up? I'll forget it this time. I've got something to do later. All right then, we'll go ahead ha ha. Aha. There was a flurry of goodbyes from the crowd. The helicopter began its ascent. Cabin. Every second generation was, at this time, overwhelmed with joy. Excitement is written all over the faces here. Hiss. Boy. This cabin. It's like a small parlor. Thirteen seats. All of which come with temperature regulation and massage. I'm afraid it's going to be several million dollars just for this internal equipment. The key thing is, the soundproofing ability. It's just unbeatable all right. Helicopters, in general, are extremely noisy because of the propellers. But the soundproofing and noise reduction of this helicopter is really a bit too awesome. Isn't it? A host of second generation. At this point it's a stupefying moment. Was genuinely shocked at the interior of this helicopter. At this point, they also always understand. Why this helicopter? It can be called. The most luxurious and top of the line. Subsequently, everyone also looked at Lin M.O. With envy in his eyes. He said, M.O. is awesome. Yeah, M.O. now. Playing with us. It's not even in the same class anymore. Zhao Village was also self-conscious and ashamed. He said, it's really a shame. Thanks to the fact that I had such a high-profile cocktail party today for my Bugatti Veyron. M.O. but bought a helicopter. Are still so low profile? What qualification do I have? To go so high profile? Listening to this kind of bragging. Lin M.O. also just laughed lightly and said, what's so high profile about that? a helicopter in the district. It's just transportation. That's nothing. There was a shake of the head. Lin Mo's expression was full of candor. And the more Lin Ma did, the others were more and more secretly ashamed. Other side. Watching the disappearing helicopter. Wu Sanshir was also finally coming back to his senses. Then, it's the sight of Wang Chung Chung, running over in a hurry. He asked, Young Wang, Brother Wang, this Lin Mo, just, what kind of person is it? Wu Sanchi's mind was in turmoil at this time. Wang Song Song, on the other hand, had his eyes slightly narrowed, staring at Wu Sanshir. Wu Sanshir, on the other hand, gritted his teeth and said, I remember that Wang was a million times more fond of that Ferrari Lafa of mine. If brother Wang is willing to reveal a thing or two, I can gift it to him. Listen to this. Wang Song Song instantly broke into a smile. Then, then it was just a leisurely way of saying, the rest of this Mo's identity, I'm not too sure. But what I can tell you is this. He, in one night, acquired 30% of my family's shares. As Wang Sonson's words fell after this, the two who were there, Wu Sanchur and Songgu, at this moment, his body, too, froze at once. At the bottom of his heart, it was even more. Endless waves of shock. They, what did you just hear? Overnight, acquired Wang Sonson's family's Tianha group. 30% of the shares? Is this, is this a joke? To know. 30% of the shares of Trina Group. That, at least, that's all worth hundreds of billions. Overnight acquisitions? This, the energy revealed behind it. That all around, it's just horrible to the core. For a moment, Wu Sanchur was completely dumbfounded. In his mouth, he couldn't help but swallow. Then it was to Wang Song Song, who was there, that he carefully asked, Wang, brother Wang, you, what you just said, is it true? Listen to this. Wang Song Song's heart, for a while, is for it to sneer, and then, it was a shake of the head, saying, oh, love it or hate it, but do yourself a favor, as the words fell, a maybach, that is, stopped in front of Wang Tsong Tsong, the backseat door, then, just opened automatically, seeing this, Wang Tsong Tsong then just got into the car, once the vehicle was started, it left quickly, and with the departure of Wang Tsong Tsong, 
Wu Sanchur, who was here, had a cloudy face. His heart was clear. Wang Songsong had no reason to lie to him, nor was it necessary. After all, this kind of thing, just go back yourself and check with a little care. It's about being able to find out exactly what happened, and whether it's true or false. And on the sidelines, Song Song, at that moment, he also stiffened his expression and walked over quickly. Turning to Wu Sanchur in front of him, he carefully opened his mouth and asked, Young Wu, what do you think about this? Listening to Song Song's words, here at the bottom of Wu Sanchi's heart, a few moments of fire came. For a while, it was just a matter of gritting my teeth. Subsequently, coldly, he looked at Song Gu. It was a direct slap, a hard slap. Pow! Crisp sounds rang out. The Wu Sancher here, his eyes glittered with coldness. In his mouth, he also shouted angrily, Asshole, this is if it wasn't for you, how could I, today, have offended him to death? Having said that, Wu Sancher got into the car in a hurry. Then it was time to order the driver to drive, as quickly as possible, home. This Wu Sanchi's heart is very clear. This thing is obviously, big time, and look at the runaway Wu Sancher. Song Gu also stiffened for a moment. At the bottom of his heart, there was a vague sense of despair. More than anything else, he was incredibly remorseful. He was very much aware that after a night like tonight, in his own career, it is considered to be a complete end. Other side, helicopter. At this moment was when only Lin Mo was left alone. The rest of the second generation, Lin Mo sent them back home. After three or four minutes, the helicopter also arrived, over this one eastern suburb villa area. Then, then it just started to fall a little bit, gradually, and with that, the sound of a furious propeller, inside the one east suburb villa area. At this point it was also being set off, in no small way. Villa 1, Huang 1 who was instructing the servants below on what to do tomorrow, listened to the helicopter. At this point it was a run to the yard. Watching the huge helicopter that was landing towards the backyard of the villa, the whole thing was a bit of a buzzkill, and a couple of villas next door were woken up at this point. In droves, they ran to their balconies, watching the scene. Inside Villa 2, Mu Nan Ji, on the other hand, and Sun Fu both, stood on the balcony and watched, looking up at the sky, the helicopter that landed. The two of them, on the other hand, looked incomparably horrified. This is a helicopter? Hiss. A blast of cold air poured out of Sun Fu. In his mouth, he was even more staggered. Mu Nanji's gaze, on the other hand, flickered for a while, said, Uncle Sun, this helicopter, it's not cheap, is it? Yes ma'am, the helicopter. I believe it's an Airbus H-155, customized for 10 million Mikan. Mu Nanji, who was listening to these words, was also somewhat appalled on her small face. She did know that Lin Mo's background was feared to be very uncomplicated. But after hearing the words, or a burst of it, for that matter, who the hell is Lin M.O.? Why does it feel like, with all the money he has in his hands, he's never going to be able to spend it? During this time, a villa was bought for 6 crores, spent a hundred billion dollars on Trina's shares, and then also bought several hundred million dollars of Corning battery stock. And now, having spent at least 10 million meters of gold, came a helicopter, to know, everything here, the lightest are enough to make their Mordormu family. The money chain is tight. The heaviest one was more which emptied their family of funds. It's not even, necessarily, doable. But, this lean ma, and yet it was done with ease. The moment, Mu Nanji was more and more curious about Lin Mo. Uncle Sun, pick a bottle of good wine. We'll go over now and congratulate Lin Mo. Yes, ma'am. Inside the villa area, the other residents, one by one, were staggered in their minds. They are for the head of the household of Villa 1 was feeling deeply shocked. Ten or so minutes later, Villa 1, Lin Ma opened the wine. Together with Mu Nanji, they sat down on the sofa and drank wine. Lin M.O., that helicopter just now. Exactly. Oh, it's not me I feel, is it? It's so inconvenient to travel on this side of Mordor. Driving a car might even, not be as fast as riding a bike. So, I just went along and bought a helicopter to use as a substitute mode of transportation. After a sentence fell, the corners of Mu Nanji's mouth, on the other hand, twitched, I believe your bullshit, rolled his eyes, Mu Nanji for this set of words from Lin Mo, it was total disbelief, by the way, Nanji, remember that Wu Sancher we met last time, right, listening to Lin Mo's words, Mu Nanji frowned and said with some displeasure, what are you doing mentioning him, there were a few moments of doubt in the bottom of the heart of Mu Nanji who was here, oh, just now I was with some friends of mine, having a drink, and we ran into him, said, Lin Mo was the one who told what happened just now, inside the KTV with Wu Sancher, 
Mu Nan Ji, who was listening to these words, also had a twinkle in her eyes. Yeah, forget it, leave this guy alone. This guy is purely looking for something to do. With that, the two just started talking about other things. After climbing for a while, Mu Nan Ji is with Sun Fu two people, together with the farewell. And in the moment of leaving the villa, the aura of this Mu Nan Ji's body also changed. Opening his mouth, he said, Uncle Sun, what are your orders? Miss, call my grandfather and tell him to warn the Wu family to mind their own business. Yes, ma'am, the Wu family, the family patriarch, Wu Qian, hung up the phone at this time. On his face, the look was dark, the eyes were even more gloomy like ink. Just a half hour ago, he almost got, like, a call from 30% of his own company's partners. For the most part, it's all spelled out, to be with the self between, for the termination of the contract, no matter how much one tried to persuade him or her, he or she could not be persuaded. And, it was just a few moments ago, he himself received two, even more, calls with a warning. These two calls, separate, it's from the Mu family in Magic City, and the phone number of the Wang family in the capital. And, in the middle of a phone call, the warning is very clear, with the phone hanging up. This Wu Qian lit a cigarette, not a moment too soon, the hall was filled with smoke. At this point, a noblewoman approached, pouring Wu Qian a cup of tea, he said, smoke less, this stuff, it's not good for your health. Wu Qian nodded, then, forcefully holding back the anger in his heart, gritting his teeth, he said, that rebellious son, Wu Sanshir, has not returned until now? Listening to Wu Qian this, the noblewoman's heart froze, opening his mouth, he asked, honey, What's going on? Did Sansi get into some kind of trouble again? Causing trouble? Wu Qian sneered and spoke. This time, he's more than just causing trouble. He's simply poking the sky. All the way through. Looking at Wu Qian with this attitude, the noblewoman also sat up straight and carefully said, It's not that bad, is it? That Wu Qian took a sip of tea and spoke in a cold voice. You know, what just happened half an hour ago? Our 30% partner in the family called me. It says it's between us and our family to end the partnership, and finally, Master Mu of the Mu family in Mordor, the Wanging family of the king's family in the capital have all called me, said to tell my son, to be a little more careful, that not everyone can be messed with, tell me, does this put the sky, all the way up, as the words fell away, the noblewoman here, too, was fiercely startled, the Mu family in Magic City, the Wang family in the capital, it's also all about the contemporary head of the family, who calls in person, this, just what kind of big shot did he mess with? Exactly. It took to startle these two to call and warn them personally? One time, even the noblewoman's face changed for a while. And also at this time, the door to the villa, too, was opened. And then, carefully, Wu Sancher returned home and closed the door of the villa. After crossing a cloister, he was the one who saw, sitting here, Wu Qian and the noblewoman, as well as, the not so good looks on the faces of the two men. One moment. Wu Sanchi's body looked a little stiff, pulling out a smile. He said, Dad, Mom, you guys still up? Sleep? Oh, the sky is falling, how can I sleep? Wu Qian let out a cold laugh and said. The noblewoman also asked, Sans, what kind of people did you piss off when you were out there today? Man, just now, the Mu family's old man, and the Wang family's Wang Jia, both called your father. What, the old man from the Mu family called too? Wu Sanchi's heart was shocked and he subconsciously said, and the words came out. Wu Qian's face, too, darkened a few more points. Got it. You don't even have to say it this time. Obviously, it's this son of his, who is in trouble. Say, who the hell did you mess with? Wu Qian slammed the table, pointing at Wu Sancher in front of him. He just shouted angrily. I, when Wu Sancher saw this, he could only sigh. Then, still honestly, the story was told. And listening to my own son, Wu Sancher, here, was also a bit angry. The whole thing clenched its back teeth. Adverse son, the rebellious son, you dare to offend anyone out there. I think you really want to be lawless, don't you? Your old man, me, named you San C, in the hope that you, would think twice before you act. You've been causing me trouble all day long. It's okay for you to offend some of the smaller families in second generation on a regular basis. Now, even the major shareholder of the Trina group dared to offend. And the kicker is that people still acquired it overnight. 30% of the shares. The Wang family has not dared to touch him until now. Do you know what this means? It represented that this Lin Mo's identity was something that even the Wang family needed to be afraid of. As a result, you can actually offend people now. I'm not going to smack you to death. Said. Wu Qian drew out the waistband of his pants as soon as he could. Toward this Wu Sanshir. 
It is a hard whip. Rebel son, I'll whip you to death. You bastard. Ah, dad. Stop it dad. Dad, you shut the fuck up. I don't have a dad like you. After roaring, the seven wolves in Wu Qian's hand, pumped even more ferociously, and under a burst of screams from Wu Sanshir, it was also in a hurry, shouting towards the noblewoman who was there. Mom, my dad's gone crazy, you have to help me. And the words fell. The noblewoman who had been sitting there also took a deep breath, then, said, Honey, stop for a moment. Hearing this, the seven wolves in Wu Qian's hand, also stopped. The whole thing was panting, and Wu Sanshir was relieved. Pat yourself on the back. Saved. Ah ha Before he could finish his sentence, rear, a sound of breaking wind came. Then, a stick, smacked him right in the back. The fiery pain came quickly. You ungrateful thing. How dare you beg for mercy. Old me. Today, I have to whip you to death. You unfilial thing. With a burst of angry curses. Inside the villa. Roars, one after another. It was accompanied by a chorus of screams and pleas for mercy. Other side. Lin Emo was completely unaware of all this. At this point in his life. But it was early. And went to sleep. No way. Today's drink was a bit too much. To be true. Soon. That is. One night passed. Day two. Lin Emo woke up early. After swimming laps in the pool. Went ashore and washed up. That's what sat down at the table. While eating his breakfast. He was looking at his cell phone app. 100% of fortune tower. Subsidized price. 99. Real estate again? Lin Emo looked at today's goods. The whole thing was for a moment. As far as these real estate that the system has given itself so far, that's a whole lot of houses and offices in your own hands. If it continues like this, you could almost start a real estate company yourself. Forget it, a mosquito is still meat. Buy it. Mentally muttered. Lin Emo was just as solicitous and purchased this fortune mansion. Purchase successful. Product delivery in progress. Estimated delivery time, 2 hours. Please wait for the receipt. Two hours passed quickly. As soon as the two hours have passed, the courier is also just up to the door. Looking at this courier, as well as the courier documents in Lin Mo's own hands, Lin Mo, who was here, checked it out slightly. Subsequently, which was a slight nod. Well, it looks like this fortune mansion. It's kind of okay. A few smiles spread across his face. Lin Mo, who was here, had a smile on his lips. Then, that is, taking the papers here, said, I'm going out, and I'm not always back for lunch. Listening to Lin Mo's words, this Huang Yuan also just nodded her head and said, Okay mister, Lin, take your time mister. Lin, a slight bow was made to Lin Mo. This Lin Mo, on the other hand, drove his car and left quickly, all the way, straight to the Wells Fargo building. At this point in time, inside the Wells Fargo building, a meeting on property management is underway. At this point in time, every senior level of the property was converging here. The reason I'm calling you all here today is that the owner of our building has changed. As the words fell after that, the crowd below, one after another, just opened up and whispered, Look, looking a little nervous, Mr. Zhao, what's going on? Yes, Mr. Zhao, the owner of Fortune Mansion, why did he change all of a sudden? That's right, how is this a little bit of movement? There is no ah, with some chatter, Mr. Zhao, who was here, then glanced at the crowd below. Then, that is, calmly speaking, there's nothing to panic about in this case. Zhao Hui's tone, seemed exceptionally calm, said, it was a document that he had in his hand and sent down. This file, it's about our new boss. Look at it, all of you, especially the picture on it, and memorize it, as the document was passed around after. Zhao Hui here, but his cell phone suddenly rang. After glancing at the caller ID on his cell phone, Zhao Hui's face changed, after signaling the crowd to be quiet. Carefully, he picked up the phone and spoke respectfully. Lin Dong, may I ask what your orders are? Zhao Hui Ah, I still have 10 minutes here. It's just about to get to the Wells Fargo building, so come down and pick me up later. Hey, okay Lin Dong, then I'll wait for you at the entrance of the building. Aha, uh -huh. after all was said and done, the phone then just hung up, and the moment he hung up, the smile on Zhao Hui's face was completely gone. A few moments of coldness also swept across the bottom of his eyes. I know, our company's property and security. Some of them are relatives you've stuffed in there. On weekdays, these people neglect their duties and I turn a blind eye. But now, our new boss, will be here in 10 minutes. If any of you guys have a henchman that's upsetting and displeasing to the new boss, oh, and when the time comes, resign yourselves. After all was said and done, this shall we just quickly, left the conference room, and here's a bunch of top brass. 
Then there were a flurry, a shudder. They are very well aware of it. This time, Zhao Hui is coming for real. Definitely, not some kind of falsehood. One moment. Everyone just had a moment of, well, gulping. Then, quickly, he began to inform the people below him. For a moment, the property department then just blew up. A lot of people here, one after another, just started talking about it. Front desk. A couple of property girls, after the leader had finished his lecture. That is, a burst of it began to be talked about. The new boss is coming? What kind of person will this new boss be? You guys? I reckon. Ah, nine times out of ten it's an old man. Think about it guys. Wasn't the previous owner a 60 or 70 year old man? I don't know. Maybe it's a middle aged man? Listen to this kind of talk. One of the younger sisters here. On the other hand, sighed. Hey, you guys, how come you can't? Like, have a handsome prince charming? What? You still want a prince charming? To marry you? You don't want to become. Like, a monster on Prince Charming's way to meet the princess. Yikes, May, not with you anymore. In an instant, this front desk also began to playfully fight. And just then, a dull coughing sound, snapped out. At once, the two men here, that is, quickly straightened up. Hello Mr. Zhao, took a look at the two front desks here. Zhao Hui then just coldly said, When you're working, be serious, don't play around. Yes, Mr. Zhao, the moment of the moment. The front desk just went quiet too. The 10 minutes flew by. 2. Within moments, it was just past. 10 minutes, one after another, after informing a kind of high level of their subordinates, also in droves, appeared in the hall on the first floor, and also at this point in time, a roar of a supercar rang out beyond the building, not for a while. A Windy Lake and supercar was then parked right in front of the entrance of the Fortune Mansion. Look at this car. Zhao Wei hurriedly just went forward and helped pull open the car door. A smile was piled on his face. Speaking to Lin M.O., he said, Chairman, welcome to inspect the fortune building. Aha. Uh -huh. Lin M.O. nodded slightly. Is it okay to park here? No problem. Of course. Zhao Hui said in a hurry. Just kidding. Who is Lin M.O.? That's the owner of the Wells Fargo building. Characters of this caliber. Even if, even if there is a real problem with people parking their cars here. Well, you have to say you're okay with it. And what shocked him even more. Lin Emo was really too young. It is much younger than in the photo. This really, really shocked Zhao Hui. And the moment Lin Emo walked into the hall on the first floor, all the top brass here, as well as the two properties at the front desk, they bowed. Hello chairman, aha. Uh -huh. Lin Emo nodded his head slightly. Then, that is, he opened his mouth and spoke. All right, y'all get back to work, Zhao Hui. Take me to your office and report the specifics of the building. Yes chairman, said. Zhao Hui was also the one who led Lin Mo all the way up the stairs. With the departure, the two front desk property girls here, also a burst of covering their mouths, surprised. My goodness, is this our new boss? So young. Aha, uh -huh. May, I feel like I'm in love. Oh who, this new boss is so handsome, and young and rich. Ha, huh? you're craving someone else's body. Is this more gold, or more essence? Humph, not playing with you. Reaction from the front desk side. Lin Mo was all but oblivious. At this time, he was already planting a loyalty chip. For Zhao Hui, started asking detailed questions about the whole building. Wells Fargo Tower. 45th floor. Lin Emo listened to the specific financial report. This Wells Fargo building, the net profit for the whole year, is up to more than $3 billion. This is for Lin Emo, still a very substantial number. And the number of companies that have moved in, is very high. Well, good. Lin Emo stood up and patted Zhao Hui's shoulder afterward, said, all right, you give me a pass card. I'll go down to the levels and just wander around. This, Dong Lin, why don't I accompany you? No, you're busy with work. I'll just wander around. What can I do? Then, okay, said. This Zhao Hui hesitated. Then from his drawer, he drew out an access card. Said, because of the suddenness of your arrival, Lin Dong, the access card that belongs to you is not yet ready. This access card, even though it's an intern's access card, is still very high level. Everywhere in the company, except the individual file rooms for confidential documents. You can go in. Okay, enough for me. A slight nod. After Lin Mo received the access card. That is, he left this Zhao Hui's office. After swiping open the company's elevator and casually pressing the button for the 17th floor. And so it was. And it started all the way down the stairs. The 17th floor is shared by three companies. There are two companies that are, at the moment, open for business. Only one small e-commerce company remains. It is just now. 
rented office space and undergoing renovations, however, also at this point in time, a cacophony of voices, however, also came from a short distance to the side, stop, all of you, on your side, stop all of you, whoever of you is in charge here, hurry up and get over here, at this point, in front of this e-commerce company that is in the renovation phase, a burst of voices rang out, four big, strong men walked over at that moment, without a second thought, all the workers who are working on the place, all of them are just a flurry, stopping it, one of the bald men, moreover, kicked over, on the ground, a bucket of paint, red paint, spilled right across the wooden floor, even more so, some of it was splattered on the glass door, what's wrong with you, what are you doing and why are you kicking our paint buckets, who are you you, one moment, many decorators, at this point, are a little annoyed, and at this point, a man who appeared to be well-mannered, walked out from the back, after calming these, extraordinarily cranky crowds, that is to say, directly, in a moderated manner, this gentleman, I'm the overseer here, I wonder what you want, why should you stop us from decorating and kick over our paint buckets as soon as you come over, what for, your company is renovating and making noise to our company work, the scarred man at the head of the group, full of ferocity, said, let me tell you, our company that is in finance, millions up and down every minute, you're affecting our business, can you afford to lose money, listen to this, the well-mannered man was also a bit annoyed at this time, said, sir, you're being a bit unreasonable, our company's renovation, which has just begun, and all renovations are currently going to soft furnishings during the working day, only on your non-working days, and during the rest phase, it's only when you use a power drill or something like that, how could it affect your company, irrational, the bald man in the back, came straight up and smacked out, then, the mouth also cursed angrily, don't give me a hard time, you're just a stinking migrant laborer, now tell yourselves what you're going to do about it, their company, in fact, does small loans and door-to-door -door collections, just to make myself look taller, that's why they rented this fortune building, as well as claiming, externally, to be in finance, you guys still do it don't you, dare to hit our foreman, still being reasonable, calling who stinks of migrant labor, ah, show some respect, one moment, all the workers here, in droves, are just furious, one by one, just ready to draw weapons, a group of workers have just roared with righteous indignation, and Lean Ma, who was making his rounds, this scene was also seen at this time, under his eyes, a few moments of anger rose, and, just as he was about to step forward, the employee elevator doors, however, were opened in the distance, the next moment, the security guard of the property, at this time, also, hurriedly walked out from the elevator, at the head of the group was the executive in charge of security, this executive also instantly, saw Lin Mo who was on the opposite side of the room, the heart stuttered, the face, faintly, was just white, and then it was just yelling, what's going on, stop it, all of you, you guys go up there and get control of the scene, one moment, all the security guards, just swarming, separating the two sides, subsequently, this executive was also fastidious, Mr. Chu, you're here, Mr. Zhu, these people are unreasonable, they came up and kicked our paint buckets, and now they're beating up our foreman, yes Mr. Zhu, you have to make a decision for us, listening to this Zhu Guolin, the face was very unattractive, it's something that, in and of itself, is dishonorable, if it had just happened in private, he could have done a mediation, but, the most troublesome place, it was Lin Mo who was standing in the distance, the new owner of the house, noticed the incident, this changes things sexually, to know, Zhao we just gave a death order, if you don't do this well yourself, it made Lin Ma angry and unhappy, that, his own position as president of security is at an end, think about it, Zhu Guolin, who was here, also said in a deep voice, Boss Fong, the company next door to you is renovating, I don't think it uses, electric drills and other noisy instruments, right? Also, you came up here and kicked over someone's paint bucket, and now you're striking out at them, which is a bit much, the scarred man who was there was wearing a smile at that moment, said, Mr. Zhu, this is what you don't know, this company's remodeling is always a couple of knocks here and a couple of hammers there, today, we've lost four or five orders to our company, and it's still talking loudly, so our company's employees, there's no way to work in peace, the moment those words fell, the decorators are just a little fuming, pointing at the scarred man, he cursed angrily, you fart, we've been painting all day today, the most that's happened is that the doors to the boss's room and the finance room have been installed, and there's knocking east and west there, it is, it is, you're just messing around, and the bald guy in the back, 
The bottom of his eyes were full of ferocity at this time. Again, he raised his hand and shouted angrily. If you dare to talk nonsense again, believe it or not, I'll beat you to death. Zhu Guolin, who was watching the scene, already had a few moments of anger in his heart. However, just then, Lin Mo's voice, too, sounded leisurely. Come on, don't continue to bullshit with this kind of person. Old Chu, right? You just blow this kind of person out. Also, it's also straightforward to simply refund their company's rent and not renew the lease. Lin Mo's voice, leisurely rang out. And along with Lin Mo's words after they fell, Mr. Chu here, his body was also stunned. But just as he was about to say something, the bald man who was there, however, spoke very arrogantly. Who the hell are you? Still not renewing our lease? It's a joke. A side note. This bald man was the one on one side, walking up to Lin Mo. And after that, it's just smooth. Pick up the chest plate on Lin Mo's chest. A few snickers just appeared at the corners of his mouth, said. Ha, so it's just a little property in turn. I thought you were the owner of this fortune mansion by the sound of your voice. As the bald man's words fell, the other companions of this bald man, also in succession, let out a burst of laughter, and the scarred man laughed scornfully. Mr. Zhu, your company's management of interns is a bit too loose, isn't it? A little intern can be so wild as to decide whether our company stays or goes? If you didn't know, you'd think, this guy is your boss. Listening to the words of this scarred man, Zhu Guolin, on the other hand, stood calmly and opened his mouth. Excuse me, Boss Fong, this Mr. Lin is, indeed, the owner of our fortune mansion. Since our bosses, have given the word, please also move out within three days, today and tomorrow financially. Also, as I recall, your imminent finance, next quarter's rent has not been paid yet, so it just so happens that we don't have to do a rent refund. As the words fell after that, the bald man who was here was outright dumbfounded and froze. Listening to Zhu Guolin's words, all over his body, he was stiff, and all the people who were originally laughing wildly, the smile on his face, too, came to an abrupt end, and a few moments of incredulity surfaced in the bottom of his eyes, all the while with a stunned look on his face, looking towards Lin Imo who was there, in the bottom of his eyes, incredulity was written all over them, this, sure you're not kidding? Here this youth with an internship sign, is it the owner of this Wells Fargo building? This is something that just seems, to the ear, a little ridiculous to the extreme. As for the Fong boss Scarface who was there, at this time, his face, on the other hand, was suddenly pale and bloodless. Lin M.O. I can't believe it's true. It's the owner of this Wells Fargo mansion. This was a point that took him all by surprise, and that's exactly why. It was this scarred man who was completely flustered. To know, he himself, though nominally, it's the owner of this imminent finance, but in reality, he is a wage earner the real boss behind the company, that's the Wu family in Mordor, and this is something that, if you can't press it yourself, then, just wash your neck and wait for death yourself, think about it, with a poof, the scarred man fell to his knees, evenly, he opened his mouth and prayed, saying, Mr. Zhu, I'm wrong, I'm really wrong Mr. Zhu, have mercy and plead with your boss for me, let him be generous and bypass me this time, Mr. Zhu, while listening to this, Zhu Guolin's heart burst into a sneer. Plead for him? Oh, it's not a joke. I'm afraid. If you knew it would come to this, why did you do it in the first place? Think about it. The scarred man who was here also just sneered and said, Mr. Zhu, I advise you that it's best not to waste your efforts. Mr. Lin Mo is our new boss and just bought our building. Since you've run yourself into a gun, well, consider yourself unlucky. As Zhu Guolin's words fell after this, the scarred man's face drifted into disorientation, the look on his face, fading into despair. This Zhu Guolin, on the other hand, was in a hurry, jogging all the way to Lin Mo, with a few fawning smiles on his face. He said, Boss, why are you here alone on your rounds? Shall I keep you company? No, you keep patrolling. I'll continue the stroll alone. Hey, okay, boss. In the meantime, the overseer who had been slapped earlier also ran over at that moment. He said, Thank you, Boss Lin, I really thank you this time. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know how to handle this. And if the renovation isn't completed on time, then we, the renovation team, are really going to lose money. The overseer here, in a row, is saying that. Listen to the words. Lin Mo also smiled and said, It's not a big deal. It's nothing. Come on, get back to work. Waved his hand. This Lin Mo was also the one who left this floor. And with that, Lin Mo after leaving, this scarred man also came back to his senses, face, 
The look was hideous, twisted, mouth at this point. Sinking his voice, he bellowed angrily. Go, get that dead bald guy. Get him for me. After all was said and done, the bald man with a terrified face, that is, was arrested. The entire bottom of the person's eyes had fear and dread written all over them. Phone. Phone. The scarred man didn't hesitate well and directly kicked. This bald man in the stomach. At once, the bald man took the pain and lay on the ground, curling up into a prawn-like shape. Do you realize what a mess you've made? Ah, and who told you to just do it? Let me tell you, if the boss cleans me up for this today, let's see if I don't sink this grandson of yours into the Pooh River and feed him to the fish. The scarred man pointed at the bald man. A burst of it, cursing over it, the entire bottom of the person's eyes were filled with sinister. After cleaning up the bald guy, that is, in a hurry, he pulled out his cell phone, started dialing Wu Qian, other side. Wu Qian was outside one eastern suburb at this time, sat down in the car and smoked a cigarette, on the sidelines, in the heart of Wu Sanshur, full of awe. Phew, a mouthful of cigarette smoke came out of Wu Qian's mouth, subsequently, that is, slowly. I didn't expect that this Lin Mo was actually not at home. In that case, we'll wait here for today. I'm telling you, if you don't see him today, then you go back tonight and wait for the continuation of the family law. The bottom of Wu Qian's eyes here were filled with ruthlessness. Seriously, he was now itching to sink his rebellious son, who could only cause trouble, directly into the Pu River. However, just as the words fell, instead, his phone rang, after glancing at the caller ID. There was also a slight frown. This guy, why is he calling me at this hour? The heart carries doubts. Wu Qian picked up the phone anyway with the scarred man on the other end of the phone, after finishing his sentence. Here, Wu Qian's face was already as gloomy as ink. Almost didn't crush his cell phone. Assholes. A bunch of accomplished assholes. Wu Qian, who was here, was really about to go crazy in his entire mind. Directly in his mouth, there was a burst of breaking for it. On his face, it was even darker. The whole person, in his heart, was even more furious. Just now, he received a call from Imago Financial. That boss Fong Yuan Long told himself, he's offended the new boss of Fortune Mansion, Lin M.O. When he was hearing the name Lin M.O., the whole person's heart, that can be said to be cold. After all, self's son, just a few moments ago, that's what offended Lin M.O. Results now. He hadn't met Lin M.O. himself yet, own men, yet it also offended Lin M.O. This how, cannot let its heart, annoyed a million. The heart took a deep breath. The vehicle then started and headed straight for the fortune building. Inside the Wells Fargo building, Lin Ma is also done with his rounds. At this point in time, it was also back inside the general manager's office. After placing the intern sign from the Wells Fargo building, back in place, that's when they left the Wells Fargo building, looking across the street at the rejuvenation. Sojourner just went over and bought his coffee. And, while Lin Mo was in line at the coffee shop, a voice that slightly appeared to be a bit surprised also sounded behind Lin Mo. Hmm, Mo, listen to the voice. Lin M.O. also twisted his head to look. Only a young man in a plaid shirt and thick glasses was seen. It was full of surprise at the moment. Looking at itself. You are. Looking at the slightly bloated and obese youth. Lin M.O. was for a moment. Unable to react. It's me. M.O. Ron Xiang. Ron Xiang? Hearing this name. Lin M.O. also seemed to remember something. With a face full of surprise. He looked at the bloated youth. I really didn't recognize you at once with your current figure. Ren Xiang was his college classmate. Only, this Ren Xiang is a college bully. During my junior year, I went to Milan as an exchange student. As a result, went to graduate school at Stanford. Thens, the two haven't seen much of each other. As a result, I didn't expect that the two would actually meet again here. Ha ha, can't help it. Dietary issues on the old rice side. Also, this is your return home now? Yeah, just got back to imminent finance in this fortune building. Now it's an offer for me to be the CEO of the company, with a salary of 500 W per year. As the words fell after that, there were quite a few people here buying coffee, and towards here, they cast envious gazes. The returnee went back over and became CEO straight away. $5 million a year. This is properly a life winner. Feeling the envious looks cast by the crowd around him, Ren Xiang's face was filled with arrogance. Lin M.O. However, looked odd. This Ren Xiang is pretending with himself, only. That's a really bad choice of a person to pretend to be. Moreover, this company that applied for the job, Lin Mo's heart was filled with oddities, though at the back of his mind was a pang. But on Lin Mo's lips, it was still said, $5 million dollars a year? That's pretty good. Lin Mo's words had just fallen. This Rin Xian's expression was stiff. This Nima, it's like a fist. 
smashed on cotton. It didn't work at all. Taking a deep breath, he struggled to squeeze out a smile, said, M.O., where are you getting rich now? Lin M.O. smiled and said, I can't talk about getting rich. I'm just going through the motions now, every day, mixing it up a bit. With those words, Lin M.O. also answered a phone call. After the phone hung up, the look on his face looked a little odd. This thing, it's kind of fun. Just now, Xiao Hui gave himself this call. It means that Mr. Fong, the owner of Imminent Finance, notified the boss behind him. Now, the boss behind this Iming Finance, came to the door to find himself to apologize at the door. There's something about this. A hearty chuckle escaped. Here, Lin M.O. The corner of his mouth was bringing on a bit of playfulness. M.O., this is, oh, there's a friend that said he was coming to see me about something. So, Ron Xiang nodded his head, spinning around, just as he was about to say something. But it was seen across the road in the Wells Fargo building. A group of people walked out at a quick pace. Then it was time to cross the street and head straight for Rexall. And in the middle of the group, among them, Hercules, had his current boss, Fong Yuanlong. And beside this Fong Yuanlong, the general manager of the Wells Fargo building, Zhao Hui, was also just like the list. Watch this scene. Ren Xiang's eyes were wide. At this moment, not only Ren Xiang noticed this scene, the others within Rui Xing, too, all noticed the scene. And also at this time, Chou Wei pushed open the door to Rexall. After looking around the room, it's just flying this way. Behind them, Fang Yuanlong and the others, quickly followed. Watch this scene. Run Xiang also stood up in a hurry. With a smile on his face he extended a hand towards the four. Open mouth. Fang Dong. In his opinion, Zhao Hui's four people were definitely coming at him. However, after the words fell, Fang Yuanlong, however, did not even look at him, followed by the remaining three. A direct brush with him. It went straight to Lin M.O. Subsequently, Zhao Hui, who was in the lead, was the one who was respectful and said to Lin M.O., Boss, I brought Wu Qian and the others. Aha. Uh -huh. After taking a sip of coffee, Lin M.O. then looked up. As for Wu Qian, he was also smiling on his face at this time. There was a burst of nodding and bowing to Lin M.O. Mr. Lin, I'm really sorry about the past two days. It's all because, it's me that's not disciplined enough. It has caused the canine and my men to offend you. Speaking of which, Wu Qian looked at the two men behind him. With a chill under his eyes, he snapped. Asshole, why don't you hurry up and get your ass over here and apologize to Mr. Lin. As Wu Qian's words fell, the two of them, Wu Sancher and Fang Yuanlong, were instantly jolted. Then, walked up to Lin Mo. Turning to Lin Mo, he just bowed and apologized. Mr. Lin, I'm sorry. Watch this scene. Everyone who was here was completely dumbfounded. Looking at Lin Mo. His eyes were filled with incredulity. Hiss, what's going on here? Fong Yuanlong of Iming Finance, Zhao Hui of Fortune Tower. Actually all of them are treating this youth with such respect? Gollum, that's not all. Do you know who that middle-aged man is? That's the chairman of the Wu Group. Wu Qian. Hiss, at this moment, everyone's eyes grew more and more shocked. They still knew about Wu's group. This is one of the top three top companies in the Magic City. And, even with such a big man, to actually give Lin M.O., such a compensatory smile. Come and apologize in person. Who is this youth? Really? As for Rin Xiang, he was even more confused at this time. The heart was full of incredulity. Saliva, moreover, was swallowed continuously. What the hell is going on here? This situation, it's not scientific. How a college passed after. This classmate of his, as if he's a different person? Ren Xiang was dumbfounded. The look was also a few degrees of complexity. Thinking back to earlier, the scene where he was pretending in front of Lin M.O., Ren Xiang's expression just got more and more complicated and awkward. On his face, it was more as if there were several slaps, threw himself hard in the face. It made his cheeks, hot and painful. As for Lin Ma, to the two men who were bowing and apologizing to themselves, and yet, he didn't even look at it. No words were spoken. Just the cell phone was out and swiped casually there. And looking at this attitude of Lin M.O., here's Wu Sancher and Scarab, the two men's foreheads at this time. But cold sweat was a burst of emergence. To know, the time before coming. Wu Qian that was a death order. If the two of them, could not pray for Lin Mo's forgiveness. Then they, after going back, that's basically, it's going to be the end of the line. For a moment, on the foreheads of both men. It was full of sweat at this point and kept surfacing. The scarred man gritted his teeth. Subsequently, the decisive thing was to flop down on his knees. To Lin Mo in front of him, his mouth also said loudly. Mister. Lin, about what happened before. I'm really sorry. 
I really didn't know that you are the owner of Fortune Mansion. A sentence fell. Everyone here, too, was in an uproar. The owner of Fortune Mansion. I can't believe. So young. And, by the looks of it, this Lin Mo's identity. I'm afraid. It's not just the owner of the Wells Fargo building. That's all. A time of. Many people looked at Lin Mo with eyes that gradually looked a little curious. As for quite a few women. At this point, the bottom of his eyes that looked at Lin Mo were filled with peach hearts. Wow. Prince Charming. Love it love it. Woo woo. Such a handsome little brother is really totally my cup of tea. The faces of the people here. Looking at Lin Mo. Were already filled with envy. And. On the sidelines. Wu Sancher looked at this scene. It was already looking all silly. He was not expecting this Fong Yuan Long. To be so dry. Straight up. Totally shameless. As for Wu Sancher. He was also clenching his teeth for a while at this time. The spin is the same. Directly at Lin Mo. He just poofed and knelt on the ground. The mouth was even louder. Mr. Lin, I was really wrong before. Please, 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 said the this Wu Sancher, too, clenched his teeth. Solely lifting his palms, he just snapped and slapped himself. A flurry of frantic slapping. As for Fong Yuan Long, he also quickly followed. And this action, moreover, made everyone around look dumbfounded. As for Lin Mo, he also calmly put down his cell phone. Next to him, Wu Qian watched the scene. Also with a shy smile, he hurriedly came up and said, Mr. Lin, look at. All right, get up. Look at the highly swollen cheeks of both men. Lin Mo, here, spoke blandly. The I see so. There was also a sigh of relief between the two sides. Then the movement of the hand stopped. Standing up the body. In the future, do things as well as speak. Pay attention. Don't be too arrogant. As Lin Mo's words fell, this Wu Qian was also shyly smiling and spoke to Lin Mo. Yes, yes, yes. What Mr. Lin said in his lesson is very true. When I get back, I'll make sure to educate them properly. Wu Qian spoke in a hurry. Then, it was also to look at Wu Sancher and Fang Yuanlong who were there. The low voice droned on. Why don't you hurry up and thank Mr. Lin for his teachings? Listen to this. Both of them, Wu Sancher and Fang Yuanlong, had their faces reddened, but still holding back his heart. He said, Thanks, Mr. Lin. The onlookers who witnessed this, at this point there was also a flurry, for which it was staggering. This, simply, he dropped to his knees and slapped himself, after being humiliated to the core. I can't believe I have to thank the other side. This, the crowd, for a moment, stifled their laughter. Wu Qian, 